The cobra I raced wants me to hold it while sleeping every day. And it also wants kisses and hugs. This is because I have the ability to hear the thoughts of pets. No matter how fierce the pet is, under my sweet bombardment, they all behave like a little girl in heat. One day, the mall owner called for help, asking me to catch a cobra and offered me a reward of 200. 000. When I arrived at the mall, the entire fire brigade was still searching desperately to avoid alerting the snake. I asked the mall owner to evacuate everyone and let me go in alone. He's the only one, and he didn't bring anything. Is he going in like this? Are we going to have to collect his body? The mall owner directly scolded the manager. Shut up. He is a tough guy who specializes in raising reptiles. If he can't do it, no one can. When I walked to a corner shelf, I heard a weak lowly voice. Dammy dammy. Just scared the snake to death. Luckily the snake ran fast. The snake's belly is very hungry. Really wants to eat something. Upon hearing this, you quickly picked up the walkie-talkie and said, prepare the food that cobras love to eat. Upon hearing my voice, the cobra instinctively raised its entire body and began to swell on both sides of its neck, making a fierce attacking gesture. Yin yin yin, how did this human discover the snake here? The snake is very anxious and scared. Hey hey, don't come over, I am very fierce, I am super fierce, if I bite you, you might die. Seeing the fierce appearance of the cobra and its fearful inner self, I almost laughed out loud. It turned out to be a tough-talking coward. I slowly reached out to the cobra. Obediently don't move. The people outside saw this scene through the surveillance above my head. And everyone was shocked. My goodness. How did he know the snake was under that shelf? The firefighters have searched everywhere. Is he crazy? How dare he catch the snake barehanded? Look. The snake is about to attack him. Call 120 quickly. Call an ambulance. Have them wear the cobra's anti-venom serum and prepare for emergency treatment. I had no idea that my actions had already caused chaos outside the mall. Little did I know that I had already grabbed the cobra's body, holding the entire snake in the palm of my hand. Oh my, the smell on this person is so good, making the snake feel comfortable and at ease. I touched the body of the cobra, and as I slowly moved down, I heard the shy voice of the cobra. This man is so naughty, touching others there at the first meeting, and the other party is not even an adult yet. Men who get it easily don't cherish it so you must be careful. But the smell on him is really so pleasant. I really want to kiss him. Seeing the cobra suddenly open its mouth, I quickly pinched its mouth shut. No, you can't do that. If you bite me, I will die instantly. The cobra, with its mouth pinched shut, not only did not get angry, but also happily wagged its tail. Oh my, he touched the mouth. He is so gentle. I like it so much. I really want to have his babies. Hearing the voice of the cobra left me speechless for a moment. Underage girls really dare to say anything. People outside the mall saw that I had caught the cobra, and the firefighters quickly rushed to me, handing me a cage and saying, please put the cobra in here. We will contact the forestry and grassland department for handling. I took the cage, put the cobra in it, and took out my credentials. I am an expert in reptiles at the forestry department. You can leave this matter to me. The cobra complained. You smelly man. You just touched me and now you act like you don't know me. Putting me in this cold cage, I won't give birth to your babies. I ignored him, took him directly to the reptile house at the zoo, gently placed him in the enclosure, and saw the cobra happily moving around in the enclosure. Oh, this place is so comfortable. It's even a single room villa. He really loves me. Seeing how comfortable he was, I knew I had chosen the right enclosure. With a sigh, he said he wanted to have babies with me. I was truly speechless. This snake's temperament is too wild completely contrasting with its cute and lovely voice. I think it must be hungry. I threw a small mouse into the enclosure, and the mouse felt threatened, jumping around in the enclosure. What's this? The rolling cobra emerged, alertly assuming a fighting stance, sniffed the other's scent, and surprisingly found it to be food. Whimpering, it was so hungry, finally having something to eat. The cobra immediately rushed out, directly opening its huge mouth and swallowing it. At that moment, my phone kept vibrating. Upon checking, it turned out that the video of me catching the snake had gone viral. Opening the short video app, I saw the stark contrast between the unprotected hand and the cobra with its fangs bared, as if it would be bitten by the venomous snake in the next second. A WeChat message popped up. It turned out to be a friend named Qingshan whom I met while browsing reptile information online. Are you there, Mingu? You're the one catching snakes that's trending? Yes, it's me. That's great. Finally found a local reptile blogger. Castle Hill replied in a slightly agitated manner. Zhou Ming raised his eyebrows slightly. What was this trying to do? No sooner had this thought occurred than the chat box in the middle of typing continued to pop up with messages. Neru, there's something I need your help with. The old man of the house bought a spider outside by himself and was accidentally bitten. And when he was found the man was in a coma. 
the spider was also gone. The old man is currently in the hospital for emergency treatment, and we have no way of determining what species that spider is, so we'd like to ask you to come over and find the spider. Spider poisons can be broadly categorized into neurotoxins, hemolytic poisons, and mixed poisons according to their nature. Different toxins do different things to the body. Neurotoxins, for example, primarily cause the whole body to convulse and eventually die from lack of oxygen due to paralysis of the lungs. Circulating toxin, which primarily causes heart failure and death. Neurotoxins primarily cause the whole body to convulse and eventually die from lack of oxygen due to paralysis of the lungs. And a hybrid toxin is a combination of these two toxins. Each toxin in turn corresponds to a different anti-spider venom serum and treatment. Treating the toxin without being able to identify it as that toxin can lead to the development of anaphylactic shock. It's absolutely fatal to an old man. The house is now a mess. All desperately searching for the spider. Ching Cheng under the mountain coincidentally saw a friend sent over the popular video. Found that the other party is exactly their own no Jo Ming. And now is also sick and anxious. Holding the attitude of trying to ask him. Okay. Jo Ming immediately replied to his message. A man's life is at stake. Jo Ming asked seriously. Is there a picture of the spider? No. Sheng Cheng Shanxia anxiously said. This spider was bought by the old man himself. Always precious. No one in the family knows about it. That's a lot of trouble. But the other guy had been bitten by a poisonous spider and had to fight for his life. Did the spider run out? I don't think so yet. Spiders have a fear of light. It was still daylight when the old man realized he had been bitten. Plus he was discovered in time for that much commotion to be made. This spider shouldn't have a chance to get out. Castle Underhill said. That's why I'd like to ask you to come over and help find this spider. Besides for the sake of the old man, there was another important reason for not letting a poisonous spider loose out in the open. Otherwise one never knows when it's going to pop up and take a bite out of someone. It's too dangerous. I'm afraid that Zhou Ming won't agree. Ching Cheng Shanxia continued. Of course, I won't let you work for nothing. As long as you come over, whether you find it or not, I'll pay you half a million dollars. If you find it, not only will this half a million be given with both hands, but you will be given another thank you, half a million bucks, and whether or not you can find it, it's really a big deal under Castle Peak, but getting it right is a human life, and half a million dollars isn't much, the safari park has just set up a reptile house and is short of money and reptiles, with that half a million bucks, the reptile house could get some gear back, Zhou Ming returned without hesitation, could be, yes, seeing Zhou Ming's reply, Xing Cheng Shanxia couldn't wait to ask, where is your location, I'm going to pick you up right now, Zhou Ming sharply and dryly gave the address of the zoo under Qingcheng Mountain. Castle Hill looking down at this familiar and unfamiliar address. When did this zoo set up a reptile branch? How do you not know that yourself? Knowing the other party's confusion, Zhou Ming kindly explained. It's only been opened for a month. The reptile house is not open to the public for the time being. Zhou Ming wants to be open too. Unfortunately, the zoo is not giving a damn from the top. Reptile crawlers are not available. And funding money is scarce. Reptiles are. After all, a niche, and people prefer to see furry pandas and giraffes. Zhou Ming had a hard time applying for a branch library, but it's a bare bones commander. You're on your own. So it is. Under Castle Mountain realized. I'll head over there now. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. Good. Zhou Ming responded, and then dropped his gaze to the cobra that was already lying on its back. Drowsy. Eat well. Sleep well. What's going on? How come there's no snake? Let's play with another snake. Hooting and hollering. Zhou Ming, Jagged Snake, I had my eye on someone a moment ago, and now I'm having a change of heart, ha, watch as it doesn't even have to adjust to the change of scenery and curls up comfortably for a nap, he himself would have to go out later to look for spiders, and Zhou Ming's heart instantly failed him, he had bad intentions together, reaching out to the feeder, ow ow ow, earthquake, earthquake, the drowsy cobra erected its front body, the sides of the skin folds on its neck swelled and enlarged, and its vertical pupil stared cautiously at its external surroundings. Help! Help! A snake is dying. Boing boing. Humans! Help! Boing boing boing. The originator, Zhou Ming, was instantly relieved in his heart. Special tactics should be used when dealing with scum snakes who are not what they appear to be. It's time to straighten up and pacify. Rectification complete. Zhou Ming opened the lid of the feeder and reached out to gently stroke its tiny snake head. Feeling the soft and intimate scent. The cobra which had been panicking just a moment ago, quieted down as far as the naked eye could see. It rubbed against Zhou Ming's fingertips obediently. Zhou Chen seemed to see a little girl with red eyes, tearful eyes, and a quivering voice. Calling humans you're finally here. You scared the snakes to death just now. Snake snake scared. Zhou Ming was instantly heartbroken. What he had just done was really not a human thing. 
I can't believe I'm bullying a snake. But not even two seconds later, it was smug again. Humph. I didn't realize you were so concerned about this snake. Mm, you're very attentive to the changes in my moods. Soothing. Soothing. Zhou Ming. Damn. You're the one who hit the snake with the stick. Zhou Ming rolled his eyes and directly withdrew his hand. Definitely not to be spoiled. Noticing the hand on his spine retract. Cobra couldn't get enough. Alo? Go on. Go on. Snake isn't done enjoying himself yet. Zhou Ming coldly grunted. Want to be dissed? Dream on. It just so happens that it's about time for him to meet at the zoo entrance and under Castle Hill. The cobra looked at Zhou Ming's departing back and hung its snake head in disappointment, making a yelp and whimper sound. Da 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 da. Humans just coiled the snake snake and left no more. Yelp. Zhou Ming stumbled on his feet. Rub. You're just a snake. I'll lift the table. What the hell? Zhou Ming cursed in his mind as he walked to the entrance of the zoo. Chapter four. Is it a girl? Not to disbelieve, but to be cautious. Today is not the date of the holiday weekend. At the entrance of the safari park there were only a few scattered small couples, or young people with their elders in line to buy tickets. Zhou Ming stood alone in the doorway, a tall man with a straight back like a poplar. Very eye-catching. Z, a treasure blue, smooth-lined Maybach stopped in front of Zhou Ming. The windows are down, revealing a pretty face covered in anxious expressions. The eyes looked him up and down. Crawling favoring Mingo? Your. Zhou Ming looked at her with some surprise. Under Mount Qingcheng? He had never thought that there was actually a sister under Mount Qingcheng. Watching the videos shared and posted online by Qingqing Shima asterisk 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 a, he communicates rigorously and seriously, like an old pedant doing his studies in a curmudgeonly manner. He always thought it was a man under Castle Hill. It's me. Under Mount Qingcheng nodded slightly, and her slender fingers pressed a button inside the car, reminding, it's urgent, get in the car and talk about it. Simple and concise. Not a word more if you can say one less. Sure enough, it's the style under Mount Qingcheng. Zhou Ming did not doubt it and went around the front of the car, pulling open the door and sitting in the passenger side. The car was already speeding before I could even buckle my seatbelt. Time is of the essence. She spluttered. It's been half an hour since the old man was bitten, and it's been half an hour of the doctor's efforts to delay the symptoms. Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming nodded, without seeing the specific species of spiders. The doctor wouldn't dare to use the medicine freely. He was too calm and indifferent. Castle Peak unconsciously glanced at him. The man's eyebrows were straight. His eyes straight, his nose strong, his lips slightly pursed. It's more glamorous than what you see on popular videos. Castle Yama asterisk 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 A's grip on the steering will tighten slightly. Are you sure you can find the spider? I don't know yet. Zhou Ming couldn't pack his bags. If the spider was at home it was fine. If it ran out, it was like looking for a needle in a haystack. Obviously Qingcheng Shansha understood in his heart and answered in a low voice. Red light. The car stopped. Castle Yama asterisk 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 pursed her lips and kept tapping her fingers on the steering wheel. It's a little something she does when she's upset. Buzz. Cell phone messages kept vibrating. Qingcheng Shansha saw the note and immediately picked up his cell phone and tapped the message. And then clicked to enlarge the picture and handed it to Zhou Ming. The old man's condition after he was bitten. Zhou Ming's eyes narrowed slightly. There was a patch of skin on the old man's arm that was visibly swollen and slowly spreading over time, and right in the middle of the swelling could be seen two small, distinctive red dots, characteristic of the aftermath of a poisonous spider bite. Zhou Ming looked at it and asked, Is there a video? No, but I can just get him to turn on the video. Saying that, Castle Peak immediately tapped on the video call. The other end picked up quickly, aimed the video at the injured. Zhou Ming voiced a reminder. The man heard an unfamiliar voice and yelled, Who are you? Why do you have my sister's cell phone? Where is my sister? Castle Hill Down immediately said. He's the reptile expert I hired to point the camera at grandpa. Really? Such a young expert? Xiao Hao muttered, not even afraid of Zhou Ming hearing him. Still, the hand movements were dutifully aimed at the man in the hospital bed. The old man's face had taken on a greenish purple color, and his face was puffy and even slightly reflective. Zhou Ming probably had an idea, but it needed a final verification. He commanded. Go and feel if the clothes on the old man are wet. Clothes? Unsure of what to expect. How reached out and casually touched it. It's a little wet. It's a burrowing tarantula. Getting the answer to his question. Zhou Ming affirmed. You can have the doctor start the process. A burrowing tarantula? You didn't even see it live. You could tell just by looking at the video and touching the clothes. Ha! Huh? Xiao Hao immediately blew up. His grandfather is still lying in the hospital bed. The critical moment you look at two eyes haphazardly named a species of spiders on the line? Play with it? Xiao Hao said indignantly. Sister, where did you find this strange man? Does he have a license to see patients? Is he fooling you? 
There is. Zhou Ming pulled out a small, dark red book from his pocket, which had a few large, hot gold letters written on it. Xinzhou City Veterinary Practitioner's Qualification Certificate. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. Little Hao was shocked. His sister really did get a ING vet? Sis, what nook or cranny did you get this from? Next to her, Xincheng Shanxia's expression was slightly cold, and she laughed at Xiao Hao. Xiao Hao. And then turning to Zhou Ming, he asked, Brother Ming, how did you determine that it was a cave dwelling tarantula? Zhou Ming explained, Look for yourself. The injured person's face is bruised and swollen and he is sweating profusely, wetting all the clothes on his body, which is a very typical symptom of poisoning after being bitten by a burrowing tarantula. This, Xingcheng Shanxia did not expect Zhou Ming to distinguish what variety of spider bites the old man was bitten by just a few glances at the old man. Over the period of time that the two had known each other, Xingcheng Shanxia had also learned about Zhou Ming's ability, and as long as he opened his mouth, he had never said anything wrong about reptiles. But, not this time, the man lying in the hospital bed was her grandfather. If Zhou Ming had made an error in judgment and used the wrong anti-arachnoid serum, what happened to that old man? Under Castle Hill is completely unthinkable. She bit her lip tightly. Perhaps what I'm saying isn't always accurate. Zhou Ming can see the tangled under the Qingcheng Mountain, but can also understand the matter of their own loved ones anyone wants to be foolproof. Therefore, he chose to speak out to give Mount Qingcheng a step down. He spoke out to comfort. Although the caveman tarantula is one of the most ferocious spiders, after being bitten by it, it doesn't become poison straight away, and there's still a dozen or so hours of resuscitation time. Under Ma Qingcheng sniffed and blushed slightly. It wasn't that she didn't believe what Zhou Ming said, but she just wanted to be a bit more insured. I, the light is green. Zhou Ming spoke before she did. Good. Castle Under could only swallow the words that were already on the tip of his tongue and drove the car with all seriousness. All she was asking for now, was to hurry up and find the spider. Ten minutes later, the car stopped in front of the villa. The entrance to the villa was already a mess. The delicate noblewoman blanched. Find that spider quickly. The nanny driver and the others were commanded by her. All of them heavily armed as if they were enemies. None of them dared to go forward easily. Afraid of getting a bite from a poisonous spider that has run off to who knows where. That's killing me. Zhao Hui's chest rose and fell violently up and down. And she said urgently, call and urge the people from the fire department and the people from the pest removal company why don't they come? Yet? Mom. Xingcheng Shimao shouted at the woman and introduced Zhou Ming to her. This is the reptile expert I hired, specially here to help us find spiders. Reptile expert? Zhao Hui's suspicious eyes fell on Zhou Ming. His face was white and clean, and he looked civilized and polite. It doesn't look like a bug catcher. It looks like a house guest for tea. She looked at Zhou Ming questioningly. Where are your tools? If you don't bring tools to catch poisonous spiders, do you wait for the bite to send them to the hospital? It's not just coming over to add to the chaos. Chapter 5 Can we start working? It's going to be scary. Tools? Zhou Ming held up his own hands and waved. This is my tool. You don't wear bite-proof gloves? Bug nets? Bug catching bags? Zhao Hui had never seen such an unprofessional reptile expert. How dare you call yourself an expert when you don't carry anything and don't do anything to protect yourself? Zhao Hui's slightly annoyed brow furrowed. Nonsense. Your grandfather is in critical condition. And you let a man like that come to the house looking for some spider? Don't fail to find the spider and have to hitch a ride on another one. Usually you fool around even if it's okay. Now can you bring home anyone? Your grandfather's identity. In case he leaks the news out. Can you afford it? Mom. Under Mount Qingcheng pursed her lips as she glanced at Zhou Ming with some chagrin. In itself, Zhou Ming was suddenly grabbed by her to help. Yet her family and even herself doubted and even belittled him one after another. But anyone with a temper could shake it off right now. However. Zhou Ming still did not change his face and did not look angry at all. This made Qingcheng Shansha feel very guilty in his heart. Zhou Ming's ability to be the godfather in this circle is not an exaggeration. Qingcheng Shansha firmly said, Mom you believe me? He's not some messed up person. He's really an expert in the reptile industry. So many of you haven't found that spider. Why don't you let a professional do it? He's sure to find that spider. Well well well. Hearing her daughter's lengthy explanation, Zhao Hui waved her hand and looked at Zhou Ming with unintentional dislike in her eyes. What reptile expert? It's just a pet owner. And now all cats and dogs dare to call themselves experts. Your uncle said that he has brought an exterminator with him and will be here in a few minutes. They are definitely more resourceful and professional. That said, it's insulting for anyone. Not to mention Zhou Ming who was full of pride. Heads buzzed dash under Mount Qingcheng. Subconsciously, he went to look at Zhou Ming's face. It's okay. I'm not going to shrug it off when I promise you I'll help, and even if I die of poison, it'll take a dozen hours, I'm in no hurry, Zhou Ming's face did not change at all, and he had a very good-tempered demeanor, 
Just for the half a million dollars promised at the bottom of Castle Peak, he can wait a little longer too. Chao Ming like this, let the guilt in the heart of Castle Peak increase exponentially, Zhao Hui pointedly said. What do you mean? You cursed our old man to have an accident. What are you? You, eyeing Zhao Hui. He got up unforgivingly. Qingcheng Shanxia was thoroughly annoyed. She said in a strong tone, I've invited all the people. Even if you want to let uncles those pest removal experts take a shot, you wouldn't mind a little bit more chances, right? Grandpa's side can also be saved faster. Minimize the effects of the toxins on his body. What's more, no one has been brought over from my uncle's side yet. Do you want to keep stalling and leave the old man in the hospital waiting for a pest control company that doesn't know where it is yet? That's true. Although Zhao Hui didn't believe Zhou Ming, her daughter spoke with such conviction, as if she trusted the other party very much. Plus the old man is really still waiting to be saved. Rather, it would be better to let him try. Even if you can't find it, there's a pest control company coming behind you. Seeing this, Xingcheng Shanxia hammered out. Then it's decided. Let the person I invited try first. Zhao Hui though her expression was still somewhat reluctant, but didn't say anything in rebuttal anymore, obviously acquiescing to the proposal under Castle Peak. Seeing this, Zhou Ming asked out loud, So, I can start working now? Well, that'll do. Castle Hill responded, That's good. Zhou Ming pointed his finger at the heavily armed crowd in the villa and said, Tell everyone in the house to come out and stand far away, preferably without making any noise. I can find it alone. The biggest and most unifying characteristic of reptiles is that they love silence. The quieter it is, the safer it will make them feel. And the tarantula is characterized by good running, agile action, sexual ferocity and so named. It's okay if it's on the edge of your own nest. Like today, the more noise they make, the more it irritates them. Humans have a stress response, and so do animals. Listening to Zhou Ming's rightful command, the head butler glanced at Zhao Hui. A man? How can you find spiders that are only a few centimeters long in a villa that covers almost a thousand meters? Zhao Hui was about to raise her voice in question. Xingcheng Mountain had already said, people are withdrawing. It wasn't true that Zhao Hui was the hostess, but she was also the host under Mount Xingcheng, and she was also the granddaughter who was highly favored by the old man. The voice in the company, too, is the highest. The crowd immediately came out of the villa. Zhou Ming swept his sight. It was so crowded. So many people still want to go looking for cave-dwelling tarantulas? Dream on, when the people are out. Zhou Ming walked towards the villa unhurriedly. Wait. Qingcheng Shanxia reached out and tugged Zhou Ming's arm, advising in a low voice. You'd better bring your gloves and insect traps with you, just in case. No need. Zhou Ming sharply refused, his voice full of concern for the cave-dwelling tarantula, taking these things will make it afraid. It's a burrowing tarantula? Scared? Qingcheng Mountain froze. It's supposed to be them who are scared that it will poison them. Just in the moment she was stunned. Zhou Ming had already stepped into the villa's living room. The living room is huge. It has been designed by the designer in a staggered way. With all the functional areas being very well organized. There are also ink drawings on the walls. One of them is also an authentic painting by Qi Baishir. Paintings that should be exhibited in museums are just hung on the walls as decorations. It seems that the owner of this home is of a very unusual status. Yelp. Not two steps into the living room. Zhou Ming heard a thin, tiny voice. The owner of the voice was startled. There was a slight sob in the softness. Weak and small. The voice trembled. And it was easy to raise the desire to protect. It's just that the villa covers such a large area. And there are three levels up and down. With just this one voice, Zhou Ming had no way to locate exactly where it was. Naru. Qingcheng Shanxia's heart thumped as he took a step slower to follow Zhou Ming. I'm with you. She trusted Zhou Ming. But all the same, Zhou Ming was invited by her and she had to ensure Zhou Ming's safety. Shu, Zhou Ming turned his head, reached out and placed his index finger on Qingcheng Shanxia's lips, reminding, keep your voice down. Feeling the warmth and slightly rough touch on her lips, Castle Yama asterisk 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 gaze beautiful eyes widened slightly. It was the first time a man had touched her lips. He, Zhou Ming held his breath, trying to find that one faint sob again. I couldn't hear it anymore. Think of that one soft voice. Disappointment surged uncontrollably in Zhou Ming's heart and even his face was stained for a few moments. Chapter 6 to find a spider stumbling around at such an old age and having babies. What's going on? Noticing the change in Zhou Ming's face, Qingcheng Shanxia looked at him in puzzlement. It was then that Zhou Ming noticed that his finger was still resting on Qingcheng Shanxia's lips. The woman's lips were full and pretty, with a light layer of lipstick. At the moment the lipstick was slightly rubbed off on him. Excuse me. Zhou Ming retracted his hand and explained. Although the cave-dwelling tarantulas look ferocious, they are actually particularly timid, and spiders that are frightened will hide in corners, circle into a ball, 
and wrap themselves up in a web. If you're continually frightened, you're likely to die of fright. Those people have just scared the caveman tarantula, and we'll have to move gently if we want to find it. Under the castle mountain. Thanks to all the reptiles she prided herself on breeding, she'd forgotten even that. She blushed sardonically and nodded. But where should we look in such a big villa? Where was the old man bitten? Zhou Ming asked. Now that the burrowing tarantula was completely silent, the only thing to do was to go to the place of the crime and look for clues first. Second floor study. Show me. Good. Qingcheng Shanxia led Zhou Ming upstairs, and the room closest to the stairs was the study. The door to the study was firmly shut. Open the door under Castle Hill. Brothers, we're all born from the same root. So what's the rush? Brother, I have an 80-year-old mother and a 3-year-old child. Come over here, if you dare. Rude. No wonder the striped green crab spider next door can't see you. What are you talking about? Don't think you can look down on us domestics just because you're foreign. Speak well in your spider language before you say anything. That's it. That's it. Yuck. I'm hungry. Give me something to eat. Where's the old man? Where's the old man? If I starve to death, I'll die with the humans. The chaotic sounds all at once poured into Zhou Ming's ears. The sound of goons begging for mercy. The sound of grumpy fights. And the sound of people watching and jumping up and down on the fire. Zhou Ming. You guys are chatting quite a bit, huh? Why don't you come in? Xingcheng Shanxiao looked at Zhou Ming, who was still standing in the doorway, and looked at him strangely, seeing Zhou Ming's serious expression. Could it be that he had found some clues? Not yet. Zhou Ming looked up and saw her inquiring expression and explained, and then set his eyes in front of one of the giant spiders in the aquascape box, the very same spider that had been thinking about the old man. The old man in their mouths would be the grandfather under Castle Peak. Got any food? Zhou Ming twisted his head to ask her. Castle Hill nodded. Yes. Then he handed the box containing the barley worms to Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming took the tweezers and placed the wriggling barley worm into the giant spider's aquascape box. I, you're enjoying yourself. Grandpa Spider, you're getting what you want. Zhou Ming. And Grandpa Spider? Sure enough he still likes soft and cuddly females. The voice was soft and sticky. And just listening to it was a pleasure. It's not like the one in front of me. You know it's a keyed spider as soon as he opens his voice. The giant spider cheerfully waved its front claws to hold down the writhing barley worm. Flashing the pair of sharp occlusal pincers on its head and gnawing down on the barley worm. Venom injection. The barley worm's body wiggled violently. But it still couldn't resist the toxin. And after two seconds it was completely motionless. Wahahaha. Yes gotta your grandpa spider awesome. That's delicious. I wonder if that little tarantula has anything to eat. Tarantula. Zhou Ming keenly locked onto the words mentioned by the other party. Hey. Want to leave a little bit? Wait until the two humans are gone. Then tell the little tarantula to call out from under the floor. Well. Can can. I'm too old to find a spider and have a baby. Just in time to trick the little tarantula into staggering around in my old man's big donut field. <laughs> the giant spider rubbed his hands 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 excitedly, looking forward to a better tomorrow. Zhou Ming. Ah this, is that okay to say? However, from amongst the giant spider's heartbeat, Zhou Ming obtained an important piece of news. The burrowing tarantula is still in the den. Ha, huh? the cool and pretty face under Mount Qingcheng was stunned. Zhou Ming hasn't read anything yet, and he's so sure? Zhou Ming didn't explain. Because the giant spider in front of them was looking at them annoyingly. Why aren't these two humans leaving yet? Delaying me from falling in love with my favorite tarantula. If you don't leave, I'll bite you to death. Zhou Ming. What an animal. You're both spiders. But you're not the same species. You want to have baby spiders with him? You're trying to turn the tables. Is that your favorite? You're craving someone else's body. You're cheap. Seeing a clean little tarantula about to be spoiled. Zhou Ming took the feeding tweezers and badgered the remaining half of the barley worm in the giant spider's arms. Noticing that the barley worm he was going to leave for the young tarantula to prepare as a bride price was being pinched away, the giant spider swung its claws. Spider's mouth? I'll bite you to death. The giant spider whimpered and yelled trying to give Zhou Ming a shot. But Zhou Ming had been on guard, and his hand with the tweezers quickly retracted. It didn't give it a chance to attack itself at all. The giant spider could only watch as its uneaten barley worm was taken away by Zhou Ming and was so angry that it was splashing around in the aquascape box. I should have known I'd eaten it all. Blood loss. Little tarantula. It's not that I won't leave you a bite to eat. It's just that these humans are too cunning. How can you take back what you gave the spider? Ah. Full of piercing screams. Zhou Ming seemed to see the bear child who fell to the ground and rolled around to buy snacks. Definitely not to be spoiled. Zhou Ming dropped the barley worm into the box and closed the lid. And then he said to the bottom of Castle Mountain. Look for the floor cracks. Spiders love to drill holes and build burrows. 
There's no way to make a hole in the study. So it would have been hidden among the floor cracks. Okay. Under Mao Qingcheng nodded and started searching with Zhou Ming. What are these two humans doing? What are these two humans doing? The giant spider that was spilling its guts realized that no one was paying attention to it. And for a while, it also felt that it had lost its sense of fun. Eyes open. He watched as the two men crouched down and searched carefully for something. Leaning curiously over the glass of the aquascape box. Is it possible that you're looking for a baby tarantula? Heck. They wouldn't have guessed that the little tarantula was hiding in a crack in the floor behind the cabinet. The cabinet? Zhou Ming stood up in a flash. There are two cabinets against the wall. Which one exactly? Ow? The giant spider was startled when it saw Zhou Ming suddenly stand up. Again. I saw the other man about to walk over one of the cabinets. It grunted coldly. I'm not going to tell you it's under the other cabinet. Hey. 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 You take your time finding it. Let you take away my barley bugs. Blah. 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 Oh. Turns out it was under another cabinet. Zhou Ming immediately lifted his leg and walked to another cabinet. The giant spider had screamed and. Asterisk 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 asterisk. What's wrong with this human? So accurate? Ah ah. My daughter-in-law. The giant spider raised its volume and screamed at the bottom of the cabinet in a tearful voice. Little tarantula. Run for your life. Humans are coming to get you. Run. Chapter 7, Socially Terrified Tarantula. Grumpy Red Rose Pouncing Bird Spider. Rub. This thing comes with a ventilator. Ha. Huh? Zhou Ming's expression was aghast. That's not good. Yelping. Someone's coming. The delicate, trembling voice resumed. The frightened cave-dwelling tarantula lost all three of its souls and asked in a six-fold manner. Red brother. Me? Where do I run? I don't dare to go out. It's so dangerous out there. Brother Red. The screaming should have been the giant spider. Its species is the red rose puffer spider, which is native to the deserts of Chile and is a type of cave spider. The adult cephalothorax is about 7 to 8 centimeters in total length and 10 to 15 centimeters in full length. The body is covered with dark reddish fuzz, especially above the cephalothorax, which is a dark purplish red color. It is very beautiful like a rose. It is highly ornamental, and it is not demanding, adaptable and docile. Ah, uh, the point about temperament being docile remains to be considered. At least this cranky red big brother is not tame at all. However, the burrowing tarantula's voice is too low. The grumpy red rose puffing bird spider didn't even hear it. Still yelling desperately. Run for your life. Little tarantula. Run. The burrowing tarantula panicked even more. Sobbing in panic. Woo. What should we do? So many people. So scared. The red rose bird pouncing spider is still yelling. What are you afraid of? If you can't get away, just swing your claws up in him. Pivoting up. Let's kill him. Let the humans know how powerful we spiders are. The burrowing tarantula isn't sure if she's listening or not. And is still panicking. Oh where to run? Run left. The red rose fluttering bird spider hates iron. The left side is that way. People. People are approaching. The burrowing tarantula calls and trembles and cries. The red rose puffing bird spider grumpily swung its claws. Asterisk 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 him. Rushing up. Bite his neck. Take a big bite. The burrowing tarantula whimpered and sobbed. Brother red. People. Humans are too tall to bite the neck. Burrowing tarantula furious, yen. And, and. Zhou Ming. He has six points to make. What's this? Do you realize you're a burrowing tarantula? What about the burrowing tarantula's poker face as the most venomous spider? Research has shown that cave-dwelling tarantulas are very aggressive, and killing each other is a common phenomenon, especially for two to three-year-olds. When adult females meet, they will push each other with their forelegs raised, open their calissary in a threatening manner, and then bite each other. Of course if one of the parties retreats and flees, the other is not in hot pursuit. Zhou Ming guessed that this cave-dwelling tarantula was quick to admit its weaknesses in order to survive until now. Zhou Ming slowly stepped forward, gently moved the cabinet out of the way, trying to get myself to unleash the maximum amount of affinity out. Be good and I won't hurt you. Zhou Ming knelt down on one knee and turned his head sideways to see the cave-dwelling tarantulas crawling all over the floor through the gap in the removed cabinet. The little guy struggled to keep himself hidden underneath the cracks in the cabinets and the floor. But as Zhou Ming moved, the cabinet was moved away, exposing it again. The burrowing tarantula whimpered and crawled inside. Zhou Ming moved away. The burrowing tarantula continues to crawl. Zhou Ming continued to move away, yelping, Why 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 does it keep moving? So, so scary. I, 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 I can't breathe. The burrowing tarantula finally stopped, panicking more than a heartbeat its heartbeat trembling and on the verge of being out of tune, yelping, so scary, there's no point in feeling safe, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, help, 
The burrowing tarantula cried out twice handily, and realizing that it wasn't of any use, it simply stopped crawling, and ran straight back to the place where it had just snailed, and stuck its head in the middle of the thin crack in the corner of the wall. Zhou Ming was but a blink of an eye, and it had already burrowed in. That's how fast a burrowing tarantula should be. Zhou Ming marveled. Found it? Qingcheng Shanxia had noticed when Zhou Ming moved the cabinet. Seeing Zhou Ming kneeling on one knee at this moment, he immediately asked. Aha! Zhou Ming looked at the burrowing tarantula that was cowering in the cracks of the floor. And for a moment, he was also in a dilemma. This gap is too narrow. It can only hold it one spider. There was simply no room left for him to strike. It was also found under Castle Peak. Suggested. Should I use tweezers to get it out? That's fine. But this burrowing tarantula can't be frightened anymore. Zhou Ming frowned and looked at it with a guilty conscience. He really didn't expect that this learned burrowing tarantula was actually a sociopath. Social terrorism. Can you believe a spider that's socially terrified? Did you just see it? Sure it was a burrowing tarantula? Castle Hill asked excitedly. Can we finally be sure? It's the burrowing tarantula. There's no mistaking it. Zhou Ming pointed at the long legs of the caveman tarantula that hadn't retracted. Look at the fluff on its legs. No spider will have fluff as beautiful as it. Zhou Ming had once carefully studied to distinguish between spider species. Some of them don't just have fluff on them. They have spikes. The fuzz on each species is different again. For example, the fuzz on a cave tarantula looks like a wolf's hair. Ha! Huh? Castle Peak was literally frozen underneath. Is there so much to say about just plain old fluff? Sure enough, professionals and her, who was just a mere hobbyist, were just not the same. Qingcheng Shanxia turned his head sideways and looked at Zhou Ming's upright and serious side face. The heart thumped. Chao Ming reminds, having identified the specific spider species, we can now get the hospital to save it. Ha! Huh? Oh! Qingcheng Mountain's always cold and frosty pretty face slightly reddened. Hurriedly, he pulled out his cell phone to call Xiao Hao who was in the middle of the hospital. As soon as the call was answered, Castle Peak couldn't wait to say, Xiao Hao, it has been determined that the spider is a burrowing tarantula. You can just have the doctor use the anti-arachnoid serum. Really? A strange yet familiar voice came from the other end of the line. Castle Hill looked at the screen of his cell phone and made sure that it was displaying Xiao Hao's phone number. Uncle Junior? Why are you the one who answered the phone? Where's Xiao Hao? Forget about where Xiao Hao is for now. You first give me the picture of the spider. I'll have the experts I know determine what species it is, Xin Zhengxian said loudly. Photos? Castle Mountain subconsciously looked at the slit, and from his angle he could only see a dark mass. How's this for a picture? Even if you take a picture, you can't see it at all. Uncle Junior, the picture isn't available for a while, but we've seen it. It is indeed a burrowing tarantula all right. We'll take a picture and send it to you when we catch it. Castle Hill negotiated the way down. Didn't catch it? Xin Zhengxuan's voice increased all of a sudden. You know how fast a cave-dwelling tarantula is? Just by taking a look at it you can be sure it's it? Chapter 8, The Little Spider of Social Fear I didn't determine that. The reptile expert I hired did. Castle Underhill explained. But don't worry, he's a little-known name in the industry and is very well-versed in reptiles. What's the name? Does it work at the institute? Xin Zhengxian asked nonchalantly. Xingcheng Shanxia awkwardly glanced at Zhou Ming on her side. She wasn't sure if the other party had heard the voice in the cell phone. She explained in a low voice to the other end of the line, Little uncle, he, Xiao Yu, I know what you mean, but it's about your grandfather's health. We should all be cautious. You've got time to persuade me. Why don't you get that darn spider first? Under the castle mountain. Uncle Junior, you can let Xiao Hao answer the phone. He's not in. Xin Zhengxian refused. No matter what you say, Xiao Hao's thoughts must be the same as mine. The old man's matter must be treated with caution. Under Mount Qingqing's brow wrinkled tightly. Before she could organize her words again, there was a cacophony of voices on the other end of the line. The patient's blood pressure is elevated and he's having trouble breathing. Pulse is weakening. Prepare for. Get on ventilator. Drip drip drip. The sound of cluttered footsteps was followed by the voice of an unfamiliar male doctor asking. Mr. Chu, haven't you determined exactly what type of spider it is? Under Castle Hill had his ear pressed against his cell phone, trying to want to hear exactly what was going on on the other side of the room. However, deep later. The phone hung up straight away. Grandpa. Castle Shimo shouted at the cell phone that had cut off the call. The screensaver went off and the darkened screen reflected her eager and anxious expression. She looked at Zhou Ming and eagerly urged. You must help me. Hurry up and get this spider out. Her voice had rushed out in tears. Zhou Ming gave a soothing cry. Don't worry. What are they trying to do? Why don't you leave? Spider's legs are going numb. The learning tool tarantula heard the sound from under Mount Qingcheng and immediately shrunk itself nervously. The red rose bird trapping spider next to him yelled in a raspy voice. Grandma, 
What are you guys doing surrounding the little wimp? If you have the ability to come and arrest me, grandpa will immediately teach you to be human. Don't be afraid, daughter-in-law. I'll be right there, said, clunking his head against the big wall in the aquascape box. The burrowing tarantula retorted weakly. I'm not your daughter-in-law, Zhou Ming. Is that what's important at this point? But, it doesn't look so scared anymore. Zhou Ming took the tweezers he had just fed with and gently reached into the gap, forcing the burrowing tarantula to come out. Yikes. The burrowing tarantula struggled to shrink its body. However, Zhou Ming's slow approach forced her to move out of the middle of the gap one step at a time. Seeing that most of his body was going to be exposed, the burrowing tarantula whimpered and cried harder, living like a little girl being bullied by a bad guy. Bad. Bad man. I'm 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 getting kicked out. Run. Run. I want to run. The burrowing tarantula quickly judged his current situation before noticing the window in the wall. There. If I run fast enough, I can make it over there. The burrowing tarantula made its own quick judgment. As Zhou Ming continued to push forward with the clip, it waved its paw and ran towards the window with a whimper. Close. Closer. The burrowing tarantula looked at the impending finish line and was too excited to care about calling. However, Cho predicted its readiness from among the freshmen before it was too late. The big hand stops early in its path of necessity. Ouch. The burrowing tarantula slammed headfirst into Zhou Ming's palm. A moment of fuming. Qingcheng Mountain held his breath and lifted this heart to watch Zhou Ming's movements. Is he crazy? Reaching straight out to block the way of a cave-dwelling tarantula all the way? Wasn't he really afraid of a direct bite from a caveman tarantula? Zhou Ming looked at the burrowing tarantula that had crashed into him. Its two front paws swung uncontrollably. The light is just right here. The walls are also white. It was possible to see the little cave-dwelling tarantula in all its glory. The burrowing tarantula belongs to the order Arachnida, family Lycosidae, genus Lycosidae, and is a large venomous spider. Female spiders are 28 to 40 millimeters long, weighing 2.6-7.0 g, with a pear-shaped cephalothorax and oval abdomen. Dorsal surface of the whole body gray-black or gray-brown, with black, brown, and white radial spots in the middle, covered with gray-yellow hairs on both sides, densely covered with small black spots on the dorsal surface, with black-brown cardinal spots in the middle and six pairs of yellow-white muscular spots, and with densely covered with black hairs on the thoracic plate and ventral surface of the abdomen. It's beautiful. This burrowing tarantula was the most standard-looking one Zhou Ming had ever seen, but at the same time, and the wimpiest. The little girl at this moment has been panicked on the wall. Zhou Ming seems to see her open round watery big eyes panicked. Her eyes were red and overflowing with water vapor, and her tears were like pearls on a broken string, hooting and hollering down her face. Ooh hoo. So scared. So scared so scared. I'm so scared ah oh. Am I going to die? Too nervous to move at all. I can't feel my paws. It's so cute. The crying was also small and weak and not at all annoying. Instead, a strong desire for protection rises. It really wanted to be appeased and pacified. Even if it wanted the moon in the sky, Zhou Ming could think of something for it. Zhou Ming felt as if something was wrong with him, but it was unexpectedly fun. This this this. As Qingcheng Shanxia watched Zhou Ming jerking his cat and dog-like movements, the burrowing tarantula was actually still hanging steadily on the wall, not moving with it at all. If she hadn't just seen how fast the other party really was, Castle Peak would have thought it was a specimen. Zhou Ming did not rush to gather it in the palm of his hand. Instead, he tentatively reached out with one fingertip and gave its back a gentle squeeze. Yikes. I'm a spider. I'm mean. Humans don't touch me. A delicate, timid exclamation. It's still unexpectedly cute. Seeing that it had no intention of resisting in shock, Zhou Ming continued to reach out. This time, Zhou Ming's hand lingered longer on its spine, as if petting a small animal. How? What's going on? What are you doing? The burrowing tarantula shook its body, and its voice became sweet and soft, like frosting too thick to melt. A smirk swept across Zhou Ming's eyes. Oh, my god, is this what it's like to be picked up by a human's big hands? No, no, I'm a spider. I have to keep my distance from humans. The burrowing tarantula grunted, but its body rubbed towards Zhou Ming's warm fingers. The smile under Zhou Ming's eyes became more and more obvious. Little things, tough talk is not a good habit. Yikes. Yay. Yay. The burrowing tarantula whimpered. The feeling of being pampered by a human. I really like it. What's wrong with me? With me. How did this happen? Am I being held? Yikes. You 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 you. Qingcheng Shanxia watched Zhou Ming's movements, his beautiful eyes glaring. What's wrong? Zhou Ming was having fun with the burrowing tarantula. What's going on? And you ask me what's wrong? Underneath Mount Qingcheng, his brows tightly furrowed into a small mountain, stunned and speechless, burrowing tarantulas, the most venomous kind of spider. You 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 just go ahead and jerk off? 
you're a real old man eating arsenic, living beyond your means. Chapter 9 Humans have too much force. Do you want to come and touch it? Zhou Ming invited. The small cave-dwelling tarantula has a layer of downy hair on its back, as if it were wearing a thin layer of fur. The feel of it is very nice. The tarantula's velvet hairs are defensive and specialized for protection. The original purpose was to create a deterrent noise to deter predators. But now, Zhou Ming touched it again. It's so cozy. Other than being a tiny bit small, the feel really can't be beat. Yeah, I, 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 I. Ah, humans you rub people's heads gently ah, woo woo, the burrowing tarantula grunted in comfort, as Zhou Ming withdrew his finger, it still clung on and chased after him, going, going where, it reached out its claws to pick at Zhou Ming's fingers and rubbed up against them with a whimper, don't go, don't, arachnid wants to stay with you all the time, all the time, all the time, Zhou Ming, suddenly, I feel like I'm being cheated on, but who could stand up to the soft, sticky and well behaved pouting? The face of Qingcheng Mountain, who had carefully observed Zhou Ming's face and watched all of this, changed instantly. Have you been bitten? She then said that Zhou Ming would definitely be bitten when he stroked the cave-dwelling tarantula so arrogantly. No. Zhou Ming let out a light laugh. It's just that this little thing, it seems to like me, obviously shy in nature, but kept yelling at him not to leave. It's still a lovely contrast. Under the castle mountain, hmm, the wheels of the car seemed to run right over the face. She cleared her throat, let's hurry up and get it. There's no better time than now. Zhou Ming let out a hum and was about to reach out and pinch the other small body when he suddenly remembered and reminded. Why don't you take a picture and send it to the hospital first? Yes. Under Mount Qingcheng nodded and busily took out his own cell phone. Turning on the photo function. Aimed squarely at the moment of the burrowing tarantula. Knock. 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 A sharp, strong footstep came from outside the study. Clang. There was a loud bang. The door to the room was pushed open with great force. Hitting the wall. The burrowing tarantula on the wall bared itself and slithered away in an instant. Zhou Ming was caught off guard and could only watch as it ran off and hid in the corner of nowhere. Yelp. Bad 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 coming. Good bad good bad. Here come the bad guys who don't give food. Bad guy bad guy. Not giving food. Yelping. This time. Crying harder and breaking down than before. It's in a lot of shock. Zhou Ming's heart instantly followed and clenched up. Heartache. It's just too heartbreaking. In the meantime. Castle Hill Down hurriedly clicked on his photo album, full of anticipation. Paste. The moment the burrowing tarantula was startled, it instantly fled, faster than before by more than just a fraction of a second. Cell phone cameras are so bad at capturing action footage that all that's left is a sepia-toned, blurry photo. Almost. It's that close. Qingcheng Mountain's face was instantly gloomy. Sharp eyes fixed on the visitor at the study door. Who? Didn't I say no one was to be disturbed? Obviously. Obviously it was close enough to shoot. The heart under Mount Qingcheng was filled with chagrin and anger. It's me. Standing behind the crowd. Zhao Weigua stood out. Zhao Weigua looked at the two men with a kind smile on his face. Why are you so angry? Did you not find it? It's okay. Your mom told me everything just now. Just now there was no way to let this what expert come up to catch it. And it was normal that he couldn't catch it. Now that the pest control companies are here. It's just a matter of getting them to look for it. Qingcheng Shanxia's pretty face sank even further. She sneered. If you had come a second later, the spider would have caught it already. Can't say for sure. The hospital can start saving lives now. Yeah? So you've seen the spiders? Zhao Weigua was a bit surprised and eagerly pursued. What kind of breed is it? Did you take a picture? No. Castle Hill said with disappointment. It's a blurry shot. I can't tell exactly what species it is just by looking at the photo. Oh, so that's it. Zhao Weigua said incoherently. And reassured her. Let the people I brought find it. You guys go down and rest. In this gap between the two chatting, Zhou Ming's ears were all filled with yelps and whimpers. I'm, I'm scared. I didn't mean to bite. I haven't eaten in a long, long time and I'm so hungry. I've tried to control it. Whoops. I'm the good spider. Not a bad guy. Don't destroy me. Woo woo woo. Among the little spider's intermittent cries, combined with what he had said when he had just found him at the bottom of Qingcheng Mountain, a terrifying thought floated through Zhou Ming's mind. Could it be that the Zhao Weigui in front of him had given this most poisonous cave-dwelling tarantula to the old man? And, in presenting it to the old man, he made a point of starving the little spider for a long time. It made it unable to control its instincts in the midst of hunger and bit the old man directly. Reptile pets generally don't eat too much. Spiders, in particular, eat only one or two meals a month and can go on a hunger strike for up to two months. A hunger strike, however, is a stress response that occurs only after the spider has been startled. From the heart of this little spider, it had been artificially starved for a long time before it got here. 
even remembered the taste of starving your own people. Many people assume that spiders can't smell, but they actually have a very developed sense of smell and are sensitive to odors. You can get a clear picture of what odors are toxic and what odors are non-toxic, because most spiders don't have very good eyesight. Many sensory hairs grow on the spider's limbs. It is these sensory hairs that sense minute changes in the air. It's the most important sense organ for spiders. Zhou Ming was thinking about things on his side. Over there, Castle Peak is still on a collision course with Zhao Weigua. I don't agree with the mass spreading of the potion. The odor of the potion must have stimulated the spider to go mad. And if it didn't die and escape from this room instead, how are we going to find it? Once it happens, it will waste even longer. Grandpa is so old. One more second of waiting is a critical moment. Don't worry. This team I've got is very experienced and will block it out of the room. Zhao Weiguo was full of assurance. Besides, could it have come out without spraying it? So, it's still my idea that's the best. Just sprinkle more medicine if you can't be poisoned. But what if, in the face of his grandfather, Castle Peak didn't even want to gamble on the possibility of an unlikely outcome? She looked to Zhou Ming. Just now, Zhou Ming was certain that the spider was in the room before he even entered the door. Not only did he find the burrowing tarantula hidden underneath the cabinet at once, but he also directly jerked the spider with his bare hands. Someone who can make even spiders rub themselves voluntarily. Surely we can find it again. The crying and whining in Zhou Ming's ears hadn't stopped, and the little spider was crying so hard that she was practically on her back, full of aggression. Zhou Ming's heart clenched. Looking back down Castle Hill, he assured, Give me ten minutes and I can find it. Ten minutes? Zhao Weigua snorted. Are you playing? Ten minutes isn't enough for a shot. Well, otherwise, try it. Zhou Ming was calm and relaxed, looking like he was winning. It can't really be some kind of expert, can it? Zhao Weigua narrowed his eyes and cautiously sized up Zhou Ming in front of him. Ten minutes? It's just that the best bug hunters can't catch it. But what if, if he does catch it? Zhao Weigua had a face that pulled straight down. Don't you delay here. I'm going to have someone come to work, seeing that the other party must put the little spider to death. Zhou Ming sank for the first time. What? You won't give me 10 minutes? Or are you afraid that I will? Indeed. Find the little spider in those 10 minutes? Let the hospital save the old man successfully? Chapter 10 Being able to be with my master doesn't scare me at all. You? What do you mean? How could I not want the hospital to save the old man? Zhou Ming that last sentence. It made Zhao Weigua's heart skip a beat. I remember seeing an interesting movie a while back. Zhou Ming slowly said, There was a man who wanted to hijack a huge fortune that didn't belong to him and purposely gave the rich man a black mamba viper. That black mamba was starved for many days, and the rich man who didn't know anything about it opened the feeder to feed it, only to be bitten by the hungry black mamba, a bite on the wrist. The black mamba is the world's top 10 deadliest venomous snake. Its toxicity is so strong that people talk about it. It only takes 0.05 milligrams, and 15 minutes of cardiotoxin can cause direct respiratory failure until death. At the same time, it is the fastest moving snake in the world and its prey has no chance of escape. Not to mention humans. Zhou Ming slowly stepped forward and walked straight to Zhao Weigua. Smilingly, he picked up the next sentence. Straight up rich man's life. Zhao Weigua's pupils dilated instantly. The muscles in his face twitched slightly and uncontrollably. Him. He knows. No. It can't be. How would he know? Zhao Weigua was having a heavenly battle inside. And Chao Ming. His eyes narrowed slightly. His sharp eyes staring at Zhao Weigua. His tiny reaction had given him the answer. Zhou Ming no longer continued to move forward. Stand still. Don't be nervous. The story just popped into my head. After all, the black mamba isn't for anyone to catch. Zhou Ming's expression was very regretful. That was a very cute little guy. Cute. Cute. Uing said a deadly viper was cute. Are you crazy or are you crazy? The muscles on Zhao Weigua's face trembled uncontrollably as he looked at Zhou Ming with eyes filled with unbelievable shock. Well, it's like this burrowing tarantula. Zhou Ming looked at him with a smirk. It seems like it was also given to the old man by someone, right? I wonder who it is. What a coincidence. If the gift had been a black mamba, the old man would already be gone. Yeah, why didn't he think of that? A dark current flashed under Zhao Weigua's eyes. Zhou Ming was keenly aware of this and snorted. Call the man stupid. He knows to send poisonous spiders in such numbers as the burrowing tarantula. Call him smart. All it takes is for someone with an eye to find out who bought it and passed it on to whom. But... If only he hadn't been able to hear the little tarantula's heart. How could he have thought that the person in front of him was actually that ambitious again? Also, yeah, blame the killing on a spider that can't talk. It's the best. After all, who can blame the person who delivered for the bite? Can't, if not yourself. This little social terrorist spider. I can't say I've been wiped out. Zhou Ming's expression was ice cold. 
Now, can I have 10 minutes? Zhao Weigua clenched his teeth. Castle Peak has already given the order, get out. Grandpa is still waiting in his hospital bed. Can't waste any more time. Zhao Weigua was not willing. According to that old man's physique, the longer it drags on, the more likely that. Luna, you, get out. Xingcheng Shanxia strained her pretty face, not giving him the slightest bit of face, and said forcefully, Uncle, this is my home. She makes the call. You don't want me to have someone come up and pull you away, do you? Zhao Weigua. He cursed. Good, good. I've really fed my good intentions to a donkey. Walk. Let's go and let her and this bull asterisk 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 expert catch it. I'll see what you can catch out in 10 minutes. The line came up in a hurry and went down in a huff. The study was finally quiet. Castle Hill turned his head and was about to open his mouth. You get out too. Zhou Ming said. Castle Peak? Don't you need her help? Zhou Ming could see her doubts. No. I'll just come alone. He's had too much shock. He won't come out while you're standing here. By the way. Leave your cell phone. I'll take a picture of it later. There were no words for a moment under Mount Qingcheng, but she chose to believe Zhou Ming. She put down her cell phone. Good. Zhao Weigua saw her coming down the stairs, eyebrows raised upwards at the show. One man. Ten minutes? He's sure not going to find it. Under Mao Qingcheng's expression was slightly cold. The palms of his hands hidden at his side clenched nervously. The voice remained muted. I trust him. Xu Ming, don't you ever let me down. Meh. Zhao Weigua snorted. Already certain in his heart that the other party was an expert who had come to scam money. And so it was. He relaxed instantly. Zhao Hui muttered in dissatisfaction. You you, what are you doing letting this person waste time up there? Do you know that time is life? Just let the people your uncle hired go straight up to exterminate the insects. You, under the castle mountains. It's the same thing again. Under castle stood up in annoyance. Not really wanting to pay attention. Okay. A light, breezy voice came up the stairs. It's Chao Ming. What's better? Zhao Weigua stood up from his chair with a sudden labor and looked at him with white eyes. You caught it? Caught that spider? Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming handed the cell phone in his hand to Qingcheng Shansha. The photos were taken several times. Take a look. This? This fast? She subconsciously glanced at the clock hanging on the wall. It's not even 10 minutes. It's also as long as it takes them to say a few words. That catches it? Aoyama Shimo incredulously results in his cell phone and immediately taps on the photo album. Inside was clearly the burrowing tarantula that he had just seen. The little guy seems to be shy, slightly raising his front paws to cover his little face. The eyes at the front of the head are dark and shiny, so clear that you could even see the fluff on it. The quality of the latter ones is as clear as the first one. That's it. That's it. Castle Hill repeated excitedly before quickly posting the photo from his cell phone. Grandpa doesn't have to wait any longer. Zhao Weigua, who was on the side, had frozen in his face the moment he saw the photo. His obscure gaze fell on Zhou Ming. I can't believe. I can't believe I found it so quickly. Zhao Hui didn't notice her brother's gaze next to her. And when she heard Castle Peak say that, she was equally happy. At the same time said, I didn't realize this guy you found was quite lucky. Caught him in one go. Mom, people are awesome. Professional. Qingcheng Mountain unconsciously spoke out in defense of Zhou Ming. Zhao Hui skimmed her mouth and didn't refute her words. Anyway, where's that spider? Hurry up and get it killed and throw it out. You can't keep this kind of harmful thing in the house. Right. Where is that spider? Qingcheng Shanxia similarly asked. Zhou Ming had not brought any tools that could hold a spider with him when he went in. Where did he put it? Yikes. It's so warm in here. Although there are human voices outside. I'm not scared at all when I can be with my master. Zhou Ming held his breath and slowly smiled as he listened to the cave-dwelling tarantula's sweet voice. It's, ah, in a very likable and warm place. Don't worry. I'll take it away and deal with it. Zhou Ming didn't want to really let them get the little tarantula killed. Zhao Hui couldn't wait to wave her hand. Okay, okay, you handle it, just don't send it back again. Castle Hill nodded in agreement. Zhao Weigua, on the other hand, was silent. The heartland is cleaned up. Zhao Hui breathed a sigh of relief and began to direct the crowd. The guy from the pest control company sprayed the cottages with a serious drenching. And don't you guys hang around, seeing the situation. Zhou Ming said to the bottom of Qingcheng Mountain. My mission is complete. It's time to go back. Okay, I'll walk you. Qingcheng Shansha nodded, grabbed his cell phone, and led Zhou Ming out without a second thought. She had too many questions she wanted to ask Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming nodded slightly and did not refuse. Upstairs, inside the study, the red rose bird trapping spider faced the corner of the aquascape box and mournfully crumbled. I'm so stupid. I'm such a stupid spider. Humans are such devious creatures that I actually believed him. Ah ah ah. Daughter-in-law. Ah, my yet-to-be daughter-in-law. She's been abducted just like that. 
little tarantula ah, brother tried hard ah, you're over there ah well ah, I'll come back for you when I've had my baby. Chapter 11 He's shy and likes the security his master gives him. Car. Zhou Ming naturally sat in the passenger seat, under the castle mountains, even though the car was hers and she asked to give it away, but seeing the way Zhou Ming took her for granted as a driver, an indescribable emotion was born in the heart under Mount Qingcheng. Is she not good looking enough? She looked down at herself, dressed in her black and white uniform, which did look rather boring, but even so, with her beautiful, unearthly face, there were still quite a few employees sneaking glances at her when she was in the company. What? Zhou Ming poked his head out of the car window and looked at the bottom of Qingcheng Mountain, which had been standing in front of the car. Aren't you going to send him back? It's not easy to get a cab around here. Nothing. Castle Yama asterisk 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 pulled open the door and sat down in the driver's seat. She said, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Shen Wei Yu. Weeping Moon? Zhou Ming murmured, the plum blossoms are white before the snow in Jiangnan. And the person who remembers the plum blossoms is a guest in Jiangnan. I still remember the old meeting. In the light smoke and moonlight. We Moon. What a great name. I'm Zhou Ming. Video ID. Creepy Pet Ming. You should know. Hearing Zhou Ming interpret his name in such a way. Xin Yu's cold and frosty pretty face was slightly warm. Something seemed to be melting under the warm sun. She said in all seriousness. Zhou Ming. First time meeting. Nice to meet you. Looking at her greeting her so seriously. Zhou Ming laughed. I didn't expect you to be more serious in person than online. This is more than serious. Xin Wei Yu, who had solved the big problem in her heart, was simply as cold as ice, without the slightest bit of popularity. Xin Wei Yu pursed her lips. She's always been like this, but no one had ever been so blunt with her. After all, her identity and background were here. By the way, how did you catch that burrowing tarantula? Where is it now? I didn't catch it. It came out on its own. And, Xiao Ming shook his head. Stretching in the car as he spoke. Yeehaw, going, going to fall. To be crushed? The burrowing tarantula on his body panicked. His body fell downward uncontrollably with Zhou Ming's movements. Just when it thought it was going to be crushed, Zhou Ming's big hand caught her. Zhou Ming extended the little guy toward Xin Wei Yu. Here it is. Xin Wei Yu and the cave dwelling tarantula have four eyes. Oh, ten eyes. Most spiders will have eight eyes of varying sizes. Of course there are some spiders with six eyes, and a few spiders will have no eyes or will have two, four or twelve eyes. Although the spider has many eyes, it has average vision and what it sees is always blurry. It still relies mainly on the sensory hairs on the body to feel the outside world. Xin Weiyue's body instantly leaned backward, directly hitting the cold car door behind her. Chills ran down her spine and she gulped. Cho, Cho Ming, how come you didn't put it in the cage? I didn't have a cage with me when I went up there. Seeing her fear, Zhou Ming retracted his hand with a somewhat regretful expression. Moreover, it doesn't like the cage you prepared. Shun Wei Yu, is that a ing thing it likes or dislikes? It's a safeguard for our lives. You won't let it in if it doesn't like it? Believe it or not, it'll send you straight to God. Shun Wei Yu growled inwardly, yet her expression was so calm that it didn't change. The burrowing tarantula in Zhou Ming's hand, however, was keenly aware of these deep emotions. Boing boing, this female human is so weird. Eyes like they want to eat me. Run, run, run. Hmm. Zhou Ming raised his eyes. Shen Wei Yu's expression did not change at all. Ah, there was some scorn for the spider in his hand, and even a vague envy. Zhou Ming blinked. That's right, envy indeed, or the envious, envious kind. The burrowing tarantula crawled sensitively in Zhou Ming's palm. Hey, 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 hey! I'm hiding, invisible. It crawled into the middle of Zhou Ming's fingers and shrunk into a ball. Zhou Ming, you're as good as not hiding it. Why are you still stupid? Shen Wei Yu looked at the spider that was saying, "Can't see me." can't see me throughout. The envy in his heart had reached its peak. Ah uh ha, -huh. was this a scene she could see without paying? It was no wonder that Zhou Ming was able to wildly block hundreds of thousands of fans in the circle in just a short period of time. Honor him as a godfather in general. Look at the little look of this burrowing tarantula. Of all the creepy pets she'd had, the only one she'd had for seven or eight years was the docile red knee bird spider, who could just get a little closer at feeding time. Like Zhou Ming, can directly on the hand plate, and even let it obediently stay in their own body still do not attack. There's nothing like it. How could Shen Wei Yu not be envious? She was dying of envy. Try. Zhou Ming invited again. Shen Wei Yu pursed her lips and extended her own fingers expectantly. Jerking off spiders. Or jerking off highly venomous spiders. Shen Wei Yu felt her adrenaline increasing violently. And her entire body became excited. Yeah, I, 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 I. Strange human hands. Run. 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 
The burrowing tarantula was about to step away when Zhou Ming's hand suddenly covered it. The burrowing tarantula was instantly enveloped by a familiar odor. The cluttered heart was heard. Master's security. Likes. So like. Hmm. Just a little bit. Xin Yu's fingers did not touch the burrowing tarantula, but instead touched the back of Zhou Ming's hand. What's wrong? It's shy. Next time bar I'll find you a loved one, Zhou Ming explained. Xin Yu was uncertain, but Zhou Ming had already withdrawn his hand. She asked, how did you know it was shy? And, why did you suddenly tell the story about the black mamba viper when you were upstairs? Zhou Ming avoided the former question. Rather, it's the latter question. Zhou Ming mused, it just suddenly came to me. Or do you think it means something else? If Xin Yu was a stupid white sweetie, it would be useless even if he told her directly. But Xin Yu was not, but instead was very perceptive. He simply couldn't produce evidence of what Zhao Weigua had done. Can't tell everyone that he understands spiders? That the spider told him? I guess he'll have to be sent to the Green State Mental Hospital in the next second. So, it's for the best. Let Xin Yu guess and find out for herself. Xin Yu looked at him in silence, her beautiful eyes bursting out with a sharp and probing sight. She was checking herself out. Unapologetic. Zhou Ming naturally did not wimp out, and greatly allowed her to size her up. Magnificent family. Many rights and wrongs. He didn't believe that Xin Wei Yu hadn't noticed anything. Sure enough. Thanks. Xin Wei Yu retracted her eyes and leaned her straight spine against the soft back of the chair. She had known about Zhao Weigua's foolish ambitions for a long time, but it never occurred to me that Zhao Weigua would actually be so vicious and directly lay hands on his grandfather. Though I don't know why Zhou Ming knew that. Xin Wei Yu remained grateful. Thanks for nothing. Zhou Ming, not wishing to participate in the affairs of her family, simply placed the spider in his breast pocket. Pull out your own cell phone and tap the payment code. Sincere favor of half a million dollars to support Papa Ma's transfer. Xin Wei Yu looked at him hanging back. Another glance at the spider in his breast pocket picking at the edge of the pocket, revealing its tiny head and looking at itself in the same way. One moment. She pulled out her cell phone. Papa Ma arrived with one million dollars. TSK. It's like hearing the music of a fairy and having temporary clarity in your ears. That's beautiful. Shen Weiwei is really generous. Saying that the promised half a million, directly gave him a million. Alright, in the future, if there is such a good thing, come back to me. Zhou Ming laughed and pinched the small spider on his chest. It's not just money earned, and for nothing you get a little spider that calls its master. Oh, my god, the shy, coy voice was slightly shaky, obviously comfortable and hard. Master, more vigorously. So comfortable, so comfortable. Chapter 12 Little Baby, you are the goddess Athena in Fatty's heart. Took in a whopping one million dollars. Zhou Ming beautifully thought freely about how this should be spent. There are many types and varieties of reptile pets, and different varieties require very different feeding environments and conditions. Arthropods such as bird catching spiders, scorpions, centipedes and so on, as well as leopard guardians, frog-eyed guardians, frogs and other such small-sized do not have a great need for sunlight can be satisfied with a feeder box. However, tortoises, pythons, and diurnal lizards require specialized enclosures, especially for arboreal snakes and lizards, and enclosures of a certain height. Not only that, most reptile pets have a great need for temperature, and a heating pad is all that is needed if the pet is kept in a small feeding box, and there is usually a separate light socket in the feeder, and installing a ceramic light will solve the feeder temperature problem. There are also bedding materials, core, Brown mats, three in one mats, forest floor, moss, calcareous sand and the like, as well as a variety of nutrients, food bowls, water bowls, shelter, thermometers, and in many cases humidification equipment and additional supplies brought about by the specific species of feeders. If Zhou Ming was just a private breeder of reptile pets, just these would be enough, but not Chao Ming. He has to think on the level of a zoo reptile house. Not only do you have to take care of the little things, but you also have to make sure that the tourists who come to visit appreciate them. So, not only do we need to purchase these things, Zhou Ming also needs to set up the corresponding ecological tank. Hmm, in that case, it's even more of a problem. But, trouble for these little things, Zhou Ming was willing to do it. He was playing with the burrowing tarantula while he was thinking quickly in his head about what he should buy first. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. The little spider whimpered and ran to Zhou Ming's small arm. Then with a holler. He stepped away and ran to Zhou Ming's fingertips again. Ouch. Ouch. It's going to fall. Zhou Ming moved his palm slightly and flipped the back of his hand over. The burrowing tarantula, which was about to fall, stood firmly on the back of its hand. The owner is so nice. The master is playing with me. The burrowing tarantula rubbed against the back of Zhou Ming's hand, expressing its favor. Zhou Ming felt the back of his hand itch, subconsciously shrinking his hands. 
In hindsight, it turns out that it was all the little spiders doing, little things. Zhou Ming reached out and stroked his hand from her back, all the way to the sensory hairs on her legs. Ah, the burrowing tarantula's body trembled gently and let out a delicate cry. Touching, touching, master, touching again. The burrowing tarantula couldn't help but gasp as it felt the changes in its body. The little spider's mind was muddled, not understanding why a mere touch made it so uptight. Arrived, along the way, Xin Wei Yu's eyes were almost red. This mother asterisk 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 error. Cho Ming jacked the spider like a dog. Don't bite even if you have to actively rub up against it. And then think about the way the burrowing tarantula dodged when she reached out. People are more angry than people. Xin Wei Yu struggled to restrain her emotions in order to maintain her cold as ice appearance. Arrived? Zhou Ming raised his head and realized that he had indeed arrived at the entrance of the zoo. Thanks. He was about to get out of the car, dragging the little spider with him. Hey. Xin Wei Yu suddenly opened her mouth to call out to him. Zhou Ming moved to look back at her. And the little spider twisted her head to stare at her. Is fine. Xin Wei Yu wanted to ask if she could be taken to the reptile house that hadn't been opened yet. But she couldn't pull that face for a while. Zhou Ming couldn't make sense of it. Since it's fine, I'll leave. Aha. Uh -huh. Xin Wei Yu's pretty face was cold. Zhou Ming? What's going on here? It was fine a moment ago. As soon as Zhou Ming got out of the car, the Maybot behind him drove away directly. A light breeze is blowing. TSK. A woman's heart is a needle at the bottom of the sea. Zhou Ming sighed and poked the burrowing tarantula low. Little spider. Don't you think so? The burrowing tarantula did not know what Zhou Ming was talking about. And it was soothed by Zhou Ming's finger poking it. The mouth kept screaming. Master. Master. Go on. Don't stop. Zhou Ming slowly smiled and increased the force in his hand. Sure enough. You little things are still my favorite. It won't be as hard to understand as humans. Like is like. Hate is hate. Asterisk 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 asterisk. A familiar voice came from behind him. And Zhou Ming's shoulders instantly heaved as a person abruptly appeared at his side. That license plate number. It's that Miss Shen Weiwei from the Shen family. Right? Zhou Ming looked sideways. How did you know? You also don't inquire about who your fat grandfather I am? In our Qingzhou, there's nothing my fat grandfather doesn't know. The man who called himself Master Fatty patted his chest. The meat on his body trembled. And said dejectedly, Shen Weiwei is a well-known cold beauty. And she looks so beautiful. But she has a cold temperament. You kid quickly say, how to hook up. No, Zhou Ming faintly said, just doing her a favor. Yeah, and you can do her a favor? Master Fatty asked curiously. Could you? Because of this little thing, of course. Zhou Ming handed the burrowing tarantula in his hand to him. Suddenly close. The burrowing tarantula holds its forelegs aloft in a threatening pose. Master Fatty owed and directly let go of Zhou Ming's hand on his shoulder, staring intently at the little thing in front of him. Eyes infatuated. Voice lustful. Oh, what a cute, perfect little thing. Look at those dark eyes, thick fluffy fur, and even the raised paws are so porous. Oh my little baby, you are simply the goddess Athena in Fatty's heart. I, burrowing tarantulas, yelping, master master has a pervert. The burrowing tarantula bared its teeth and crawled down Zhou Ming's arm to hide on his neck. Oh my little baby, how did you run away? Is not like you fat brother? Fat brother looked at it bitterly, but fat brother likes you very much. Even if you are bitten by you a few times, fat brother also, Zhou Ming, damn, I've never seen such a pervert, and rushing to get bitten, Zhou Ming twisted his head and headed straight for the zoo, knowing this guy, fatty, was just a coincidence, when Zhou Ming had just crossed over, the reptile house hadn't been set up at all, but this fatty guy has been writing letters to the zoo since 6 months ago, it is discrimination against animals to say how a safari park covering 300, 000 square meters cannot have a category of reptiles. Strongly request the zoo to open a reptile house. It even made quite a splash on the internet, gathering a lot of support from reptile enthusiasts. It was also because of this fat brother that Zhou Ming was able to be appointed as the curator of the reptile house. Though it's the kind with little real power, there isn't even enough money to support it. Fatty knew from somewhere that he ran the reptile house and kept pestering him about the progress. And one way or another, the two of them got to know each other. Knowing that Zhou Ming was in a difficult situation, he also gave a lot of support. He became the godfather of the reptile circle in January, behind the fat brother in the operation. Behind him, Fatty was still chattering away, chasing Zhou Ming into the park. Hello sir, buy a ticket. The staff did their job and stopped him. Hey, hey Zhou Ming, Zhou Ming. Fatty called out twice, pointing his back at the staff. We're both together. He's a staff member. He can take me in. The staff looked away. Buy a ticket. Seeing that Zhou Ming had disappeared, Fatty covered his chest and said with a sad face, We're really together. Eight dollars. 
Buy a ticket and go over there. The staff member pointed to the ticket window next to him with a kind reminder. Fatty gritted his teeth. Cho Ming you don't have a heart. Forget it. Fatty ran to the ticket window with a whimper and pulled out a $50 bill and handed it to the staff. Give me six tickets. He had a hunch. You'll have to buy tickets to find Zhou Ming in the future. It's a good thing the zoo here has never raised its prices in decades. And that students come in with their student IDs and get half price. The zoo mainly does animal rescue work and doesn't make a profit. Which is what caused the funds to not be surplus to support the creation of the reptile house more. Fatty he buys six in one go. Which is a great way to add to the zoo coffers. Fatty took the two dimes of change in his pocket and jingled into the zoo. Chapter 13 A Snake. And ready to come to a cry. The big zoo. The two girls walked under the tree in boredom. They shouldn't have come all the way over to the zoo. Despite the large footprint and the fee of only $8, very few of the animals here are sound. And even the ones that are look sickly. And there's no juggling program, which is usually found in zoos. It's really boring. No wonder tickets are only $8. If they were more expensive, it would be a new type of scam. The two sisters were walking in dismay, discussing leaving the zoo to go shopping at the mall. When they came face to face with the tall and large Zhou Ming walking quickly, one of the sisters' eyes lit up and subconsciously grabbed her companion's hand, lowering her voice to ask softly, Hey, look, is this guy the one who caught the snake with his bare hands on Jitterbug? Where is it where is it? Let's see, seems to be true. Ah, it's really this fierce man ah, I didn't expect that it's actually from our Qin Zhou. I told you that the background of that video looks really familiar. He's on the zoo staff, right? Should we go ask? The two sisters looked at each other. Zhou Ming was about to brush past them. One of the sisters spoke up. Hello, you're the guy in the Shake Shack hit who caught the cobra with his bare hands, right? Are you a staff member here? Seeing that the other party was talking to him, Zhou Ming immediately stopped and nodded. Yes, the girl's eyes instantly lit up. You're really good. You actually dared to catch the cobra with your bare hands. Are you really not afraid of being bitten? Of course they are afraid of being bitten. After all, a bite is quite painful. Zhou Ming shrugged and explained. However, as long as they feel the friendliness of humans, they won't attack people. Oftentimes, they attack suddenly just because they feel threatened. Oh, so that's it. The two girls nodded. Uh, is there anything else? There's nothing going on I have to go to work. Zhou Ming asked. Are you going to handle that cobra? Another girl in a sailor uniform asked curiously. Zhou Ming shook his head and held out the burrowing tarantula. No. It's to settle this little guy. The two sisters pupils quake, taking a step back in unison. The cobra girls are scared, but that's what I saw in the video. This spider, however, was in the palm of Zhou Ming's hand. Is it 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 poisonous? A little bit, but don't worry you'll all be saved in 10 hours. All saved in 10 hours? Why do you say that so easily? The two sisters swallowed their saliva and looked at Zhou Ming in horror. Plus, seeing so many defective animals inside the zoo sent chills down my back. You... You zoos don't abuse animals do you? Animal cruelty? Zhou Ming frowned. What makes you guys think that? And then, he immediately understood why the two thought so. A light laugh. The zoo's main focus for the last 10 years has been animal conservation. And all those animals you see were rescued from the circus or under poachers. Some able-bodied animals will be arranged to return to nature when they have nourished their wounds and met the criteria for release. The animals that were harmed, without the ability to hunt independently, were left to feed. He nodded at the little one in his hand. It's like this one. Although it has great predatory abilities, it's a danger to humans. So I'm going to keep it in captivity. So, that's it. They also thought. The two sisters lowered their heads in embarrassment. Zhou Ming saw that it was almost time. All right, you guys keep visiting. I'm going back to work. Both faces are red. They are actually ready to go. So, which arena do you work at? Ah, uh, Zhou Ming pointed to the reptile house not far away. Over there. But the exhibition hasn't started yet. When it opens, you're welcome to come and visit. After all, there's a shortage of everything. Aha! The two sisters nodded seriously. Watching Zhou Ming walk away, one of the girls took out her cell phone and searched for Zhou Ming's Shake Shack account and clicked follow. Hey, look at what he posted. Awesome. So the arena didn't open because there was no money? Really? Such a big zoo. How can it still have no money? Supposedly most of the revenue goes to rescuing protected animals. As if, that's right. The sailor suit girl clenched her fists and directly rewarded Zhou Ming's newly released video with $500. Bloggers are much more handsome than in popular videos. Or the staff at the zoo is. Cheer up. I'm waiting for the reptile house. When the sailor suit girl finished posting, she closed her cell phone, took her friend's arm, and exclaimed, Let's go. Let's keep going to see the animals. Aha. Zhou Ming didn't know that there was such a thing. All the way back to the reptile house. 
The burrowing tarantula looked around in his hand, trying to poke around to find out what the hell this place was. But don't wait for it to be discerned. His own spine was pinched. Oops. It watched as it was put into a box. Owner, owner. The little spider struggled desperately. Its eight claws attempting to stomp about in an attempt to hold Zhou Ming's fingertips. However, Zhou Ming was pinching its body from behind. Without any resistance at all, the little spider was put into the aquascape box. Master, don't want me. Released into an unfamiliar environment, the little spider wailed and cried, still attempting to find Zhou Ming even after having sensed his hand release his body and leave. Woo, the little one sobbed, not only sociopathic, but a stickler. Zhou Ming could only helplessly reach out to comfort it, feeling Zhou Ming's aura reappear again. The little spider instantly stopped crying, and her slightly crying voice was filled with happiness. I knew master wouldn't let me go. Master, master, you touch me. People love to love to be touched by their masters. You can do anything you want to me. Master, you can do anything you want. It's all right. I can do it. Oh, Zhou Ming's mind instantly flashed through all kinds of shocking and artillery fire scenes. Rub, animal, it's too beastly. Zhou Ming coughed unnaturally twice, and only retracted his hand when he had thoroughly calmed the little spider. Soothingly, the little spider flopped softly on her legs on the coconut soil bedding, her heart all but screaming. Ah, love it so much. I like master so much. I like master touching. Like like, Zhou Ming. I know you're having a good time and enjoying it. Pure pure tool man. Zhou Ming shook his head straight. Bang bang. A muffled sound rang out from the side. Zhou Ming tilted his head sideways. He saw the cobra he had brought back that morning lying on the glass of the aquascape box, staring at him intently. That little look. It made Zhou Ming feel as if he had seen the scene of catching adultery. Man, it's only been a short time and you're cold to people. Is it that my deadly fangs don't appeal to you anymore? Or is it that you don't love my chilling scales anymore? You went behind my back to pick up a hairless spider. Zhou Ming. Though but. You wake up. You, cobra, are the hairless one, okay? Hurrah. Bastard. Negative man. I'm going to start making a scene. Woo woo woo. At once. Inside the arena. There was a loud cry that only Zhou Ming could hear. Zhou Ming. Your mom. You a snake. But also ready to come to a cry and three hanga lift the table. Chapter 14. The Negative Man. If you want money, you don't have it. Zhou Ming's forehead veins popped. The snake, literally, was bouncing off his bottom line. As it is, Zhou Ming didn't mind giving it a good set of rules. Cry about it. Do you think I'm going to cozy up to you? Ha! Cobra stared at Zhou Ming yelling for a while time, but did not see the man in front of him to coax himself. Simply howled at the top of his lungs, his body swaying with it. Wow 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 wow. Negative man ah. Uh, scum ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Zhou Ming clenched his fists tightly. Little Ming Ming you're running so fast I can't even catch up. Fatty walked into the reptile pet museum and walked over to Zhou Ming's side, exuding a lewd and smile. Show people the next little spider ah oh it's simply the Mona Lisa in Fatty's heart. You just said it was Athena? Oh. Fatty exclaimed in shock, saw the scenery box behind Zhou Ming, and took three steps in two steps, his face directly on the glass. Oh my gosh. The Chinese cobra. Many zoos keep small numbers of Chinese cobras for visitors to enjoy, but many are unable to overwinter. If you want to exhibit them again, you can only catch them from the wild the following year. Some snake farms also breed them, but very few are able to successfully reproduce the next generation. Over time, the Chinese cobra has been directly listed by the IUCN as a vulnerable species. Fatty agitated. Look at that. Look at that. What a cute, perfect little thing. Look at these dark eyes the sharp movements of the slender body, and these scales that glow with a cold light. None of the eye stripes on the body tug at Fatty's innocent heart. Oh my little baby, you are simply the goddess Athena in Fatty's heart. Zhou Ming. Those words, why do they feel so familiar? Damn, you fat ass bully reptiles don't know any better, so you can perfume them. Ha, huh? Chubby's fat face slumped against the glass, squeezing into a puddle of meatloaf. The eyes, already small, were almost squeezed out of existence but it didn't in any way prevent a greedy gleam from erupting in his eyes. Cobra tactically rears back. Mom, yeah, why does it feel like this human is even more perverted than snake? This must be snake's delusion, Zhou Ming silently said. No, it's not your illusion. He is just a big pervert. Oh my snake snake baby, how can you back off? You see how much fat brother wants to get close to you. Don't you want to get close to fat brother and cultivate a relationship? Fat brother me ah. Fat brother continued to ramble. Do not look at his words how prodigal and wanton, but is how to not dare to be like Zhou Ming directly on the handplate. After all, not everyone was like Zhou Ming, who could accurately pinpoint the minds of the reptiles. 
The fat brother passes through the flowers without touching a single leaf. Mom yeah, this human is really annoying. What are you doing here? Hurry up and find that negative man for me. The cobra impatiently gulped its snake letters and made a shivering sound. Getting a response, Fatty instantly got excited. What's the matter? Are you mesmerized by your fatty brother? Want to have an in-depth exchange with Fatty? TSK, 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 look at the charm of your fat brother. This last sentence was clearly addressed to Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming, meh, why don't you just stick your claws in there? If you can, just see if it bites you. Cut, you're just jealous, Fatty said contentedly. Continue to lie down in front of the glass and communicate with your little one. This next, Zhou Ming didn't just have to listen to Cobra's heartfelt tirade. He also had to listen to Fatty's lewd voice as if he was abducting a little lowly. He really gave so much. Zhou Ming shook his head and pulled out his cell phone to start contacting manufacturers to purchase things to set up the reptile house. Usually these things at the zoo are left to the appropriate purchasing department. Then the application is submitted. The manufacturer's bid is organized. And the final partner is finalized before it is done. But, who made this zoo broke? The head gardener's got a pussy face. See how much I can be worth and go trade with someone. It's a perfect illustration of what it means to have no money, but a life. Zhou Ming. Shameless. It's shameless. What kind of a director are you? It's hard for gardeners. Two. How can you say there are no reptiles in the zoo when the garden originally housed a couple of pythons that just ate and didn't do business? That's a blatant smear. Being able to allocate an arena for Zhou Ming to use was already the result of him biting his tongue and stomping his foot. More money? That's impossible. Not in this lifetime. Faced with such a shameless gardener, Zhou Ming could only do it himself. And so, creepy pet Mingo was born. And Zhou Ming would also be paid a corresponding 200 for each snake he went to catch. It's just a matter of gouging the creepy crawly pet house to support it. Now harboring millions of dollars, Zhou Ming bought back all the things he had previously looked at in one breath. The economic base determines the superstructure. There is a real truth to that statement. Sure, nor can you just build. Still have to arrange for the little things to move in before I can do that. Where do the little things go to find them? Buy? It's okay. But the really good stuff is not something that money can buy. You can only take your time and start with the most basic varieties. Zhou Ming quickly planned in his mind. Over there. Fatty's mouth was dry from talking. The eyed snake flicked its tail in boredom. So noisy. How can there be such noisy humans? Negative man? Leaving someone to such a noisy human. I'm sure you don't love them anymore. When Fatty saw him wagging his tail, he became agitated. Little boy. What are you doing wagging your tail at Fatty? Fatty loves you so much and you want to bite Fatty? Oh. Snakes wag their tails in two ways. One is to encounter enemies. Wagging the tail to signal an impending attack. Both as a warning to the enemy and to divert the enemy's attention from aiming at his head. The other is when encountering prey. Because many small animals only have dynamic vision and can only see moving objects. Wagging their tails can confuse the other party and take advantage of the opportunity to hunt. Fatty certainly doesn't recognize the first one. He said sadly. No. No way. You must be hungry. Zhou Ming. This black-hearted person. Must not have given you any rice to eat. Right? Zhou Ming said without hesitation. It is thinking that you are annoying. No way. Fatty shook his head straight. Although he was not as knowledgeable as Zhou Ming, he still had some research on snakes. They will only have both. And, it's a snake. Does it get bored too? Zhou Ming shrugged, knowing that he wouldn't believe it. Asked, what are you doing over here today? Don't tell me you just wanted to talk to the snake. Of course not. Fatty remembered what he was here for. And his squished face finally gave up and moved away from the glass of the aquascape box. Smiling. He said to Zhou Ming, Fatty's got a job for you, to take you to earn money. What? Fatty wasn't bad for you, was he? Chapter 15, you won't give your innocent body to buy Sujin? Where to earn money? Zhou Ming guessed, his face gradually stared up, his head tilted back slightly, his eyesight looking up and down at him. You shouldn't be. Fatty looked at Zhou Ming's skeptical and disgusted expression and said with a sad face, Am I that kind of person? Your fat brother? I'm very clean. Okay? I'm still a pure and innocent young man. My body and mind are reserved for little snake snake all right. So you've been single for years waiting for by Sujin? Zhou Ming flirted. Fatty grunted. Don't you care who Fatty is waiting for? Are you going to go for the money making? Go. It's only when you're in charge that you realize how expensive it is. He hasn't even bought anything yet. This million dollars. It's not even enough to spend. He asked. How much to give? 20,000. Fatty agitated. 20,000. Ha. Huh? Zhou Ming was a little disappointed. What? You still think it's less? Fat brother stared at him with wide eyes. Having been on Chun Wei Yue's car is not the same. The appetite has become bigger ah. Uh, $20,000 cannot see. With a million for comparison. 
Zhou Ming did kind of look down on the $20,000, but, a mosquito is still meat. Okay, tell me the specifics, Fatty said cheerfully. There is a mountain to open a bed and breakfast to send me a private message, said her yard appeared a snake, scared several guests to stay in the hotel. Their own sprinkle of insect repellent snake powder does not work. Even the fire departments have gone over to the past trip, but did not find the snake. I didn't dare to open for business in the past few days, for fear of any problems. It just so happened that I saw the video of you catching a snake with your bare hands unpopular. So I contacted the account by private message, and I came over to you without talking about it. Zhou Ming is responsible for the content of the account, while Fatty is in charge of the operational part. Words. Zhou Ming didn't feel there was anything wrong either. The fat on Fatty's body quivered as he continued to grin. If you find this snake in one day, we'll make a fortune. True. 20. 000 a day. If only there were a few more. It's not a dream to make a million dollars a year. Did those guests take any pictures of the snake? Zhou Ming asked. Fatty nodded. Yes, that BNB owner sent me one over. It just wasn't very clear. Fatty opened the software and found the account that contacted him. Look at it. Can you recognize what it is? Zhou Ming's head went over to take a look. This stuff. What? Zhou Ming looked at the pile of. If not say it is a snake absolutely unrecognizable things. I think. Let's take a look at the scene. I think so. Fatty chimed in. Having opened the software, he subconsciously went to look at the account's traffic distribution and powder increase today. Asterisk 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 asterisk. These two fans are generous enough to come out with $500. This was definitely the largest large reward received since the creation of Creepy Pet Ming. After all, the people who enter this circle are either so poor that all their money is used to buy them food and drink into all sorts of creepy crawlies that they can't afford to reward them, either wealthy to death. Naturally felt that Zhou Ming climbed the pet to play so skillfully. Must also be rich. Do not care to use the 10,000 evil money to insult people. I really don't mind if you guys insult me a bit, says Fatty. Boing boing. Fatty inquired about the rewarded account and clicked in to see it. Or a mo girl. Zhou Ming, do you know these two girls? Introduce them to me. Since when does he know two sisters? Zhou Ming glanced at the screen. Realized that these were the same two girls who had stopped him not long ago. He raised an eyebrow. No more leaving your innocent body for Bai Sujin? Fatty looked at him sadly. Zhou Ming smiled. I don't recognize these two people. They are just tourists who asked for directions at the zoo just now. Whom? Fatty grunted straight away. And by the messages from the two girls, he knew they weren't friends. However, what kind of mesmerizing soup did Zhou Ming give these two sisters? The newly released videos are all promotional for the zoo. Three sentences are not the same as the weekly chorus. It's true that good-looking people like animals and people alike. Fat brother and innocent heart of young boys. That is called a wow cool wow cool ah. But, with the added recommendation of two munchkins, the Shake Shack account went up in fans in a small way. That's a bit of a surprise. Fatty mulled it over. Simply said, it's just as well. It's been two days since I posted a new video. So you take out the Chinese cobra and introduce it, rubbing it in a traffic hit. $20,000? What about the BNB owner's wife? Fatty waved his hand. Go back after the video. That boss's wife said that Snake was smart enough to only come out and move at night when everyone was asleep, and off the beaten path. The surveillance can't even capture it. It's still early. Let's just take the video and go over there. Zhou Ming sniffed and nodded. Could be. Start with a video of the Chinese cobra moving around in the aquascape box. Fatty pulled out his filming equipment and aimed it at the maker box. In the aquascape box, the Chinese cobra gulps its snakeskin and lazily lays down on the bedding. Without a man, Snake's life is hopeless. Hey, scumbag, let the snake snake to your soul. Unforgettable, but you draw the hand away, leaving the snake snake eye a sad spring in autumn. Zhou Ming, you're quite cultured. Fatty looked at the somewhat sickly Chinese cobra and asked curiously. Why isn't it as lively as it was just now? Out of love. I guess. Zhou Ming's words were the truth. He was going to be a man with three, zero 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 beauties in the future. How could he stay for a snake? It's not possible. Absolutely not. You see if I believe it? Fatty rolled his eyes directly and was speechless, getting better at making things up. Zhou Ming? Doesn't anyone believe in telling the truth these days? You've got to think of a way to get the cobra excited. And you've got to shoot the little spiders later. Fatty urged. Hey. Zhou Ming sighed and opened the lid of the aquascape box. The big hand went straight for the cobra. A haphazard, perfunctory jerk at cobra. Aha! Her body was suddenly touched, and cobra gasped violently as soon as she screamed. The entire snake curled up uncontrollably. Fine, that's it. Fatty pointed the camera at the cobra, the high-definition camera lens valuing the recording of its subtle reactions. Go on, go on, go on. Dissatisfied with Zhou Ming's perfunctory behavior, 
The cobra straightened its long body and supported its head towards Zhou Ming's hand. Don't stop. Hurry up. Please. The voice was pathetic. His head gently rubbed against the back of Zhou Ming's unmoving hand. Snake snake wants. Zhou Ming, have you quit drugs? Can you even tolerate this? Fatty gulped. Watching the adrenaline surge as the always fierce and cold-hearted cobra rubbed itself against the human hand like a tame kitten. Stimulation. It's just too exciting. He aimed the camera steadily at the cobra and urged. Coil it. Cobra grunts and urges. Touch me. Zhou Ming. Just. It's hard to say. Zhou Ming's hand. However. Was still very obediently kneading the Chinese cobra under his hand. Cobra was obviously comfortable. The body is getting lower and lower and lower. Zhou Ming's hand followed suit. Going down more and more. It wasn't until the cobra was on its back on the padding that Zhou Ming's entire arm reached in. This is definitely a big no-no for keeping poisonous pets. Chapter 16, Grandpa, Play Again, Regardless of the Feeder. When feeding poisonous pets, small kibbles such as barley worms, cockroaches and the like need to be tweezed in. Larger ones such as mice and the like can just be thrown in. This is to prevent some poisonous pets from suddenly attacking humans and causing casualties. However, this one rule that the poisonous favorites all respect is holy writ. It's like a fart in Xiaoming's case. Not only can he reach in, but he can grab the other guy with a handful of random discs. Fatty's eyes glistened. The fat on his body quivered with excitement. And with the camera in hand, the picture doesn't ripple. A clear and faithful record of the harmonious coexistence of man and snake. Zhou Ming scrunched his hand every now and then, trying to get Fatty to record the image of just the cobra. But this dog is addicted. As soon as he realized that Zhou Ming had the intention to leave, the tail directly curled around Zhou Ming's wrist. Bobby A B A B A, you can't go. You can't leave Snake Snake. The little guy softly begged, his tail tugging on Zhou Ming's hand, his body actively moving towards his hand. It's so cozy and comfortable. Let Snake have a little more fun. Don't be afraid. Keep going. Cool. Hey. Yeah. 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 Fatty held up his camera, puckered his ass, and changed angles to take pictures. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Zhou Ming shook off the cobra wrapped around his arm, and instead of shaking it off, he let it pick at him even more. That's it. Great, great, great. Fatty yelled even more excitedly as he watched his thrilling maneuvers. Hey, move again. Zhou Ming, what the hell are these two? Snakes are not snakes, and people are perverts. Zhou Ming ripped the cobra back into the set building box ready to end the shot. But who knows? Cobra. However, looked as if he had been on guard. The lower half of his body tightly wrapped around Zhou Ming's arm, and the upper half of his body began to nimbly dodge Zhou Ming's other hand that he was about to reach out as Zhou Ming stretched out his hand. Dalong Dalong. I was playing in the mud in the northeast. Although Tohoku isn't that big. I don't have a home in Dalian. Brainwashing and magical music played at the same time. The upper body of the cobra that was wrapped around Zhou Ming's arm suddenly looked like it was dancing to the music. Swing left and swing right. There was a soft squirming on Zhou Ming's arm. The body was weirdly stuck at the point of Daron while yelling in his mind. Come on, come on, come back and play again. Cobra's voice was soft and cloying, seductive, with a magical soundtrack. Sounds, well, immodest and, sandy. Zhou Ming endured and endured, the veins on his forehead bulging and throbbing. He squeezed the cobra and gripped it right off his arm. Throw in the aqua skate box. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Fatty looked at the cobra that was dancing and the man went numb. There have been videos on the internet of San playing the gourd and making the cobra dance. Many people think it's because cobras have musical cells. But it's not true. Cobras are born deaf and can't hear anything at all. Its swinging was a natural reaction. The cobra watched San, who was playing a gourd and dancing, swaying from side to side with his movements, just to seize the opportunity to take a bite out of him. And this cobra, not only did it not bite Zhou Ming not to mention, it didn't even have the slightest intention of attacking him. Even when Zhou Ming roughly put it back into the aquascape box, it was still well behaved like a kitten. It's nothing short of a miracle. Miracle. Fatty felt his heart go into a bit of overload. Abruptly, Fatty snapped back to the fact that he just like been patronizingly shocked. Did you raise your camera? Did you? Or not? Fatty's heart instantly clenched. He took a deep breath and looked nervously and expectantly at the camera in his hand. Shivering fingers press playback button. And after. Moved to his knees. He shot. He actually filmed it. Not only did it capture all of it, the picture was full. And it didn't even include Zhou Ming's other hand. It was as if the snake coiled around Zhou Ming's arm was dancing just for him. Even Cobra stuck on the magical brainwashing I'm playing in the mud in the northeast spot. That is to say, he didn't even have to edit it. 
The clip could have just been put on the ShakeFast software. It's better and more natural than the bit we just filmed. Ha ha ha. Fatty hugged and kissed the camera with a lewd grin. What a way to honor Fatty. My big baby. And Zhou Ming very simply closed the lid on the aquascape box. Not taking it out for a shot? Fatty watched his movements and immediately looked up and asked. Having already lined up the famous scene just now, Fatty wanted to take some more shots in one go. Next time, Zhou Ming dared to say that if he let the cobra have its fill, it would definitely be difficult to discipline it in the future. This plays like a child. Three days without a fight, and the upper room is covered. Zhou Ming had to show it who was the boss. Yeah, where are the hands? Where's the man? Ow 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 ow. Run again. Snake is angry. The cobra reacted to the fact that he had actually been dumped again, and immediately started splashing around in the rearing tank. The small stones Zhou Ming had arranged were all hit by it against the glass with a thud. What's going on here? Fatty stared wide-eyed at the frenzied cobra, which was running angrily and quickly, running straight through whatever was in front of it. A living, breathing firecracker. Zhou Ming didn't even look at it, throwing a tantrum. Ha! Huh? Fatty was unsure. Hadn't he been pampered just now? Sure enough, it's a snake. Say change your face. But seeing this state of affairs, Fatty also rested his mind to continue filming. And anyway, the material just now was already enough. Forget it then. Let's shoot the little spiders. Fatty had just pointed his camera at, next to the small aquascape box. Zhou Ming had then raised his hand to move the scenery box to another table. Spiders can't be filmed now. Not until we get back from the BNB side. Why? Fatty was uncertain. Hide hide hide. The voice of the burrowing tarantula was small, and Zhou Ming would not be able to distinguish exactly what was being said if he did not listen carefully. Obviously because he had just arrived in an unfamiliar environment and was not accustomed to it. Coupled with the fact that he had just been frightened by the cobra. The best thing to do is to let the burrowing tarantula adapt to its environment on its own. Sure, Zhou Ming could also reach out to help. But that would make the cave-dwelling tarantula even more overly dependent on himself. Then, when the time comes, he'll probably have to carry this little thing with him everywhere he goes. With this little thing, how else could he realize a harem of three? Zero 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 beauties? So, the burrowing tarantula had to be left to carry its own weight. Zhou Ming explained to Fatty, spiders don't adapt to unfamiliar environments as quickly as snakes. And this spider is a social terrorist. The slightest breeze is going to make you hunker down and stay out. Look at the hole it made for itself. Half of it is buried. The female burrowing tarantula, as its name suggests, is a good burrower, lurking at the entrance of the burrow during the day and hunting near the entrance in the evening or at night. After catching insects, they bring them back to the cave to feed, and the leftover carcasses or limbs are often left inside the cave. The hole is almost half buried, a symbol of its insecurity about its environment. Oh, Fatty slapped himself on the head. He hadn't actually noticed at all. It was thanks to Zhou Ming, or else he would definitely be doing something bad. He said, then we'll wait until a few days. And we've got enough Cobra material to shoot now. Short video software. Keeping the length of a video to 15 to 30 seconds is enough. The few minutes of video of Zhou Ming's interaction with Cobra just now had no scraps at all. So he could just send it out with some casual editing. Chapter 17, can you try your best to pit him as an honest man? So combined. Fatty then thought again of the dance video of Cobra swinging to the music earlier. This is good stuff. How can you not bring out the good stuff and share it with everyone? He rubbed his hands together excitedly. Hold on. Let me go ahead and cut out this video and post it. Said. He pulled his computer straight out of his backpack. Linked it to his camera. And started exporting the video. Zhou Ming glanced twice and went about his own business. The reptile house currently has only one employee of its own. A lot of things need to be done personally. There. Fat brother three times. The video editing dubbing color grading a dragon. Directly posted to the ShakeFast software. And took the popular tag of Zhou Ming morning catching a snake with his bare hands. And with the text, come on, make it, Snake's solo debut show, the video was just released. Immediately, it received kudos from longtime fans who were paying special attention to the account. 6666, pure pure snake dance, oh baby, I wish I could stick it to you, soul through the hand that was entwined. This isn't a snake dance, this is a dance on my heart bar, okay? A mouthful of water spewed out and Fatty came out for a beating. Did you abuse our little snake snake to dance for you? Upstairs is not stupid. It is a Chinese cobra ah. It'll send you to hell if it bites you. You know? So, it's stuck on its own spot dancing? May Abe, look at the snake on the video and then look at this one in my house. I wish I could slap it across my face. Support upstairs. Fan it. That's right. How can we not let snake educate himself and put himself in his place? 
Ha ha, take the shoot saw. I'm the owner of the upper 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 last floor. Snake has been very successful in educating me. I won't dare next time. Now I'll do a striptease for him. Ha ha ha, but, laughing my ass off. Fatty also followed and laughed out loud. This group of people, one by one, two by two, watching the fun is not too big. The video has only been out for a little while though. The airplay has already broken a million. Over 100, 000 likes and tens of thousands of comments straight away. Fatty watched as the little red dot prompted by the software rubbed up. The phone buzzed and vibrated. Buzz. The screen flickered for two seconds. The phone just jammed. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Fatty patted his cell phone. Foreign goods really don't work well. It's only how many messages. And it's dead. But seeing how much everyone liked the video of Cobra dancing, Fatty was relieved. He slipped the dead cell phone into his pocket and said to Zhou Ming, Let's go. Go see the boss's wife. $20,000. Here comes his fat brother. Go. Zhou Ming took off the work tag hanging around his neck and hung it casually in the operation room. The two walked to the door. The work employee who had stopped Fatty earlier was still standing there checking tickets. Seeing that Zhou Ming didn't have a work license hanging around his neck, smiling, he asked, Neru, off work? No, went out to catch snakes. Zhou Ming smiled back. The staff oh, go early and come back early. Don't look at Zhou Ming's late arrival. But Zhou Ming's big name had already spread in their zoo. Served both cranky boa constrictors up and let him kiss and cuddle and lift them high. The one who still dared to slap the table and glare at the old gardener. Even told the gardener to shrug off whatever he was doing and just build the reptile house. Such a high degree of freedom. It made every one of them who was reserved to work overtime at work. Very envious too. But they were also aware of just how tough it was for one person to set up a venue. Or with nothing at all. Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming nodded. Fatty watched them talk familiarly. You know Zhou Ming. Why did you let me buy a ticket just now? The staff member heatedly smiled. To increase revenue for the zoo. Your eight dollars is enough to feed the little monkey for a day. Fatty. You're just trying to screw him over for being an honest man. The little monkeys are moving out. What can he say? But Fatty is happy today. So I won't bother with you guys. Ten more tickets for Fatty me. Add to the monkeys. The other side. Inside a private hospital ward. Water. A week. Horse voice rang out from the hospital bed. Grandpa? Grandpa you're awake? Shen Wei Yu looked at him in surprise. Are you going to drink water? Shen Tianxiao nodded. After Shen Wei Wei pressed the ambulance bell at the bedside, she fed Shen Tianhua some water. The doctors fishtailed. After a careful examination, the attending doctor in charge let out a sigh of relief and said, The toxins have all been removed. The body may be a bit weaker in the last few days. This is a normal phenomenon. Old Mr. Shen is here at his age after all. A few more days of recuperation and a calm mood will almost be enough. Good. After receiving the doctor's affirmative answer, Shen Wei Yu was completely relieved. The doctor nodded and led the crowd away with another huff and puff. As soon as the doctor left, the crowd of Shen Jingxian standing next to him hurriedly gathered around and asked with concern, Dad, how are you feeling now? Grandpa, you scared the hell out of us when you passed out. Yes master. Xiao Hao almost cried. The crowd was talking to each other. And the ward was instantly in an uproar. Shen Wei Yu glanced at the old man's face and raised her voice slightly. All right. Grandpa's just waking up now. And you guys are surrounding him. Didn't the doctor just say to recuperate? What are we doing making a scene like this? Xiao Hao cooed. Aren't we also concerned about Grandpa? You. Shen Wei Yu raised her eyebrows and looked at him with an icy gaze. Okay. Elder Shen finally spoke. He leaned on the head of his bed and smiled at the crowd surrounding his hospital bed. I understand all of your intentions. The doctor also said there's nothing wrong with me as long as I recuperate and repair. You guys are tired too. Go back and rest first. The old man had spoken. And even if they wanted to come to the front to sell their good behavior again, they had to look at the occasion. Then dad, you rest well. I'll come back to see you tomorrow. Xin Zhengxian said dryly. Aha. Uh -huh. Xin Wei Yu similarly stood up to leave before she could open her mouth to speak. Elder Xin raised his hand and pressed Xin Wei Yu's shoulder. Xiao Yu, I have something to ask you. The implication was that she should be left alone. Okay. Xin Wei Yu nodded. Seeing this, Zhao Hui also dragged Xiao Hao and prepared to leave. Dad. Then we're off too. Go on. Elder Shen waved his hand and told the rest of the crowd to disperse. In the large ward, only Shen Wei Yu and Elder Shen were left. As soon as you get out of the ward door, Shen Zhengxian then could no longer maintain the expression on his face. Obviously he was the only son left of the old man. But the old man just looked at that stinky girl Shen Wei Yu in every way. Shen Zhengxuan's expression was gloomy and stormy. The old man is awake? Zhao Weigua who had been waiting at the door, saw Xin Jingxian come out and busily leaned over. Chapter 18 Funding. Victory lies ahead. 
spit 200 at a time. Since Zhou Ming and Shen Wei were these two brats found the cave-dwelling tarantula, and then saw the doctor go in and come out very quickly, and now see Shen Jingxuan's expression, Zhao Weigui is even more stupid, can also guess it, he let out a low curse, damn, the old man's got a lot of life in him, Shen Jingxian looked up and stared at him, this is what you did, how can this be blamed on me, I have, already Zhao Weigui muttered discontentedly, and then saw Zhao Hui and Xiao Hao coming out behind him, immediately smiled and said, the old man is fine on the line, and being fine is something to be happy about, brother, why are you still standing guard here? Zhao Wei turned her head and asked in surprise at seeing Zhao Weigua. Zhao Weigua had a smiling good brother look on his face, waiting to send you guys home. Now that you guys are out, let's hurry and go. Aha, uh -huh, and you really do. Don't you have a chauffeur at home? Zhao Wei joyfully followed him. Xiao Hao skimmed his lips and slowly followed. Xin Jingxian was left alone to stare at the backs of their siblings, spit out two words softly, asterisk 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 dot, inside the ward. Xiao Yu. How did you find the spider that bit me? Elder Shen asked. Shen Weiyu told the ins and outs of how she had asked Zhou Ming to help. He's a zoo employee in his line of work, and he also posts videos of climbing pets and stuff online. Video? Elder Shen asked. Seeing that he was interested, Shen Weiyu immediately pulled out her own cell phone, and just as soon as she opened the ShakeFast software, the video that Zhou Ming had posted popped out. I'm playing in the mud in the northeast even though the northeast isn't big I don't have a home in Dalian. Magical song. A snake dances along with it. Shun Wei Wei. Good dirt. But so high again. Especially seeing the cobra that moves with a vague rhythm. Suddenly there was a feeling of being on top. Here's what's going on. Shun Wei Yu had read it twice without realizing it. The video was posted 4 hours ago. 3 million likes. 5 million favorites. The comments are even increasing by the thousands and thousands as they are refreshed. This young man is interesting. To be able to shoot this kind of video. It couldn't have been made with transparent fishing line. Could it? Master Shen's black-hearted photographer will control the small animals to take some pseudo-ecological photos, controlling their movements with fishing line, glue, or something like that. No way. Shen Wei Yu flatly denied it. Zhou Ming's interaction with the cave-dwelling tarantula in front of her was clear for her to see. There is no need to use these underhanded tactics. Elder Shen glanced at her unexpectedly. This granddaughter of hers, like her dead father, was an immovable figure, and it was rare to hear her defend another. It seems that this Zhou Ming, I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunities to meet in the future. Shen Wei Yu also realized that her reaction was a bit intense. Pursing her lips, she insisted. Grandpa, if you could see this Zhou Ming person get along with the reptiles with your own eyes, you would definitely do the same as me. Yes? Elder Shen nodded and smiled. If there is fate, we will definitely meet again. Video after video slides down. Elder Shen gradually understood Zhou Ming's purpose for opening this account. In addition to posting some edited videos, Zhou Ming also educated the crowd about the protection of reptiles and what to do after being bitten by various reptiles. Returning to the newly released video, Master Shen's finger accidentally clicked on the comment section. I'll go. So the zoo where the blogger is from is actually so amazing. 20 years of rescuing wildlife without compensation. And the price of admission has never been raised since the park opened. Upstairs I know that a large portion of the animals exhibited in zoos nowadays are mutilated. It's especially pitiful. They're doing a great thing. Local. Just don't know where to go for the weekend. Ready to go to the zoo now. Five hours old fan passing by. Today at the zoo and sister saw Ming brother. Ming brother is the head of the reptile house. Now the reptile house is not open. Is because the director of the garden to take all the money to rescue other animals. Nero opened shake fast just to make money to build the reptile house. So as soon as Nero left. My sisters and I rewarded $500 each. Screenshot of the reward. Employees working at the Qingzhou Zoo testify that the upstairs is true. The zoo is really poor. I'm plus one two. Plus two. Elder Shen looked at the messages. Pointing to one of the entries. He asked. How did you get this bounty? You want a reward? Aha. Uh -huh. Master Shen is not short of money. But he has great respect for what the zoo has done. Seeing that Zhou Ming was so poor that he even had to build a reptile house out of his own pocket. And he got up to it. Forget it. You contact the person in charge of the zoo and directly subsidize them for a bit. Elder Shen stopped Shen Wei Yu's movement. Money. Just come out of the group's public welfare foundation. Good. Shen Wei Yu nodded. She had only just learned of the news. I didn't realize that Zhou Ming was actually having such a difficult time. Even if the old man hadn't said anything, she would have thought about funding it. However, she had another thing to say. Grandpa, there's something I need to talk to you about. Your bike may not have been an accident. The relaxed face of Elder Shen on the hospital bed gradually became grave. In the hospital room, a sign of the coming storm permeated the room. In the meantime, 
Zhou Ming was completely unaware that his catching the snake with his bare hands had actually caused so much. A large amount of grant money. Coming soon. The other side. I can't. I'm going to throw up. Zhou Ming waved his hand. His body slumped against the window, forcing himself to hold back the desire that was churning in his stomach. Brother, bear with me. Victory is just ahead. The fat brother was on fire and opened a bottle of water for Zhou Ming, taking his hat and fanning him madly. You must not vomit ah. This car is quite expensive. We cannot afford to pay ha. Huh? Zhou Ming gave him a sidelong glance. Fatty was aggrieved. It's useless for you to look at me. Spit 200 once. How can you afford it? Okay. He couldn't afford to give it up. That's gotta help the fire department find a snake. Hey, that's right. Fatty directly gave Zhou Ming a thumbs up and encouraged him. Zhou Ming gritted his teeth. Next time, ask for a specific location before taking the job. What happened to the promised bed and breakfast resort? It's all hills all the way over here. It's been two hours of clanking and bumping. It's dark. I can't believe it hasn't arrived yet. Fat brother Hey heartily laughed. That, the car a moment on not go. It's, still half an hour's climb. Master, turn around. Don't, 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 don't. Fatty hurriedly hugged Zhou Ming and begged to death. If you go back now, you'll have suffered in vain, and you won't get any money. Zhou Ming's forehead veins popped. Let go. Not loose. Not loose. I won't let go until you go. Fatty wailed. I'll go. Fatty was right. Now go back. There's nothing. He wanted to see what kind of snake could be worth the trip he was tossing around. An hour later. Mountain BNB. Two men stood in front of the BNB. Chapter 19. I've got my pants down and this is what you're showing me? The boss's wife looked them up and down. You guys are the creepy pampered Mingo? One was as pale as a ghost and had the appearance of not being in good health. The other face was normal, but it was a fat brother who looked like a white bread. Neither one looked like they were from someone with good movement. Can you really catch a fast-moving snake when you're moving so slowly? It's us. Fatty looked at her with a smirk. You guys come in first, then. People come at night and can't be driven away. The owner's wife turned and let the two men into the courtyard, and then he grabbed a handful of some kind of powder and sprinkled one across the doorway before closing it tightly behind him. Boss lady, what are you spreading? Fatty asked curiously. A powder to repel snakes. The boss's wife frowned as she explained. But it doesn't work very well. And the snakes still show up every now and then. Still, it's better than nothing. Fatty nodded his head carelessly. Can you find Fatty a place for me to land first? I'm exhausted from this journey. Could be. The boss's wife led Zhou Ming and Fatty through the garden toward the small building. As he walked, he introduced himself. It's a mountainous area with more snakes and bugs and stuff but I had that taken into account when I started building this little vacation home. That's why I got a layer of snake and bug repelling plants on the outer rim, and often sprinkled some specially configured medicinal powders inside, and no one has ever told me about snakes in the house before. I called the fire department and the pest control company, and it died down for two days, but I didn't realize it would start up again not long after that. Fear of snake bite people. These days I have not dared to open the door to do business, even with the staff let them temporarily go back to rest. Just me and another employee here to take turns on duty. You guys came late. He has now rested. No wonder. It's quiet in here. There's no sound whatsoever. Fatty patted his chest and assured. Don't worry, boss lady. Since this matter is in our hands, we will definitely do it properly for you. You know our brother's valor in catching snakes with his bare hands. So be my guest. The boss's wife was amused by his tone. Then it's hard work for you guys. I'll give you a room with a double bed to rest for a while. And we'll work again in the morning. A double bed? Zhou Ming asked. The boss's wife explained. Two together is a bit of a caretaker. And if that snake shows up, you can just grab it. You see, women are just more attentive than us two big old men. Then it's hard work for the boss's wife. The fat brother's tongue was a lotus flower, coaxing the boss's wife to smile with one sound after another. Zhou Ming was so tired that his eyelids lifted slightly in a slow nod. Doesn't matter. He wanted to hurry up and lie down and rest now, waiting to get into the room. Fatty was still shy and smiling as he talked to the boss's wife. Fatty gave a thumbs up and praised. The decoration in your room is really this. The owner's wife smiled joyfully. It's average. But there are just a lot of tourists who just come here for my decoration. It's getting late. So you guys should hurry up and get some rest too. Hey. Hey. Okay. Fatty watched the boss's wife leave. Looking at the boss lady swaying back. Fatty scared twice and asked Zhou Ming behind him with a scowl. Well. Isn't it superb? What? All Zhou Ming wanted to do was lie down on his bed and rest. Boss lady. Fatty slapped his thighs, and the flesh on his body trembled and, you didn't see the look in the boss's wife's eyes when she saw me. 
She must have looked at your fat brother me. Zhou Ming opened his eyes and looked at Fatty with disgust. Your corneas can just be donated to useful people if you don't need them. That boss lady was clearly skeptical and sizing them up when she first saw them. Okay? I can't imagine that Fatty could be blind like that. Zhou Ming shook his head for a moment. Got up and walked into the bathroom to get ready to wash up. Undressing. To undress. A clear and pleasant voice came out from nowhere. The voice has a feeling of faint first love. Immediately pulling people back to the student days. Crisp voice like a lark. Very comfortable. It's the words that come out. Living like a stinking hooligan. Zhou Ming? His hand on his upper shirt gave a slight lurch. Hey, why don't you take it off? Go on. I've got my pants down and this is what you're showing me? Zhou Ming? He stared, his eyes quickly scanning the bathroom. Didn't find anything wrong with it. Ha, huh? what's this human standing there for? Did you find me? No way. If you found me you wouldn't be standing still. Why are you still standing? You're not taking a shower? Barely, I saw my abs just now. It's been a long time since I've seen a man of this quality. So I'll scare him later. Ha 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 ha. I wonder what it looks like with my pants down. Zhou Ming. How come the more you hear it, the more colorful it gets? You'll be arrested for being such a hooligan. Do you know that? And, listen to this meaning of its words. This is certainly not the first time this has been done. Zhou Ming pursed his lips, let go of his grip on his blouse, pulled open the bathroom door and walked out. Hey, 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 what's this all about? Don't you want to wash it? There was a curious and regretful yelling from behind them. Zhou Ming had no doubt that this man would make himself. Fatty hugged his cell phone and hemmed and hawed. Seeing Zhou Ming come out, finished washing? Just in time to tell you something, do you know how many plays the video I posted back in the afternoon has broken now? Zhou Ming, a million dollars? The account has almost half a million or so followers. And with some natural traffic, the videos usually get between 80 and a million views. Fatty Sked, I'll let you guess it all. Guess a big one. Come on. Hey. Fatty said with a mysterious face. 8.9 million. Our video went straight to the top of the hit list. The fans have gone up by more than a million. Together with the previous ones. This account has more than 1.6 million followers. To get this much attention in the niche circle of toxic pets is definitely a symbol of fire out of the ring. So much. Even Zhou Ming was slightly surprised. It has to be. Fatty's eyes narrowed into slits with pleasure. You're done showering. Ha. Huh? I'll go wash up then. Also, Zhou Ming was just about to say something when Fatty made a carp, directly got up from the bed, and rushed into the bathroom. Looking at the figure on the frosted glass. Two seconds to undress himself. Ah. Uh, ba one. Bawan my eyes. Mackelsia. McElroy. My eyes are not clean anymore. When it's night, I'll scare you to death. Let you defile my eyes. You wait for me. I'll never let you go. Ouch. Zhou Ming. That's good. He knew it. With the sound of running water from the bathroom shower, the little thing hiding in the shadows was silent. Zhou Ming frowned slightly. Why don't you say something? Run away? Zhou Ming. Bring one of the pants from your fat brother's bag. Fatty yelled. Zhou Ming. He hesitated this instant. Fatty couldn't wait any longer and pulled the bathroom door straight open. Between a mist of water, with his chest open and a towel around the lower half of his body, his face reddened. Fatty stepped out. He peeled back the door and bucked his hips in an alluring curve. Repeatedly, he raised an eyebrow and pinched his voice in anger. Look at Fatty's body. Enchanting, isn't it? Isn't it flattering? Is it exciting? Surprising? Chapter 20, not a snake? Then what is it? Look, I'm good, right? Hot eyes. No wonder that snake screamed so miserably and inhumanly. Zhou Ming's expression was all over the place. Yuck. Take away your magical powers. It's no fun. It's no fun. Let's go. Leaving? Zhou Ming's ears twitched, keenly catching this news, immediately peeling away from Fatty, who was standing in the bathroom doorway. He rushed in. The bathroom is small. There aren't many places to hide things at all. After Zhou Ming rummaged around underneath the trash can, there was nothing, and so on. Zhou Ming raised his head, the gazes fell on the ventilation ducts overhead, that upper edge, and a droopy little tail, covered with horizontal stripes. Zhou Ming's eyes narrowed slightly, and he didn't know if it was an illusion, but he felt that the tail was blue and black, doesn't look like a snake, rather like, Zhou Ming was about to make sure more carefully, when that little tail had already closed up. My old back, fat brother wailed, Zhou Ming what are you doing? Brother still wants to give his future daughter-in-law steady happiness. Zhou Ming glanced regretfully at the ventilation duct overhead. Almost found it. What? Fatty was uncertain. Zhou Ming pointed to the ventilation ducts in the bathroom. That's where it's moving around. Ventilation ducts? Fatty couldn't be bothered to wail. And looked at where Zhou Ming was pointing. No wonder the boss's wife had gotten and done so much protection and called so many people over. 
and the thing had never been caught. So that's where it is. It's pretty smart. Fatty cheerfully said. Look at Fatty's luck. He found it at once. Ha ha ha. Zhou Ming. Did you find that? It shouldn't be a snake. Though, not a snake? Then what is it? Fatty pursued with white eyes. Then the boss's wife and so many customers can say it is a snake. Can they be wrong about that too? I only saw its tail. And I can't determine the exact species for now. But it's safe to say it's definitely not a snake. That tail is nothing like a snake's tail. Snakes have short tails and the tip of the tail is often a small conical rod-like horny structure. The tail that Zhou Ming had just seen on the other hand showed square scales. Arranged in a ring. There's a big difference between them. But what exactly? Still need to see the whole picture. Okay. Fatty nodded. A rock spreads its wings and jumps directly onto the bed. Lifting the comforter and lying in. Since it's not a snake. I'll be able to sleep peacefully. Fat brother. Pa. A crunch. The light over the bed was turned off. You hurry up and get some sleep too. It's been a long night of tossing and turning. Zhou Ming. That's good. He hasn't bathed yet. By the time he came out of the bathroom. Fatty had long since snored himself to sleep. Lights out. He 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 he. Scare you. A sneaky little figure appeared at the window. Holler. Shocking grunts came from Fatty's throat. Wow. The small figure was taken aback. Immediately bracing himself. The scales on his body exploded as much as they could. Who is it? What's that? Come out. I see you. Ha 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 ha. I'm pretty good. Zhou Ming had heard its heartbeat the moment it appeared. Little thing. To be so bold as to come over again. But it's also because it's bold. Zhou Ming looked at the shadows on the curtains that were mapped down by the light outside. Two cute little paws sticking out on either side of his plump body. Not talking? Looks like it ran away. Ha. Huh? That's how good I am. A voice as clear as a pleasant bell. With a strong sense of satisfaction. Zhou Ming seemed to see a little guy sticking out his chest. Wiping the tip of his nose with the tip of his thumb handsomely. His head's raised high to fool his own little look. Yelling loudly, look, I'm awesome, right? But really, she didn't even realize that what she thought was dangerous was just a human purr. But, Zhou Ming couldn't help himself. This little guy, how silly and melodramatic. Ah, hello? What's that noise? The little one who had just been one for a little while resumed his defense. Probing and looking around. Zhou Ming hurriedly covered his mouth. Fearing that he would directly laugh out loud and scare this little fool away. Roar, hello dash. Fatty mumbled something under his breath as he rolled over. Not knowing what beautiful dream he was having. And crunched the soft mattress underneath him. Hey. Boss lady. Hey. Still not gone? The little one strained his ears. Listening for movement in the house. After a moment's hesitation. He crawled away with his tail wagging. Before he left. He grunted and put in a harsh word. It's not that I don't dare to go in. But I've been kind enough to let you two humans off the hook today. If I scare you away, who's going to play with me tomorrow? Hoomph. I'll let you go first. But don't you guys think I'm a horse player? I'm awesome. Row by row. No you're super awesome. Zhou Ming listened to her brittle voice and his body shook violently as he lay on the bed. This little thing. It's just too cute. The little one who had put up the hard word bared his soul and ran away. Zhou Ming didn't hit the hay. Let's just go by the fact that it's been hiding for a little over half a month. And waves of people have come and gone without being caught. This little guy is very smart. Very good at avoiding harm. It's not an easy thing to catch it. Zhou Ming needs to think long and hard. Thinking about thinking. Zhou Ming also fell asleep to the sound of Fatty snoring. Early the next morning. He was called up by Fatty. What's wrong? Zhou Ming asked sleepily. Fatty said to him as he put on his clothes. Hurry up and get up. Brother is going to go help the boss's wife in the war. What? Hearing that there was going to be a fight. Zhou Ming instantly had a jolt and climbed up from the bed. Just now the waiter came over and said that the boss's wife saw the snake again in the morning, saying that it must have escaped from the nearby snake factory, and that they should give a statement today. Quickly, the boss's wife is going alone. We two big men have to hurry over to give her courage. Isn't this a vacation scenic area? How come there's a snake factory? Zhou Ming asked in confusion. Yesterday did not say this all. Yeah, boss lady this BNB was built first when boss lady bought the land. That snake farm was built later. The boss's wife did not agree. But the land people have already bought the plant has also been built. Snakes and other things to start breeding. The money has spent millions of dollars into it. There is no way to just move away. So the two places are some distance away. After the vacation guests easily will not go over. The boss's wife can only pinch her nose and endure a chant. Fatty quickly explained the ins and outs of the matter and urged. Hurry up. The guy. Fatty will take you to save the hero. Zhou Ming looked at him and saw that he couldn't even stand on his golden chicken stand. But he still tried to keep his pants on and held his chubby white face red. Really hit on it. It's not certain who saves who. The two hurried to the snake factory. 
Chapter 21C, My Little Brother, Just Ask You If You're Scared, The Entrance to the Snake Factory at the Bottom of the Hill, The Boss's Wife Thrust Her Waist, A Small Face Burning With Anger, Pointing Across the Street, The Boss Passionately Opened the Mic, That Boss Was Also An Honest Man, Knowing That He Was At a Disadvantage, Ah ha ah ah, With A Particularly Kind And Friendly Attitude, It Looks Like The Boss's Wife Is Full Of Energy, Okay, And Heroic, People Fighting Are Not Weak At All, the snake factory boss looked bitter, it's really impossible to run out from me. Since I set up the snake factory after you came over to make trouble, I added an extra wall on the periphery, and there are many nets. These snakes can't hit a hole in the ground, they simply can't run out. Hey goo, you don't believe me, come in and take a look for yourself, you'll understand everything. The boss's wife immediately took a step back, no go, don't go, those things you raise are just too scary to look at, it makes my heart grow fuzzy. Now my business is yellow because of that snake, and I saw it early this morning, so you have to give me a statement. Oops, what do you want to say? There are so many other wild snakes on this mountain. You can't just see a snake and say it ran past me. The snake factory owner sighed, his expression somewhat helpless. If you really can't, I'll go over and catch it for you? No way. You smell like snakes. What if you go and attract more snakes? The boss's wife refused without thinking. Then there's nothing to be done. The owner of the snake factory spread his hands. He had proposed a solution and the other party still disagreed. So there was nothing he could do. You, the boss's wife frowned her showy brow and was about to speak. The afterglow caught a glimpse of Joe Ming and Fatty's figures walking over. Why are you guys here? Didn't you catch the snake? Did you catch it? Joe Ming shook his head. No, Fatty, on the other hand, enthusiastically came over to the boss's wife. That little employee of yours said that you went to the snake factory. And I'm afraid you'll be bullied so I came over to take a look, I'm fine, the boss's wife didn't move and pulled away from Fatty, the snake factory owner sniffed, since someone else is catching the snakes, I won't be needed, I'll go back first ha, huh? when he finished, he tried to slip away, the boss's wife instantly refused, hey, don't go yet, boss, Zhou Ming was the first to open his mouth to call the man down and smiled, to catch that snake, we still need your help, me, what can I do to help, the boss pointed to himself, looking at him in confusion, Zhou Ming nodded, in this matter, we still need your help, ha, huh? I need to borrow a snake from you, can you lend me one, Zhou Ming asked, borrow a snake, the snake factory owner was a little confused, you want to use my snake to catch the one in her BNB, theoretically, yes, Zhou Ming nodded in response, to be precise, the snake was used to capture that little guy in the BNB, that's a yes, the owner of the snake factory enthusiastically responded, it's fine for you to borrow away as much as you want, just get it over with and let me have a clean slate. The boss's wife's face instantly drooped. What do you mean? Is it because I don't want to live a life of leisure specifically to come over to find trouble with you? You, gotta have it. The snake factory owner slapped his mouth and surrendered. It's my fault for saying the wrong thing. Let's hurry inside. Poof. The boss's wife grunted softly and led the way inside. The snake factory owner helplessly looked at the two of them, Zhou Ming and Fatty, and shook his head helplessly. Fatty raised his hand and patted the snake factory owner's shoulder as if to comfort him. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll catch it. It better be. The snake factory owner let out a bitter laugh. The group entered the snake factory. The snake plant is divided into management, production and production support areas. It's no different from any other normal yard except that the production area is stocked with snakes. But once you walk into the production area where the snakes are kept, it was immediately uncomfortable. A dense shivering sound came from the snake pool. Each pool in the house held hundreds of snakes, entangled with each other, even some sensing the human's arrival and erecting their bodies, gulping their snakes' letters and staring at them. It seemed that, given a chance, they would not hesitate to attack. The boss's wife only looked at it. Her eyes didn't know where to put them, her scalp plate tingling with physiological discomfort. She was weak on her feet, shivering as she stepped back. I, I'll wait for you outside. Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming nodded, seeing her stumbling alone holding onto the wall and heading out. He looked curiously at the fat brother at his side. No more heroics? Fatty snorted. The other boss's wives can't see you fat brother me. Fat brother can still go to be a licking dog? Isn't this your strong point? Zhou Ming joked. Fatty snapped. Asterisk 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 you. I'm not going to be a licking dog. Even a snake could be charmed by your fat brother's charm. Okay? She can't look at me. And I still think her boobs are too big. Her ass is too perky. And her waist is too thin so she's definitely not good in bed. Zhou Ming, are you sure that's disgusting? That, are we still watching? The snake factory owner asked weakly. Look, Zhou Ming and Fatty said in unison. The snake factory owner introduced. 
I mainly raise Bengal cobras and five paste snakes here. What kind are you looking for? When a snake factory is opened in China, it usually raises five species of king snake, cobra, ocelot, five step snake, and water rattlesnake, which are highly adaptable to growth and have high disease resistance. Three of these, the king snake, the ocelot, and the water rattlesnake, are all non venomous. Let's go in first. Zhou Ming didn't realize that all the ones he raised were actually poisonous snakes. If you're going to use a snake to find the little guy hiding in the BNB, it's best to use a non-venomous snake. After all, that little guy had a clear and pleasant voice and a good personality, so it was perfect to bring back to watch and play with. Could be. The owner handed them special double rubber rain boots. Put this on. Zhou Ming looked at the rubber rain boots, each of which had bike marks on them. Apparently, the little things in the snake pool don't have great personalities. Fatty took it up the ass and put it on. The boss turned his head and saw that Zhou Ming hadn't moved yet, and urged, why aren't you moving? Fat brother nimbly explained, boss, you don't have to care about him, not that I'm blowing, he's never been bitten by a snake, and even more violent snakes in his hands are submissive. Any disc, but, is full of poisonous snakes here. The snake factory owners but hadn't finished speaking when Zhou Ming suddenly opened the door and walked into the snake house. Walking into the snake house, it was obvious that it was dark and stuffy. Snakes are afraid of light, wind and cold, so the house is windproof, lightproof and insulated. Even the outside walls are coated with insulation. Fizzle, the humans are coming in, humans coming in. Have you eaten? Have you eaten? Let me see where it's better to bite. Oops, this human doesn't smell right today. Hey, it's so boring. Stop yelling. Will you? Can you give more food? This snake can't get enough to eat. Does Hannah from the next pool like me? Uh -huh. Why did you break up with me? Just because we're not the same breed? I'm a viper. I have to have a viper's brand. I'll bite a human to death first before I say anything. Mom, the humans are here again. I'm scared. I'm scared. Frogs ha 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 ha. Humans, come and fight. I'll show you what I'm made of. Zhou Ming's ears were very noisy. There are snakes that say anything. There were seven or eight wrist-thick five-paced snakes that were particularly wary of the aura emanating from the living. Grumpily, they reared their heads and spat out their letters vying with each other to make an incessant bearing sound whose decibels were much louder than expected. They crawled in Zhou Ming's direction, the two snake heads at the head swinging back and forth. Come here and I'll bite you. See, these are my little brothers. I'll ask you if you're afraid. Are you scared? Looking at the five-step snake's condescending demeanor, Zhou Ming, the grumpy hey, can't stand it. He took a step forward with a cold face. Stop it. Chapter 22, Put Away Your Fangs. Don't scare people. A horrified roar came from behind the snake factory owner, who stared wide-eyed at the five-step snakes on the ground that were clearly in a state of attack. None of these snakes have had their venom glands removed. It's deadly if you bite it. I've had them for so long, and I've never dared to walk right into a snake house without doing anything to protect them like you did. The five-paced snake, also known as the sharp-nosed pit viper, is commonly known as the king of rotten meat. Predominantly black, the snake is patterned with white triangles and a triangular head. What's special is that while other vipers have two fangs, the five-paced snake has two pairs and four fangs. Therefore, as long as you see the place where you were bitten with four fangs, then it must be the five-step snake case. Its toxicity wasn't as strong as the rumor that it would kill you if you took five steps, but it definitely couldn't be underestimated either. The toxin of the five-paced snake mainly damages the heart muscle cells, and the limb tissues also dissolve, leading to extensive necrosis of the tissue cells which results in severe bleeding. The symptoms of ulceration and necrosis appear after injury, and the injured limb looks like a dead tree branch that has lost its vitality, so it is also called the king of decay. Every year, more than 60% of the people bitten by snakes in China are bitten by five-step snakes, which are also known as the most dangerous snake. But it's the most dangerous snakes that can be lucrative for snake factory owners. The price of five-paced snakes is around 300 yuan a caddy, while the price of dried snakes is three or four times higher. The pay is very generous. Shut up, an icy cold voice came from the corner. The shivering sound stopped for two or three seconds. The queen sama has spoken. Shut up, shut up, the queen is coming. Get out of the way. It's all of you who woke up the queen sama. Lord queen, the queen? Zhou Ming raised an eyebrow. The few five-step snakes that were clamoring in front of him immediately wimped out. Softly, he lowered his noble head. It was like submitting to Zhou Ming. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. The snake factory owner had never seen this before subconsciously licking his dry lips, his heartbeat was uncontrollably accelerated. He prodded in a low voice that had a slight tremor to it. Go, get out, go, there's no way Zhou Ming is going anywhere. He was now very curious about this Queen Sama. Zhou Ming raised his foot and moved forward again, 
asterisk 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 and you move are you crazy don't die on me if you want to die the snake factory owner was about to collapse i've never seen anyone so disobedient to death it would be a big deal if something happened to this man in his snake factory he was really regretting it how did you get such a demon in here fatty looked at his boss who was almost on the verge of breaking down and with a small wink in his eye he smiled and patted the snake factory boss on the shoulder the boss just please be good i promise you my brother will be fine even if something happens it's on us okay the snake factory owner listened to fatty's words with a blank expression really really fatty promises joe ming over there had already advanced two steps it wasn't that he didn't want to go faster but there were so many snakes here that it wasn't easy for him to find a place to land you're challenging me humans back off the five-step snake that had tried to launch an attack on joe ming earlier hated it the five-step snakes in the snake pool are already adult the full length of the five-paced snake is 120 centimeters to 150 centimeters and larger five-paced snakes can reach a full length of 200 centimeters or more the one speaking has just about grown up and is at a point where it is able to court and mate it is estimated that it should be put in by the snake factory owner specifically to be used for female snakes to mate and have pups listening to the male snake's threat joe ming did not retreat instead he directly crossed over it and went straight forward he heard the lord queen just around the corner oh my god how can i continue to act in front of my little brother if i'm not taken seriously think of a way to get a bite out of him the five-step snake braced its body and locked onto joe ming's thigh it's good it looks meaty here i'm sure it won't hurt my teeth it's the thighs snake snake i'm going to charge loud and clear a long black line popped up from the ground back back the snake factory owner's heart lifted up as he shouted even fatty who had special faith in joe ming had a thump in his heart he believed that joe ming was not false but this snake is a biter and it doesn't recognize its own family however something unexpected happened joe ming's back was as if he had eyes his body was slightly sideways his hand reached out and directly pinched the seven inches of the five-step snake fizzle the five-step snake was held down by its faithful throat letting out agonizing gasps as its body twisted as if it were a twist in joe ming's hand ah get out get out get out going out of breath i can't breathe ouch save the snake what are you idiots looking at bite him the five-paced snake wailed and summoned its companions sure enough following it its little brother erected its body and stared tightly at joe ming how dare you call it a snake joe ming's fingers that were pinching the five-step snake were slightly aggravated the warning is particularly clear Ow! Oh, the five-step snake screamed miserably its voice splitting just as joe ming was torn between letting go or not soothing joe ming what are you a uh, humans don't seem so bad after all it's so good oh my god the voice of the five-step snake entered joe ming's ears violently impacting the eardrums shut up you dirty bastard tarnish my ears listening to a soft cute and crisp female voice purring is a supreme pleasure but this one it's a ing male voice it's a male voice even you're a ing stingy man by the sound of it the flavor is too strong you can scare people to death okay move it you haven't eaten or what go on noticing the laxity of joe ming's movements the five-step snake was dissatisfied it was just getting comfortable over here what are you doing little brother go on the minions on the floor looked at each other for a moment as they listened to their boss wailing do they still bite bite my ass whoever dares to bite him is messing with this snake the five-step serpent said boldly this human i'll cover him don't touch anyone shiver the group of snakes called out rhythmically it was as if he had done the bidding of this five-paced snake Choming covered by a snake thanks not particularly necessary got it boss got it boss everyone watch this is a human being covered by the boss come on put your fangs away don't scare people what are you doing with your tongue out you asshole shiver these conversations dissolved into a rhythmic shivering sound it emboldened the snake factory owner and fatty damn this scene is so weird isn't it joe ming stood in the middle of the snake pool in his hand he cupped a five-paced snake of more than a meter and the five-paced snake's body swinging in the air kept rolling and struggling beside joe ming was a group of five-step snakes that raised their heads and locked their eyes on him as long as joe ming moves the five-step snakes would be able to immediately rush up and bite joe ming into a sieve chapter 23 five-step snake hurry up and touch me don't make me beg the snake factory owner's body shivered he grabbed fatty's hand and said in a trembling voice let's let's call the police i'm 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 afraid of him fatty was also nervous what kind of scenes hadn't he seen before fatty but this scene he really has never seen it joe ming 
Is it true that we won't be able to come back this time? Playing crawler, especially toxic favorites. Then be prepared to walk a tightrope at high altitude. Every thrill-seeking represents throwing your life away. It's like Zhou Ming now. Although Fatty trusted Zhou Ming wholeheartedly, but no amount of trust is greater than the venom glands in a viper's body. So many snakes, once swarmed, they couldn't even save it if they wanted to. Fatty's heart, too, hung in the air. He forced himself to calm down and whispered, Go ahead and get that snake fork, hook or whatever it is. Yes, yes, I'm on my way. The snake factory owner was busy going out to get his tools. The large snake house, only Zhou Ming and Fatty were left. I... Harder, harder. Zhou Ming couldn't bear it. Threw this gouging snake straight out. Get thee out of here. Don't get his hands dirty. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. The five-paced snake fell to the ground without pain. But the overwhelming feeling of exhilaration coming from somewhere in his body simply disappeared. Its heart was instantly empty. It slowed down for a while. Its body rolling and grinding on the ground. But it still hadn't found the exhilarating feeling it had when it was in Zhou Ming's hands. Immediately, he squirmed towards Zhou Ming in a deadpan manner. Again and again and again. Don't stop. Don't stop. I've been a snake for so long. It's the first time I've ever had a good time. The five-step snake wriggled to Zhou Ming's front and paralyzed itself directly in the open space in front of him. Come on. Don't pity me because I'm a delicate flower. The veins on Zhou Ming's forehead throbbed. I'm warning you not to get too far ahead of yourself. The five-step snakes that had gathered around saw their own boss not wanting Billy and lying in front of the humans, and couldn't help but say, Boss, being pinched by this human is really special, isn't it? Idiot, just look at the boss like that. The boss's eyes are rolling up. Are you a pugilist? We snakes don't have white eyes. Hey, looks like it. So this human pinching us would be especially pleasurable, right? I have a bold idea. Me too. Me too. Plus one. The number of attached five-paced snakes grew and grew. Zhou Ming suddenly had a bad feeling. Shiver. A snake lay with its belly turned over to Zhou Ming's left. Shiver. The two snakes lay with their bellies turned over on Zhou Ming's right side. There is also a bold, lying directly on Zhou Ming's feet. Mingled seductive poses. Plate me. Right now. Right now. Right now. Disc. The serpents spit on it. Yuck. Heartbeat. Shameless. And after. Line after line. Swarming. Hundreds of poisonous snakes all gathered around Zhou Ming's feet. It quickly piled up into a small hill. Zhou Ming, do you guys ever ing think about how I feel? Can you kind of do the viper card? Rub, brother five pacer? What's the matter with you guys? I've lost my poker face as a big brother. Fatty standing in the doorway? Can you ing do that? Is he dreaming? Ouch my ass. Fatty pinched himself, covering his arm and huffing backwards. It hurts. It's not a dream. Not a dream. Asterisk 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 asterisk. The snake factory owner who had returned with his tools, saw this scene, and his mouth opened wide and his eyes stared out. What's this? What's this? What's this? He's been raising snakes for over a decade. Never seen a scene like this before. A snake that flips and exposes its belly. One stack after another. It is important to realize that the softest and most vulnerable part of a snake's entire body is the abdomen. The abdomen, despite having scales, is more prone to injury compared to the rest of the body, and is their weak point. These are snakes that can expose their bellies, obviously feeling very safe in their surroundings, but the snake factory owner had never seen this before. Apparently they are, because, Chu Ming, in a daze, Zhou Ming moved, if he didn't move, he thought he was going to be buried by them snakes, boing boing, touch me, touch me, humans, I'm warning you now, touch me, I was lying down first, I fell on you first, touch me, touch me, hurry up and touch me, don't make me beg, touch my ass. You want to pow me for nothing? Go dream your dreams. Zhou Ming drew out a foot and casually kicked the snake next to him to kick out a place to land. Ah, ha, 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 whoops, didn't kick me. Human, human. One more kick. Kick me. Kick me. Damn. I've never seen such a cheap request. Have some face. Ugh. After Zhou Ming jumped out from the center of the five-step snakes, the five-step snakes that had lost their point of support immediately slid into a ball. Good thing they weren't afraid of suffocating if they pressed on. A five-step snake flexibly twisted its body, making the chaotic pile of snakes twist like a twist. The tool in the snake factory owner's hand had fallen to the ground. He's numb. Today's events went beyond the experience he had accumulated over a decade of raising snakes. It's a miracle. No. It's a miracle. And Chao Ming. Instead, they took advantage of the opportunity. Walked right up to the Queen Sama. The five-step snakes in the snake pool had all been attracted away by Big Brother. 
Only the Lord Queen remains. Finally, we're going to see the other side of the mountain for what it is. Zhou Ming was a little excited. The snakes in this snake pool are all coming together to go. Only this one. Cold eyes. Most importantly, the only time it opened its mouth to say three words. That tone. That feel. It's a proper, bossy queen voice. I just don't know what it looks like. Zhou Ming curiously walked up to the queen sama. She cowered in the sandy soil in the corner. Zhou Ming could only vaguely see her figure, and her slightly exposed head. Zhou Ming concentrated, intending to listen carefully to its heart. But, haven't heard anything. Those three words just now. It was as if they did not come from it. Zhou Ming frowned slightly as he continued to approach the queen sama. Humans going toward the queen sama. The queen is in danger. What's the danger? This human is going to jerk off the queen sama. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Why don't you jerk me off? Getting kicked in the ass just now was really, really good. Erase. Brothers. Hit it. Beat him to death. Calling. The five-paced snakes hilariously fought. Told you to show off. If not you. Who? Ugh. Chapter 24. Snake snake eye. Ah. Just want to dry rice. M M M. It smells so good. Holy. Watching Zhou Ming was like walking through no man's land. Fatty is really sorry. Why the didn't he have his camera with him when he had such great material? This will be a real hit if we send it out. You don't even have to rub it in. Pity. It's really too bad. And the owner of the snake factory standing next to him, seeing this scene, the person has been frozen to numbness. This guy Zhou Ming is here to challenge science, right? It's also possible that the science of the snake is for him to break. Hiss. Seeing that Zhou Ming was still approaching, the Queen Sama kept walking until she was within its safe range, immediately raising his head and neck. He made an attacking gesture towards Zhou Ming. Black browed brocade snake? See its black and yellow head with two black stripes behind its eyes, shaped as if they were two eyebrows, Zhou Ming subconsciously said, but in the next second, he changed his tune, no, no, you're a king kitsun, as the saying goes, black eyebrows wears black silk, and Wang Jin wears net stockings, the king brood snake is very similar to the black brow brood snake and is very easy to misrecognize, but the king kin snake has a particularly distinctive head pattern, and there is a clear difference between the two snakes when you look at the head pattern. The head of the king brood snake is proportionally larger than that of the black browed brood snake, and the head is basically covered with the gray markings of the word king. The black browed brook snake, on the other hand, is basically the same color on the top of its head, but the scales above the eyes have a black band that resembles an eyebrow, hence the name black browed brook snake, which is not normally found in king brook snakes. But apparently, this queen sama was different from the normal king's brocade snake in that it also had patterns next to its eyes. It was no wonder that Zhou Ming had misrecognized him at first glance. The Wang Jin snake's branched head and neck swayed from side to side, locking onto Zhou Ming who was walking towards him. The voice that was as cold as the metaphysical ice in the sky was full of majesty and warning. Back up, you're warned not to come back. Zhou Ming stood still and looked at its body hidden in the sand. Judging by the size of its head and neck, this must be a not yet adult king snake. The king Kitsune is an exceptionally large non-venomous snake, second in size only to the python among non-venomous snakes. Adult king kin snakes often weigh more than 3 pounds with the largest growing to 20 pounds and reaching lengths of 2 meters or more. However, Zhou Ming had never seen such a large king brocade snake before. Why are you here? Zhou Ming was filled with curiosity about the Queen Sama. Keep in mind that snakes are very territorial animals. That is, these five-step snakes were bred by snake factories since they were small, and they are used to it. A snake of a different species mixed in would hardly, or certainly, be ostracized. But this king brood snake, not only do you get to live in the snake pool, you get to hog the most comfortable spot. Listening to those five-step snakes, there was still a lot of respect for its existence. Can I scare him away like this? Finished. What if you can't scare me away and throw me out? Wang Jin snake stared coldly at Zhou Ming while supporting his head and neck, while crumbling in his mind. I'm well fed and warm here. I don't want to leave at all. What if I can't find such a good place to dine again? Hey, it's annoying. The expression on Zhou Ming's face, who heard the complaining heart, was chapped for a moment. You can imagine it. A noble, cold, world-despising queen would actually worry about a meal? And complaining about not being able to find a place to dine in the future? The whole section collapsed. Collapse. What Zhou Ming never expected was, this King Kitsun snake, actually used the snake factory as a cafeteria. But yes, the King Kitsun is outstanding at hunting and killing, and will take to attacking when it meets other snakes, because it is immune to the venom of the five-paced snake. It also preys on highly venomous snakes, such as those found in snake factories. No wonder you can settle down here. It is said that a king kamikaze in one place is not a venomous snake for 10 miles. No, 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 I still have to put up a fight. Let people know how good I am. Shiver. 
an extremely dangerous shiver sound came out from its mouth. At the same time, all of the king's brocade snake's body that was hidden under the sandy soil was also thrown out. Ooh, not bad for a nationally protected wildlife. Pretty as hell. Although immature, they are already much larger than the five-step snakes in the snake pool. Juvenile dorsal surface light yellowish brown, with four reddish brown longitudinal stripes extending from the back of the neck to the end of the tail. Short reddish brown transverse stripes on the mid dorsal stem of the body, and this portion of the mid posterior portion of the body gradually beginning to be inconspicuous. As it ages, its body color changes gradually, with some of the head scale grooves being black, and the adult's back being more variable in color, mostly turning yellow, yellow green, and olive green. It's beautiful, Zhou Ming said obsessively. It's rare to come across a little one that fits the bill so well. You've been warned, don't come any closer, or I'll release the stench. The King Jean snake gulped its snake letters and elongated its straightened up body, trying to put up a noble, cold and inviolable model to warn Zhou Ming once again. The heart grew more and more annoyed and said, Snakes, I just want to lie still for a second, don't bother me. Stench? Zhou Ming listened to her complaints while thinking about the stench it was talking about. That's it. The King Kamikaze has a special gland on its body that causes it to emit a strange and unpleasant odor. Snake has a kind of sense of smell as very sensitive animals. The King Snake released the stench. For the sensitive sense of smell of the snake is simply poisonous gas bomb. That was why it could be honored by the snakes as Queen Sama. I guess. Figured all that out. Zhou Ming suddenly felt some heartache for this group of five-step snakes. Being bullied when you're young and having to be taken away to make wine when you're older. How can one word miserable be enough? Bothering snake. Dry rice snake did something wrong. The cold voice kept repeating. It rolled its dead fish eyes and simply swung up. Forget it. Forget it. Stinking people and snakes forget it. Let's go to hell together. Just when it wanted to die with it, Zhou Ming suddenly stepped back. Yeah, gone? Wang Jin snake cautiously stared at Zhou Ming's movements. Zhou Ming is backing up, but he wasn't afraid of the snake. Boss, is there anything for snakes to eat? Ha! Huh? Snake factory stared at him blankly. Fatty was the first to come back to his senses and repeated to the owner. Food, chicks, ducks, mice, whatever, got any? They're there. The hatchery cull just sent over a batch of cull egg embryos. I'm on my way to get them. The snake factory was busy returning with a small basket, carefully taking two steps forward. He reached out and handed it to Zhou Ming. Thanks. Zhou Ming held the small basket and retraced his steps towards King Jin Snake. He took out two eggs and put them in front of it. Wang Jin Snake cocked his head, looking at Zhou Ming suspiciously and defensively. This human, what is he doing? Eating? Ha! Me! King Cam Snake! I will die of gluttony and starvation here. I won't eat a bite of food from a human like you. Chapter 25, Can't This Hold You? Cold and beautiful. Everywhere is a dry meal. No? Zhou Ming listened to her cold as ice resistance to her heart, and took out a small chicken cub from the basket. Kiki, Chicken Little is still alive. Living creature. Not only was the king brocade snake in front of him attracting attention, even the five-step snakes beside him had begun to turn back frequently. It was only the presence of the king's brocade snake that he was concerned about, and did not dare to move at will. Being used to being squeezed by Wang Jin snake, it was obvious that he could bully the few with the many, but he didn't resist. What a bunch of jitterbugs. Zhou Ming couldn't help but shake his head straight. Ha! Huh? You think I'm going to eat a little chicken asterisk 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 asterisk? Humans are the most cunning. There must be a bomb. I'm not eating. The king's brood snake gulped its snake letters and raised its own noble head in disdain. It's the lord queen of the snake pond. Can it look at these mundane things? Really not eating? Zhou Ming had when dry pulled out a small mouse. The owner of the snake factory was very sweet and brought over some of the feed that the factory had for the snakes. The little mouse threw himself on the ground as soon as he could. Wang Jin snake immediately widened his eyes. His head instantly lowered. And his gaze locked onto the little mouse. The king kin snake. Also known as the cauliflower snake. Omnivorous snakes with a diet that includes mice birds eggs and more. Rat smells. Rats. God knows how long it's been since I've had a rat in here. I've wanted this bite for a long time. The King Kitsune looked at the little mouse that died in front of him and gulped his snake letters, this time with gluttony. The voice was still cold, but the words came out like a live foodie. I want to eat. I want to eat. Small sample. Can't you handle that? Zhou Ming continued to put rats in front of it. The chickadee had panicked and ran away, and the next moment he was being torn apart by a five-paced snake next to him in a single bite. The queen mother is so good to them. Give them the chicks. Moving dead snakes. Boing boing. King Jean snake. On the other hand, was caught in a celestial battle. Rats. It's a rat. How delicious. I want to eat. No. 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 There's something wrong with the human in front of me. I need to be cautious. But. It's a rat. 
Wang Jin Snake was so stupid that he could barely suppress his nature. Zhou Ming admired this King Jin Snake more and more. Animals usually have a hard time repressing their natural natures, especially the King Kitsune, which is violent in nature, has an outstanding ability to hunt and kill, and has a pronounced dominionism. It looks like we can only make the killer move. Zhou Ming beckoned the snake factory owner to get a live mouse. The snake factory owner gulped straight. Looking at Zhou Ming carrying the squeaking little mouse, he waved it in front of Wang Jin Snake. Live. Live 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 rats. Wang Jin Snake got starry-eyed all of a sudden and stared at the little mouse in Zhou Ming's hand. Aha. Uh -huh. Alive. Eating. 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 Give it to me. I want to eat. The frequency of the King Brocade Snake's gulping snake letters became extremely fast, and the entire snake was in a state of extreme excitement leaving Fatty and the snake factory owner in no doubt that it would erupt in a direct and violent attack. When ordinary people encountered such a situation, their legs were all soft with fear, and the things in their hands had long since been thrown out. But, Zhou Ming, however, was not an ordinary person. He pinched the little mouse's tail and waved it arrogantly in front of King Jin Snake. Want some? Zhou Ming asked gently, as if he was asking a little girl who refused to eat obediently. Eat. You don't eat this. You're not a snake. Wang Jin Snake stared intently at the little mouse in Zhou Ming's hand. Zhou Ming sniffed and slowly stepped backward, slowly lure the King Kitsune out of the corner. Wang Jin Snake stared at the rat in Zhou Ming's hand while wriggling himself to keep up, mentally calculating. I can't beat this human. Even if I had fought, I wouldn't have been able to run away. Well, can't be hard. Let's eat the good food first. As Zhou Ming's feet retreated, King Jin Snake also revealed his original true face. The long body trailed in a straight line and the pattern on the spine was clearly different from the five-paced snake next to it. Asterisk 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 asterisk? The king's brood serpent? The snake factory owner was dumbfounded. I don't even have this species in this snake factory. Until two or three years ago, the king's snake could indeed be bred, but with scientific advances and research, the king's snake has been determined to be a protected wildlife species, and no snake factory can continue to breed this species. Indeed not. Zhou Ming said without looking back. It came over to dabble. Dine and dash? You're a snake? You're a snake? The snake factory owner belly ached, but watched as the king brocade snake was seduced out by Zhou Ming with a live mouse. This little look is like a puppy eyeing a bone. The snake factory owner felt again that there didn't seem to be anything wrong with what Zhou Ming said. Fatty grinned and tapped him on the shoulder, giving a thumbs up to fool around. Told you, my buddy is this. Awesome indeed. The snake factory owner nodded approvingly. Zhou Ming looked at the king brocade snake that was visually one meter long but its weight was estimated to have exceeded 3 pounds. Looks like the food is good at the snake factory. Eating like an adult when you're underage. Almost there. Zhou Ming threw the rat in his hand to the ground. Wang Jin snake had long been prepared and took this opportunity to quickly tense his body and shoot out like a sharp sword. Mice. I'm coming. The king's brocade snake opened its mouth wide and its body went straight towards the little mouse. Just when it thought it was about to eat a delicious meal. Instead, he watched as the little mouse dropped to the ground and let out a squeak. Hey. Hey, Wang Jin Snake was a bit dumbfounded. It missed? It's the titular King Brocade Snake, a King Kamikaze that even cobras and five-paced snakes can take head on. I can't believe I missed? King Jin Snake couldn't believe it. A strong force came from the end of his body as he was trying to renew his attack. The King Snake went black and was put into a bag. The King Kitsune Snake. Who am I and where am I? Where's my rat? Wang Jin Snake has not yet reacted. Only know that he got his hands on the little mouse. So gone. Gone. Nope. King Jin Snake was furious, hissing, the voice grew colder and more piercing, the food that was almost at your mouth, but you watched it escape, what a painful experience for a dry meal snake, Zhou Ming looked at the King Brocade Snake that was frantically rolling around in the snake catching bag, he took back what he had just said about it being smart, it's still too early to realize you've been taken, and it's really, the queen's voice, the heart of a foodie, hey, this snake, I'll take it, Zhou Ming held up the documents he was holding and said to the snake factory owner, the snake factory owner nodded his head busily. Of course of course. After all, Zhou Ming couldn't continue to leave King Jin Snake behind even if he didn't take it away. Who knows when it's going to be so ferocious that it's going to up his pool of five-step snakes. It's also a protected animal. There's no way the snake factory owner could have gotten it killed. Zhou Ming would be doing him a favor if he could collect this bogeyman. Replaced the case for King Jin Snake. It then realized it had been set up. The whole snake exuded an incredulous consternation. Yet the heartbeat remains cold. Me? I've been arrested? I just wanted to eat a mouse and I got caught? Now the mice are not eaten and the snakes have been captured. It's a big loss. I'll let the snake have a bite. In the cold voice, there was a sense of bewilderment and resentment. Is it in a bad mood? Fatty asked curiously. 
pointing at the curled up king's brocade snake. He actually saw repost from a snake. This is just plain weird. Zhou Ming couldn't stop laughing at Wang Jin snake's heartfelt words. I don't know if I should call it lackadaisical or what. The end is a noble and cold model. But I'm off to say everywhere is dry rice. Don't even worry about where you're going to get caught. What are you laughing at? Wasn't Fatty right? Fatty was confused. He always felt that Zhou Ming was hiding something from him. Hey, you're sleeping in the same room, and you're hiding so much from Fatty. Fatty expressed his heartache and disappointment. Fatty gave him a little look. Zhou Ming was puzzled. You have a cramp in your eyelid? Fatty was speechless. Chapter 26, Joyful. Snake me ah, it really smells good. In the snake pool. Asterisk 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 asterisk. The Queen Sama has been taken? The Queen Sama has been taken? The Queen Sama has been captured. The Queen Sama has been taken. Sensing that the odor on the king's brocade snake was gradually leaving, the five-step snake in the snake pool was sensitive to it. Having established this fact, the group of snakes is restless. Finally, finally, someone has come to collect this bogeyman. Mom won't have to worry about me not getting enough to eat anymore oh. Moving. Good people live in peace. It's a good day. Happy flowers bloom. Jubilation. Zhou Ming stumbled on his feet as he listened to a sensational, ghostly sound of celebration in the snake pool. Looking down at the melancholy looking King Jean snake. You're really sinning. There are so many snakes cheering when they leave. Look at all this jubilation. Just short of firecrackers. Wang Jin snake laughed coldly. The end is a noble and cold look. It also now reacted to the fact that it had been captured. Looking at the squeaking mice in his cage, Wang Jin snake was bored and no longer had the impulse he had just now. I'm so stupid. Knowing that humans can't be trusted, but still craving for it. No, it's not my fault. It's all because the mice are too tasty to seduce me. The king's brocade snake flicked its tail, and its body shifted into a bizarre arc. Inside the cage, the squeaky little mouse is strung up. Squeak. The little mouse struggled desperately, trying to escape from the midst of this huge strangulation force. It's just a shame. It's too weak. Not enough to resist a king brood snake. But in 10 seconds, it was already gagging. The king kitsune snake slowly opened its mouth wide and swallowed the little mouse. Ah. Wang Jin snake sighed tersely. It smells good. If only we could get a few more. It's enjoying itself. No impact at all. Zhou Ming came out of the snake house carrying a box. Still curious, the snake factory owner asked, Don't we need to see anything else? Is that all there is to it? No need. Zhou Ming pointed at the king brocade snake. It's fine to have it. The snake factory boss nodded, rubbed his hands together and asked Zhou Ming with a smile. That ah, I see that you are quite good at raising snakes. Have you considered jumping ship? When Fatty heard this, he immediately reached out and drooped his hand on the snake factory boss's shoulder. Boss, you're out of line. You're digging up my people in front of my fatty. Ah, ah ha ha ha, I just said that. The snake factory owner smiled sarcastically and handed Zhou Ming his business card. Let's make a friend. Just come over if you need anything in the future. Zhou Ming took the business card. Good. After thinking about it, he instructed. You carefully check if the snake factory has any holes or something like that. Like in a wild mountain like this. It's especially easy to get hold. That's why this King Kitsune burrowed in. The snake factory owner looked aghast. Nodding repeatedly. Okay. I know. Snake factory entrance. The B&B owner's wife watched as Zhou Ming's trio walked out of the snake factory. Subconsciously. He wanted to go up and ask what was going on. But the next moment her mind scrolled back to the scene she had just seen in the snake pool. It was a moment of withdrawal. From a distance. He asked. How's it going? Fatty watched her movements and said with a smile. We have to thank the boss for lending us a snake. He's so warm-hearted. The boss's wife bristled and muttered. It's something he should do. After all, if it weren't for him raising snakes here, I wouldn't be able to get any snakes in from my side of the family. Gotta. This time, Fatty couldn't say anything. Zhou Ming said goodbye to the snake factory owner and said to the two, Let's go back too. Okay. Fatty answered. And Zhou Ming got on one of the motorcycles outside the door. Boss lady? She came by bicycle. But obviously, Bikes aren't as fast as motorcycles. The boss's wife looked at Fatty eagerly. Fatty's veiled care and intimacy with her was obvious to the boss's wife. It was just that Fatty's dignified appearance, although there was still a kind smile on his white, chubby face, fell short of her aesthetic requirements. Instead, Zhou Ming, who came with him, the boss's wife subconsciously glanced at him. The contrast between Fatty and Zhou Ming was a world of difference. Can't look at Fatty though, but the boss's wife is rightfully enjoying Fatty's pursuit and care. Right now, she then looked at Fatty. You guys are just going to go back? Fatty let out an ah. Right. What goes around comes around. Goes around. But, the boss's wife gritted her teeth. Why would she want to ride a bicycle when she had a motorcycle to ride on? 
or her own B&B's motorcycle? She's not stupid. Oh, I see. Fatty nodded. You're afraid we'll get lost, aren't you? Don't worry. I have a good memory. I won't get lost at all. The boss's pretty face pulled down for a moment. Fatty talks spooky, so he must be doing it on purpose. The boss's wife immediately landed her eyes on Zhou Ming. She just couldn't believe that with such a pretty face and a good figure, Zhou Ming would not want to develop something with her. Fatty, Zhou Ming called out. The boss's wife's eyes lit up as she looked at him expectantly. Zhou Ming said indifferently, hold the case, and be careful not to drop the king's brocade snake. The boss's wife's face froze. But, when Fatty saw the expression on the boss's face, he almost laughed out loud and said repeatedly, just please be good, I'll be sure to hold it steady for you. And then he said to the boss's wife, then boss's wife, if there's nothing else, we'll leave first ah, the things in your BNB &B are still waiting for us to catch. Without waiting for the boss's wife to speak, the motorcycle buzzed with a roar and carried the two straight out, leaving a trail of exhaust behind. Blah blah blah. The boss's wife was so wretched that she waved her hand over her nose. Ah ha. Chu Ming. How dare you. Ever since she was a little girl, she had seen too many men fall on her. Pleasing. Liking. Stunning. As long as they were men, they could not be exempted. But Chao Ming. Zhou Ming looked at her but it was as if he was looking at a cloud of air. It wasn't even as sensational as the sight of the disgusting, raw, horrifying group of snakes. The boss's wife gritted her teeth. Zhou Ming must have done this to attract her attention. Definitely. These men, they just love to get their hands dirty. The boss's wife took a deep breath and pushed down her anger. Bang. There was a slamming of the door behind him. The boss's wife twisted her head. Wow. The glass of the snake factory's duty room was pulled up from the inside by the snake factory's owner. Vaguely, I also heard him say it out loud. Don't worry. I'll be sure to keep the doors and windows closed to keep the snakes out. The boss's wife managed to calm down, and her whole body began to tremble with anger again. That's one, two, three. None of them took her seriously at all. Chapter 27, Call Me Queen Sound, Queenly Voice, Sand Sculpture Heart, Other Side. Zhou Ming and Fatty arrived at the door of the BNB. The lazy king Kitsune in the cage began to squirm, hiss, it gulped its fishy red snake letters, head against the box, coldly. I don't like the smell of this yard. Uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Zhou Ming was on his feet. Suddenly, I remembered that the boss's wife had said earlier that she had planted a lot of snake repellent plants in the yard, and now even more so. She had sprinkled a lot of insect repellent powder inside and outside the house. Snake's sensitive sense of smell will make them run straight away. But, Wang Jin snake opened his mouth and said with some disgust, it doesn't even smell as bad as it does on me. That's all you humans are good for. It's useless. This instant, it was as if Zhou Ming saw the Queen Sama sitting on her throne, looking down on everything. The sound, the feeling, if you call up, Zhou Ming licked the corners of his mouth, inexplicably rising with some anticipation. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Zhou Ming why are you suddenly showing such a perverted smile? Fatty walked inside with his suitcase and noticed Zhou Ming's footsteps stop. Unexpectedly, when he turned his head, he saw Zhou Ming hooking his lips in a wanton and evil smile. Ahem. Zhou Ming immediately gathered his expression. Come on, what unhealthy thing did you just think of? Fatty came up to Zhou Ming and asked with an ambiguous face. He was genuinely curious. Even the King Kitsune in the cage was belly aching. These two humans, why did they stop again? When do you put the rice on? My meal. Rice. Zhou Ming raised his hand and twisted Fatty's face to the side, crossed over to him and headed straight for the BNB. Faintly, he said, eat, che, if you don't say it, just don't say it. Don't think I don't know what you're thinking. You're a tart. Fatty hemmed and hawed. The whole thing was obscene. Zhou Ming. Off. The two walked down the hall to the first floor. Whoa whoa. You guys are finally back. A big man of one meter eight and a half rushed out and came up to hug the fat man wailing and wailing. Quite a bit of little womanly pettiness. Oh. This snake is not human or not human. Scared me to death oh. Fatty? Zhou Ming? Wait a minute. Snakes aren't supposed to be human. What's the matter with you? Little brother? What is it? Fatty asked reassuringly, and took the time to speak to Zhou Ming. This is the little employee that the boss's wife left behind. Small staff. Zhou Ming looked at the six foot five big man with tears in his eyes, wanting to speak. For a moment, it was hard to know what to say. I was just spreading medicine over there. And that snake ran out at once. It crawled straight to the side where I was spreading the medicine. The little employee tore into the accusation that it was a snake repellent. Shouldn't it be a little scary? The result. You ended up arrogantly stomping around on the powder. What's the difference between that and standing in front of him and slapping him in the ear? In your face. Then I ran away. And after I ran away, this snake still have followed me. 
Whoa, whoa, cried the little employee, living like a big girl who was bullied, innocence gone, and to be ravaged further. What a miserable word. It runs wherever I go and, and shows a tail to scare me and mess me up. That blue tail, ah, oh, oh, my innocent young mind. So hurt, ah, Zhou Ming. You, you're like that. Not to mention a snake. Even a human being would want to whip you. Can we talk properly? But, a blue tail? Zhou Ming swished dozens of pictures through his mind and finally settled on one of them. Hip, hip, hip. Humans are fainting from my fear. I'm awesome. Whoa, click, click, click. The sound of dejected laughter came faintly from the distance. With just one sound, Zhou Ming was already certain that the other party was the very same little guy that appeared last night. I didn't realize that the little guy had quite a part to play. After messing with the boss's wife in the morning, this is the time to start messing with the junior staff. The little employee wiped her tears. You guys hurry up and arrest it. Otherwise I can't stay in this hole for another day. Fatty patted his chest and assured. Don't worry. I'll designate that I'll catch it for you. The small staff nodded. Fatty came over to Zhou Ming and asked in a low voice. Can you catch it? Zhou Ming glanced at him. Can. That'll do. Fatty grinned and nodded. Hiss. Food smells. Rice. The king brocade snake in the cage smelled the unusual flavor in the air and was obviously refreshed. It looked at the cage that bound it and did a quick mental calculation. I just need to use my teeth and destroy the paint by friction and with the corrosive effect of air humidity, thus changing the bearing arrangement of the steel bars. Then you can open the mechanism without any problem and go catch food. Ha ha. Don't try to trap me. Sucking sucking sucking. Stupid humans. Ah ha ha ha. Zhou Ming silently lowered his head and looked at the king brocade snake that was opening its mouth wide and fighting the cage with its own small white teeth. Queen tone. San sculpted hearts. That's good. Wang Jin snake had his ears to the ground and noticed Zhou Ming looking down at himself, immediately retracting his foolish behavior of chewing on the railing. Rushing at Zhou Ming, he ferociously gulped the snake's letter in his mouth. What are you looking at? Call me Queen Sama. Haven't you seen the queen? I've never seen such a two-faced Queen Sama before. However, he was still afraid that the king brocade snake had just eaten a small mouse and had no desire to eat for the time being. Now it seems that there is absolutely nothing to worry about. What's this 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 this? The fierce little employee pointed to the cage in Zhou Ming's arms and screamed shrilly. Ah 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 snake ah. The sluggy little employee snapped and collapsed right onto the couch in the living room. Fatty, that's all right? Zhou Ming? Ah this? It's good to pass out. You can't make a mess after you've been passed out for a while. Fatty muttered. This is too chicken, isn't it? How come he's here in time for work? Won't you meet a ghost on the night shift? Zhou Ming placed the cage on the coffee table in the living room, arranging the small employee's body neatly on the couch so he could pass out comfortably. Fatty fixed his eyes. Smiling, she pulled a white rose from the vase at the front desk and stuck it in the small employee's crossed hands on her chest. Hey, scare the boss's wife to death later. Zhou Ming passed by with a blank stare. You called someone sweetie yesterday, and today you're thinking about scaring her? Ha! Fatty grunted, drew off the white rose and threw it aside, and said in a cold voice, That boss's wife. She's just not a good person to get along with. And she's not as good as our little king brocade snake? Don't you think so, my lord? Fatty asked as he rushed the king kitsune snake in the cage. Asterisk 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 asterisk? Zhou Ming look what it's doing. Fatty stared in wide-eyed surprise at the king brocade snake that was biting the railing and a wave of inexplicable embarrassment filled the air between one person and one snake. The movement under Wang Jin's snake's mouth froze. How did you get seen again? This Queen Sama's face is going to be lost. I'll let go of my mouth now, so I can act as if nothing happened. Right? Uh, that's it. The king's brocade snake slowly loosened its mouth that was biting the bars. Even in the small cage, it still maintained the pride of its queen's people. The snake's head slightly raised, its eyes looking out of the corner of its eye. Hmm. No shame. That's it. Humans, forget you just saw that scene. Fatty tugged at Zhou Ming by his side and asked weakly, Zhou Ming, am I not awake? I feel like this snake. Ah, seems to be warning me. Chapter 28, Mantis Catch the Yellow Bird. Ha ha scares the out of you. Uh, yeah. Zhou Ming nodded. Asterisk 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 I'm still really not awake. Am I? Ah ha 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 that's good that's good. Fatty breathed a sigh of relief. He thought something was wrong with his brain. No is good. No is good. It is warning you not to spread the word about what you just saw. Zhou Ming unceremoniously demolished his self-deluded thoughts. Otherwise, it will definitely bite you to death. Snakes are the most vindictive creatures out there. Hey hey. A little dizzy a little dizzy. Fatty pretended to cover his head and slowly sat down on the sofa. As if brainwashing himself. Impossible. Impossible. How can I can read the mind of a snake? It's impossible. Impossible. Zhou Ming. He was actually speechless. 
Zhou Ming dryly kicked him and urged, hurry up and get to work. He hadn't forgotten what this trip over was for, to find that little guy hiding in the BNB. Came in yesterday, he had then observed the courtyard. As a bed and breakfast, the building's footprint is not small. Not to mention that there is a large garden outside that creates even more natural protection for the little one. You can't see the exact plumbing design in the building, but you can be sure that it must be less for the convenience of the guest's stay. Even, to hear the owner's wife tell it, some of the rooms are equipped with kitchens for cooking. This makes things a lot trickier. This little guy is not like the burrowing tarantula in Shen Wei Yu's villa that would stay in one place and not know where to run. It's quick and swift. After so many days of walking through the building, you must have familiarized yourself with the entire building. So, comprehensive analysis. Zhou Ming needs to outsmart himself. That's $20,000. He'll take it. As soon as he heard it was time to get to work, Fatty bared his soul and stood up. Do you need me to do anything? Open the cage. Zhou Ming said. Open up. Fatty did it neatly. And then what? Wait. Zhou Ming added. Okay. I. Wait. Wait. Fatty was unsure. Just. Just fine. He. Fatty was still ready to make a big splash. That's it? He always had the feeling of farting with his pants down. Right, Zhou Ming affirmed. Wait, the mantis catches the cicada and the yellow bird is behind it. Open? The door of the cage opened with a gentle bump from the writhing body of the King Kitson snake. It froze for a moment, and then spoke in a cold voice. No shame in me. A mere cage and you still want to trap me? Ha! Huh? Wang Jin snake's cold as ice voice couldn't help but dejected at this moment. It slowly squirmed its body the light-handed appearance, as if he was afraid of being discovered by Zhou Ming and Fatty. Fatty looked at it and couldn't help but whisper, why do I get the feeling that it looks so much like a kid breaking out of jail on someone's back? Would be correct, but it's just a minor who's escaping from prison. Zhou Ming pointed at it, in a moment, having followed it, it can help us find the little one hidden in the BNB. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Fatty reacted at once, the king's brocade snake also eats snakes. Are you trying to get the king's brocade snake to help us find the hidden snakes? Right. Zhou Ming nodded. Is there a better way? Firefighters and pest control companies came and didn't do anything with the little guy. It was just the two of them, trying to find it in a BNB this big. It's like a fool's errand. Fatty was speechless. On the other hand, he began to admire Zhou Ming again. Damn. What's with this brain of yours? You can find it with a snake. Zhou Ming smiled, pointing at the writhing king Kitsune. Keep an eye on it. Don't let it get that little one. Okay, I know. Fatty stared at it closely. If it was poisonous, he would not dare to stare at it like this. But the king brocade snake was not poisonous. He, Fatty, would be able to keep a good eye on its hunting gallantry. What a great smell. The king Kitsune's head swings from side to side, gulping scarlet snake letters. He kept sensing the smell in the air. But having just eaten, it was in no hurry to find the source of this flavor. Instead squirming and taking its time to familiarize itself with the living room eventually seeking out one of the directions and rushing over. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Found it. Fatty agitated. Zhou Ming, on the other hand, sat steadily, because he heard the slightly excited voice of King Jean Snake. Water. Thirsty snake. Snake needs two more sips. The next moment came the sound of the fat man's regret. Scratch that. Turns out it was just a trip to the bathroom for a drink of water. Fatty leaned over and stood still in the bathroom, waiting for a while without seeing it about to come out. A probe. Sure enough, I saw that the snake had crawled into the sink. Fat bodies piled up all over the tiny sink, and the faucet had been accidentally touched open by it at some point. Whole body soaked in water. The snake's head drooped comfortably. The gesture? That's a comfortable one. Look at Fatty with envy. Cool. Zhou Ming heard Wang Jin snake's comfortable sighs of relief coming from the bathroom. It's a blast. And I wonder if that five-step snake, when pinched by that human, is so cool too? I really want to try. No. No. No, 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 no. He's a lowly human who doesn't deserve to touch me. Hear this. Zhou Ming raised his eyebrows slightly. Okay, let's see if I don't get a chance to dish you out. Preferably coiled in such a way that the sight of him makes your mouth water. In the meantime, silence in the hall. A rustling sound came. Zhou Ming heard the little one's voice again, this time from a 45 degree angle diagonally above him. There are only two humans, standing far away. This mustn't be scary? The little one shouted excitedly, completely unafraid of whether or not he would be heard. Zhou Ming didn't move to look for it. Only not much. It's too good at hiding. Zhou Ming could only determine the approximate direction from the bearing of the heartbeat. Whom? 
I'll come out when he's on his feet. This will scare him right into jumping on the couch. Whoa click click click. Zhou Ming. The little guy's heart is pretty hard. It sat for another two seconds. Zhou Ming pretended to get up from the couch. Just took two steps. A small blue figure suddenly bared over on the floor. Whoa. 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 Wait for you. The little guy stood in front of Zhou Ming and arrogantly raised his claws. Scared to death. Ha 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 ha. Zhou Ming. He silently dropped his other foot. The face was calm. Ah hello? What happened to the promise of being scared and jumping on the couch? Thank you. And didn't talk to you about it. Zhou Ming returned silently. Yeah. 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 Where's the screaming? How can you look so calm? Ow ow ow. The little guy struggled to hold his short paws open and let out a whirr puff of air. Watch my big move. Hoo hoo hoo. Scared to death. Scared to death. Zhou Ming, ah, I'm so scared. Chapter 29, what are you looking at? Mom Yai just wants to eat me. The little one struggled to spread his short paws, puffed up his body, spat out his blue tongue, and made a hissing, hissing, hissing puffing sound. Watch my big move. Hissing. Scared to death. Scared to death. Zhou Ming, ah, I'm so scared. See the blue tongue it spits out. Zhou Ming was quite certain that it was not a snake, but a lizard. Blue tongue skinks also known as blue-tongued lizards, at 45 to 60 centimeters in length and the second largest gargoyle in the world. It is a very docile and easy to keep lizard. Its most distinctive feature is its blue tongue, which is constantly spitting out as it crawls, as if it were making a face all the way to the ground, especially stupid and cute. The shape of the head is somewhat similar to that of a snake, and the limbs are so short that they can almost be ignored without a closer look. This is why, there will be people who will think they see a snake when they panic. This little guy. To be able to run rush out over this place is properly borrowing from someone else. Not, not scared? My big move. How can there be a human being who isn't afraid? It was amazing to see that his most ferocious actions didn't scare his opponent. The blue-tongued gargoyle looks very distressed. Amidst the bitterness there was a hint of embarrassment that the prank had failed. It racks its brain to dump the pot. Fruity. It still takes the night time to scare them. Slipped, 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 slipped. Slipped, 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 slipped. I'll leave. Come back tonight. Seeing that the blue tongue stone dragon child was about to leave, Zhou Ming hurriedly stopped it in its tracks. However, the blue tongue stone dragon child's speed was extremely fast, and when Zhou Ming stood in front of him, he had already reversed his direction and fled from the other side. Are we just going to watch it run? Aha! Uh -huh. Food smells. It's so rich. In the bathroom. Noticing the smell. The King Kitsune straightened its head and neck. In this instant, it no longer had the feeling of laziness and relaxation that it had just had. Instead it was like a sword with an open edge, radiating sharpness. It twisted its body and tail and leapt out of the sink like a carp, just a blink of an eye. It had then come down from the sink and arrived in the living room outside the bathroom. Asterisk 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 asterisk. That speed. Fatty didn't even have time to react. He shrugged his throat and swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Damn. This speed is so fast. It is the non-toxic his fat brother cannot get it. Luckily, he had just put up big words with Zhou Ming, confident that he could look at Wang Jin snake. This mother asterisk 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 error. This combat power. He went up as to call his father's share off. Thanks for not pissing it off just now. A pang of fear ran through Fatty's mind. Zhou Ming had already noticed that King Jin snake had come out. The King Kin snake looked at was the blue-tongued stone dragon it in front of him, and straightened his neck cheerfully. So it's you little thing that smells so sweet. It's a flavor that hasn't been tasted before. I wonder if it will taste as delicious as it smells. The blue-tongued stone dragon child sensed another threat appearing behind him. It keenly sensed that this thing behind it could be much more dangerous than the Zhou Ming in front of it. The blue-tongued stone dragon it twists his head. Asterisk 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 asterisk. The clear voice almost shouted splits. What's going on here? Why is it so long? So big? And so strong? And then look at your own little body. A strong sense of crisis came over him. This thing... It's not like it's trying to eat me, is it? Look at that look. Look at that. What are you looking at? Mom, it just wants to eat me. The blue-tongued gargoyle blew up. The scales all over his body exploded. The scales look even more fluid in such a situation. Vertical spots on the body and horizontal stripes covering the tail are becoming more pronounced. The blue-tongued stone dragon child begged for mercy with a sobbing voice. Big brother. Big brother. Let's talk it over. Can you not eat me? I'm just a kid. I haven't done anything bad. It's just that we scared a few humans. 
It's not normal for us animals to scare a few humans. You're going to eat me, aren't you? The king's brocade snake, however, had just raised its head and neck and repeatedly gulped its snake's letters. Smells good. Smells good. Smells good. Can't stand it. Can't stand it. Abruptly, the king kamikaze fires off a furious attack. The body swooped down, following the floor quickly to the blue-tongued stone dragon child. I, what the hell are you doing? You don't talk about martial arts. With his sharp reflexes, the blue-tongued stone dragon child managed to dodge the attack of the king brocade snake. However, the compact body was bumped a bit by the king's brocade snake frontal body. The blue-tongued gargoyle grunts and rolls over twice. The head was spinning. Ah, yeah? It doesn't hurt. One Jean snake misses with a strike but doesn't get angry, continuing to rush towards the location of the blue-tongued stone dragonets. Ah! The blue-tongued gargoyle's head instantly cleared and he spread his legs and claws and began to scurry. Solely, it is much, much smaller than the king kitsune, and is considerably more flexible. For a moment, the king's brocade snake actually couldn't do anything with it. The blue-tongued stone dragon child dodged from side to side, causing the king's brocade snake's attacks to fall short one after another. It burst into triumph. Paws crossed. Whoa click click click. You stinky thing with no claws and you still want to eat me? Hoomph. Dream on. Zhou Ming, who was standing quietly as a statue on the side, couldn't help but cover his face when he heard Blue Tongue Stone Dragon Child's arrogant declaration. Young. Still too young. Is the king's brocade snake? Who can blend into the snake factory and is honored as the queen's lord in a group of five-step snakes? Really so we can combat? Play with it. It's simply not possible. The only other possibility is that the King Kitsune is teasing the blue-tongued stone dragons. Hey, right, 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 run and jump a little more, so that the meat is the most firm and not stuffed with teeth. Barely, Wang Jin snake smiled and stared at the blue-tongued stone dragon child, his mouth watering with gluttony. Hey, why aren't you moving? Go on, go on. The King Kitsune strikes a fighting pose, teasing the smug blue-tongued stone dragon it, and the blue-tongued gargoyle didn't notice anything wrong at all. Zhou Ming. IQ. Hey. Holy. Fatty leaned over quietly with the camera in his hand. The fat on his face trembling with excitement. He muttered. How many people don't get to see such a great spectacle for many, many years? And he, Fatty, saw it with his own eyes. The ground. The blue-tongued gargoyle was tired. However, the king snake remains full. It was just as stupid as it was. So it knew that the other party was teasing it. Aha. Uh -huh. Am I, Debo, about to die here? It's so ungrateful. Those two humans abandoned me here. I tried to live and struggle. I didn't realize I was going to be eaten by this big long worm I've never seen before. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. The blue-tongued stone dragons cried out. Their voices thick with sobs. It was too weak to survive without those two humans. But the good thing is, it was dumped in a big big BNB building. It's also an omnivore. And a random bit of human vegetables can keep it alive. But, but now, the blue-tongued stone dragon child clearly felt his body's power fading away. Reactions and movements have, obviously, slowed down. Bang. Its belly hit the snake's head and the pain hit instantly. The body landed on the ground and rolled over. The king kamikaze snake got closer and closer and closer. The blue-tongued gargoyle's mind broke down for a moment and he whimpered. Am I, am I sending this in the mail? Whoa 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 whoa. I haven't scared enough of a hundred humans yet. The owner hasn't come back to take me home yet. I'm going to mail it ah oh. You stinking longworm. I won't let you go even if I'm a ghost. Woo 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 woo. Chapter 30, simply can't turn it over? Asterisk 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 asterisk? Is it spilling its guts here? Or is it simply flipping out? Fatty pointed the camera at the blue-tongued gargoyle. The blue-tongued gargoyle remains as it was when it was knocked over, revealing a beautiful pattern on its belly. For short paws fluttered haphazardly in the air. It's like a bear rolling around on the floor making a mess. Before he could be sure with Zhou Ming, Fatty exclaimed and cried out. Asterisk 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 asterisk. The king's brocade snake has moved. Oh ho 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 food. I'm coming. Wang Jin snake's voice was icy cold as he slowly wriggled his body. I'm going to mail it. I'm going to mail it. It's in the mail. The blue-tongued gargoyle yelled louder than his voice, tearing his heart out. Ooh, I know you dropped me off, mistress, but I've always told myself that you were really just in such a hurry to leave that you forgot to take me with you. It was raining so hard that day, harder than the rain on the day Yi Ping went to her father for money. You threw me away in secret. I was so sad, so sad, if my going away could make you and the mistress make up, it wouldn't matter if I was thrown away, whoa, 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 whoa. blue tongue stone dragonzi is aggrieved, sad, where's a lizard as miserable as it is, it's not like this is its old home, oh, it's from Australia, what's the word for Australia, think of it this way, even if you throw it back home, it won't survive either, 
He was born and raised in a greenhouse before being bought and raised by his owner. Only speak Mandarin ah. I'm not sure how to say it. It won't. Woo hoo 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 ah. It's too bad. It's too bad. What a tragedy a lizard. Noisy. Zhou Ming felt like his eardrums were about to explode from the noise. A dying lizard's words are too dense. But, this little guy, truly as he expected, was dumped here by humans. The reptile, the blue-tongued skink, is not found in the wild in this country and is only imported from outside. The country refers to them as smurfs and sells them at an exorbitant price. However, the population is widespread in Australia. Two of the more valuable of these many blue-tongued gargoyles are the two species. One is the alpine subspecies of the spotted blue-tongued skink, and the other the giant blue-tongued skink. The former is brightly colored and very beautiful and the latter is so large that it can reach 60 centimeters, and it is not an exaggeration to describe it as having no price on the market, and this one right here in front of me, looking at the patterns and features, it is clearly the alpine subspecies of spotted blue tongue shilongzi, how can anyone throw away such an expensive and beautiful little guy, it's really a waste, the blue tongue stone dragon child was clearly startled by Zhou Ming's voice, and the entire lizard froze for a split second, Zhou Ming's eardrums cleared instantly, pity, before he could breathe a sigh of relief, the blue-tongued gargoyle erupted into a more violent cry. Wow 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 wow. People are going to mail it. You don't coax me even if you don't. You still yell at me? You're yelling at me? You actually yelled at me? I can't stand the aggravation. Ah uh ah. -huh. If it weren't for this stinky bug, I would have. Hey, 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 hey. The blue-tongued stone dragon child looked like he had discovered something. I haven't mailed it yet. No mail? It wriggled its body, whimpering and turning himself over. The little pawpaw worked very hard to make a pawpaw flower in the air. Hey, hey, hey. The blue-tongued stone dragon child refueled with a death roll and finally rolled back from being on all fours. A tilt of the head. It was then that she saw the tall human in front of her. And rolling in the human's hands was the very same stinking long worm that had chased her to exhaustion. Wow. I didn't send it. I'm alive and well. Oh. My god. I really did have a lucky lizard. Ah ha ha ha. The blue-tongued stone dragon child fooled around his tail desperately fluttering, just like a very happy look, take advantage of this opportunity, run, the blue-tongued gargoyle was about to slip away, Zhou Ming's hand that was clutching Wang Jin snake slightly loosened, and his voice was extremely dangerous as he warned, if you try to run, I'll cut the stinking longworm loose and go on to get you, although the blue-tongued stone dragon child couldn't understand what Zhou Ming was saying, its sharp and powerful animal instincts told it, can't run, ran and definitely mailed it, but, it's who it is, the blue-tongued gargoyle that scared countless humans. Will you be afraid of the threat of your mere human? Humph. But, those who know what's good for them know what's good for them. Stinking human. You think you can just threaten me? I'm I'm going to stop for a second now and then when you're not looking. Hey. 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 The blue-tongued stone dragon child intended to be clear. And the little claws and paws at his feet stopped as he thought tilting his head and looking very well behaved. Hissy, the king's brocade snake twisted in Zhou Ming's hand, because its body length had reached over a meter. It simply couldn't be coiled in Zhou Ming's hand like other small snakes. Only the upper half of his body could coil around Zhou Ming's arm, and the remaining half of his body drooped amongst the air. Such a state of affairs obviously made King Jean Snake feel insecure. It struggled to curl its tail. The cold voice carried a hint of exasperation. Ah, damn humans. For the second time, how dare you stop my attack for the second time? I'll just hang you. The greatest reliance of the King Kinsnake is not the non-venomous fangs in its mouth, but a powerful force capable of strangling similar species. It fought to contract itself. The head of the snake that was wrapped around Zhou Ming's wrist was raised like a haughty queen. Its eyes were cold and disdainful, and its voice was icy, like a judgment. Humans, you have to pay for your behavior on behalf of. Ah, a strange sensation spread through his body. Wang Jin Snake's cold voice suddenly changed tone. Ah, what's going on? This this feeling, never experienced since birth. This feeling is a hundred times more satisfying to a snake's heart than eating the mouse of your heart's desire, or going to the sink to soak in water. Here we go again. The king's brocade snake's head, which was held high, drooped down in a sour and feeble manner, and the movements of gulping the snake's letters all began to slow down, obviously being stimulated by this particular sensation. Watch as the queen mother obediently lowers her own high head and submits to her own hand. A quick flash of darkness passed under Zhou Ming's eyes. It's easy to take you down, isn't it? No, 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 what's going on? How could I reveal such a weak state in front of a human? It's absolutely impossible. It must be this human who drugged me. Wang Jin Snake's heart was on fire. Well, humans are so insidious and cunning. 
It was furious and re-straightened its body. Continue to strangle Zhou Ming. Humans, let me kill you. Your death will spread in the snake world. And my good name, Amount. Finished. I seem to really. Being held. Chapter 31. Snake, I'm numb. No. I'm the queen. Stop the humans. Ha. Yikes. It tickles. Souls are flying out. Zhou Ming's long, slender fingers slid over the cool snake's body. Every now and then, I press down with increased force with my fingertips. Wang Jin snake's cold voice appeared to tremble. Straightening his head and neck the dangerous look disappeared, leaving only a look of being taken in hand. Holy, fat brother will focus the camera on the king brocade snake. It has long since not just that noble and cold. The appearance of the scenery, now the snake head limp in the middle of Zhou Ming's palm. The snake's letter is also spit outside not retracted. The whole snake, drunk, it was like I'm numb. Fatty exclaimed. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Zhou Ming what did you do to the king brocade snake? How did it suddenly get like this? Gave it a massage. Zhou Ming said extremely seriously. Fatty looked at him with a small look. Massage can be like this? What massage? Are you serious? Just look at the snake. Unorthodox words. Hey. One look at his lewd expression and Zhou Ming knew what he was thinking. His lips flicked open and he slowly spat out beautiful Chinese words. Roll. Fatty. No more love. Ah, hello? No one cares about me? Since no one cares about me, I'll just go. The blue-tongued gargoyle's front pawpaw blossomed with excitement. Fist pumping to steal away. Want to catch me? In your next life. The blue-tongued stone dragon child, who was in the midst of his complacency, twisted his head, and his eyes suddenly went black. It was stiflingly hot all around and wet with a fishy odor. Where is this place? The blue-tongued stone dragon child panicked. It survives in an environment so comfortable that it has never encountered a natural enemy. And anything it eats is only brought to its mouth after it has been carefully selected by its owner. The few days of wandering alone in the BNB had been the limit of its existence. Especially if you run into a stinky longworm. It scared it even more. Woohoo! Snake snake me ah! This time is really to send ah! I was wrong! I was really wrong! I shouldn't have come over in the first place. If I didn't I wouldn't have why I stayed in this sad place. If not, Zhou Ming, it's all dead in the water. Why are there still so many words from the blue-tongued gargoyle? What the hell? Zhou Ming, we're just going to watch? Fatty was dumbfounded. Just a moment ago when the blue-tongued stone dragon child tried to escape, Zhou Ming suddenly put down the king brocade snake in his hand. The king's brocade snake immediately resumed its fighting form and shot out like an arrow, biting down on the head of the blue-tongued stone dragon child. Then with his long body, he twisted the body of the blue-tongued stone dragon child outside his mouth into his body. Of course not. This is a domestic and treasured alpine subspecies of the spotted blue-tongued skink. Zhou Ming also wanted to bring this blue-tongued stone dragon child back to the exhibition. It's just that this little guy, he's always thinking about running away. Zhou Ming always had to find a chance to cure it. I'm going to mail it. Mailed. Send. Now. The light in front of me suddenly brightened. Among the light. It was as if the blue-tongued gargoyle saw a pair of large hands bringing him out of the sweltering heat and humidity. Underneath was warm and dry, with a scent that another lizard liked. Why isn't it moving? It's not dead, is it? Fatty looked curiously at the blue-tongued stone dragon child in Zhou Ming's palm. They're too slow to snake their way in? Zhou Ming held his breath, trying to listen to the heart of the blue-tongued stone dragon child. It's just that the blue-tongued stone dragon child seemed to be truly stunned. There's no sound whatsoever. Zhou Ming was about to reach out and fiddle with the blue-tongued stone dragon child when he heard a warbling voice from behind himself. What are you? What are you doing? The young employee woke up from his coma. One eye open. Zhou Ming and Fatty were seen. One hand pulling the mouth of a one meter long king brocade snake weighing several pounds. The king Kitsune's mouth was forced wide open, leaving one body twitching violently. The scene. Rip the snake's mouth off with your bare hands. Holy. The young employee let out a yelp and snapped, passing out again. Zhou Ming. Fatty. The two hurriedly scattered their hands that were pulling Wang Jin snake's mouth. The loosened king Jin snake hurriedly fled from the two men. Coughing. Humans. How dare you. How dare you. Wang Jin snake was furious. Blocking it from hunting one after another is even better. Now that it's in your mouth, how can you glean it out? Have you gone too far? It's too much of a bully for a snake. Ah. King Jin snake was completely mad. I'm going to eat you. A chill ran upwards from the spine of the blue tongue stone dragon child and it shrank into a ball in Zhou Ming's arms in panic, its tail forming an eight in an attempt to use it to fend off the attack of the king's brocade snake. Help! I'm sure it's not that easy to mail. Ah! Uh, right! The blue-tongued stone dragon child had a flash of light and looked at Zhou Ming with sparkling eyes and a small, dumbfounded face. This human in front of me is the one who can save me from the stinky longworm mouth calendar. Escape will surely be caught again. 
It's better to. He 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 he. That's you human. I'm appointing you as my new breeder from now on. You have to protect me. You know. The blue tongue stone dragon child raised its own little pawpaw and gently patted it on Zhou Ming's palm. From now on, I'll go with you. And you'll protect me. Let's make a deal. Zhou Ming slowly hooked up the corner of his lips and smiled. That's good. That's what he wanted. Zhou Ming stretched out his finger and tapped the blue tongue stone dragon child's droll little face. With a lift of his hand, he placed it on his shoulder. The blue tongue stone dragon child's small paw obediently grasped Zhou Ming's shoulder. Looking down at the king brocade snake that was raising its head on the ground, slightly slightly slightly, the blue tongue stone dragon child spat out its blue tongue and looked down at the king brocade snake. Dejected. Come up here. Come up if you can. Wow. That smug little look. What a living, breathing lizard battler. Wang Jin snake was furious. The blue tongue stone dragon child staring at Zhou Ming's shoulder let out a violent shivering sound. All it takes is one chance and I can just eat it. Eat you, Zhou Ming. Ask what you should do to piss off a dry rice snake. Of course. Fatty, where's the feed you brought back from the snake factory owner's side? In the bag, Fatty said honestly. Bring it here and feed it. Zhou Ming commanded. Okay. Fatty immediately dropped the camera in his hand and ran to the door to bring in the small cage containing the rats. Rat smells. The King Kitsune snake was instantly attracted to the strong smell of rats. Live. Fat. But but but. Wang Jin snake also didn't forget the blue tongued stone dragons who had made his Waterloo a disastrous experience. The blue tongued gargoyle claws and paws and spits out a blue tongue. Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Still want to eat me? You're dreaming. I'm telling you. I'm the one who has a master. Eat me? You don't want to hang around anymore. Humming. Look at that dejected little look. But where the two species can communicate. They are designated to do it again. Chapter 32. I command you. Humans. Keep plating me. Good on. King Jean Snake couldn't understand. And its attention had been drawn away from the rat in Fatty's hand. Shiver. Wants to eat. Zhou Ming said. Open the cage and give it food. Okay. Fatty nodded. Leave the cage open. A small plastic cage with three rats that Zhou Ming had brought back specially. One of the mice noticed that the cage was open. Sniffed tentatively with its nose. And very cautiously did not go out. And then the other. More eager mouse ran right through this one and out of the cage. Rats. The king's brood snake quickly gulped its snake letters. And the whole snake was excited by this one mouse. A hard dive. The king's brocade snake opened its bloody mouth. Squeak. The rat. Who had just emerged from the cage and thought he had escaped with his life. Only had time to yelp before he was swallowed up. From the time the offense was launched. To the time it was over. It was only about 10 seconds. Holy. That's just too fast. Fatty gulped. The second one. The third one, the King Kitsune, who had eaten all of the mouse, belched, fed up, cool. The King Kitsune ended its feeding and a slight bulge was evident at the abdomen. It squirmed, trying to find a safe spot to rest and digest. Instead, he was directly picked up by Zhou Ming. Wang Jin Snake said icily, Humans, don't think my temper is better when I'm full. Put me down now, or else, I'll make you pay. Don't you know you're tired after all that yelling? Zhou Ming scoffed. The king's brocade snake couldn't understand, and it shivered as it continued to issue a warning at Zhou Ming. I'll tell you what's going on here. Ha ha ha. Zhou Ming's hand slowly kneaded its abdomen. After coming out of the snake factory at 8-4 rats in one sitting, long past the maximum capacity of this king kinkaju to eat. Zhou Ming now, was helping it to speed up its digestion. The king kamikaze snake is curled up, and the whole snake is irritated by being touched. Aha. There. There. Again. Again this feeling. It feels like the whole snake is. Ah ha ha ha. Almost there. I'm almost there. Why did you stop? Wang Jin snake raised his head and looked at Zhou Ming's stopped hand with dissatisfaction. I command you. Humans. Go on. Dish me out. You order? Zhou Ming laughed. Tugging at the one meter long king brocade snake. Balled it up. And shoved it directly into the cage. Am I a human being you can order around at will? Whenever you're done reflecting. You can come out again. When Wang Jin snake saw Zhou Ming's large hand reaching out towards him. He thought that the other party was really threatened by him. The whole snake was smug. Humans, submit to me. My existence is, hey hey hey, what's wrong with you? How did I get back inside the cage? Wang Jin snake was dumbfounded. As the Queen's Majesty, it has never been subjected to such. Well, it all broke the precepts today. Stay inside and reflect. Zhou Ming checked the cage and was sure that this king brocade snake would not come out. The blue-tongued gargoyle on his shoulder was even more dejected. Bearing his shoulder. He climbed down his arm to the top of the cage from Zhou Ming's shoulder. Blossom's clawed paw wrapped the cage. Hey, stupid. Ha, huh? you're loaded. Aren't you? Still want to eat me not? Let you eat let you eat. Ah, 
The king kinsnake surged to the edge of the cage and opened its mouth wide in intimidation at the blue-tongued gargoyle, caught off guard. The blue-tongued stone dragon child was directly frightened and cried out with a wail. Oh, so fierce. Boing boing. The blue-tongued stone dragon child rushed at Zhou Ming and pampered him straight away, master. Want a kiss and hug and raise high. Zhou Ming, who originally didn't want to care, heard the soft thud, and his DNA instantly moved. Mom, yeah, who can resist a pampered schoolgirl? The character of this blue-tongued stone dragon child was just too inviting. Zhou Ming picked up the frightened blue-tongued stone dragon child and held it in his arms and stroked it carefully. The king Kitsune in the cage was on fire. Bitch, wait for me to go out. I'll eat you in one bite, to show you that the queen is not a being to be messed with. Wang Jin snake warned in a cold voice. It coiled around itself, pressing its head gently against its body, and began to quiet down. Just ate and slept. Knock, knock, knock. There was a sound of violent and rapid footsteps coming from outside the door, and just by listening to it, one could already feel that the owner of the sound of the footsteps was suppressing his inner anger. The figure of the boss's wife appeared in the living room. Nose shrugged slightly. Why is there a strange smell in the living room? And then he was surprised to see the little employee lying on the couch. His forehead a little reddened from the bump. Minami, Minami what happened to him? Zhou Ming took the ginger slices that Fatty handed over and rubbed them against his hands to get rid of the unique flavor that Wang Jin snake had left on his body. Explaining, he saw the snake and was frightened and fainted. You guys got that one snake? The boss's wife didn't expect that just the moment she rushed back from the snake factory. Zhou Ming and Fatty had already finished settling things, didn't catch it. Zhou Ming shook his head and said, because the little guy you have in your BNB is not a snake at all. Instead, it's this little guy. Zhou Ming patted his spine and drove the blue-tongued stone dragon child that had mischievously run up his back to the front. The blue-tongued stone dragon child whimpered and climbed upwards, its round little head resting against Zhou Ming's shoulder. Naively, he poked out his little blue tongue. Oops, another one? Oh, people who have been scared by me. He 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 he. This 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 is not a snake. The boss's wife pointed at the blue-tongued stone dragon son with only one head exposed and backed away, looking at it in horror. Way awa. Just the sight of me is freaking me out. My power is still there all the time. The dejected voice of the blue-tongued stone dragon it came from over his shoulder. Zhou Ming shook his head and reached out to pinch its small body, revealing its limbs. This is a lizard. In the category of blue-tongued stone dragons amongst lizards, with a head that looks very similar to that of a snake, but is actually very gentle in nature. This blue-tongued gargoyle. I think your previous guest wanted to take it to the mountains and release it. Only it remembered its owner's scent and crawled back on its own. As Zhou Ming was talking, the blue-tongued stone dragon child obediently allowed Zhou Ming to hold it, spitting out its blue tongue, with a pair of big, watery eyes, looking at the person in a well-behaved manner. Shun fluttered his little paws again and produced pawpaw flower after pawpaw flower. It's, it's not poisonous, is it? The owner's wife was still looking at it with palpitations, it was this little guy that had plopped down on her sink in the morning and startled her. Now watch, kinda, kinda dumb and dumber, especially that blue tongue. It's almost like a color you'd only see in a cartoon. There's no poison. Zhou Ming affirmed. That'll do. The owner's wife breathed a sigh of relief. Even though it wasn't a snake that was caught. You guys promised earlier that you would do a whole snake repellent cleanup of my BNB. So it's still a good idea. Hmm. Zhou Ming was unsure. The only thing Fatty could tell him was to catch snakes. But it didn't look like the boss's wife was lying. Then there's only. Zhou Ming looked over at Fatty who was tiptoeing around with his camera ready to sneak away. Fatty's body stiffened. A sardonic smile on his face. He he he. That's good. Zhou Ming understood everything. Chapter 33 I pay attention. I pay attention to you big head. Ow 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 ow. Oh brother. Naru. My god. Inside the guest room. Fatty dropped to the floor holding Zhou Ming's thigh. Watching Zhou Ming slowly and methodically packing up his things. As one thing after another was loaded up by him. Fatty's heart. Ah. Trembled. No. 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 Brother. Think about it. It's 20. Zero 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 dollars. We've spent all the money. We have to make good on it, don't we? Don't you think so? Hmm, it makes perfect sense. Zhou Ming's hand stopped as he organized his things. But I'm not listening. He thought about how he could take care of the blue-tongued gargoyles one day and then hurry down the mountain to renovate the reptile house. Who knew that you'd have to stay two more days? And still he stayed two more days completely unaware of it. This one directly derailed his plans. Fatty was speechless. What about humanity? What's wrong with you? Ha! Huh? Fatty could only use money to awaken Zhou Ming's few bits of humanity. This is 20,000 ah, 20,000 dollars. It's not like you're a big star who can casually make 208 WA day. How many snakes does one have to help the fire department catch for 20? 000 bucks. Not to mention, 
I heard that in order to save the $200 for letting Zhou Ming come and catch snakes, the team has started to train extra on snake catching techniques. Ensure that you catch the snake steadily and accurately, not letting a snake snake escape. His grandmother. What a way to drive a craftsman to death. Fatty shed a tear, and rightly so. Zhou Ming nodded, thinking for a split second. If I leave, how much the boss's wife underpaid you? I'll deduct it from your petty cash. Fatty? Is this a human thing? He wailed. Ow. Zhou Ming ah. You negative man ah. You just left me behind not to mention that you actually want to hit the idea of my small treasury. You. Asterisk 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 asterisk. The door to the room was left open. And the small employee. Chen Nan. Saw the scene as soon as he came up. Upon hearing Fatty's misleading words again. His face changed. You guys. We. Fatty shuddered. So you guys. Chen Nan's small eyes were sparking with hollering and slamming. Ha. Huh? Fatty was confused. Fatty shrugged it off. Rose nimbly from the floor. Patted his big belly. And. Grandma. Look at Fatty's physique. It's obvious that what your fatty likes are cute imperial girls with big boobs and thin ass tops. Okay. The sparks in Chen Nan's eyes instantly went out. What are you doing up here? Fatty hurriedly changed the topic. He hadn't finished fixing Zhou Ming yet. It's okay. Can you leave us alone? Is your fat brother's begging gallantry something you can just look at? Oh oh. The boss's wife said that you guys have been working hard all morning. So she personally cooked for you today. Chen Nan then thought about what he had come up for and said with a smile. Our boss's wife is a very good cook. She has millions of followers on her neck and on Shakefast. You guys are in for a treat today. That dares to be. Fat brother patted his chest and immediately agreed. Your fat brother. In addition to beautiful women. His favorite thing is a beautiful woman's cooking. Don't worry. We'll go down immediately after we've packed up ah. Uh. Aha. Uh -huh. Chen Nan nodded. Then you guys hurry up. Okay. 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 Fatty waved his hand and watched Chen Nan leave. Meh. Zhou Ming sneered. Hypocrisy. Fatty turned his head. A round face that was always smiling and amicable was taut, and a pair of small eyes that were squeezed like green beans by fat, stared at Zhou Ming. Are you sure you don't want to stay? One step, one step closer to Zhou Ming. The distance between the two was closing. Two meters, one meter. An indefinable atmosphere radiated between the two. The storm is coming. Then don't blame your fat brother for making a killer move. Zhou Ming was expressionless. Puff. Fatty sat down on his butt and hugged Zhou Ming's leg. Ow. Ming Ming. If you don't say yes, I won't get up. Zhou Ming's forehead veins popped. He knew it. This second pen. You get up. I won't get up. I won't I won't I won't I won't get up. Fatty sputtered. I won't get up until you promise me. Get up. I promise. Zhou Ming gritted his teeth. Do you know how much you weigh? You're crushing my foot. Ha. Huh? Fatty blinked and laughed oh ho ho heartily. So you're saying yes? Don't you make me backpedal. Zhou Ming warned him. Fat brother nimbly climbed up from the ground. Patted his ass. Disgusted, earlier promised not on the line? Look at your fat brother tossed? Successful success. Fat brother I have to go to eat the boss's wife made love lunch. Although the boss's wife couldn't look at him, it didn't stop him. Fatty. From appreciating beautiful women. Especially when a beautiful woman cooks with her own hands. Cootie. No way. Zhou Ming. I've never seen such a fickle man. Zhou Ming picked up the cage on the floor and put it on the table. The King Jean snake coiled into a ball lazily and idly and the slight bulge in its stomach just now had been digested. Lazily squinting his eyes, he watched Zhou Ming move his position. Being well fed is comforting. If only this human would treat me a little better. It would be a snake's life without regrets. Something has to be done. Zhou Ming tactically backs away. You're a snake. Can you watch what you say and not scare people? It also had to be the little guy, blue-tongued stone dragon child, who had been raised by humans from a young age and was as innocent as his heart could be. There's nothing else I want to do but scare people where it's like one of you, oh ha ha shouting on the fly, ugh, shame on you, Zhou Ming viciously spat on them inwardly, blue tongue stone dragon child saw Zhou Ming leaving, immediately stepping away from his claws and paused to keep up with Nero's footsteps, boing boing, I don't want to stay with the big long worm, master, master, wait for me, Zhou Ming heard the voice behind him that was as clear as a wind chime, and his footsteps stopped for a moment, waiting for the little one behind him to catch up, heave ho heave ho, the master has stopped, I'm coming. Ho ho ho. The blue tongue stone dragon child quickly feared to Zhou Ming's side and hugged Zhou Ming's thighs as he whimpered and climbed upwards. He loves to stay on his owner's shoulder the most. The most. Zhou Ming just stood there, waiting for it to climb up. But right. He was wearing shorts today, not long pants. The blue tongue stone dragon child didn't know what impact this would cause, and climbed up Zhou Ming's leg with a whimper. By the time Zhou Ming sensed that something was wrong, the blue tongue stone dragon child had already almost climbed onto his thigh. 
Bad bad bad. Zhou Ming hurriedly reached out to grab it, but the blue tongue stone dragon child was not a little guy that honestly and casually let Zhou Ming catch him. After sensing Zhou Ming's attempt to grab its hand, it quickly scurried about. Zhou Ming, master doesn't love me anymore? Hoomph. I'm going to climb onto my master's shoulders. I duck. I'll dodge. Hey, hey, you can't catch it. The blue tongue stone dragon child scurried around while mentally chanting. Zhou Ming was so anxious that sweat broke out on his forehead. This is no place to be crawling around. Come out and hurry. Zhou Ming, why don't you come down? Fat brother holding a big oily chicken leg in his mouth slow online walk. Not I say. The boss's wife is worthy of being a million bloggers. This cooking skill is really. As Fatty watched Zhou Ming's hand pull out his pants, he froze, and the chicken leg in his hand almost fell to the ground. He immediately pushed Zhou Ming back into his room, and the door to his room snapped shut. In the same tone as an old father, he was instructed to say, It's not that I'm talking about you, Zhou Ming, we're out here, you have to pay attention, I'm paying attention, I'm paying attention, my ass. Chapter 34, as expected, young people know how to play. Fatty had a heave-ho look on his face, and his little eyes were that lewd, play the out of it. Zhou Ming rolled his eyes, tugging on the tail of the blue-tunned gargoyle, he reached out and gripped it out, asterisk 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 asterisk, Fatty's eyes changed. Whoa, Zhou Ming, you, collect your little eyes, TSK, 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 Zhou Ming no longer wanted to say anything else, the blue-tongued gargoyle in his hand was yanked by its tail, its body writhing desperately, generally speaking, when a blue-tongued stone dragon child encounters a powerful danger, it will choose to automatically break off its own tail to buy itself time to escape, but this one blue-tongued stone dragon child didn't do that, instead, because he was pulled by Zhou Ming's tail, he began to, Ah tail caught, there's no strength in the whole body, I feel like fireworks are exploding in front of my eyes, master, please, it turns out that the tail is actually the fatal point of the blue tongued gargoyle, Zhou Ming had discovered a big secret, a slight movement of warm fingers, oh, yikes, mamas, has never been like this before yeah, this feels so good, master is great, the blue tongued gargoyle blossomed on all four feet and stretched every finger with delight, the heart screams on and on, the crisp voice became soft and sweet, like cotton candy, it's fine, it's fine, fat brother I know that demonic geniuses like you always have unusual hobbies, fatty looked at him with a little I know, I understand expression, no need to be shy, fatty I do sometimes, it's okay ha ha, it's okay, ha, ha you dead head, Zhou Ming grabbed his hand that was holding the chicken leg and used it to shove the chicken leg straight into his mouth, remember to see if the boss's wife has made any pig brains later, so you can eat more, what, I didn't realize you cared so much about fatty, Fatty slurred as he was gagged by a chicken leg. Zhou Ming sneered. Mend your brain. Eat pig brains. Brain tonic. Aha. Uh -huh. Fatty looked at Zhou Ming's back as he left and shouted in hindsight. Wipe. Zhou Ming your mouth is too damaging. Zhou Ming didn't say anything, only leaving him with a cold and unfeeling back. The blue-tongued stone dragon child standing on his shoulder suddenly pouted and reversed a direction. Its droll little head facing Fatty. The blue tongue lolled out. Slightly slightly slightly. Fatty received a 10. Zero 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 point blitz. You little thing has also learned the hard way. You actually mocked me together with Zhou Ming. The blue tongued gargoyle grinned inwardly with cheeky glee. He he. Scared by me. I guess. Let you disturb me and my master. Humph. Scare you to death scare you to death. Slightly. Slightly. Only once downstairs. The aroma of the meal hit me. Down. The boss's wife. With her long hair up and a slight droop to her forehead. Wore a housecoat with an apron tied around it. She wore insulated gloves and held a steaming casserole in her hands. It looks very gentle and moving, like a good wife and mother waiting for her husband to come home for dinner. Seeing Zhou Ming, he revealed a light smile. Now that you're down here, go wash your hands and get ready for dinner. Zhou Ming nodded and walked to the bathroom to wash his hands. Incidentally, the blue-tongued gargoyle on his shoulder was flushed along with it, and only then did he walk over to the dining room table and sit down. Taking advantage of this, Fatty had come down from upstairs to sit at the dining room table. The boss's wife saw Zhou Ming sit down and raised her hand to tease a strand of broken hair from her forehead behind her ear, revealing her small earlobes and white, slender neck. She reached out, stirred the hot soup in the casserole, and gave Zhou Ming a bowl. Zhou Ming, drink the soup. Thanks. Zhou Ming took it and thanked him with a flourish. The eyes kept falling on the blue-tongued stone dragonette standing in the corner of the dining table. The blue-tongued gargoyle is an omnivore. Accepting general fruits and vegetables and live bait such as crickets and breadworms. At this very moment, the little one then clutched a decorative carved carrot, whimpering and nibbling it with a rustling movement. Wow, this carob is so sweet. What's that big one? 
Zhou Ming heard the heartfelt voice of the blue-tongued stone dragon child and followed his its gaze. I only saw a live bunny rabbit on the salad, and quite a bit of carving. With a stretch of his chopsticks, Zhou Ming picked up the bunny and placed it in front of the blue-tongued stone dragon son. Wow! White Roberts! The blue-tongued stone dragon child froze and cried out excitedly. I can have whatever I want. Master really understands me well. I want to eat that flower. Zhou Ming, you're getting a little ahead of yourself. However, Zhou Ming's chopstick still obediently picked up a flower that was sent to the blue-tongued stone dragon Z. Seeing the flower he wanted being put in front of him, the blue-tongued stone dragon child was completely thrilled. In his mind, he murmured, I want cabbage. The cabbage clappers don't want vegetables. Still wants corn. More. Zhou Ming listened to it this series of still have to also. You are really greedy ah. Zhou Ming turned the chopsticks in his hand and gently knocked the blue tongue stone dragonzi's dull head with his head. Helpless and spoiled. Greedy little thing. Ah hello? Why are you hitting the lizard? Brain beat stupid. You raise oh? Zhou Ming. Of course I raised it. Whose food are you eating now otherwise? The blue tongue stone dragon child commiserated. Reaching out his own little claws and paws to try and touch where he'd been hit. Only to realize that his clawed paws seemed to be a little too short to touch the brain. Hey. I can't touch it. Paws and claws are so short. But, Zhou Ming couldn't help but look at its silly little appearance. What are you laughing at? How dare you laugh at me? The blue-tongued stone dragon child was angry and furious, holding the radish bunny in his arms and twisting his body, using his tail against Zhou Ming. Humph, humph, the little thing is quite angry. Zhou Ming shook his head helplessly, but definitely would not spoil it, since it's willing to eat with its back turned like that. Let it be. Zhou Ming turned his chopsticks around and began to continue eating completely ignoring the other three people at the table who looked different. Chapter 35, People Are Worse Than Lizards. Master, it's really good. The boss's wife grudgingly looked at the table full of dishes that she had worked so hard to make, then looked at the plate that had been destroyed by Zhou Ming, and thought of Zhou Ming's cold thank you to herself just now, as well as his pampering of the blue-tongued stone dragon child. Numb nuts, this is a man less than a lizard. Zhou Ming hasn't even looked at himself once. Isn't she good-looking? Doesn't she have a curvy body? At least AC don't you ever look at me? Instead, it was a lizard that was lovingly cared for. That's too much of a blow. Fatty, on the other hand, looked at Zhou Ming with a lewd look that said I know it all. I understand. Hey, 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 young people, play with flowers. No wonder even the boss's wife can sit still when she winks. Kow wow. And Chen Nan. Chen Nan was already numb. It's been numb since the appearance of the blue-tongued gargoyle. He's terrified of snakes. Although the blue-tongued gargoyle is not a snake but they both look so much alike. Chen Nan shivered and reached out to grab the fat brother beside himself. What? Fatty wiped his grease-flecked mouth. Chen Nan calmly said, Fatty, I'm going to faint. Ha? Huh? Fatty wondered. Chen Nan stood up and walked to the sofa in the living room. Snap. The body planted itself directly on top of the couch. The movements are smooth and skillful. With so much heartbreaking know-how, Zhou Ming and Fatty only glanced at them before withdrawing their eyes and continuing to eat. The boss's wife was shocked. Doesn't it matter? Fatty was about to open his mouth to say something. The boss's wife was the first to speak. It's cool in the mountains, so we'd better put a blanket on him. Well, 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 turns out it was fear of catching a cold. Fatty suddenly felt that the boss's wife in front of him was more than a little cute. The owner's wife is really good at what she does. The view and air in the mountains is also great, since Fatty had already promised people that he would do a cleanup in the BNB after catching the snake. Joe Ming could only hold his nose and endure it. It can't be helped. It's all about money. Inside the room. Chao Ming. Zhou Ming. Look at this video. Holding his cell phone, Fatty hurriedly rushed to the room and shouted at Zhou Ming who was coiling the king brocade snake. Zhou Ming probed, watching the video through. What's wrong with this video? Isn't that the video of their dinner the other day? Then it was edited by the boss's wife and then uploaded to her shake fast app and bib. She just happened to use the video to announce to her guests that the BNB would be reopening tonight. Is there something wrong with that? Look at the comments below. Someone said they knew the owner of this blue tongue stone dragon it. Fatty clicked on the comments section below and told Zhou Ming to read it for himself. I love the boss's wife. Aw oh, the boss's wife is so beautiful. You must add parsley to your meal. Already booked a room for next weekend. The boss's wife is waiting for me. Am I the only one who can't take a name? Wow. The boss's wife's handiwork has improved. I want to try it. Hanging himself. Why does this blue tongue stone dragon it look so much like the one that was stolen from my friend and boyfriend when they took it on a trip? Below this one, a high-resolution image was brought along. Zhou Ming didn't need to click on it to recognize that it was the very one he was holding. Not only did Zhou Ming recognize it, but the netizens underneath also recognized it. There is even a strictly forbidden comparison chart given. 
Proof that the two blue-tongued skinks are the same one. Exactly the same. Seeing that Zhou Ming did not speak, Fatty hurriedly pursued. Is it true? Is it true we caught this one? Well, that's the one. Zhou Ming said affirmatively. Air, so this blogger is telling the truth? Fatty was confused. Surely the boss's wife wouldn't be able to steal or steal anything. Was that blue-tongued gargoyle stolen by someone else and then discarded? Or did it escape on its own? I don't know. What I can say for sure, though, is that this blue-tongued gargoyle must have been discarded by its owner? This man may have been tricked by the owner of the blue-tongued stone dragonets. Zhou Ming recalled the broken thoughts of the blue-tongued stone dragon child when it was on the verge of death, and it had said that it had been thrown away by its former owner. There is no way that the blue-tongued stone dragon child could lie. Then the only ones who lie are humans. Asterisk 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 asterisk. What about this guy? This person is number one in the hot comments all of a sudden. The following even called the boss's wife a thief. As soon as Fatty refreshed, the comments underneath immediately changed to wind direction. The comments about the beauty of the owner's wife and the delicious cooking were all squeezed down to words like thief, shameless, boycott, and even quite a few insults. Rub. So swift. These internet maggots came over at the smell of it. Fatty was infuriated. These people didn't know anything. Just based on this strange netizen's words and a picture. They just convicted the boss's wife. Damn. If the boss's wife stole it, she'd still come to us for help in catching this little guy? Fatty was so angry that he cursed, and when he took a look at Zhou Ming, he sat steadily and didn't even frown. His eyes lit up. Naru, could it be that you already have a good countermeasure? Zhou Ming glanced at him. If you have something to say, call brother Ming. If you have nothing to say, call Chao Ming. The double standard was played plainly by the fat man. No. No? Really? Fatty thought he must be swindling himself. Zhou Ming this person, that is, look indifferent, but when things happen, then who rushed faster? Otherwise, Fatty wouldn't have pulled out all the stops for Zhou Ming. Okay, Zhou Ming compromised. Fatty immediately laughed. He knew it. Zhou Ming said, you tell the owner's wife to look for surveillance on nights with rainy days this month, and if she can find a person with a feeder box, that person is the owner of the blue-tongued gargoyle. You let the boss's wife choose a good surveillance angle to explain the whole story. And then our side to shoot another on the value of the appeal to protect reptiles. Do not arbitrarily abandon the publicity video, together as a clarification video for the boss's wife to send. A little more retweeting with our account and it's pretty much done. In the past two days, their accounts had experienced the two videos of Zhou Ming catching snakes with his bare hands and the snake dance, which had been hanging on the popularity for quite some time. The fans alone have gone up by 2 million in one breath, just in time for the heat. Being able to stand up for the boss's wife can extend the reach even further. Okay, I'll talk to the boss's wife. Fatty rubbed his hands together and busied himself by running down. Zhou Ming looked at his back and shook his head helplessly, looking down at the blue-tongued stone dragon child that was lying on its back and was whimpering and wagging its tail in an attempt to get Zhou Ming to pinch it. Little thing, you don't realize the humans are up in arms over you on the internet. Pinches, give it to me, give it to me. Master, I really want it. Master, master. Master, the blue tongue stone dragon child used its own droll and nerdy head to rub against Zhou Ming's hand, and its large blue tongue accidentally spat out and licked against the back of Zhou Ming's hand. Some itch. Zhou Ming's hand moved. Moving. The blue tongue stone dragon child's eyes lit up and licked Zhou Ming's hand more vigorously. Master, master, I want to be satisfied. Pinch me, please. Ah ha ha ha. Feeling Zhou Ming's hand on his tail, just a slight movement, the blue tongue stone dragon child could no longer stand it. Chapter 36, is it really so divine? It was urgent, and its voice was as sweet as honey. Ah, master's hand is so big and warm. Master, please, master, please, master, please, master, please. Zhou Ming, the ears were full of woozy sounds, so sweet that Zhou Ming felt like he had been stuffed with a mouthful of full honey. Snoozing sweet, Zhou Ming finally stroked its tail. Fingertips rested against the blue-tongued gargoyle's chin, lifting its droll little head, biting back a warning. I'm warning you, don't yell too much, make it look like he's doing something. Blue tongue stone dragon child unknown, destroying the sky was disc feeling body pervasive. Its tongue lolled out uncontrollably. Drunkenness shouted, Master, I love you so much. I love it. It's the same as drinking fake wine. Zhou Ming, forget it. Zhou Ming retracted his finger and nudged its dull and naive little head. What a way to take you. The blue tongue stone dragon child cocked its little head and rubbed and rubbed against Zhou Ming's finger. He he. Love the new owners. So like so like, downstairs. Fatty told the boss's wife about this solution. The boss's wife pointed to the computers in front of herself and Chen Nan. See, that's what I thought. I'm watching the surveillance. 
It's been so many days of surveillance. How long do you have to watch it? Fatty frowned and looked at the time of the surveillance on the screen. Even if he was looking at the surveillance from half a month ago, it would take a long, long time to find it. He said, Zhou Ming said that this blue tongue stone dragon it was thrown out on a rainy day. So we just need to look for rainy day surveillance. Rainy day? How did he know it was a rainy day that he was thrown out? The boss's wife was unsure. Her pretty brow furrowed slightly. She remembered that it had rained just one night in the past month. I don't know how he knows, but there are things about reptiles. I think you guys should still listen to Zhou Ming and designate the right thing. Fatty patted his chest and assured. You believe Zhou Ming so much? What if Zhou Ming is just bull asterisk 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 ting? The boss's wife looked curiously at Fatty, who spoke of Zhou Ming with total trust, as if he held all his words as holy orders. I just trust him. Fatty said seriously, since he had known Zhou Ming, this person had never made a mistake when it came to reptiles as long as he opened his mouth, especially after experiencing the scene in the snake factory snake pool. Zhou Ming was the god in his fat brother's heart. God is very talkative. What more reasoning is needed? No reasoning required. Just believe it. Fatty is now a brainless follower of Zhou Ming. It's really hard to take Fatty's word for it. The boss's wife remains skeptical. You, Sister Su. Chen Nan suddenly opened his mouth to interrupt the conversation between the two. Look, is he holding a box of some sort? Let's see. The boss's wife came over to the computer, frowned, and said, Zoom in on this. Chen Nan moved his fingertips to zoom in on the image. It's the box. When was this video? The boss's wife asked excitedly. Once the time was determined, she could watch all the surveillance behind her for this day. For 10 o'clock on the night of the 11th, Chen Nan held up his cell phone and said, I checked the weather forecast, and it will rain at almost 10 o'clock on the 11th night. The boss's wife was shocked. Is Zhou Ming really that godly? A quick note on the timing of the blue-toned gargoyle being discarded? No, it can't be. Definitely a guess. Definitely a guess. It's just a coincidence. The boss's wife was brainwashing herself on her side. Fat brother then has dejected, you fat brother said. Zhou Ming whenever wrong? You think with you this joke it fooling around, boss lady. Chen Nan added, from this surveillance video of ours, we can't tell what's inside? There should be other cameras, right? Let's see if the others are there. Fatty also came over and said enthusiastically, I'll help you guys look at it too. The thing I hate most in my life is people who buy critters and then abandon them afterward. It's simply not a human thing to do. Cats and dogs can also be adapted to adapt to life in the wild, but is not the same reptiles, for the temperature and humidity requirements are relatively high, a good number of as long as the release, in the wild simply cannot last a week, aha, uh -huh. Chen Nan split the surveillance software into a sub-account out so that Fatty could view the surveillance directly in his cell phone, watching both men struggle to find evidence, the boss's wife pulled out her own cell phone, opened the microblogging software, and retweeted the comment from Hang Your Own that said the blue tongue stone dragons were stolen. The blue tongue stone dragon child appeared in my BNB out of nowhere a few days ago, and many of the guests had seen it and had thought it was a snake until I invited Creeping Pet Ming over in the past two days to catch this little guy. This is also the first time I've seen a blue tongue gargoyle, and it's a cute little guy. Not sure why it's here, but it's definitely not because I stole it. Creepy Pet Ming judged that this little guy was most likely discarded. At the moment I've already started looking at the surveillance, and I'll let you all know directly on Twitter if there's any progress. She crackled and typed a long string of posts. Not just tweeting, but also retweeting them to the ShakeFast app at the same time. The two software instantly heated up even more because of her response. In particular, it mentions Creepy Pet Mingo. This is the account that's been the big hit of the last two days on both programs. Passersby who hadn't paid much attention to the matter were curious enough to click on it to find out what was going on. Comments spiked below the simple strip of blog posts explaining why. The owner's wife is rich and free, and she opened the BNB all for her own sentiments. How could she possibly steal anything? They didn't say it was stolen by the boss's wife, did they? What are you screaming about here? What's the point of checking the surveillance? It must have been abandoned. What else is there to say about this kind of thing? That's just it. Buy it home and throw it away if you don't like it. Are there fewer people like that? This little guy is too cute looking, isn't he? So dorky. Does anyone know where to buy it? You're throwing it away even though it's so cute? Why don't you give it to me? So how the hell is it on the boss's wife's side? The location of her BNB is pretty remote. Did someone steal it specifically to throw it over there? Comments are rapidly spiking. With the awareness of animal protection, internet users nowadays have basically zero tolerance for abandoned animals. The boss's wife didn't realize that a bunch of people were already arguing for themselves online. She was watching the surveillance carefully. Fortunately, she had considered that it was not safe in the mountains at first, and when she let the people design it, the monitoring system was set up everywhere. 
and she even chose the best monitoring equipment, so that even if it was a rainy day at night, she could still get a clear shot of it. With the full cooperation of the three, it really captured all the action of the man abandoning the blue-tongued gargoyle. Chapter 37 Zhou Ming come over here, fat brother begs you to do something. The other party also seemed a little leery of the surveillance system she had mounted on the wall. It was raining with an umbrella and carried the feeder box for a long distance, but just because it was a rainy day and in the mountains, he obviously didn't dare to go further out either, supposedly for fear of running into stray wild animals that come over when it rains. The man crouched his body down and emptied the blue-tongued gargoyle out of the feeder. The blue-tongued gargoyle that fell to the ground was clearly baffled, his small body not moving a muscle. As the man did this and tried to leave, the blue-tongued gargoyle suddenly struggled and tried to follow. Who knew the man would just kick it away? The defenseless blue-tongued stone dragon sun completely disappeared in the middle of the grass. The man waited for a moment and saw that it was nowhere to be seen. When you get into the yard, throw the feeder in your hand directly into the trash, and then walked quickly back to the room. Surveillance is still playing. Not much longer. The crowd then saw a small figure appear where the blue-tongued stone dragon child had been discarded. Among the rain, it's trying to crawl. It was hard to imagine its tiny body fighting its way back from a blow as violent as that. It was as if the crowd saw abandoned children. A pair of ebony confused but clear eyes strained to look at the place where the other had left. Praying mournfully, don't leave me, please, don't leave me. They don't talk, but is like a human being who understands feelings. Otherwise, the blue-tongued gargoyle wouldn't have stayed at the BNB for so many days. It's, surely, is waiting for its master to return? If Zhou Ming were here, he would have directly denied this beautiful misunderstanding. That blue-tongued stone dragon child wasn't waiting for its owner to come back. It was just trying to scare the guests staying at the BNB. This little guy, long ago, realized that he was never going to be taken back by his former owner. Smart and through. Some blue-tongued gargoyles are pets, but there are some that do things that really aren't humanly possible things to do. Damn. This man is really. Abandonment even. And ING hurt the little cutie. Fatty clapped his hands together and snapped angrily. Just record everything this guy does and post it online. Let me know when you retweet it and I'll retweet it for you too. Let's see if I don't get this girl. Dog. Well, thank you then. The boss's wife said gratefully. Fatty gave her a somewhat surprised look. Like he was surprised that she would actually thank him. After all, she had always given herself the impression of being an arrogant little girl who was held in high esteem. What's wrong? The boss's wife looked at him in confusion. Nothing nothing nothing. The fat brother smiled and said. Don't be polite when you talk to your fat brother ha ha. Ah ha. The boss's wife pursed her lips. The leaves outside the window were blown by the wind, and the obscured light fell through the window, right onto the boss lady's cheek. The sunlight was glistening, and the light fell on her face as if it had struck a layer of warm light, making her skin look extraordinarily translucent. A pair of eyes, as if they could talk. Fatty subconsciously swallowed. Not bad for a beauty certified by his fat brother. Just right. Absolutely natural. Is there anything else I can do to help with that? As Fatty watched the two of them move, he couldn't help but come over and ask. I also operated and filmed the video for this account of climbing favored Ming, and I still have a lot of experience in this area. It's fine brother fatty, just leave it to me, Chen Nan said without lifting his head. Fat brother skimmed his mouth, your fat brother that is to ask you? Why are you so self-absorbed? But it really doesn't look like there's much need for myself here. Fatty stretched, the boss's wife suddenly looked up and said, there's no rush to post this video, you're waiting to continue fermenting public opinion a bit? As soon as she spoke. Fatty immediately knew what the boss's wife wanted to do. Now is the time when the boss's wife is caught in the whirlpool of theft door. Many melon people know about this matter, but many people just make a fuss, and will not pursue the matter. By releasing a clarification video now, she will only let those who are paying attention know of her innocence, leaving the rest of the eating public, still unclear about what happened. It's likely that when you see her again in the future, you'll subconsciously think, oh, so it's that millionaire lizard stealing blogger. A scene like this is something the boss's wife doesn't want to see. So, since we're clarifying, let's let the clarifying video have the most power. Just in time, the boss's wife looked at Fatty. The fat on Fatty's body trembled. What the? Suddenly looking at someone like that? Is the boss's wife in love with herself? Fatty was immediately pleased with himself, squinting his eyes up and down and picking at the boss's wife. He, Fatty, doesn't come to everything. It also has to be emotional to work. Hey, what are you thinking? The corners of the boss's mouth twitched, this colorful little eyes, looking at the boss's wife wanted to hammer him to death. Ahahahaha, Fatty smiled sardonically, what? The boss's wife pursed her lips, 
I'd like you to talk to Zhou Ming about recording a video of playing with the little things as a publicity and protection of the creepy crawly pet science. Is that okay? Clarification is not enough. Finally got to get on the value. This not only clears the netizens of their slanders, but also earns them a good reputation as a passionate, small animal protector. Two birds with one stone. Is there anything better than that? Yes. Fat brother immediately agreed. Excited spittle flying out, on your fat brother in the heart of the weight of Zhou Ming, what I say. He listens. Good boy. The boss's wife smiled. That would be a pleasure. No trouble no trouble. Fatty hemmed and hawed. Ouch. The boss's wife is so cute when she smiles. I wonder what to call their daughter in the future. Chowder. You come here. Fatty had a stern face and looked at Zhou Ming in a serious and earnest manner. Say something. Don't push. Zhou Ming didn't even raise his eyelids. Come here for a second. Just a second. Fatty stretched out a hand and greeted Zhou Ming. Don't stand there and play with the snake. Play with me. Will you? Play. Play with you a little? The veins on Zhou Ming's forehead instantly exploded. Dead fatty. Can you watch what you say? What do you mean? Play with you a little? I'm not playing with you. Blah blah blah. What to play or not to play? It's all been carried away. So are you coming over or not? Fatty let out a TSK. This person is just a prude. Playing so fancy. He saw it all. What a surprise. I didn't expect that. Sheesh. Zhou Ming walked expressionlessly to the fat man and warned in a grim voice. You better have something important to do. Or else. Of course I have something important to do. Fatty dissatisfied. The next second. And changed into another expression. Smiling to please. Fat brother let you come over ah. This is not in order to ask you something. Why don't you. That one of you. Make a video of the boss's wife. Zhou Ming. Is that the way you ask for a favor? Chapter 38 isn't it super cute? The boss's wife wants you to make a video of you interacting with the blue tongue stone dragons. And I was thinking that she's on a hot streak with that thing. Right? Let's just rub it in. Fatty said. Rubbing in the heat? Zhou Ming didn't believe it. Fox looked at him suspiciously. Um. Fatty squirmed. Well. I think the boss's wife is still interested in me. Hey. Hey. Why else would she make me say it when she could just tell you? Don't you think so? Aya. Uh, women are shy. You're over 200 pounds. Can you not do such a twisting action? Take care of my eyes. Will you? Zhou Ming just say yes. Otherwise where would I put my face in front of the boss's wife? Don't you think so? Fatty tugged on Zhou Ming's arm, spreading his wings in a general pampering manner. Besides, it's a good way to publicize the science, so people can learn about reptiles and not abandon them willy-nilly. Don't you think so? Okay. The veins on Zhou Ming's forehead thudded as he watched him top this look and pouted himself, combined with what he said before. This fat man is not hurt at all to go off. He said, I told you about shooting the video just now. Only, you didn't seem to take it seriously in your mind. Ha, huh? yes, yes. The fat brother scratched his head somewhat awkwardly. He just thought of the boss's wife to thank him. So he listened to the first half of Zhou Ming and the second half of the paragraph. The middle of the automatically give omitted. Zhou Ming stared at him and affirmed. Yes. Ah, then I'm losing money. Fat brother slapped his thighs and said in chagrin. Fat brother, I've lost a lot of money and begged you for a meal. Oops, a big loss. Zhou Ming. Next. Fatty changed to another expression. But it's okay. Fatty I'm not going to bother with you. He swished his other hand, hidden behind his back, out and offered it. Look. I've got all the tools for you. Hey, 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 hey. Let go of people. Let go of people. Bad egg. Bad egg. Don't want to be caught by you. I just want the master. Master, 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 master. Master save me. Woo. The blue-tongued gargoyle's dangling limbs looked like they were swimming in water, paddling back and forth desperately, and his body twisted violently as he resisted. It was furious. A clear, loud heartbeat that rose above the rest. Zhou Ming hastily reached out and received it in the palm of his hand. Feeling his master's aura, the blue-tongued stone dragon child quieted down at once. The large blue tongue spat out again, whimpering and leaving a trail of wetness on Zhou Ming's hand. Hey, 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 hey. Ha ha ha, I'm so smart. A great cleverness indeed. Zhou Ming was going to wash his hands a moment later. Asterisk 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 what makes this right? He struggles desperately when I hold him. Like I'm trying to do something to him. Fatty looked incredulously at the blue-tongued stone dragon child that had quieted down and was even licking his hand pleasingly. And his heart was instantly unbalanced. Zhou Ming hooked the corner of his lips and stretched out his finger to nod the little guy's chubby little head. The voice implied an imperceptible smugness. 
Who knows? Che, I'm not envious. Fatty said he wasn't envious while eyeing the well-behaved little guy in the palm of Zhou Ming's hand. It's also really weird. Not only was it tyrannical or dangerous, as long as it came to Zhou Ming's hands, it definitely wouldn't survive a single round trip, and it would have to be obediently taken. It's a hand that Fatty watches in amazement once. He also wanted to be like Zhou Ming and stick with the poisonous snakes and poisonous spiders and lizards. Woo. Envy. Fatty withdrew his own gaze reluctantly and walked over to the bed to grab his camera bag. Come on. Start filming. There's no script for this one. Just play with it how you normally play with it. Then just say something else to publicize the reptile and condemn the abandonment. All of this. Zhou Ming was already very skillful and didn't need Fatty to say anything at all. Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming pointed to the table and chairs on the windowsill. The table happened to be white and could perfectly display the beauty of this blue-tongued stone dragon child. After all, the blue-tongued stone dragon child is the main character. Chao Ming only needs to appear on camera with one pair of hands. The knuckle-boned, slender hands held the blue-tongued stone dragon child as if it were a treasure. It was just a hand. And you could feel how much the owner loved and cherished the blue-tongued gargoyle. The blue-tongued gargoyles were placed on a white table. And the layers of sequential aesthetic patterns were eye-catching. Fatty brought the camera up to the little guy's face trying to get in close for a shot. The blue-tongued gargoyle who saw the camera for the first time was startled. Baring his teeth, he burrowed underneath Zhou Ming's palm, as if he had found some protection. The blue-tongued stone dragon child with protection became bold all of a sudden, poking a small head out from under Zhou Ming's hand, dumbfounded to look at the lens in Fatty's hand. Finding no danger in the shot, he curiously moved forward. The brain snapped into the camera. Ouch! The blue-tongued stone dragon child took two steps back and tried to reach out his little claws to hit back but realized that his claws were too short to reach. The clever little guy immediately turned back and gently bit Zhou Ming's hand with his mouth, mentally humming and hawing. Ooh hoo, master help me to take revenge. It bullies people. Master, hit me back. Humming, the little thing is also too angry. Zhou Ming's hand was brought to the camera by it, and he could only pretend to touch the camera. Ha ha, master is awesome. Slightly, let you bully me. Let you bully me. The blue-tongued gargoyle poked his tongue out straight at the camera with that little look of triumph, oblivious to the fact that everything he was doing had been perfectly captured by the camera. Revenge is over. The little guy ran to Zhou Ming again, a death roll lying on all fours on the table, revealing his soft belly. Little paws blossomed and tails wagged and wagged. Master, look at my soft belly. Isn't it super cute? I'm such a cute little lizard. Ha ha ha. Zhou Ming, in front of the camera, can't you watch your image? If you let it out and the other lizards see it, they'll call you out on your indiscretions. No touching, ha? Huh? Seeing Zhou Ming's lack of action for half a day, Fatty couldn't hold his breath. This mother asterisk 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 her. What's the difference between a blue-tongued stone dragon child turning her belly over by herself and a big, beautiful woman lying naked on a bed waiting for you? Ha? Huh? There's no difference. Fatty is all itchy. If the little one is not too resistant to him, oh, this happy feeling. He also wants to enjoy enjoy. And Zhou Ming was actually indifferent? It's so full of people who don't know how hungry they are. Chapter 39 Hang yourself and come out to apologize. Can't spoil it. If he reached out and touched the blue-tongued stone dragon child every time it flipped its belly, he'd certainly make it a habit in the future. They can't talk, but they're still pretty good at getting their way. When these words came out, the jealous rage in Fatty's eyes was about to burn into substance. He's willing. As long as this little ancestor can light up his belly to himself. That is... Picking the stars and fishing for the moon he fat brother. Can't do it. Hey. People are more angry than people. Zhou Ming saw that the cold was almost gone. And that the blue-tongued stone dragon child was about to run out of patience and prepare to roll back. He. Out of the blue. Fingers started at the tail of the an inch by inch started to go up. Every inch of scale is taken care of. Even took special care of the papa with the little flower bloom. Master. Only my master knows my mind so well. Being my master's pet is not bad at all. I love it when master is nice to me. Master and I are the best in the world. The blue-tongued gargoyle was served soothingly, his large blue tongue hanging crookedly out of his mouth. The little papa was so intensely irritated that each finger was rigid. Ah, ah, I've been a lizard for so many years, but I'm most comfortable with my master. The tail should be pinched a little lighter and the shoulders a little heavier. Zhou Ming, press IMO. Do you want it lighter or heavier? Why is it so hard to serve? Zhou Ming gave a quick grunt and finished wrapping things up for good. The blue-tongued gargoyle likes it so much it's out of bounds. It was all rolled over by Zhou Ming, still full of heartfelt awe. Ah. It's like hemp. Fatty curiously focuses the camera on the blue-tongued gargoyle thrown out of his days. Just this hand of Zhou Ming. It looks simple, like a random touch. Yet it's not something that anyone can get on board with. Touching is forbidden everywhere. 
You want to get started? Let's keep one of our fingers and our lives first, especially when faced with a venomous snake. One bite will send you in the mail. Is that enough material? Zhou Ming pulled out a wet tissue and was wiping his hands. Every finger. He had scrubbed it with all seriousness. Fatty suddenly swallowed a mouthful of saliva and said with difficulty, You're acting like a ING scumbag. Hmm. Zhou Ming didn't understand. Of course it's a high you know. Fatty scowled at Zhou Ming for a while. Zhou Ming understood and was silent for a moment. Roll. Fatty hemmed and hawed. Bitches said. Roll on later. Say a few more words. With that, he aimed the camera at Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming is sitting upright with his arms crossed in front of his chest. Righteousness said, the following is the internet rumor about the South Wind Courtyard boss lady stealing Blue Tongue Stone Dragon Child. I climbing pet Ming brother here to make a clarification content. For one thing, it is true that the Blue Tongue Shiroko was deliberately abandoned. And here we firmly resist and condemn the abandonment incident. Reptiles are also life. And we need to respect life and nature. Secondly, I was specifically hired by the owner's wife to help her to catch blue tongued gargoyles, and the relevant chats will be posted on various platforms. Thirdly, we all know that I work in the zoo, but we do not realize that our zoo is not under the management of the Municipal Bureau of Landscape Architecture, but is perpendicular to the direct management of the State Council's administrative departments of forestry and fisheries. Therefore, Incidents of importation and invasion of alien species fall within my scope of work and will definitely be reported and dealt with. Also, reptile pets must be kept to go through the regular channels to buy, private smuggling, trade in exotic species, once found, will certainly be legally responsible. Can can can. Fatty looked at the replay video in the camera. Alright, I'll go find my boss's wife now. With this, the boss's wife will love him to death. Hey, hey, hey. Fatty swung away. Looking at Zhou Ming helplessly shaking his head, this person, is a three-year-old child, changing his mind when he says so, the network went as Zhou Ming and the boss's wife had predicted, hanging himself is obviously very close to this friend, after seeing the netizen's skepticism, they simply couldn't sit still, comment directly below, my friend she said she wanted to see the surveillance and it wouldn't let her see it at all, after Debeo lost it, my friend had a big fight with her boyfriend and almost broke up a little, cried so hard for days, when I went over to see her the person had lost a great deal of weight. It's all true. I don't have to lie to you. Who knows if the boss's wife didn't keep it properly after stealing it and accidentally ran out by Debeo, the boss's wife directed herself. I also hope the boss's wife isn't lying, but my friend and her boyfriend are really struggling. Boss lady, if you return Debeo now, my friend said he would leave you alone. In the last sentence, it was as if he had already decided that the boss's wife was the one who had stolen it. That longtime fan of the boss's wife can't sit still. You said the boss's wife stole something. You have to show proof, right? They've lived in small yards, and they all thought they were seeing snakes then, and the way the boss's wife freaked out wasn't fake. Even the owner's wife was so distraught over it that the notice suspending operations is still up on the deck. These, too, are simply not false. And so it was. The two sides of the crowd were directly at each other's throats. It's a hot mess. It went straight to the top of the hit list in the same city. Almost. It's that time, the boss's wife kept an eye on the online wins, when he saw that the time was almost right, he immediately put up the video he had made, Fatty retweeted at the same time, as soon as I saw it was a clarification note post, immediately someone clicked in, 5 minutes later, the comments underneath the video are growing geometrically and rapidly, oh, manual 8 hangs himself, where's the follower who stands hanging himself, come on, look who's in the video, ha, huh? this one looks like a guy, and the little one knows him, wanted to go up and stick it to him, only to be kicked away, what a coincidence, the netizen's friends are a couple, the ones who lost their pets at the boss lady's BNB are also a couple, and hanging yourself from the southeast branch your couple friends shouldn't also be surnamed Jung and Wang, 666, I knew it, boss lady will never let us down, says the video is edited, so you can click the link below for yourself, there's the full video, hang yourself, have you been tricked by your numbered friends? stupid or not, you're being used as a gun, hang yourself, come out and apologize, come out and apologize, apologize, other side, self hanging onto this video and was completely shocked, though the boss's wife had mosaic the other side, yet she recognized the other person's outfit right away, it was the very same set that she and her own friend had gone to the mall to buy together, she also gave a lot of advice, now, instead, it became a tangible sign that she recognized the other person, chapter 40 harmony, that's what being a sister is like. Looking at the dense, growing eye comments. Hang yourself from the southeastern branch with a cold heart. How arrogant she was just now when she left a message on the internet. And how scared she is now. How come? Could it be?
could it be that her best friend had really lied to her? Hang yourself in a hurry and call the other side. Didn't pick up. She changed her number and dialed her best friend's boyfriend's number. This time, it went straight to the other side being on the line. She was, uh, blackballed. Hang yourself in disbelief and switch to a chat program to message each other. Rows and rows of blinding bright red exclamation points. Ha! Oh! Hang yourself and laugh out loud. She's so stupid. It turned out that she was really just a gun in the other side's hands. Hanging up the southeast branch is like being hit head on. It hit her and sobered her up instantly. But okay. She's not in the habit of deleting chats. And the one with her best friend is still there. Hanging himself. He cried as he sorted through the chats he had in his hand. An apology message was posted. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have spoken rashly without understanding the whole picture of the matter. I trusted my good girlfriend too much. And I'm deeply sorry for the harm I caused to the boss's wife. 12 screenshots of the chat are paired below. Netflix swarmed. What a miserable young lady. Is this BFF? Lies galore. Absolutely 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 absolutely. Missy is also too simple. This isn't supposed to be self-directed. Is it? Found this BFF's account. Point the way. Asterisk 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 me. Went to see it. Quite a pretty girl. Why is her heart so black? Look. It's obvious that both of the young couple didn't want the blue tongue stone dragons and found a place to lose just the right amount of what they thought was a seamless affair. TSK TSK TSK. Snake and scorpion beauty ah. Look at Missy's screenshots. It's this BFF who saw the well-behaved blue tongue stone dragons and wanted to get them back again and went around PUA brainwashing Missy to help. It's horrible. It's horrible. You guys, look at the third screenshot over there. It's solid. It's the two of them who abandoned their couple and still want to have a good reputation in front of their friends. TSK TSK TSK. After hanging himself and posting, he put his phone down. She was just so sad. Her best friend for over a decade was actually such a hypocrite who used her. Clunk. The gate was slammed loudly. It was a familiar voice at the door. Self-hanging southeast branch stood at the cat's eye of the door to take a look. And sure enough, it was her best friend. Accompanied by her boyfriend. The BFF's boyfriend happens to be exactly right. Still wearing the same outfit from the video. How ironic. Open the door. I know you're in there. What are you doing posting our chats online? I never knew you were actually this thoughtful. I was so wrong about you. The woman at the door was screaming. And the door was slammed loudly by the man. Hanging onto the southeast branch is straight up hilarious. It hadn't been long since she'd posted the chat and these two were at her door. If she hadn't sent it, she wouldn't have been able to reach them. I don't want to see you right now. Get the hell out of here. What did you say? Hurry up and open the door. Or I'll bang on the door. I'll call the police if you bang on the door. Your ing. There was a silence at the door. Bad. Hanging herself suddenly found herself giving her the spare key. Sure enough the next second, the pair outside the door barged in aggressively. Even if you don't open the door, we can still get in. What do you want? Online. Everyone saw the bizarre scene. The message that just hung itself was deleted and even the account was logged off. Immediately following this, a video of a man and woman arrogantly picking a fight at their door and being taken away by the police has been circulating on the internet. Inside information. This pair is the one who abandoned their home. The head of the household who was broken into had the screen name self-hanging. So do the math and figure it out for yourselves. Asterisk 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 asterisk. That's awesome. This is real BFF. A blue tongue stone dragon child triggers a jailbreak. Inside the BNB. A few of Fatty's men were also dumbfounded. Who knew this? That it would go this way? They just condemn abandonment. The other guy just got himself into the bureau for a state dinner? This retribution. TSK, TSK, TSK. I really thank you guys for this time. While she was able to handle it, it helped that Cho Ming and Fatty helped her forward it. Even because of Nehru's account. So many people thought her place was ecologically sound and placed orders to reserve rooms. The orders for these two days alone are already booked for two months from now. Bursting at the seams. The boss's wife was beaming with joy. Who wouldn't be happy to make money? Hurriedly, he called back all the employees who were previously on vacation. But look at all Joe Ming and Fatty packing up their things and getting ready to leave. The boss's wife froze. You guys are leaving? Yeah, boss lady have time to play at the bottom of the mountain. Fatty said with a smile. It's going to be a car ride. The hills are bumpy. Joe Ming was afraid that the blue tongue stone dragons would be thrown out. So he simply stuffed them directly into the cage containing the king brocade snake. Blue tongue stone crop. Master. Help. Ah. Stinky worm. Wang Jin snake flicked his tail and held a cold and noble little look. It smells really good. If I eat it now, I won't be thrown out. Right? Forget it. It's risky to eat it. I'd like to have a long-term meal ticket. It's not worth it. Wang Jin snake looked at the panicked and shrunken blue tongue stone dragon child. 
who was shivering in a ball, and snorted coldly, not enough to stuff my teeth, if you want to eat it, you have to fatten it up, the king Kitsune plopped down again and paid no attention to the little thing, the blue tongued stone dragon child wailed for a while, but did not see the other party launch an attack, cautiously, he looked up, the king brocade snake was coincidentally spitting out its scarlet snake letters and looking at it lazily, master master, the blue tongued stone dragon child was aggravated, and his claws and paws kept fluttering, accidentally grabbing the snake's tail at the edge of his pawpaw, what's the feeling, what a feeling, whoa, 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 the blue tongue stone dragon child instantly recalled the scene where she enjoyed having Zhou Ming massage her tail, there was a flash of insight, carefully, he came up to the king's brood snake and extended his claws and paws, hey, 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 I'll hold it down, I'll hold it down, I'll hold it down, comfortable, hey, the king kitsune felt the weight on its tail and raised its head slightly to look at it, this little cutie, what are you doing, touching me, forget it, that human loves this little thing, it's okay to touch the tail for the sake of my long term meal ticket, hey, I'm really enduring the humiliation, when we get to the place, I'm going to eat 10 rats, all alive, a snake and a lizard, finally quiet in their cages, Zhou Ming glanced at it, expressing great relief, that's good, that's what being a sister is like, chapter 41, vomit, I'm not supposed to have human pups, am I, Zhou Ming sat in the back seat with his suitcase, after half a day of watching Lord Queen and Cutie interact, I don't see Fatty getting on the bus, Fatty, Zhou Ming lowered the window of the car and looked at the fat brother in front of the boss's wife whose fat body was rippling with spring, why don't I take the two little ones back first, and you stay here for a while longer, hey, 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 don't, I'm coming, as soon as Fatty heard this, he waved at the boss's wife and turned his head to get into the car in a hurry, Zhou Ming didn't move like a mountain, you take the passenger seat, don't crowd them, how am I supposed to squeeze them when they're in the cage Fatty, Fatty skimmed his mouth and made a face at Zhou Ming before running to the passenger side, Zhou Ming, the boss's wife finally found a chance to step forward, she unselfconsciously bit her lip, Zhou Ming, do you know what my name is? Zhou Ming raised his eyes and looked at her strangely. Should he know? They won't meet again anyway. But of course, the internet doesn't count. He really didn't know. The boss's wife's face dimmed. She bit her lip. Zhou Ming, my name is Rua Tong. Su Rua Tong. Rua of Rua. Tong of Tong Hua. I know. Zhou Ming responded. Saying likewise, I'm Zhou Ming. The one with the one-two punch. I know. Su Rua Tong flashed a smile at him. A hit. Indeed. Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming nodded. And then his eyebrows rumbled a bit slightly and hesitantly asked. Well, then, do you still have something to do? We'll leave first if there's nothing. After all, there's quite a bit going on down the hill. I haven't seen the little cobras and spiders in a few days and I still miss them. You don't have anything to say? The boss lady's smile instantly stiffened again. She looked at Zhou Ming with some consternation. Her hints had been so obvious. Shouldn't she add a contact with her or something? Fatty has it all. Him? He's got nothing to say. Zhou Ming looked at her suspiciously, and then came to a realization. Oh, don't worry. Those medicinal powders I left for you are exclusively configured by me, and they are harmless to humans, and snakes as well. Then there's nothing else to do, so we'll be on our way. Say it. Zhou Ming directly said to the driver master. Let's go. Master, will we still make it to the zoo on time if master is delayed this long? Su Ruaton, dead man's head. Su Ruaton was so angry that she stomped her feet and glared fiercely at Zhou Ming. Exasperated, he twisted his head and walked away. Fatty, so angry. I gave you a chance, but you're no good. Zhou Ming, why don't you keep such a good opportunity for yourself? Master driver, sheesh, this young man, you'll be on your knees from now on. Master, can you be on time? Zhou Ming asked again. The master driver had his hands in gear and his feet on the gas, affirming the road. Of course I can. Zhu entrance. Hey, hey, hold it in, don't throw up, don't throw up. Zhou Ming waist ring King Jean Snake got out of the taxi and finally breathed a sigh of relief. Look at you, you couldn't help yourself for two hours. You almost threw up on someone's car. Do you know that it's only $200 a time? $200. Vomiting. Wang Jean Snake lay sickly on Zhou Ming's arm, the feeling of dizziness and nausea still lingering in his body. So sick, so dizzy, want to vomit. Ah, I'm not supposed to be having one, am I? This human keeps hitting on me. Whom? Most likely. Zhou Ming? Sorry to interrupt. You're seasick. What have you got there? As a King Kitsune that only rampages in the wild, 
it's rare for it to face humans head-on, let alone in a mode of transportation, especially since the first ride was a bumpy ride down the hill. It's even more exciting. Wang Jin Snake couldn't stand it straight away, sickly drooping. Hey hey, master driver, his grandmother, fat brother I have not closed the door tightly. Fatty reminded with his cage wailing, numb nuts, you're running too fast. Next, Fatty then saw the car briefly linger on the side of the road, and the passenger door was pushed slightly open, then quickly closed again. This time, the car went faster. Fatty, cut, coward, it's just a snake, isn't it? Fatty walked to Zhou Ming with the cage and looked at Zhou Ming's waist-coiled King Nalo snake, his hand resting on the snake's head. He said, do you know that you scared the driver so much? He couldn't even step on the gas with his legs. His hands were shivering. You open the cage and you pick it up. Even if you picked it up, you still ing plopped it on your body. What sane person could stand to be directly dissed by you? You say you, hey, I can't even stand to watch you. Fatty, Zhou Ming silently said, wasn't it you who said that it vomited 200 once? I coiled it up because it was going to throw up. Fatty was speechless. But save your money. 200. 200 then. The fat brother smiled happily. His small eyes all turned into a slit. That's right. That driver's heart capacity is really not. Not just a snake. This how. Ah. Ah. Snakes. What a big snake. It's wrapped around him. At the entrance to the zoo. A peaceful atmosphere was interrupted by terrified screams. The people in the doorway backed away like a tidal wave. Panicking and hiding in whatever they thought was safe. A few others were bold enough to take cell phones from afar and shoot up at the people who started it all. The originators, Zhou Ming and Fatty, looked at each other. Why didn't you warn me? Why are you still coiled? Two, finished, next, the well-trained zoo employees, with steel forks in their right hands and transparent riot shields in their left hands, aggressively aimed at Zhou Ming and Fatty. Don't worry, we'll save you. Don't be alarmed around you don't be alarmed. Spread out spread out. Get away from the scene. Zhou Ming was speechless. It's me. Fatty also held up his hand and yelled. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Friendly forces, this battle. Fatty's little heart shivered, afraid that a second slower and you'd be straight up with a steel fork. Cho Ming, Naru, Naru. The staff recognized Zhou Ming in front of them, collected the steel fork tools in their hands, and shouted, Narrow you this look. Exciting ah, kow wow. This is a king brocade snake, isn't it? It's so well behaved. Another collection for our zoo. Ha, huh? boy, it's so long. Zhou Ming also threw the king brocade snake that was coiled on his body. Coiled, 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 into the cage. That way it doesn't scare people. Crowd, I'll rub it in. What's up with that dowie spaghetti feeling you've got going on? Just, you know, not giving a snake that size the cards it deserves? Chapter 42, you don't need a lot, give me 10 or 20 million dollars to get rid of it. Seeing Zhou Ming and Fatty leave with the snake, visitors at the zoo entrance were relieved. The staff standing at the gate checking tickets and incidentally maintaining order held a loudspeaker to calm the crowd. It's okay ha it's okay, this is our zoo safety drill ha. People need to trust the professionalism of our zoo staff. The crowd nodded at the words. Order was quickly restored again. There was even a question. Which arena do I have to go to if I want to see this snake? Yeah, I don't think I've even seen it before. Reptile house, right? Isn't this one still being built? Hey, you're right about this big brother. The staff smiled and said, this is the animals exhibited in the creeping pet pavilion, but it's really the same as what you said. Big brother, it's not open yet. When our staff is all packed up, we will soon be able to open the door. All brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts. Grandparents remember to bring someone to see ah, aha, that's for sure. Finally a new arena. Looking forward, a fiasco was skillfully diffused, and in the process the reptile house, which had not yet begun to exhibit, was publicized. The zoo, Zhou Ming and Fatty followed the crew down the road. One of them said, Nehru, the old gardener said he saw you come back and asked you to come to his office. Did it say anything about what happened? The old gardener didn't call out easily, but when he did, nothing good happened. I don't know, but recently the garden has been rumored that the Stellar Group has donated money to our garden. It's estimated to be tens of millions of dollars. Stellar Group? Zhou Ming had just traveled here not long ago and did not know much about this parallel world. Suddenly I heard about this Stellar Group and my memory went blank. Yes, Stellar Group. 
Are Qingzhou City's biggest financial technology bull, Qingzhou's richest man. The man continued. Someone interjected. Why are they suddenly donating to our zoo? I don't know. But there were whispers a few days ago that their chairman was bitten by a poisonous spider and is still recuperating in the hospital. Yeah, guess it's for peace of mind. How can we understand the things of rich people oh? Also, they were all in their 20s and 30s and instantly chatting away. As Zhou Ming listened, he felt more and more familiar in his heart. Fatty bent his elbow and asked Zhou Ming in a low voice, The Xin Wei you have her eye on you? Tens of millions of dollars, coming out so generously. TSK TSK TSK. Zhou Ming was instantly enlightened. It turns out that stellar group, is Xin Wei Yu's family. No wonder it felt so familiar. It was about time for the crowd to get back to work. On the way out, there was a reminder. Nehru, remember to go to the head gardener's office. Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming nodded, and then handed the cage in his hand over to Fatty. You can help me send it back first. I'll go to the head gardener's office first. Let's see what that little old man really wants. All right, the cage is handed over to your fat brother. So don't worry. Fat brother smoothly took the cage and puffed and puffed his way forward. The man next to him warned curiously. The reptile house is that way. What are you following us for? Ha? Huh? Over there? Ah ha 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 Okay okay. Fatty froze, scratched his head and hemmed and hawed as he twisted his head in the right direction. Aside to Joe Ming. Seems a little disconcerting. Director's office. Knock knock. There was a rhythmic knock on the door. Come in. Hearing this sound, Zhou Ming pushed open the door. He didn't rush in. First standing in the doorway for three seconds before asking with some curiosity, where's that pachyderm? The cast is almost in elementary school. The old gardener looked at Zhou Ming's movements and said without a trace of anger. Just a little naughty. What's so scary about that? Zhou Ming nodded. That's quite good. The old gardener directly rolled his eyes and then remembered something and waved at Zhou Ming. Come here. Sit down. The head gardener I, ah, have something to tell you. Zhou Ming walked into the office. What's up? There's no hurry. Let me ask you something first. The old gardener picked up his teacup and changed his mind again. Zhou Ming raised an eyebrow. The old gardener was seen taking a sip of tea. Quite a big commotion just now. Ha, huh? I knew I couldn't hide it from you. Zhou Ming smiled and looked at the little old man whose hair was slightly gray and whose face was covered with wrinkles. The little old man has been at the zoo for most of his life and has devoted his life to the zoo animals. Much to Zhou Ming's admiration. Zhou Ming ah, what's the matter? You don't carry it alone. Although the reptile house is invested by your money. But then, it's with the zoo. So yeah, the zoo and the reptile house are still a family. You know this one. The old gardener grinned. Zhou Ming nodded his head, indicating that he understood. But in his heart, he was rapidly calculating why the old gardener was suddenly playing the emotional card for him. There's definitely something fishy going on when there's nothing going on. Not much contact with the old gardener, but already know him through and through. Zhou Ming's aura flashed. Shouldn't it be? Yes, it's all in the family, and the old gardener certainly won't shortchange me financially. So, I'm going to apply for a grant to buy a reptile. Zhou Ming looked at the old gardener with a smile and spoke slowly. Seeing the beard under the old gardener's nose slightly curving upwards, Zhou Ming grabbed him before he could speak and said, It doesn't need to be a lot. 10 or 20 million dollars would be fine. The old gardener directly couldn't stand it. Hey, you brat. How much money did Stellar Group give to our zoo? 20 million dollars. You took it all for me in one breath. Look at how much I'm worth. Why don't you just take me and trade me? Head gardener, you told me yourself. We're family. Let me open my mouth if I need anything. How can you say what you said and still be in a hurry by yourself? I told you to open your mouth. I didn't tell you to leonize me. The old gardener looked at Zhou Ming for a while and blew his beard. Okay. Zhou Ming regretted. The old gardener peeled a banner out of a drawer and handed it to him. Here. Someone sent it to me. Zhou Ming received it in his hand. Expanded. Superscribed. Catch the spider. Stellar group gives away creepy pet Ming. Zhou Ming spat out. So corny. I think so. The old gardener subconsciously picked up the sentence. And then quickly reacted and scolded at Zhou Ming. What dirt. This is specially customized for you by Stellar group. Other people who wanted don't have this fortune. You're lucky. Zhou Ming looked at him expressionlessly. You weren't the only one who felt dirt just now. Go go go. The banner has been given to you. Hurry up and get. Out. The old gardener waved his hand at Zhou Ming in disgust. This awful thing. Day by day. That money. Chapter 43 Hey hey it doesn't work there. It really doesn't work there. That money. Zhou Ming didn't move. Stellar group's donation hadn't been agreed on how to divide it. The old gardener saw that he could not mix it up. Only helplessly. Zhou Ming ah. Do the math yourself. How much support has the park given you? Is just an empty house. Even the garbage inside was swept out by him alone. 
and he collected $30 from selling it for scrap. The old gardener. There doesn't seem to be much support haha. The old gardener opened his mouth and added. Then we're treated well here. Isn't it pretty good? Does treat the animals quite well. It's just that they're not very good. These people. If it wasn't for the fact that Fatty had started that online storm about how zoos shouldn't discriminate against reptiles, and Zhou Ming still wanted to raise all sorts of reptiles, there were even species of reptiles that the state had banned from private importation, had to find official channels to endorse it. Solely, Zhou Ming, as an employee of the zoo, worked with the zoo to establish the reptile house. Zhou Ming is responsible for the money and effort. The zoo is responsible for the field as well as the ability to communicate with official channels to introduce any reptile species when Zhou Ming wants them. It's kind of a win-win situation. The old gardener was blocked by Zhou Ming's words. Reluctantly, he asked, Am I not good for you? Just call the money. Zhou Ming said without hesitation. The old gardener covered his chest. The rebellious son, retrograde son, looks like pulling strings isn't going to work. Only, Zhou Ming ah, you also know what is the situation in our zoo. You look at the giant panda, look at the giraffe, and the tiger lion. Another batch of rescued animals was delivered the other day. And hey, it was miserable. That poor little look. Money is needed everywhere. Oh old gardener, take a look at my reptile house. I say it's a reptile house, but there's only one snake and one spider in it. The roof is leaking and hasn't been repaired, and it's almost the rainy season. So what are you going to make us do? It's been a month, a month the arena hasn't been installed. Zhou Ming cried out. Selling out? Who wouldn't already? The old gardener. Roll roll roll. Roll now. He sat down on his ass and said squarely. You can only share half a million dollars. Two million. For two million. He could make the whole arena look fully ecological. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Two million. One and a half million dollars. Two hundred. Seeing that he still insisted, the old gardener directly jumped ahead of him and said. Just a million and a half. It's already been deducted from your teeth. Can you at least give me a step back? Bargaining has to come and go. You're going a little overboard here just shouting out a one bite price. That's fine. Seeing that he had really reached the old gardener's limit, Zhou Ming regretfully said, A million and a half is a million and a half. Give more. The old gardener regretted it. From the office, Zhou Ming immediately laughed. That in and out. A million and a half dollars went straight to my hand. There you go. Zhou Ming pulled out his cell phone and made a direct call. Hey, it's me, Zhou Ming. Well, just calling to tell you that the program that was finalized earlier should not be used. Yeah, yeah, just replace it with the first version of the decor. Aha, uh -huh, a million dollar deposit is it? You're still half a million short, right? Okay, I'll transfer it now. Hang up the phone. Zhou Ming immediately made up the remaining half a million dollars deposit. Watch the bank card balance empty instantly. Hey, money is hard to come by. You also have to count the final payment for the renovation. He's demanding, and for the sake of the reptile's health. The materials used all have to be the best available. A 500 square foot arena will cost millions just to renovate. And that's not even counting the various rearing tanks and setup materials for the reptiles. Before there was no money, Zhou Ming could barely tolerate it and renovate the arena with the second plan. There's money now. Zhou Ming wouldn't be able to condescend to those little things anymore. The big stone in his heart finally fell. Zhou Ming tucked his cell phone in his pocket. Joyfully, he headed toward the reptile house. Asterisk 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 Big brother, big king, don't don't don't, haven't even walked into the arena yet. Zhou Ming then heard Fatty let out one scream after another. Ouch, Polly, not there, not there really, don't, don't, don't bare your teeth, okay, okay. Zhou Ming quickly stepped forward and walked inside the reptile house. Fatty was seen planting himself on the ground. The one meter long body of the king kinsnake coiled around Fatty's bulging belly its tail flicking, right at his daughter-in-law's future source of happiness. The serpent's body supported the snake's head and surveyed the fat brother beneath it from top to bottom. Where are the rats? Where's my rat? Nothing. I want rats. I want dry rice. The fishy red snake's letters spat and spat, contracting rapidly. Fatty couldn't understand, and his mouth whimpered. The afterglow saw Zhou Ming coming through the door. Zhou Ming, quickly, quickly, quickly drag this bigot away. Drag him away. Zhou Ming saw that there was nothing going on with him, and even Wang Jin Snake's heart was all just hungry for dry rice. Then, Zhou Ming would be in no hurry. What are you standing there for? Whoa whoa, fat brothers still want to live a happy life in the future. You screw fast ah. Fatty wanted to reach out and try to cover his crotch, but there is no help. There was just too much meat on him and his arms weren't long enough. Plus the king kamikaze coiled in his belly. Every time he was about to sit up, it was as if Wang Jin Snake was purposely working against him. 
and he always managed to suddenly exert force to press him back onto the floor again. Fatty's life, why is it so bitter? Zhou Ming asked strangely, isn't it staying well in the cage? Why did it come out? Who knows, I just put it down and it came out. Fatty wanted to cry. As soon as he turned his head, he came face to face with the large head of the king's brocade snake, the snake's letter. It almost licked his nose. It was thanks to his guts, or else he would have seen a cold corpse by now. Master, master, master is back. Master, master, master. A sweet voice came from far away and kept calling out, master. Like a repeater, something seems to have crawled up Zhou Ming's foot, a lowered head. The blue-tongued gargoyle was clutching his ankles and puffing his way up. The heartbeat becomes more and more alive. Master, master, master. I knew master wouldn't leave me alone. Master, master, master. I love master so much. I don't want to be separated from my master for a while. Master bring me home. I will be very good and well behaved. Zhou Ming listened to the heartfelt words of the blue-tongued stone dragon child. The little one is indeed very active, but equally afraid of being thrown away a second time. Zhou Ming crouched down and reached out to pinch the little guy under his front paws. Flush with himself. The other hand nudged its dull head. Don't worry. I won't lose you if I take you home. Slightly. The blue tongue of the blue tongue stone dragon child spat out. Licked at Zhou Ming's fingertips. Master master are you praising me? I'm super awesome. I opened all the cages. Oh. Zhou Ming looked at it with a smile. So it is you little guy. Chapter 44. Defilement and not taking responsibility. What a scum. Hey. Hey. Hey, that longworm is so stupid, he can't even drive. I'm the only one who's that smart. I'm so smart. Isn't master super fond of me? Master doesn't say anything. Then you like me. Hey, like, I like you too much. Zhou Ming sneered and directly punched down at its ass. Okay, a little ingenuity and you start picking locks? It's hard to say if I don't teach you a lesson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The blue-tongued stone dragon child, who was already dumbfounded, became even more confused. Like, I like you too much. Zhou Ming sneered and directly punched down at its ass. Okay, a little ingenuity and you start picking locks? It's hard to say if I don't teach you a lesson. Yeah, 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 yeah. The blue-tongued stone dragon child, who was already dumbfounded, became even more confused. It's full of it. Battered. Battered. I was beaten by my master. Master beat me. Listening to the little guy's heartfelt voice that was too shocked to speak, Zhou Ming unconsciously rubbed his hand that had just beaten the lizard. Did he hit him too hard? The little guy looked like he hadn't slowed down half the time. And it's only the first day I brought it back. So it's normal to be uncomfortable with anything. It must have been hard on the little guy for him to go right ahead like that. The guilt in Zhou Ming's heart was spreading like a tidal wave. Impulsive. Wow. Zhou Ming's ears suddenly exploded with a pleasantly startled cry, emanating from none other than the blue-tongued stone dragon child in front of him that he hadn't been able to put down yet. Hitting is kissing and scolding is loving. Master is kissing me. Wow. Master really likes me too much. Ha ha ha. Happy. Really happy. The little guy fluttered his little paws. Master hugs. Zhou Ming. That's good. That's not even a little bit of a mistake to realize. It's even still maliciously interpreted. The guilt in Zhou Ming's heart instantly disappeared cleanly. Lifting her small body, he placed it directly on his shoulder. Blue tongue stone dragon child hurriedly hugged Zhou Ming. Heart, he 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 he, happy to laugh straight. Zhou Ming's ears were all filled with its clear and sorrowless laughter. Ow ow ow. Zhou Ming, what are you doing? Help ow ow ow. Fatty was still lying on the ground, and the king brocade snake on his body looked like it had made him its nest. Even the snake's head was lying in front of Fatty, soft and squishy feeling pretty good. Humans, this is my gift to you. I hope you don't know any better. Wang Jin snake rubbed himself, accidentally rubbing the upper half of Fatty's clothes upwards, revealing his white belly. Oh, without the barrier of clothes, Wang Jin snake's cold temperature directly clung to his warm skin. The excitement was so great that Fatty shouted right out. Oh ho ho that's cool. Asterisk 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 asterisk. What do you want? The king's brocade snake wriggled halfway and burrowed directly into Fatty's clothes. So soft. E -e, what's this? Bump. Take a bite and taste what it tastes like. Zhou Ming's heart thumped when he heard the heartbeat. Mom. Yeah. If you do. It's over. Zhou Ming urged it fatty. Quickly. Quickly. Get up. Seeing Zhou Ming look like he finally thought he was in a hurry. Fatty instantly stopped being in a hurry. He was like a salted fish. I told you not to come just now. Now you know you're worried about your brother. Ha. Huh? Let me tell you. 
Your fat brother is definitely not that good oh ho 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 ho. Fatty's face changed dramatically and he covered his chest and screamed. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Joe Ming it 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 this pervert bit my breast. That hurts. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Joe Ming looked at Fatty, who was rolling straight on the ground, and said helplessly, I told you to get up long ago. Fatty sheds a tear. How can it be that bad? Su Ruatong couldn't look at herself even if it's not enough. But she came back to be ing defiled by snake snake. Oh, 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 oh fat brother me ah. Unclean ah ah. Zhou Ming had already brought over a live mouse. Kicking fatty, who was still lying on the ground pretending to be dead. Lift up your clothes. I'll get them off for you. Fatty also knew that he was a big possibility that he was being used as food by the king brocade snake. Snakes are very protective animals. Pulling a raw deal and taking food out of a snake's mouth is definitely not going to end well. Luckily, this king brocade snake was not a venomous snake, and there was nothing wrong with being bitten by it. Fatty sniffed as he lifted his own shirt, looking at Zhou Ming with a face full of pretense. Come on, don't pity me because I'm a delicate flower. Zhou Ming suddenly wanted to throw his hands up and quit. It hurts like hell. Rat smells? The king kitsune snakes caught the flavor and opened their mouths slightly. Zhou Ming opened the cage in his hand and the stupid little mouse burrowed out of the cage, but did not rush to escape, but instead circled around the cage. It's coming out. Wang Jin snake sensed that the rat was out of the cage and slowly released fatty from under his mouth. Its serpentine head turned to the mouse's position and held its head high. The long coiled body on fatty's stomach slowly stretched and quickly squirmed towards the mouse's position. It's hungry. Predation is required. Seeing Wang Jin snake go down from his body, fatty hurriedly stood up, looking at the king's brocade snake, who didn't look back. He crumbled. Mother asterisk 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 error. Not responsible for defiling your fat brother after you're done with him. What a ing slag. Zhou Ming grunted coldly. Or else I'll drag it back for you? You take it home as a daughter-in-law? That, that's better. Fatty waved his hand. I still like being able to warm Fatty's bed. Zhou Ming handed him the sterilized water and cotton swabs he found. Get it yourself. King Jean Snake didn't mean to eat Fatty. It was just because of a momentary curiosity. Otherwise, the meat on Fatty's chest would have been bitten out of a large piece down. Snakes didn't have the strongest bite, but with those two sharp teeth, they weren't weak. Fatty took it and subconsciously rolled up his shirt. Then he saw Zhou Ming standing in front of him. You turn around. Is Fatty's delicate body, which has been clean for more than 20 years, something you can look at? Zhou Ming. You. Who wants to see the fat on you? He bowed his head, directly holding up the tail of the King Kitsune. It was temporarily placed in a large feeder box. It's the largest feeder in the arena, big enough for a one meter king snake to stretch itself out in without looking cramped. The feeder has not been set up yet, just a temporary layer of bedding. Very sketchy. Zhou Ming was still afraid that Wang Jin snake would not like it. I didn't realize that just as soon as I put it down, the king kitsune quickly scurried around the feeder. Bang! A muffled sound. The king kitsune's head stupidly hit the transparent feeder. Ah! It hurts! Chapter 45 What's the matter with you? A snake! Beating up a mistress here? There's nothing in front of me, but I can't get through? It hurts. What is this thing? King Jean Snake carefully tried, gently dropping his head on the clear glass. It was extremely curious and spat out its snake letters. Guessing. Transparent. Cage? Zhou Ming then remembered. Wang Jean Snake, who had been mingling in the wilderness, was a little idiot of the modern world and had never even been in a car, let alone understood what a feeder box was. Instead, it was the blue tongue stone dragon child on his shoulder that could know more. It feels like one is a little princess raised in a greenhouse and the other is a nature queen set loose in the countryside. For now, the queen mother needs to get used to adapting to the present. Ha! Huh? The king kitsune squirming in the feeder with a layer of crushed wood shavings underneath her is her favorite sensation. The space is huge. Huge. And she's the only one living here. Hmm. If only there was something to eat. Kiki. Immediately a small mouse dropped down in front of his eyes. As soon as the mouse landed, it scurried around in panic. This, this, Wang Jin snake murmured. I can think what I want. Isn't this the life I dreamed of? Not leaving. I'm not leaving for the rest of my life. If anyone tries to take me away, I'll kill him. The king's brocade snake swallowed the fragrant mouse in a beautiful bite and joyfully patrolled the territory that belonged to him. Not bad. Not bad. This is my place from now on. It doesn't mind the simplicity, but rather, because of. Is it exercising on a full stomach? Fatty looked curiously at the scurrying king brocade snake. It was rare to see such a bold snake. The average snake is very wary when entering a new environment, to the point where it will go on a hunger strike. 
But this king brocade snake in front of me was very comfortable. The queen sama is just patrolling the territory. Zhou Ming explained indifferently, closing the lid of the feeding box. As long as it's a willingness to stay. Zhou Ming least likes to force people. And animals. The little guy on the shoulder will have to find a feeder to house as well. Luckily, the blue tongue stone dragon son was not large even as an adult. And Zhou Ming quickly locked on to a 4 inch feeder. The substrate is made of sterile soil, which allows blue tongue stoners to dig their nests. The temperature needs to be kept around 28 degrees Celsius during the day and 23 degrees Celsius at night. Heating lamps are a must and the temperature under the lamp is kept at about 33 degrees Celsius. The little guy is a water drinking lizard and will also need to place a water bowl to provide drinking water. Quickly set this up. Zhou Ming placed the blue tongue stone dragon child on his shoulder in the feeding box. Zhou Ming nodded its dull and cute little head to a new home. Whoa! The blue-tongued gargoyle crawled excitedly over the sterile soil, its tiny paws whimpering and digging underneath it. The big blue tongue also came right out from excitement. Is this the home the master gave me? Master. Master. I like it very much. Wow. My master even put me in a water bowl. And the water in it is so sweet. Master really understands my thoughts. I love master the most. 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 The most, the most, the most. A completely different heartbeat from Wang Jin Snake reached Zhou Ming's ears. The voice is as clear as a silver bell, with deep attachment and joy, coupled with a dorky, cute exterior. Who couldn't love a little princess like that? Zhou Ming couldn't help but reach out his hand and stroke the blue tongue stone dragon child's body a few times. Master, 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 master's hands on my body. I love it, I love it. Master, go down a little. The blue-tongued stone dragon child grunted in comfort, his head rubbing straight against Zhou Ming's palm. Oomph! Heart throb! An angry voice came from the side. Where did you come from little goblin? How dare you rub up against my man like that? Do you realize it's my guy? Eh ha! Get out of here! Zhou Ming listened to this collapse as if he had seen his own family man getting it on with a mistress, and gave him a series of sideways glances. The Chinese cobra erected its front body, the sides of its neck skin fold swelled and it kept gulping its scarlet snake's letters and emitting a warning whirring sound. Man, you must have fallen for this little bimbo. What's so good about it? The body isn't long enough. The teeth aren't sharp enough. And it looks like it's not poisonous. How can it be as fierce as me? Ha! It actually has four feet on it. It's so ugly. It's really ugly. I don't understand how you can let a treasure like me go and actually like something so ugly. Ah, uh, looks like this little thing has some tricks up its sleeve. Looks like I'll have to think of something. Zhou Ming. His brain exploded at the sound of it. The Chinese cobra said so much, and the blue tongue stone dragon it under his command saw the Chinese cobra leaping in the feeder next to him. Ah, it's the stinky long worm again. It's so ugly. You can't get in. You want to bully me? Dream on. And then it continued to rub against Zhou Ming's palm with an air of calmness. Now that the master is in at me, you actually want to take it back? Dreaming. The blue tongue stone dragon child affectionately licked the palm of Zhou Ming's hand. Hey, master, it's mine. Zhou Ming actually didn't know that Blue Tongue Shalonzi had the potential to make green tea? You little, gasps at me, gasps at me. Watching the Blue Tongue Stone Dragon Child continue to be intimate with Zhou Ming's palm, the Chinese cobra completely exploded, more angry than the sight of a caveman tarantula. It was, after all, a small spider, so small that the snake could almost just ignore it. And again, hiding in the feeder in peace and quiet, they don't always make a sound for 10 days and half a month. The Chinese cobra was so angry that it stormed right out of the feeder. It seems that these two can't be put together. After thinking about it, Zhou Ming still chose to place the blue tongue stone dragon child's feeding box next to the cave dwelling tarantulas. That way the two of them won't fight. Looking at Zhou Ming holding the feeding box, he laughed. The Chinese cobra was dumbfounded. Gone. Gone? Man. You actually left me and went off with this ugly little thing. Woo 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 woo. I said you're a scumbag, right? You're really a scumbag oh dash. Negative man ah, uh, go out for so long, do not ask people live well even if it is, you also brought back a, Zhou Ming's feet were softened by its crying, and the feeding box in his hand almost fell down, what's up with this feeling of a legitimate wife accusing a scumbag of bringing a mistress home, you're a snake, cobra, what the is wrong with you, hitting on a mistress here, nope, just no ing mistress, chapter 46, master, I miss you so much, no one can bully master, why did you move it? Fat brother looked at Zhou Ming's action, unknown asked, and saw the Chinese cobra staring straight at Zhou Ming's appearance, instantly realized, a face of said, oh, I'm afraid the little thing will get jealous, aren't you, ouch, poor little thing, mustn't know its owner is a big scumbag, 
Not only will he bring back the blue-tongued gargoyle and the king kamikaze, but he'll bring back more of his siblings in the future. AI. Zhou Ming. A hard fist in the hand. It's a mess. Zhou Ming rolled his eyes, soothed the blue-tongued gargoyle and let him acclimate himself to his new holding tank. It's a good thing that the blue-tongued gargoyle isn't the first time it's lived in a feeder. And it could even be said that it's been raised in a feeder since it was a baby. Now back in familiar surroundings, the little guy instantly couldn't hold on and fell headfirst to sleep in the hole he had just dug. Aha! Scumbag! Scumbag! The Chinese cobra is still screaming with indignation. Looks like it's time to sharpen that temperament. Zhou Ming quickly made a decision and decided to ignore it. Turning his attention, he dropped his eyes to another, smaller feeder. The burrowing tarantula had been lying on its back in the transparent feeding box eyeing Zhou Ming for a long, long time. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. The burrowing tarantula's feeder is tiny, and so is its voice. If you don't listen carefully, it's almost overshadowed by the Chinese cobra next to it. You're back. Did you run into any danger out there? You're so good. You'll never meet them. He he he. The little guy smiled sheepishly at his worry. Zhou Ming's heart melted at once. It seemed that the little one had been worrying about himself for the past few days of his absence. What a warm-hearted cutie. It's not like the one next door. Who's just jealous? It has to be chilled a bit. Ow. Oh, man. Man you don't love me anymore. You're ignoring me. You saw me first. At this moment, the entire snake exuded a sultry and jealousy that could not be ignored. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Fatty found that word to be his mantra these days. He looked at the snakes in the feeder. You can even resist touching this? This one looks like a sellout. It's all tolerable. Hiss. Scary as hell. Zhou Ming had already cupped the cave-dwelling tarantula in the center of his palm. The burrowing tarantula whirled around in its palm in excitement. The shy and coy voice was one of suppressed excitement. Yikes. A familiar feeling of security. Dabbing. Zhou Ming greatly enjoyed the cave-dwelling tarantula's attachment to him, slightly curling his lips. The other hand was badgered to block in front of it, and the burrowing tarantula was not annoyed, waving its two calissary to gently hug Zhou Ming's fingertips. The little one said softly, I love this game. He he he. Zhou Ming's fingers moved slightly, and a whole tarantula took off into the air with his own fingertips. His badass move caught the burrowing tarantula off guard. Yikes. Aha. I'm flying. It doesn't feel good at all to have my feet in the air. So nervous. So nervous. Just as Zhou Ming had had enough of playing with it and wanted to put it down, the burrowing tarantula continued to chant. I'm the one who's holding the master. Master won't let me fall. I don't feel nervous anymore. Ha ha. The little caveman tarantula giggled. Little fool. Zhou Ming smiled helplessly and dotingly. The cave-dwelling tarantula is a nature that, shall we say, is really inviting and rare. Seeing Zhou Ming ignoring himself again, Fatty looked at Zhou Ming with a grim look in his eyes. What the hell? You automatically ignore your good comrade Fatty when you run into these contraptions. Ha? Huh? Well, I didn't expect you to be quite self-aware. Zhou Ming said coolly. Holy, who can stand this? Who can stand it? Fatty couldn't stand it. You walk carefully at night, and I'll take the sack and beat you up tonight. Feeling a strong, killing aura, the burrowing tarantula exploded into a surprising amount of combat power all of a sudden. It jumped directly from Zhou Ming's fingertips to the back of his hand, and the entire spider made an attacking stance. Who? Who wants to bully my master? Ha! Ain't you the big fat one? You're not allowed to bully. The caveman tarantula's threatening voice was all softness and a hint of shyness, but it didn't stop Zhou Ming from hearing her affection for herself. Fatty didn't know that a spider was helping Zhou Ming out, and skimmed his mouth, lamenting, when will Fatty be able to have spiders and snakes so pampered? Hey! When will the little snakes and snakes and spiders and lizards that begged for a plate and were allowed to be rubbed by Fatty come? Fatty cried into a 260-pound fat man. Oh, he would have been big and fat. Woohoo! Sadder. Seeing Fatty in this state. Zhou Ming. It's a hidden pain in the conscience. Okay. He was just so excited to see these little things that he ignored the fat man striking up a conversation with himself. Zhou Ming thought for a moment and handed over the burrowing tarantula on the back of his hand. Come and try? Fatty's eyes instantly lit up. Can I? Sure. The burrowing tarantula is now the most docile of the bunch. Give the fat man a go and play with it. Nothing will go wrong. Fatty excitedly stretched out his hand and tried to slowly approach with the burrowing tarantula to familiarize the other with his smell. What? It's the smell of another person. And the owner smells like this person. Well, is the one with the master. The burrowing tarantula put its flailing calissary away. Asterisk 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 asterisk. It really didn't wave its kelepeds at me. Fatty was pleasantly surprised, but as he tried to get another inch to try and hold the burrowing tarantula in his hands, the little guy started to struggle. Don't don't, don't leave the master. Owner, 
The burrowing tarantula struggled back and scurried directly to Zhou Ming's wrist, looking at Fatty's hand with great vigilance. The little guy's heart was as coy as ever, and this time it was vaguely more than a little exasperated. Don't you ever come back here again, or else, or I'm going to get angry. Anyone who tries to take me away from my master is a bad person. Why don't you let me touch it again? Fatty couldn't make sense of it. It was fine just a moment ago? Not now. Zhou Ming raised his hand, placating the cave-dwelling tarantula, and said to Fatty, You want to take it away from the disc before it has familiarized itself with your scent. It is definitely going to run away. This little guy is shy as hell. Why don't you try a Chinese cobra? That one's got guts. Fatty gave him a little look full of sultriness. It's bold. But have you considered my boldness? What's wrong with that? Burrowing tarantulas are poisonous too. Zhou Ming suddenly thought of a question. Would you say that the poison of the burrowing tarantula or the Chinese cobra is more serious? Chapter 47, Snake I'm Angry Humph. Destroy it, snake is numb. Daba. Fatty clasped his hands to his own chest. You just want me to be a guinea pig. Fatty is really into these creepy crawlies. However, while liking it, it was not like Zhou Ming, who could abandon his own life for the sake of a handful of discs. Fatty is still very much in the mood, and it's usually a good idea to cultivate a bit of bonding before hammering out a good day and observing how the creeps are feeling. Then bring protective gear, prevents the poisonous reptiles from getting aggressive and just karmaing it. So, that was why Fatty would only follow Zhou Ming. Xu Ming. It's the other self that Fatty wants to become that defies life and death. Hey. Zhou Ming sighed and shook his head. You found out. He knew it. Fatty grunted. Zhou Ming placed the burrowing tarantula in his hand back into the feeding box. The burrowing tarantula reluctantly scratched Zhou Ming's fingertips, causing Zhou Ming's fingertips to shake and itch a little. Good boy. Get in there. Zhou Ming pushed its small body. So ungrateful. But you can't disturb the master. Master master. I'll be good oh. You go and get busy. The burrowing tarantula said good naturedly, and bared its head as it burrowed into the feeder, hiding its small body. Then he sneaked out his little head again, as if looking to see if Zhou Ming had left, and seeing that Zhou Ming hadn't left. The little guy inwardly let out another cry of alarm. Ah, the master is still looking at me. Sure enough, the master can't let go of me either. He he he. This little guy. Zhou Ming's heart was warm. The feeder is then carefully covered. And only then did he walk over to the Chinese cobra's feeder next to it. The Chinese cobra was no longer making any noise. And it was obviously aware that it couldn't make any noise even if it did. So a whole snake regiment bar regiment bar shrunk in the corner. Only leaving Zhou Ming and Fatty a lonely and lonely back. Because the Chinese cobra is afraid of the dark. The lights in its keeper are a little brighter than any other keeper. So Zhou Ming and Fatty easily saw where it was. Fatty knocked on the glass of the feeder. The glass made a dull sound. But did not attract the Chinese cobra. It didn't even make a curious turn back. Humming. Humph. 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 I'm serious. I'm pissed. I really can't get better if you don't coax me. Man. Coax me. Zhou Ming. You're just a snake. What's the difference between that and a girlfriend who throws a tantrum? This isn't raising snakes. This is getting yourself a girlfriend. Definitely not to be spoiled. Fatty wondered, why didn't you come over? Tantrum. Zhou Ming faintly said, who knew that the first gadget brought back actually is the most difficult to get. Hey. Zhou Ming had a headache. Hey. My poor little baby. I've run into a big scumbag who likes to bring home all sorts of snakes and lizards and spiders and stuff. Little three, little four, little five, a big pile of. No way, ah. This put on who? Who can not make a temper ah, isn't it? Fatty went around to the wall-facing side of the Chinese cobra and puckered his butt against the glass of the feeder. A lewd. Smile on his face. Little baby why don't you go with fat brother me? Fat brother will surely treat you with all his heart and soul. And make sure that you're the only snake on fat brother's side. Hot eyes. And spicy ears. The whole thing is like abducting a lowly. The Chinese cobra spat out its scarlet snake letters and silently looked at the man swinging in front of it. What are you talking about? Man why don't you come to coax me? Am I still your little baby? Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. I'm sick of it. Get the hell out of here. Or I'll bite you to death. Seeing that fatty wasn't leaving yet. The Chinese cobra huffed right through the glass at him. Fatty swung even more at the sight. Clasping his hands together on his own chest. His flesh trembling with his excitement. Agu. Little baby you are also too anxious. Knowing that you have a crush on fatty. It's not as bad as this. Oh. Uh, Zhou Ming. Young warrior. Take away this divine power of yours. Chinese cobra. I'll go if you don't. It grunted and changed corners to continue its anger. Fatty immediately switched over again. I'll change it again. Fatty went after him again. I'll change it. Fatty chase chase chase. The Chinese cobra is tired. Destroy it. The snake is numb. Chowder. Poof. 
It's also Fatty's strength to be able to toss the little guy around like that. Fatty looked at Zhou Ming with a grudging face. Don't think that it couldn't see just how much the snake disliked itself. Disgusted enough that he could see from a snake that the other was disliking a person. Strike that. It's just a heavy blow. Fatty pouted. Zhou Ming suddenly thought of something. Shouldn't we give them a name? It's been so many days. And they keep calling them by the name of the species they were originally named for. Fatty stood up. Rubbing his chin and. That's a good one. Zoos like pandas and stuff have their own names. How can a reptile house not have one? Fatty pointed to the Chinese cobra with gusto. This one is called Little China. The King Cam Snake is Little King. The Blue Tongue Stonecrop is Little Blue. And the Burrowing Tarantula is Little. Zhou Ming skimmed over with a cold stare. Fatty was knifed over by one of his glances. And instantly thought about what he was going to say in passing next. And instantly covered his mouth. Smirked. Well. Ah ha ha ha. Seems to be a bit indecent huh? You raised them. So of course you get to name them. Then it's called. Zhou Ming opened his mouth. Full of a few names that Fatty casually said. And immediately lost any interest. Forget it. It's better to talk about it later. Seeing that Zhou Ming didn't pick a name. Fatty mumbled. Then it might as well be the one I picked. The little spider will be called Xiaoju. How nice. High end and upscale. Zhou Ming. High end atmosphere? How do you have the nerve to say that? Zhou Ming was speechless. Turning to Fatty. He said. I've already contacted the people from the renovation company. Someone will come over to renovate in the next two days. And the construction will be completed in about two months. Then the reptile house has the site of the initial tour. And Zhou Ming also had a selfishness of his own. This selfishness is in the reptile house. Two months? That's pretty short. Fatty opened his mouth to ask him. Interrupting the thoughts in Zhou Ming's head. But how are you going to live? And these little ones have to be put somewhere else. Right? The reptile likes to be quiet and simply can't be kept in the arena or in the residence that the director of the gardens has specially granted him in the reptile house. Once the remodelers are in. It makes a lot of noise. Reptiles simply cannot live in such an environment. Chapter 48 I have a suite nearby to lend you. Take good care of it. What fatty could think of? Zhou Ming would naturally not ignore. He nodded. Well, I have a house downtown that my parents bought for me early on. I'll just move over there for now. The house is a decent size and even a couple more feeders would not be a problem. How far is that? And it's not convenient for you to get to work. The car is jammed. And the subway is crowded and overcrowded. The fat brother rambled on. And then without waiting for Zhou Ming to speak, he immediately said with a shy smile, Why don't you put it on my side of the... Fatty rubbed his hands together and looked at Zhou Ming excitedly. He had long wanted Zhou Ming to move over to live with him. The two of them living together is convenient to shoot video account operation. Especially, he can also learn more from Zhou Ming has about reptile taming techniques. It's almost like a one-two punch. He was thinking about beauty. A female voice that was as cold as heavenly mountain Xi'an ice came from the doorway. If there's no room, I can provide it. Around here, my friend has a cottage on the hill. Who? Who the cuts off halfway? Fatty angrily averted his eyes to the doorway. Don't let his fat brother know who it really is, even if you're a woman. And you certainly don't. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Shun Wei Yu. Fatty's eyes, which had always been like thin slits, glared at once. How did Shen Wei Yu come here? Fat brother was shocked as he watched Shen Wei Yu slowly approach. Half a day without uttering a single gulp of words. You you you. Hello, I'm Shen Wei Yu. Shen Wei Yu slightly curved out an arc without any temperature. She looked at Fatty and said. You're Fatty Zhao Yue, the operator of Creepy Pet Mingo, right? A white porcelain hand reached out. It was so white that it seemed to glow in the light. Fatty subconsciously raised his hand and rubbed it on his shirt before shaking it. He said excitedly, Yes, yes, I'm Fatty. Miss Shen, I didn't think you actually knew me. Of course, I've been paying attention to what happened to Zhou Ming. Shen Wei Yu looked at his tense appearance and eased the atmosphere, and then realizing that what he said was a bit ambiguous. After a slight pause, he explained, I mean, I know all about what you guys have been doing online for the past two days. Ah, uh, oh, Miss Shen actually knows? Looks like we did make a bit of a scene. Fat brother hemmed and hawed and smiled coyly, seemingly a little embarrassed. Zhou Ming looked at Fatty unexpectedly, not expecting this person to be embarrassed? It's a rare thing. When Shen Wei Yu saw that Zhou Ming actually landed his gaze on Fatty, an indescribable meaning flashed through her heart. Your own words just now. Zhou Ming didn't think much about it at all? Shen Wei Yu didn't move to observe Zhou Ming's expression, but unfortunately, she didn't catch any distinct emotions. Like, it didn't even matter that she said she was concerned about him. Fatty's human-like, spotlighted little eyes glanced at this and turned back to Zhou Ming, without even having to ponder too much. Fatty knew that this Shen Wei Yu in front of him was definitely interested in Zhou Ming. What's going on here? Are all the pretty girls blind? One by one, 
Both of them looked at this uncomprehending smelly man from last Ming. Instead, he ignored the handsome and magnificent his fat brother. Hey, it really is. Fatty gasps. Cho Ming. Fatty rushed at Zhou Ming who was looking at him with a burst of scowling. Once hinting, people miss Shin is here to see you. You don't invite people to sit down? What kind of a person stands around in chats? Sit? Zhou Ming hesitantly swept around the arena and asked very honestly. Where? Where to sit? Fatty. Where the hell are you sitting? Can't you use your smart little brain to think of a solution for Miss Shin? Otherwise, if you piss off Miss Shin, how are you going to get a girl in the future? The venue is not ready for a while. Zhou Ming sincerely explained towards Shin Wei Yu. And to match his words, a piece of damp wall dust snapped down from the top of the arena. It fluttered and fell between the two. The air was instantly filled with a smell of dust, and tiny particles were visible to the naked eye as they swam and drifted through the air under the sun's rays. Hmm. Sure enough, it's not done yet, and it's still dropping dust. Fatty snapped and covered his face with a slap. Damn. The dust is falling off just right. Surely Miss Shin has never been to such a shabby place, right? Is she going to throw up her hands and walk away next? That's okay. Shin Weiyu's always icy little face did not change, but the ice under her eyes was vaguely melting. With wisps of laughter, she stated the facts in general. It seems that you are in great need of finding a shelter. I have live. Zhou Ming subconsciously explained. Fatty next to me. Damn it. Such a great opportunity has been delivered to you. And you're still reserved? What's the point of being reserved? Get back to your senses. Give it to the old man. It's not manly not to get on. With a wave of his large palm, Fatty patted Zhou Ming's back and smiled as he interrupted Zhou Ming's next words of refusal. Then I'll trouble Miss Shin. I'm worried about where he's going to live for the next few months. As it happens, you've come at the right time. Miss Shin, then I'll be troubling you for this period of time. Zhou Ming looked at Fatty with a confused expression. When did he say yes? Nope. He just didn't say yes. Fatty got angry when he looked at him like this, his eyebrows rising desperately. The meaning in his small eyes was very obvious. Such a big beauty is offering you help and you still refuse? You're not human. Hurry up and say yes. The boss's wife will be mine from now on. Zhou Ming. Fatty smiled and patted Zhou Ming's shoulder and rushed to Shen Wei Yu. Miss Shen. Let's make a deal then huh? Let's start moving things now. Aha. Uh -huh. Shen Wei Yue nodded her head. And then frowned slightly. My name is Shen Wei Yue. You can just call me by my name. Or Wei Yue is fine. Shen Wei. Wei Yu. Fatty called out somewhat uncomfortably. Squirming inside. Shen Wei Yue's aura is too strong. Fatty always feels that the next second he can kneel down and call the queen lord. And then on Shen Wei Yu's cold face. Fatty's heart is churning. I don't know if Zhou Ming will be the same as himself. Same as La. He had never seen a man as calm as Zhou Ming. Shen Wei Yu thundered. Straight away. He called his secretary and asked her to arrange for someone to come and move things. Chao Ming doesn't have much. By the time he was in the process of coming back to his senses, the person was already in the villa. Watch as a feeder is carried in and set up in the living room. Zhou Ming was slightly silent. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Zhou Ming, get a grip. Standing in the living room and surveying the area, Fatty patted Zhou Ming's shoulder and came to his ear to whisper. A set of villas here isn't cheap ah, and look at the one hanging in the hallway over there. The ancient painting one? Zhou Ming was unsure. Aha. Fatty nodded his head busily. That's the real Wu Daozi. It's the real Wu Daozi. He dares to say that those who can afford it don't have that resource or access. There are channels and resources for that. And that's certainly a lot of money to spend. However, in Shen Wei Yue's villa, she actually hung Wu Daozi's painting in the corridor. What does that mean? Chapter 49, Young and Unaware of the Goodness of Rich Women. Mistakenly treating reptiles as treasures. It shows that people don't care. A few hundred million. It's just hanging there in a big prickly way. TSK, TSK, TSK. Fatty's perception of Shen Wei Yu went up a level. He instructed Zhou Ming. You must make good use of it. What am I grasping? Zhou Ming was at a loss. TSK. Silly boy hasn't gotten the hang of it yet. Fatty looked at him with a regretful face. Young people do not know the goodness of rich women. Wrong reptiles as treasure ah. It's okay. It's okay ha. Huh? Zhou Ming. He always felt that there was something in Fatty's words. Shen Wei Yu looked at the things sent in by the crowd. Zhou Ming. Order. Is there anything missing? Zhou Ming shook his head. Nope. The people Shen Wei Yu contacted were close to moving his bed in the reptile house lounge. Good. Shen Wei Yu nodded, turning to the ants standing in the kitchen. He introduced. This is Zhou Ming and Mr. Zhao Yuwei. Zhou Ming will be staying here for a few days. You guys can just follow the same schedule as before from now on. The three ants nodded in understanding. Shen Wei Yu said to Zhou Ming again. These are the ants I hired. They will usually only be here for three meals a day as well as cleaning. 
and won't show up the rest of the time. I know. Zhou Ming nodded slightly. He won't be here much longer. Once the reptile house is renovated, you can go back. A few ads packed up the things Zhou Ming had brought over. Seeing that there was nothing here that needed him, Fatty got up and said, I'll leave if there's nothing else. Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming said without lifting his head. Fatty asked regretfully, No big hug for Fatty? Roll faster. Cut. Fatty muttered, There's a difference. What did you say? Zhou Ming looked up. What he had just said was too small. No. Nothing. Fatty fished out his own car keys on the table, clattered and shook them, and said in a manner, I'm off ha, huh? I wish you and Shen Weiyue a good night. Zhou Ming was uncertain. What does that mean? Shen Weiyue obviously went home a long time ago. Fatty let out a hefty, lewd laugh and bared his soul. The Land Rover in front of the villa dripped. The engine roared and the sound of the car quickly faded away. Upstairs room. Shen Weiyue watched the Land Rover leave. Nightfall. The three sixes on the Land Rover's license plate are arrogant and piercing. Zhao Yu Wei. Zhou Ming had really given her a surprise. Can actually get Zhao Yu Wei to be his little brother? Room. He doesn't have a lot of personal stuff. Zhou Ming wasn't a wasteful person either. And quickly cleaned up. It's been a busy night and I haven't had a sip of water. He got up and didn't find any drinkable water in the room. I think the ants didn't come prepared. Zhou Ming came out of his room and walked downstairs to the kitchen to pour a glass of water. Think about it. Zhou Ming moved on to the room next to where the reptiles were housed. Chinese Cobra, where is this place? Man you don't want me anymore? Blue Tongue Stone Dragonzi, yikes. It's changed. Wang Jin Snake, annoying, delaying my dry rice. Burrowing Tarantula. Rather, it fits their character. Zhou Ming walked in. Noticing that Zhou Ming's flavor was gradually becoming stronger. Several of the little ones are slowly getting excited as well. Master, you came to see me. The blue-tongued gargoyle's voice was sweet. Desperately picking at the clear glass feeder. The big blue tongue came out excitedly. You're a heartbreaker. Man, I'm your favorite baby, aren't I? You heartthrob. Man, I'm your favorite baby, aren't I? The Chinese cobra looked at the blue tongue Shiroko spitefully. It was a shame to lick a man like that. They, cobra. Must be the one on top. The burrowing tarantula silently emerged from its burrow, its voice small and shy. Master, you're here. The king brocade snake flicked its tail, its scarlet snake letters gulping. Humans, I order you, give me food to eat now. Immediately, now. Zhou Ming, the brain is a mess. What do you eat? You king snake, you eat and eat every day. Look at how fat your body has become. You eat what you want, and you don't exercise. Other snakes eat one meal a day for three days but you're good. You eat three meals a day, not to mention the night snacks. Is there a snake you can eat like that? Zhou Ming said in a broken voice. Reach into the feeder tank and pet each of the other three. Oh, yeah, 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 again, again, again. The Chinese cobra was so happy that it was going over the edge its tail wagging desperately and gulping its snake's letters at a faster rate, obviously stimulated by Zhou Ming's hand. Aha! Aha! Ah! Master! 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 The blue tongue stone dragon child claws and paws bloomed, directly exposing its belly to Zhou Ming, like master's hand can touch me as much as you want oh. Zhou Ming dished out two more handfuls before reaching out and landing on the body of the burrowing tarantula. Also, there, there was touched by the master. The cave tarantula's voice was sensitive and shy, as if it were a shy and coy little girl. Master, like it so much like it so much. Ah, uh, don't. Don't ah uh, but like it so much like it so much. Zhou Ming liked it a lot. The hand that touches it simply won't let go. Ta da da. There was a rhythmic footstep outside the house, interrupting the reluctance in Zhou Ming's heart. Who? Zhou Ming frowned slightly. It's so late. There shouldn't be anyone in the villa. Zhou Ming quietly turned off the lights in the house, walked to the door and quietly pushed it open. It was now late at night. The living room was dark, with only the faint glow of moonlight spilling in through the window. Vaguely, I could see what the living room probably looked like in terms of furnishings, and a rustling sound. There's really someone. Wu Daozi's authentic paintings. Thinking about what Fatty had said earlier, could someone really have come to head to steal the painting? Fatty the crowbar. Zhou Ming couldn't find any useful weapons for a while, so he could only quietly walk to the living room. The security in the villa area is so strong that there is a one-touch button to contact security right in the living room. The security guards will then come as fast as they can. Zhou Ming was about to approach when the sound of barking and chewing something suddenly came from his ears. Source, exactly kitchen. Did the other side know someone lived over here and was going to silence them with knives? Zhou Ming's heart fluttered. 
Just about to raise my hand to hit the alarm button, Chao Ming, a familiar, icy voice came from the kitchen, Shin, Shin Weiwei, Zhou Ming froze, why are you here? He took two quick steps forward, through the bright moonlight outside, I really saw Shin Weiyu standing at the kitchen door, in a housecoat with a cookie in your hand, I live here too, Shin Weiyu's voice had a few hints of derision in watching the show, so you, now, Zhou Ming looked at the cookies in her hand, hungry, chapter 50 caught a little hamster stealing food, we all get it, Shin Weiyu coughed unnaturally, unconsciously hiding the cookies behind herself and changing the topic, you're still awake? I saw your room was dark and thought you were resting. No, just happened to be down there watching watching the little ones. Zhou Ming breathed a sigh of relief. It was good that it wasn't a thief coming in from outside. Aha, uh -huh. Shen Wei Yu nodded, the cookie crumbs on her little face fluttering down. It was inexplicably a bit of a contrasting cuteness to go along with the icy coldness of her face. Only then did Zhou Ming realize that Shen Wei Yu was wearing a silk nightgown, and the hem of the skirt wasn't long, only reaching her thighs revealing a pair of legs that were almost as white as her pajamas, straight and well-proportioned, feet shuffled in fuzzy slippers, revealing cute round toes, as if sensing Zhou Ming's measuring gaze, the rounded toes subconsciously moved twice, it's quite a bit of an awkward feeling to have your toes on the ground, why do you live here? Zhou Ming looked at her uncertainly, he thought he'd be the only one living here at night, Shen Wei Yu would return to live in the same villa where Elder Shen had his accident, but now it seems as if things are not so, Shen Wei Yu gave a hum and said rightfully, yes, didn't I tell you? Zhou Ming. No. Oh, so now you know. Shen Wei Yu nodded, as if reminding, and said to Zhou Ming, I'll be staying here for a while. Zhou Ming inexplicably felt as if his had gotten on a pirate ship. Shen Wei Yu raised her eyes. Do you mind? But it's getting so late. It's not good enough to find a moving company. If you mind, you'll have to wait until tomorrow. Two. But don't disturb my sleep. For the first time, Zhou Ming heard Shen Wei Yu say such a long string of words in one breath. The tone was cold but unexpectedly somewhat endearing. Don't mind. After all, if word gets out, I'm the one taking advantage. Shen Wei Yu unconsciously pursed her lips, and a secret of joy and excitement arose within her. Still hungry? Zhou Ming asked again. Ha? Huh? What? Shen Wei Yu looked at Zhou Ming in confusion, as if she hadn't slowed down. Zhou Ming looked at Shen Wei Yu, who had inexplicably become dumbfounded, and hooked up a smile, pointing at the bag of cookies in her left hand. Had enough? Shen Wei Yu looked down at the bag, her face was hot, as if there was a fire burning, she nodded, about to say she was full, but, Gollum, the body's instincts directly exposed her lie, Shen Wei Yu's pretty face instantly reddened, her white jade-like neck slowly invaded with redness, which was particularly obvious under the illumination of the moonlight, the coldness that had been there during the day dissipated completely, at the moment she looked like a little girl who had been caught with her hands full, Zhou Ming immediately thought of the shy and coy cave-dwelling tarantula, his eyes softened a little instantly. Give me a moment, Zhou Ming said, opening the large double-door refrigerator. The refrigerator was full of ingredients that were changed daily and it was packed to the brim, from high-end lobster and abalone to a small green onion. There should be everything. Zhou Ming took two eggs and a handful of thin noodles. Turn on the heat and boil the water. You, cook, Shen Wei Yu watched his movements, smooth and silky, as if he had done it countless times in the kitchen. Zhou Ming gave a hum sound and said rightfully, Aren't you hungry? But it's not suitable to eat something too greasy on a big night. Noodles are fine, right? In the end, it was the landlord who had provided his residence. The landlord was hungry and didn't look like he could cook. He'd help out just a little bit reluctantly. Could be. Shen Wei Yu nodded. That'll do. Zhou Ming put the noodles in and quickly took out a small green onion to wash and cut it into scallions. Fish out the noodles again with the sauce. Crack the eggs into the pan and fish them out half-cooked. Cover the noodles and sprinkle with bright green scallions. A bowl of noodles is ready. Zhou Ming pulled out his chopsticks and handed the hot noodles to Shen Wei Yu. All right. Shen Wei Yu stared blankly. Half a day without looking back. Shen Wei Yu, you can eat now. Zhou Ming increased his volume and reminded her once again. Ha, huh? okay, okay. Shen Wei Yu's hands were in a messy knot as she took the noodle bowl handed over by Zhou Ming. Only she neglected to mention that the noodles were fresh out of the pot. And her white fingers touched the steaming bowl instantly scalding her hand back. Phew, it's hot. She subconsciously shook her hand in an attempt to shake the sensation of pain from her fingers. Looking at her frazzled appearance, Zhou Ming couldn't help but laugh. I didn't think you had such a hairy side. I was just careless. Shen Wei Yu explained in a twisted manner. This time when she reached out again, she knew where to pinch the rim of the bowl. Only, Zhou Ming wouldn't give it to her. She looked up at him, uncertainly. Where to eat? Zhou Ming asked. Shen Wei Yu pointed to the living room. 
Zhou Ming nodded and strutted towards the table, placing the noodles on the table. Seeing that the other party had not yet come over, he urged, the noodles are going to pile up, coming, Shen Wei Yu was busy saying, slip on your slippers and walk over to the table and sit down, Zhou Ming yawned and looked down at the time on his wristwatch, it was already one in the morning, he said, take your time eating, I'm going up to bed, Shen Wei Yu clutched her chopsticks and nodded, okay, Zhou Ming hummed, his voice very low and sexy in the silence of the living room where there were only two people, as the man's back faded into the darkness, Shen Wei Yu raised her hand and patted her burning face, Zhou Ming, Shen Wei Yu immediately shook her head and muttered, he even cooked for me, and left voluntarily so I could eat well, is it, thinking of this, Shen Wei Yu's heart was a little bit slightly pleased, it turned out that Zhou Ming wasn't as unconcerned about her as he appeared to be, could it be to her, upstairs, Zhou Ming pushed open the door to his room and directly laid on it, he was really sleepy, it's one o'clock in the morning, what decent person isn't sleepy, not for two seconds, Zhou Ming then fell into a deep sleep, eating a bowl of noodles, Shen Wei Yu, who walked up from downstairs, saw his room that was permeated with shimmering light, the heart and the stomach filled with noodles became warm, early the next morning, a fine breakfast was already on the table, the neatly packed Shen Wei Yu sat expressionlessly on the dining table, Zhou Ming slowly came down from upstairs, good morning, morning, a shallow smile appeared on Shen Wei Yu's face, this struck the ant next to me is very surprising, Shen Wei Yu was busy, Shen Laozi gradually retired from the most important position in the past two years, and began to gradually transfer the power in his hands to Shen Wei Yu. Her schedule was so full that the first year she didn't even have time to make it down for breakfast, the last year has been better, but she's also gotten used to saving time by eating breakfast in the car. Now, in a rare move, they actually sat down so they didn't have to pack anymore. Now take a look at Zhou Ming again. Instantly everything was clear. Against the ant's tiny expressions of, we all get it. Zhou Ming sat at the dining table in confusion. Chapter 51, Friends Now, Not So Much Later Oh, Breakfast Was Very Generous. It was so sumptuous that it staggered Zhou Ming. Miss Shen, I don't have much money to pay for your breakfast. No need. Shen Wei Yu pursed her lips and said in a cold voice, feeling that her voice seemed to be too cold. She added, You are my friend. There is no need to say this. Zhou Ming laughed. Then I'll be polite. Aha. Uh -huh. Shen Wei Yu's clenched hand loosened slightly. When she was almost done eating, Shen Wei Yu thoughtfully said, You don't have a car. Join me first, I'll send you to the zoo. That would be a problem. The zoo wasn't far from this side. It was only a 10 minute drive. But if he was taking public transportation, he'd have to walk out of the villa area to get to a bus stop. With such a long distance, Zhou Ming wouldn't be foolish enough to walk by himself. After eating breakfast, Zhou Ming went to take another look at the little ones staying in the room to make sure they were well adjusted, and then closed the door. It's good to go. Zhou Ming pulled open the door on one side of the car and unexpectedly found that today it was not Shen Wei Yu driving herself, but the driver picking up and dropping off. Shen Wei Yu was sitting in the back seat and was reading the information with her tablet. Zhou Ming slowed his movements for a moment and immediately raised his feet again to sit beside her. A faint scent lingers at the tip of the nose, not the smell of car detergent, and not really incense, but it emanated from Shen Wei Yu. Go. Seeing the people sitting down, Shen Wei Yu collected the tablet and ordered. The extremely capable car traveled smoothly and soon arrived at the zoo. Zhou Ming thanked him and got out of the car. He came face to face with someone he had just recently parted with. Walking towards him, Zhou Ming. The person was butterfly limp and dressed like a painting as she quickly walked over to Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming looked at her with some surprise. How did you find this place? Everyone on the whole network knows where you are. Can't. I come? No. It's just that I didn't expect you to come. The car window behind Zhou Ming didn't know when it had gently lowered a little. If Zhou Ming turned his head, he would be able to see Shen Wei Yu's cold and frosty pretty face. A pair of beautiful eyes watched them equally. Mr. Shen, shall we go? Go now? The driver glimpsed Shen Wei Yu's icy cold look in the rearview mirror. His scalp instantly tingled. Miss Shen hadn't shown such an expression for a long time. And every time she showed such an expression nothing good would happen. Last time, it was a marketing company that rumored about her scandal. And the last time, it was the opposite house that had insulted her. Their endings were without exception, miserable, the driver did not want to touch this bad luck, but, today is the Stellar Group's January reporting conference, cannot be late, go, Shen Wei Yu slowly raised the window of the car, separating the gazes of outsiders who wanted to probe, hey, I think I just saw you get out of that car, Su Ruatong noticed that the car behind Zhou Ming finally drove away and looked at Zhou Ming with a smile, I just saw a woman sitting in the car, your girlfriend sent you here, she's not my girlfriend, She's currently my landlord and I'm temporarily staying at her place. Zhou Ming honestly told the truth. Oh, so that's it. 
Su Ruadong sighed in relief. The other party looked at herself so coldly as if she had robbed her of some treasure. She thought Zhou Ming already had a girlfriend. Now it seems. The other party also had thoughts about Zhou Ming just like himself. Just does the other person know what's on their mind? Su Ruatong expressed curiosity. It's okay. Even if you know. There was no way she could rob herself either. Su Ruatong hooked her lips and smiled. A beautiful little face taking in the soul. Zhou Ming, I've come down from the mountains to look for you on purpose. Won't you show me your reptile house? Then you've come at a bad time. Zhou Ming regretted. I just called with the people from the renovation company yesterday and asked them to come and renovate the arena today. This is something that was finalized a long time ago. Even if Zhou Ming hadn't made this trip to the mountain, the measurements and programs had been prepared and construction would have started today. Renovation? Su Ruatong immediately laughed. All the more reason for you to let me join you. Have you forgotten? I'm the one who renovated my BNB. I know a lot more about this than you do. Renovation is a big pitfall. Someone has to be watching. And Zhou Ming had put so much effort into it. You do make a good point. But it's only my first day. Zhou Ming said particularly honestly. I guess there's nothing I need you for. Su Ruatong stared at Zhou Ming. Did she really want to go to the construction site? Of course not. And it was just trying to find an excuse to spend more time with Zhou Ming. But this man, as if he didn't understand his own hints at all, it was exactly the same as when I introduced myself on the mountain itself. But that's it. It made the boss's wife rise with an unspeakable desire to conquer. She winked, I'll know if you need me when I see it. And besides, I came all the way over here to see you and you're not going to show me around? Okay. Zhou Ming thought about it and couldn't be rude, listening to Zhou Ming as if he was reluctant. A huge sense of frustration rose within Su Ruatong. She's so reluctant to offer to help when she's such a big, beautiful woman. Ha! Huh? Su Ruatong depressed. The two walked to the entrance of the zoo. It's the same staff that was on duty last time. Seeing Zhou Ming and the boss's wife, their faces instantly became ambiguous. Smiling wickedly, he surveyed them. Neru, you can owe. Zhou Ming explained helplessly. Friends. Su Ruatong nodded and laughed. Yes, now they are friends. Later, but not so much. Oh, the staff member trailed off and winked to show he understood. Zhou Ming could only hurriedly lead Su Ruatong into the zoo's reptile house. There's already a construction crew waiting at the gate. The leading foreman saw Zhou Ming with sharp eyes and immediately took two steps forward to welcome him. Mr. Zhou, you're really early. You guys are way ahead of me. Looking at the cigarette butts on the floor it's certainly not short. As it should be, as it should be. Work rubbed his hands together. This was a big client. Of course they're coming on time. Zhou Ming took the key out of his pocket and opened the door to the reptile house. The company should have given you all the drawings, right? The designer's side should have explained it clearly to you. So if there's no problem, you can start construction. Sure, of course. The foreman nodded repeatedly and took out Zhou Ming's drawings of the remodeling he needed from his briefcase, which were densely labeled with precautions. You're going to have to smash up and rebuild a lot of this place. So you'll make sure there's nothing wrong with it and we'll get started? Zhou Ming hummed. Yes. Su Ruatong came over and looked at one of the places on the drawing, pointed and asked, How does this place look like a room? Do reptile houses have themed rooms? Chapter 52 Snake Snake Aya. Might as well karma up. So painful so painful. Many zoos, in order to make a profit, build hotels on the premises to supply accommodation for their visitors. Zhou Ming wants to do the same, but then the room seems a bit small. It's the room. Zhou Ming nodded, but it's my room. You, your room, you live in a zoo at night? Su Ruatong looked at him in shock. Living with reptiles? This is too wild. But, would the zoo allow you to do that? No, Zhou Ming said indifferently, explaining before Su Ruatong's next question came. But the reptile house is mine, so it's fine. It was clear that he understood every word, but Su Ruatong didn't understand what it meant. The reptile house, it's Ming Chao's? You contracted a reptile house? Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming nodded. Bull ah. Su Ruatong looked at him in surprise. This family had to have a mind to be able to burn like this. Is Zhou Ming some kind of rich kid? Kicked out of the house for playing with reptiles because the family didn't accept it? Hmm. Su Ruatong sized up Zhou Ming. The aura of calmness around him was different from anyone she had ever seen. Such a feeling had only been seen on older elders. Hiss. Shouldn't she have guessed? The more Su Ruatong thought about it, the more she felt it was so. Even the gaze that looked at Zhou Ming became different. Zhou Ming keenly noticed the change in her gaze and handed the drawings in his hand to the foreman, letting him watch and deal with it. And then he turned to Su Ruatong. Don't be ridiculous. Aha. Uh -huh. Su Ruatong glanced at him. She definitely guessed it. Zhou Ming. It doesn't seem to be working. Zhou Ming shook his head. Whatever Su Ruatong thought, he had already reminded the other party. Naru. Naru. 
From afar, an anxious employee ran over. Naru, who who, take a breath and speak slowly. Zhou Ming held the other man up and slowly helped him breathe. What's wrong? Bai, Bai Lu seems to be a bit uncomfortable. Rolling around especially hard, and I don't know why. Hasn't eaten for several days. The employee took a breath and said nervously. The supervisor thought that it was a problem of changing the food, and thought to observe and watch for a few days. But I didn't expect that today. Bai Lu suddenly rolled around. What about frostbite? Is there a problem with frostbite? Zhou Ming's face colored with some anxiety. Is there a problem with frostbite? No, no problem. The employee affirmed. Neru, hurry over and take a look. If Bai Lu keeps making that much noise, we'll have to go under anesthesia. I know. Zhou Ming's expression changed when he heard this, and his eyebrows seemed to freeze into a layer of frost. Stepping away, he quickly ran towards the inside of the zoo. Hey, Zhou Ming? Watching Zhou Ming suddenly run outside, Su Ruatong was confused. Where is she? Where is she? What about her? Also, who is that Shiro? Seeing that both of them ran far away, Su Ruatong stomped her foot and gritted her teeth and chased after them. Exhibition area. Hiss. Ah, it hurts so much. I'm afraid I'm not going to mail it. It's hard. It's so hard. Why don't you just let me do it? Ah, as soon as Zhou Ming arrived at the Python exhibit area, he heard this one pitiful voice. Clunk. The mesh protective wire clattered as the reticulated python crashed into it. It was just too much to handle. It hurts. It hurts. Something is burrowing inside me. Oh, karma never mind. Let me karma. Why I still not karma? One voice after another. Raw and sobbing. Because of its sudden manic behavior, the exhibition area had been cleared for safety. All that was left was the sound of the reticulated python clanging against the cage. It seemed extraordinarily scary and eerie in such a scene. Zhou Ming. You finally come. Why don't you go see what's wrong with Shiro? Zhou Ming Yu. As soon as Zhou Ming arrived, he was immediately surrounded by several staff members. Don't be anxious for now. You guys. Zhou Ming calmed them down and quickly asked. What has Bai Lu been eating for the last half a month? Live chickens. Live rabbits. Live rats. All the food you explained nothing more. One of them said quickly. I've checked. The supplier is still the same. There's no problem. It comes out of nowhere and scares the hell out of the guests who are touring and it's not quiet at all. Zhou Ming stood in front of the cage as the 10 meter long reticulated python spasmed in agony, the huge impact on its body knocking the bushes and tree trunks that the cage was equipped with to pieces. It looked like a hurricane had come through. If you can't, why don't you anesthetize it and go in and observe what's going on? It was suggested. This is not the way to go. Reticulated python, also known as the king python, net python, is a snake suborder? Snake suborder genus large python. Winding force is very strong. Slender body, the world's longest python. The head has three fine black stripes, one in the middle of the head. The other two extend from the eyes to the corners of the mouth. The upper lip scales have a sunken lip fossa, and the back of the body is grayish brown or yellowish brown, with a complex diamond shaped blackish brown and yellow or light gray reticulated mottled pattern. So it is called reticulated python, generally about 8 to 9 meters, up to 12 meters or more. It's already endangered. Luckily, they have two at the zoo and each one is 10 meters long. Ah, so painful. Familiar, familiar flavors. The berserk reticulated python smelled the familiar flavor and instantly appeared to quiet down. It squirmed and rested its head against the iron mesh. You're back. Zhou Ming you're back. What? I'm going to mail it. I'm going to karma do you know that? Ah you big bad guy. Where have you been these days? Do you know that I can't eat or sleep well? And my body hurts like hell. Why did you come back so late? Woo 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 woo. The reticulated python which had been so large, was aggrieved like a child when it saw Zhou Ming. Oh, you hurry up and show me if I'm going to karma. I haven't fallen in love with the little male snake next door yet. Oh, if I die, you'll have to widow the snake next door. Otherwise I won't agree. Little male snake next door. What have I done? Holy, this snake really recognizes people. It instantly stopped messing around when it saw you. Brother Ming. Xiao Qi looked at the quieted reticulated python in shock. It's better than a ING anesthetic. Give me the key, I'll go in and take a look. Zhou Ming reached out his hand at Xiao Qi. Brother Neru, you're going in? Xiao Qi looked at him and cautiously suggested. Brother Ming, why don't you get anesthetized? Otherwise, if it suddenly goes on a ferocious rampage, the brothers won't be able to save you in the first place. The reticulated python is up to 10 meters long and specializes in strangulation. Not even humans. And there was even a time when the reticulated python abused the fact of killing humans. The actual killer python. Now Zhou Ming actually wants to enter the cage when the reticulated python is at its most agitated. Everyone's heart, tightly lifted. Zhou Ming, 
How about anesthesia? Yeah, for safety's sake. Exactly. Safety is most important. Everyone talked and persuaded Zhou Ming. Ah, uh, it hurts. It's starting to hurt again. Chapter 53 If it's a snake. I'll have fun with you high and low. Now Zhou Ming actually wants to enter the cage when the reticulated python is at its most agitated. Everyone's heart. Tightly lifted. Zhou Ming. How about anesthesia? Yeah. For safety's sake. Exactly. Safety is most important. Everyone talked and persuaded Zhou Ming. Ah, uh, it hurts. It's starting to hurt again. I'm going to mail it. My comfortable days are gone. Oh, snake snake me ah. Uh, have not had a baby with the little male snake yet. Chao Ming help. 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 The reticulated man cried out tearfully. The pain in its body causing it to roll and twitch on the ground. Constantly rubbing against the concrete floor in an attempt to fight off the pain that went deep into its bones. In Zhou Ming's eyes, reticulated Mang was like a little girl who had been injured and was so hurt that she rolled on the ground and cried with a face full of beads of tears. It looks pathetic. Woohoo. I'll go. Can't let it crash like that anymore. It wasn't that I was afraid of it destroying the iron mesh to get out, but it was that it had already hidden blood marks on its body, and the floor was scuffed with crimson blood from it. It looks very scary. Such an abrasion would be an absolutely fatal wound for a snake. Very difficult to heal. Put on the anesthetic. Get ready. All the staff moved. They needed to calculate the amount of anesthesia that would fit the reticulated manganese. Otherwise, too much anesthesia can kill the reticulated mongobe. Too low will leave the reticulated python with the strength to still strangle the staff. It's too late. Zhou Ming looked painfully at the reticulated mang that was rolling all over the ground, directly yanked down the key from Xiao Qi's waist and opened the cage. I have to go in now. Naru. Qi was startled. It'll be fine. Zhou Ming shook his head in a gesture. I've raised by Lu for so long. It won't hurt me. But it, it's a snake. Cold-blooded animals. It's not like normal animals that have emotions. Xiao Qi watched as Zhou Ming slowly approached the reticulated Mang. Everyone's eyes widened and they subconsciously held their breath. The moment Zhou Ming went in, reticulated Mang had already sensed it. The reticulated Mangabe has a strong sense of territory. It gulped its snake's letter and raised its own snake's head high. Its ferocious appearance made the humans outside afraid that it would directly bite Zhou Ming at the drop of a hat. The reticulated manganese is non-toxic. However, the bite force was extremely strong. As long as the prey that was bitten by the reticulated mang would be entangled in its long body, strangled and then swallowed in one bite. As the snake begins to swallow, the teeth of the upper and lower jaws move alternately like a hinge, and the two jaws, which are independent of each other, are often held apart by the prey. There is no need to worry about the snake's jaws being stretched out as a result, as the skin and muscles between the scales of the snake's lower lip are very loose and stretchy. So even if they are stretched out, there is no harm. In this way, the snake can open its mouth to an extent that is often unimaginable. It wasn't uncommon for a slightly larger reticulated mangs to eat a human. Nehru, be careful. Xiao Qi stared nervously at Zhou Ming's movements. For insurance purposes, the staff next to me still had tools and was equipped with anesthesia. In case reticulated mang launched an attack on Zhou Ming, it would be good for them to immediately rush in to save him. At ease, Zhou Ming approached the reticulated mang without looking back. The reticulated mang squirmed and rubbed against one part of his body. Ah, hard, hard, why isn't it working yet? It's still so hard. Is there anyone or a snake to save me? It's not just here. It's hard over there too. Shiro rolled his body, rubbing this side and that side getting hard again. A whole snake cranky as hell. Shiro. Zhou Ming stood in front of Bai Lu's head and reached out his hand to tentatively approach its head. Softly soothing. Shiro. Shiro don't be afraid. Let me see what's wrong with you. Snakes don't have hearing, but with a keen sense of smell. It gulped its scarlet snake letters, sensing Zhou Ming's flavor amongst the clutter in the air. And this flavor is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. As soon as it lowered its head, it saw Zhou Ming standing in front of it. The aggravation in his heart instantly erupted. Master. Woo hoo hoo. My body is so hard and uncomfortable. It's like there are so many little bugs rolling around in there. Master I'm going to mail it. And if I do, you mustn't forget me. Whoa whoa. Did you hear what I told you just now? Let the little male snake next door widow me out. Master, if you were a snake, I'd be high and low with you right now. How are you just a person? Oh, 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 oh wow. Zhou Ming, you're a full-grown snake. Have some face. Will you? Molesting a human like that? The little male snake next door can ing hear you. And you have such a mid-range voice. Mailing is definitely out of the question. But, thinking about Shiro's comment that he felt little bugs burrowing in his body. Zhou Ming looked outside the cage and, did you guys forget to sprinkle dewormer? Did you miss the medicated baths too? Ha! Huh? Xiao Qi looked at Zhou Ming with a confused expression. 
He was filled with the thought that as soon as Zhou Ming went in, this snake did not roll or hit the wall, and also lowered its head to rub against Zhou Ming's outstretched palm, behaved like a puppy. It doesn't look at all cold and unfeeling from being a giant snake. That aggravated little look was as if he was a child tattling to his mom or dad. During the days I was out, I explained that you would give it a medicinal bath to expel the insects. Did you not even do it? Zhou Ming's voice had gone cold. He explained it clearly on his cell phone on his way out. Even called to bug him when he didn't come back. It was rare for the crowd to see Zhou Ming's cold face. And for a moment, their hearts trembled a bit as they subconsciously looked at Xiao Qi. Xiao Qi blanched and panicked. I... I was going to make it for it, it just happened to be my girlfriend coming over that day, so I put it down for a while to go find my girlfriend, and I thought I'd get it the next day, turns out, turns out I was so busy I just, just forgot, his voice was getting smaller and smaller, cold sweat seeped out of the white little face, Nehru, I really didn't do it on purpose, I didn't think that just a medicinal bath wasn't done, and it got infected with parasites, I, I really didn't do it on purpose, it's an endangered and protected animal, if anything happened, he certainly couldn't escape responsibility. Zhou Ming's face completely pulled down. Pissed off. Once a snake is infected with a parasite, it is the equivalent of a death sentence if detected late. Especially a snake this big. Shiro's molting period is approaching again. And he's been told a thousand times to be careful. Results. Still hit. Nehru. Xiao Qi lowered his head and didn't dare to look at his face, but could only sneakily raise his eyes to steal a glance at him. And then he was scared back by his cold face head down like a quail. Master, are you angry? Chapter 54, Snake bullies you. Report my name out. Cover you. Is it because I misbehaved and ate a frog sent in by another human? Oh, master you must not be angry ah. I will never dare again. Even if a human seduces me with a roasted chicken, I won't eat it oh. Master, master. Reticulated Mang keenly perceived the change in Zhou Ming's breath. Immediately grunted in vain. Almost as big as Zhou Ming's head of the snake head pleasingly rubbing a rubbing eye in Zhou Ming's palm of his hand. Master, master, don't be angry. I'm not uncomfortable or in pain anymore. Zhou Ming, who heard these heartfelt words, was heartbroken and angry, hatefully raising his hand and slapping its snake head twice. He scolded. You're the one with a greedy mouth. You want to try everything. The food the zoo gives you. It doesn't fill your stomach, does it? One little frog. And you're hooked. You, a reticulated python, eating something so small. Thanks to your nimble tongue, you can roll it up. Thinking of this, Zhou Ming raised his hand and patted it twice more. It's just that the force he's using is similar to scratching an itch. Master, you're not angry? I knew Master was the best to me. He wouldn't get angry with me. Ah, hissing, it's starting to hurt again. Damn little bugs, the reticulated Mang whimpered and rubbed against Zhou Ming's hand, and the scarlet snake's letter even licked intimately. Only in the next second, the little bugs in its body started acting up again. It opened its mouth wide in an attempt to intimidate its opponent with a vicious, offensive look. Yet it didn't work. The staff outside is going numb with fear. What the are you doing with Chao Ming? That's not the way to find death. Your hand. What's the point of slapping the snake's head with your hand? Do you think this snake is like your bare child who never forgets a beating? If it hurts, you can be taken away directly you know. The crowd roared madly within themselves, watching Zhou Ming's every move with trepidation. The steel forks in their hands barely able to hold them. The tranquilizer gun next to him was already aimed at the reticulated Mang, and as soon as the opponent attacked, the tranquilizer would immediately shoot in. Sure enough, next, the reticulated Mang then reveals its own menacing face, show offensive moves, the crowd mentions it in their minds, tranquilizer gun poised to fire, and then they saw the reticulated Mang lying directly on the ground, grunting and coiling in front of Zhou Ming, well behaved like a puppy dog that had been tamed, fizzle, master saving his life, woohoo, crowd, they were really caught off guard by this direction. What's going on? Obviously manic to the point of being unable to do so, but by a pat and a touch from Zhou Ming, you lie down? Thought it was a bomb, but it turned out to be an empty bag? They're all ready for this. Get me a knife, alcohol for disinfecting, and some powder for wounds. Zhou Ming stretched out his hand and started inspecting the snake from its head, and sure enough, he found a few places where the body had been invaded by parasites in the middle section. He made a silent note of these places and continued his inspection while rushing outside to instruct the staff. Never mind. Just bring me the medicine cabinet. Seeing that no one answered, Zhou Ming raised his head in confusion. A wide mouth, jaw-dropping face came into view. Numb nuts. It's not enough to jerk a snake directly. You jerk such a big one. And such a large snake actually did lie down obediently like a dog. That, that tail of yours is tucked in a bit. What's with that rocking arc? You're a snake, not a dog. 
The crowd was powerless to spit. Not a bit of killer python poker. Zhou Ming raised an eyebrow and repeated. Medicine cabinet? Oh, I'm on my way. Xiao Qi was the first to come back to his senses and immediately went to the nearby storage room to bring out the medicine box. But how to give it to Zhou Ming? This makes Qi difficult. Although it was said that the nettle mang was as well behaved as a pup being tamed by Zhou Ming. But it's a reticulated mangaka after all. Such a big one. One can never tell when the ferocity will kick in. I'm the only one in my family. Zhou Ming seemed to have guessed Xiao Qi's entanglement and said without lifting his head, you can just leave it at the door. Oh, okay. Z gently opened the door, pulling a small crack just wide enough to pass the pillbox through, and then quickly closed the door. The reticulated mangaka had just twisted its head to look at him. Qi's heart went woozy and her body went rigid. Luckily, luckily reticulated mang didn't do anything to himself. Zhou Ming had already checked the exact location of the parasites on the reticulated mang. He got up and pulled over the medicine chest. Remove the utensils you need from the inside. Then he patted the reticulated mangled snake's head. Be good. I'll help you destroy all the little bugs in your body. And you'll soon be comfortable. Master. Master. The reticulated mang restrained itself and obediently allowed Zhou Ming to lay his hands on him. In fact, extracorporeal parasites can be forced out using medicated baths. Especially for large pythons like the reticulated mango bay that are dangerous to humans. As well as some venomous snakes. But preparing a medicated bath takes time. And it's not always guaranteed that all of them will be forced out. Some parasites that reside deeper don't always come out seemingly. Most of all, reticulated Mang screamed too much. Zhou Ming couldn't bear it. Rather than direct action, Zhou Ming picked up the knife. And with his hand, he cut open a bulge. No one saw how Zhou Ming operated. They only saw him move quickly and swiftly. And a long parasite was picked out by Zhou Ming as soon as the tip of the knife moved. Ah, hurts so much. Master is hurting me? It hurts. Reticulated Mang twisted its body. It really hurt. I want to roll around. So much I want to wreak havoc and destroy everything. It hurts. It hurts. Ah. Uh, no. No. Master is still here. Master is still here. Even if my master hurts me, I can't hurt my master. The reticulated Mang, which was visible trembling to the naked eye, gradually calmed down. The momentary agitation just now seemed to be just an illusion of the crowd. Good boy. Zhou Ming patted its body as a sign of comfort. It will soon be comfortable. The icy cold powder was sprinkled on it, and the heartbeat of the reticulated mangaka really changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? The feeling of severe pain and discomfort in this place seems to have disappeared. Master, you're healing me. Master, you're so nice. I like master the most. Master, sorry. The apology was small and weak, but full of guilt. Nettle Mang did not know that his heart was all hurt away by Zhou Ming, and his heart felt guilty. Master, master. I was wrong. Master won't hurt me. From now on you'll tell me if master has anything to do with you. Hey, hey. Master is so nice. Surely no one will bully you. I'll just manage the snakes out. If a snake bullies you, I'll take revenge for you. Say my name. I'll take care of you. Zhou Ming. Chapter 55. Don't tug on people's tails. It's very faceless. Zhou Ming. You snake. Why do you look like a big sister in society? And give your name? I'll go out and announce your name. See if they listen. It's a bite at me. You buy Lu in the head of the house to make authority and blessing even if I'll. Coveting a little next door to the little male snake can be. Do not be outside the disgrace. Ah uh, no. Throw the snake. Zhou Ming rubbed by Lu's snake head with a look of regret. How does this look? Feel the same as looking at the landlord's stupid daughter? Someone outside trembled with a voice that still couldn't help but spit out. Xiao Qi Num, I also. Think. The rest of the crowd nodded along. Don't need to feel it. The eyes are just ah. It was a bizarre scene. Any way you look at it, inside the cage, resolving the misunderstanding, the one man and the snake, very hilarious, continued to start digging for parasites. Zhou Ming's hand rose up and a strip of a flesh-colored, slender parasite was pulled out. It was thrown on the concrete next to it. Without its host, the parasite wriggled and curled itself. A few parasites were so tangled and encircled that it was so disgusting that you wanted to vomit up yesterday's overnight meal. Present were staff with extensive animal knowledge. A quick glance recognized what it was. Schizosaccharomyces pung. Often parasitic in the kleptoparasites parasitize the small intestine of cats, dogs, tigers, leopards, foxes, etc. The eggs are excreted in the feces and hatch out in the water as glochidia larvae. After being ingested by the first intermediate host, the saber water louse, it sheds its cilia in the body and turns into a protozoa. The water lice containing protozoa are ingested by the second intermediate host, the tadpole to develop into schizothoracic larvae. When the tadpole develops into a frog, 
The schizothoracic larvae migrate to parasitize the frog's thigh and calf muscles. If the frogs are preyed upon by snakes and birds, the snakes and birds become secondary hosts. And if dogs and cats ingest the infected frogs and secondary hosts, the larvae of Schizosaccharomyces pilaris parasitize the final hosts such as dogs and cats and develop into adult worms. Humans may also be parasitized if they consume frog or snake meat. In short, it's a parasite that infects both humans and animals, but the food they prepare at the zoo is tested. Rarely does that happen. What they could think of, Zhou Ming naturally thought of as well. Zhou Ming even knew a little more than they did. Just now, the reticulated mangaka said that he ate a frog brought by a tourist, and it's likely that this is when he got infected. As soon as Zhou Ming thought of this, he couldn't help but knock the reticulated mangaka's head again. How gluttonous must this be? To eat even such a tiny bit of meat from a frog, hating on the iron is not an option. Sensing Zhou Ming's emotions, the reticulated man grunted and curled up into a ball. Why are you hitting me? People are sick snakes. I don't care if you don't give me something to eat. You even hit me. Grunting. After removing the parasites from his body the reticulated mango gets in the spirit and starts to make noise. Zhou Ming disposed of the parasites that were tangled in a ball on the ground, then yanked up the reticulated mangaka's serpentine tail, scrutinizing to see if he had missed anything. It's so much to worry about. Don't tug on my tail. I'm so humiliated. Reticulated man crumbled a little with a small expression of dissatisfaction. However, his body was well behaved and allowed Zhou Ming to look through it. Zhou Ming grabbed its tail and pulled it straight upwards. Outside the cage just now, he saw the reticulated man rubbing his tail against the iron cage for a moment. Fruity. With this mention of Zhou Ming, he found another small place where a breach had been made, and it had all begun to turn into pus and become inflamed. Okay. After Zhou Ming cleaned the wound, he realized that it wasn't because of the parasite infestation. Rather, it hid itself out of nowhere. Zhou Ming held its large tail and flipped it over to make it easier to medicate himself. E. Give people some face. How does this make me a python in front of other humans? Hey, you're like a rag doll. She's a boa constrictor. With that said, Nettle Mang tried to pull his tail out of Zhou Ming's arms. Zhou Ming was about to apply the medicine, and because of this movement of it, the powder in his hand directly spilled out. Don't move! Zhou Ming huffed over with a slap. Do you know how expensive these medicines are? Look at it all spilled in the wrong place. Hiss. Outside the cage, the crowd gasped in unison. The snake's tail is the most fragile and sensitive part of the snake, and easily does not allow humans to touch it. Once you get close to the snake's tail, you will alert the other side. Not to mention like Zhou Ming, lifting up like a doll. You lift it up. You flip it the over. Flip you even if you have to slap someone. This is really arrogant of you. It simply doesn't take human pythons seriously. Xiaoqi warily warned. Neru, watch out. You're getting it riled up. He is usually in charge of feeding the reticulated manga base white dew. Shiro was found rescued in the wild. And when he found it, the whole python was so skinny that he didn't even have the strength to huff and puff at people. It's hard to imagine that one of the species of python that has killed people could starve itself to the skin. And soon, they knew why Shiro was starving like that. This guy, Picky, after being rescued to the zoo, he would not eat anything, and the live rabbits walked in front of him several times as if they were invisible. Any longer and that rabbit would have had a couple waves of pups in the cage. A python that doesn't eat can drive everyone at the zoo crazy, and it's close to just being hardwired in. Okay, at this time, Zhou Ming's divine warrior descended into the sky to pot, skin, and gut. Seven short words. Had them racking their brains for a little over half a month? There should be special pots for eating. And the live ones are not yet wanted, they should be all butchered. With the hair cleanly plucked and the entrails removed. Why are they so unconvinced? But that's exactly what happened. It ate it. And then give him a live one. Hey, people don't eat. Crowd. This is not raising a python. This is raising a dad. Wait for it to finally get well enough to meet the conditions for release. Ascend to the wild. It didn't take two days for the villagers living in the village down the hill to call them again. Shiro was back. Not only did he come back on his own, and brought back a small male snake. Two snakes are making a mess of the village. No domestic animals are eaten and no one is harmed. Two snakes lay down on the highway, as skinless as any street slithers from anywhere. Properly just one sentence. I, Python, bumper sticker, to eat the nation's food. Chapter 56, let me go straight up. Don't pity me. Push. No way. The zoo had to take the two pythons back to be housed. No skin in the game though, but the fighting power of these two little things was not underestimated by anyone. Actions as bold as Zhou Ming's never dared to do or even think about. It's not in the way. It remembers the food. Zhou Ming waved his hand and continued to medicate it. Z, was I that worried about the reticulated manganese? I was worried you'd be too cocky and get eaten. Cage, 
Zhou Ming put on the powder. Spreading his hands, he patted its back. It's too heavy. Turn it over and let me see your belly. I'm afraid it won't understand. Zhou Ming also ran to its head and turned it over from the head, revealing its soft belly. Good boy. That's it. Good boy. I'm lying. I'm going around. The reticulated mang rolled over. It's tens of meters long body flipping over. A snake too comfortable for words. Do you want to touch me? Master? Master. Touch me. Master's hand. Anywhere. The heart of the reticulated mangaka swung from one sound to the next, and his body swayed with it, as if he were seducing someone. Zhou Ming did not look away, as if he did not hear the cry of temptation. Hands rubbed delicately over the scales. Ah. Master's hand. Sliding on my stomach yeah. Oh. Harder master. I can do it. Yeeha master is so good. He didn't let go of an inch of his scales. He touched everywhere. Ah uh ha. -huh. Uh -huh. The whole snake is flying. Zhou Ming. You snakes. Are you all the same? Checking an injury. Screaming like that. It's a good thing only you can hear it. Otherwise it's a ing hooliganism. Zhou Ming carefully examined the abdomen of the reticulated mang. Not sparing an inch of scales. Solely. Other than the piece of broken skin that Zhou Ming had seen on his tail. There were no other injuries. Okay. Zhou Ming patted its body. Screaming so loudly. Not afraid that the little male snake next door will hear it and break up with you? What a shame. The reticulated mang flipped its body over and grunted as it sent its large head towards Zhou Ming's arms. Come again. I'm going to have a great time. Don't pity me. Push. Zhou Ming. Da blah. But. Count the hours. These two reticulated mangabays. Is it time to mate? Wouldn't the zoo. Then. Soon be able to add imports. Great joy. Small reticulated mang. Zhou Ming instantly became joyful. It's not always available at zoos across the country. You you you. Su Ruadong stood at the entrance and looked at Zhou Ming and the reticulated mang in the cage in horror, directly staring with wide eyes. Tourists? Xiao Qi turned his head, looked at the sudden appearance of Su Ruatong, and immediately said, Sorry ah, we are dealing with the python's health problems. Now temporarily do not let go of the visit. You can road next to the panda hall. No no. I'm friends with Zhou Ming. Su Ruadong pointed at Zhou Ming in the cage and asked fearfully, Why don't you guys go in and help? Such a big python. It's very dangerous. Xiao Qi kept her cool and said in a serious manner. Don't worry. Ming is a professional. More professional than any of us. Nothing will happen. The tone of his voice was relaxed. As if the person who had just been so worried that he was in a cold sweat wasn't himself. Su Ruatong frowned. Then you can't let a person be in a cage with a python. Right? Z was about to say that they had prepared a tranquilizer gun. Not that they had prepared anything at all. Next. I heard Su Ruatong exclaim. Zhou Ming. The staff members also panicked. Naru. Zhou Ming. The staff member holding the tranquilizer gun subconsciously tried to pull the trigger. Don't shoot the anesthetic. Zhou Ming shouted sternly. It's okay. It's not trying to hurt me. Chi's heart thumped. Looking back. Zhou Ming's calf was already entangled in the webbing mang. The large snake's head was level with Zhou Ming. The scarlet snake's letter almost licked Zhou Ming's cheek. So close. It was estimated that Zhou Ming could smell the python's mouth. Master don't go. I haven't seen my master for days. I can't eat or sleep well. Fart. You can't eat or sleep well because you've got a craving. You've eaten a frog that someone else caught and brought in. You're infected with parasites and you don't have an appetite. Don't try to fool me. Zhou Ming slandered in his mind. Master master. I don't care. You have to stay with me a little longer. Stay with me for a while. Touch me. As long as you want me to. I'll do anything you want. Anything goes. Zhou Ming pushed its big head away with a push. Sorry. I can't. He lifted his leg and tried to pull away from the man and the snake. But the legs were deadlocked by the reticulated mang. Looks like it won't let go. Zhou Ming was helpless and raised his hand to pat its head. Just hold it for a while. Say it. Zhou Ming stretched out his hands. Seeing this, Mang the Nettle smiled joyfully and brought his large head into Zhou Ming's arms. The snake's head drooped on Zhou Ming's shoulder. And the remaining 9 meter long body slowly circled into a circle. Encircling Zhou Ming's entire body. Crowd. Does this really ing not need anesthetic? Neru. It feels like you're going to be eaten next. The crowd's pupils quake. But no one dared to disobey Zhou Ming. Even the staff member holding the tranquilizer gun was afraid that he might accidentally fire it and put it right aside. Su Ruatong covered her chest. Her pretty eyes glaring. Chao Ming. And a python. Hugs. Hugs. Moreover. She seemed to be able to see the snake's Thai little expression. As if it was a very proud thing to be able to hug Zhou Ming. Help. Is she dreaming now? Su Ruatong subconsciously rubbed her eyes. One man and one snake still embracing. So, it wasn't a dream. It's not a dream. That, 
It looks more creepy and scary aoi. Cage. Zhou Ming felt that the time was almost up and patted the head of the reticulated Mang, signaling that it was ready. This guy's pretty heavy. A couple dozen pounds. Just a head drooping over itself. That was heavy enough. Calling. Not wanting to let go. If I don't let go anyway, he won't be able to walk away. So I'll just cuddle again? Hey. Hey. That's it. Reticulated Mang thought rightfully. No one would know anyway. However, the person it ran into was Zhou Ming. Let go. Zhou Ming was not going to spoil their foul temper and directly reminded them in a cold voice. When the reticulated Mang tried to play tricks on it, it directly pushed its big head away. I'm going out. Noticing the change in Zhou Ming Zhou Ming's aura, Nettle Mang keenly felt that he had to let go of Zhou Ming. Ah, don't want to let go of the master. Forget it, I'll play dead. Reticulated Mang thought, simply so head down, spitting the snake letter feigned death to go. Zhou Ming, your snake's letter is still moving. It's really unconvincing to play dead like that. Chapter 57, The Dreaming Love Snake. Can't you be charmed by this? Forget it. The snake body wrapped around his body wasn't very tight anyway. Zhou Ming raised his hand, braced himself against the snake's body that was as high as his waist, and with one push, his butt sat directly on the body of the reticulated python. The body turns. Bared. The reticulated python landed as if it were a slide. The silky smoothness of the action. It's so fast that your mouth can't even open. Zhou Ming had then stepped out of the cage. Su Ruadon looked at the intact and calm Zhou Ming, and the expletive came out. Awesome. Zhou Ming raised an eyebrow and took her compliment with a smile. Not a laugh. Thanks for the compliment. You're welcome. Su Ruadon subconsciously returned. Then the thought of what she had said made her face burn instantly. But the good thing is that she is shy and not someone who will go to the face. Why does Jade's pretty face is no different from just now? I've taken care of all the parasites and the powder has been put on. Zhou Ming turned his head and began to explain to Xiao Qi, but there is a scratched spot on its tail. Pay attention to see if it ran into something and was scratched by a nail on the ground. Deal with it in time. Okay, okay, I understand. Xiao Qi busily nodded his head, indicating that he understood. Then have the ticket checkers take care not to randomly feed the animals, especially live ones, which can be easily infected with parasites. Many people who bring their children to the zoo want to experience the fun of feeding the critters, but in fact, the zoo is equipped with their daily food needs to ensure energy and health at the same time. Feeding extra can make the animals overweight as well as become picky eaters. Anything more serious, and it's like Shiro, infected with parasites. This is a great risk to the health of the animal. Aha, uh -huh. Xiao Qi continued to nod her head, her eyes looking adoringly at Zhou Ming. He had felt that Zhou Ming was very powerful before, and after this day, she declared that Zhou Ming was his idol, the kind that no one can replace. You're just going to leave me here? Master, don't you want to play with me for a while? Look at my tantalizing body with its long tail. Oh my god. It's the little male snake next door's dream snake. It can't get the snake. With the hindsight of the reticulated Mang, he realized that Zhou Ming had directly abandoned him and was instantly displeased. The body wriggled up to the branches of the tree anchored to the wall, revealing its long body. The large head reached out to the iron net in front of Zhou Ming and the snake's letter gulped rapidly. Small sample. Can't you be charmed by that? Zhou Ming. Crowd. No. What do you mean? Do you think we humans are animals? Ugh. Don't be snake-faced. After this, Zhou Ming continued to explain. You can put Long Tang and Bai Lu next door together. Ha. Huh? She was a little confused. Though Dragon Tang and Shiro went down swinging together and were dragged away from the zoo to be kept together. But after their observations. Long Tongue. The scummy snake. Just wanted to use Bai Lu as a meal ticket and had no feelings at all. The two snakes will even fight over who will dry their meal first. So the zoo staff separated the two snakes. These are things that Zhou Ming also knows about. Of course Zhou Ming knew that. It's just that the kids are getting older and homesick. Isn't the male snake next door the only option? There's no way around it. But where Zhou Ming had a choice. He wouldn't let his precious Bai Lu be trashed. Passing the buck. It is the nature of a snake. And. He's not waiting for Shiro's pups. Just grudgingly grab the dragon next door and be a tool snake. It's rutting time. Do you have any other better options? The entire zoo in Qingzhou City could not find a third reticulated manga bay. Z? No. In that case, let's do it. Zhou Ming clapped his hands. How beautiful it would be to raise another reticulated mang with your own hands. Can't say for sure. There's more than one raised. Rich rich rich. TSK. 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 After explaining the precautions clearly with Xiao Qi, Zhou Ming pointed at the steel forks and tranquilizer guns all over the ground. Put them all away. Bai Lu is so well behaved. If you guys treat it like this, it will be very sad. Crowd. Neru. Will be sad if you're eaten by Shiro. Next time. 
Think about our little hearts. The staff quickly packed up their things and pulled away the cordons that prevented visits. It's back to being busy. Zhou Ming observed the state of the reticulated mang. The reticulated mango bays, no longer cranky after the parasites were removed, hung obediently from the branches. Their overgrown bodies wrapped around the branches, drooping in circle after circle of arcs, their thick tail swishing. The whole snake was comfortable as hell. Looking at Zhou Ming made him jealous. It's just cool to be served. Hmm, what are you doing here? Zhou Ming was carrying a medical box, and when he turned his head, he saw Su Ruotong standing behind him. She's afraid of snakes, standing in the doorway not even daring to approach. For a moment, Zhou Ming actually did not notice the other party. Su Ruotong's heart was very complicated. She was a beautiful woman to say the least, and followed stunning and coquettish glances wherever she appeared. Beauty, like a natural spotlight, attracted everyone's attention. However, Su Ruotong had realized in the past few days that the beauty she was so proud of was worthless in front of Zhou Ming. From the first moment the two had met, he had never once looked awestruck or smitten. Even to the point of looking at her less than a lizard a snake, Su Ruotong festered, you just directly left me behind and ran away, I followed you here, yes? Zhou Ming scratched his head, somewhat unable to remember, you don't have to follow me here next time, just stand where you are or go home and do your own thing, it's fine, what the are you talking about? Su Ruotong thought that Zhou Ming was being funny, but when she saw Zhou Ming's serious eyes, herself realized that the other party was actually serious, Su Ruotong, am I wrong? Zhou Ming once again spoke as a straight man, rightfully so, anyone looking for me must be because of snakes, and you don't like snakes, or even fear them, so it's for the best that you don't follow me, Su Ruotong gritted her teeth, I like it now, can't I, really, Zhou Ming beckoned for Bai Lu to come over and said to Su Ruotong, then do you want to see Bai Lu, it's a very cute little girl with a body that's already well developed, more than 10 meters and weighing dozens of pounds, the development is really good, Su Ruotong wanted to cry, just glancing at Bai Lu in the cage had emboldened her. She waved her hand back and forth. Forget it. Okay. Zhou Ming regretfully said. They're actually quite cute. And if you're familiar with them, you can still play together. Like you were just circled by a snake and almost died? Su Ruotong thought silently. You can also directly on the hands of the disc. A variety of snakes in the hands of the feeling is different. Such as the Chinese cobra. On the hands of the hand is a little bit unable to catch. Like to scurry. But then, some are docile. Seeing that Su Ruotong seemed interested, Zhou Ming had no problem sharing the feel of the snakes he had coiled in this life and the last. It's not just snakes, spiders, lizards, whatever. They feel different. Su Ruotong was really going to cry. She really didn't come here to listen to Zhou Ming talk about this ah. Uh, Chao Ming? Boss lady? Fatty was shocked as he looked at Zhou Ming and Su Ruotong who walked over together. His expression froze. You guys? Savior. It could be a savior. Su Ruotong eagerly looked at Fatty. Can be considered not to have to listen to Zhou Ming say those snakes are spider lizards and so on. God knows. What a ride she's had. Chapter 58 Albino Snake. White Mutant? Take you for a ride. Oh, we both happened to run into each other in front of the zoo. And Miss Su came in to help me look at the architectural plans. Zhou Ming honestly told the story. He said somewhat happily, I didn't expect Miss Su to be quite fond of reptiles now. And asked me a lot of questions about reptiles along the way. Really? Fatty looked at Su Ruotong in surprise. Su Ruotong, suddenly there was a bad feeling, and it's particularly strong, sure enough, that's great, Fatty clapped his hands together with a pop and an excited voice followed, Reptile Street, got in a lot of new goods, as soon as I got the news, I came to find you, it's just as well that you're coming with us, boss lady, I, that, I'll just, Su Ruotong opened her mouth and tried to refuse, but Fatty didn't even give her that chance, hurry up and get moving, it will take us more than half an hour to get there, if we are late, all the good goods will be picked up by others. Boss lady, you are really in time. Go to see a long time. Many people don't even know about it. Su Ruotong, I thank you. I thank your whole family. That's going to take some catching up. Zhou Ming accelerated his own pace and placed the medical kit in the middle of the storeroom. Turning back, he urges eagerly. Then hurry up. That, or I'd rather. Su Ruotong's words didn't even have time to come out. Fatty and Zhou Ming had already crossed over to her in a hurry. Ignored Su Ruotong. Doesn't anyone care? She's so big and beautiful that she's not as important as the new reptiles on a street? Zhou Ming is even better. But even Fatty just ignored her. Su Ruotong pursed her lips and looked at Fatty's back with some complexity in her heart. Ouch. Fatty suddenly tapped his head. Just when Su Ruotong thought that the other party had finally remembered herself. Fatty rubbed his hands together excitedly. We have to hurry. I heard that there seems to be an albino snake. 
I heard that snake still has black eyes. Black eyes? Zhou Ming came to be interested. An albino animal is simply an animal whose body color is abnormally white. And by abnormally white I mean that this animal's body color is not white, but appears white. Albino animals are usually divided into two main categories, sick and normal forms. Pathological albino animals are the same as what we often call albinism, which is a disease. It is caused by a lack of melanin synthesizing substances in the melanocytes of the animal's body, which is a genetic disease formed by a gene mutation. An animal suffering from this disease not only has white fur and skin, but its eyes are also red. Secondly, there is the normality posture, which is still very rare in nature. And this group of albino animals is called the white variant. White variants are also the result of a genetic mutation, except that their mutation changes a recessive gene to a dominant one. And the biggest difference between them and albinism is that the eyes are normal color. As a whole, an animal is far more likely to develop albinism than it is to form a white variant. This is because the chances of albinism being a disease for an animal are around 1 in 50. 000. While the chances of the white variant can be just 1 in 500. 000. And a street of reptiles that actually has a white variant? Once this news gets out, then, people from all walks of life must have caught wind of it. Think of it this way. Zhou Ming immediately grabbed Fatty's arm. Num, hurry up. Hey, I knew you'd be interested. Fatty still wanted to talk poorly for a couple of seconds, but his 200-pound body was directly dragged by Zhou Ming and ran as fast as he could. It only left a gasp of slow down. Slow down in the wind. Su Ruatone. So, no one cares about her? Looking at the two people running fast, Su Ruatone looked down at the high heels on her feet. She gritted her teeth and directly jogged to keep up, except she was still way behind waiting to run to the parking lot. From afar, I saw Zhou Ming and Fatty two people, one on one side of the car. The door closed. The engine roared. The well-performing Grand Prix sped right past her, leaving a cold breeze in its wake. That's good. It wasn't ignoring her anymore. It was treating her like she was air. Ah. Next, the big Ben that sped out backed up again. The windows rolled down. Fatty was sitting in the passenger side, looking at Su Ruatone with a smile on his face. Sorry sorry sorry. See how I forgot about you? Quickly, quickly, boss lady get in the car. Fatty will take you for a ride. Su Ruatone looked at Fatty with a blank stare. Obviously, he still had that attentive face. But Su Ruatone profoundly understood what was called a man's mouth. A deceitful ghost. Chunky drives fast. It didn't take long to get to the reptile street. Mom yeah. So many luxury cars. Fat brother swept a glance at the cars parked on the side of the road. The parking lot is still blocked. Apparently too many people. The parking lot is full. They are too delayed. So they casually parked the car on the side of the road. Zhou Ming looked at the motionless vehicle in front of him, frowned, and opened the door very dryly. You go find a parking space. I'll go in first and take a look. Hey, hey hey dash before Fatty had a chance to say anything. With a pop, the car door closed tightly, leaving him with only a cruel and cold back. I'll go down first. Then, too, Su Ruatong's voice came from behind. Fatty? Pa. There was another sound of a car door closing from the back seat. Gotta. Both of them don't give his fat brother a chance to talk. Do they? Fatty was so depressed he ground his teeth. He'd like to see it. Two. To really be the white variant. That's a real eye opener. Looking at Su Ruatong stepping on her high heels. Her figure was slender as she followed Zhou Ming's side. Fatty simply pulled out the keys and opened the car door to get down. Driver in the back of the big Ben? What are you doing? Seeing the fat brother lock the car to go. The driver in the back stuck out his head. What the hell? What are you doing? How are we going to get by with the car just sitting here? Fatty rolled his eyes. Passing my ass. The parking lot in front of us is full. How can we pass? This is a dead end. There is a wall at the end. And you have to make a loop in front of it to get past it. But right. The people who come here are the ones who are going in to see the white variant. Go. That's never going to go away. If you go around again, you'll have to go to a parking lot three kilometers away and the time it takes to get there and back will be huge. That driver looked at the time on his cell phone. Only half an hour left. It's simply too late to rewind this trip, especially with Fatty's Big Ben still blocking the front. The driver poked his head out and looked at the car stuffed in front of him, and directly gritted his teeth and followed the example of the fat brother, and directly got out of the car. Whatever. Let's see that white variant first. But instantly, drivers who have been stuffed all the way through have gotten out of their cars. Numb nuts. Why didn't they think they could do that? Fatty looked behind him as the drivers got out of their cars. Holy? He hastened his pace, trying to get ahead of them so he could take a good spot. Chapter 59 The softest lowly voice cursing the dirtiest words. The other side. Zhou Ming looked at the swarming crowd and followed the flow of people. Su Ruatong did not expect. 
just ordinary a street. There will actually be so many people listening to just now fat brother in the car meaning they are all for a albino snake to come. It's just a snake. How can it attract so many people? Cho Ming. Su Ruotong took three steps and quickly walked to Zhou Ming's side. There are a lot of people. Su Ruotong's shoulder and Zhou Ming are close to each other, and between walking, the backs of their hands inadvertently brushed. Su Ruotong asked, Where are we going now? Zhou Ming was on his feet. Su Ruotong didn't expect him to stop suddenly. Her feet subconsciously took two steps forward, and when she saw that he didn't follow, she suspiciously looked back at him. What's wrong? Zhou Ming was silent, with a few moments of bewilderment in his eyes. Su Ruotong suddenly thought of something. You don't know where it is, do you? Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming nodded honestly. Su Ruotong. You mother asterisk 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 her. What an ingrate. The two were wide-eyed. Oh, my god. Why are there so many people? What are they doing around me? Don't look. Don't look. I don't know what that guy did to me. I don't feel strong at all. If you look again, I'll bite you to death. We're done for. A voice with a hint of northern ballast flavor came over and Zhou Ming moved his ears. Immediately afterward, I heard someone yelling, the albino snake is over there in Master Pan's store, then why don't you hurry, it's just these two steps away, let's hurry over and get a good spot, go, 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 even if we can't afford it, we can still open our eyes, walk, Zhou Ming raised his hand and pointed at the few people running past, just follow them, Zhou Ming and Su Ruotong quickly followed, by the time they arrived, the large feeder box sitting in front of the store was filled with people, Zhou Ming swept a glance. King Cobra. Ha! Su Ruotong was unsure. Looking at the crowd who all hated to squeeze inside, but when they got to the feeder, they didn't dare to get close. The King Cobra is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world and is the longest venomous snake in the world. Zhou Ming explained in a low voice. They mainly inhabit in Indonesia, the Philippines, India and other belts. Of course, some plains and hilly areas in our country are also there. Moreover, the King Cobra eats all kinds of snakes as well as its own kind and is also known as the snake killer, which is in the top 10 of the world's most venomous animals. A bite from a king cobra can be rapidly fatal, and it can inject an average of 200 to 500 milligrams of venom, with the largest venom secretion even reaching 7 milliliters. A king cobra bite can kill quickly, and the injured person can die within 30 minutes. So fierce, Su Ruotong subconsciously moved away from the feeding box a bit. If this king cobra drilled out of the feeder, all of them would have to cool off according to Zhou Ming. She looked at Zhou Ming with a palpitating heart. So these people are still so excited? You're not afraid to die? Zhou Ming said with a calm face, because albino species are rare, and albinos that are not of the cobra genus are even rarer. Cobra? King cobras? Aren't they all the same? Su Ruotong didn't know why. These two are just one king apart. Is there a difference? Not the same. Zhou Ming shook his head. The king cobra is also known as the mountain wannabe snake. Over the hill wind. Large flat-necked snake. Large cobra over the hill standard, and so on. Although called king cobras, they are not classified in this genus because of insufficient evolutionary affinity with cobras, so it is not a member of the genus cobra, but belongs to the separate genus king cobra. Compared to cobras, they are more aggressive, extremely responsive, have a flexible head and neck rotation, and excrete a greater amount of venom. King cobras are large snakes that can reach a maximum length of more than 5 meters. Besides this, the occipital scales between the two of them are particularly different. Wait, what's a pillow scale? Su Ruotong asked. Zhou Ming spoke eloquently. The occipital scales are the scales on the back part of the head, usually behind the largest scales on the head. Only king cobras have them. The two grow opposite each other, and belong to the second largest scale on the head. Oh, Su Ruotong listened in confusion. What are you doing? Sister, what are you doing so close? Is there anyone here? Can you hear me? I'm so uncomfortable with the scale. Yakuzi thing. I do not know what to do with the old man. I should have directly killed him at that time. And, and then dollar hashtag dollar hashtag at. And it was followed by a cranky rant. Zhou Ming. Kinda grumpy. In the softest lowly voice and swearing the dirtiest words. This is if people. High and low can curse a street. So this is the albino variety. Ha. Huh? Su Ruadon looked at the snake hanging on a branch in the feeder and curiously murmured. Shouldn't an albino snake be pure white? Zhou Ming's ears were filled with King Cobra's expletives and he didn't notice Su Ruotong's question. Instead, an eager older brother standing next to him, copped, TCH, big sis, looks like you're a newbie, right? Albinism in animals basically means a lack of melanin synthesis, where areas of the body that were black turn white. Look at this snake. This is supposed to be black where it was white, and the brown or whatever it is just hasn't changed. So it is. Su Ruotong nodded. 
That big brother sees Su Ruatong beautiful, and see her is nothing to understand the little white novice, continue to talk eloquently, this albino is a process, very few appear at birth as all white, you see it's not pure white on this snake, so when it's raised and molted a few times over a period of time, it'll be pure white, this snake, I don't think, is albino, Zhou Ming narrowed his eyes slightly as he felt that the color of this king cobra was very strange, it's as if it's underneath the white, masking some other color, there are other colors in the white that make the white look very stale, not that whitened, natural white, or yellowish white, this king cobra, there's definitely something wrong with it, only, too far away, if I could get close enough to take a closer look, I can't say I'd see anything different, the eager big brother next to him was surprised when he heard, not albino, how can it not be albino, the enthusiastic big brother's voice was not small, and this sound came out, immediately causing many people to turn back, they all stared at Zhou Ming and muttered, who, I can't believe you're saying this isn't an albino, how can it not be an albino, several people said it was an albino at first glance, there wouldn't be so many people coming over if they didn't recognize it, is it an albino or not, I purposely took time off work to come here after I got the news, who isn't, I even drove an hour to get here, just to get a kick out of it, doesn't this guy look a little familiar, hey, I also think it looks familiar, isn't that the guy who's been so popular on Shakespeare lately, creepy pet Nero, you're Nero, it's him, no wonder he looks so familiar, he's pretty hardcore in the biz now, and there's basically nothing wrong with what he says, so he says it's not albino, can't say, so is it an albino or not, this is a good thing that Master Pan has found, could it be that there are times when Master Pan looks away, you can't, can you, Master Pan is a big shot in our line of work, surely there's no such thing as looking the other way, besides, who has the guts to lie to Master Pan, indeed that is the reasoning, chapter 60, beauty take me away, 18 peace abs will warm the bed, the crowd was talking and discussing, the two clerks in the store who stood at the door guarding the feeders watched the situation get out of their control, winking at each other, one of them immediately turned his head and went up the stairs, not a moment too soon, the crowd then saw Master Pan, dressed in a tang suit and holding a pandragon walking stick, walking from the store, Master Pan, Master Pan is coming down, Master Pan, someone shouted at the front, arching his hand at the body Master Pan, Master Pan similarly arched his hand without any semblance of a stance, he was already over 60 years old, though, with a hint of grey frost staining the edges of his temples and a few more wrinkles at the corners of his eyes, but the face is very young and the body is still straight and upright, eyes gleaming, sound like a bell, who said it wasn't albino, stand up for me, the crowd looked at me, I looked at you, and subconsciously shook their heads and stepped backward, the crowd naturally gave way to a gap, at the end of the gap stood none other than Zhou Ming and Su Ruatong, Su Ruatong saw that someone had already picked up a cell phone to shoot, and hurriedly pulled Zhou Ming's arm and whispered, I heard that this person is still a bit powerful, you must not offend people ah, you, I'm the one who said it, Zhou Ming stepped forward and interrupted Su Ruatong's exhortation, you're the kid who said it wasn't albino, Master Pan leaned on his cane and took a step forward, eyes burning into him, the crowd around them fell silent, Master Pan has been on this street for decades, a respected old timer, I've never fallen on a reptile before, I've never been blinded, and this kid, as soon as he comes up, says that this might not be an albino, isn't that stepping on the ground with Master Pan's face, offended Master Pan, want to play reptiles in Qingzhou City in the future, that would be mysterious, it's me, Zhou Ming did not look away, meeting Master Pan's gaze with a straight face, however, I'm just saying it's possible, after all, there are so many people here, I'm too far away, if I had been allowed to see it up close, I would have been able to distinguish it a little more clearly, hiss, someone in the crowd drew in a breath of cold air, revealing a horrified look, you kid, you've got some nerve, and a closer look, you're here to make trouble, aren't you, Su Ruatong was also intimidated by his straightforwardness, looking at the crowd around him to the immediate performance of this pan master or respect, Su Ruatong also understand that this time should be soft, but on the contrary, the sight of the Zhou Ming as if he did not understand anything, or a sinew, Cho Ming, Su Ruatong whispered a reminder, don't you, brat, Master Pan suddenly changed his face, and what had been a clear sky became cloudy, he raised the cane in his hand as if to raise it high and whip it on Zhou Ming, the crowd gasped, Su Ruatong's beautiful eyes widened as she subconsciously stretched her hand out in front of Zhou Ming, Pan Xian, I told you to come over earlier to give me a test, and you had to put it off until this time, Master Pan tensed his face and said angrily, the cane in his hand gently landing on Zhou Ming's calf, not an irritated smack, rather, it's the caring and complaining of an elder who sees a doting junior, 
Ha, huh, this, this, what's going on here? The crowd was confused. Even Su Ruatone was confused and forgot to retract her half-extended hand. I'm here now, aren't I? Zhou Ming also did not expect that the albino snake that the fat man was talking about was actually the one that Master Pan was talking about. When Master Pan contacted him, he himself was still in Su Ruatone's BNB. I can't spare the time to stop by for a while. With just a few videos and pictures, Zhou Ming was not in a good position to arbitrarily jump to conclusions. Who knows? It's been delayed again and again. What a coincidence today. You boy. Master Pan smiled and raised his hand to pat Zhou Ming's shoulder. Come and take a look. This is something I collected from a snake factory owner some time ago. The crowd's jaws dropped. They originally thought that Master Pan had to teach a lesson to this brat who does not know the height of the sky. Who thought? That the two people look like they know each other? No. It's not just acquaintance. It's familiarity. So right that Master Pan looked at him with slow trust and love. That look. It's like seeing some kind of catch. Zhou Ming. You guys know each other? Su Ruatong was confused. Well. Recognize. Zhou Ming nodded. Master Pan noticed Su Ruatong on his side. Remembered Su Ruatong's subconscious affection for Zhou Ming just now. And smiled. And this is? Previous clients. Zhou Ming put it succinctly. Just the other day I was catching snakes at her BNB and caught a small lizard. Clients? Or a previous client? Su Ruatong stared at him. Not even a friend? Zhou Ming seemed to notice the boss's wife's gaze and added. Now a friend. No wonder. When I called you boy the other day, you always said you were busy. Master Pan nodded. The little girl is quite pretty. Just not very good eyes ah. There's going to be some jealousy in the future. He said in a neutral voice, Come, palm the snake first. The three men stepped forward. Su Ruatong followed behind Zhou Ming with trepidation, only daring to glance at the king cobra in the feeder with her afterglow. It's just over a meter though, but coiled around the branches in the feeder. It's also a hefty pile, especially the upright head of the snake, gulping scarlet snake letters, its icy vertical pupils staring coldly at the humans outside the glass box. Su Ruatong quietly took two steps back, her flushed face slightly pale. Zhou Ming glanced at her. Thoughtfully, he said, Are you tired? There are chairs in the house. You can sit there. Aha. Uh -huh. Su Ruatong nodded impatiently, cautiously walked toward the store, and after. A goo. Beautiful. Whoa. 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 Take me away. Pretty lady. My 18 pack abs will warm the bed. Look at me. Look at me. Pretty girls like pretty colored snakes like me. Farting. Pretty girls like me. I'm a cold snake. Don't argue. A beautiful woman and a beautiful snake are a couple. I'm good tempered. I don't bite. A room full of snakes looked at Su Ruatong with interest, frantically selling themselves. However, in Su Ruatong's eyes, the store's lights were dim, and one by one, the aquascape box glass money, lying on a colorful and various kinds of snakes, staring at her in unison, frantically gulping the scarlet snake's letter, as if it was going to rush out the next second and take a bite at her snow white neck. Fizz fizz fizz. Fizzle. Hiss. Su Ruatong. Rub. Weak legs. She was too busy backing away. Seeing Zhou Ming's puzzled gaze, Su Ruatong said in a trembling voice, That, I'm not tired. Oh, Zhou Ming nodded and continued to drop his gaze on the king cobra in the feeding box at the entrance. Okay, okay, don't hang around old me. You guys don't feel dizzy, but I still feel the diaphragm snake. Chapter 61 Push. Cool. This snake is a bit unorthodox. Okay, okay, don't hang around old me. You guys don't feel dizzy, but I still feel the diaphragm snake. Grandma's bear. Is there any water? Give me a bath and a mud rub. It's hard to kill a snake. The king cobra crumbled frantically, his body rubbing against the branches of the feeder. I checked the snake and there are no parasites or anything like that. Master Pan explained as he watched the king cobra's movements. Did the snake take a bath? Zhou Ming asked. Washed. Master Pan nodded. A veteran like him will do a thorough inspection and cleaning after collecting the snake to get rid of any parasites, etc. that the snake carries. If it's been bathed, how come this king cobra is still clamoring for a bath? Generally speaking, snakes are not that fond of bathing, and only go for a roll in the water after 20 days or so. This king cobra, there's definitely something fishy going on. Are you going to give it to me? I've been scratching myself for a long time. How refreshing it would be to have a bath. Hey, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? King cobra lazily looked at Zhou Ming outside the glass. You're looking at me, and you don't know what I'm talking about, and you're still looking at me. What about wanting to fight? If you have the guts, you can give me a bath. I'm a viper, so if I give you a bite, you'll be finished. Hey, how come I'm a viper? If it's not a viper you guys must be in charge of rubbing it in. This little bath a rub. Hey 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 hey, Zhou Ming. All he could think about now was rubbing. 
But, this snake is grumpy and foul-mouthed, but it's a good snake that doesn't bite. Click. The feeder's catch is loose. Master Pan's eyes instantly shrunk, and the shopkeeper next to him subconsciously wanted to step forward to stop Zhou Ming's movements. Master Pan immediately raised his hand and gently stopped it. First look. The two clerks looked at each other, stopped moving, and after, he saw Zhou Ming directly put his hand inside, unprotected, just reach right into the middle of the feeder. Holy, is he crazy? I'll go. What a thrill. Daring to play with a king cobra without cultivating a relationship. The crowd watched Zhou Ming's movements in horror and took two steps back in unison. Playing around. It's a king cobra. The incredibly venomous king cobra. One sip and half an hour of this and you'll be straight karma. If they went up and disturbed the king cobra, causing it to suddenly go berserk, then not just one Zhou Ming would be injured. Zhou Ming. Su Ruotong's heart thumped as she looked at everyone's secrecy. Master Pan smiled and said, Don't worry, nothing will happen. Su Ruotong pursed her lips and watched Zhou Ming's knuckled hand in the feeder slowly approach the King Cobra. Alas, this human's flavor seems to be different from other people's flavors, is a little on the nose. The King Cobra looked at the hand that was slowly approaching its own, its scarlet snake's letters gulping rapidly. The, ah, this flavor, it makes me feel so at ease, I love it. This flavor, it's awesome. Seeing that the other party's heart did not reject his approach, Zhou Ming's fingers slowly moved, at a speed that the King Cobra could accept, to the back of its snake's head, the King Cobra that was just there, kept rubbing against this place, tickle, the King Cobra was just about to raise its own little tail to scratch it when Zhou Ming's finger had already landed on that, itchy, I'll be damned, you're a good boy, harder, yes, it's much more comfortable than old me scratching with my tail and rubbing against a tree, oh, happy snakes, come on, baby, Harder. Comfort. King Cobra was so comfortable that his neck stretched out, living like a kitten ball that had been successfully smooth. Big brother. Give it a shot. Zhou Ming. Obviously soft and sticky lowly voice. One mouth is old man big brother. Instantly shriveled up. Okay? Snakes have accents. Two. Zhou Ming looked at it uncertainly. The movement under his fingers slowed. King Cobra instantly quit. What are you doing? What are you doing? Scratching an itch for me. Is that your attitude? Pushing hard. Harder. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, baby, get up. Zhou Ming watched as his hand was used by the King Cobra as a scratching artifact, constantly whimpering and writhing on its fingers. Crazy up and down. But that's exactly why. It allowed Zhou Ming to discover the end on this King Cobra. Master Pan, who was on the side showed an expression of I'm sure it's like that. Su Ruotong's beautiful eyes were wide open, and her sandalwood mouth was slightly open, looking at Zhou Ming's actions with a face full of shock. She knew that Zhou Ming had posted quite a few videos of playing with snakes on the Shake Fast and Scarf apps, but that's just the video. It can be done through editing, picking camera positions, and even post-production special effects. But today, not only did she see Zhou Ming playing around with the python, she also witnessed him dancing with the viper. If anything, the boa constrictor in front of it is there because it's been kept for a long time and has become attached. Then the strange king cobra in front of him was Zhou Ming taking hold of it with his own skills. It's not just by Su Ruotong. Even the crowd of onlookers were shocked. Scenes like this. Even senior experts who specialize in snakes have not necessarily seen such a famous scene. It's a ing snake. A serpent of unparalleled venom. One bite of this viper could just gargle an adult. Normal humans couldn't even avoid it. How could they still extend their hands like Zhou Ming? Those of them who raised snakes would not be like Zhou Ming, who went straight to work without any protection. Zhou Ming's behavior like this was no different from walking a tightrope at high altitude. One time, all that could be heard was the shocked sound of the crowd of onlookers as they drew back their breath. And then, this, this snake, is a bit immodest? Someone in the crowd said weakly. It was a small sound, but it was noticeable in the silence. The crowd looked at the king cobra riding up and down against Zhou Ming's finger up and down. This action, it does seem, not too serious huh? Being said that, Su Ruotong also realized it. How does this snake move so much like a teddy that's out in random heat? Mom, yeah, a little astringent. Zhou Ming rubbed the stickiness on his fingers and had a definite idea in his heart. He swept a glance at the crowd of onlookers, all of whom, like himself, had come to see this albino king cobra. Zhou Ming shook his head toward Master Pan and made a wink. Master Pan. Master Pan's eyes narrowed slightly when he saw his movements beckoning the two clerks to get black hoardings to cover them and carry them to the store. What's this for? Why don't you exhibit? Was Nehru really right? This snake is not albino? Zhou Ming twisted his head and said, Sorry, I'll take this snake. 
The crowd was confused. It wasn't even time to call for the price and Master Pan sold this snake to Zhou Ming? Isn't that making a monkey out of them? Chapter 62, All Day Long. I can't rule you? Master Pan, you're not doing the right thing. That's right. We came all the way here and this is how you treat us. This low price isn't even mentioned and you're just going to internalize the snake to someone else? That's it. That's it. In the face of the crowd's skepticism, Master Pan's face did not change, still looking like a smiling face. That is indeed a poor consideration on my part. Master Pan slowly slowly pulled his legs apart, revealing his feet underneath the legs of his tang suit pants. But please also understand me. Little friend Zhou Ming has saved my life. Today is the day he wants me to have this store. I can also give it away with my hands. The crowd was alarmed. Master Pan's store is the only one on this street. Not a position, but a unique one in the hearts of reptilians throughout the green state. Being in the reptile business is well stocked not to mention that the main thing is generous pricing. Several people are happy to buy from him. You can sell millions of dollars a month just selling betting. Not to mention everything else. But when they looked down, they saw Master Pan's left leg. The muscles in his calves were pitted and sunken. Obviously not the normal full look. Could this be a snake bite? If it can bite Master Pan, who has been playing with snakes for decades, then this snake must be unusual. If it wasn't for little friend Zhou Ming who happened to save my life, I probably wouldn't be standing here either. Master Pan arched his hand and apologized to everyone. It's hard for you all to make this trip. This new batch of reptiles that arrived in my store today, all of them are on sale for 70% off. 70% off. The crowd perked up. This albino king cobra is a six-figure hit. And if there's a scramble for seven or eight figures, you're going to get it. They're just here to have a good time and open their eyes. I didn't realize that Master Pan would be so generous. And the reptiles in the store were directly committed to a 70% discount. This one could save a lot of money. One or two of them raised their eyebrows. Seeing this, Master Pan immediately waved at the two clerks. The king cobra that was on display for just over half an hour was transported back into the backyard. Let's talk in the back. Master Pan whispered at Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming nodded. Su Ruotong was torn again and again. Her heart crossed and she carefully followed behind Zhou Ming and went in as well. She didn't dare to raise her eyes carelessly at all, for fear of being scared out of her wits by this room full of snakes. Backyard. Zhou Ming lifted the black cloth on the feeder, exposing the king cobra inside. Mom, it's morning? Hey, that hand ran a little too fast just now. I'm not done yet. Next time just bite off and stay with me. He he he. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm so worried about snakes. Still have to find a chance to stick to this human side. This way, we can rub up against him every day. And he'll be so happy. Not to be outdone. This King Cobra is one of the smartest snakes around and knows about sustainability. Zhou Ming couldn't help but think. Completely unfazed by its comment about biting off his hand. This King Cobra. Is it really not an albino? As soon as he entered the backyard, Master Pan couldn't wait to ask Zhou Ming. No, Zhou Ming affirmed. Lifting his hand, he pulled the King Cobra from the feeding tank. Look here. The King Cobra was suddenly pinched, subconsciously erecting its front body. The sides of the skin folds on its neck swelled, and its mouth opened, revealing fangs that glowed with a cold light. Yakuza, who pinched me up? Bite you to death. Master Pan, I see. I see what I see. I think I'd better hide away. Master Pan had never seen a young man play with snakes like Zhou Ming. So bold and reckless. It was as if the viper in his hand was not a poisonous snake, but a kitten that had been left to be rubbed by a human. Still want to bite? Zhou Ming raised an eyebrow and slowly moved his fingers over the snake. The movement was slow. The fingers and belly were secretly strong. Grandmas. Ah ha ha ha. What's going on? It's even better than just now. Ah. I feel like I'm seeing my old man's ancestors. So many fireworks in front of me. Ah. The King Cobra's erect snake body softened as far as the eye could see. It tried to resist a bit at first. Only before its head could branch out. Zhou Ming's other hand touched it. The King Cobra's white eyes rolled over. The scarlet snake's letter in its mouth spat halfway out. And its tail hanging down in the feeder looked like a puppy that had been smoothed out. Wagging from side to side. Ah. Ah. How could this happen? Old me. Old me is a snake. Ow oh, oh, old man to resist old man to fight. Old man. Ah ha cool, cool. The snake's head was softly pinched by Zhou Ming, who fiddled with its moistened, soft snake's letter. Tongue, tongue, so strange. The snake letters spat out by the king cobra couldn't help but chase after Zhou Ming's fingers, leaving their own wet traces on his slender fingers. The scarlet snake's letter wrapped between Zhou Ming, wrapping tightly, 
Zhou Ming's fingers moved slightly, and the snake's letter quickly followed and entwined again. Scarlet tongues and long fingers, one chasing and the other fleeing. It may appear that he is chasing his prey, but in fact the hunter has been mastered and sunk by the prey. Watch this scene. Su Ruotong's throat shrugged up and down, and a few moments of thirst actually arose in her mouth. She stared intently at Zhou Ming's fingertips and suddenly realized that this man, good will, upon seeing Zhou Ming's indifferent and cold face, it was nothing like the fiery conditioning maneuvers of his men. Su Ruotong licked the corner of her lips. What to do? This makes Zhou Ming even more attractive. Su Ruotong was very eager to transform into the King Cobra in Zhou Ming's hand right now, just to chase after him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Is this the taste of mankind? Mom, your daughter's made a name for herself. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. King Cobra got comfortable, lying on Zhou Ming's body and letting him manipulate himself. Really good ow. Little old brother's technique is really great. Old man intracranial orgasms are awesome. Hey, 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 hey. Awesome awesome. The king cobra doubled over in pleasure and obediently lay on Zhou Ming's body, like a salted fish that had finished having fun. It was at Zhou Ming's mercy, with only its twitching body left to give Zhou Ming a real response. Zhou Ming ruffled its snake's letter. Small sample. You've been acting like an old man all day. Can't I rule you? Asterisk 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 asterisk. In vain, Master Pan boasted that he had been immersed in reptiles for decades, but he had never seen such a scene. If this was released, it would be at least an 18 band. Ahem. Master Pan's old face flushed, then asked, this, where to look? Zhou Ming wrapped the soft king cobra in his hand, like a ball of twine, and broke open the king cobra's head which could be puffed up. Master Pan, do you see that this place is obviously not quite the same as the others? This is, seeing Zhou Ming treating the king cobra so casually, Master Pan actually subconsciously relaxed his guard and wanted to reach out and stroke the king cobra's folds. Hiss, the king cobra sensed a different human aura trying to strike at him and immediately bared his own fangs. Chapter 63 I know all about it. Humans like to get a little excited. What are you doing? You really think I'm not powerful? Treating me like a sick snake. Ow you you you. Zhou Ming simply reached out and pinched its bared muzzle. You touch. King Cobra? I don't want to lose face? You old thing if you dare to defile my white body. I will never let go of you in this life. Ow ah. Uh. Master Pan. He touches or he doesn't. Of course it is. Touch it. Who gets direct empty handed access to a King Cobra these days? What a way to get into battle with your bare hands. The touch, the feeling in his heart, was nothing like what he had felt only when he was fully armed. Master Pan held out his hand. Start with the snake's head, while slowly moving to its folds. Sure enough, the hands were stained with stars of a different kind. Pan frowned and rubbed hard against its body, rubbing his thumb and forefinger against his fingertips for a moment before placing them under the tip of his nose and sniffing carefully. This is, like, paint? It's not an albino snake at all. Rather, it was artificially applied later. This pigment is very light and thin, fits seamlessly into the snake scales, and is not afraid of water. Another one of the most venomous king cobras, who has nothing better to do than scrub around with a steel wool ball. Even playing with it in your hand is a matter of developing a relationship, as much as a year or as little as six months. As long as the white paint stays on, no one will even notice. Yes, I guess it should be a special synthesized one, waterproof and not easy to fall off. If it was an ordinary pigment, it would have been rubbed off by the snake long ago. The king cobra's folds only stretch out when it attacks, making it more difficult to color. And the other guy got smart and sprayed more. But I didn't realize that it was because of this that the evidence was left behind. Master Pan's face was sullen and dark as if it could drip ink, spending the whole day hunting geese and ending up getting pecked by them. Zhou Ming asked, Is there alcohol here? Master Pan waved his hand, and immediately someone handed Zhou Ming alcohol. And along with it and the alcohol there was also soft gauze. Zhou Ming took the gauze and poured alcohol on it. Hiss. Smelling alcohol? The king cobra gulps its snakes. Vomit. Damn. What's that messed up smell? It's disgusting. I want to throw up. The king cobra didn't like the smell and wriggled its body backing away quickly. However, it was originally wrapped around Zhou Ming's arm, and there was no way to retreat. It could only whimper and climb up towards Zhou Ming's shoulder. The long body wrapped around Zhou Ming's neck, and the snake's head wriggled to get down on Zhou Ming's head. There's still a smell but it's kinda ow. 
I'm the one with the tail. King Cobra shrieked, his soft lowly voice breaking in terror. Zhou Ming tugged on its tail and carefully scrubbed it with alcohol-soaked gauze. Ouch, 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 ouch. I can't believe you're rubbing my tail with something so disgusting. Ah. The King Cobra opened its mouth wide and screamed as it crumbled in its heart. In the eyes of Su Ruadong and Master Pan, the King Cobra erected its body and its sharp, sharp fangs with venom leaned against Zhou Ming's neck. With just a single stroke, the manic King Cobra could pierce Zhou Ming's neck and thrust its venom into his aorta. It would only take a few milligrams for Zhou Ming to close his eyes forever. Zhou Ming. Su Ruatong's eyes widened in horror as she looked at Zhou Ming, who was still rubbing his tail. A heart almost jumped into her throat, blocking her from making a sound. Bang. 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 The heart was beating violently and furiously. Zhou Ming, on the other hand, acted as if he hadn't noticed anything. Seriously rubbing the snake's tail waiting for a snake's tail to be wiped down. It even folded and squeezed, the tips of its fingers rubbing against the tip of the king cobra's tail. Soft hey, relieved, he said, that's the color it was supposed to be. How nice, the scales are full and shiny. Zhou Ming raised his hand and patted the snake head of the king cobra on his shoulder. Be good, or I won't rub it for you. Su Ruatong, what the, you tell a snake to behave? Aren't you going too far? It's a snake, not a man. Can it understand you anymore? You're messing with, ha, huh? Su Ruatong watched as the King Cobra, after being patted on the head by Zhou Ming, actually did obediently put away its fangs, even the swollen head, shrunk, is this, is this not biting, hey, I didn't expect you humans to have something, the old man's tail instantly doesn't sting and scratch no more, you humans, you're really something ow, not only will you serve your old man, but your old man's problems can be solved, hey, hey, that's nice, the King Cobra looked at Zhou Ming in shock, his heart liking him even more. Quickly, 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 get the rest of them too. I've got old thorns on my body. Master, rub it carefully. Zhou Ming, is this treating him like a bath master? Seeing Zhou Ming's lack of movement, the king cobra flicked its tail and patted the back of his hand as if urging him on. The words spat out in a sweet and cloying lowly voice were extremely impactful. What are you doing? Man, you want me to get down on my knees and beg you? I can't do that with my old northeast king cobra, or else I'll give my body to you. You'll serve me three meals a day in the whole Davy field. You've played them all over anyway, and you're letting old men play with you. I shouldn't mind if I look at you like this. If you don't mind, I don't mind now. Hey, I know all about it. You humans like to have a good time. I'm the same. Eh he he he. It's not. What's the point of hanging out with him? You're a pervert. I'm not. And exciting. Even if he pursues excitement, he doesn't ing pursue it with you snake. You snakes, whether from northeast or north China are all so sick. Ha! Huh? Zhou Ming really wanted to throw the King Cobra down. As if sensing Zhou Ming's resistance throughout his body, the King Cobra's inner voice changed again. What? You don't like it? You're not happy now that you've been touched by that Garda? It's okay. I'm generous enough to bring two more to play with you. Do you like the long ones or the fat ones? I'll introduce you to the old man. I'm sure you'll get a kick out of it. I'm so happy that I rolled my eyes and went out of my body. He 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 he. Zhou Ming. Thank you. The long, fat ones don't like it. It would be better if you weren't so sick. Chapter 64, The King Cobra That Reveals Its True Colors. Yeah no. Zhou Ming was speechless. Resignedly, he pulled the snake off his body and proceeded to wipe the King Cobra's body with the gauze in his hand. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He 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 he. Zhou Ming. The face is expressionless. Even tried to gag the King Cobra. People are shriveling up. Can you do something serious with a soft and cute Lolita voice? This perverted laughter. It's unbearable. Most of the coating on the King Cobra's body was wiped clean by Zhou Ming. He could hear the King Cobra's heart and naturally understood exactly where on its body the thorns were scratching. Taking the gauze in his hand. He wiped it carefully. Oh, oh, yeah, this is it. Up and down, left and right, front and back. Do it again. Oi, cool. Zhou Ming looked at the place it had told him to wipe. ING pervert. Get the out of here. Get some water. Zhou Ming said expressionlessly. A long silence. No one's talking. Where are the people? They've all run away, haven't they? Zhou Ming turned his head suspiciously. One, two. All stared with wide eyes and open mouths. 
shot to Zhou Ming's arrogant coiled snake action, and even, uh, touching that place, especially the two young clerks, their eyes were glaring out, pointing their fingers at Zhou Ming shivering, his mouth was open and shut, and he couldn't speak at all, Zhou Ming frowned and said to Master Pan, Master Pan, these two sales clerks of yours still need to develop their guts, how is this going to introduce them to customers in the future? When Master Pan heard Zhou Ming say this, he was first stunned, and then he huffed and puffed. Do you think anyone is like you and just goes right to the plate? Even if you dish it out, you let it go up your neck on its own? Look at those fangs, they're just a centimeter away. What an old man eating arsenic, living beyond his means, and now you're actually backtracking and calling his clerk a coward? Ugh, you wouldn't have enough guts to be this exciting. Tisk. Zhou Ming didn't take the blame for this and directly invited. Want to join? He sent the snake's fat body forward. The two clerks waved their hands frantically, head shaking like a rattle. No, 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 they still want to live a few more years. Look, so well behaved that you don't dare to get on it. Zhou Ming bristled and shrugged his shoulders, acting as if this was not his problem. Master Pan, hey, you kid, really? Master Pan was so helpless that he couldn't speak, so he simply ordered. Go get a basin of water and soak the king cobra's body. Alcohol evaporates quickly, taking moisture away from the surface of the snake's body, to hurry up and get wet and moist. Yes, the two clerks nodded and scrambled to fetch water. Mom, yeah, hurry up and run, otherwise what if they really get their hands on it? Fear, Zhou Ming looked at them as they ran as fast as they could. Tisk, Master Pan, so angry, it's so tempting to hit someone, by the time the water basin was delivered. Zhou Ming had also wiped all the coatings off the King Cobra. Without the white coating, the King Cobra reveals its true colors. Adult King Cobras have a and shaped yellowish-white stripe on the back of their necks. With no spectacle-like spots, there are dozens of narrow, white, black-bordered horizontal stripes on the back of the trunk and tail. The mandibles are a beautiful earthy yellow, the ventral surface of the body is grayish-brown with black linear markings. Juvenile snakes differ from adults in markings, mainly yellowish-white horizontal stripes on the back of the muzzle and in front of the eyes and a black body with 35 or more light yellow or white horizontal stripes. Zhou Ming nodded at the white horizontal stripes on the King Cobra's body, and it was clear that this little one meter long fellow had not yet reached adulthood. The white horizontal stripes are beautiful and regular. No wonder it was selected to act as an albino species. If it were a snake of any other color, the thin coating of white pigment wouldn't cover the original color of its body. That's the same one. Letting people drill. Put. The King Cobra was thrown into the large water basin by Zhou Ming. What the hell? The gruff lowly voice came from the water basin. Inexplicably with a wild sweetness, King Cobra has a mouthful of big ballast flavor. You want to murder me? I'm a girl at least. Can't you be a little more gentle? It's so rude to treat a girl. The water is so comfortable. The strange smell of my body instantly disappeared. And the dryness of my body is gone. Wahahaha. <laughs> it's so cozy and comfortable. Master. Rub it again. Rub what? You really think he's a scrubber? Zhou Ming rolled up his sleeves and directly pinched the entire snake like a spaghetti noodle, head and tail, and washed it in the water. Oops, oops, rude, too rude. No, 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 don't ah. Zhou Ming's hands lurched and his body shook. Mom, yeah, can you imagine yourself opening the pea site with everything just right? Only to have the video come out sounding like a northeastern ballast. Shriveled, really shriveled up. Zhou Ming felt like he could no longer look straight at you know what. Zhou Ming's eyes closed and heroically fished the King Cobra out of the water basin by washing it clean. Then you can just pop in the onion, ginger and garlic iron skillet. High-end ingredients often require only the most rustic cooking. The crowd looked at the hand and somehow felt like they were in a large cooking scene. Baird. In unison, they backed up their mouths. Mom, what's going on? What are you doing? King Cobra winced, keenly aware of the wrong. Snake me ah, how do I feel locked hey? Finished calf. I heard that people over there in Guangnan province eat everything. These people would not be Guangnan people, right? I'm not going to be able to make it here. If we really fought, I wouldn't necessarily lose. But with so many humans and tools, I'm sure I'd be driven to extinction. Mom, 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 mom. You humans are so wicked. Wicked human Chao Ming? You're a snake. Isn't it bad for you to have so much brain damage? The King Cobra goatedly wrapped its body tightly around Zhou Ming. I'm appointing you as my shoveler. Remember to protect me from being chewed on Ao. Protect me. Protect me. Lao Ziya is still a baby Ao. Must be protected to understand. Zhou Ming pulled on the King Cobra's body with an expressionless face. 
the king cobra struggled to wrap itself around Zhou Ming's arm, saying nothing and refusing to leave. Mom, yeah, shoveler, don't you dare leave me alone. Ow, I don't want to get stewed. Zhou Ming couldn't bear it and raised his hand to snap at its snake head. I'm getting strangled by you. Spread out. Get off. Snap two more times. Do you know how good you are at winding? Although it was only his arm, the tips of Zhou Ming's fingers were already starting to turn white. If he doesn't let go, he'll have to scrap this arm. Chapter 65, Able to Bend and Bend. You're the one I want to be with. Asterisk 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 asterisk. The two shopkeepers next to him watched Zhou Ming's actions and drew a breath of cold air. Nima. That's not something that can be solved with one arm if you're angry. Master Pan's face suddenly changed when he noticed Zhou Ming's whitened fingers. This snake, was it preparing to use Zhou Ming as a reserve food? I can't believe they released such a powerful winding strength. If Zhou Ming could know what was going on in Master Pan's mind, he would have immediately retorted. Where was he being used as a reserve food? It was obvious that this snake was afraid of being roasted and eaten by the crowd. Let's just say, it's a beautiful misunderstanding what a fart. Spread it out. Zhou Ming felt that his arm was being drastically deprived of oxygen. You tigerish king cobra, if you don't spread out, I'll lose my arm. Ouch. Well, 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 master, master. The king cobra yelled with great insight. The snake's head that was hit didn't hurt much, and it even rubbed itself pleasingly against the palm of Zhou Ming's hand that was slapped down. If you hold your thigh well, you'll live a good life. I'll lower my head now, in exchange for not having a good time. Ow, that smells good. The king cobra that figured everything out was a little more tolerant of Zhou Ming's action of patting himself on the back. After all, he's the one who shoveled the poop. Oops, what's wrong with touching his head a couple of times? Right, listen to the transformation of the king cobra's heart. You're really, really good at flexing ha. Huh? Zhou Ming moved his arm, and sure enough, it wasn't as tightly wound as it had been earlier. He raised his hand, looked at the pliers held in the hands of Master Pan several people. The northeastern accent blurted out. What are you guys doing here? Noticing the change in his accent, Zhou Ming smoothed out his tongue and re-asked. Bah, what are you guys doing with tools? Master Pan looked at the tools in his hand and then at the well-behaved King Cobra. Would you believe me when I say I'm here to save you? Cobra was lying on Zhou Ming's shoulder, hiding behind the back of his head, facing the tools in the hands of Master Pan several people, acting as if he still had some feelings of aggression. However, Zhou Ming's ears were filled with its smug laughter. Whoa ha 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 ha, I knew it. To be a snake is to be able to bend and stretch. Wah ha 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 ha. Want to stew old me? Bah. Oh ho 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 ho. The king cobra directly treated Zhou Ming as a tree branch and stayed meekly on his body. So noisy. Zhou Ming frowned. Lifting his hand. He picked up the king cobra. Suddenly the vacated king cobra curled its tail. The head hung obediently in the air. What do you want? Head. Next. It a whole snake was then released into the original feeder. Without Zhou Ming's reassuring scent on the snake. It was back to the cold feeder. The king cobra was unwilling to do so, stretching out its own head in an attempt to try and climb out and hang on to Zhou Ming's body again. What are you doing? I've already allowed you to take me with you. Why did you put me back? Click. The lid of the feeder was fastened tightly, seeing their path blocked. Immediately, king cobra changed another face, and in a sweet, lowly voice, cursed, bah, scum, scum who won't take responsibility after playing. Thanks to you. I still want to play that with you two snakes he 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 he. The lowly voice gradually became demented, causing Zhou Ming's scalp to go a little numb when he heard it. Zhou Ming? Did you think I couldn't hear you? Is that something that can be said? I'll start you three times so you'll learn not to color the humans. Zhou Ming. Seeing Zhou Ming put the snake in his hand into the feeding box, Su Ruotong's hanging heart finally fell. She approached Zhou Ming with quick steps, pointing at the king cobra that had changed into a different appearance. This snake? I don't think it's an albino species. Is it? No. Zhou Ming looked at the king cobra with some regret. The albino king cobra, a mutated species he had never seen in his last life. It's just a shame that it's actually an artificially albino snake. Master Pan, where did you buy this snake from? This kind of paint looks quite advanced. It shouldn't be cheap. And all of them were able to get the easily endangered protected king cobra. So they should be in this circle as well. The other party is really something if they can think of this. If he hadn't happened to come over and take a look. It's still a toss-up as to whether or not this king cobra would have been discovered. At least, no one would even think of coloring a snake until that coat of paint came off. The other side is really a big smart. Zhou Ming couldn't help but sigh. Can't you be smart? Master Pan, who has been playing with snakes for decades, was fooled, concerned that there is still an outsider Su Ruotong. Master Pan's face sullen, just simply said, don't you worry about it, just get your arena properly, I'll settle this matter properly. 
I'd like to see if the other party dares to treat me like a little cutie. Can you accept the consequences of being caught fooling me? Master Pan grunted coldly. The cane in his hand fell heavily to the ground. There was a dramatic bang. The two clerks shrunk their heads, knowing that Master Pan was really angry. Looks like that guy. He's going to have to fend for himself. Say it. Master Pan turned to Zhou Ming again and said gratefully, Zhou Ming, you are truly my lucky star. You saved my life before, and you've saved my reputation today. I'm so overwhelmed. Master Pan, you're being polite to me. Zhou Ming didn't feel like he had done anything. It was just a show of hands. Master Pan looked at his lack of urgency and laughed openly. You kid, you're not very young, but you've got a heavy temper. All of your spending on this street today is on my head. Upon hearing this, Zhou Ming immediately nodded his head. Then I'll be polite. Master Pan? Suddenly you're not polite, are you? Zhou Ming smiled slightly. Joke. It's not like he works for nothing. What's the point of being reserved when someone's paying for the snake? That's a lot more tangible than a verbal thank you. That's a buy. Zhou Ming said that he really couldn't resist. Master Pan laughed. He liked Zhou Ming's nature. On the contrary, it is those other people who are full of false pleasing that Master Pan dislikes more. One of the reasons why Master Pan likes reptiles is because reptiles don't lie like humans do, for them. Like is like and dislike is dislike, and they don't pretend in the slightest. If Zhou Ming knew what was going on in Master Pan's mind, he would have to exclaim, These snakes, obviously, have 800 hard eyes okay? Yes. Master Pan nodded his head in response. Go ahead and choose as much as you like and buy as much as you like. Just give my name. And this one. Zhou Ming itched and rubbed his hands together. This was a king cobra. If Master Pan sends it back, it will be hard for this snake to escape death. Even if they don't die, they won't end up much better. It's definitely going to be resold. Thinking that he might not be able to hear the big ballast-flavored lowly voice in the future. Zhou Ming actually missed it a little bit? What's going on? It's a day in the life. Bury the snake. The King Cobra's voice was suddenly ringing in his ears. Zhou Ming. Roll roll roll. Don't think about it at all. Chapter 66 Danger. Pig-nosed snake. I'm such a big smartass. How about you take it back as my gift to you for the opening of the arena? Master Pan said irrefutably. Bewildered by the weeks tweeting underneath. Zhou Ming said haughtily. Then I'm welcome. It's not like you're being polite. Master Pan smiled and nodded. Let Zhou Ming leave an address and send someone to box and pack the King Cobra and send it. You have this address. Is there a problem? Zhou Ming looked at the Li Shui Villa written on his address. It's nothing. It's just that the store also delivered goods to Mr. Shin of the Stellar Group once before. And it happened to be this villa area of yours as well. Oh, that's right. I'm living on her side now. Zhou Ming spoke slowly and methodically, completely failing to see Su Ruatan's shocked eyes. Su Ruatong? So what is she doing here? Making a fool of yourself? You guys live together? Master Pan looked at Zhou Ming in front of him and couldn't help but be surprised. Mr. Shin of the Stellar Group was the one who was going to take over everything in the Stellar Group in the future. She's related to Chao Ming? Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming nodded. The arena is under renovation. I'm borrowing it for now. So it is. Su Ruatong murmured, completely relieved. She's not out yet. Master Pan's eyes flickered slightly as he looked at Zhou Ming and Su Ruotong in front of him. A hint of a smile swept across his eyes. Then I'll send you to this address. Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming handed over the address. Holy. Zhou Ming you really bought that albino snake? Fatty shrieks of alarm carried from the doorway into the backyard. His chubby running body like a small mountain of speed moving at a breakneck pace. Chao Ming. Brother Ming. Give me a look. This is an albino snake. Is it a mutant species? Ah. Uh -huh. My fat brother can see an albino king cobra too. I'm excited. Zhou Ming. Then you're afraid you'll be excited for nothing. Ha. Huh? The smile on Fatty's face stiffened. What do you mean? You didn't buy the albino snake? It's been rumored all over the place outside that you're the one who bought it. Don't you dare try to lie to fat brother. No. It's that this snake isn't an albino snake at all. Su Ruatong explained from the side. It's just an ordinary king cobra. Ha dash. Fatty couldn't believe it. It's true. Zhou Ming hammered away. Splat. It was as if Fatty heard the sound of a broken heart. He was filled with grief and anger, clenching his fists and cursing. Damn. Which grandson was it that said he had an albino snake here? Aha. Uh -huh. I'll get him. Master Pan. The face stared at him without expression. I'm sorry. It's this grandson of mine. Fatty was shocked. Ah, this. Fatty laughed dryly. Ah ha 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 ha. I'm sleepwalking. Ha ha. I can't believe he called Master Pan a grandson. So will he be blackballed by the reptile street? Ah oh oh oh. Fatty was in tears, crying, walk out of the backyard to the front store front. Fatty still hadn't come back to his senses. The whole thing was like a ghost. Fat brother me. Ah, I'm afraid I won't be able to buy any good goods in the future oh. 
Neru ah. From now on fatty will just have to dish out a plate of your little snake snake ow. The veins on Zhou Ming's temples popped a few times. Get lost. This latter sentence is what you really think, isn't it? But, Su Ruadong couldn't help but smile as she watched Zhou Ming eat and hold back. When Fatty saw that smile, he immediately felt that a thousand pear blossoms bloomed, just like a river of spring water flowing east. Fatty had a demented smile on his face. Boss lady, so beautiful. Hey, 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 Zhou Ming, shame on you. It's so humiliating. Fatty, hey, 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 hey. What should he call his child with the boss's wife? Which kindergarten are you going to? Hey, what sweet happiness. What's this? Su Ruatong suddenly saw an aquascape box sitting on the table behind her, containing a small white and orange colored snake with spots. Unlike other snakes, this one had a chubby body, like a little pig. The snake's head is different. The nose is turned upwards. At this moment was carefully testing the water basin in front of him with his tongue, and after doing so, began to take small sips of water, the muscles of his face moving one by one, and his two small, dark, green bean-like eyes observing his surroundings warily. So cute. Su Ruatong stared at it. It's a pig-nosed snake. Zhou Ming only swept a glance. To judge the other species, pig-nosed snake body length is generally not more than 60 centimeters. Born timid and cowardly character is no threat to human beings. The body type is thicker than other snakes in general. Although poisonous, but because of the poisonous fangs hidden in the mouth inside, so there is no need to be afraid of being bitten. Even if you get bitten, you don't have to be afraid. It has very low toxin. A lot of newbies to snake keeping give preference to this one. In his previous life, Zhou Ming had once seen the pig-nosed snake produced by the genetic combination of the Super Arctic and Lucy's pig-nosed snake on social media software. And the little guy was pink all over, with his lip scales turning translucent. Random patches of white have also been created around the face and neck. And it's just one of the cool external manifestations of the Super Arctic's union with Lucy. Such a pink diamond level circle climbing artifact made Zhou Ming salivate. Zhou Ming walked over and knocked on the glass of the scenic box. The glass made a thumping sound. The pig-nosed snake that was drinking water paused in its movements. Small, dark eyes watched their surroundings warily. The, hiss, what's that noise? A clear and soft voice followed. There is danger there is danger. Dodge dodge dodge. Pig snout snake water also do not drink. Towards the upward kiss end began to whimper and whimper arching the soil under the body. Not a moment's effort to arch out a small pit. The hog-nosed snake thrusts its head into the pit. I can't see me. I can't see me. I can't see me. Ah. I'm such a big smart ass. I just hit it. Zhou Ming? That's good language. You've got it all figured out with the cover-up. You're still out there with that long body. I just couldn't let the water out if I wanted to. Is it? Hiding? Su Ruadong looked at the pig snout snake's movements and froze. It was different from all the snakes she had just seen. It actually hid in fear first? The small, chubby body was naked. Its tail curled as if it had been stared at a little cooler. But its head was buried motionless in the midden. Like an ostrich. It's just so stupidly cute. Cute as hell. Yeah. Zhou Ming nodded. Pignose snakes are relatively timid and are very good at playing dead if they feel threatened. Playing dead? It's? Su Ruadong curiously pointed at the pignosed snake in the aquascape box. It's hard to imagine that in the viper that exists like a god of death in most people's minds, there are actually cuties that only play dead to save their lives. Chapter 67 Death Tumble Skill is online. Snake Snake wants to bite his tongue. Aha. Zhou Ming reached out and opened the clasp of the aquascape box. His hand picking up the long iron spoon that fed next to him and feeding it inside, stabbed at the chubby, fat body of the hog-nosed snake. Ouch. Alarm alarm alarm. Danger. Danger. The pig-nosed snake's head finally emerged from the mound. Its ribs were braced at the nape of its neck, and its mouth grinned like a catfish's maw as it gulped its own serpentine letters frantically at the iron spoon, making a very loud hissing sound, as cobras usually do. Ow wa Evil snakes roar. Ow 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 ow. Master is not to be trifled with. If you know what's good for you, walk away from me. Scared the hell out of you. Stare you to death. Stare you to death. Back 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 back. Back off. Watching the pig-nosed snake open its mouth wide and let out a hissing sound. Su Ruatan's heart jumped. The. Or let it go. The toxin is very small. But it still hurts to be bitten. Zhou Ming's hand holding the long spoon was slightly close to the pig-nosed snake. Which was scared backward. Don't worry. It doesn't really open its mouth to bite. It looks bluffing. But in fact, it can only bluff. The movements are whole like a cobra. But there's still a big difference between them. Cobras can hold their upper body upright. Hognosed snakes cannot. Cobras can really bite. Hognosed snakes well. Sheesh. Ah. This thing doesn't scare me. Damn it. My snake roar didn't work. Is it? Is it really necessary to sacrifice my killer? When my killer moves, 
It won't end so well. The hognosed snake stared at the iron spoon in front of him, his heart beating more and more urgently. It's not that easy to end? What Zhou Ming wanted was a bad ending. The long iron spoon struck at the head of the hognosed snake. Ah, ouch. The pig-nosed snake's slightly sobbing heart came out. It stared at the heel iron spoon and hated it in its heart. I don't share you. Ouch. Look at me. Iron head. Giggling, 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 giggling. The hognosed serpent desperately braced its head and slammed its puckered muzzle desperately against the iron spoon. Heave ho. Clank. Clank. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Evil snake crash. Roar. Looking at the unmoving iron spoon, Zhou Ming was very complicated inside. What a silly snake. Zhou Ming's fingers exerted a slight force, and the pig-nosed snake was flicked aside. The pig-nosed snake was confused? What's going on? My body is out of control. Ah, it must be snake's hallucination. Yes, that's it. I'll kill you in a heartbeat. The pig-nosed snake thought arrogantly while desperately banging the iron spoon in front of him. Hey shu hey shu. Zhou Ming let out a TSK sound, and with a slight movement of the spoon, the entire chubby pig-nosed snake flipped right over. Ah hello? The pig-nosed snake reels over. Snap. The iron spoon swept it aside again. Pig-nosed snake. It's over. I can't beat it. Ah. Uh, alert 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 alert. Initiate the ultimate plan. The ultimate plan? Zhou Ming raised his eyebrows slightly. The pig-nosed snake growled and roared. Watch me death roll. Ow oh, vuv 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 Send a big move. Then Zhou Ming saw the white orange colored pig-nosed snake. Flipping its body and twisting it while revealing a belly. At last Jan grinned a big mouth and stuck his tongue out. Lying motionless on the ground. Ah, I'm dead, I'm dead, dead, Zhou Ming, the old man's pants are off, isn't it rude to show me this, what, what's going on here, it's dead, scared to death, hognosed snakes are so timid, Su Ruwadam looked at the pignosed snake that coiled into a ball and flipped its stomach in surprise, playing dead, Zhou Ming poked its body, and the pignosed snake didn't move a muscle, playing dead through to the end, I'm a corpse snake, I'm a corpse snake, I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead, the heartbeat of the hognosed snake kept coming, Ha, huh? a snake that plays dead? How does this look? Su Ruatong feels a bit weird ah. Zhou Ming reached toward the inside of the aquascape box and flipped the belly flopping pig nosed snake over. Ouch, ouch, ouch. What's wrong with you humans? The snake is dead. What do you want? The pig nosed snake realized that it had been turned back by Zhou Ming. And as soon as its hand retracted, the pig nosed snake's body immediately flipped over again. The mouth opened wide and scarlet snake letters spat out. I'm dead. I'm really dead. I'm not lying. Repeat. I'm really dead. The hognose snake's words are true. Su Ruatong? If it wasn't for the fact that she had just rolled over so quickly, Su Ruatong really thought that this pignosed snake had kegged. She opened her mouth and sighed. The Oscars owe it a little gold medal. This acting skill of playing dead. I don't know how many fresh meat can be killed. Simply a born actor. Hognose snakes are good looking and wimpy, so they're great for newbies to take home and raise. Zhou Ming introduced. You can reach in and touch it. The venom of a hognosed snake is equivalent to none for humans. Is it really okay? Su Ruatong's expression was a bit hesitant. Of course. Next to the fat brother grabbed in front of Zhou Ming, said also directly stretched out his hand will feed the cylinder pig no snake fished out, placed in the palm of the middle, handed to the boss's wife in front of, attentive to the most, touch look. Oops, oops, got arrested. I want to move so badly. No, 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 I'm dead. I can't move. I won't move. The hognosed snake sucked in its spit-out tongue and went back to lying down and playing dead. Su Ruatong couldn't help but smile when she saw this scene. This little guy is really dorky. Do you really think that humans didn't notice its little scheme? Su Ruatong raised her hand and gently stroked the pignosed snake. The scales on the hognosed snake were slippery and cold to the touch. This hognosed snake ate so fat that the scales on its body barely covered the flesh on its body. Chubby. Naive little look. So slippery. Su Ruatong carefully touched it. Seeing that the pignosed snake was still pretending to be dead and had no intention of resisting at all, Su Ruatong's movements started to become bigger. Ow human hands. The hognosed snake sensed a layer of warmth covering his body. It wriggled itself uncomfortably, but there was another layer underneath it. Ow ow ow. Don't reach out and defile my pure body. You humans. I'll bite my tongue and kill myself. Baird. The scarlet serpent's letter retracted into its mouth. Hey. Hey. No response? Oh, my teeth are in my throat. I can't bite. Oh, look at the fuss. The pig-nosed snake exploded with a couple of broken words in his mind. His little head exploding as he didn't know what he should do. It's hard. Poof. Zhou Ming finally couldn't help but laugh as he listened to the pig-nosed snake's voice. This little thing. What a pure comedian. 
Chapter 68 People have just given birth to pups. Zhou Ming's movement caused the pig-nosed snake to keenly detect his scent. Ah, the smell of iron spoons. It's more comfortable than these two humans that made the snake. It's decided. It's you. The coiled pig-nosed snake that was playing dead suddenly moved. It was in the palm of Fatty's hand, rapidly gulping scarlet snake letters, distinguishing the smell in the air cave, turning his head to Zhou Ming's position. Ready, take off, punch. The pig-nosed snake was poised to strike. Its body wriggled rapidly, and the entire snake scurried directly out of Fatty's palm. Frogs ha 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 ha. The pig-nosed snake opened its mouth wide. Its long snake letters flung out from the corners of its mouth as it excitedly rushed towards Zhou Ming to reach the other side of the river that thrilled the snake. Snake snake I'm coming ah. Fuck me. The pig-nosed snake was excited when it suddenly noticed that its body was actually falling madly. It watched as the distance between Zhou Ming and itself grew farther and farther and farther as its body fell rapidly. Save the snake ah. The pig-nosed snake tore its heart out and let out the last roar of its own snake life. Snake snake I hey? Just when the pig-nosed snake thought he was going to fall to his death, his body was suddenly cupped by a pair of big hands. The hog-nosed snake's headbutt collided with its own tail, knocking the hog-nosed snake's head against the ground. I and, yen and, and asterisk, asterisk. In the midst of his dizziness, the pig-nosed snake bites his tail with an owl. Ow, I saved myself. Zhou Ming looked at the pig-nosed snake that bit his mouth and turned into a circle. If I let go, you might die. That's not how self-help works ha 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 ha. I'm awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The pig-nosed snake hammed and hawed and laughed. Tisk. Zhou Ming was helpless. It's really, it's so stupid. Zhou Ming balled his balls and handed the pig-nosed snake to Su Ruodong. This one has a good personality. You can keep it. Su Ruodong hastily reached out her hand and cupped the pig-nosed snake in the palm of her merged hand, afraid that it would suddenly break out of jail again. Su Ruotong tightly pressed down on its plump body. Ouch. 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 Why did you send them back again? Death roll. Iron head kung fu. Hey. 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 The hog-nosed serpent banged desperately against the cupped hands, whimpering and panting itself into a whole lot of exhaustion. Su Ruotong felt the little one squirming and tossing in her palm and looked at it carefully. Da. It's bumping my hand. Gently. So soft. Zhou Ming pointed to a certain place on the pig-nosed snake. Touch it. I'll try. Su Ruodong listened to Zhou Ming's command, her fingers gently stroked up, and the pig-nosed snake in the palm of her hand suddenly trembled. Ow! The heart of the hog-nosed snake called out. No! 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 Ow, da ah, the hog-nosed snake wailed twice, its body tensing up for an instant before collapsing softly, its mouth spitting out snake letters in a drunken stupor, not even thinking to retract them, cool, mating with a male snake is not this cool, the serpent's life is complete, and the soul is flying, again, again, the pig-nosed snake arched Su Ruodong's finger, which was good for pleasure, if only I could get that comforting scent touch just now, hey, this time, Su Ruotong clearly felt that the pig-nosed snake's attitude towards herself had become different. First it was an angry, uneven bump, now it's just pleasing. The place that Zhou Ming had just asked her to touch was clearly the switch of this snake. Now she's someone who can hold a pig-nosed snake. 2. Su Ruotong revealed a light-hearted smile, and even the pig-nosed snake in her hand looked a few more points cuter. She was playful, playing with the pig-nosed snake in the palm of her hand. The hog-nosed snake grunted, its snake's letters flung out in a drunken stupor. And Chao Ming, keep a close eye on the aquascape box. This pig-nosed snake, it's having a baby? How come there's no sound from the snake pups? Fancy a hog-nosed snake from the store? As soon as Master Pan finished dealing with the king cobra from the backyard, he came out and saw Zhou Ming gawking at the hog-nosed snake's aquascape box. You couldn't have come at a worse time. I helped someone get an arctic hog-nosed snake before I hurt my leg. It's bottom recessive but still a beautiful color. If you like hog-nosed snakes, I'll go get you a super arctic. This one is the most common hog-nosed snake in its original color. Primary color common hog-nosed snake, arctic hog-nosed snake, and super arctic hog-nosed snake. These three kinds of although they are all hog-nosed snakes, the appearance of the big difference is not too different. But for Zhou Ming and Master Pan, such as playing reptile professionals, there is still a big difference. The yellow pigmentation of the abdomen is reduced in the arctic relative to the original color. The abdominal patches will be skewed towards a creamy white color due to the reduction in yellow pigmentation as well as a partial reduction in the number of abdominal patches. Another notable feature of the Arctic is the noticeable deepening of melanin in the inner ring around its markings. Instead, 
The outer ring was a white layer, especially at the head stripe, unlike other hognosed snakes. If it was a hognosed snake carrying the super arctic gene the head stripe would form the shape of a hook jade, there was one on each side, like small horns, especially beautiful, as if it could give birth to dragon horns in the next second. While some of the north poles are mediocre, the super north poles can really make a difference. A newborn super arctic is dark overall, and over time the super arctic will become whiter and more contrasty on the underside as it molts again and again. The superb contrast, the pure black belly, and the special head stripe, together create the high value of the super arctic, and such a high quality super north pole, Zhou Ming had only seen it online in his last life, this pig-nosed snake, it looks like it's having pups, Zhou Ming rubbed his chin, wanting to know where this pig-nosed snake had laid his eggs, pups, Master Pan was shocked, he had kept this pig-nosed snake for months, when did he not realize that it was actually pregnant, when he did the math, it was about the same time that the arctic hog-nosed snake had been let in, Master Pan's face darkened, this snake is too unreserved. That arctic hog-nosed snake was only put in for two days. And it's getting it on. Not only did they get it on, but they're having babies. It's also the reason he was injured and hospitalized and actually never found out. Wait a minute. Wouldn't that be hatching out by the time we count? Master Pan thought at once. This is bad. To hatch snake eggs, you need to keep track of the temperature and humidity. And you also need to prevent them from getting moldy. Needs careful care. Otherwise, the snake eggs will easily turn into dead eggs and no baby snakes will hatch. Upon hearing this, Zhou Ming immediately stepped up the movements of his men and rattled the padding in the aquascape box. Chapter 69 Delivered Extreme Super Arctic Lucy Pig Nose Snake Because of the two hog-nosed snakes I've had before, this aquascape box is not a small size. Zhou Ming picked at the bedding for a while before finding seven or eight snake eggs in the pit at the bottom of the aquascape box where the branches were fixed. No wonder the bedding changers haven't seen these snake eggs in the last few months. They're actually hidden so well. This pig-nosed snake looks clumsy. But in the area of hiding snake eggs, it is actually quite talented. Let's see if they all hatch. Master Pan couldn't wait to ask. Over there, Fatty and Su Ruatong were also attracted to it. Chi Chi watched the movements in Zhou Ming's hands. Zhou Ming quickly counted. A total of 8 snake eggs. Pig-nosed snakes generally a nest of 7 to 30 eggs, is still in the normal value. Two of them are bad. Zhou Ming took the already deflated snow white snake egg aside. The liquid inside had already flowed clean and was light. Apparently not enough humidity. Zhou Ming's heart tightened slightly as he began to examine the remaining six snake eggs. Zhou Ming held a small flashlight in his hand, which was turned on and aimed at the snow white snake egg. The inside immediately revealed a small pig-nosed snake that had taken shape. As if sensing someone picking himself up, the little pig-nosed snake's tail wiggled slightly inside the eggshell. Examine five snake eggs in one breath. Just as Zhou Ming was about to check the last one. Wait a minute. Zhou Ming withdrew his hand, his gaze fixed on the remaining snake egg, so white that it was almost transparent, a small snow white head visible to the naked eye whimpering and arching upwards, on the surface of the snow white snake egg, a small bump appeared, he immediately said, this one egg is going to break, what, several people immediately gathered around, lying on his back on the aquascape box, his eyes burned into this one remaining snake egg, why isn't it moving, after a while, fatty blinked his sour eyes and asked curiously, wait a little longer, Zhou Ming was likewise a bit strange in his heart. Taking advantage of this opening, Fatty brought over the camera he had placed in the car, and just as soon as he had embraced the camera, he aimed the lens at the snake's egg. The little guy in the snake's egg is squirming again. This time the action was even more drastic than the last. Fatty sparsely said, This little guy, it's not like he's waiting specifically for Fatty to take my camera out, right? No one answered his question. Everyone was staring at the snake eggs in the aquascape box. The hog-nosed snake's muzzle was banging the eggshell on its head. Once, twice, pale yellow, clear liquid flowed out from among the slits. Bang! The tiny hog-nosed snake made a sharp dash for that one gap. A small pink mouth emerged from amongst the snowy white eggshells. It seemed exhausted. The muscles on his mouth were slowly moving, like a violent human gasp. Calling, a soft and tiny voice entered Zhou Ming's ears. Hu hu hu! Zhou Ming watched as it arched the eggshell wider, revealing its soft white body. It's... It's Dash Master Pan's eyes widened in shock as he stared at the little guy with slime still hanging from his body. Super Arctic Lucy. Zhou Ming automatically Pan also did not say the words picked up. Always calm tone at this moment also cannot help but stained a few points of excitement. Super Arctic Lucy. On the small pink body, two eyes, not much bigger than sesame seeds, were dark and glistening as if they were permeated with light. It's the world's most expensive black gemstone that can't match it. Her upper lip scales possess a more pinkish coloration than a pure Lucy would like. Tender colors. 
Asterisk 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 asterisk. Fatty felt his hand shaking as he held the camera. The is this? Isn't he witnessing history? Super Arctic Lucy Hognosed Snake. It's a cross between a lotus playing Arctic and a primary colored common hognosed snake. That would have to make a lot of people jealous of the bigots who specialize in allotments, wouldn't it? What is this? Miscellaneous parents working miracles? There's smoke coming out of the ancestors' graves. Aha! The super arctic Lucy hognosed snake gulped and licked the liquid off its head. Then slowly and wrigglingly, he desperately crawled out of the eggshell. I don't know how long it's been. A palm-sized pure pink pig-nosed snake burrowed out. It had just come out of its eggshell, and it had taken too much of its strength. The little pig-nosed snake balled up and lay still and unmoving on the eggshell. Zhou Ming heard a voice of unknown meaning coming from its heart. Boing boing. Good. Is there a syringe? Zhou Ming raised his head and asked. Yes. Yes. In the drawer. Master Pan said immediately, pointing behind him in the cash register by the shelves. I'll go get it for you while you set up a feed box. Good. Zhou Ming raised his eyes and took down a feeding box from the shelf. Sprayed some water inside to prevent the environment from being too dry and then carefully pinched the small pig-nosed snake that had just crawled out of the eggshell into the feeding box. After waiting another day or two, the baby hog-nosed snake will shed its fetal skin. At this point, the breeding is complete and it's time to feed the baby snakes. Most baby snakes do not feed themselves, and this is the time to resort to hand feeding. The food should preferably be eggs, fed every other week. For that matter, snakes are much better to live with than cats and dogs. Zhou Ming placed the hog-nosed snake with its shell in the feeding box. The snow white paper padding added to the pinkness of the little one's body, as if it were dazzling pink diamonds. Coming, coming. Master Pan gave Zhou Ming the syringe filled with water. Zhou Ming brought the syringe to the front of the little pig nosed snake's mouth and slowly pushed the water inside into the little pig nosed snake's mouth. No. The little pig nosed snake spat out its snake letters and slowly licked the liquid from the syringe. Rice grains of small, large, dark eyes were clear and innocent. The muscles in his face shrugged. Cute in a clueless way. So, so cute. Su Ruadong felt that the adult pig-nosed snake in her hand instantly stopped smelling good. Fizzle. The hog-nosed snake gulped its snake letters as it detected an unusual flavor. There was a little snake related to her that was born. Is this my cub? Hey, why is it this color? It's ugly. Zhou Ming who was getting excited. Okay, snakes are egg hatchers, and the young are born to survive on their own without the need for their mother to watch and feed them. So there's nothing maternal about them either. The hog-nosed snake was right. Though, the Super Arctic Lucy Hognosed Snake, which to their humans is a once-in-a-century sighting, is a complete anomaly among hognosed snakes, is going to be ostracized. Master Pan. Zhou Ming raised his head and looked at him with a smile. What you just said, does it still count? Master Pan's body shook. Yippee looks at the Super Arctic Lucy Hognosed Snake in front of him. Why did he just so easily promise Zhou Ming to take whatever he wanted and buy whatever he wanted? Totally lifting a rock and stoning yourself. Master Pan blackened his face and gritted his teeth. For count, that's really plucking flesh from the tip of his heart. But if it wasn't Cho Ming, this nest of snake eggs has not always been found. This super arctic Lucy hognosed snake egg was crushed at the bottom and may not have broken out of its shell yet. It is possible to die in the belly of an egg. Master Pan couldn't help but sigh. Cho Ming was also related to this little pig-nosed snake. Otherwise it couldn't have happened today. Think about it. Master Pan released a smile. Take away take away. Anyway, you kid is going to take it to the venue exhibition. This one is also considered a town treasure. If and when I go to see it, you boys can't charge me admission. That's for sure. Zhou Ming nodded in response. Reaching out, he tapped his finger on the pig-nosed snake's tiny head. No. The pink and tender little pig snout snake arched upwards and rubbed against Zhou Ming's fingertips in a clinging manner. The little pig-nosed snake, who had regained some of his strength, milked his voice and, Dad. Zhou Ming? Chapter 70 A man is born of a man's mother, and a snake is born of a snake's mother. Papa? Papa, Papa, the little pig-nosed snake's cry was louder than ever, and it's large. Ebony eyes stared earnestly in Zhou Ming's direction. The little head whimpered and rubbed against Zhou Ming's fingertips, the rapidly gulping snake's letter leaving its own flavor on his skin. Daddy, Daddy, I left my own scent on Dad's body so he could remember me. Papa, 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 Zhou Ming's head was full of milky, crisp Daddy sounds, causing his brain to buzz. Bridge bean sacks. Do snakes also have fledgling episodes that look like chickens and ducks breaking out of their shells? How is this possible? No snake researcher has ever published a similar theory, either in a previous life or in this one. Snakes may have feelings, but all the same, they are cruel and indifferent by nature and have no concept of community. Now, this little pig-nosed snake that had just broken out of its shell was actually calling him dad? 
The milky voice sounded like it contained a piece of sweet cotton candy. Follow Zhou Ming's ears to his heart. Dad, why are you ignoring me? The little pig-nosed snake struggled to wriggle itself, whimpering and winding its way towards Zhou Ming's fingers. There is no need to learn. There are certain movements that are etched into their genes and can be mastered at birth. Zhou Ming had never seen such a lively little snake. You can crawl up people's bodies as soon as you're born. Wow, my dad's so big. Dad must be great. The little pig-nosed snake crawled along the fingertips and into the center of Zhou Ming's palm, whimpering and lifting its head upwards to look at Zhou Ming's face. The scarlet snake's letter left wet traces among the palms of his hands. I want dad to remember my flavor. Dad can't forget about me. I'll go. This snake is really gifted. Fatty looked at the small pig-nosed snake that was whimpering and writhing its body. The lens in his hand stretched, recording its movements in the lens without missing a beat. Snakes are sensitive to odors. Not my kind. That flavor sure doesn't like it. But this little pig-nosed snake. Fatty blinked in excitement, his breath catching at the tip of his nose. It's possible that this hog-nosed snake could give the reptile world a different kind of jolt. Master Pan looked at the little pig snout snake pampered. What kind of newborn snake is so kind? Snakes don't have fledgling episodes, and they're being facetious by not just opening their mouths and biting. And arch your hand? Lick your tongue? You might as well dream faster. Master Pan quietly reached out his hand to touch the little one. As a result, before his hand touched it, the little guy's body instantly shrunk into a ball, showing great resistance. Ah, dad. Dad protect me. This flavor I don't like at all. Dad. Dad help. Dad. Oh. Seeing that the little pig-nosed snake's big watery eyes were so aggrieved that it was about to cry out, Zhou Ming's heart moved and his other hand covered the little pig-nosed snake's body. There was a moment of blackness before his eyes. It's so reassuring to be surrounded by your father's scent. Dad is so good to me. Master Pan looked at Zhou Ming Petty Bar not even touching himself, suddenly blowing his beard and eyes. You kid just said the words to forget. He's scared. It's not good for the molting skin if he's frightened. Zhou Ming calmly explained. Obviously. Master Pan also knows this. Just see the little pig snout snake is naturally close to Zhou Ming. His own hand reached out to the whole little guy or shrinking up. That differentiates. Master Pan expressed his displeasure. But, but there is nothing that can be done. People are more angry than people. Master Pan grunted, skimmed his head, and said arrogantly, like who doesn't have one? You just open this one egg. I have several more on my side. If one super arctic Lucy individual can appear, then a second and a third can also appear. I can't tell you. It's still pure white. That's right. He could still have eggs. Enough for five. Five. It's always possible to produce an excellent variety, isn't it? Master Pan stared fiercely at the five eggs left in the feeding box. Baby, this is all his treasure ah. Put it away. And take careful care of these. The clerk nodded gravely and received the few remaining eggs into the middle of the room and the back dedicated to incubation. Humph. A cold grunt came from Su Ruadong's hand. It gulped its snake letters and made a hissing sound mentally disgusted. Is this my cub? So easily scared. What a disgrace to my snakes. What a wimp. One human scares you like this. Cut. Throw the snake. Zhou Ming? You don't think you were good just now, do you? Oscar the king of playing dead? Proud of yourself? Can't we stop laughing at each other? Does it want to see its child? Su Ruatong realized that the pig-nosed snake in the palm of her hand was desperately probing Zhou Ming's side. Couldn't help but ask. Watching the kids? It doesn't exist. It will only smack. Humph, I have my dad to protect me. Among Zhou Ming's closed palms, a defiant little milky voice came from the center of his hand, carrying pride and pride. You don't have a father to protect you. I've got a dad. Pig-nosed snake? That human is not your father. Your father is a little black snake, long gone to enjoy his happiness somewhere. I'm your mom, calling mom. The little pig-nosed snake didn't believe it at all. You're lying. This is my dad. I love my dad's smell. I'm not your father, even if I like it. That's my dad. No. A man is born of a man's mother. A snake is born of a snake's mother. You're a melon child. You don't understand a thing. Right. The little pig-nosed snake nodded and said seriously. So he's my dad. The soft and innocent milky voice of a newborn baby pig-nosed snake. Snakes and snake talent. The pig-nosed snake opened its mouth to explain. Seeing that a good waif is going to be taught bad. Zhou Ming put down the super arctic Lucy pig-nosed snake in his hand. And busily took the ordinary pig-nosed snake and Su Ruadong's hand over to him nudged its head, and warned in a low voice, don't teach the children bad things. The pig-nosed snake was keenly aware of the change in Zhou Ming Zhou Ming's breath. What's going on? It feels, it feels like it's being controlled? No, no, not control. What the hell is going on? This human's body is completely different from the others. Snake loves it. Any little snake would be crazy about him. Zhou Ming, that tight tone of voice doesn't fit you at all. 
in the feeding box on the table. The little pig-nosed snake that had just made a sound was still yelling. You haven't said what snakes and snakes do, have you? Oops, why don't you say anything? There's also a strange odor emanating from your body. Wow, looks like this is my dad, the little pig-nosed snake said with great certainty. The primary color pig-nosed snake huffed and puffed as it wrapped itself tightly around Zhou Ming's body, perfunctorily to the yelling little pig-nosed snake. You'll know when you grow up. Now don't delay my business. May I ask if your proper business is to wrap your body tightly around my arm? What's your tail doing? Is this where the circles are drawn? Chapter 71, It's Horrible. I'll only feel sorry for Gigi. Don't move. Zhou Ming patted the pig-nosed snake that cocked its tail and circled his arm, his skin developing goosebumps from the coldness of the snake's body. The crowd watched Zhou Ming's movements. Fatty let out an ah, his tone swinging obscenely. Neru, your charm is too great, isn't it? Pignose snakes are all falling for you. Hey, 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 hey. I've been in the sex scene for decades, and I've never seen such a proactive and unreserved pignosed snake. What a blessing. Neru. Zhou Ming looked at him expressionlessly. This blessing, for you to want? Yes. Fatty was all over it. If it can be pooped into a human, then I'd want it even more. Fatty he 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 smiled dementedly. Full of. Zhou Ming rolled his eyes at him, falling her eyes on Su Ruotong. Boss lady. Do you want to take this pig-nosed snake? Su Ruadon looks like she loves this pig-nosed snake, but this hog-nosed snake is again the little hog-nosed snake's old mom in the physical sense, though it is said that snakes are not affectionate, but this newborn baby pig-nosed snake seems to be different, Zhou Ming still hopes to put the mother and daughter together to observe and observe, such a situation is a group behavior, or individual behavior, air, Su Ruatong's expression visibly hesitated, she could tell that Zhou Ming wanted to bring this pig-nosed snake back with him, but, Su Ruotong wryly rolled her eyes. I like this pig-nosed snake very much oh. Zhou Ming pursed his lips. The lip line tightened slightly. He's not in the habit of grabbing things from women. This pig-nosed snake was also the one Su Ruotong saw first. Ahem. Su Ruotong lightly coughed twice, tilted her head with a crooked smile and looked at Zhou Ming, spreading her hands and helplessly said, but you also know that I'm a person who's afraid of snakes, so I can play around with them a little bit on your side, but if I bring them home then it's not necessarily the case. And you? Zhou Ming's tense face began to relax. Su Ruotong playfully blinked. I don't want to give up this pig-nosed snake. Why don't I buy it and foster it with you first? Let me come over often to take a look at this little guy. Learn how to raise a pig-nosed snake from you. And then bring it back when I've learned not to be afraid. What do you think? Sure. Zhou Ming had no reason to refuse. Following Su Ruotong's proposal was equivalent to him receiving a pig-nosed snake for nothing. He added. As its owner, you can come over and see it anytime you want. Yes. Su Ruotong revealed a big smile. What she wanted was this sentence from Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming didn't doubt it, and followed by hooking his lips into a smile. Fingers nudged the pig-nosed snake wrapped around his arm. Hey! I'm marching I'm marching I'm marching. The pig-nosed snake whimpered and squirmed on Zhou Ming's body. Without the super arctic Lucy hog-nosed snake, even the females have to be sold along with it. Master Pan is heartbroken. But in this business, as long as the price is listed in the open and someone buys it, it must be sold. Master Pan could only grit his teeth and endure his heartache, selling the female snake to Su Ruotong. This pig-nosed snake wasn't cheap. Su Ruotong swiped the card without blinking and had it sent to the villa where Zhou Ming currently resided. Pay up. Su Ruotong blinked, raised her eyes to Zhou Ming, and deliberately teared up. Zhou Ming, Miss Shin shouldn't mind if I go to the villa, right? I guess not. Zhou Ming looked at the pig-nosed snake that was being boxed and packed by the staff and subconsciously said, I won't be living over there in a couple of months so you can come find me at the zoo anytime. That's good. Su Ruotong spat out her tongue. The contrast was unexpectedly strong as the sensible woman was suddenly cute. I'm still very afraid that Miss Shin will mind, seeing that she seemed to really care. Zhou Ming said, it's okay, I'll make it clear to her. Fatty, who was standing next to him, had been dumbfounded. Mom, yeah, goblins, come out to my fat brother quickly. Who told you to possess my boss's wife? Come out, come out, I know you're in there. Give me back my beautiful, sensual and generous boss's wife. Ouch. Fatty cried out in pain. Fkyo Ming, you're such a big straight man. Su Ruotong finally couldn't hold her tongue and couldn't help herself. How can there be such a straight man? Zhou Ming, what's wrong with that? Su Ruotong lamented. If you were in a relationship, your girlfriend would be jealous to death. I don't have a girlfriend. Zhou Ming said with a flourish. Moreover, both you and Shen Weiwei are my friends so he didn't feel that there was anything wrong with Su Ruotong going to see the big pig-nosed snake. Ah dash. Su Ruotong hooked her lips and signed her name on the bill. Just after signing the order, Su Ruotong received a phone call.
Her face suddenly changed, and she eagerly said goodbye to Zhou Ming and Fatty. I'm sorry, but I have something urgent to take care of, so we'll meet again another time. Look at the boss's wife as she winds up leaving. Fatty smacked his lips. He curled his arm and poked Zhou Ming with his elbow. Brother, brother, your girlfriend won't be mad if you buy me this lollipop, right? Hey, it's delicious. Brother, try a bite. Zhou Ming, what is this? What's with the yin and yang? Fatty took a big deep breath and whined. Brother, let's have one. The same lollipop. Your girlfriend won't be jealous if she finds out. Will she? Brother, you're taking me on a little motorized bike. Your girlfriend won't beat me up if she knows, right? Your girlfriend is so scary. Unlike me, who only hearts Gigi. Zhou Ming was even more confused. You talk properly. Fatty made a face and looked at Zhou Ming with a regretful expression. Look at a nice young man. How come he has no emotional intelligence? Zhou Ming looked at him coldly. Don't think that I don't hear that you are shading. Yeah, actually, I'm just being shady. I don't need to hear it. Fatty hemmed and hawed. Zhou Ming's face was expressionless. Get lost dash. He lifted his leg and left from Master Pan's store. It's a rare day when it's so busy. So grab a stroll. Master Pan went early to guard the snake eggs, being moved to a suitable environment. The snake's egg instead did not move. Master Pan blinked his own dry eyes as the cell phone in his pocket dinged. Exchange group. A message is rapidly swiping the screen. All the snakes I've collected are normal. I'm normal too. Geez, that's too shady, isn't it? I've come across chart-coded snakes before and almost got fooled too. Have they all run to Chinjo now? The general environment is bad now. What has become of the environment in recent years? Even the snakes are fewer. And it's no wonder that there are so many wanting to make a quick buck. One albino snake may be worth thousands of ordinary snakes. Who wouldn't want it? Who can't think of something else? Harming me to be happy for nothing. I thought I could really see an albino king cobra. The tickets are all bought. That's right. I had my pants down and ended up being happy for nothing. Chapter 72, Pants are off. Pants are thrown away. Master Pan looked at the exchange group that was rapidly bouncing with messages. There aren't a lot of group members in here, only about a dozen, but everyone is a seasoned veteran of reptile play. Seeing that Master Pan was actually struck in the eye, he hurriedly examined the snake he had bought. The snakes that can make them go out and purchase them are the best of the snakes and are expensive. The good thing is, no one has stumbled upon the same situation as Master Pan. Master Pan clicked on the voice input, that's good. I reckon this person who sold me the snake should be doing this kind of thing for the first time. Then, it'll be simple to deal with. Master Pan mustn't be soft. You must teach the other party a lesson. That's it. What kind of person? This is hundreds of thousands of dollars. Is it the Runtai Snake Factory? I won't even cooperate with them from my side from now on. Me too. The quality of their snakes itself is not so good. The snakes have fat bodies but small heads. It looks like they are fed too much and exercise too little. How can such a snake be sold? Indeed, their quality has always been mediocre. If it weren't for Master Pan's face, I wouldn't have stocked up over there. Master Pan looked at what they said and explained, the quality of the snake factory was really good before, especially when the boss found the albino snake low price to sell to me. And the old man was also larded to introduce you guys. In the future, you don't have to look at my face. So please, everyone, you're welcome. It's all in the family. That's right, you're welcome. Master Pan continued. Since you've all been so kind to me, I'll open your eyes. He posted a picture of the pink just born super arctic Lucy hognosed snake to the group. The group was quiet for a minute. And then there was a violent swipe. Is this a hognosed snake? Lucy's individual hognosed snake? No no no. Look at the horns on its head. It's Lucy's individual hognosed snake. But it also carries the genes of the super arctic. Really? Is there a video? This is a new breed. How was it bred? Master Pan. Don't send us a pee picture to fool people. That's right, how can Kenna ever have such a pig-nosed snake? The news was so fast that Master Pan could barely read it. He said seriously, it's true, I just finished delivering it. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Asterisk 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 asterisk. The flurry of shock was followed by even more violent news. I'll buy a ticket over there now. Show me. Wait for me. Master Pan has such a good thing, he definitely can't hide it. Aha this will definitely cause the entire reptile world to shake. The little one is just so cute. I can't wait to get horny. The pants I just put on came off again and I threw them right out. Seeing them shocked beyond words, Master Pan laughed dejectedly. He can't be left alone with his shock and heartache. Master Pan said in the group, I'm sorry, you guys are late. The hog-nosed snakes have been taken away. Even the females have been bought. A series of question marks quickly swept through the group. I've thrown my pants away and this is all you've got? This is it? Who bought it? No, Lao Pan. 
you're actually willing to sell it? The female snakes were all bought? All in one pot. Who the hell is it? The hatred of taking my wife is not shared. Watching the crowd in the group give a wail. Master Pan felt that his heart, which was already broken, didn't seem to hurt so much. After all, he was the one who witnessed it. These people can only look at the pictures. Sure enough, it's still a matter of comparison. Master Pan joyfully closed the phone. Let the group members how to wail crazy. Ignore them. In the meantime, Runtai Snake Factory. The 50-acre snake factory not only breeds snakes for meat, but also sells pet snakes. It's a large snake factory. Located at the crossroads of Qingzhou City and two other provinces, it is strategically located and well connected. Hundreds of tons of meat snakes are shipped out every day. Runtai Snake Factory owner Wang Defa beautifully watched the meat snakes were handled packing trucks, next to the pet snakes that were carefully selected and cultivated, hissing and loading into the bread box. These pet snakes can be worth a lot more than regular meat snakes. It was by selling pet snakes that Wang Defa was able to set up such a large-scale factory in his early years. He double-checked the bedding in the pet snakes crates, checking for variety and quantity. Be careful on the road. Spray it often. And if it dies it'll come out of your paycheck. Go on. Go on. Wang Defa scratched on the shipping list and asked the driver to drive the car away. Watching the van hit the road, it faded into a dot in the eye. Wang Defa smiled contentedly. It's all about money. Boss. A staff member ran out of the office. Panting and looking at Wang Defa, Qingzhou City side, Pan Shanha wants to cancel the contract with us, along with several clients who were close to him, they're getting out of their contracts. What? Wang Defa was shocked. Why did you suddenly cancel the contract? What else did you say? Nope. Boss Pan said. What exactly is the reason? Boss you know in your heart. The staff member repeated what Pan Shanha had said on the phone. You know it all? Pan Shanha's words made Wang Defa's heart thump. It's not possible that he found out about that King Cobra. Is it? So soon? It's been less than a week since the snake was shipped. Boss, then boss pans and their goods. Are we still sending them out? The staff pursued. Wang Defa was annoyed and waved his hand. What do you want to send? Didn't you hear people say they don't want it? Such a long time of transportation. Who are you trying to smother? The workers had flinched at his scolding. Like a quail. Seeing him like this, Wang Defa felt obscure and rolled his eyes and. Get out of here. I'm pissed off at the sight of you guys. The workers were busy running away. Looking at the figure of the workers leaving, Wang Defa took out his cell phone, and his gloomy expression was suddenly replaced with another pleasing look. Agu, hey, Master Pan, it's me, Fat. I haven't talked to you in a long time. What about the King Cobra I ran into in the mountains the other day? Not bad, huh? That's good, that's good. Aya, ah, is looking at that King Cobra body Snow White Snow White, also did not check how directly to you sent over. In your side well that on the line. Oh. This time I'm calling here ah, uh, I want to ask Master Pan, how come your order with us is cancelled? Oh, okay, okay. Listening to the blind tone of the phone hanging up, Wang Defa's face was once again gloomy. He cursed, damn, dead old man, if you don't stock up with me, I'll see where you can find such cheap and good quality snakes. I don't like you as a customer, so don't take it, just as well. I'll give it to someone else to go, and sell it for a high price. Ha, huh? in the meantime, Qingzhou City Store. Master Pan threw his cell phone aside and said with a sneer, This person already knew that the one he sold me was a fake albino snake, and he's still trying to find all those reasons. Oh, do you really think I, Master Pan, am old enough to be coaxed at will? In that case, I don't have to be merciful. Wang Defa never expected it. Just a phone call that cost myself so many orders. The days that made him anxious and on fire were all ahead of him. The other side. Zhou Ming and Fatty walked down a street of reptiles. Hundreds of meters of long streets. The buzz is extraordinary. There are still people on the street who bring creepy crawlies to their stalls. The bamboo piper contains coiled snakes. And when someone stops, the vendor immediately opens the lid and introduces the long snakes he has caught. Not just snakes, but brightly colored spiders. Naive guardian lizards. All sorts. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Joe Ming someone sent out the video of you talking about buying an albino king cobra. So many likes. Won't Master Pan explain? Chapter 73, C1. Love one. Favorite white-eyed cute girl. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Joe Ming someone sent out the video of you talking about buying an albino king cobra. So many likes. Won't master pan explain? Fat brother while following Joe Ming to the east to see the west to see. The hand is still not honestly brushing the shake fast with the city. Before a few videos could be played. An account was seen uploading a video of Joe Ming suspecting that it wasn't an albino snake and ended up taking it down with his mouth open. The video's blurb tagged albino and the heat instantly soared. It's obviously just a personal account with not many followers. And the comments section is hilarious beyond words. 
Looking at the video, this one is definitely an albino snake. Why is this person saying it's not an albino snake? Pressing the price? Brother Nero? Brother Nero must have a point in saying that. I believe in Brother Nero. Nero is actually in a reptile street. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I almost went. This albino snake was mentioned in the group yesterday. And so many people in the reptile street are rushing for it today. I'll testify that I'm on reptile street right now. But I'm late and the roads are blocked. Don't come if you haven't come behind yet. Master Pan has already retrieved the albino snake. No. You can still come. It's 30% off at Master Pan's store now. I'll go. Be right there. Be right there. Being on vacation. Wait for me. Asterisk 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 you animals. Save me a cute little shogun. Zhou Ming quickly scanned the phone and handed it back to Fatty. Prancer said. It's not a big deal. It's just an albino snake. And even if it wasn't. It wouldn't affect anything. It doesn't affect anything. But you said in front of all those people that it wasn't an albino snake. It's not good for you. Fatty said with some concern. Zhou Ming is an out and out blogger on the Shakefast software. And those who follow him easily recognize him on the street. Naru, you're the creepy crawly favorite Naru. I finally found you. Speak of the devil. Fatty watched as a cute girl in a JK uniform and white stockings looked at Zhou Ming with a face full of excitement. Ignore his 280 pound behemoth. He must not have eaten enough or been magnificent enough for the girls to notice him. Fat brother noodle wide tears. The wide eyed cute girl's pretty face reddened slightly in excitement. Brother Naru, I've been following you for a long time. I'm your old fan. Thank you for your attention. Zhou Ming said seriously, but my account has only been opened for over a month, counting the time of registration, which is only 53 days, and to say that the old powder is, ah ha 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 hello little sister. Seeing that Zhou Ming's straightforward mouth was about to seriously injure the pretty cute girl, Fatty smiled and inserted himself into the trio's chat, going up and down with a large amount, and said to the wide-eyed cute girl, you're supposed to be a mouthful of big Sydney, right? How did you know? The wide-eyed cute girl looked at Fatty in surprise. With a smug smile, the flesh on his cheeks quivered as he explained, I'm Zhao Yuwei, the operation of climbing pets Ming, you can also call me Fatty. We didn't have many followers when you followed the account. Thank you for your long-time support. Oh, I didn't realize you remembered me. A mouthful of Big Sydney was flattered and looked at Fatty. Now they were also big video owners with millions of followers. They didn't expect to remember what happened before. That's for sure. You're all old fans. I remember every one of the old fans. Fatty emphasized, coaxing the wide-eyed munchkin to smile. Zhou Ming raised his eyebrows and looked at Fatty curiously as he came to his ear and asked in a low voice, Do you really remember so well? Every fan remembers? That's for sure. Fatty rightfully affirmed. And then hemmed and hawed. Well, actually, of the fans who followed our account before, my favorite is still this wide-eyed cute girl. She's got tons of videos on her account and a lot of followers. I'll push it to you. Zhou Ming. He knew it. Next, the wide-eyed munchkin looked at the two men with a desire to speak. Fat brother has always been a man of compassion. Seeing this, he thoughtfully asked, Do you have something to do? If fat brother can help, he will definitely help you. That does have it. The wide-eyed munchkin was a bit embarrassed and said in a rushed manner, I saw you guys on Shakefast Software here on Reptile Street, and I came here specifically to find you guys. I've been feeding a baby spider for six months and had some problems with it, and took it to someone else but couldn't find out what it was so I came over here to try my luck. I know you're busy, and if I'm disturbing you, saying that, she raised her hands unconsciously, put them on her chest and subconsciously clenched her fists. Her big eyes blinked and pursed her lips. I'm really sorry ah. Uh. Fatty's breath hitched. His head went blank, and he blurted out, No trouble, no trouble, it's our job to help our fans out, isn't that right, Zhou Ming? Fatty tugged on Zhou Ming at his side and gave him a wink, How can you be so indifferent when a wide-eyed munchkin is looking at you like that? Are you a ing human being? Zhou Ming, love at first sight, ha, huh? Zhou Ming? When Fatty didn't nod, he tugged on his arm again and gave him a desperate wink. The wide-eyed cute girl gently bit her lip and stared tightly at Zhou Ming with an expectant face deeply afraid of hearing a rejection from his mouth. Seeing the two of them looking at themselves so blearily, Zhou Ming opened his mouth and asked, Did you bring the spiders? Bring it on. The wide-eyed munchkin nodded her head in excitement. Her little face flushed. I always have it with me. She quickly took out a feeding box from her backpack, fearing that if she was a second slow, Zhou Ming would be gone. Ugh, 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 ugh. As soon as the feeder was taken out, Zhou Ming heard a succession of sighs. One sound is longer than the other. A sound more dismal than a sound. Zhou Ming couldn't help but be curious and ask. When exactly did you realize something was wrong? A month ago. I think. The wide-eyed munchkin said an approximate time. She frowned with a distressed expression. 
I don't really remember the exact time. Anyway, it hasn't eaten much in the past month, and it's always eaten its favorite ground turtle worms. A hunger strike? Yes, it's a hunger strike. The wide-eyed budgie sighed, somewhat speechless. You say, it's just a spider. It's not a human. How could it go on a hunger strike? How can any animal resist the instinct to eat? Zhou Ming did not answer her question. Turning to the feeder in his hand, he began to check it out. It was only a small feeder that had been brought out temporarily, but it wasn't poorly laid out and had everything. A big bite of Sydney doesn't look like a veteran reptile player, but he is very careful with it. A red-legged spider. In the feeder, the body is black reflecting red light, and the legs are a rosy red color. Hence, the name of a red-legged spider. Chapter 74. Is this something I can watch without paying for it? Native to the dry deserts of Mexico. This is a classic pet bird catcher spider species. They are suited to live in temperatures of 28 to 30 degrees Celsius and humidity of 65. Non-poisonous. Zhou Ming spoke eloquently, opening the lid of the feeder in the process. The red-legged spiders that had been suddenly invaded in their habitat didn't show any nervousness or agitation. It looked very calmly at Zhou Ming's fingers that reached in. Ugh, ugh, ugh ha, huh. Zhou Ming. It was as if I saw a good morning little old lady. Not quite enough humidity. Maybe it's been backed out too long. Got a squirt bottle with you? Yes. The wide-eyed munchkin immediately pulled out a squirt bottle filled with water and sprayed the inside of the feeder a few times. Looking at the foggy water droplets in front of him, the red-legged spider scrunched its limbs and sighed. Ugh. Things are not what they used to be. Think of the weather when it was like this. Me and you. You and I. You and I were in love. Who knew that it would be our last joy? Ugh. What's so strange about this heartbeat? It always feels as if Auntie Joan of Arc is possessed. Pet spiders are generally not sick. Spiders get sick basically because of environmental factors. Mainly temperature and humidity are not controlled properly. Or the spider may be sick due to an overabundance of bacteria from not cleaning the enclosure for a long period of time. There's nothing wrong with the feeding environment. So that's what's going on with this spider. Could it be a nematode parasite? But a big bite of Sydney all but said this happened a month ago. If it was a nematode parasite, the spider would be long gone. Plus a big bite of Sydney had taken him to the doctor as well. And there wasn't much else wrong with him except that he was losing weight and moving a little slower. That leaves only one reason. Well, can you see what's wrong? A mouthful of large Sydney nervously looked at Zhou Ming. This was her first time having a reptile pet. And she had done a lot of homework and expended a lot of effort online before finally choosing the most docile red-legged spider. There are some thoughts, but the specifics have to be determined. Said. Zhou Ming reached into the feeder and fiddled with the red-legged spider's body. Oops. The red-legged spider mumbled in dissatisfaction at the pain. The body was lazily lying in place without moving, like a salted fish lying flat for slaughter. Alas, that year of apricot blossoms and light rain, you said you were. Oi 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 Zhou Ming reached out and poked it again. This one did make the will-o'-the-wisp spider move its little legs a bit. After two seconds, you remember the little spider on the shores of Daming Lake. Oops. The sadness was once again interrupted. The red-legged spider spared the best of tempers to get angry. It raged. Who is it? Don't you know that I'm missing my lost youth and unfulfilled love right now? It's immoral for you to do this. I condemn you condemn you. Condemns you. Isn't that neutral? Zhou Ming looked with amusement at the red-legged spider that was bouncing straight up in the feeding tank. What's this? What's this? A big bite of Sydney looked at the red-legged spiders bouncing around the feeder with such gusto she hadn't seen in a long, long time. And Zhou Ming just reached in and randomly poked it a few times and it was fine? Zhou Ming poked the fried red-legged spider again. You shouldn't have bought more than just this one red-legged spider before, right? How do you know? A big bite of Sydney surprised me. I did buy two spiders when I started out, just because I was afraid of one spider being alone. But later, I read online that spiders must be kept separate or they will themselves kill each other. So I gave away one of the red-legged spiders and just left one. That's right. Zhou Ming nodded. Red-legged spiders aren't too different from ordinary spiders. Red-legged spiders like to live in groups and are the only kind of spiders that live in groups without eating each other. You were right earlier. They aren't human. They don't go on hunger strike. But they do feel lonely. A mouthful of large Sydney froze as she listened to Zhou Ming's words. For a moment, I didn't know how I should react. All she could do was ask a dumbfounded rhetorical question. Ha! Huh? And I don't know if I heard you. With a sweep of his line of sight. Zhou Ming quickly walked to a stall that also sold red-legged spiders, spoke to the stall owner, and grabbed one of the red-legged spiders on the stall and put it into the feeder. Strange smell. Ah it's the flavor of the same kind. The human who just poked me put it in. The red-legged spider moved its long legs, keen and quick to judge. Not all humans are that bad. The other red-legged spider that was suddenly thrown in was still a bit baffled. 
Damn yeah, where am I? I'll go. Another one of a kind. The smell is still. Kinda nice ah. It moved and carefully ran up to the aboriginal red-legged spider. Somewhat coyly, it thought. It's kinda, kinda good looking. The aboriginal red-legged spider was also playing a little game in his mind. Come in this one. It's quite handsome. Oh looking at the black fluff it seems to be reflective. Oh, I can't even count the long legs. Oh every bit of it grew on my heart bar. Not bad for a male kindred spirit. Two red-legged spiders with a mutual crush on each other get closer and closer together. The aboriginal female red-legged spider snapped open her calissary and danced her stepfeet in a fierce lunge. The male red-legged spider seemed to be startled. And a whole red-legged spider was lifted upwards by the impact. Next, two red-legged spiders clinging to each other. Steps and feet overlap and dance. Male red-legged spiders swing their catching feet and antennae to caress female red-legged spiders. Roar, 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 roar. Baby, don't be afraid. Fall in love? Talk about falling in love for life. Talk about a lifelong love affair with a baby spider. The female red-legged spider was clearly soothed and responded by similarly waving her tentacle limbs. I can't wait to see what happens. Don't pity me because I'm a delicate flower. Baby, come on. I'll give you spider babies. Yeah. They licked the tips of their sensory feet at each other. The tips of the sensory feet were the equivalent of the spider's sensitive spots. And the two red-legged spider's stepping feet swung with increasing frequency. You could tell they were very happy with each other's performance. Holy, a live version? Is this something I can see without shelling out money? Fatty looked incredulously at the two red-legged spiders that were stumbling around. When a red-legged spider asks for a mate, shouldn't the male weave the web first? How can this directly heavenly thunder hooks earthly fire pagoda subdues river demon? And the female red-legged spider, can you put away your worthless looks for a second? The male red-legged spiders had nothing to show for it before you pounced on them. However, that didn't stop Fatty from watching. The live version. Who isn't confused about this? Ha! Huh? A mouthful of large Sydney expression of confusion. She raised spiders in the end is a short time. It is too late to be familiar with their behavior. Looking at the two haphazardly fluttering legs of the spiders. Anxious. What are they doing here? Fighting? Chapter 75 No human has ever played with flowers like you. May fierce. Fighting? That's not oh. Fatty craned his head and said excitedly. They're mating. You'll be able to harvest a whole bunch of baby spiders by then. Ha! Huh? A big bite of Sydney was completely baffled. It's me? No, it's still a baby. Zhou Ming. Never seen such an unreserved kid. Zhou Ming's head was filled with the female red-legged spider's ah -ha, ha cool voice. Oh, your arms are so strong. It's so reassuring. Female spider, you'll be my spider from now on. Oh, I'd love to. Zhou Ming. Oh, the ears are so dirty. So, then my red-legged spider isn't a virgin spider? A big bite of Sydney slowed the disbelief. A bewildered Zhou Ming? Suddenly, she got excited again. So this means adult. So can we get lots and lots of male spiders when we're adults? Zhou Ming's pupils quake. Fatty, who was watching the movie with gusto? Ah this, can you still play like that? But, that's exciting to hear. Hooray! Zhou Ming looked at the excited and thrilled mouthful of large Sydney and was slightly silent before continuing. Theoretically, it's like this. Where's the practicality? A mouthful of large Sydney gushed. Zhou Ming's expression was all over the place. Practically speaking, for the time being, no human has played as flowery as you. A big bite of Sydney blushed and laughed sardonically. Yes, yes, ha, 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 yes. Zhou Ming nodded seriously. Is really not playing so fancy. Who would want to drain a cute little spider? A big bite of Sydney blushed even more. Fatty heatedly smiled and rounded off the conversation. Just because no one did it before doesn't mean they can't do it in the future. Sydney, I'm with you. Let's talk more in the future. Aha! A big bite of Sydney nodded. So, I shouldn't have any problems with this red-legged spider, right? In the feeder, the two red-legged spiders that had been happy afterwards had separated from each other. But the touching limbs of each other were still intertwined in an afterthought of warmth. The battle was much more intense than expected. There would have been no problem. Zhou Ming closed the lid of the feeder. Not only was there no problem, this female red-legged spider was exceptionally lively. Red-legged spiders are non-venomous. This female red-legged spider is one you can always take out and play with. And this male red-legged spider. You haven't paid for this male red-legged spider. The owner of the stall could sort of find it almost interjecting. Your female has defiled my little virgin spider. What do you think about that? A big bite of Sydney immediately pulled out her own purse. How much? I'll take it. The stall owner wasn't greedy. And quoted a number. I'm not punishing you. But the red-legged spiders I have here. You've seen them all. And they have a strong ability to adapt. The quality is excellent. Definitely not a weekly spider. It can be bought. Zhou Ming nodded. 
This price was not much higher than the market price, and it was indeed as the stall owner said in general, the quality was very good, and it was particularly vibrant. Most importantly, looking at the female red-legged spider, it was obvious that she had identified with the other party. Otherwise, they wouldn't be rushing to fall back on it. If you split the two spiders, it would be unattractive instead. Hearing that Zhou Ming had said so, a big bite of Sydney didn't hesitate and paid the money with alacrity. Looking at the two red-legged spiders in the feeder that you and I are happy and lively, a mouthful of big Sydney finally let out a sigh of relief. Bright crystal with worshipful eyes fell on Zhou Ming's body. Nehru, thank you so much. I've been to so many doctors who couldn't find the problem, and you solved it in one shot. It's nothing. You're too kind. Zhou Ming smiled blandly. Seeing the opportunity, Fatty took out his own cell phone and opened the QR code. Sydney, ah, uh, let's add a WeChat. We can communicate directly with anything in the future. A big bite of Sydney nodded and pulled out her own cell phone and scanned Fatty's QR code, smiling coyly. Then we'll have to bother Fatty from now on. What's the point of saying that? Fatty is always at your service. Don't ever feel disturbed. Fatty gleefully looked at his new best friend that had appeared on his cell phone. Oops. There's a wide-eyed Lolita on Fatty's list. 2. Looking at the back of a mouthful of large Sydney cheerfully left. Head high ponytail a twist. Fat brother just he 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 straight smile. Expression swing full of spring. Aya. Minger. Your fat brother me. I'm going to fall in love. Zhou Ming silently moved his steps so as not to get too close and be infected with such a sand sculpture aura. I don't want to get hit. Calling humans a lot. Fear. Bother the snake. Believe it or not. I'll give you a bite. Let me out. I want out. I want to go home. Ah ah. Uh, pervert ah. Uh. Where do you dislike snake snake? You pervert. A street bustling with activity. Not only were there the voices of people asking and shopping prices, but there were also many more noisy heartbeats of reptiles in Zhou Ming's ears. It's just that the timbre of all these sounds is too ordinary. And along with it, their variety and quality are more average. To be able to put a reptile in a zoo reptile house, you definitely can't just bring it back. Okay. The trip out wasn't without its rewards. Thinking of those two pig-nosed snakes made Zhou Ming's heart itch to death. From the end of the street all the way to the street. Some of the people who had come specifically for the albino snake heard the news. And most of them chose to leave. While a small portion of them stayed in Master Pan's reptile pet store trying to be able to take a look. There were fewer people on the streets in the flesh. No favorites? Fatty did collect a primary color corn snake. Juveniles are predominantly black. Adults have an orange-yellow base color with reddish patches, with a black border around the patches. This species of corn snake is docile, non-venomous and very good to keep. Only. Mom yeah. How did I get taken away by a big fat smasher? Bagging a daughter-in-law? I want a slender body, with shining scales, preferably green. If you don't have a daughter-in-law, it's not impossible to give me a few little lovers I don't even mind. This snake and Fatty should have quite a lot in common. Zhou Ming pointed at the wailing corn snake. Nothing fancy, but you bought this to go back for mating? Anon little girl. It's that primary color corn snake I had at the beginning isn't it in heat again? Not knowing what came to his mind, a lewd smile appeared on Fatty's face. Hey, hey, find a strong and handsome young man and satisfy him well. The primary color corn snake in the feeder is still yelling. Hey, don't think I'm overwhelmed. Don't think I'm overwhelmed. I'm a tough guy. I can take a couple of little female snakes. No problem. Wahahaha. <laughs> Ooh. Zhou Ming raised his eyebrows slightly and patted Fatty's shoulder. Then this snake. You picked the right one, right? Fatty hemmed and hawed and touched the feeder. I think so. The primary colored corn snake in the feeder, for some reason, twitched slightly as it curled up. Mom. Yeah. A bad feeling. Zhou Ming strained his smile and asked for help. Fatty looked at Zhou Ming's expression in confusion and scratched his head in uncertainty. The really good stuff won't be put on the big market. It will only flow in a small circle. And the people who can join this small circle are either dignified or financially powerful. No leaks to pick up. Fatty and Zhou Ming could only fight their way back home. In front of the empty road. Where did you park your car? Zhou Ming stared at Fatty with an expressionless face. Fatty blinked and pointed to where he had just gotten out of the car. Here. Zhou Ming. Off. Fat brother noticed Zhou Ming's eyes grunted aggrieved. There are too many people. I'm not in a hurry it. Oh, the old man's big Ben ah, just so dragged away. Serves you right for parking recklessly. Whoa, 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 whoa. obey the law. I, fatty, will be a good law-abiding youth from now on. Fatty held his fat paw and swore in a serious manner. Zhou Ming spat breathlessly. You're not swearing. You're hair for. Hey. Fatty snapped and retracted his claws. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just have someone claim it. With that, he pulled out his cell phone and crackled out a text message. As for now, Zhou Ming stopped a cab. Going? Go! 
Fatty shakes his paw. The two arrived at the villa. The delivery truck from Master Pan's store was already parked at the front door. In the garage, the car that Zhou Ming had sat in the morning was parked firmly inside. Shen Wei Yu, back from work? Chapter 76, it's not your dad. Dad, you're touching me. Touch me. Yo, delivered so soon? Fatty also noticed the parked car in front of the entrance, and was busy steering and stopped next to it. Can't wait to push open the car door and run over. I saw that it was empty. Hey, where is he? Have they been sent in? Go inside. Zhou Ming followed a step slower and led Fatty into the villa. Back. Only as soon as he stepped into the villa, a slightly cool voice came from the living room. Shen Weiyu had already changed into a set of sheepish home clothes. The soles of her feet shuffled with a pair of pink and white rabbit cotton slippers. Her hair was draped over, faintly carrying some moist vapor. As if hearing a knock on the door Rin was coming out of the bathroom, her hair not having had time to blow dry. The fluffy hair looked like Shen Weiyu's face was getting smaller and smaller, and her skin was porcelain white and flawless. The pretty face was expressionless but spoke words of unparalleled familiarity. I had the things you bought sent to the reptile room. Here, they just went in and you came back. Such a familiar attitude made Zhou Ming feel as if he had been living here for a long, long time. But really, it's only been a day since he moved here. Zhou Ming nodded slightly. Trouble you. It's okay. Shen Wei Yu gave a beat and asked immediately afterward. Can I go in later to see what you bought? Sure. Zhou Ming's tone was tinged with strong excitement as he shared. There's a just-born super arctic Lucy individual hog-nosed snake inside. The colors are very beautiful. You'll definitely love it when you see it. Super Arctic and Lucy individual. A genetic combination? Shen Wei Yu froze, her icy expression cracking at his words. Super Arctic is relatively common, but quality Super Arctic genetics are rare. Not to mention Lucy individually. The snowy white body is the hallmark of Lucy's individuality, but not through every growth. Shedding skin. The melanin in the body fades. Albino mutation of snow white. Lucy individual is born all white is born with a genetic problem. This is an even more special and rare condition than the albino mutation. And, even even if it was an albino mutation, it wouldn't necessarily be as snow white and flawless as Lucy's individual condition. Zhou Ming really picked up a treasure. Shen Weiyu's always cold eyes couldn't help but reveal a few moments of surprise even at this moment. Normal hognosed snakes cost a few hundred to a thousand. The bottom of the dominant super arctic will be a little more expensive. If the high dominant super arctic in good condition the price of the super arctic directly soared to tens of thousands of dollars, like the snow white individual Lucy, whose eyes are like ink, that's worth even more, and adding another zero wouldn't be too much. But now, Zhou Ming actually got back a pig-nosed snake that was a combination of super arctic and Lucy's individual genes? This is definitely a rare occurrence both at home and abroad. The arrangement and combination of genes is not at all influenced by human beings. Everything is luck. Even if you get two good quality Lucy hognosed snakes, the baby snakes they produce will be normal run-of-the-mill hognosed snakes. It's like with people. Even if both parents are high color, the child born will not necessarily be a high color child. Genes, which are variables that cannot be controlled. For Zhou Ming to receive this snake was similar to winning the first prize in the lottery. Xin Weiyu was a bit unable to sit still and frequently looked toward the room where the aquascape box was placed. That's a super arctic Lucy hognosed snake. Being able to see it with her own eyes, Shen Weiyu felt that she had no regrets in this life. Seeing Shen Weiyu's small movements of frequently turning her head to stare at the room downstairs, Zhou Ming suddenly realized that Shen Weiyu was not as mature and stable as she appeared to be, hidden under the cotton slippers. The tender toes were slightly curled, like cute baby silkworms. Zhou Ming smiled inexplicably. Fatty curled his elbow and poked Zhou Ming. Why are you suddenly smiling so tight? The thought of a pig snout snake makes me happy. Zhou Ming casually found an excuse to gloss over. Fatty had a face of you see if I believe it or not? Little expression. Coming over to Zhou Ming's ear and biting his ear straight at him. Shun Wei Wei. Such a big group in charge. Actually got off work so early and took a shower as soon as she came back. Isn't she a bit of that to you? Zhou Ming looked sideways. Bad eyes. Go out and turn left to the eye center. In Zhou Ming's opinion, Shun Wei Yu had only taken care of him a little more because of the gift of saving his life. TCH, don't you believe it yet? Fatty bristled. Fatty I have a keen radar for these. Meh, Zhou Ming huh, see one and like one radar? It's okay. Two staff members wearing name tags on their chests walked out of the reptile room. One of them pulled out a receipt slip. Do you have any questions? If there's no problem, just sign your name on top of this slip, and that'll be the end of it. Zhou Ming sniffed and went to look around the reptile room first. King cobras and large hognosed snakes were each placed in their respective rearing boxes. They don't care about appearing inside an unfamiliar environment. There was even some excitement. King Cobra manipulated a mouthful of big ballast flavor. Oh, my god. This little environment. 
not to mention, is quite special. I thought you shoveler was going to leave me behind, and was about to retract the idea of introducing you to Snake Snake, but I didn't expect that, so you brought me here. Not bad Al you young man, can handle. The smell of snakes is quite strong here. I'll take a straight one, hi, sisters, come out and play. It's kinda self-explanatory. Zhou Ming looked at the King Cobra that was well adapted and kept forcing its way around, not affected by the change of environment at all. Very good. Instead, the large and small hog-nosed snakes next to it were making a ruckus. The little pig-nosed snake grunts. Papa, Papa, Papa. The big pig-nosed snake said angrily, He's not your father. Don't yell. I don't. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Papa, Papa. It's not your father. It's useless to call out. Dad. He can't understand. Why don't you understand? He's dad. Then you call out to your father and see if he says yes. The big pig-nosed snake rolled his eyes. He had never seen such a stupid little snake. When he thought that this was still his own, the big pig-nosed snake was instantly distressed. Obviously that little male snake looked quite smart ah. How did he get out of the doll so stupid? Fizzle. Hiss. Heartbeats and the sounds made by the two pig-nosed snakes gulping their snake's letters lingered in Zhou Ming's ears. The little pig-nosed snake sensed Zhou Ming stopping in front of him. It's scarlet snake letters moving. It's glistening black eyes staring at him. Milky voice shouting. Dad. You're touching me. The big pig-nosed snake snorted coldly and scoffed. I told you that people are born from people's mothers. And snakes are born from me. And you still don't believe me. He doesn't understand your words at all. And he won't be able to touch. Hey hey. How did your hand reach in? Who says he doesn't understand? Zhou Ming opened the lid of the feeding box. And his warm fingers gently slid over the tender body of the little pig-nosed snake. Chapter 77 I shouldn't be in the room. I should be under the bed. Well, daddy's hand is so comfortable. So in love with daddy. Wanting to stay on daddy all the time. The little pig-nosed snake was comfortably touched by Zhou Shin and grunted straight. Making purring sounds, its snake letters gulping frantically. And its tiny tail unconsciously wrapping around Zhou Ming's fingertips. Dad. You're my dad. Dad smell. I want my whole body to smell like dad. The little pig-nosed snake trusted Zhou Ming wholeheartedly. Its little pink head frantically rubbing against Zhou Ming's fingertips. The big hog-nosed snake kept repeating. Not your father. That's it. No. That's it. The little pig-nosed snake exclaimed. The big pig-nosed snake was even louder. No. 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 The two mothers huffed and puffed and argued through two panes of glass. The small pig-nosed snake was breathless on Zhou Ming's finger. And the large pig-nosed snake was so angry that its snake letters were crooked. As snake snake. We must have dignity. We shouldn't be wagging our tails at humans. We should be noble and cold and make them kneel and lick us. You know it or not. The little pig-nosed snake flicked its tail and licked and fiddled with Zhou Ming's fingertips to express its joy. Hoo 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 hoo. Likes dad. Big hog-nosed snake. S hopeless. The big hog-nosed snake waved its tail. There was no way to have this daughter. But. Zhou Ming silently listened to the mother and daughter quarrel. Flip-flopping just a few sentences. Elementary school chickens are more than they will be a little noisy. The big hog-nosed snakes were at least born a few years earlier. It's amazing that a mom can't argue with her kids. T.S.K. Zhou Ming plucked the small pig-nosed snake off his fingertips and stretched it into the aquascape box of the large pig-nosed snake next to him. Ow. Oh, damn human. How dare you reach out to me. As soon as Zhou Ming's hand came in, the large pig-nosed snake had already detected a different aura. The large pig-nosed snake arched its head and spat out scarlet snake letters looking at Zhou Ming's hand. Ouch. This human smells really good. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I can't be mesmerized by humans. I'm going to be fierce. Seeing how the little fool was mesmerized. I knew there was something about this human. I'm going to be on guard. The large pig-nosed snake bared its teeth to avoid Zhou Ming's fingers and fled to the corner of the aquascape box. Want to catch me? In your next life. Oh, but the smell of his body really makes snake like it. Ah, uh, but the flavor, no. Insist on resisting temptation. Listening to the brainwashing speech of the large pig-nosed snake jumping back and forth horizontally. Zhou Ming stated that everything was under control. Look at the little fool and his mom hiding in the corner of the terrarium. Isn't that just like catching a snake in a jar? Zhou Ming's fingers parted slightly, blocking the way out on both sides of the large pig-nosed snake. Yikes! The pig-nosed snake's coiled body in the corner immediately sensed Zhou Ming's intrusion and twisted its body to try and bear its soul elsewhere. However, Zhou Ming would not let it escape. With a slight movement of his fingers, he pinched its chubby body and felt a fleshy, cold touch under his hand eating kind of fat. Zhou Ming's fingers exerted force and pinched its body. Ah, ba, 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 what's going on? I feel as if an electric current has flashed through my body. It's tingly. Yikes it feels like the whole snake is so comfortable, and the tail wants to be pinched and rubbed so badly. The large pig-nosed snake unconsciously wriggled itself. It's chubby, 
rounded tail unconsciously tilting upwards as it gently rubbed against the back of Zhou Ming's hand. Human, I want it, give it to me. The last word was shouted by it in a hundred different ways. Rub, that little accent, and it can be transposed. It's like a big beautiful woman stripped naked and lying on her side to seduce you. Who can stand up to this? Anyway, Zhou Ming is top, got to live. Since these three snakes haven't shown any problems, they are lively and active. Zhou Ming scattered the large hog-nosed snake's hand, and it landed in the scene-making box in one fell swoop, the tingly stimulation on its body fading away as an afterthought. The large hog-nosed snake's sanity slowly returned. What's going on? How did I fall under the spell of sugar coating? I can't believe I'm trying to rub it in. Oh help but he's really good at it. Boing boing. No no no. I want to be firm. Be firm. The large pig-nosed snake opened its mouth wide and hissed at Zhou Ming. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Scare you scare you. Stare you to death. Snake roars. Hissing. Zhou Ming. You're just going to enjoy it and then turn your back on me. Aren't you? Who taught you to play like that? And, can you change this scare tactic of yours? Completely useless. Can see the fangs in your throat. Zhou Ming closed the aquascape box and silently shook his head. Silly as snake. Seeing Zhou Ming's departing back, the great pig-nosed snake immediately laughed arrogantly in a wahahaha manner. Look, scared away by me. Let you dare to confuse us snake snake. I'll scare you to death. Wahahaha. Off to the side. In other aquascape boxes, the Chinese cobra is frantically banging on the wall and growling. Another little table smasher steals my man. Yuck, let me out and bite you to death. Bite you to death. The burrowing tarantula shivers and shrinks into a ball. Can't see me, can't see me, can't see me. Boing, misses my master. Wang Jin snake is lazy and cold. Not giving any extra little look. Ha, childish, call me Lord Queen. Blue tongue stone dragon child lying on the glass spitting out a big tongue stupid cute cute. Master master master. You look at me a master 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 people super cute love. Snap. The door to the reptile room was closed softly. Cut off all sorts of sounds from inside. Zhou Ming took the slip in the staff's hand and signed his name. There's nothing wrong. It's fine. Watch the staff leave. Fatty smacked his lips. It's still good service from Master Pan's store. Delivered to your door and support inspection. Other reptile stores? With their condescending posturing. There aren't many reptile owners who can receive a good deal and stick with it for the long haul. Plus the circle is niche. So many reptile store owners with good stuff have a more reserved attitude. Not coming to our house to buy? Yeah. Well, you're definitely not getting anything this good at another place. Are you buying? Buy. Sorry. It was sold just in the moment you hesitated. There are many buyers and few sellers. It's just so overwhelming. Of course, if it was a common variety like the original color corn snake that Fatty and he had bought, the store owner was still smiling and doing business. Why are you still here? Shen Wei Yu raised her eyes and looked at Fatty who was still standing in the living room. Fatty? Where should he stand if not here? Could it be under the car? Fatty would be a little happier if it was under the bed. Hey, Fatty's eyes, squeezed into a slit by his fat, moved quickly hovering between the two. The expression on his face changed and changed, ambiguous and obscene. Hey, I'll leave you guys alone then ah, uh, remember to lock the door ha. Huh? Zhou Ming, hit you oh, don't think I don't hear something in your words. Shun Wei Wei, her pretty face heated up slightly, only her expression, which was used to being ice cold didn't look like it had changed in any way. Hey, what are you guys thinking? Fatty patted his stomach with a little expression of how can you guys be so perverted. It's a big night, even though it's a villa area. You have to watch out for thieves ah. Fatty is doing this totally for your own good. A man and a woman alone. In case something happens, don't you think? Chapter 78 Shen Wei Yu who has lost her head. Strange and weird mood. Hiss. A man and a woman alone. In case something happens, why does that sound so strange? Zhou Ming was expressionless and directly kicked Fatty out. Snap. The sound. Closed the door to the villa. Villa entrance. Fatty rubbed his ass. Mama Mia. Zhou Ming you dog man who forgets what's right when he sees it. This is how you treat me ah? It's a waste of time for me to send you home from a long distance. You actually treat me like this. Are you still not a human being? Ow 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 ow. Fatty commiserated into a 200 pound child. Oh humanity. Where is heaven's justice? Where's the moral bankruptcy? Click. The door of the villa in front of him was opened a crack. Fatty's eyes lit up. See? No man can stand up to his fat brothers. Clunk. The portable small feeding box was thrown out by Zhou Ming. It was so upside down that the primary colored corn snake inside was so dizzy that the snake's letters almost knocked into its teeth. At that moment was looking up. Cursing. Gently. 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 Do you understand? There is no snake love for you like this. Play bachelor for the rest of your life. Bah. You're so and asterisk and asterisk. Asterisk, 3. 
Pa, the villa gate was closed again. Fatty wailed as he covered his nose that he almost hit. Ow, Zhou Ming you did it on purpose. The primary colored corn snake cursed. Single people, you're single for life. Curse you with a circle. House, Zhou Ming. Off, take your snakes and roll with them. It's still early enough that you can actually keep them down for dinner. Shen Wei Yu looked at Zhou Ming with an expressionless face, making it impossible to see exactly what emotion she was feeling right now. Only, only she herself knew that her face was burning at the moment. He's okay. Zhou Ming shook his head. It's just that, I have a feeling you wouldn't want Fatty to stay for dinner. What do you mean? Shen Wei Yu froze. How did he? You look conflicted. Zhou Ming looked her up and down. Shen Wei Yu, who had already finished her bath, had a faint body odor. Her wet hair had faded from time and there was a handful of small nerdy hairs on the top of her head, sticking up uncontrollably, adding a hint of nerdiness to her, making her look not as rejecting as when she was in her work attire. The loungewear was also all soft white, with bunny patterned slippers, which made her well behaved and clean. It was as if it was not the same as the dry and valiant one in the morning. You don't really like people trespassing on your turf. And when you saw that fatty and the staff from Master Pan's store had stayed behind, you subconsciously frowned, and the corners of your mouth went down which is a sign of unwelcome people. It's amazing that he's so observant. Shen Wei Yu's pupils dilated slightly. The corners of her mouth moved slightly and quickly retracted. However, it was such a few seconds of movement that was captured by Zhou Ming. You're supposed to be shocked now? Zhou Ming calmly said, his expression a little bitter again. That's why I said you're contradictory. It's quite unconventional that you would actually invite me to stay here. When he spent time with reptiles in his previous life, Zhou Ming wasn't able to hear the heart. So he practiced the skill of carefully observing subtle movements. In this life, it is possible to hear their hearts and minds, coupled with the naked eye. Zhou Ming was able to hold them more specifically. This was why, Zhou Ming was not at all afraid of being bitten by the reptile skills. Shun Weiwei. She opened her mouth, wanting to explain why she had been foolish enough to let Zhou Ming live in. Just, she seems to have really lost her head. The words of invitation had come out of his mouth when he heard outside the door of the reptile house that Zhou Ming had no place to stay and she didn't have the slightest intention of trying to backtrack, even a hidden joy rose in her heart, but that's okay, I'll be very careful not to disturb you, Zhou Ming assured, I won't let Su Ruatong come over either, uh, Su Ruatong, who's this, Shen Wei Yu instantly remembered the woman she saw in front of the zoo in the morning, could it be her, the lady who owns the bed and breakfast, well, that big pig-nosed snake belongs to Su Ruatong, the mother of the little pig-nosed snake, Zhou Ming told Shen Wei Yu the whole story, I borrowed it over wanting to observe the relationship and behavior between them. So, Shen Wei Yu expressed her understanding and magnanimously said, It's okay, since she's your friend and lent you the pig-nosed snake, it's okay to come over and take a look. Good. Zhou Ming nodded. Shen Wei Yu face smiled not to see any other emotions. The heart secretly poked Su Ruotong's name in the heart. After dinner. The study. Shen Wei Yu quickly finished dealing with the rest of the group's affairs. Abruptly, his eyes fell on the cell phone next to him. She thought about it but still reached out and took it up to open the Shakefast software and typed in Su Ruotong's name. Into the eyes is Su Ruotong in the introduction of the layout of the bed and breakfast. The camera woman sensible and charming. Dressed and playful and cute. Very contradictory but attractive to the eye. Voice sweet. Do not realize that I watched the whole video. Shin Wei you didn't need to read the comments to know that a group of people were calling wife below. Brush up on a couple videos in quick succession. Shin Wei Yu's hand paused slightly. Not an elaborate video. There were a lot of talking heads and a rowdy scene, but everyone was looking at the King Cobra being exhibited in the feeder. Only Su Ruotong, she was close to Zhou Ming, and looking at the flash of footage, the two were clearly talking about something, and Su Ruotong's expression changed several times. Zhou Ming had a gentle and patient face, followed by Zhou Ming voicing his suspicion that the King Cobra was not a true albino species. The scene got even more rowdy, causing Shen Wei Yu to be restless. The video is only two minutes long. It played out quickly. Shen Wei Yu frowned, looking at this person who sent the video even said that Zhou Ming didn't pretend to understand, her heart immediately caught fire, and thought of the King Cobra that was brought back by Zhou Ming, looking at the appearance it was clearly the same one, slender white fingers tapped the comment section and crackled with output, phew, after typing the last punctuation mark, Shen Wei Yu exhaled a breath, and only then did she feel that the fire in her heart had disappeared a bit, it was only then that he went in search of other homoerotic videos, and after watching the second half of the video, he saw the follow-up to Zhou Ming's offer to shell out money for this albino snake. It seems that this king cobra in the house is on that albino snake in the video. When the video finishes playing, the next one is automatically played in a row. Shen Wei Yu just wanted to exit. When she saw a big plush spider appear on the screen, 
Its legs were bright red and bright red, and the hair on its body was black and shiny. A big bite of Sydney, I went over there specifically to meet Nero by chance. Nero is very nice and much more handsome in person than on video. I've been to several doctors who couldn't deal with the problem, and Nero saw it at a glance. It's really great. Shin Weiyue's hand was faster than her brain, and she clicked on the comment section. Just in time to see the account of Creepy Pet Ming commenting below, you're welcome. If you have any questions you can communicate with me directly. Oh, aha, love. The gesture of the two men was very familiar. Shin Weiyue pursed her lips. She held the phone upside down on the desktop, her gaze stoic. Sizzle. Shin Weiyue's gaze fell on the small aquascape box in the corner of the table. The tail of a middle finger length inky thick tailed scorpion burrowed into the middle of the grass, making a faint sound. A small man made bush does not hide a whole scorpion. The ink jade rough tailed scorpion waved its large pincers and aggressively ruffled the grass around it. Shin Weiyue's heart fluttered. Ah, Zhou Ming. Chapter 79 Ink jade rough tailed scorpion. We want scorpion power. To freedom. Zhou Ming heard Shin Weiyue's cry of alarm upstairs from downstairs took three steps and rushed straight up. What's wrong? What happened? The door to her study was unlocked, and Zhou Ming walked straight in without thinking. And then they saw Xin Weiyu standing on the chair in shock, the wide black chair reflecting her whole person even more petite and weak. On the tabletop in front of him, a large scorpion of more than 10 centimeters was waving its large pincers in a tigerish manner. Wow. 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 Wow, 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 freedom, we want freedom, we want resistance, whoa click 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 click, one voice is higher than the other, Zhou Ming was defenseless and felt like his brain was going to be turned over by this series of heartbeats, it, it came out of nowhere, Shen Wei Yu pursed her lips and pointed at the ink jade thick tailed scorpion on the tabletop, then added an unnatural sentence, ran out of nowhere, got in front of me and startled me, seeing that there were indeed papers scattered on the ground underneath the desk, Zhou Ming did not doubt it and quickly stepped forward to pinch the tigerish ink jade rough tailed scorpion back into the feeding box with his bare hands. Oops, how did I take off? Whoa, someone, someone lifted me up. I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying, flying, hey, hey, hey. How come it's flying back again? Bah, 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 bah. I want to be free. I want to be free. I want scorpion rights. You can't take away a cute scorpion's right to come out for a walk. The ink jade rough tailed scorpion threatened Zhou Ming, who was holding his body hostage in a serious manner. Under Article 2 of the Scorpion Protection Act, you must give me the respect and freedom that I possess. Scorpion rights. We want scorpion rights, or I'll sue you. I'll sue you. Zhou Ming's eyes stared strangely at this ink jade rough tailed scorpion, not realizing that the scorpion knew the law. The words spoken were also a set of words. I just don't know. Where exactly are you going to sue me? Zhou Ming's wrist holding the scorpion shook slightly, shaking the ink jade rough tailed scorpion. Scorpions first appeared on land in the Hellenistic period 430 million years ago and belonged to the class of arachnids. The most unusual thing about its appearance is that it has a high, loot-like tail. The Mayu thick-tailed scorpion in his hand is one of the larger varieties of scorpion, and when it reaches adulthood, it often grows to 13 to 14 centimeters. Looking closely at the appearance of the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion, one will find that it seems to be a piece of finely carved and beautiful jade. From afar, it looked as if the inky jade rough-tailed scorpion only had one dark green color on its body, but in reality, it had a relatively rich color on its body. In addition to the dark green coloration of the trunk area, its limbs as well as the tail are reddish brown. The most distinctive feature of the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion is its tail, which is section by section and has a nice gradation of color transition between each section and the next. The ink jade rough-tailed scorpion was not only a beautiful color, but the shell on its body was also very translucent. Under the sunlight and light, it was just like a piece of warm and moist jade of superior quality. That's why the inkstone rough-tailed scorpion is also known as the beautiful jade among scorpions. Plus, the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion is not considered to be very toxic among scorpions, so even novices can keep it straight away. The ink jade rough-tailed scorpion was shaken by Zhou Ming to the point that his eyes were glazed over. Mom, 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 I'm so dizzy. Human, put me down, put me down. You've seriously violated my rights with this behavior. First warning. If the warnings reach three, I'll have to implement coercive measures to stop your behavior. Coercion to stop human behavior? A little scorpion that knows all that. Zhou Ming became more and more curious about the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion in his hand. He looked towards Shen Weiyu who was squatting on the chair. Shen Weiyu's small white and tender feet were exposed under her housecoat. Her fingers curled unconsciously, and the color was surprisingly more beautiful than the jade color of the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion in her own hand. It's fine. The toxin of the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion isn't strong. 
Even if you get bitten and take care of it in time there won't be any problems. Zhou Ming opened his mouth and said, so you don't have to be so scared. Xin Wei Yu nodded, her small face expressionless as she stated the fact just now. It should be that I didn't close the aqua skate box when I fed it last time, letting it climb out. Zhou Ming nodded his head, not thinking deeply that she, as the head of the stellar group, would actually lie about these small things. Be more careful next time. Getting stung by a scorpion still hurts. Aha. Uh -huh. Xin Wei Yu's heart rippled and she blinked. Maybe it's because I haven't fed it for too long. Why don't you come in and help me out later? It's possible. It's just that it's your office study, so it shouldn't be too convenient. Zhou Ming hesitated, thinking that there should be a lot of trade secrets here. Some big groups should be terrified of having these secrets stolen. What's so inconvenient about it? It's just a study. Xin Wei Yu didn't mind. And after she finished, her voice lowered slightly, a bit melancholy. As you know I'm usually quite busy and there are times when I may not be able to take care of these, so please be more attentive to these little things. Good. It's just a favor. It's not a particularly big deal. Zhou Ming was very self-conscious about living on borrowed time, and he usually needed to keep these little things, so one or two more didn't really matter. He did not react at all. Xin Wei Wei was so busy before, but these little things are still well, where Zhou Ming could not see. Xin Wei Yu quietly hooked her lips. I am. No. Go back. Go. Seeing that he was going to be put back into the feeding box, the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion showed great resistance. No. No 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 dash. Freedom. My freedom. I haven't even warmed up to you yet. And you're leaving me like this. No. Erkong's hand. Zhou Ming. Do you have that big disease? The ink jade rough-tailed scorpion waved at scorpion Keely in a tiger-like manner. Human. You dare to violate the scorpion power protection law. And now I'm going to sanction you directly. Where there is oppression. There is resistance. Shudder. Humans. Wake up. My big tail. Let's fight. Hey. 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 Before the ink jade rough tailed scorpion could finish its slogan, it unexpectedly found that the tail stinger behind its buttocks could not move at all. Aha! Uh -huh. My tail! My tail! My poison needle! Ah! I'm being held in the most important place by a human. I'm a big scorpion who is well versed in the Scorpion Rights Protection Act. I'm a great scorpion who's well versed in Scorpion Rights Protection Law. But I've died before I'm ready. I haven't benefited the Scorpion Society yet. Bah! 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 Chapter 80, Scorpion Rights Protection Act? You're kidding. This is my handiwork. The tail stinger of the scorpion is the most important part of the body. They have eight eyes, with a pair of center eyes in the center of the back and three side eyes on each side of the front end. But despite its many eyes, it has poor eyesight, basically resembling a blind man. And relatively speaking, the most important thing among the scorpion's body is its tail stinger. Scorpions are able to use their tail stinger to detect light. Zhou Ming had once read the literature on the study of scorpions. The team blindfolded the scorpions and tested their sensitivity to different colors of light, and found that their tails acted as a second eye to detect light. The scorpion's shell is a sensor that completely covers the body and relays light information to the nervous system so that any part of the scorpion's body has vision. The cuticle of the scorpion's body serves as a light collector covering the body, which interrupts messages to the nervous system. Scorpions may use this information to scout shelters. So, Zhou Ming pinching its tail stinger was equivalent to holding the lifeblood of half of its body. No matter how much it flaunted its power, Zhou Ming was able to sit steadily. Shen Wei Wei looked at the large scorpion's teeth and claws, but it was steadily held by Zhou Ming, not harming her in the slightest. Couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. You're really good. Not only spiders, snakes, and even the shogun, to now the great scorpion. It was as if nothing small could be difficult for him. Whoa! Your hand! What are you doing with your hands? Under the Scorpion Rights Protection Act, you can't get your hands on a cute little scorpion. Ah, uh, ah uh ha. -huh. The ink jade rough tailed scorpion screamed in some panic. After all, his most precious thing was being held by a human. Who else wouldn't scream? But all the same, the ink jade rough tailed scorpion was able to sense that the human holding him did not have any malicious intent towards him. There was even an aura that the scorpion liked very much, such that the ink jade rough tailed scorpion would not feel threatened although it was alarmed. And, although the ink jade rough tailed scorpion had been staying in the study, it had been subjected to Shen Wei Yue's years and years of inculcation and considered itself a good scorpion that understood culture and manners. It does not promote violent solutions to problems. And so it was. I'm going to have to call my team of professionals if you do. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. Let go. Don't don't don't. Yeah no. Yeah 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 yeah. The simple little scorpion didn't realize that shouting don't 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 would only make Zhou Ming even less likely to let it go. As the ink jade rough tailed scorpion called out, Zhou Ming's finger pointer briskly slid over its remaining stepping foot. Some of the sharp, 
Hard shells clash gently with the soft fingers, leaving a different touch. I love it. Papa is wrapped. As the ink jade rough tailed scorpion's heart gradually softened, Zhou Ming's fingers began to travel up its clawed paws and rested on the clearly segmented shell. The scorpion has a long abdomen, with a bulb at the unterminal end of the abdomen, which contains the venom, and a tail stinger formed by the protruding portion held high, resembling a battle sword. And at this moment, the ink jade rough tailed scorpion's battle sword was already being held by Zhou Ming. The body was allowed to be stroked and manipulated by Zhou Ming. Oh, 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 my god, so great, so great. Every inch of the shell has been taken care of. Under Zhou Ming's hands, the ink jade rough tailed scorpion felt its entire body tremble and tingle. It was so sorry for how many people had come and gone in this den, yet it assumed that the other person was going to hurt them and would only raise its tail spike to scare the human. Ah, the ink jade rough tailed scorpion instantly felt that he had lived all these years for nothing. What an aggravating scorpion. Whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down, right, right, push my paw paw. The ink jade rough tailed scorpion's entire body fell softly under Zhou Ming's hands, no longer having the high and mighty spirit that it had just now when it was about to clamor for the Scorpion Rights Protection Act. Ah, comfortable. As the last sigh of relief fell, the ink jade rough tailed scorpion was comfortable enough to think. I decided to abandon the Scorpion Rights Protection Law that I have been studying intensely for many years, to study how to develop human beings to serve my scorpions and to publish a book, for the benefit of the entire scorpion race, Zhou Ming, sorry to interrupt, but you can't get out of this maker box at all, and you can't write, much less publish books, what is Shen Wei you doing in her study every day, to inculcate a good jade rough tailed scorpion like this, Zhou Ming couldn't help but glance at Shen Wei you with a strange look, Shen Wei you was unsure, what happened to, it's okay, Zhou Ming shook his head and gave the tail stinger of the ink jade rough tailed scorpion a final tweak, the ink jade rough tailed scorpion called out, Ba, 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 scorpions in over his head. Nice guy. It turned out that this was what really held the ink jade rough tailed scorpion. Even if Zhou Ming now scattered his hand that was pinching the ink jade rough tailed scorpion, it was so irritated that it didn't have the strength to launch an attack at Zhou Ming. Shen Wei Yu carefully stared at his movements. Each maneuver was just right, light and heavy. The second before the scorpion felt uncomfortable began to adjust enough to come, which felt like a professional technician in massage according to the needs of the guests and then adjusted their force. Strive to maximize the enjoyment of the guest being served. Zhou Ming solidly held the hearts and minds of these reptiles. Shen Wei Yu marveled. Not to mention that she had raised the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion for two or three years, placing it in her study, and was able to communicate with the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion every day. And there wasn't a lot of time that she was able to get her hands on it. Not to mention, pinching the scorpion's absolute forbidden ground right off the bat. But Zhou Ming, this person, seemed to like to start with high challenges. Not only did he go for the tail stinger as soon as he got his hands on it, but he even cleaned it up. Shen Wei Yu looked at the comfortable and motionless ink jade rough tailed scorpion, and actually began to be jealous of the fact that this scorpion that didn't know anything could actually be understood so well by Zhou Ming. Hey, it's true that people are more angry than scorpions. Zhou Ming glanced at Shen Wei Yu's eyes. With the scorpion's tail stinger cupped in his hand, he was about to turn it upside down and give his hand a lurch as he went to dish it out in a different maneuver. Ah. Uh, he had forgotten that this ink jade rough tailed scorpion had an owner. You can't stop at one plate. Zhou Ming placed its body in the middle of his palm and handed it back to Shen Wei Yu. Do you want to dish it out as well? Otherwise, when one's disc is happy, Shen Wei Yu, the real master, is still watching with bated breath. The ink jade rough tailed scorpion felt the disappearance of the hand of its tail stinger and could not help but raise its own AO pincer, waving it in the air a few times. Why don't you continue? I want to try it. Humans, come on, don't pity me. Chapter 81 Please, True Fragrance is Never Late. The ink jade rough tailed scorpion was resting in the middle of Zhou Ming's palm, its tail stinger wobbling and sticking up high. This time, it was not to launch an attack, but to pray that Zhou Ming would never let himself go. Shen Wei Yu realized that she actually saw the feeling of supplication in a scorpion's body. She's not crazy, a scorpion that would beg a human to dish itself out? But when he thought of the way the ink jade rough tailed scorpion was so comfortable just now that it was in a daze and did not have the slightest strength to resist, Shen Wei Yu suddenly felt that if it was Zhou Ming, the scorpion would miss. She didn't move and glanced at Zhou Ming's fingers, which were well boned, long and strong. Also, pretty normal? Don't want to try? Zhou Ming looked at Shen Wei Yu's delay and asked again, to be, to be. Shen Wei Yu also wanted to dish out these little cuties just like Zhou Ming. It's just that she was very busy and couldn't make any risky period. After all, these few years had been the crucial period for her to master Hengxing group. If she wasn't a bit careful and got injured while dish out some highly toxic cuties, it would make unwarranted speculations from the outside. 
which in turn would affect the group's reputation and share price. Shen Weiwei has always restrained herself, only watching from afar and not on the plate, but now faced with Zhou Ming's invitation, Shen Weiyu couldn't help but nod her head. There's Chao Ming. Even if the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion tried to harm her, it should be stopped in time. Reach out. Zhou Ming handed the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion to her, and when he saw that she didn't respond, he simply took her hand directly himself, placing the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion in the middle of her palm. Her hands were soft and small. The 12 or 13 centimeter inkstone thick-tailed scorpion coiled up most of the way at once. Zhou Ming pulled up her other finger and led her to place it on the back of the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion. First, touch it gently to release that you don't mean to hurt it. When it gets used to it, then slowly work your way back and forth along the body, especially where the tail spine joins the belly. It will love it. The ink jade rough-tailed scorpion looked big, but it was very small compared to the two humans. Zhou Ming wanted to teach Shen Weiyu how to coil the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion comfortably, and he would be able to pull in the distance between the two. Shen Weiyu's eyes blinked, as if she could feel the airflow that Zhou Ming hut out as he spoke. She followed Zhou Ming's guidance and continued to coil the little one in her hand. I love it. Oh, yeah. The ink jade rough-tailed scorpion shook its tail stinger and danced its scorpion cheeks. The, the body arched and arched, excitedly giving Shen Weiyu a response. It's, like, a lot? Shen Weiwei watched the crazy swaying limb movements of the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion, and her cold and waveless eyes gradually melted, giving birth to a little bit of uncontrollable excitement. It was the first time she had ever touched a toxin-carrying inkstone rough-tailed scorpion. Definitely a novel experience. Hmm, it liked it, and even wanted to ask if you could increase the force. Zhou Ming's ears were filled with the sound of it grunting harder, wailing in old comfort. Ha! Huh? Shen Weiyu's eyes widened, exerting herself? Her head thought uncontrollably. Her face burned and she tried to act calm and said, Seriously? It's not like you can hear what it's saying. Shen Weiyu muttered, but her fingers obediently followed Zhou Ming's instructions and slightly exerted some force. The ink jade rough-tailed scorpion immediately sensed it, and moans of relief spilled out one after another without stopping. Oh, my sweet baby, I regret being so mean to you before, but now I realize you understand me so well. We agreed that we'd massage my whole body every day from now on, so I'll begrudgingly refrain from stabbing you. Shen Weiyu could not hear what the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion was saying in her heart, but she found the scorpion under her hand was extraordinarily cooperative. Even the tail stinger that was raised was soft and floppy, and it was a live one that had always been a small cat that was comfortable with smooth fur. How cute! Shen Weiyu sighed, so it turned out that Zhou Ming was enjoying this kind of pleasure every day. She's jealous, but now Zhou Ming was at her side. Does that mean, where Zhou Ming was, she could just play with these little guys? Take for example this one that had been tempered before it was delivered to the palm of her hand. The ink jade rough-tailed scorpion. This depends on the character of each reptile only. Zhou Ming nodded the head of the ink jade thick-tailed scorpion, and it immediately let out a soft hum of relief. This ink jade rough-tailed scorpion has a good personality and has been sitting on your desk, so it's already familiar with your scent. Just release your goodwill and be good enough to let you get on with it. Okay. Shen Weiyu then realized that she had actually said all the words that were on her mind. Hearing Zhou Ming say this, Shen Weiyu was not disappointed although she was lost, but it's good to have me around, even if I'm grumpy and let you dish it out twice, at best, it's a direct slap in the face to the reptile when it tries to launch an attack, lessons learned, be honest and don't always think about biting, if one doesn't work, then two, two doesn't work, three or four, in some unknown place the reptiles winced, Murray's rough-tailed scorpion, hurry up and popularize the scorpion right protection law ahoy, what scorpion rights protection act? Does it smell as good as a human horse killer? It's good to have me. It was the first time Shen Weiyu had heard someone say this to her. She responded with a slight heartbeat. Yeah, well, you can touch this ink jade rough-tailed scorpion again. Let it thoroughly familiarize itself with your scent today. And later on, even if I'm not by your side, you can just dish it out. This entire group of ink jade rough-tailed scorpions has a soft disposition and is one of the scorpions that are good to have on hand, especially among the heart of this ink jade rough-tailed scorpion. It is not repulsive to human beings, and it even seems to be addicted to human beings after being tempered by him. Shen Weiyu gave a hum sound and lowered her head to continue coiling the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion in her hand. Ouch ah right right. It's so exciting and comfortable. The ink jade rough-tailed scorpion, which had been coiled for the first time, had been played with by the human for more than half an hour without interruption, and by the time Shen Weiwei had put it inside the aquascape box, the ink jade rough-tailed scorpion's heart was still humming and whimpering. The I'm so happy, I'm so happy, aha, humans really know too much about scorpions, looking at the ink and jade thick-tailed scorpion that was so comfortable that its tail stinger was still unconsciously rubbing against her finger, Shin Wei Yu's eyes sparkled, and then thinking of something, 
She raised her head to stare at Zhou Ming. You said earlier in the evening that you had collected a small pig-nosed snake. Can I go and see it now? Chapter 82, Play Again. Rebellious pig-nosed snake. I arch. This was something that was originally said to be visited. But during dinner, Shen Weiwei suddenly received an urgent phone call and immediately returned to the study to begin to start an emergency meeting to deal with things. Just got things organized and was able to get some rest. That's fine. But it's late. Zhou Ming lifted his finger and pointed to the clock placed on her desktop. The hands had already pointed to the 11 o'clock position. And in another 10 minutes or so, it would be 12 o'clock. Snakes and lizard guardians find suitable bedtimes based on their behavior. And even a recent study suggests that spiders may snooze just like humans. So surely at this hour, there must be little ones sleeping already. Moreover, Shen Wei Yu also needed to rest. Shen Wei Yu glanced at the time and realized the time had actually passed so quickly while she was up to dish out the ink jade rough tailed scorpion. Obviously it was just after 9 when she picked up her cell phone earlier. Also, Shen Wei Yu nodded and said to Zhou Ming, Forget it today. We'll see it tomorrow. Yes, if we wait for the fetal membrane on the little pig nosed snake to fade away, it will look even more beautiful. Zhou Ming was already a little impatient. After the snake is born, the first molt is usually carried out within 5 to 10 days, some begin to molt soon after birth, a few individuals have to molt after 15 days, the latest can be delayed until 21 days, but such snakes mostly belong to premature snakes. Due to direct congenital causes, most of the survival rate is not high, so this first molt was highly watched by Zhou Ming. Good. Shen Wei Yu blinked, a slight layer of smile under her eyes. Anyway, now that the pig-nosed snakes were in her house, she could watch them whenever she wanted. It was late and she yawned quietly. A little tired. Go back to your room and rest. Zhou Ming put the lid on the desktop aquascape box. Inside the slow taste of the ink jade thick-tailed scorpion dancing scorpion pincers. Hey 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 hey. Again a little old sister little old brother. Scorpion me. Ah. I still need to collect more material. And strive to help you publicize and advertise more in our scorpion world. When you go out from now on. Just say I'm covering out. No big scorpion will give you a hard time. Guaranteed. Hey 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 hey, Zhou Ming, stay while you, click. Zhou Ming exerted a slight force under his hands, closing the scenic box tightly, ensuring that he would not let it have another chance to break out of jail. Something like yawning, with one comes the second. Shen Wei Yu accumulated physiological tears at the corners of her eyes, and the glistening water droplets rinsed her black and white pupils as if they were a piece of fine cuttlefish. Zhou Ming unexpectedly realized that her pupils were actually pure black. It's exactly the same as the little pig-nosed snake that just made a sound. Good looking. So cute again. Zhou Ming did not move and hooked his lips as he and Shen Wei Yu came out of the study. Across the hall from the study was her room. Zhou Ming said. Good night. Shen Wei Yu opened the door and returned to her room. A faint smile surfaced on her small face that had always been ice cold. Her eyes flashing. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Zhou Ming nodded and watched Shen Wei Yu close the door to her room before he returned to his own room and stride. In the door. Shen Wei Yu leaned against the doorframe and raised her hand to cover her small face that only she noticed was burning. The night is hazy. Bright moonlight silver glow through the large floor to ceiling windows. Gently sprinkled on Shen Wei Yu's body. Hazy. Seems to be able to peep on her like a young girl general shy and expectant little expression. Early the next morning. Zhou Ming took a closer look at the little pig-nosed snake. The little pig-nosed snake curls up into a ball. It's pink body dainty and cute in the feeder. Zhou Ming thought for a moment. Ruffled its soft body. And said softly. From now on you'll be called Little Cute. And your mom. Will be called Big Cute. Calling. Dad. The little pig-nosed snake sensed Zhou Ming's scent and poked out its own little head from amongst the huddle. Its snake's letter gulping slowly. The heart sounded milky and chanted. Dad. Dad. You're here. Dad. Why aren't you by my side at night time? Dad. I haven't seen you all night. I miss you so much. Daddy. I've been good all night. The large hognose snake that had been awakened on the side of the room lifted its head slightly when it heard the small hognosed snake move and, I've said it's not your dad not your dad, how can a human being be your dad when you still call him dad, as a snake, can you have the self-awareness of being a snake snake, open your mouth directly and bite him, what's the point of pampering and being cute, the big hognosed snake said, smothering his head and arching into the bedding, whimpering and digging a good sized hole and then wriggled his body again to overwhelm with his body the small grasses that had been placed in the aquascape box and used as decoration right over. Even the water bowl he used to drink from was tipped over with his little head. The fresh water in the basin clattered out, haloing and wetting a large area of bedding. The fat body, twisting and crawling, is a real show of what it means to have a piggy breakout. I arch, I arch, see, this is what we as snakes should do. You're being so pouty and cute. It's a disgrace to snakes. While arching, he also raised his head to spit snake letters at Zhou Ming. 
And by the way, he also educated the little pig-nosed snake as a matter of course. The otherwise, in the future, when humans think you're good to bully, they'll try their best to bully you. Do you know that? I don't know. The little pig-nosed snake is full of innocence. His eyes are as dark as ink. Besides, you've overturned the water basin. How can you drink water later? The large hog-nosed snake froze, twisting his head. He looked at the basin of water behind himself and then at the little pig-nosed snake. It seems, it seems so. The large hog-nosed snake reacted then, and its gulping letters slowed down. Bah, how could this happen? The large pig-nosed snake had a dumbfounded expression, completely not expecting that he had actually punked himself. How does it drink? No, no, no. The big hog-nosed snake shook his head frantically, his little head spinning wildly as he, no, 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 rather, do you know everything I just taught you? Now, start bumping him, show him what you're made of, you know. The small pig-nosed snake's body wrapped around Zhou Ming's fingertips, enjoying the massage of Zhou Ming's index finger, its head peeking out from amongst the gap in its palm, staring crookedly at the large pig-nosed snake, but you just don't have any water to drink, aren't you thirsty? Daddy's hands are so comfortable, it's not that stupid, I'm not, not thirsty, the large pig-nosed snake gulped its snake letters and let out a hissing sound, but in its heart, it was thinking, ah, I seem to be really a bit thirsty, want to drink water, no, 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 I'm not thirsty, I die of thirst here, but I won't drink from this human, Humph. I'm a snake snake with a sense of propriety, dare to coax my stupid piglets to call me daddy, and you'll receive punishment from snake snake, wahahaha, the rampant laughter of the great pig-nosed snake echoed in Zhou Ming's mind, chapter 83 protecting the shortcomings, who can top that, concord, and so on, Zhou Ming's fingers gently rubbed the small pig-nosed snake in his palm and looked at the large pig-nosed snake with a strange expression, are you sure this is a punishment? Instead of having to smoke yourself out of thirst, this big pig-nosed snake's brain doesn't seem to work too well. But the little cutie in the palm of his hand was quite clever. The little pig-nosed snake asked back in a milky voice. Really? I don't believe it. Zhou Ming, pfft. A little snake that dislikes snakes. Big hog-nosed snake? Is this how you treat your own mom? It's treasonous. The big pig-nosed snake was furious. A whole fat snake desperately rolling in the landscape box. A small clump of small clumps of flowers and plants implanted in the inside of a small clump of flowers and plants are all crushed. Obviously an adult snake. Rolling around like a little kid. Ow. 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 The big hog-nosed snake's chubby body slammed into the rocks in the aquascape box, causing it to wail and whimper in pain as its body convulsed and curled up into a ball. My tummy. My tummy hurts. Yeehaw. Am I dying? I'm playing dead. But I don't want to die wow wow wow. The big pig-nosed snake cried a big, goopy snotty tear. It's a bully, isn't it? Hopeless. Zhou Ming could only temporarily put down the little cutie in his hand and open the large pig-nosed snake's aquascape box. Oops. The smell of humans. I've been bullied like this and you still want to come in and bully me. Whoa whoa. I knew there was not a single good thing in you humans. Black-hearted hey? You're rubbing my tummy yeah. Who who? Zhou Ming fished the pig-nosed snake out of the aquascape box and quickly examined its body starting from the snake's head with his finger pointer. There's no wound. The body was so fat that the scales could barely report wrapping around the flesh underneath. Zhou Ming ravaged it, rattling it like he was picking out fat, finding a spot where it had just been hit by a rock. Massage it up gently with your fingertips. Yikes. It doesn't hurt anymore. Immediately. It doesn't hurt anymore yeah. The great hog-nosed serpent muttered in amazement that the, I never thought that this human being actually has two skills. Ah. It's nice to be nice. Down there too. The large pig-nosed snake cocked its own chubby tail and hooked Zhou Ming's hand as it moved downward. Come on, come on, I can't take it anymore. Humans are still useful. No wonder my cubs were mesmerized. Who could top such a crunchy feeling? Oh, it's so good. The large hog-nosed snake let out a tersely sigh. The small pig-nosed snake vaguely smelled what flavor was changing. Looking at the cool snake letters or spit out half a day did not retract the big pig-nosed snake. As if he had discovered some secret. Milky voice shouted. Ha! You're lying. You're like this. And you still say he's not my dad. Papa, Papa, I want Papa to touch me too. Dad, look at me. The large hog-nosed snake snapped back in the midst of a milky Papa Papa Papa. Immediately putting away his worthless appearance, he resumed his high spirits. I'm just showing you again, what to do after being captured by the enemy's sugar-coated bombs. This is the time to owl a mouthful of. Still want to bite? Zhou Ming sked. 
and the kneading and massaging motion under his hands stopped, the large hog-nosed snake immediately found itself in an up-and-out emptiness, and how this hand-hand-hand had stopped, the little pig-nosed snake tilts its head, ow's a bite and then what, the large hog-nosed snake slowed down, ow wow one bite at him, ignoring the sensation of his body being teased out, the large pig-nosed snake wailed and bit the back of Zhou Ming's hand, Zhou Ming had known that it would make such a move, but did not dodge, the great hog-nosed snake was wild and untamable, and it had to be made to feel that it had taken hold of itself, so that it could turn the tables on itself when it was at its most complacent, let it clearly understand the gap between it and itself, under the small pig-nosed snake's gaze, the large pig-nosed snake wailed and bit Zhou Ming's hand viciously, see how good I am, my fangs, ow, my fangs can't seem to touch, the great pig-nosed snake realized afterward that Zhou Ming's hand was just too big and too big for it, its poisonous fangs hidden in its throat couldn't even touch Zhou Ming, in other words, there was no way that the venom that he was so proud of could be put to use. Big hog-nosed snake. Yeah no. How could this happen? It's not scientific. Ah no way no way. I can open a big. Big mouth. The large pig-nosed snake desperately opened its own mouth. Even reversing the position of its entrance in a bid to swallow Zhou Ming's hand in one gulp. The little pig-nosed snake looked squarely at the big pig-nosed snake's movements. And cried out anxiously in his heart. Don't don't don't. You can't hurt daddy. Daddy's so nice. How could you bite daddy? You're the big bad. And you sure are the big bad. Dad. Dad. Run away. Woohoo. The little milky voice dripped with a slight sobbing tone, which made Zhou Ming's heart break. As it is, Zhou Ming looked at the large pig-nosed snake that had opened its bloody mouth. Fingers deftly pinched its snake letters. The snake's letters were wet. A thick white layer on the tongue is secreted mucus. The tongue of snakes has no taste function, but only through the snake letter constantly stretching. The air and the chemical substances adhere to the surface of the snake's tongue. Sent to the top of the mouth is located in the Hono's apparatus and produce taste. Then according to the direction of the smell to determine the location of the object. So the snake has to keep spitting. Otherwise it will not be able to see. Right now. The key lifeline of the great hognosed snake was in Zhou Ming's hands. Ha! Ouch! 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 The great hognosed snake never realized that human hands could do so much, whereas they are like them snakes and snakes, relying only on the strength of their whole body. Not only can these hands be used to comfortably massage and caress snakes, but they can also be used to grab snakes by the snake's snakes. Aha my tongue, I can't feel anything now, I'm a blind snake now, help, oh, nay san, darth for day, woohoo, wrong 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 wrong, I won't dare to bite anyone again, so be generous and let me go, okay? The big pig-nosed snake's chubby body was twisting and turning. The heart howls outwardly. Zhou Ming didn't want to do anything to the great pig-nosed snake. It just had a nature that didn't fight for three days and had to be fixed properly before he could do so. Seeing that the big pig-nosed snake slipped to its knees and gave in, Zhou Ming silently counted a few times in his heart and was about to let go of its snake's letter. There was a sound of footsteps outside the door. Shen Wei Yu came down from the second floor fully dressed and looked at the open door of the reptile room. Shen Wei Yu watched Zhou Ming's movements incredulously as he pinched the pig-nosed snake's snake's letter and tugged on its chubby body. This scene, how it looks like a snake abuse scene. Your, chapter 84, little cutie fades, so like daddy ah, this snake misbehaved and overturned something in the aquascape box, so I took it out to teach it a lesson. Zhou Ming was the first to explain before she opened her mouth. The fingers pinching the snake's letter loosened. The snake's letter is the equivalent of a human's eye, and although I pinched it, it's like a human being 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 blindfolded. It won't hurt. I've got it covered. No. I was afraid that you might get bitten by it. Shen Wei Yu pursed her lips and pointed to the two red dots on the back of his hand, which were seeping with beads of blood. It was indeed a large hog-nosed snake bite. Zhou Ming took out a paper towel and casually wiped it off. Nothing's wrong. These teeth in front of it don't have any toxins. It feels just like being stabbed by a needle. Still need to take care of it. Wait for me. Shen Wei Yu said, retreating from the room and finding the medicine box in the living room. Looking at Shen Wei Yu open the medicine box, originally do not feel such a small wound what is the problem of Zhou Ming, as if feeling the calm lake fell a light floating leaves, is this leaf? So that the lake's surface flooded a layer after layer of ripples, okay, Shen Wei Yu gently wiped the back of his hand with a cotton swab dipped in medicinal water, although it's not a big wound, it's still a snake bite, so pay attention to it, now let's see the little pig nosed snake, Zhou Ming turned his wrist and could still feel the coolness of the alcohol and iodine vapor on the back of his hand, he nodded. Good. Zhou Ming reached out and pressed the large hog-nosed snake that had poked its head out back into the aquascape box, and without even holding up the water basin, he closed the lid. The large hog-nosed snake returned to the environment he was used to, 
It had only been a short time since I conceded defeat, and then I was back to numbing and screaming. Hey, I'm back. Oomph, you humans are so bad for pinching my tongue. That's so bad. I'll teach you a lesson. The large hognose snake raised its condescending head, and then more frantically, he started to roll around. Hey, it's not a provocation. Joming the grumpy one. Open the aquascape box that you just closed and reach right in. Bah, coming in again. The arrogance of the large pig-nosed snake instantly disappeared, shrinking its head on the spot. Its fat body coiled into a disc. Immediately, he rolled over to reveal his belly and played dead for a second, spitting out the snake's letters and not moving a muscle. Ah, I'm dead. Dead through and through. You can't arrest me. Oh, Zhou Ming stretched out the fingertips of his hand and ruffled its exposed snake's letter. Ouch. This bad guy. You have to take in your tongue to get it in. Baird. The large pig-nosed snake's snake letters obediently retracted, fearing that if they were a second slow, they would be pinched by Zhou Ming's fingers. Woohoo. Snakes without hands and arms are defenseless while. Tisk. Zhou Ming looked at the wimpy big pig snout snake, bullying softness and fear of hardness, and he didn't even want his face. Pa. Zhou Ming put the lid of the aquascape box back on and left it alone. The little hog-nosed snake is right. Thirst it for two days and you'll know it's hard. Zhou Ming looked at the water basin in the aquascape box and still didn't bother to pick it up. Let it suffer a little so it knows who's good to it. My god. Even for Xin Wei Yu, who was used to seeing good things. It was still hard to avoid letting out a gasp of surprise when she saw the super arctic Lucy individual. It's just so beautiful. The tiny clump, lying on the snowy white padding, was pink in color from mouth to tail, as if it were clear crystal. The only thing black about it were its eyes, like two of the brightest stars dotting the night, bright and shiny. Shin Weiyu stared at the little pig-nosed snake through the feeding box, her eyes tightly fixed on the little pig-nosed snake. Super arctic Lucy individual. It's so stunning. Yeah. The color should change for the better when it molts. Zhou Ming also stared at the little cutie. Dad. The little guy was milky, whimpering and squirming to Zhou Ming's front, his little head against the glass and, Dad, you're okay. I told you mom couldn't beat you. Big pig-nosed snake next to me? Who said we can't beat him? I'm letting him go. Let's fight one-on-one -on -one if you can. I promise to beat him. Bah. It was answered with a grunt from the little pig-nosed snake. Zhou Ming. Look. Shen Wei Yu suddenly realized something and pointed at the little pig-nosed snake's pig nose. Do you see if it's about to molt? Molting? Zhou Ming's expression was restrained, and he landed his full attention on the little pig-nosed snake. It was pink all over and its lip scales were translucent. So if you didn't look closely, you wouldn't be able to notice that its outermost layer of snakeskin had begun to molt. Molting is a long and painful process for snakes. Hmm. The little pig-nosed snake really didn't have the same spirit as it did a moment ago, and its heartbeat began to hum. But there's no way. Since snakes have degenerated limbs, their entire abdomen rubs against the ground when they walk. So in order to increase the wear resistance, the snake's abdomen is covered with hard scales, and for better defense, their backs are also covered with scales. However, a snake's scales don't get bigger as the snake grows. So in order to grow, the snake must molt. The number of times a snake molts is actually variable, especially since a newborn snake is in the prime growth stage during a three-year period, when it grows the fastest in its life. So, snakes within this stage will have to molt two to four times a year before they are ready. The process of molting lasts as little as five or six days and as long as fourteen days. But the first time the little pig-nosed snake was fading the skin of the fetus, Zhou Ming filled up the water basin inside the feeding box with enough water for the little pig-nosed snake to climb in for a soak. Again, place a few rougher stones on the box's bedding to help it molt. Zhou Ming after some careful preparation, the little pig-nosed snake's body squirmed, following the instincts in its body and climbed into the water basin. Yeah, this really makes it comfortable ah. The pink body stretched out in the basin of water, driving the water waves in and out. The little head lay on the rim of the water basin, the mouth gulping down snake letters, the little milky voice soothingly wailing. It's so cozy. These are all from dad. I love daddy so much. Zhou Ming wondered if super arctic Lucy's individual molting speeds were all very fast and it wasn't long after the little guy climbed in that a tiny piece of transparent colored snakeskin floated up on the surface of the water. A small snake that has just given voice has a delicate skin and does not fade into a full sheet. Is that molted skin? Shen Weiwe pointed to something floating up in the water basin. This is the first time I've seen a snake molting its skin. Zhou Ming let out a well and quickly analyzed. At this rate, it's estimated that it won't take two days. Tire skin is well faded. It doesn't take a long time or require human intervention. The baby hognose snake is molting for the first time, so there's no rush. Take your time. The two watched its movements in silence. The little pig-nosed snake seemed to tire, 
and the whimpering and rubbing of its body against the rim of the water basin fell on deaf ears. The head drew down, the serpent's letters gulped in the water, the mouth opened and closed, and the, uh, ah, I'm tired, I'm thirsty, I need to drink more water. Hello, water is so delicious. Zhou Ming, that's your bath water. It's not preachy at all. Chapter 85 Maybe it's springtime and it's starting to get restless. It's so cute. Shen Wei Yu watched the little pig-nosed snake's naive movements with fascination, and her finger couldn't help but reach out and point at it, sharing it with Zhou Ming. Look at it. Does it look like a child gurgling water? The gills are moving all over the place. It's kids and bears. What kid drinks his own bath water? Hey, look at that tire skin going in your mouth. You pay attention. Zhou Ming stared at it helplessly. Snakes would be very sensitive during molting. Zhou Ming could not reach out and disturb it. Moreover, this was the first molt, and there would be many, many more in the future, all of which the little pig-nosed snake would need to carry through on its own. Have you ever talked like that? At least it's your own cub. Xin Wei you couldn't help but shake her head. Zhou Ming happened to look sideways. The two of them realized that the distance between them was actually closer without realizing it. And the two, neither of whom noticed. Xin Wei you licked her lips, as if she realized something, and stood up from the ground with a swish. But she had been crouching for so long that when she stood up violently, her eyes went black. She was dizzy, and she stumbled. A suffocating sense of weightlessness came over him. Next, Xin Wei Yu was then grabbed with force, and her petite body flung into a warm and broad chest. Is everything okay? The magnetic male voice with a hint of concern came from overhead. The face of Xin Wei Yu, who had crashed into Zhou Ming's arms with darkness before her eyes, swished hot. No, it's fine. That's good. Zhou Ming was startled by her suddenly stood up, and then his body was crooked and couldn't stand up straight. Seeing that he was about to hit the scenic box, Zhou Ming hurriedly reached out and yanked the person back. Luckily, luckily it didn't hit. An aquascape box isn't cheap. You have to pay for it out of pocket if it breaks. Poor people. No money. Zhou Ming was instantly relieved. Ah ha. Human woman. Let go of that man. He belongs to this snake snake. Spread out. Spread out. The Chinese cobra completely exploded at the sight of the scene rapidly gulping the snake's letters. It made a hissing sound. Man, isn't it enough that you have this snake snake? This snake snake tolerates you to bring back so many little goblins. Aren't you enough? Don't you know enough? You're actually going to get involved with this human woman. Are you doing this to me? A little snake snake. Oh, wow. A negative man. A big scumbag. Ah, there's no justice. Zhou Ming. You. Brain is buzzing from your shouting. King Jean snake rolled over. As high and mighty as ever. Noisy snake, the blue-tongued gargoyle clawed and scratched at the glass, spitting out its own big blue tongue. Ow, scared you yet? Hey, master, master, master. I want master to hug me too. Master, 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 hug me. The burrowing tarantula peeked out quietly. It's hard a weak voice. It's been a long time since my master came to my place. I miss him so much. No matter when master comes to me, I'll be waiting for master O. Oh. Big hog-nosed snakes whimpering in the aquascape box. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I am the ultimate destructive demon. Whoa, 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 ah, so thirsty, want some water. Humans, thirsty, watery, Zhou Ming, you want some water, don't you? Then you think about it. Let's get you to dry out all the water bowls. Serves you right. Shen Wei you slowed down and hurriedly withdrew from his arms. That, did it hurt you? No. Zhou Ming shook his head and pulled out his ears. It's too noisy. Too loud? Xin Wei Yu then realized that the hissing sound in the room was urgent and loud. It is indeed quite noisy. What's wrong with them? Uncomfortable temperature? Well, Zhou Ming was a bit speechless for a moment as he listened to their noisy hearts. After a moment's deliberation, he said, No, maybe it's springtime and it's starting to get restless. Xin Wei Yue, I'm not well read, so don't lie to me. At this point, a lilting ringtone came from the living room. Your cell phone is ringing, Zhou Ming reminded. Aha! The two emerged from the reptile chamber. Xin Wei Yu picked up the phone and stood in front of the floor-to-ceiling window, her face serious and earnest. The aura is strong. Switch to work style in a second. Zhou Ming blinked and sat down at the table and began to eat his breakfast. Yonder's not sure what was said. In short, when Xin Wei Yu sat down, her face was a bit serious, and her brows, which had always been stretched out, were a bit tightly knit at this time. Shen Wei Yu dropped Zhou Ming off at the zoo entrance as usual. Zhou Ming came down and slammed the car door shut, and then tried to think of something and knocked on the car window. The glass fell, revealing Shen Wei Yu's exquisite pretty face. In the midst of her confused expression, Zhou Ming said, 
If there's anything you need my help with, you can tell me directly. Ha! Huh? Shen Wei Yu opened her mouth. Zhou Ming had already turned around and waved his hand with his back to her. The back is suave and dashing. Inside the car, the driver in front couldn't help but see the scene. Mr. Shen, Mr. Zhou has said it all. You, Zhou Ming's back disappeared before his eyes. Shen Wei Yu turned her head and directly interrupted his next words. Drive. The driver silently kept his mouth shut as the smooth lines of the Maybach continued on its way up the road. Shen Wei Yu looked at the scenery that gradually swept by outside the window, her eyes slightly deeper. She did have a little trouble working together. Stellar Group is now trying to open up the market in Kyoto and is hooked up with big companies in Kyoto. Even the plans had been sent over. But the other party was slow to make a stand. This was her first time leading the development of a new market. And she could only succeed and not fail. Shen Wei Wei privately inquired that the boss of the other company is a reptile enthusiast. Just want to start with that. Yesterday, that one albino snake of Master Pan's. Shen Wei Yu was prepared to have someone take it down no matter what. As a result, the person sent there was a step too slow and was intercepted by Zhou Ming, and even dismantled that it wasn't an albino snake at all, and just a regular king cobra in disguise. Shen Wei Yu woke up with a start. If you take such a fake snake over, what would be the consequences of that? Shen Wei Yu didn't even dare to think about it. It's good to pitch in, but the risk is still too great. Inside his head, all sorts of thoughts were rapidly fluttering. The well-performing car quickly arrived under the Stellar Group building. The car door was pulled open. Shen Wei Yu collected her fluttering thoughts and got down from the car. Shen Wei Yu, who was a stranger to the world, drew sideways glances. Good morning, Mr. Shen. Good morning, Mr. Shen. Mr. Shen, to give you a report on your trip today, the other side. Zhu, the large arena has been cleaned up. The open space outside is set with cement and other building materials. The contractor with a helmet is directing the work. Everyone is well organized to do the work in hand. The foreman saw Zhou Ming and immediately jogged to him. Chapter 86 Who in the whole mountain looks at you but me? Mr. Zhou, you've come over so early. Ha, huh? we've already started on the construction now. Two teams of people, around the clock, and we expect it to be finished in two months. Zhou Ming nodded. Good, be safe. This venue is a venue that was vacated many years ago, and now it is allocated to Zhou Ming, who has cleaned up a bit and torn down everything inside that is a bit old. So the engineering team doesn't need to do anything more when they come, so they can just construct it. That's for sure. Just rest assured. The foreman smiled and said, although this project was a privately commissioned project by Zhou Ming, the place of construction was a public project. After this project is done well, they will be considered a team that has cooperated with the officials, and they will be able to go out and talk about cooperative projects in the future. More importantly, Zhou Ming is really generous with his money. It's quick to pay and doesn't pick fights. Foreman naturally likes such a partner. Aha. Uh -huh. This was just the beginning of construction. There was nothing that Zhou Ming needed to keep an eye on. After saying a few words here at the foreman, Zhou Ming headed towards the small room whereby Lu and Long Tang were temporarily residing. The room inhabited by the two reticulated pythons was just one wall away. There is also a small door in the wall, which opens so that the two reticulated pythons can crawl across the room. Nehru. Xiao Qi happened to turn around carrying a bucket of water and saw Zhou Ming's figure. He immediately said, Today, Bai Lu's condition is very good now, and she's also able to eat down. He shook the bucket he used for feeding. This big bucket is all eaten. That's good. Zhou Ming patted Xiao Qi's shoulder. I was a little too loud for you yesterday. Don't take it personally. Xiao Qi shook his head and scratched his head in a naive and honest manner. What you said, Brother Ming, it was originally me who didn't take good care of Bai Lu. I'll definitely look after it properly in the future. Good. I will also teach it more lessons not to eat random things from visitors. Zhou Ming said in a serious and earnest manner. Qi blinked. Nehru, you say that like you can talk to them. Can't talk. Zhou Ming looked at him mysteriously. But I can hear what's going on in their minds. Xiao Qi's eyes widened slightly before she pfft laughed. Brother Nehru, you're lying to me again. I don't believe it for a second. How can a human hear what a snake is saying? Although reticulated Mang Bai Lu was intimate with Zhou Ming, he was not bad to the other staff members who kept him. A big snake who tried to lay down a dry meal. As long as you don't mess with it randomly, Shiro's personality is basically stable. Well, you found out. Zhou Ming shrugged with a slight smile. You go ahead and get busy. I'll take a look at Bai Lu's situation. Okay. Xiao Qi walked away with the bucket and the guy. Hisses dash. Fierce with a strong threatening voice came from the snake room. Zhou Ming saw two large, long pythons facing each other through the railing of an entire wall. Shiro erected her body opened her mouth wide and pouted at Long Tang in the corner. And, hisses dash, jagged snake. Yuck, how dare you come over. Let's see what I'll do to you. 
I'll beat you so bad you won't even recognize your own mother. Dragon Tongue shrunk into a ball of aggression. It wasn't like he wanted to come over. Okay, that door was opened by the human himself, and the human didn't put food in his room. It didn't come by the smell. It had wanted to wail and nibble on a bite of food when Shiro wasn't looking, but who knew that its head had only burrowed over a little bit before it was discovered. Confronted with the quality control of the white dew, Longton said, let me have a couple bites first. Will you? Zhou Ming. What a little male snake. People are so angry with Shiro. You're still thinking about that food, aren't you? Dragon said. We come out to the zoo to hang out. We don't care about the food. What else do we care about? Little female snake? It's not like it's not. Sure enough. Hearing what Long Tang said. By Lu's he became louder. Ah ha. You scum snake. Long Tang immediately shriveled up. The little female snake or forget it. Can't get it to work. Can't get it to work. Dragon Tang gulped his snake's letter and coiled himself in aggression. But the smell of meat kept seducing it. And the gulping snake's letters detected the flavor of rabbit. It's been a long time since I've had a rabbit. I'll just take a bite. Just one bite. Long Tang resisted the sound of Shiro's pouting while grinding and squirming his big head towards the rabbit. Almost. Just a little bit. Long Tang's mouth grew wide. And his gulping snake's letter was almost on the verge of touching the pile of flesh. Jagged snake. Bai Lu rushed over and directly swallowed the rabbit meat in one bite. There wasn't even a crumb left for Long Tang. In order for snakes to be able to open their mouths as wide as possible, theirs is a jaw with one bone missing and the middle of the jaw is disconnected, which grants the snake's jaws more flexibility. Their jaws can not only swing downward, but they can also be stretched out to the sides with unrestricted joints. Not only does it not dislocate, but you can even swallow food in one bite. Dragon? Feeling the disappearance of the food, Long Tang retracted his head back with a whimper. All right, if you don't eat it, you don't eat it. Snake won't starve to death if he doesn't eat a meal anyway. On the contrary, it was Bai Lu that Long Tang really couldn't afford to mess with. Dragon Tempest squirmed himself in a goopy way, cowering in the corner of the room. A big pile of snakes and snakes, chanting viciously in his mind. Hoomph, old mother snake with a domineering and flamboyant temper. You see who else in the whole mountain but me looks up to you. As for Bai Lu, it certainly was extraordinarily dominant hogging the most comfortable branch in the room. The freshly fed body wrapped itself around the branch, and its head flopped down where the fork of the tree had been, the snake's letters gulping back and forth. Live a little look of happy sunbathing. Ha dash, I think I smell the master. By Lu's movements of gulping down the snake's letter were lulled, and her head, lying on the tree branch, lifted. Master, master, it must be the master. Shiro moved excitedly, his meter-long body wriggling to the railing. Master. The lazy dragon flicked his tail and his head couldn't help but move closer to the railing. It knew that it was this human smell that had rescued Shiro yesterday. Long Tongue thought to himself, though you humans are not as strong as we are, it's normal to be afraid of us, and you haven't even managed to swallow your food in one bite. All weaklings, but for yesterday's sake, bear with you for a ride. Who let you save Shiro? The silly simpleton. Zhou Ming looked at Long Tongue unexpectedly, still slouching, but didn't realize he actually cared about Shiro? Master. Master, master, Shiro hissed, the railing rattling from its impact. Zhou Ming quickly walked over and stroked its big head through the railing, dabbing. Bai Lu excitedly gulped the snake's letter, his head rubbing straight into Zhou Ming's palm net like a puppy. Zhou Ming took the opportunity to check the condition of its wounds. The parasite had been discovered early and hadn't caused it any particularly great impact. Long Tang grunted as he sensed Bai Lu's currying favor with Zhou Ming. What's the matter? We're the same kind of people. You're so attentive to a human. You really don't have the face of a snake. Chapter 87 Snake Eye. Ah. Seem to be cuckolded. None of your business. I just like my master. I like my master. Bai Lu cried out defiantly. The bond it had with its master was something this scum snake didn't understand. Long Tang said disdainfully. Hoomph. A snake tamed by humans. Shame on the snake. Bai Lu was even more disdainful. Che. Don't come down from the mountain with me if you're capable in the first place. You think I want to go down? It's still all about you. You don't like me now, do you? If I had known you were such a snake, I wouldn't have brought you along. The more the two reticulated manga base talked, the more angry they became. Bai Lu rushed directly to Long Tang, whimpering and complaining. Now you start to dislike me, right? Why didn't you say so before? You, Long Tang shrank his head at its words, his long body all coiled up tightly, and he didn't say a word. So close to having another cigarette. Zhou Ming, help. Why does this feel so familiar? Shiro exclaimed, I just love my master. Master is so nice and kind to me. Hoomph. It suddenly thought of something and immediately turned its head again. Heartbeat with a few anxious moments. Finished. 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 
I'm so fierce that my master saw me, will he not like me anymore? Whoa whoa, people are trying to be a lady snake, boing boing, da ba da ba, my master's character is really super nice, looking at the reticulated manga base white do that instantly rolled around and sold itself again, Zhou Ming scared twice in succession, that's a ing python there, it's like a human being now, master, Bai Lu looked blearily at Zhou Ming, grunting and pouting, Zhou Ming can't top that at all, especially with a flaming long tang next to him, it's grandma's, this is my daughter-in-law, my wife, let go of my hand, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. touching my daughter-in-law in front of me, the angry heartbeat shook Zhou Ming's brain, sheesh, young snake, still too young, Zhou Ming dryly reached out and stroked by Lu's jaw, his fingers curling to gently scratch the skin of its jaw, hooting, it's the first time you've ever grabbed me like this, boing boing, feeling more like it, the reticulated mang by Lu slightly tilted her head, tilting her jaws better to be able to be grabbed by Zhou Ming, and the snake's letter came out and retracted, living as a kitty cat that had been successfully smoothed out, my daughter-in-law, my daughter-in-law, Long Tang's eyes were wide with rage as he stared viciously at Zhou Ming, his heart wailing, Zhou Ming glanced at the afterglow, the voice in the girl's heart screamed so cheerfully, but on the surface, she was too high and cold to speak, like she didn't care about Bai Lu at all, in that case, Zhou Ming's other hand touched it, yeah, I, 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 I. master, you're so good at this, he he, like like like, Bai Lu was so well behaved that he had Zhou Ming stroking him, his long body wriggling on the ground, his sharp snake's tail going through the hole left in the railing, a small section emerging to rub against Zhou Ming's calf, it repeated murmuring, master master, Long Tang's eyes turned red as he watched the scene, Ooh, you unreserved female snake, you see what's been brought to my head, still green, whoa, oh, my god, the earth, humans are stealing from snakes, is there anyone who can control the snakes? Dragon Tang a snake huffed, puffing madly at Zhou Ming, his body squirming to prop his head up, staring at him with a sinister, humans, you'll pay for this, get out of here, Shiro turned his head and hissed out, Dragon Tang standing up snake body instantly slumped down, turning his head in a good manner, I haven't done anything, didn't do it yet, do it yet, what about, please, didn't you just say you wanted to teach me a lesson, where's the face of the reticulated mangina, what are you doing, wimped out so fast, a proper wife beater, Zhou Ming simply didn't have the eyes to see, Bai Lu, who had finished being ferocious to Long Tang, saw that it had rebehaved and immediately turned its head towards Zhou Ming again, gulping its snake letters and humming and pampering, master, master, touch me again, people's jaws are so comfortable and cozy, hooting, little things, and two faces, Zhou Ming patted its big head and was about to make his next move when the cell phone in his pants pocket suddenly rang, master Pan's phone number bounced and flashed on the screen, Zhou Ming immediately picked it up, Zhou Ming ah, Master Pan's middle heavy voice came over from the other end of the phone, didn't you say you wanted to take the job before, I have someone here who wants to find you to appraise a batch of small things, now still take it or not, pick up, but Master Pan, you know my bottom line, Zhou Ming said with a smile, the current reptile market is not yet standardized, in a state of his barbaric growth, in this circle, it is said that you must buy and leave, and you do not owe each other anything, you don't look carefully yourself and buy a fake then you are responsible for it. Of course, like that albino king cobra that had been smeared with paint, the other party had done it on purpose, so naturally it was another story. So, anyone who sells reptiles wants the help of someone who really knows what they're doing to keep an eye on them, especially like Master Pan, such as a large amount of goods, make a name, more needs someone to identify identification. Zhou Ming, undoubtedly, is the most suitable one, of course, Zhou Ming didn't take on every job, if he didn't have valid documents or materials related to the types and quantities of exotic species of terrestrial wildlife introduced, Zhou Ming would never take a look at them, even turn your head and report it up the chain of command, striving to be a good citizen, besides, there are thousands of dollars in rewards from the top for a report, Zhou Ming belongs to the category of those who can't eat this end, so they go to eat the other end, of course, how could I, Master Pan, make things difficult for you? Master Pan said with a smile, the proof of entry and materials are ready for you, and will be sent to your phone in a while, so you can see for yourself, I'll send you the locator as well by the way, and I heard from old you that there's quite a lot of good stuff this time, so you can pick and choose as well, yeah, Zhou Ming agreed with his mouth full, in his mind, he was muttering about this old you, who is he, I don't recognize it, but that's okay, go over and meet and get acquainted, fine, I'll send it to you, Master Pan said, Hanging up the phone, Zhou Ming's cell phone dinged for a while, he looked at the material, Shiro and the railing was not pleased, Master, Master, 
Why are you ignoring me? Continue. Master. Zhou Ming listened to Bai Lu's delicate and soft pouting voice, and patted it without lifting his head. Da. Good boy. Play by yourself for a while. I'm here to earn money to support you. Said. Zhou Ming replied in the dialogue box. Be there in half an hour. Then he slipped his cell phone into his pocket and took off in stride. Master? Master? Don't go away. Who? Master you haven't satisfied me yet. Bai Lu spat out her snake letters and clung to Zhou Ming's back. Master, I'm so lonely and empty without you. Woo woo. Zhou Ming's feet softened at its o when he stumbled, almost falling to the ground. There's a leprechaun here. Seeing Zhou Ming running faster, Shiro was furious. Turning his head to the balled up Long Tang, he said angrily, It's all you. You scared the master away. Not a word from dragon? It was you. If you hadn't opened your mouth so wide and shown, your teeth how could the master have left me? It's you as you as you as you. Ah uh ha. -huh. I'm angry. Dragon Tang was full of grievances. It hadn't done anything. Mother Snake, don't be so irrational. Shiro, it's you. Zhou Ming who heard it grumble. Finished. The young lovers will have to mess around again. Chapter 88 A Child's Tale? Madagascar Ghost Snake. A street of reptiles. On weekdays, the streets are filled with only a scattering of lazy pedestrians. At 10 o'clock in the morning, the doors of several stores were still firmly closed. Zhou Ming hadn't even gotten to the door of Master Pan's store before he was stopped halfway. This way this way. Master Pan waved the walking stick in his hand, scaring the next person to rush back, fearing that the walking stick would fall on his body. Hey! Zhou Ming answered. Master Pan, this is Old Yu, who I told you I'd ask you to come over to help. Old Yu is also an old man in our industry. Master Pan put his cane down and smiled as he introduced himself to Zhou Ming, and then to Lao Yu. This is Zhou Ming, the young man who brought back that super arctic Lucy individual. The last sentence is sour. What's with the tattletale like a child? Zhou Ming laughed and said, Master Pan, I didn't force you ah. You said yourself that the store's things randomly I take a child. Master Pan you have a backer now, so you can't start suing. Look at that. Look at that. Master Pan sked and shook his head straight. Although he said that, his face was full of smiles. It was as if he was very satisfied with Zhou Ming. Old Yu took a look, waved his hand and said, You two masters can close the door and quarrel by yourselves. I don't care. You old boy. You're still exactly the same as before. Now there's someone who can plug you. But before you two fight, get the job done. He's still waiting for a contract on his side. Master Pan laughed out loud, pointed at Old Yu, and said to Zhou Ming, Look at this person, rushing people to work and being so nonchalant about it. Come on, let's go inside. Master Pan waved his hand, signaling Old Yu to head inside. Old Yu nodded and led him and Zhou Ming toward the Hudong, and only stopped when they reached the courtyard at the end of the Hudong. This is it. Lao Yu opened the yard gate. This is one of my transit warehouses. A transit warehouse? Zhou Ming surveyed the courtyard. It was four square, and the walls were guarded to prevent snakes from escaping. As soon as he got close to the house, he heard a hissing sound rising and falling inside. Aha! Don't hit me! And, and, where is this place? Oh, I'm scared! And, Yen, let me out! I will bite you to death! Where on earth have you taken me? Ya! Yeah. Anata Tachi is not privy to what I'm going to do! Ya yeah, ba! What are you doing to me? Zhou Ming only got close enough to hear a variety of birdsong. I didn't realize that Old Yu's business was actually so extensive, and that he could get his hands on imported snakes. It's imported from abroad, and I talked to the other side before they even got it. Old Yu pushed open the door of the house, and the hissing sound in the house got louder and louder. Snakes of all sorts confined in cages heard the human's footsteps and approached the bars of the cage in unison. Their grim gazes fixed on them. The less courageous ones would probably be unable to stand by this time but old you was used to it, and he went on, my batch of snakes took a lot of time just to build bridges with people, the ones brought back are also species that don't appear much in our country, and just one snake alone cost me this much, old you made a gesture with a somewhat smug expression, it's not just over in Africa, there are snakes from all over the world, no reptile store in the country has as many as I have here, my batch of snakes, each one imported and fine, will fetch a thousand dollars at least, if you see anything you like, just tell me, and I'll send you two straight away without any trouble. Then thank you in advance. Elder you. I'll take a look at these imported snakes first. Zhou Ming took a cursory glance at the twenty cages, each of which contained a different variety of snakes. No wonder the language is so strange. However, domestic control over the importation of live animals is very strict. Look at the dozens of feeders Lao Yu. Guess it's only when the zoo is stocked that they get that many. Son, now look. Let me tell you. The other party had asked me to join Master Pan. But you, Master Pan, were too timid and said you wouldn't pay without seeing the snake. 
I went right to the top of my coffin book. Now Master Pan wants to take a stake in it, and I didn't say yes. Domestic market. I'm the first one to do this. I've had a general look at the snakes, and one of them is nice and spunky. Lao Yu nodded, then thought of something and added, Don't worry, the other side of the entry information is very well prepared, and the channel should be formal. The current domestic reptile market is still dominated by domestic native reptiles and a small number of foreign varieties, but those are also introduced varieties. Nothing rare. His batch was definitely the first of its kind in the industry. Exclusive. If you get it right, you can certainly change the popular breed in the reptile pet world. Master Pan listened to what the old boy said, then shook his head and cheerfully joked, but it's not. The benefits all let you alone to covet. Such a big cake. Not even a crumb left for me. Ha ha. It can't be helped. Who made you a little old man who doesn't see a rabbit? Old you smiled with a belly laugh. Wouldn't it be nice to miss out on this good batch? It's a good thing he made a quick decision and invested most of his worth down in one breath. Otherwise, such a good thing would not necessarily fall into his lap. But the same, such a big investment down. Lao Yu Hart is also playing his straight drums. If you lose it, you'll really be drinking the northwest wind. So ask Master Pan to call Zhou Ming over. Give the squeeze. Zhou Ming's left ear was the voices of Old Yu and Master Pan, and his right ear was the heartbeat of the reptiles, the smell of humans, and what are you trying to do to me? If you come any closer, human, I'll kill you. Oh, human, you're a snake lover. Give your life to me and let me give you pleasure. Boing boing, the air here is so dry, so uncomfortable and cold. It's so hard. Ah, my stomach is so upset. I want to throw up. Look down one feeder after another. Zhou Ming's thoughts, which were originally just guesses, now had a few more points of certainty. It's a ghost snake. Zhou Ming pointed at one of the feeders. Ghost snake? Old Yu leaned over and looked at the snake that Zhou Ming was pointing at. Madagascarophus lolo, which translates to Madagascar ghost snake. The ghost snake is a new species found in Madagascar with the scientific name Madagascar lolo, which means ghost in Madagascar, and is a species of cat-eyed snake. Zhou Ming spoke eloquently and finally said, although the cat's eye snake is very precious, this batch of goods, I don't suggest that you want it. Chapter 89 Rare Ghost Snake Sick Snake Liar Zhou Ming Why? Didn't you all say it was precious? Old Yu did not understand and looked at Zhou Ming with wide-eyed confusion. It's precious. Zhou Ming nodded. But in your batch of snakes, there is the genus Giant Thirsty Snake, which is officially banned from being imported. What? Is there between the genus Giant Thirsty Snake and the Ghost Snake are you saying that the Ghost Snake is subordinate to the Giant Thirsty Snake genus? Old Yu reacted extremely quickly and looked at Zhou Ming unexpectedly. Exactly. The genus Giant Thirsty Snake is a name that really 90% of people have never heard of, but they actually belong to one of the most successful snake families, the Swimming Snake Family, which is the most successful and diverse family of snakes in the world. But while there are only 11 members of the genus Giant Thirsty Snake, just a few species have a wide range, almost all over the Eastern Hemisphere, whether it's the tumultuous Southeastern Europe, Southwestern Asia, or the rainforests and open woodlands of Sub-Saharan Africa or even the driest parts of North Africa and the bitterly cold, high altitudes of the Caucasus Mountains. The main feature is the long, thin body, the head is large and triangular compared to the body, the most iconic is their cat-like pupils, which is how the cat-eyed snake got its name. Most of them do not exceed 60 to 120 centimeters, and their bodies are very rich in color and pattern, green, brown or yellow, with markings that are round, circular, square, and in general very diverse. There are some unique looking species in this population that are well distinguished, such as the mangrove snake, whose body is black with regular yellow rings, and the green cat snake, whose coloration is bright green or yellow green. There was also this one ghostly snake in front of Zhou Ming. Listening to Zhou Ming's long list of introductions, old Yu's brows tightened, but all of these are all properly inspected and tested, so even if they are of the genus giant thirsty snake, there should be no problem, right? There's certainly nothing wrong with it if it's really formalized trial material. It's just that you're sure this company is real? Zhou Ming pulled out his cell phone and flipped through the trial materials that Master Pan had sent to himself. This Hongfa Import and Export Trading Company Limited. It should just be a purse company. And 90% of the snakes they got over are of unknown origin. And, with the exception of this cat's eye snake, which is relatively rare in this country, all the other snakes are ubiquitous abroad, selling for no more than double digits at all. And, if you put it abroad, you can just pick it up carrying a sack. Zhou Ming's implication was that these things were not worth much. The other side is just playing the information gap. Moreover, not only this ghost snake, but all other snakes are basically small things that are banned from private importation and have a high reproductive capacity, easily encroaching on the natural environment in the country. 
This stuff is like the fuchsia snail or the water hyacinth. It's hard to eradicate. And I don't know how the hell the other guy got it in. It was Zhou Ming who wanted to get in these snakes. All in the name of the zoo. And also had to have the relevant personnel qualification certificates. Very strict. Lao Yu was able to find himself requesting an appraisal through Master Pan. And the shipment obviously cost a lot. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Then won't I be cheated? For this batch of goods. I directly shelled out two million dollars. The deposit was half a million dollars. Old you stared wide-eyed, almost sucking in a breath and carrying it over. Think he's been in the reptile scene for 10 or 20 years, and he's kind of famous, but I didn't think there would be a time when he'd be cheated. Snakes belong to the class Reptilia, subclass Scaly, order Serpents, and there are 10 families of snakes with more than 3, 000 species found, not to mention something like the Ghost Snake, which hasn't been discovered for long. Even if Lao Si was a big shot in the reptile circle, he still knew too few snakes compared to Zhou Ming, a professional. It's not true to say that I'm cheating, just the ghost snake that was just found here has an immeasurable price tag, not something that money can buy. But because of that, this snake belongs to the category of being a rare and protected animal. And even if these are officially allowed to enter the country, there is no way for this snake to be sold. There are laws in the country about rare and protected animals. There are times when the punishment for killing a few sparrows is heavier than the punishment for intentionally hurting a person. As long as old you dares to sell it back, he'll be caught at the drop of a hat. A couple of years of state meals, for sure. And more importantly, there are still six snakes in this batch, and it's going to take a lot of effort just to save them. What? A sick snake? Old Yu's eyes rolled upwards and he almost didn't take a breath. This snake not only has no way to sell even if, how the snake's body has a problem. Old Yu's face became embarrassed. Older brother Zhou, don't dare to joke. It's all good. Ha? Huh? Elder Yu, this one, this one, and that one don't have a very good stomach, so it's best to put a little medicinal powder in the water. And then there are these two, which are showing spots and lumps of black mold on the scales, a dab of tincture of iodine, and ideally a rush to put them in an aquascape box to control the humidity. The rest are all more or less otherwise ill, supposedly from spending too much time in the feeder, but it's impossible to say whether they'll be infected or not. You, just look through the cage and judge? Old you looked at him skeptically. Even a veteran like him had to rely on past experience and careful observation to be sure. And he had obviously examined all the snakes in the batch and found nothing wrong with them. Even Master Pan, didn't say there was anything wrong with this batch of snakes. Zhou Ming, however, only came over to look at the dozen or so snakes for a couple of moments. And he lingered his gaze in front of each cage for less than a minute. And then they say it's a sick snake? How is that possible? Old Yu's eyes were suddenly filled with suspicion as he looked at Zhou Ming. Oh, what to do about the dark spots on my glistening skin oh, tough tough tough, I have black spots too, I'm so angry. I shouldn't have craved that frog. Stomach upset. Do not want to eat anything. Difficult. Damn. What did the humans feed me? I want to throw up. Ow oh, my stomach. The ears were filled with the crunching sounds of these snakes. In the face of old Yu's skepticism, Zhou Ming was not annoyed and only explained lightly. Look at the snakes I mentioned with bad intestines. They haven't moved much since we came in. And the frequency of their gulping has slowed down. It takes 4 or 5 seconds to gulp. A frequency that is a sign of a bad gut for snakes. And if you look at their feces again, it's in good shape, but it's a slight greenish color. Ah, stomach so hard. Can't help it can't help it. I want to vomit. Zhou Ming's ears rang with the heartfelt voice of this snake, and he immediately straightened his face and affirmed. It's definitely going to vomit in three seconds. What three seconds to puke? And you alone can predict when a snake is going to puke? Are you making a scene? Old Yu looked at Zhou Ming as he spoke eloquently, living up to the appearance of a divine calculator. In his heart, he had already decided that Zhou Ming was a liar who had taken his chances, and that fake albino king cobra, it was probably just that it happened to know about this deception. I don't know how such a person captured Master Pan, an old man. He wanted to see if the snakes would spit or not. Vomit. Suddenly, a frog with spit and a vaguely recognizable likeness was spat out. This, this, this. Old you stared at the frog in utter confusion. Three seconds to vomit. Three seconds. Throw up. This snake, it really threw up. Old Yu's face was instantly hot and painful. Chapter 90, Master Zhou. I have to kowtow to you. Coincidence? Coincidence? Old Yu stared at the snake in the feeder. He still didn't want to believe this fact. Because once that fact is believed, it really means, he's being lied to. Originally wanted to do a big wave. And from there could change the first choice of poisonous pet people to keep snakes. But now, he can't even collect the book. If it is really as Zhou Ming said that the snake inside the state protected animals, not only lose money, but also get into a fishy. 
then the one who sold me the snake must not be good enough to cheat me, unless he doesn't want to live. Doggone it, old you said viciously, and then pursed his lips and explained to Zhou Ming, Zhou Ming little brother, not that I do not believe in you, it is really that this batch have invested all of my worth. Old you, next to him, Master Pan put on protective gloves at some point and opened one of the feeders, his hand grabbed the sick snake, the sick snake desperately rolled and struggled, the snake's letters in its mouth emitting hissing violent gasps, but it didn't shake Master Pan's hands one bit, he flipped the snake over and sure enough, he saw scattered spots of mold on the belly, snakes are reptiles with abdominal and bedding contact, when moldy mildew occurs, it often waits until the growth reaches the back before it is noticed, come and look, what am I looking at, where did you find a youngster, not at all, old you whispered and crumbled, he was ready, even if the ghost snake is a rare protected animal, he does not buy and sell this one is, find a place to let go, the rest of the snake continue to sell, when did this show up, I didn't see it when I checked yesterday, for this batch, Lao Yu must have spent 10% of his spirit on it, every snake that was sent over was personally hand inspected, so before this, he dared to pack his bags with conviction that these were good snakes, but now, after checking three more in a row, the worst of the three was the snake that had mold spots on its abdomen, while the other two had just green bean sized spots of mold found on their tails, when he examined it yesterday, he thought it was a pattern that this type of snake must have, reality hits home once again, old Yu's already fiery, braced face looked even worse, Zhou Ming also inserted a knife on the side, the remaining few that I didn't say anything about are infected with parasites in their bodies, although it's not obvious just yet, rumble, the sound was like a bolt from the blue, straight away, old Yu chopped his head off, gnashing his teeth, a few simple words, like a sharp dagger, directly poking Lao Yu's heart, parasites, domestic for the entry and exit of the live body inspection is very strict, for other items will choose to sample inspection, but the live body, but everyone will be checked clearly, there will be no parasites, the snakes in question, they are smuggled snakes, even if you don't check, old Yu had also now believed all of Zhou Ming's words, son of a, old Yu kicked over the cabinet next to him, trembling with anger, all the way to your grandpa's head, two million dollars, my entire fortune is on the line, that son of a is really something, no wonder they kept pushing me to pay, so they had this in mind, it's all a ploy, a snake infected with parasites is a pain in the ass, and if there's no way to eradicate it, it's the equivalent of buying a dead snake, even if it can be eradicated, it will have an impact on the price when you take it out to sell again, old you, don't get excited, haven't you paid the final payment yet, looking at Lao Yu's anger and red face, Master Pan was afraid that something had happened and hurriedly went forward to persuade him, mother asterisk 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 error, old you was so angry that he gasped, even looking at the group of snakes in front of him, he felt diaphragmatic, I'm sure I won't make it easy for them, all of them dare to cheat up to grandpa my head, do you really think I'm some kind of ingrate, elder you, I suggest you directly call the police now, just the point of smuggling and buying and selling rare and protected national animals is enough for them to drink a pot of water. Hearing old you say that he hadn't paid the rest of the final payment, the other party had expended so much effort, it was obvious that he wouldn't just want the deposit of $500,000, the remaining one and a half million dollars is the big one, they're certainly not going to just retreat now, while they are still waiting for the money, the authorities can just set up a trap and arrest them, then, when the time comes, old you will get his money back, otherwise, Lao Yu would only startle the snakes by rushing straight up to confront them, when the time comes, we won't get the money and we won't catch the man, fine, call the police, old you is now treating Zhou Ming's words as a golden rule, nodding his head in agreement without having to think, he said hatefully, damn it, since you dared to cheat on grandpa my head, don't blame me, with Zhou Ming as the backbone of his advice, Lao Yu quickly stabilized his mind, listening to Zhou Ming's advice began to take photos, screenshots of the records of incoming and outgoing transactions, and prepare materials, then report it to the proper authorities, after doing so, Old Yu looked at Zhou Ming in front of him, he took a step straight back, bent his knees, and landed one knee straight in the ground in front of Master Pan, puff, little brother Zhou Ming, no, Master Zhou, I must kowtow to you, Zhou Ming was baffled and rushed to help the man up when Lao Yu's other knee was about to fall to the ground, he really couldn't afford such a big gift, although Lao Yu was not as old as Master Pan, he is at least 50 or 60 years old, and he is only in his 20s, not so much, really, no, no, as far as, so far, Lao Yu shoved Zhou Ming's hand that was pulling him, and his knees continued to fall, if you hadn't helped me inspect this batch of goods, I could have lost all my money and my pants, this two million dollars is nothing for a rich and powerful person like Master Pan, but it was definitely an unimaginable amount of money for him, 
if he hadn't had his mind set on a big score. Hey, all in all, Zhou Ming saved the lives of several members of his family. You say this is serious. This you invited me over and not without paying money. I take money to do things for you. No problem is best. Check out the problem this is also my job. Zhou Ming waved his hand. He was just doing his part. However, this reaction from Lao Yu was really something he didn't expect. In front of Master Pan, say Kao Tao Ah. Yes, yes, I'll give you another 50% increase in commission this time. Old Yu looked at Zhou Ming gratefully. 50% isn't much, but Master Zhou Yu mustn't think it's less. If there's anything you need help with in the future, you can just say it. Master Zhou, you must visit me more often in the future. Zhou Ming listened to his mouthful of Master Zhou and said awkwardly, Elder Yu, you and Master Pan are my seniors. How could I dare to act as a master in front of you? You can just call my name Zhou Ming directly. Well, well, well. Don't call me any old man you. Just call me Uncle Yu directly. Old Yu enthusiastically said, looking at Zhou Ming as eyes more and more kind and worshipful. Chapter 91, Harvesting an Old Fanboy. Have we met before? Zhou Ming. What's this about gaining a fanboy? Just leave these snakes here for now. Someone from the relevant department should come and take over soon. You don't have to worry. I'm not worried. Not worried. Old Yu waved his hand and stared at Zhou Ming with a smile on his face. This is the big guy who saved himself millions. Gotta watch it. Zhou Ming. Ah this. Why does the atmosphere feel so strange? Master Pan looked at the old boy and shook his head. One moment at a time. He also said that he is not to see the rabbit does not spread the eagle. He did not also see Zhou Ming immediately as a treasure. TSK. Zhou Ming and Master Pan came out of Old Yu's makeshift warehouse. Old Yu has to take care of this batch of six snakes in a hurry. Although they are smuggled snakes, but they also have the right to snakes. Besides, there was a precious ghost snake in there. So there was nothing to be said about just leaving them unattended. It wasn't until Zhou Ming and Master Pan had both walked away that Old Yu twisted his head back into the warehouse. Didn't go two steps. Zhou Ming's cell phone suddenly rang. Ding dong. Zhou Ming looked down. Your account with bank card number digit 8769 was successfully credited. Several zeros after that. Old Yu was really honest and said that another 50% would be 50%. It's not ambiguous at all. Go sit at my place? Master Pan offered on his crutches. Shang, then I'll bother you. Master Pan. Zhou Ming laughed. Bastard. What do you mean by disturbing or not disturbing? Master Pan straight shook his head. So polite to him. Simply do not treat himself as his own ah. It's all in the family. Aha. Uh -huh. Zhou Ming nodded. Master Pan's store is not far from this side. As soon as he approached the entrance of the store, he heard an arrogant male voice coming from inside. Aren't you one of the most complete reptiles in the city? How come it's all this uninspiring stuff? Uninspired goods? What is this? Someone coming to kick ass? The relaxed look on Master Pan's face changed, and his eyes became more serious and defensive. He quickly stepped through the store door, mid-sentence, and smiled. I wonder what species this guest is looking for. Let me help you think about whether there are any here. Zhou Ming had an intuition that he had heard this arrogant male voice somewhere before, but he couldn't think of it for a moment. He followed Master Pan's side as he crossed the store door. When the clerk serving the men saw Master Pan, his eyes instantly lit up. Boss, you're finally back. The clerk's voice was tinged with the pain that comes after being tortured. This guest is a real pain in the ass. Even if you don't know anything, you have to point at them. The man with his back to them turned his head, frowning impatiently at Master Pan, who had raised his voice in disdain. Are you the boss? Thanks to some people saying that you are the most complete reptile business in Qingzhou City. I think, it's nothing more than that. As he spoke, he suddenly dropped his gaze on Zhou Ming, who was on Master Pan's side, and his eyes narrowed slightly. Haven't we met before? Maybe, Zhou Ming faintly said, it had only been a few days, and Zhao Weigua had actually forgotten himself, and the moment he turned his head, Zhou Ming immediately recognized him, Shen Weiyue's mom's brother, her brother-in-law, exactly, why is he here, your kid looks a little familiar, Zhao Weigua stroked his chin, quickly gave up thinking again, and said to Master Pan, I'll take the albino snake of what's her name Rousey, do you have it in your store, you're here about the albino king cobra, right? This snake is out of our store for public notice and is not a true albino. Facing Zhao Weigua's grumpy appearance, Master Pan explained in a good-natured manner. If you like king cobras, we have them on our side too. I don't want a king cobra. I want the most expensive, rare and precious reptile. If you don't have it on your side, don't delay me. You can check out this Richter's disc-bellied spider, also known as the money-living door spider. The tail is like a copper penny, covered with strange patterns and full of mystery. Extremely rare in the country. Is the pet spider lover's heart fever holy grail? You if you give away. This quasi. This man has just said it all. 
And I'm saying you don't have anything in your store that you don't have in other stores? You have one store and two stores that both say this kind of spider. Are you conspiring together? Zhao Weigua frowned and looked at Master Pan with disdain. Or do you think I can't shell out the money? Refuse to show me something good? Of course not. Master Pan immediately denied that he didn't know Zhao Weigua, but from the clothes he was wearing and the watch he was wearing on his wrist, he knew that the other party wasn't a poor person. If Zhou Ming hadn't taken that super arctic Lucy individual pig no snake with him, he would have definitely taken it out and shown it to Zhao Weigua by now. After all, that's what's really good about having a market without a price. But now, how about this? Why don't you leave a contact first, and I'll call you if I receive anything good on my end? That will have to do. Zhao Weigua handed Master Pan his business card and seriously instructed him. Just be sure to call me first as soon as you can receive those mutant varieties of whatever. Money is not an issue. You know that, right? Master Pan nodded slightly and accepted the other party's business card. Don't worry. Only then did Zhao Weigui nod contentedly. Don't ever forget. This little thing. It was vital to him. If he could find the unique reptile before Xin Wei Yu, then he would surely get the green eyes in front of that person. Since there was none here, there was no point in him wasting his time. Of course of course. Master Pan answered in a loud voice and kept sending Zhao Weigui to the front of the store. Watching him get into an expensive Rolls Royce. It's a real rich man. But it's also true that you don't know anything about reptiles. A mouthful is the most expensive. And it looks like it's meant to be a gift. But where does he know? Reptile this thing. No one brought into the circle only want to look for in these ordinary reptile pet store. Richter's disc belly spider is already considered a very small number of extremely high end take out the sale of reptiles. Ha! As soon as Master Pan turned his head. He saw Zhou Ming standing not far away looking at the departing Zhao Weigua and patted him on the shoulder. When you open a store, you always meet people like this and that. Go, 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 let's go to the tea room and have some tea. Zhou Ming nodded and obediently followed Master Pan into the tea room. Outside the store, Zhao Weigua, who was sitting in the driver's seat of the Rolls Royce, suddenly had a flash of insight. Asterisk 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 asterisk. So it's you kid. Shen Weigua that little nini is as high and mighty as anything. Isn't she still in a hurry? Damn. We mustn't let them get the jump on us. The cooperation case in Kyoto is definitely theirs in the end. A deep light flashed in the bottom of Zhao Weigua's eyes. His foot slammed on the gas pedal. And the Rolls Royce, which had excellent performance, bared its soul and rushed out. Chapter 92 A Snake. How can it be so cheap ah? Stellar Group Headquarters Building. Xin Zhengxian hung up the phone. And a thick crisis flashed under his eyes. I didn't expect the little girl Shen Weiwei to also pry into the news of the one on the other side of the capital state. I can't believe it coincided with his thoughts. Now, it's all about who moves a little faster. As long as he pleases that person, the cooperation case will definitely be taken down by him, and only then will he be able to get back in front of the old man. Otherwise, knock knock, a crisp knock sounded on the door. The pretty female secretary wearing a white shirt on top and a tight black skirt underneath, revealing a long, well-toned, Slim leg in black stockings, pushed open the door of her office. Manager Shen. Mr. Shen sighed temporarily called a meeting with the staff. This meeting you. Ah. The secretary was pressed against the wall by Shen Jingxuan's sudden movement. Shen Zhengxian descended down the curve of her body, his eyes narrowing slightly. Forgot what you're supposed to call me in the office? Chairman Shen. The secretary smiled daintily and wrapped her hands around his neck. A kiss gently landing on his lips. Is the chairman still satisfied? Xin Zhengxian hummed lightly and patted the woman's upturned ass. Not bad at all. The smile on the secretary's face deepened. Come on, let's go see what my good niece is trying to pull again. Xin Zhengxian let go of the woman and straightened the clothes on his body. Seeing that he was already out of the office door, the secretary said in a serious manner. Okay, Mr. Shen. Hearing that address, a flash of dark dove flashed under Xin Zhengxuan's eyes. Obviously he's the eldest. The old man, however, was eccentric enough to cheat his way to the Pacific? Stellar used to cross right over to him and give it to his brother. And after his brother was hit by a car and killed, he hadn't had time to be happy about how long Stellar was going to fall on his head. But I didn't realize that the old man would rather let Shen Wei Yu, that yellow-haired girl whose hair hadn't even grown, sit on his head than promote himself. Ha! In that case, you can't blame him. Shen Zhengxian straightened the suit he was wearing and walked to the conference room with big strides. The conference room was full of people. And he looked at the smelly girl sitting at the head of the table with a leathery smile. Good niece, what's the sudden hurry for a meeting? After drinking a few cups of tea with Master Pan, Zhou Ming got up to take his leave. He had in mind the super arctic Lucy individual pig-nosed snake that was molting. I wonder if the molt is complete. The time it takes for a snake to molt varies depending on body size. Normal hog-nosed snakes molt in minutes, while large pythons take hours. 
but this pig-nosed snake in his hand was different because of the individual genes, and Zhou Ming was not sure if it would be different from other pig-nosed snakes. In the morning it was in a hurry to go to the zoo with Xin Weiwei, so it didn't observe it, but just set up a camera on it. Master Pan looked at him as if he was on fire and couldn't sit down at all, so he waved his hand and kindly let him go. Zhou Ming stopped the car as soon as he left the house and headed back towards the villa. It's still gotta be easy to drive your own car, Zhou Ming thought, but as soon as he thought of having to drive himself, Zhou Ming's mind immediately rested again. Hey, everywhere you go lately, there are two drivers, Shen Weiwei and Fatty, who are lazy. This is not good, not good. After paying the fare, Zhou Ming walked quickly into the villa. In the reptile room, the big hog-nosed snake's voice remained neutral. Ah, uh, how can I fix it? Human, do you still think I'm your father? You can't even change the water bowl for me. I need a drink of water. I'm so thirsty. My throat is smoking. When have I ever been wronged like this? Woohoo 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 ah, you don't look thirsty to me at all. That little voice is still olish. There's still time to hold on to it. Impatient with its noise, the king kitsune squirmed and tilted its head high. Its icy vertical pupils pressed against the glass of the feeder. The, a cold voice issued a warning. Shut up, if you wail again. I'll go beat you up right now. The large hog-nosed snake didn't expect a snake to make a sound, or threaten itself. It was a little grumpy and immediately couldn't stand it. The large hog-nosed snake immediately made a slight, slight sound. What? I can't talk anymore. It's not enough that there's no water to drink, but now you won't let snakes speak either? You country snake. You still want to bully me? Come on if you can. You come on. Come on. After this, Zhou Ming heard its arrogant heartbeat. There are feeders to keep them in anyway. Humph. You just can't come if you want to. See how you come on. Slightly. Slightly. Zhou Ming. You are so asterisk 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 asterisk. How can a snake be so cheap? Fists are hard. The provoked King Jean snake really couldn't stand it anymore. What? You city snakes are so great? How much scenery have I country snakes seen? How much food have I hunted? You know what you? You won't survive long out there with that little body of yours. Little trash. Wang Jin snake was successfully provoked by the large hognosed snake and thumped against the glass, realizing that it really wasn't something he could break off by himself, thinking in annoyance, asterisk 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 asterisk, this thing called glass is too strong too, ah, the snake is pissed off, this queen, my lord, will never spare you, you little snake, the pig-nosed snake was even more dejected at the sight, slightly, you come on, you come on, wow, the Chinese cobra next to it gulped its snake letters and watched the fun, fight, 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 oh no, you can't fight, curse curse curse. It even gave advice to the king's brocade snake, you don't hit it, just greet its eight generations of ancestors. Then he said to the big hog-nosed snake, quickly, it's going to greet you for eight generations, so you'll just double back. The large hog-nosed snake froze, that would be sixteen generations? The little pig-nosed snake interjected in a milky voice, why are you greeting your ancestors? What's an ancestor? Can it be eaten? Then it dropped its gaze on the Chinese cobra, may I greet your ancestors? Chinese cobra. You, King Snake. Nice work. The big pig-nosed snake rolls around with joy. Pahahaha. <laughs> Wang Jin Snake flicked his tail and snorted coldly. Serves him right. Chow Ming at the door. What do you guys learn all day long? It's all ing taught the little snake snake a hello. Blah blah blah. No swearing. Daddy. It's daddy's flavor. The little hog-nosed snake excitedly gulped its snake letters. And it couldn't wait to get close enough to get on the feeder that it didn't mind if its little head got squashed by the glass. Dad. Dad. The big hog-nosed snake looked at it with this worthless look. Bah! He's not your father. The little pig-nosed snake ignored it and called out in a milky voice. Papa! The king snake puts up his head and bosses people around. Human! I order you to open this glass. It's going to up that big hog-nosed snake. Let it know know that not every snake can be messed with. Ha! Chapter 93 it's all implied so obviously. You don't get it, do you? Zhou Ming pretended to know nothing. Fighting is not something a good snake snake should do. You might as well greet each other's ancestors. The Chinese cobra also sensed Zhou Ming's scent, but it didn't move a muscle. Ha! This snake has reflected. You just can't be too enthusiastic with a man. I'm going to lust after him and make him feel like I'm going to leave at any moment so it'll be Jen. Before he could even think of the word pity, the Chinese cobra saw Zhou Ming walk past him without a glance, not even giving it an afterimage. The Chinese cobra immediately thought indignantly. Hey! You just walked right past my snake snake's eyes. I'm such a big snake that I don't even have the charm to make you look at me? Oh human. Say, do you have another goblin out there? You came back because you were drained by a goblin, right? Oh, scum, scum, scum. But I'll forgive you if you come over and touch me. Zhou Ming. 
Put away your worthlessness, the large pig-nosed snake whimpered, its tail knocking on the water basin tipped over on its side, gulping its snake's letter and making a hissing sound to attract Zhou Ming's attention. The heart broke as he said, Human, I've hinted so obviously, you shouldn't be able to not see it, right? Get me up, get me up, get me up, water water water, thirsty, excuse me, just can't see it yet. Zhou Ming directly crossed over the large pig-nosed snake's feeder and stopped in front of the small pig-nosed snake next to it. Dad, Papa, 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 Papa. The little pig-nosed snake looked like a little repeater, milky and repetitive. Zhou Ming immediately let out a hay and opened the feeder, sticking his hand inside. The smell in the feeder that belonged to Zhou Ming intensified all of a sudden. The body of the little pig-nosed snake immediately wrapped around Zhou Ming's fingertips, the snake's letter gulping and leaving its own flavor on Zhou Ming's body. Hey, hey. I'll leave my own flavor so dad can think of me all the time. Shivering. To leave more. Zhou Ming's palm itched and he couldn't help but shrink his own palm. I lick. I lick. The small pig-nosed snake whimpered and squirmed, driving a coolness in Zhou Ming's hand. Zhou Ming took his hand out and looked at the pink and tender body of the little pig-nosed snake, which had already shed its fetal skin and felt even smoother and more tender. There was a powdery feeling all over. It looks like fine pink jade. Zhou Ming pulled its tender little tail. Oops. The body of the little guy who had just finished molting was very sensitive, and Zhou Ming's slight movements were all detected by the little pig-nosed snake. It flicked its tail. Dad, what's the point of touching my tail? Wanting daddy to touch my head. Zhou Ming immediately reached over and stroked its pink head. I'm so glad you're here. Dad really understands me. Daddy, touch my tummy again. The little thing is quite demanding. Zhou Ming slowly slid down its jaws, his fingertips stroking its soft little belly. Hello, so comfortable ah. Dad really understands me. Dad is so nice. I like dad the most. The little pig-nosed snake was so comfortable that its tail wagged. Its tiny tail rubbing against Zhou Ming's skin with a hint of coldness and itchiness. Looking at its wagging little tail, Zhou Ming couldn't help but shake his head straight. Where does the little guy look like a snake? The tail is wagging so hard. It's obviously a puppy dog. Zhou Ming touched it two more times, and his eyes fell on the water basin in the feeder. Clean and crisp in the water. There was a complete layer of snake molt floating around. Zhou Ming reached out and scooped up the snake molt. Even with the moisture, the molt is still light. The first time a baby pig-nosed snake molts, it retains the snake's original appearance, which is very smooth and moist to the touch. Not bad, not bad. It's very rare to find such a complete tire skin snake molt, whether in the wild or in a snake factory. This layer of tire skin is thin and fine, making it difficult to collect. The snake molts in circulation nowadays are basically left behind by snakes that have already reached adulthood. Think it's hard to see a snake molt that small. Zhou Ming fished out the snake molt and changed the water in the water basin again. The big hog-nosed snake next to him saw this and knocked on his water bowl and, Shu A Shu A. Thirsty. Hurry. It's not right to ignore me like this again. The large hog-nosed snake continued to whimper and rattle the basin of the water bowl, making a muffled thump sound. Ow. Me. Snake. Thirsty. Watching the big pig-nosed snake's haunting movements, Zhou Ming's slightly cool gaze fell on it. Don't even know what's wrong with you. And you want me to clean up after you willingly? Dreaming? He's not that good-tempered. Zhou Ming continued to stroke the body of the little pig-nosed snake. The long, thin, and light little snake was well-behaved. The heartbeat was milky and all but deeply attached to him. Papa, 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 Papa. The large hog-nosed snake saw this and tapped its tail harder on the water bowl. Knock, 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 knock. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 water, 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 Water. I'm not going to be able to do that. The hog-nosed snake whimpered, its body squirming from side to side in rhythm with the pounding of the water basin. Water. 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 Zhou Ming. What's with the shouting and the singing? Even the blue-tongued dragon stony next to him lifted his front paws to lie on the glass, his little tail wagging from side to side, grinding against the bedding to bring up layers of dust. Yoo-hoo. Cheeky. Pancakes and nuts. Oh. I'll have one. Mobilizing. The Chinese cobra also wriggled with the vibratory sensation sent by the large hog-nosed snake striking the water basin. Wow. 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 
Wow, 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 Zhou Ming, shouldn't he come back to electric light to help out at this point? The bouncy scene is stoned, this big hog-nosed snake was so good at finishing jobs, and he knew it, what do the employees at Master Pan's store do all day, is the work too easy? In the meantime, some small employee in Master Pan's store suddenly sneezed heavily, I accidentally pressed the volume button on the cell phone in my hand, come on, have fun, there's plenty of time anyway, the employee smiled dementedly at the screen hey, without realizing that the snake in the aqua skate box behind him was clinging to the glass as if bored, this way. Zhou Ming was still wondering how this big pig-nosed snake could be like this, then opened its aquascape box and stuck his hand inside. Ha! Humans, you finally set your perception straight, haven't you? Serve me well, you know? The large pig-nosed snake sensed Zhou Ming's scent entering the aquascape box and proudly flicked its tail with bravado. Turn the water basin up for me. Fill it up. Flip it up. Fill it up. Zhou Ming directly gave it a brain crash. Chapter 94 1 is not enough. I can't believe I have to play two at the same time. Ow ow ow. The big hog-nosed snake was stupid. Brain was buzzing from Zhou Ming's brain crash. How come things aren't working out at all like it was supposed to? Ah, damn humans. You're screwed. You're in big trouble. I'll show you what I'm made of. The large hog-nosed snake frantically slammed against the back of Zhou Ming's hand. Iron head kung fu. Death rap. With it came a loud cry. Zhou Ming's arm was immediately wrapped up by it in circles quickly. Otherwise, with my powerful body wrapped around yours. I will surely make you suffocate immediately. Shudder. Humans. Beg for mercy. Humans. Hey. Hey hey hey. How did my body how did it leave? Completely uncontrollable departure. Zhou Ming pinched its body and easily. Nonchalantly ripped it off his wrist. With whom? Can you put yourself in your place? And Deathstalker? I think you're just remembering what you've eaten. Never seen such a stupid. Stupid snake. Bah. 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 Abominable. Humans are stronger than I thought. The large hognose snake rolled itself desperately, all but curling itself into a large twist. The voice is fierce and sweet. It's like having a pretty little girl standing in front of you showing her sharp claws and thinking she's awesome, without realizing that it's not even worth mentioning in front of a man. A casual pinch and you can't move. Zhou Ming was impatient by its antics and could only pinch its plump body in a different place. Hmm, it's it's like I'm touching something. Soft and fluffy. Zhou Ming's thought had just risen. Bah, 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 you can't touch here. Ah, oh, here comes the feeling of Kiki's good behavior again. Ah, uh, damn it, damn it, damn it. I can't indulge in this feeling, but it's so good, so good. The ba ba ba, I want to fight, fight, perverted human. I'll fight to the end. The large hog-nosed snake flipped itself over under Zhou Ming's fingers. I'm going to die. I will resist, resist, Zhou Ming. Very well, fulfill your ambition. Zhou Ming took the remaining section of the body in his hand that wasn't mounted backwards and helped it turn over. Ahayoyoyoya, the large hog-nosed snake's tail twitched. This human is really good at it. I can't bear it if I have to, but if you keep touching people, I can forgive you. Zhou Ming listened. Okay, scatter it straight into the aquascape box. You might as well die. Trying to boss me around? Dreaming. Ah, hello? The happy touch disappeared and the large hog-nosed snake immediately felt empty. It sensed Zhou Ming's scent gradually becoming thinner. At this point, it's still confident. This perverted human must have gone to fill my water. After all, I'm thirsty. After two minutes, the big hog-nosed snake was starting to get a little skeptical. Why are you so slow? It's not ready yet? Ah, this perverted human is really slow to work. Poof. Three minutes later, it felt the hiss of the Chinese cobra next door. The, oh, you scum. You finally remembered me, didn't you? You know how good I am don't you? Humph. Ha. The big hog-nosed snake was blinded, realizing that it had actually been abandoned. It did a death roll to flip its death-faking belly over. Perverted human, you actually went to another little snake snake. Where's my water water? The pots and pans aren't holding up either. Ah ha. Exasperated snake. The large hog-nosed snake continued to start splashing around inside the aquascape box, huffing and puffing. Humming. You still haven't learned what I'm capable of. I'm going to arch through the world. Charge. Over there, the big hog-nosed snake puffed and puffed, arching the bedding, wood chips flying, full of its smug laughter. This way, the Chinese cobra is humming and singing. You smell like it's a snake. I'm the one who sinned with my snake's letter. You shouldn't smell its beauty. Wipe everything off and sleep with you. Oh, 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 oh. Zhou Ming's hand coiling the snake lurched. You guys have one snake and two snakes. Can't you be normal? His gaze fell on the high-cooled king's brocade snake next to him. 
Wang Jin Snake immediately sensed Zhou Ming's intentions, contemptuously flicking his tail and erecting himself. The cold as ice heartbeat fell on Zhou Ming's ears. How dare you! This queen sama is well fed now. Not a snake you can just rub and squeeze. The dignity of the queen cannot be provoked. Oh, just give me something to eat, right? Zhou Ming couldn't help but roll his eyes when he remembered how it was worthless when it saw food. Why is it so hard to coil a more normal snake these days? The large pig-nosed snake was really tired of arching, and its fat head quietly moved to the side of the aquascape box near Zhou Ming. Inside, resentment grew and gnashed his teeth. Perverted humans are really perverted. One snake is not enough for me. I have to play with two snakes at the same time. Ah ha. My potty. My shoe a shoe a. People's bodies are letting you play with them, and you don't even pay a little bit. Abominable. Zhou Ming, I asked you to reflect, and this is what you're going to do? What playing with two snakes at the same time? Don't you dirty your mouth. Rumor mongering requires evidence. He's obviously playing one after the other. It really is. It's not rigorous at all. The Chinese cobra was very sensitive to odors, and it not only found Zhou Ming smelling like the next door sized pig nosed snake, but also the smell of other snakes. Sour heart. Humph. You little goblins who only steal men. Don't you have any men of your own? Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. When I have the chance, I'll teach you all to be human. Grunting. The wet feeling came from the palm of his hand, and listening to the Chinese cobra's heart. Zhou Ming actually felt a little guilty, a gross ah. Uh. Can you please set your perception straight? As a snake. Just be a good snake. Why do you want to beat up a mistress? There's no mistress at all. Okay. Especially you little one. Zhou Ming raised his right hand and brought the Chinese cobra flush with himself, the snake's icy vertical pupils facing the human's eyes. This is a very dangerous practice. In the animal kingdom, looking at each other is mostly considered provocative. Especially for snakes. Definitely a big no-no. Not to mention Zhou Ming's like this, directly holding it with his hand. However, the Chinese cobra did not launch any attacks. On the contrary, it was Zhou Ming. A brain crash fell straight down. What's wrong with the smell of other snakes and snakes on me? Jealous? You're mad at me? Work on your temperament. You know what? Oh who, help. This man loves me so much, oh. The Chinese cobra's tone was tight as hell, and his whole body was covered in pink bubbles. Zhou Ming? Who? Who loves you? You'd better make it clear today. Chapter 95 The Chinese Cobra of Love Brain. Big deal. Oh who, help. This man loves me so much. A howl erupted from the Chinese cobra's heart, slamming its output. Ah he's staring me down, but he's not hurting me, and he's holding me in the palm of his hand. Oh, this deep love. Snake really likes it. Man, baby, love me. Don't ever pity me, I'll give you everything I have. Oh, baby, Zhou Ming, you wake up. The ants have been racing for 10 years. What's with the love brain Chinese cobra? Forget it, it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. Zhou Ming decided to continue on with another cutie. When the Chinese cobra was yanked away, it showed great reluctance. Its body was tensed up in a straight line by Zhou Ming's yank, and its tail was still tightly wrapped around Zhou Ming's arm. Oh, baby, I know you don't want to leave me alone. Ah, I don't want to leave you alone. Can you let go of your tail now? Baby, you won't fail me, will you? Aha, uh -huh. I'm going to live up to you. I'm going to go play with cave tarantulas and blue-tongued gargoyles now. Baby, you're so strong. You're like a tiger. Oh, I really like it. I really like it. You spread out. You spread out quickly. You are really affecting my wide collection after. Ah no, it is open reptile house ah. In the end, it was Zhou Ming who had touched the Chinese cobra's sensitive spot and hurriedly put it back into the aquascape box while it was going oh ho 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 ho. Zhou Ming moved his wrist. Very well, Chinese cobra, the beloved concubine. Stay well in the cold palace these days. Then after watching the other two little ones, Zhou Ming quickly went upstairs with his camera. He looks at the whole process of molting the fetal skin of a baby hognosed snake to see what the difference is between an individual super arctic lucy and a regular hognosed snake. On camera, the little pig nosed snake follows its instincts and stays in the water bowl. It didn't molt first thing. After running for a good two or three minutes, he came out of the water bowl again, shaking himself, as if the fur on his cat or dog had gotten water on him, to shake the water out of his body. It shook its head. It snake's letter gulping rapidly, sensing that Zhou Ming's scent was getting thinner and thinner amongst the air. The little pig-nosed snake drooped and rolled around on the bedding. Then it whimpered and squirmed its slender little body back into the water bowl. This time, it was exactly like a normal hog-nosed snake molting. For a few short minutes, its whole body was exerting itself. The body moved in one motion. The water in the basin swirled in wave after wave. Rested for a while. Zhou Ming saw its head shrink into the water's surface and gurgled up several bubbles. Pups. That's your bathwater. You're addicted to it, aren't you? 
Zhou Ming shook his head helplessly, but if this place was put on the internet, he didn't know how many crawlers crazy jealousy should be provoked again. Exporting this video, Zhou Ming sent it directly to Fatty. This can be edited in with the previous clip of the birth of the Super Arctic Lucy individual. Fatty didn't know what he was doing, and it took a while before he sent a voice back. Your fat brother I'm horsing around with the twin sisters. Don't bother me if there's nothing important. Oh grass, there's more of this good stuff? Ah, you should have said so. I don't even want the twins. I'll go straight over to you. Narochan am I the first to see it? You didn't send it to me after reading it with mission. Did you? If you mess up like this, people are going to get jealous I can't believe you didn't share this good thing with me in the first place. A series of voices. It's all about fatty swinging. Lewd voice. Zhou Ming. Roll. Fatty chewed on his handkerchief. Oing 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 oing. Zhou Ming. ING retard. But, Zhou Ming suddenly thought of something and reclicked on the chat software. Sending the video to Shen Wei Yu. Shen Wei Yu was very busy. There was no first reply. It was only after two hours that Zhou Ming received a message from Shen Wei Yu. So cute. The little guy is exerting himself all over. Loving heart. Shen Wei Yu looked at the red red hearts in the dialogue box and couldn't help but purse her lips. It turns out it's okay to send out this kind of sweet emoji pattern. She hooked a slight smile. I've been a bit busy the last few days. So the scorpion in the study will be a problem for you. Zhou Ming was also the first time to see her publish a love pattern. And his heart actually gave birth to a trace of surprise. Old cadres are starting to accept new things. Too. And then replied. Leave it to me. Don't worry. Shen Wei Yu is indeed very busy. And it's not usually busy. For a month in a row. Zhou Ming did not see Shen Wei Yu during the day. And only the humming sound of the car engine at night made Zhou Ming feel that there was a second person living in the villa. A month passed. The reptile house which is being worked on around the clock, is taking shape. Zhou Ming looked at the workers who were erecting the glass as a partition, which is the most difficult place to construct, taking into account the venue for visitors to appreciate the beauty and safety. Zhou Ming checked the construction progress, which was a little faster than expected. It seems that the opening of the museum is just around the corner. Zhou Ming was staring at the arena when his cell phone in his pants pocket buzzed and vibrated like crazy. As soon as Zhou Ming pressed answer, Fatty's staggering voice came out from inside. Zhou Ming, something big is wrong. Zhou Ming silently held his cell phone away from him. Didn't we post that video of Super Arctic Lucy's individual pig-nosed snake before and then explode? So many people have approached us about buying this little thing. And now we have an offer of 20 million dollars. 20 million dollars for your pig-nosed snake. Fatty cried out, tearing his heart out. Zhou Ming, you can't sell it. It's genetic fire. This is a hundred years. No, a good thing that is rare to see in a thousand years. You mustn't let the fat brother me be a disappointment. Zhou Ming, doesn't your throat hurt? Ha, huh? it hurts. Fatty said in a muffled voice, with a strong sense of confusion in it. Wasn't he talking about snakes? Why talk about his voice? Then go take some medicine. Zhou Ming suggested. And by the way, go cure your brain again. Is it a good thing that money can measure? The cell phone hung up with a beep of indifference. Fatty was bewildered. After several seconds, a fierce roar erupted from the Inchclean Villa area. Ah ha. Zhou Ming you dog, to actually say that I'm sick in the head, I'll fight you. Chapter 96, help me out, is it the movie I was thinking of? After Zhou Ming hung up the nth call, a trace of annoyance inevitably swept across his brow. Obviously the racer account registration uses Fatty's identifying information, but these people had asked for his phone number somewhere and were desperately trying to call him, for that one super arctic Lucy individual. Of course, no matter how many times Zhou Ming refused, the other party would still call. And even after being blacked out, he would call in with a different phone number. The 20 million dollars in Fatty's mouth had risen to 30 million in just a few hours. Zhou Ming sneered and directly blacked out the phone. The piker is not guilty of the crime. Other side. Zhao Weigua shrunk his head, feeling the gloomy atmosphere in the office. Listening to the busy tone coming from the cell phone. Zhao Weigua snapped. I, I'll try another phone. Shen Jingxuan's face was low. And with a wave of his hand. He directly swept the cell phone on the desktop onto the ground with a loud bang. The, I didn't ask you to take care of things. I asked you to push the problem on me. Otherwise, what do I need you for? Can't even do this little thing right. Zhao Weigua looked at the cell phone that had fallen to the ground with its screen cracked off with heartache and couldn't help but mutter. Why are you taking the piss out of something when you're just talking? It's the latest model of fruit phone. New on sale worldwide. He had a hard time grabbing it. Xin Zhang Xin. Xin Zheng Xuan's face became even darker as if black ink could drip out in the next second. That. Show some respect for the person who's angry. Will you? Is this the time for you to be upset about your cell phone? Zhao Weigua picked the phone up from the ground, and only as an afterthought did he realize the gaze locked tightly on him, 
and he snapped. I'm not wrong. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll definitely take care of this for you. It's not just a snake. I'll drive up to a hundred million dollars to get it back. Xin Zhang Xin. ING retard. He clenched his back teeth, and his voice sounded as if he were squeezing out the, do you know how much money I'm going to get when this partnership is done? Also 100 million. Do you think my money came from the wind? Ha dash? Zhao Weiguo opened his mouth and subconsciously wanted to say, you can't even take out a hundred million dollars right now? But when it touched Xin Zhengxuan's gaze of suppressed anger, he didn't make any sound. But don't worry, when I get the stars, Xin Zhengxian organized his expression. Zhao Weiguo was still useful to him now. He whispered seductively, don't say a billion, even a billion can be taken out for you to play with. That's a good feeling. Zhao Weiguo narrowed his eyes with joy, but did not look at all Xin Jingxuan's flickering look of disgust, dispatching yet another wave of people who wanted to come and buy a hog-nosed snake. Zhou Ming looked at the super arctic Lucy individual in his hand and nodded its little head. Do you have any idea how much turmoil has arisen because of you? The little pig-nosed snake's nose arched, and its dark eyes watered like fine onyx gems. Dad, hey! The pig-nosed snake, which was palm-sized at birth, looked like it hadn't changed in the past month, and remained a tiny one. I can only see on the electronic scale that it weighs slightly more than it did at birth. A few grams more. The little guy lying on the disc of the electronic scale squirmed, his little head whimpering and moving, and the next moment, it touched the tail. Yikes. What's this? Won't move? I'm sure it's daddy who gave me the goodies. The little pig-nosed snake opens its mouth and bites down on the goodies with an oink. Ah. My tail hurts a little bit yay. Why can't I bite the thing in my mouth? It's weird. Looking at the little pig-nosed snake trying to work itself into a disc of death. It's not. Your tail hurts. Don't you until you get loose first to find out why? Whoa. The little pig-nosed snake whimpered and realized it couldn't bite. Opened its mouth wide and started trying to eat it alive. It turns out that I can't seem to swallow it. The tail also seems to have been stung by something. It's raw and painful. The little pig-nosed snake immediately grunted and. Dad. My tail hurts so much. Woohoo! How come I still can't swallow what's in my mouth? Who's robbing me? Woo! Angry angry angry! Zhou Ming seems to look at a stupid little huffing and puffing glutinous rice ball. Is incompetent rage? And to think it drank its own bath water twice. Ed up! It's not like you're drunk out of your mind, is it? I'm listening to the soft and sticky crying voice in his head. Zhou Ming felt that this possibility was really high. Dad! Dad! The little pig-nosed snake finally remembered that he could ask for help. A pair of watery eyes stared tightly at Zhou Ming. Help me out. Dad. Zhou Ming sighed. How could there be such a stupid little thing? He pinched the sides of the little pig-nosed snake's head and, with a slight push, ripped he its tail out. There was still wet spit standing on it. The meanest part was that there was a small dent in the tail. Think it's left behind by the fangs it hides in its throat. It's really hard on yourself. Zhou Ming scared. The little pig-nosed snake had already taken the snake with it, and its slender little body was directly wrapped around Zhou Ming's finger. Hey. Daddy's the safest place to be. It rubbed against Zhou Ming's fingertips and wrapped its body tighter. It was just that the little pig-nosed snake hadn't been born for a long time, so this amount of force was like a mayfly shaking a tree, and Zhou Ming could just casually rip it off. Zhou Ming badgered the little pig-nosed snake's soft and collapsed body. It grunted and moved. Milk fierce milk fierce, daddy bad. Zhou Ming's eyes contained a smile as he continued to poke at its little body, and the little pig-nosed snake twitched and heartily grunted and squealed, but was not angry at all. Buzz buzz. The phone vibrated violently. Zhou Ming looked down and saw Fatty's phone number flashing on it. What time is it? Just so eager. Zhou Ming took the little pig-nosed snake and tapped to answer. And Fatty immediately yelled away. What time is it? What time is it? Why haven't you sent me today's movie? Don't you know that without a piece of gold daddy can't eat or sleep well at all? Hurry up and give me the movie. Father wants to see the movie. Saying that, the cell phone buzzed. And a reminder popped up on the screen. Papa Ma has arrived at 8. 888 yuan. Please check in time. Being on a call that was throbbing with seconds, Fatty continued, hurry up and put the resources over here. The gold daddy is already in a frenzy of lust and hunger and can't wait to get out of his own way. Zhou Ming, your language teacher must be so relieved. Without hearing Zhou Ming speak, Fatty continued, this is the tip that the gold master's father gave us. Did you see that? What a generous offer. Hurry up, right away. It's been filmed and is being uploaded. Zhou Ming moved the computer in front of him. The interface was already showing 83%. It would soon be completed. Remember it's got to be HD and unobstructed. Otherwise the golden daddies don't want it. Fatty reminded. Hemming and hawing. I didn't realize I could make so much just selling welfare tablets. If we get another photo shoot. Cosplay. Holy holy. Those buyers must be crazy. The more Fatty talked, the more excited he became. 
and the flesh on his body trembled and, and this movie ah, we also need to divide the level, there is an hour long foreplay, there is also straight to screw, these two kinds of movies, the content is the same, but our selling price is different, no clips have to endure long foreplay on the cheap, edited, chapter 97, do you like it, ahem, I'm a serious piece of work, seeing that he was getting more and more crooked, Joe Ming couldn't help but remind him, ha, huh? I'm talking serious too, ha, huh? Fatty's voice was confused and a bit aggravated, where's the immodesty, it's just a little snake movie, if you can't touch the snakes, you can't let them see the high definition no code ones, man, I'm warning you not to be cruel and heartless and unreasonable owl, Zhou Ming, you mother asterisk 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 her, serious snake playing video, ing you make it look like you're trying on the edge of breaking the law, upload successful, a command box popped up on the computer screen, and Zhou Ming immediately sent the video compression to Fatty, wow, there's something about today's slice, Fatty swung around and laughed, blessed is the golden father today, I'm not talking to you anymore, I'm going to go spread my seeds to the golden father oh ho 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 ho, hearing Fatty's lewd smile, Zhou Ming's mouth couldn't help but twitch viciously, sooner or later, you'll be blocked, the golden daddy in Fatty's mouth is actually a netizen who saw the little pig-nosed snakes of Super Arctic Lucy's individual online, the usual little pig-nosed snake videos posted aren't enough for them to lick their screens, so there was a joint protest directly below the comments section to try and get Zhou Ming to put up some more videos of Super Arctic Lucy individuals. Zhou Ming and Fatty had originally ignored it. After all it was his account that was a comprehensive reptile account. How could he just put up videos of little pig-nosed snakes? As a result, a mysterious rich gold father directly rewarded several W, demanding that Fatty give him all the other videos of Super Arctic Lucy individuals. Fatty said at once that he could not be rich or powerful, but he was giving too much. Who knew that the previous filming wasn't enough to satisfy the Golden Father? Clamoring for more. And other netizens know. Fat Brother actually privately production and sale of films immediately not happy. Have also given the video reward. Joyfully, Fatty's mouth was askew. Since then, Fatty has been on a path of no return. Hiding from Zhou Ming, he became a film seller and sold all the privacy of the little pig-nosed snake. When Zhou Ming found out about this, Fatty has actually done a small scale. The group of friends Miso Development. Every day wailing Fatty to put some more videos. Whenever a video of a super arctic Lucy individual is released to the group, the bounty on the Shakefast software spikes for the day. They don't buy the flicks. They're just bounty payers for the videos. Zhou Ming. Damn. Old clean little pig-nosed snake. All tarnished by you perverts ah hey. Underscore underscore underscore. The little pig-nosed snake squirmed on Zhou Ming's fingers, whimpering and gurgling along his wrist as he arched inward. The flavor inside is even stronger. Wow I like it here. The little pig snout snake went down Zhou Ming's arm, through the arm, and by the time Zhou Ming reacted, the little pig snout snake had already reached his chest, a thin, tiny strip, like a necklace, very hard to notice. What's this? What's this? It's a bulge. Let me see. Ah, a coldness in his chest. Ancestor, when did you go in? Come on out. Zhou Ming fumbled to undo his shirt and reached for the little pig-nosed snake that was making a mess on his body. Excited ah, is not very like me inside the body ah. The little pig-nosed snake thought excitedly. You're going to play a game with me. Hey, hey, hey. I won't. Zhou Ming, I think you can be caught by me. Feeling the little pig-nosed snake's icy body scurrying around his body. It even vaguely moves downward. Zhou Ming hurriedly twisted the buttons of his shirt all the way open and woefully grabbed the small pig-nosed snake that had landed on his abdomen. Wow. There's some hard meat here. Hmm. Let me feel the feeling. The little pig-nosed snake circled around Zhou Ming's abs as if it had found something fun to do. Joy smiled straight up. Zhou Ming, what's the deal with suddenly feeling like a toolman? There was a rustling of footsteps outside the door. Zhou Ming Isin looked down at the playful little pig-nosed snake and felt that it was almost time to pick it up. Big hands just cupped. A surprised, puzzled voice came from the doorway. You little pig-nosed snake? You. Zhou Ming raised his head with a baffled expression. The shuffling compromised Chen Wei you also looked at him and the small pig-nosed snake in his hand with a confused expression. Pupil earthquake. This scene. Zhou Ming naked upper body, shirt casually placed on the desktop, holding a non-stop wriggling small pig-nosed snake is put over to his body, it doesn't feel right in any way, Xin Wei Yu's expression was subtle, the gentry have many secret histories, she knew there was some thrill seeking in doing something out of the ordinary, but I did not expect that Zhou Ming actually also, Xin Wei Yu subconsciously took a step back, that, bother bother bother, it's not, are you serious about that step back move? Zhou Ming felt his brain ache as he placed the little pig-nosed snake on the desk, ignoring its grunts. Quickly, he put on his shirt and buttoned it up. Shen Wei Yu, he quickly walked to the door and helplessly explained. 
Just now, I was really sending a video file to Fatty. I didn't pay attention to when the little pig-nosed snake went in through my cuffs, and I was just there to catch it out. So, could you please stop looking at him with such a perverted gaze? He's not even a pervert ah hello, I still want it. Together, the little pig-nosed snake's milky and insistent voice came out from the study, but Joe Ming had no intention of listening to it. Mother asterisk 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 her, it's all because of this misbehaving little pig-nosed snake. He was all labeled as a big pervert and was arrested by the police uncle Ahi. Who's going to feed you from now on? Oh, Shen Wei you busily nodded. I understand all of it. Zhou Ming. One look at your face and I knew I didn't understand. As soon as he pulled Shen Wei you into the study, he pointed to the surveillance in the upper right corner of the study. I know there's surveillance in your study, and this computer can look at it as well. Come on. Zhou Ming had to prove his innocence. Zhou Ming clicked on the surveillance software and switched to five minutes ago. He pointed his mouse at the little pig-nosed snake that was making a mess. Did. See that? He's really not a pervert. Shen Weiyu was gathered in his arms without being told. And behind her was a vaguely heated body. Baking her stiff body to gradually become soft. Because reptiles were very sensitive to smells. Zhou Ming was never clean and never had a messy scent on him. His inquiring voice fell from overhead. And Shen Weiyu stammered in an effort to reply as if she were calm. Look. See. Aha. Uh -huh. Satisfied. Zhou Ming stood up from his chair. The new computer I ordered will arrive tomorrow, so I'll be troubling you for the next few days. The computer he had been using had accidentally gotten into the water and was simply scrapped. Zhou Ming went to the offline store. But there is no model of this. Can only let the businessman to go elsewhere to transfer goods. These days you can only use the computer in Shen Wei Yu's study. It's okay. Shen Wei Yu said. At this point, the surveillance video on the computer was continuing to play. And Zhou Ming's chest was ripped open by himself. Revealing a large area of skin. Shen Weiyu pursed her lips and her eyes fell straight onto the computer. She thought she heard Zhou Ming say something, and with a click of the study door, she was left on her own. On the computer, Zhou Ming had taken off his entire top, revealing a toned upper body. This light also didn't know how, illuminating Zhou Ming's body as if it had been sculpted. Shen Weiyu licked her lips and felt a fire burning in her heart. Her mouth was so thirsty, uncontrollably in front of his eyes flashed when he had just arrived in the study. Zhou Ming's naked upper body. I want to be a little pig-nosed snake on him. Chapter 98, Snake and Pretty Sister Sticky. Jealousy is so cute. Ahem. I don't know when Zhou Ming came back again and stood at the door of the study looking at Shen Weiyu who had a confused face. Shen Weiyu froze, suddenly thinking of what she had just done. A kind of embarrassment of being caught in the act rose from the heart miso. Luckily, she was battle-tested and was able to navigate her way through any kind of situation. Immediately stabilizing himself, he replied, What's wrong? Here. Zhou Ming pointed to the small pig-nosed snake on the desktop, which squirmed its tiny body and staggered in its heart. Dad. Dad. You forgot me. Okay. Okay. I'll serve and serve my pretty sister today. Hey. Hey. Pretty sister's body smells so good. Wow I like it so much. Pretty sister sticky sticky. Shen Wei Yu felt a coolness under her hand. Then she saw a docile and coquettish pink pig-nosed snake rubbing against the back of her hand. He he, pretty sister. It's not the same as the feeling on your father. Let me feel it. Barely, the little pig-nosed snake gulped its snake letters, and its soft forked tongue swam on the back of Shen Weiyu's hand, leaving a slippery and greasy touch. Shen Weiyu looked at it in surprise, not expecting this little pig-nosed snake to be so kindred spirits. Hearing the heartfelt voice of the little pig-nosed snake, Zhou Ming's forehead veins jumped straight up, and in three steps he walked directly to the table and pinched this little colorful snake. Da, I'm taking it out. You go ahead. Yeah. Daddy, the smell on pretty sister is so delicious. My whole body smells good. The little pig-nosed snake twisted its body, somewhat dissatisfied that Zhou Ming had pulled itself away so quickly, and wanted to break away to find Shen Weiyu. Although he knew that Shen Weiyu definitely couldn't hear him, Zhou Ming's steps became faster and faster. Shen Weiyu? She eats people? Why are you running so fast? Shen Weiyu blinked, looked down at the back of her wet hand, and then looked at the upper half of Zhou Ming's body that was naked in the video then sneakily edited down the video and hid it inside the folder. For fear of discovery, it also made a special note on the name of the file, important work information. This way, according to Zhou Ming's sense of proportion, when he used the computer again, he would definitely not open it randomly. Shen Weiyu patted her hot cheeks, the expression on her face that was as cold as perennial ice and snow on a high mountain, at this moment, began to gradually show signs of melting. An aquascape box in the corner of the table. The ink jade rough-tailed scorpion waved its large pincers and, humans, your taste has become so strange. Do you have a favorite human? No way. 
How can you still do scorpions horse killing chicken like this? How else can you finish scorpions 360 ways to use humans? Ah, uh, uh, human. What's with the tie expression? You're losing your personality. Scorpion is worried about you. Ah, uh ha. -huh. Shen Wei Yu's eyes flickered and saw the ink jade rough tailed scorpion that was jumping around with its teeth and claws, and reached out her hand to point at the glass in front of it. Thanks to you. Thanks to the ink jade rough tailed scorpion sneaking out. Shen Wei Yu hooked the corner of her lips and opened the documents in the file bag to start continuing her work. The cooperation case in Kyoto has been delayed for almost a month. The company has invested a lot of manpower and resources for this cooperation case. Another first market outreach that she led. Say what you will about gnawing this hard. Shen Wei Yu opened the cooperation case and carefully checked the terms of each item. Outside the study, Zhou Ming poked the small pig-nosed snake that was haunting the palm of his hand. In a low voice, he warned, If you don't behave, I won't take you out again. Seemingly sensing the change in Zhou Ming's aura, the little pig-nosed snake's frantically writhing body suddenly quieted down. Dad, don't be angry. I just like the smell of my pretty sister. If you don't like my pretty sister, I'll ignore her from now on. The little pig-nosed snake said helplessly, his soft voice little adult-like. I know, in your human world, this is called jealousy. Do you think I don't love you anymore because I'm good with her? Hey, hey, humans are so cute when they're jealous. Zhou Ming, roll roll roll, hurry up and go to your pretty sister. Numb nuts, your pretty sister doesn't have to. Zhou Ming looked as if he had suddenly thought of something, and his expression changed slightly. Then he felt out his own cell phone and found Master Pan's phone number and called. Early the next morning. Fatty pulled up in front of the villa in his latest Hummer. The car windows are down. Fatty's rich, chubby-filled face was revealed. He stuck his elbow out of the car window and tapped it. Smugly said, What? The latest model Hummer. Let's go. Today Fatty will take you for a ride to work. Zhou Ming looked at the rattling new Hummer. Where's your big Ben? Oh, wasn't it repossessed earlier? I just replaced it with another one. Fatty said, full of concern. Zhou Ming, how long ago did you get forklift? It's true. Rich people are capricious. Zhou Ming said to Shen Wei Wei and got into Fatty's Hummer. Fatty brother heatedly smiled at the cold-looking Shen Wei Yu and cheaply shook his hand. Miss Shen, you won't be angry if I take someone away. Shen Wei Yu coldly said, no, that's good then. Fatty smells like a cheap whoosh. It's too punchy. Zhou Ming fastened his seatbelt. You don't seem to be dealing with Shen Wei Yu? Nope. Fatty shook his head as the Hummer dropped under him. But what you asked me to look into earlier has indeed been asked for you. Stellar Group wanted to cooperate with the group over in Beijing State to open up new markets, but was stuck with the big boss. Now Shen Weiwei and Shen Jingxian and what's her name Zhao Weigua that you mentioned have been poking around this month to find out what kind of poisonous favor that big boss really likes. However, it looks like they don't have any targets and are searching like headless flies. Sure enough, Zhou Ming thought about it when he saw Zhao Weigua earlier. The thing Shen Weiyu had been guilty of was exactly this. Ah, uh, Fatty casually responded. His foot on the gas. The engine roared and he quickly left the villa. In the rearview mirror, Shen Weiyu bent down and got into her Maybach. Zhou Ming withdrew his gaze, said the fat brother in the driver's seat. First, a trip to Master Pan's side. Okay, wait, not going to the zoo? Fatty turned his head sideways and looked at Zhou Ming with some confusion. Later, Zhou Ming touched his jaw. Something good on Master Pan's side. Fatty's radar immediately sounded an alarm and looked at Zhou Ming in front of him with surprise. Go ahead and check it out. Zhou Ming said vaguely, not telling him directly. Okay. The thought of seeing something good again made Fatty's heart itch. Soon, the two arrived in front of Master Pan's store. It's hot and heavy in there. Seeing Zhou Ming and Fatty, the busy clerk immediately revealed a smile. Master Pan is waiting for you up there. Okay. Thanks. Zhou Ming thanked him and walked to the innermost staircase of the store. Going straight up. By the time he had climbed to the third floor, Fatty was out of breath. Damn. These stairs are so unkind to Fatty. Chapter 99, Ecological Simulation. Either snake lives or you die. Zhou Ming patted his fat stomach. Time to lose weight. I'm not fat. Fatty slapped Zhou Ming's hand away, rubbed his stomach, and said with a smile, We're majestic. How secure. Tisk. Zhou Ming unceremoniously broke him down. How long has the boss's wife ignored you? What about that big bite of Sydney? It wasn't taken by you either. Was it? Fatty's grudging little eyes landed on Zhou Ming, zapping his heart. It was too solid. Zhou Ming repatted his stomach again inside. Lose weight bro. And then it continues to take big steps to continue upward. Fatty grunted and followed. You're just jealous of Fatty being well nourished and rich. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Zhou Ming pushed open the door connecting the stairs, and his eyes were filled with a dim light. Temperatures are a bit high and so is the humidity. The whole room was in a hot, humid state. Holy, it's really hot. Fatty couldn't help but shout as soon as he came in, his hands constantly blowing himself up. His eyes gurgled as he surveyed the room. Inside the room was another space isolated by glass, which simulated the existence of reptiles in the wild. There was a hissing, hissing, hissing and shivering sound in his ears. Fatty opened his mouth, shocked, looking at everything in front of him, the original third floor, there is actually such a large scenic box ah, coming up, noticing someone coming in, Master Pan patted the dirt on his hand and smiled, not bad, ha, huh? Zhou Ming helped me get it, if it wasn't for him, I really couldn't have gotten such a realistic ecological environment simulation, no no, you already got it right with your previous ecological simulation, I just made some small suggestions, Zhou Ming said modestly, Fatty immediately widened his eyes and condemned with an incredulous expression of having caught his husband cheating. Well wow, Nehru, you've got a little secret for me Fatty. Zhou Ming, get thee out of here, can't talk. Master Pan looked at them and laughed. Fatty is such a live wire. Master Pan beckoned and led Zhou Ming to one of the ecological simulation areas. Here, look at the baby snakes you put here earlier to breed. They've been born for days, but for the time being, I haven't noticed any special species hatching from this mating. Not a single one? Zhou Ming pursued with a frown. This is a mutant species female snake, a white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake, that he picked up and collected when he rescued Master Pan at that time. Only this snake wasn't as good as those with dominant gene mutations, and looked just like a normal snake, with only bits and pieces of its body changing, its turquoise body with black spots, it looked like a rascal snake with patterns. The owner who caught the snake to sell intuited that it was good and took it straight to the market. It was just a pity that this rascal snake couldn't sell for a price even if it was a white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake because of its ugly appearance. It was also a coincidence that Zhou Ming, after going to take Master Pan to the hospital, when he came back to get him a change of clothes, he happened to see him squatting in front of the store, soliciting customers. With just that one glance, Zhou Ming decided that this rascal snake was not sick, but a blackened white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. Blackened. It's an even more amazing presence than the albino. Albinism is the reduction of melanin in an animal's body. Blackening is the opposite, a reduction in albumin. The most famous is the black tiger, or the rare individual known as the blue tiger. And there was once a collector who shouted for 100 million renminbi to offer a reward for a black tiger found outside of a protected area. Of course there are some black foxes, black cheetahs, black penguins, black horses and the like, and these are also real individual animals that have been discovered. Blackened snakes are equally rare. And if the probability of albinism being present in snakes is a possibility of a million to one, then blackening is a probability of 10 million, or even a billion to one. Zhou Ming was not a genetic researcher and did not understand why this white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake had given birth to speckled like black blocks, but that did not prevent Zhou Ming from knowing that it was a blackened individual. Familiar human smell. Who is it? A familiar voice broke through all the shivering and entered Zhou Ming's ears. Zhou Ming followed the sound and saw the rascal snake hiding behind a rock at a glance. Because of its previous capture by humans, it has a great deal of animosity towards them. Don't get too close, the poison of the white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake isn't low. Master Pan reminded, the most toxic white-lipped bamboo leaf green, its toxicity is about 20 times that of the five-paste snake. And even the least toxic Fujian bamboo leaf green is about three times that of the five-paste snake. The LD50 is between 0.5 and 0.7 milligrams per kilogram. And even if I can get you to the hospital in time, the poisoning is pretty bad and you don't want to get bitten, do you? The LD50, or lethal dose in half, is a common indicator used to describe the toxicity of a toxic substance or radiation. The smaller the value, the more toxic it is. A single detoxification dose of around 20 mg of lipstick bamboo shoots can be life-threatening if the wound is not treated promptly. The white-lipped bamboo leaf green is also one of the top 10 venomous snakes in the country. When the fat master heard this, he immediately shrunk back. He still cared for his little life. It's better to watch from a distance for something so toxic. He, fatty, hasn't hugged the pretty boss lady yet. Hatched baby snakes on the side. Master Pan pointed to the smaller feeder box next to him, in which squirmed a few tiny white-lipped bamboo leaves. Unlike the rascal snakes, their bodies are all bright green and emerald green, and they can't be seen at all. Only, Zhou Ming reached out to open the lid and directly pinched one of the white-lipped bamboo leaf green. Master Pan's expression changed when he saw his movements subconsciously trying to block Zhou Ming's movements. You don't want to die? These small snakes look softer and less aggressive than the big snakes, but are the ones that rely most on instinct to attack humans. Orochi also thinks for a moment if I can beat my opponent, 
and if I can't, I'll run. This little snake, whether it hits or not, just bites. Isn't it all right? Zhou Ming pinched the body of the little white-lipped bamboo leaf green, which was less than the length of its palm. Cupping the head, the body was all in the palm of his hand. The little white-lipped bamboo leaf green gulped at snake's letter and whimpered in a yell. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Don't you dare pull me. Let go if you can. And let's have a real fight. It's either you or me today. I'll bite you to death. Zhou Ming raised an eyebrow. It was actually still a male snake. According to this male snake, it's hard for him to escape death, isn't it? Since this was the case, giving it away did not cause Zhou Ming any heartache. Regardless of how the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green in his hand screamed shrilly, Zhou Ming slightly spread his palms. Master Pan, look at the color of this one. Isn't it a bit strange? Chapter 100 Could it be blackening? Snake who wants to eat soft rice wants to get away. Strange? Master Pan mused, coming over to Zhou Ming's hand and looking at the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake that was desperately twisting. He froze, then murmured incredulously. It's color. Right. Zhou Ming nodded, looking at Master Pan with certainty in his eyes. Wait. Narochan, what are you playing dumb with Master Pan? What happened to the color of this snake? Fatty looked at them uncertainly, scratching his head and, why don't I see any change in this color? Looking at the confused look in Fatty's small eyes, Zhou Ming fished out another normal small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. The two hands holding the white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake were placed in front of Fatty's face. Can you see what's wrong now? What can this be? Fatty skimmed his lips, and his sight absently fell among the palms of his hands. Then bellowed, asterisk 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 asterisk. The color of this snake on the right side is a bit dark. Could it be black? Blackened? This is a rarer breed than albino. Fatty he had lived for so many years, and this kind of blackened variety, he had never seen at all. In this circle, if you ask albino, collect and collect can still find you a few, but blackening, that's something that has a market without a price, something really good that no one would even think of selling out. Fatty licked the corner of his lips and looked at Zhou Ming excitedly. Really? Is this a real blackening? Holy, Zhou Ming you say it. Zhou Ming nodded. If nothing else, this is definitely a blackening. Blackening doesn't happen overnight. It's something that needs to be molted layer by layer at a later stage before the color gets darker. However, as Zhou Ming rubbed the blackened little white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake, it wasn't the most perfect blackened individual yet. Humans, spread out if you can. Let go. Aha my mouth. I'll bite you to death. Ow 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 ow. Bite you to death. The blackened little white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake struggled desperately. But in contrast, the little guy in Zhou Ming's other hand was a bit quieter. Can't hear any heart at all. Zhou Ming slightly loosened the hand restraining it. And the other party also acted as if they hadn't noticed. Their tail didn't even move a bit. If it wasn't for the snake's letter that was still being gulped in his mouth, Zhou Ming would almost think that he had accidentally pinched the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake to death. Don't argue. Finally, the small, white-lipped, bamboo leaf snake on his left hand spoke up. When it opened its mouth, the blackened individual next to it instantly turned off its fire and stiffened its body. Watching Zhou Ming TSK TSK TSK. These humans won't hurt you. Be quiet. Otherwise you'll be the one who suffers. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake said faintly to the blackened individual, a hissing sound coming out of its mouth. The color on you isn't quite the same as ours. Surely you don't want to remain here and be bullied either? Whether in the human world or the animal world, people and animals who are different will always be ostracized. Especially in the animal world. The only way to not be treated as an alien is to be exactly the same. After all, they don't know what genetics and evolution are, and will only instinctively reject their unlike kind. Rare blackened and whitened individuals in the eyes of humans are sought after and have a marketable existence. But in nature, they can then be the trigger that destroys a population. Everyone's turquoise, and you're black and white. How conspicuous are you? It will be the first to be discovered by the hunter, which will lead to the loss of one's own life and even that of one's companion along with it. Even if the blackened individual in front of them wasn't obvious, the instincts of the snake still made them aware of this different kind and instinctively began to reject it. No wonder this blackened little white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was so grumpy that it wanted to fight and kill at the drop of a hat. All for a reason. Zhou Ming poked its head, and it wailed and whined and howled again, like a puppy that had been wandering around outside, showing its teeth to all the humans and animals that were going to come near it. Really? The black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake quieted down slightly, gulping its snake letters and snapping. Really? The other small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake affirmed, as long as you're good and don't bite random people, the humans will definitely take you, and you'll have a good life from now on. The black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake obviously listened to it. Its words just fell. Zhou Ming hand twisted jumping hissing chaotic screaming black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green, 
has been lying peacefully in the palm of the hand. Zhou Ming heard it say, Okay, I'll be good. Aha. Uh -huh. The little white-lipped bamboo leaf green was very pleased, like a big sister who assiduously teaches her little brother. It made Zhou Ming even more curious about it. A small white-lipped bamboo leaf green that was only born not with long can actually be so mature? This snake was much smarter than Zhou Ming had imagined. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Fatty was dumbfounded, pointing at the black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green. Zhou Ming, what did you do to it? It's actually suddenly so well-behaved? If it wasn't for the fact that this white-lipped bamboo leaf green was too small, its body would definitely have long since wrapped around Zhou Ming's body, contracting the force to strangle his wrists tightly, thus escaping. But even though it was still small, the struggle was not small at all. But how long has it been? Zhou Ming had then taken hold of the black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green. That has nothing to do with me. It's the little guy who's trying to open himself up to soft food. Zhou Ming shook the black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green in his own hand, and the gesture, like grabbing an earthworm in his hand, was so well behaved that his tail didn't even curl up a bit. Hiss. It gulped its snake letters. But in its heart it was thinking viciously. Humph. Trashy humans. If it wasn't for my sister saying I can't bite you and you have to take me away, I would have bitten you to death long ago. One bite. Ooh. 20 grams of body weight. 19 grams of backbone. But, whatever this black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green had in mind, as long as it could behave itself, it was fine. This blackened individual definitely had a big role to play for Shen Wei Yu. Hearing Zhou Ming's words, Fatty bristled. You're swindling Fatty again. TSK, I didn't lie to you. It's true that it figured it out on its own. Being able to follow humans to eat and drink, and not having to hide from natural enemies not being bullied by other snakes and serpents. In your place, can you relate to it? Zhou Ming asked a rhetorical question. Fatty thought, of course I can figure it out. Then it's not. Zhou Ming took it for granted. Fatty scratched his head. That's not right. What's wrong with it? He, Fatty, is a human being. This is a snake. However, Zhou Ming no longer cared about him and asked Master Pan. Master Pan, is there a separate feeding box? Yes. Master Pan nodded. You've hit on both of these? Zhou Ming put the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green into the feeding box, while the other black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green was put into another feeding box. Zhou Ming pointed at the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green. I'm only taking this one. And the other one? Chapter 101, this human is really good at its sister. You are blessed. Master Pan looked at the blackened individual and was a bit surprised that he didn't take the other one. This one is a blackened individual. Yeah, Zhou Ming, you're not taking the other one? Fatty looked at Zhou Ming with a shocked and surprised expression. Blackened individuals, ah, how rare that is. It's impossible to say. It's the only one in the entire city of Qingzhou. There is a market without a price. Zhou Ming actually won't take it away? I'm not taking it away. But I would like you to do one thing for me. Zhou Ming looked at Master Pan. I want you to call Shen Weiwei, the head of the Stellar Group, and then say that you have a black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake in your hand. And the price is just one million. Only a million? Fatty had long felt that Zhou Ming had asked for his help to look into the internal affairs of the Stellar Group, and knew that something wasn't right. However, even now, he did not expect at all that Zhou Ming would actually give away the blackened individual that had come to him. A million dollars for a blackened individual. What's the difference between that and giving it away for nothing? Fatty's heart soured. Zhou Ming, have you really thought about it? A uh, dash. Zhou Ming nodded. I've thought about it a long time ago. The snake's blackened genes aren't much noticeable. Just barely noticeable. Although it was rare, such an unobtrusive blackening was like chicken ribs in Zhou Ming's case. It's useless to eat it, and it's a shame to throw it away. It would be better to fulfill Shen Wei Yu. As long as there was a female snake. Zhou Ming was not afraid of not being able to get a second black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. Most importantly, he had discovered a line of existence that was even more fascinating than the black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green. Zhou Ming lowered his head and nodded at the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green's feeding box. It seemed particularly easygoing, and even after being released into an unfamiliar environment, it just gulped its snake letters and lazily plopped down after realizing that there were no other unfamiliar scents in this box. Instead, it was the blackened. White-lipped bamboo leaf green next to him that looked like a small lion with a fried mane, alerting everything in the feeder. Wailed. What have you put me through? I told you. I'm not to be messed with. Holy. Fatty really felt that Zhou Ming was mesmerized by Shen Wei Yu. He bit his handkerchief. His fat face twisted and turned. And he threw his eyes straight at Zhou Ming. Narrower I want black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green too I'll give you two million. Okay. Zhou Ming. Bold demon. Don't you still have to be quick. Master Pan shook his body an old face looking at the two of them in horror, opened his mouth and spat out a sentence. It's okay, 
It's okay, young man, I get it all I get it all. What do you know? Zhou Ming glared viciously at Fatty. Get the hell out of here. Boing you're so mean. Fatty's 200 pound body shifted, his tone pouting. Ouch, you're over 200 pounds of a fat man and you're pouting. Zhou Ming simply didn't have the eyes to see. Next to him, Master Pan interjected. Zhou Ming, although the genes of this blackened individual are not obvious, it is still always a blackened individual. You know how difficult it is to come across a blackened individual on the market now. Just like that you still want me to call Shen Wei Yu? Fight. Zhou Ming never hesitated. This black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green wasn't really the best. It would be best to give Shen Wei Yu now to get through Hang Xin Group's current difficulties. After all, the Stellar Group is now considered the biggest sponsor in the zoo. As an employee in the zoo, Zhou Ming was just doing some of his share. Yes, Master Pan nodded in response. Fatty looked at the black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green in the feeder with a disappointed expression of regret. He shouted, Wait! Zhou Ming and Master Pan's gazes were exposed on him, and Fatty was holding the black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green feeder, crying with a fat face. Can I get some video photos before I call? Ugh, it's a black and white-lipped bamboo snake. Fatty, I want to keep a memory. Zhou Ming. Master Pan. Finally, Fatty ran downstairs with a whimper and carried his camera equipment out of the Hummer, huffing and puffing. He aimed the camera at the black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green. Two hours later, Zhou Ming placed the black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green in his hand back into the feeding box. Almost. These will do. It's two hours. It was enough for Zhou Ming to temper this black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. Ha ha ha. Damn. This human is really good at this. Sister. If you follow this human, you'll be blessed in the future ha. The black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green was so mesmerized by Zhou Ming's conditioning that the frequency of the snake's letter gulping slowed down. With that, it was still desperately trying to share its joy with the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. Oh this human is really good at what he does. You're right. Sister. Humans are actually quite nice. He he I like humans the best right now. Ah, The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green saw his brother fall back in such a short period of time. From a wailing little wolf dog, to a little milk dog that was now a well-behaved loved one. And the span isn't usually that big. Danger. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green gulped its snake's letter and memorized Zhou Ming's flavor in his mind. This human is very good at bribing and compelling snake. If I'm taken back, I must pay attention and pay attention again. This is an extremely dangerous human being. It's better to just bite it. All humans who are out of my grasp will all die. Zhou Ming. This snake snake. Aren't you being too bossy? I've gone to so much trouble picking and pulling to train your brother. But it's still not after going to someone else's house. I can serve them well. And the softer snakes are the ones that have humans to love them Ah, Is it too much of a snake for you to just bite me to death like that? Zhou Ming said that he was very aggrieved. Humph. Ah. Fatty hugged his camera and let out a contented sigh of relief. If only we could start small and record it every day it grows. Every molt. Every. Don't worry. You won't get that chance. Seeing that Fatty was about to recite again, Zhou Ming hurriedly interrupted his exclamation. Boing. Fatty commiserated. Zhou Ming didn't care about him, and said to Master Pan, then I'll trouble you for what comes after that, and for the remaining few small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snakes, you can also help me find a good buyer to sell them. The remaining ones, in front of the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake at the beginning, were like a beast that only fought and only followed its instincts. There is no place in the heart's voice where it can be heard half the time. Hiss. Rascal knocked on the glass with a muffled thud. Master. Did you save my master? Zhou Ming handed the feeding box to Fatty and squatted his body down. Looking at the rascal snake in the glass as he opened the small hole in the glass used to feed the food. Put his hand inside. Hisses. Chapter 102. Twisting can be powerful. Anti-bone snake. To be tempered. The rascal snake quickly gulped its snake's letter. Propped up its long head and neck. And erected its body to crawl along the glass towards Zhou Ming's hand. Seeing that the large white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was about to demand Zhou Ming's hand. Zhou Ming. What are you doing? Fatty's eyes widened when he saw the movement of the large white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. Immediately placing the items in his hand on the ground and holding down Zhou Ming's shoulders to pull him away. However, inside the glass, the large white-lipped bamboo leaf green, when it was about to touch Zhou Ming's hand, bared its teeth and slipped down. Hey, how did I get down? The great white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was dumbfounded, but it immediately cheered up again. The, it's really you. You're the one who saved me and put me here, right? You even had a little male snake found for me. I like it very much. That little male snake. He's got a lot of strength when he twists. Ouch. He 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 he. Zhou Ming. It was as if a cartwheel had run over his face. The sound of a little train whizzing around your own ears. However, 
It's fine for this rascal snake to live a good life here in Master Pan's place. Zhou Ming stood up, closed the small feeding hole in the glass tightly, picked up the feeding box that Fatty had placed on the ground, and, go. Fatty clutched his camera equipment and followed Zhou Ming in a daze. He thought he was still making too much of a fuss. But, which one of the reptile players has Zhou Ming's spirit of death? If it were an ordinary person, one life wouldn't be enough to play like that. So how can you blame yourself for making a fuss? Ming Zhou Ming this person, is really too capable of death. Right. That's it. Stellar group. Shen Wei Yu's office. Mr. Shen. The secretary pushed open the office door and walked quickly to Shen Wei Yu. Shen Wei Yu heard the commotion and asked without lifting her head. What's wrong? An employee at a reptile pet store just called me and said that a blackened individual hatched at the store and left it for you specifically. Said you could come over and check it out if you have time. The secretary methodically repeated what was said on the call. What did you just say? Shen Wei Yu immediately raised her head, her burning eyes staring at the secretary. The secretary froze and repeated. Someone from the reptile pet store came over and called, asking you to come over sometime. What did you just say about individuals? Shen Wei Yu pursued the question, her brows inevitably flashing with anxiety. Blacking out ah. The secretary mumbled and repeated that she didn't really understand these things and was amazed at how someone could keep these cold-blooded animals. Weren't cats and dogs and all these cute things good? Have the driver prepare the car immediately and go to this creepy petting zoo now. Shen Wei Yu stood up, fished out the trench coat that was drooping on the back of the chair, and thundered. Go! The secretary quickly followed. Half an hour later, Master Pan looked at the business card Shen Wei Yu handed over and smiled. You're Shen Wei Yu, I am. Shen Wei Yu nodded. She always felt that the other party's eyes looking at her were full of measuring. It wasn't the curious kind of ogling, but a feeling of elders looking at their juniors. She asked tentatively, You know me? No, no, don't recognize it. Master Pan thought, Zhou Ming this kid is not a good fortune. The little girl in front of me, although the face is cold, it seems to be a rich family raised out of the big lady, but a little bit of high and mighty arrogance have. Courteous and polite. Master Pan continued, this black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green is ready for you. Come and inspect the goods. Okay. Shen Wei Yu nodded her head, saw the crutches in Master Pan's hand, and although her heart was anxious, she still obediently followed his side, her body definitely not exceeding the other party by more than a star. Master Pan's remaining light swept, his heart was a little more satisfied with Shen Wei Yu. It's a good boy. I have to make it clear to you first, blackened individuals are rare. This one is not a particularly dominant blackened individual and what it can blacken behind it will also depend on how it molts. I understand. Shen Wei Wei has already prepared to use the lazy beautiful snake of the python world, the extremely sticky tree emerald spirit green tree python to the big boss. But now, in front of a blackened individual, albeit only a less dominant one, green tree mang simply wasn't enough anymore. Here, take a look. Walking into the tea room, Master Pan pushed the feeder box that had been prepared earlier in the day in front of Shen Wei Yu. Shen Wei Yu couldn't wait to receive it and looked at the white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake inside with a green body but slightly blackened. Indeed, as Pan said, the blackening is not obvious in color. Would you suggest I take a photo or video? Shen Wei Yu put down the feeding box and looked at Master Pan and asked. Master Pan took a sip of his tea and said, Of course, thanks a lot. Shen Wei Yu pulled out her cell phone, opened the lid of the feeding box, and aimed the camera at the blackened individual white-lipped bamboo leaf green that was squirming inside. Then he directly sent the filmed video to Zhou Ming. The reply on the other end was quick. Black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green. Only the blackening isn't very deep. But it's a good one. With Zhou Ming's reply, Shen Wei Yu's heart instantly settled. She closed the lid of the feeder. Boss, name your price. I'll take the snake. Master Pan saw her look like she was messaging someone. And after the sound of her phone buzzing, she just opened her mouth and fixed it. He didn't need to think about it to know that it must be Zhou Ming on the other end. At that moment, the gaze that looked at Shen Wei Yu added a few more points of laughter. One million. A million dollars? Shen Wei Yu slightly froze. This was a blackened individual. Only a million dollars? Yes. Just a million. Master Pan repeated what Zhou Ming had told him slowly. I told you just now. This is not a particularly dominant blackened individual. It also depends on the later stages of molting. A million dollars? That's the price I had in mind. Shen Wei Yu always felt that something was strange. But the thought that this blackened individual could help Stellar and Kyoshu work together. She nodded. Good. One million. I'll be sure to take care of your business in the future. Master Pan smiled. That's a good feeling. A street of reptiles. Curbside. Hummer Molly. Fatty watched as Zhou Ming crackled in reply to Shen Wei Yu's message. Pinched voice. Shrill. Brother brother don't you love me anymore? Messaging another young lady in front of me yells. Zhou Ming's typing hand gave a slight lurch. 
Is it okay to be a person? Hey. Fatty laughed joyfully at the goosebumps that rose on him. He asked suspiciously. However, I don't understand why you didn't give the snake to Shen Weiwei yourself if you were going to give it to her. In favor of having to go through it again in Master Pan's hands, Zhou Ming collected his cell phone. Did you? I just asked Master Pan to help me sell the snake. As for who to sell it to, I just casually designated someone. Che you're just being tough. Fatty bristled. Going or not? Go. Zhou Ming slipped his cell phone into his pocket and gently rubbed it. Shen Wei you the person. Face cold. Heart hot. She's credited with getting his reptile house renovated in a month to the point where it's at now. He was merely returning all of it in accordance with Shen Wei Yu's means of helping himself. Hissing, where do I start biting? Neck, legs, or hands? Behind him, a bloodthirsty voice came from the ghost. Zhou Ming's body went cold. What the heck is he bringing back ahoy? Looks like there's some tuning up to be done in the meantime. Chapter 103 Gold Master Big Brother Neck is good for snake bite. Ow dash. Fatty let out a sudden scream his horrified eyes falling on the screen of the cell phone in his hand. Then trembling, he looked sideways at Zhou Ming next to him and tried to grin a smile. Nero, I have something to tell you. What is it? Zhou Ming's suspicious eyes fell on his cell phone screen. What did this girl do again? The cell phone sitting in his pocket buzzed and vibrated as if it had a vibrator on. Zhou Ming's eyebrows instantly rumbled slightly as he fumbled for his own cell phone. Messages from the chat group kept popping up on the still unlocked screen. Asterisk 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 Blackened individual. This is actually a real blackened individual. In my lifetime, I actually get to see a blackened white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake? Mom, I'm out of my league. Eh aha, why is this screen dirty? Let me lick it and see. Holy, big guy I'll give you two million dollars. Okay, sell it to me. Rubbish, two million dollars? Who are you insulting? Do you know what this is? A blackened individual, voice breaking. Biggie, look at me. I'd sell myself to you just let me look up to it every day. A hey, aha you little, let me do it. I'll do it. Fat brother Juan will warm the bed will eat by himself rainy day back home by himself went to college ah. It's really, really shameless. I can do it too. Fatty, all of you get out of the way. Is fatty such a person? Fatty, will you look at me? Message after message crashed and crashed. Joe Ming unlocked the password. Clicked into the chat group and pulled up the messages all the way to Fatty, the originator. His hand slipped and he posted the blackened individual that he had photographed with his cell phone at the beginning of the group. By the time he realized it and tried to withdraw it again it was over two minutes. Fatty looked at Zhou Ming with a sardonic expression. Hey, 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 I think I can explain. Zhou Ming didn't say anything, a cold face looking at him. The flesh on Fatty's body quivered vainly, and his paw unconsciously went toward the door of the Hummer. Mom, yeah. Zhou Ming couldn't have seen that he was doing it on purpose. Could he? What bad intentions does Fatty have? Just wanted to share the good stuff yay. The color of this blackened individual isn't dark. I'm willing to pay 8 million. Ding dong. A special tone sounded on Fatty's cell phone. It's that one mysterious gold digger big shot. Fatty pawed at his cell phone. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Narachan 8 million dollars. 8 million. That's 8 times this one. It was as if a hole had been poked in Fatty's heart and he was bleeding from a clatter. Don't try to fish in troubled waters. Zhou Ming coldly and directly dismantled Fatty's idea. Not just want him not to pursue the matter of sending the wrong video, but there's nothing to hold. Accountable for. It's been posted. What else can you do? Zhou Ming turned back and continued to drop his gaze on the cell phone screen. Fingers danced quickly on the screen. Explaining. Sorry, this blackened individual has been left to my friend. She has a great use for it. No matter how much you offer, it won't be sold. Although Zhou Ming was in the group, he didn't often show up to bubble in this welfare group. Now it suddenly jumps out and explains itself. And everyone instantly looks like they've sniffed something. Holy, I want to have a friend like Biggie too. Big brother do you still lack friends? How about you take a look at my qualifications? Ah, uh, uh, find this friend quickly. Give us a lesson on how to be a big brother's friend. I'm going I'm going. Am I the only one who realized that this she is the female word for she? Is it? Girlfriend? You're kidding how can a reptile player have a soft and fluffy girlfriend? Come on, you don't have it, but Nero doesn't have to have it. Holy, it's solid. Boing boing does Nero lack a boyfriend? A traitor has appeared in our group. A heretic. FFFF. Burn him. The group was instantly buzzing. People have some small amount of money though, so feel free to chime in. But to actually shell out 8 million dollars for a blackened individual with that big gold master. That's still something that can't be done. It's just a matter of getting through the eyes and mouth. In the meantime, a private chat message popped up in Zhou Ming's dialogue box. 
I can offer $10 million for your friend to let me have it. $10 million. What a big deal. Fatty took a look at Zhou Ming's expression, then cautiously moved over. Asterisk 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 asterisk. $10 million. That's real money. Around the fat brother himself. Let him take a breath of 10 million just to buy a snake. He suddenly felt some pain in his legs. Custody was crippled by the family. He licked the dry corners of his mouth. Zhou Ming, 10 million ah, this you ing do not move ah, 10 million dollars. It'll keep him carefree for the rest of his life. Zhou Ming ignored him and crackled in reply to the other party. The blackening of this snake is not a particularly obvious dominant gene. And spending 10 million dollars on this one is too much of a loss. Blackening is hard to see. Even at this quality 10 million dollars is worth it. The other party quickly replied. He's right. If it was a snake with more pronounced blackened genes, it wouldn't just be 10 million dollars that could be taken. Seeing that he was sincere in his desire to buy the snake, Zhou Ming had to tell the truth. This snake has already been taken by my friend. And even if I wanted to sell it to you, I wouldn't be able to find a second one exactly like it. But next time, if there's anything good, I can give you first choice. After sending these two messages, the speed of the opposite party replying to the message instantly slowed down. There has been no message on the dialog box input in progress. And only then did two regrettable two words appear on the interface. Okay. Zhou Ming put away his cell phone and stared at Fatty. If it wasn't for him, this trip wouldn't have happened. Fatty hemmed and hawed. Where are we going now? Zhou Ming said helplessly. Let's go back to the zoo first. Okay. As soon as Fatty heard this, he knew that Zhou Ming did not blame himself and resumed his previous and smug appearance. Narachan just wait. The reward for our video today will definitely be small. Don't you still want to get a green tree mang from abroad? Today is designated to let you fulfill that dream. Zhou Ming shook his head inside. It's nothing to reward or not. It's just that I don't want Shen Weiwei to know that this black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was given to her from my side. Then your calculations must be wrong. This circle is so small that a casual inquiry will tell you about your relationship with Master Pan. Fatty rubbed his chubby chin. It's not at all likely that you'll try to hide it. Shen Weiwei couldn't look back now. And when she thought deeply, she would surely understand. Say more. Zhou Ming's gaze fell on the window as the scenery outside quickly swept by. He secretly took Shen Weiyue's love. And inevitably he couldn't return it in a big way. Fatty glanced at him. The car was silent. Only the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake on the back seat gulped its snake letters and made a hissing sound. What a perfect neck. Ah. The pulsing pulse. The clear veins. The gushing blood. It's really good for embedding with my fangs. Chapter 104, Ya Bob Adass. Stupid, right? Humans have two hands. Zhou Ming covered the aorta in his neck and silently turned back, his deep eyes staring at it. Numb nuts. You were just now advising the black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake to be more peaceful and not to harm humans. What the are you doing on your own right now? Trying to bite through my artery? Zhou Ming was speechless. This two-faced, three-hearted little white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake ah. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake sensed Zhou Ming's turning back and raised its front part of its body, extended its neck, and made a whirring sound, its small head coming up to the glass of the feeding box and staring at him. The voice was deep. Humans. Human. Human. What are you doing? What are you doing? Humans humans humans. You snakes snakes have nothing else to call yourselves to you? Zhou Ming frantically spat inwardly before reaching out to bring the rear seat's feed box into his arms. Humans. What are you trying to do? The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake felt the box underneath her swaying, and on her gulping snake's letter, the smell of Zhou Ming suddenly became stronger. It's like a behemoth. It's so big. It exclaimed, twisting its head to feel its little body again. It's like, can't beat it. However, a human of this size should move very slowly and not be as dexterous as me. So then, no, no. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake thought again of the powerful pressure he had just felt when he was carried in Zhou Ming's hand. He was held in the hand and could not move, and even simply could not detect the other side of the normal human feeling of fear of poisonous snakes, so that the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was very depressed. This was the first time it had felt frustrated since it was born. It gritted its teeth and cursed hatefully. Damn humans. Noticing what the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was thinking, Zhou Ming was speechless. Please, you're a snake. What kind of frustration do you feel? And come out since you think you're a bully? You were born just over a month ago. Is it okay to be your little baby? But, Zhou Ming was vaguely excited again. This little white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was different from any reptile he had ever seen before. It has a very mature mind and even thinks. Ah, looks like it's better to hunker down. Surprise, attack them by surprise. Complete revolt. Hmm, now it's all about eating and drinking human beings. And it's best if we can just eat him poor. Starve him to death. Hey, Zhou Ming, 
you've got a lot of heart for your little ing age. Listening, Zhou Ming couldn't help but open the lid of the feeding box and reached out to scoop up the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. What do you want? What do you want? Noticing that Zhou Ming's hand was approaching towards him. It was the same just now. He directly clutched himself without harming himself. But, it was defenseless just now. And now you want to catch it? Humph. Dream on wahahahaha alo? Ha? The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was dumbfounded. It's, how did it get caught up again? Obviously, it had felt Zhou Ming's hand dodging over. But what was going on back there? Zhou Ming laughed. Silly, isn't it? Humans have two hands. Moreover, he had long known its escape route from among the little white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake's heartbeat. Straight up both ends of the plug. Where do you think you're going? Calm down. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was held motionless in Zhou Ming's hand as it muttered. As long as I don't attack humans, humans won't be the first to attack me. If the human lets go of me, the third time won't be so good to catch me. Humming, is that right? Zhou Ming ruffled its little tail. The small white lips bamboo leaf green snake is similar to the human spirit. When it should concede, it will concede. As soon as it is released, it will begin to secretly poke and prod and want to madly dark shark human beings. This character is quite similar to the big hog-nosed snake. But the big hog-nosed snake, just a bear of a man born with a backbone. The one he's holding is the big bad one who really says one thing and does another. Yikes. My tail. Don't touch my tail. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was crackling with curses in its heart. But its body was docile and coquettish. Not moving at all. As if it had already resigned to its fate. If it wasn't for the fact that Zhou Ming could hear what was going on in its mind. He really couldn't say that he was directly fooled by it now. Little things. Zhou Ming dialed again. This time, it shrunk slightly upward. Badass. Sooner or later. You'll pay for your behavior. Small white lips bamboo leaf green snake voice stoic. Like a small beauty who endures humiliation and is molested by scoundrels. Bah. 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 Tail. It's off limits to me. Zhou Ming seemed to see the little beauty who had been molested by himself to the point of pearly blossom. Obviously so scared that his whole body was trembling. But on his face he was still bluffing. Trying to make the scoundrel go away on his own by not hitting on him. But how is that possible? Since the tail is off limits to you. Then he's going to pull the hair out of the tiger's ass. Zhou Ming poked its tail with a bad attitude. Don't move. I won't move. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake murmured in his mind. Is that right? Zhou Ming poked again. Badass humans. After several pokes in a row, the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake finally couldn't hold back. And its tiny body curled up into a ball of. Badass humans. Badass humans. Badass. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake let out one cry after another. Its crisp and sweet voice frantically denouncing Zhou Ming. Bad guy. Bad guy. Zhou Ming rubbed his fingers together and looked down at the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake that was curled up into a ball on the palm of his hand. It is undoubtedly good looking. The head is triangular. With a thin neck. Shaped like a branding iron. The top of the head is finely scaly. With a buckle fossa on the side of the muzzle. The dorsum of the body is bright green with inconspicuous black transverse bands. The abdomen is yellowish white. The outermost part of the body has a white stripe from the neck to the tail. The upper lip is also yellowish white. It's already beautiful now. And with the growth that will come afterward and the molting. The color will get more and more beautiful and nice. Now a big. Bad man with a sweet. Lively voice. Hearing Zhou Ming. His entire body was agitated and his chi and blood surged. And wanted to poke her tail twice more and hear her purr twice more. Mom. Yeah. Little white lips bamboo leaf green is right. He really is a badass human. This is irritated beyond belief. Badass. Big bad. The little white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was so angry in his heart. It's okay to poke once. You're two. Three. Four. Five. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake exclaimed. Badass. T.S.K. Zhou Ming stared at the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake and squeezed it again. Big bad. Zhou Ming hooked his lips. Sweet. Clear. Big. Badass ears filled the room. Holy. When Fatty glanced at his afterglow. He saw Zhou Ming's lewd as if he was smiling like a demented man. He subconsciously hugged his chubby body. Naru, what are you doing? Fat brother sells his body, not his art. Zhou Ming, what the hell were you thinking? Who the hell needs 200 pounds of your body? Fat brother is still muttering. You do not be playing snake play perverted ah. To fat brother I this body delicate body soft. The veins on Zhou Ming's forehead thumped and he couldn't hold back his curses. Get the out of here. It's now. Bite him. Badass humans. I'll have your blood on the floor. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake opened its big mouth and roared with evil snakes. Aha! Chapter 105, Wilt. Snake snake my body is unclean. Asterisk 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 asterisk. 
Fat Brothers Afterglow glimpsed Zhou Ming's action of storing small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake in the palm of his hand ready to strike, and then he shouted with his heart torn out, Zhou Ming, snake, this ing bite down, he will have to foot on the gas to hurry to send Zhou Ming to the emergency ah, Zhou Ming had heard the mood of the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake long ago, and just before it got up to speed, he was ready to directly pinch both sides of its head as it opened its mouth wide and prepared to attack itself, little man, with so many attack steps in front of you like this, you still want to bite me? I've heard the mental math for a long time. No, I didn't bite it. How 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 did this happen? The little white-lipped bamboo-leafed green snake looked confused, his mind in disbelief. And, wouldn't that be, me exposed? I'm exposed, Zhou Ming. Sorry to interrupt. You were exposed a long time ago. Acting nice on the outside, wild on the inside. I've seen through it. The small white-lipped bamboo-leaf green snake didn't move at all. Not knowing if it was too shocked or if it was just a countermeasure that he was racking his brain to think of. I've been exposed? I'm not exposed? No, 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 I'm just a little snake snake. What's wrong with a little snake snake? There's no mistaking a little snake snake. I just want to taste a human. This human being has been through many battles and has certainly been bitten by snakes and snakes not once or twice. Duh, right, that's it. I'm going to act like I don't know anything about it. It's good, it's good, that's all and then I'll wait quietly for my next chance. Listening to the little white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was desperately brainwashing himself. Zhou Ming TSK let out a sound. This child is not at all repentant. Ah, uh, and, was one doing something treasonous? Is it even worth the thought of taking a bite? Zhou Ming poked its little head and, why did you try to bite me? I've been so good to you. Little white lips bamboo leaf green does not understand. Head was pinched in the middle of his fingers. Black eyes were forced to stare at Zhou Ming. Mouth gulping snake letter to feel the changes in his body breath. Looks like I got away with it. There's no desire to hurt me in this badass human. Ah, uh, I really am too good at this. The little white lipped bamboo leaf green thought prettily. To the side. Fatty blinked, the fat on his cheeks shaking. That said, how is it so much like talking about his fat brother? Ow, oh, Nehru. I'm innocent. You can't accuse me falsely. Fat brother I'm a glutinous rice dumpling on the surface and a glutinous rice dumpling on the inside ah. Uh, I'm not like you. The filling inside isn't black. Zhou Ming looks sideways. Why does that feel so wrong? I have reason to suspect you're calling me names. Fat brother immediately reacted to what he just said. Dead cover his mouth. Sardonically laughing. Ah ha 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 ha. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the zoo. Badass human. When are you going to cut me loose? Big bad. Big bad. My body is all unclean. So I should be disliked by the snakes in the future. And I don't know how my brother is doing. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake let out a long sigh. Okay wow. Still a very affectionate snake. Zhou Ming let go of its young body and placed it back inside the breeding box, feeling that he was back in a separate space. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake immediately wrapped itself around a dead tree branch inside. Hoomph. This branch is so heavy. A badass human definitely can't move it. It's good. It's safe. TSK. What a stupid snake of a landlord. Zhou Ming did not want to break the naive happiness of the little white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake and directly covered the lid of the feeding box. Buzz off. The cell phone vibrated for a moment. Zhou Ming watched boss use name flash on the screen and immediately clicked to connect. Master Zhou. Good morning, Master Zhou. The phone came from the other end of the middle voice. No need to turn on the amplification. In the sight of the fat brother can hear it. I did everything I needed to do according to the method you said. And sure enough. The people from that company were waiting to collect the rest of my final payment. I cooperated with the official people, and went straight down the line, and straight to them. Not only did I get all my deposit back, but I also found several bosses who were duped just like me. Grandma, I realized at this time that even if I gave them the final payment, I wouldn't get the rest of the reptile. They just smuggled a bunch of them, 30 or 50 snakes, and then divided them up among several owners to cheat them out of their deposits, and then they lied to each other about the pictures. Son of a, what a thing, it's a good thing I ran into you, or else all this money really would have gone down the drain. Zhou Ming silently listened to his long list and said soothingly, since the matter has been dealt with, there is no need for you to be in a hurry to get angry. Yes, old you smiled brightly, thanks to you, you're practically our family's lifesaver. Uncle you, look at you, you're joking with me again, aren't you? Zhou Ming was very helpless to his politeness and said, I told you last time, I'm getting paid to do a job and it's what I should do if things are done well. If you're going to be so polite to me next time, then I'm going to turn my back on you. If there's anything you need, you just order it. No, 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 old you was busy saying, and then laughed. You kid, no wonder Master Pan thinks so highly of you. 
However, I do have a favor to ask. This one snake collecting route of mine was cut off and now the entry level reptiles on the market are not doing well. At this point in time I really don't know which direction to go in, so I wonder if you could point me in the right direction? Guidance is not to say, as long as the quality of your reptiles is superior, naturally people will come to you to buy. Zhou Ming first said a few polite words before continuing. If you trust me, you can go and get some bamboo leaf green snakes. I think there's going to be a small wave of heat in this coming period of time for bamboo snakes, especially white-lipped bamboo snakes. White-lipped bamboo leaf snake. Old Ju muttered to himself, and then firmly rejoiced. Success. I'll go into the white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. Zhou Ming ah, thank you so much. You're welcome with me. Zhou Ming slowly said. I'm also just telling you what I judge to be true. Whether or not I listen is your business. As soon as Lao Yu thought about it, he immediately said. I understand. The two spoke a few more times before the phone finally hung up. As soon as Zhou Ming turned his head, he saw Fatty staring straight into his eyes. He faded. What's wrong? Why are you telling him this news? Fatty wondered. Once that one black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was known in the circle, it would surely set off a wave of white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake fever. By that time, the white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake would surely become the newest internet sensation in the reptile circle. After all, this is the first time in the last two years that a blackened individual has appeared on the market. White-lipped bamboo leaf green snake, destined to make waves in this circle. By telling Lao Yu this news, Zhou Ming had no intention of giving the money in his hand to the other party for nothing. Chapter 106, Fatty is quiet. He's definitely working on a demon. Could it be that you want to sell bamboo leaf green yourself? Zhou Ming asked rhetorically. Fatty shook his head. No, he's not bad. Following Zhou Ming's side was also only because Zhou Ming as a person was really powerful. No matter how grumpy and vicious the reptile was, it could be submissive in his hands. Fatty admired, voluntarily following Zhou Ming without a name. Then no. Zhou Ming spread his hands. Boss Yu's path is much wilder than Master Pan's, and it may be useful in the future. The news of the bamboo leaf green snake is too much for Master Pan alone to eat, so it's not a bad idea to have shared some of it with Boss Yu. Since Master Pan was bitten by a snake, coupled with his age, his health began to deteriorate, and a lot of things in the store were released to his men to do. On the contrary, Lao Yu is just the right age, has a sharp eye and is also a hardworking man. There's no chance of finding anything good. He sold Lao Yu on the news, not before investing in it for later. Fatty scratched his head. Okay, so that's it. Ding dong. A Papa Ma pop up alert popped up on Zhou Ming's cell phone interface. Papa Horse arrived at. Please check back in time. It's old Yu's turn. TSK. Go out on a limb. Zhou Ming scratched the message off the screen. Turning to Fatty, he said, Let's go. To the zoo. Okay. Fatty answered. The Hummer sped along quickly, and it didn't take long to reach the entrance to the zoo. Almost to the stage of reptile hall closing. Zhou Ming must be a good stare. For come to watch the safety of visitors responsible. Fatty parked in the parking lot in front of the entrance. Then out of his car pocket he pulled a large stack of unchecked tickets. Zhou Ming? Fatty hemmed and hawed and ripped off a ticket. Add a fruit to Goldilocks dinner. After being told off by the door staff last time, Fatty shelled out for a thick stack. Wherever you put some, zoo admission isn't that expensive anyway. The two walked through the gate. The same ticket inspector as last time. Wearing an orange-colored lab coat, he saw Zhou Ming and greeted him enthusiastically. Brother Ming. And then seeing Fatty, he smiled and said, Aya, haven't seen you for a long time ah, thank you for giving the pandas extra food today oh, it should. Fatty took the verified ticket back and looked at him with grudging eyes. Remember to tell that panda, don't bare your teeth when you see Fatty in the future ow. Okay, okay. The ticket inspector nodded and said that he would certainly take the word there. Okay. Fatty held up his own little chubby hand in a gesture and puffed and puffed to catch up with Xiang Ming's steps, because of Zhou Ming's previous work address being picked up on the ShakeFast software, as well as being exposed as a conscientious practice in the zoo, travelers have increased significantly over this period of time, that one seems to be Zhou Ming, that's him, I didn't think we'd be so lucky to see him as soon as we entered the garden, not far away a few people were exchanging pleasantries, stretching his head, his eyes closely traced Zhou Ming's back, and there was even someone with a cell phone to take a picture. Fatty looked at them and then at Zhou Ming, seeing that he didn't have any reaction, he just pretended that he didn't see it, puffing and puffing as he chased after Zhou Ming, to the entrance of the reptile house. Fatty pouted and slapped his thigh. Damn, that's not scientific. How is it unscientific? Zhou Ming didn't understand what he meant and looked at the door of the creeping pet pavilion that had taken shape in front of him. I think it's quite good. Restored the design by 80 or 90 percent. It's been awesome. Once it's colored and a few touches are added, a full eco-series reptile petting zoo gate is ready. Custody calls the shots. 
No, I'm talking about how those people just recognized you, is my fat brother so non-existent? Among those guys just now, there could be a big beautiful girl in black silk, it's all legs below the neck, Shasha, it tickled to see fatty, it was a pity that the black silk beauty's eyes only had the uninterested Zhou Ming in them, hey, it's a shame, it's a shame that fatty he has this handsome face and perfect body, spend a lot of time with fatty, he didn't need to speak for Zhou Ming to know what was going on in his mind, Zhou Ming patted his full stomach in a word, I don't blame you, I can only blame them for having a normal aesthetic, it's just that dash, fatty got stuck for a second, Zhou Ming, what the hell did you say, ah, I'll kill you, fatty opened his teeth and claws, reaching out his hand in a gesture to choke Zhou Ming, Zhou Ming laughed as he dodged his attack and ran straight into the reptile, while running, what, I'm being honest, fatty was so exasperated that he shouted, ow, stop right there, come on, let's see if you can catch me, Zhou Ming laughed and looked at fatty proudly, sure enough, fatty's rich body couldn't run away from Zhou Ming, after a short chase, they huffed and puffed and waved their hands and, no more fooling around, no more fooling around, I'm tired of fatty, he didn't care and sat on his ass, breathing heavily, then he realized that he didn't know where he had run after Zhou Ming, an entire wall of glass had actually been installed on the side of himself, this glass wall gives a complete view of all the places inside the creepy pet pavilion, what the, fatty couldn't be bothered to catch his breath, slapped his ass and stood up, the location was found to be an absolute feng shui treasure as one would expect, the interior is made out to be structured like an apartment, sparrow and all, especially overhead, with a starry roof, just put a bed underneath and lie back and watch the stars, the location of the zoo is by the mountains and far from the city, but the surrounding facilities are perfect, there is no need to crowd people, car traffic jam, open the window every day to breathe fresh air, which can be more nourishing than in the city center life, TSK, 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 what god came up with this, it's just absolutely brilliant, wait, fatty suddenly realized that this was the creepy pet pavilion, the creepy pet pavilion was designed by Ming Zhou, so, this place belongs to Chao Ming, asterisk 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 asterisk, fatty jumped up at once, too excited to speak, if a reptile house was filled with reptiles, this would certainly be the closest place to them, think about watching the stars at night while playing snake, oh, ah, uh, fatty was transformed directly into a groundhog, eyes squeezed narrow and thin by the fat burst into an excited sparkle, as soon as Zhou Ming came in, he saw more than 200 pounds of excitement like a child fat brother, playing circles in place, what are you doing, seeing Zhou Ming, fatty rubbed his little hands together haughtily and ran to Zhou Ming with his ass in front of him, Naruchan, Naruchan, Aya, Naruchan are you tired, are you thirsty, do you want me to make you a bowl of hot noodle soup, Zhou Ming immediately got a layer of goosebumps and looked at him with a disgusted expression, you're possessed by a female ghost, so disgusting, look at what you're saying, see the weirdness isn't it, with a smile on his face, fatty reached out and wrapped his hand around his shoulder, asking squarely, you say, are we brothers, Zhou Ming, is not, he intuited that fatty was up to no good, hearing Zhou Ming's reply, fatty directly smiled and ignored it, we are all brothers, I'll do whatever I have to do, what's wrong with me shushing you a little, right, so what about it Narochan, when you're done here, why don't you let me stay here too, hey, 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 fatty is skinny as hell, the couch will be fine, chapter 107 the revolution has not yet succeeded, the snake still needs to be tempered, Zhou Ming had a face like this, and indifferently slapped his hand that was drooping on his shoulder down, Fade said, I don't have a skinny as hell brother like you, ow, seeing that he was rejected, Fatty hugged his thigh at once and sat his butt directly on the ground, I won't listen I won't listen, if you don't let me stay for two days, I'll hug your leg and not leave, Zhou Ming's forehead veins jumped and he clenched his own fists tightly, resisting the urge to beat him up, you get up first, no, 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 fatty pinched his throat, his body shaking and writhing as he pouted at Zhou Ming, balls you up brother Ming, Zhou Ming had goosebumps falling all over his body, get thee out of here, snap, a loud bang came from the doorway of the room connecting to the inner space of the creepy pet pavilion, the bagman with the little blue hat stared at them with his mouth wide open, staring at them with an expression of life unbearable horror crushing shock, Zhou Ming, his one life of innocence, Fatty's body stiffened and clicked his head around, and then, more than 200 pounds of the body hastily stood up, light as if the meat on the body are not meat but a ball of air, he cleared his throat and said in all seriousness, nice, the construction team was very conscientious, aha, uh -huh. help, what should I do if I'm seen by others when I'm being a, online cremation, etc, quite anxious, QAQ, contractor, will he be silenced later, 
The contractor scrunched his neck, his expression snappy, thanks for the compliment. The air was horribly awkward. Joe Ming coughed and asked, what's the problem with finding me? Oh, oh, I was trying to determine with you the material to be used in a couple of places. These crawl spaces, there's no more pine. Can you replace it with another material? The contractor immediately regained his professional ability and pulled out the drawings and walked over to Zhou Ming. Better still, pine, Shiro likes the smell. This large crawling shelf needed them to install it directly on the wall before Zhou Ming could set up the rest of the things, otherwise Zhou Ming couldn't get it alone just by setting this shelf. And these places, looking at Zhou Ming and the contractor, they began to discuss the main event. Fatty silently squatted in the corner and started drawing circles. Ah, what a world of fame for Fatty. It's ruined. Ah. It's hard, being dropped off at the door of the villa by the wilting fatty. Fatty let out a long sigh at the thought of his disgraceful scene. Hey, hey, Zhou Ming. It was oddly intolerable to hear him. Zhou Ming's heart softened and said to Fatty, Why don't you wait until it's fixed and I'm all done? And then you can go over and stay for two more days? No, no, it's Fat Brother I don't have this blessing. Fat Brother shrugged it off and shook his head straight. It's fine, it's just for a few days. Zhou Ming patted his shoulder and comforted him. Really? Fatty's voice was vaguely excited. But at this point, Zhou Ming hadn't noticed anything yet. He responded with a full, of course, that would be great. Zhou Ming? He's being lied to. At this point it's no longer obvious that Fatty's wilting all this way is all pretend. He's just the cutest little thing. He's just a little cutie. You're really. Zhou Ming was angry and laughing. Hey 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 hey. Fatty happily revealed a mouthful of white teeth. His eyes narrowed into a slit. You've already promised me, so you can't go back on your word. Don't worry, I'm not backtracking. Zhou Ming shook his head helplessly. Another eek he he excited to the point of perversion laughter from Fatty. After a while, he said with a joyful smile, then I'll go ahead out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Zhou Ming cursed and watched his car leave the villa and pushed the villa's door in himself. Just got in. Zhou Ming then unexpectedly looked at Qin Wei Yu who was only a few steps away from the main entrance. She had her back to herself, as if she had been startled into turning away in a hurry because she had suddenly pushed her way in. He couldn't help but shout. Shen Wei Yu? Aha. Uh -huh. Shen Wei Yu's body stood still and turned her head stiffly. He wouldn't have realized he'd been standing in the doorway. Would he? Shen Wei Yu stabilized her mind and faintly asked. What's wrong? Zhou Ming asked directly. Why are you at the door? Shen Wei Yu hesitated for a moment. Then under Zhou Ming's gaze, she stiffly held back four words. Out for a spin. Zhou Ming. Out for a spin and just turned to the front door of the villa. Very valid reason. Your. Shen Wei Yu was the first to change the topic, her gaze falling on the feeding box in his hand. You brought back a new reptile? What species is it? Zhou Ming handed this one in his hand to Shen Wei Yu. It's a white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. A white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake too. Ha! Huh? Shen Wei Yu stared at the white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake hugging a dead tree branch in the feeding box. It looks beautiful. Its color is very full. The whole body without impurities. As if a quick rich emerald jade. Zhou Ming nodded. I think so. Hissing. Another human. This human gives me a much more harmless feeling than that badass human. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green raised its head slightly, gulping its snake's letter and feeling the flavor of Shen Wei Yu's body. Is this my new owner? If the new owner is this human, I can reluctantly let her live a little longer without biting her. Hearing this, Zhou Ming, it seems that the revolution has not yet succeeded and the snake still needs to be tempered. It's so well behaved. Shen Wei Yu marveled. Many reptiles that had just been bought back and not quite adapted to their environment would become manic because of the unfamiliar scent. Even though it was a normal operation to show your teeth across a feeder, this little guy just moved his head and continued to be quiet. Good boy, if you can hear its rebellious heart, it won't feel well behaved. Zhou Ming thought bitterly, you didn't buy this size. From Boss Pan, did you? Xin Wei Yu keenly realized that the size of this white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake, it seems to be the same as the blackened individuals one receives. Shouldn't it be? Yeah, I just happened to see it when I went shopping this afternoon. Zhou Ming nodded and explained without moving. If I had gone earlier, this blackened individual of yours would have to be in my pocket. Can't help it. I'm that far ahead of you. The thoughts that flashed through Xin Wei Yu's mind were instantly dispelled, and a cold little face carried a few small, undetectable smugness. It's a no-brainer. Zhou Ming looked at her appearance and let out a low laugh. Xin Wei Yu was a bit surprised by his smile. She always felt as if Zhou Ming wasn't talking about the snake, but about herself, but by the time she tried to look over again, Zhou Ming had become serious, he lifted the feeder, this snake hasn't been conditioned yet, so I'll bring it out in a few days for you to try your hand at it, chapter 108, snake seduction not as useful as calling dad, don't be bad, yeah, Xin Wei Yu nodded in response, 
She hadn't played with such a small snake. I wonder if the feel will be the same as the big snake. As soon as she thought of this, Shimleyu looked at the feeding box in Zhou Ming's hand with eyes full of anticipation. Humans, where else will you take me? Sensing that the smells of the surroundings were gradually becoming cumbersome, the small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake began to panic a little. It can feel it. The smells in the air are every bit as bad. No, there's also a weakling-like presence. The flavor of the opposing presence was rarely very small, or even similar to that of a certain great serpent. In the beginning, it's easy for snakes to ignore. MMM. I think it's a big hog-nosed snake and a little hog-nosed snake. Zhou Ming analyzed it from amongst its heart, and then walked into the reptile room. Master. Humans. Scum. Man. Ah. Zhou Ming sighed tersely in his heart, tickled to death by their calls. Can anyone open the door and have a variety of voices calling out to them? From lowly voices to royals to queens, Zhou Ming finally realized how the Dim King came to be, because he's trying to be a fool right now. Zhou Ming passed through one call after another and stood in one of the innermost parts of the room, placing the white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake next to the little pig-nosed snake. They're both about the same size and should have been born at about the same time. If we were to really talk about it, the white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake should call the little pig-nosed snake a sister. Dad. Feeling Zhou Ming approaching him, the little pig-nosed snake's pink and tender little head pulled on the glass, its snake's letter licking around. Zhou Ming reached out and gently tapped the glass in response. The little pig-nosed snake turned itself around cheerfully. It's soft, sticky voice cheerful. Dad. 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 Dad was the first to pay attention to me. Daddy loves me the most. Humph. Not far away came a heavy grunt. Sour in tone. Stinky man. Negative man. Scum of the earth. I can't believe I brought back another bimbo. Ah. Nowadays. Little ES are just a few years old and already know how to steal men from me. It's true that the waves of the Yangtze River push forward the waves of the past. I'm going to die on the beach. Scum. People are not important at all ah. No. No. People want to change. Can't let these little ES steal my man. The Chinese cobra's heartbeat quickly swept through Zhou Ming's ears. It only seemed to have thought of a countermeasure as well, stretching itself out often, neck slightly raised, head pressed against the glass of the feeder. The tail twirled slightly, teasing the general public. I've been so good lately, I'm really lonely, empty and cold. Are you sure you don't want to reward me? Don't play with a hairless snake. I'm waiting for you, human. You can play anything with me. I don't mind at all. Ah, the tones are woozy and seductive, tempting Zhou Ming's ears. But on the other side, there was a full-bodied, Yet sweet, heavenly, thrilling, bad, 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 bad. Ah, what a supervillain human being. Oh, it's really too hard to choose. And then a lowering of the head, and the watery little eyes of a little pig nosed snake. Daddy, don't you love me anymore? As if he had been instantly bludgeoned. Zhou Ming covered his chest in death. How could daddy not love you, little boy? Zhou Ming hurriedly opened the feeder to hold up the small pig-nosed snake. The little pig-nosed snake immediately smiled sweetly and, daddy's so nice. I like dad the best. You're my favorite too. Zhou Ming had a loving fatherly smile on his face as he stretched out his fingertips to lightly tap its arched little nose. Really badass humans. Seducing snake snake. It's dangerous here. The snakes and snakes are locked up and tortured by bad human beings. What a badass. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snakes vigilantly hid itself, chanting through clenched teeth. Ah, the Chinese cobra cried out with a wow. Bastard, I've done everything I can, but I still can't get you to change your mind? Boing 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 I don't blame you for being trippy. It must be something I didn't do well enough. It's because my scales aren't shiny and my body isn't soft enough to give you a fresh feeling. Next to the King Kitsune snake. Love brain. Don't get hit by me. The great hog-nosed serpent is triumphant. Humph. Look at me in this. Pretty and beautiful. But what? I don't want to serve this human. It's just for fun. Have you seen this water basin? I'm marching over now. And this human is immediately picking me up. There was a ghostly cry from the Chinese cobra from the side. Okay. If you're capable. Arch now. The big hog-nosed snake's whole body arrogance instantly shriveled up. Thinking of the fact that he kicked over the water basin and didn't drink any water for the whole day. He stammered. I'm thirsty now. I'm not arching. I'm not going to attract human attention. Humph. Chinese cobra, cut. You're the one who's afraid of being taught a lesson because you've overturned the water bowl. If you don't dare, I won't laugh at you. The big hog-nosed snake's little temper got the better of him in an instant. Who says I don't dare? I'll arch now. Zhou Ming. You can really give me a hard time, can't you? Zhou Ming hurriedly opened the feeder and picked up the water basin in front of the small pig-nosed snake. 
dumped the water inside out and put an empty basin in. Okay, you arch it now. Big hog-nosed snake. This human seems to be insulting me. I'm pissed off. I'll arch. I'll arch. Snap. The empty water basin was vaulted to the ground. Zhou Ming took a long breath. Arch it arch it. There's no water in there anyway. No need to change the bedding. The Chinese cobra next to him sensed that Zhou Ming had run over to the big hog-nosed snake site again, and his anger immediately rose. Ah, the big, lying to me that I don't care, but still trying desperately to get his attention. Ha, we don't share the same fate. The Chinese cobra's eyes spit fire as if they were on fire, staring at the large hog-nosed snake's feeder. The large pig-nosed snake's body trembled. What? Who's watching me? I'm sure she's just too cute. Hey, 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 hey. I keep arching. I arch. I'll arch. Zhou Ming, you have a big heart. The Chinese cobra wailed and whimpered. Suddenly, bridge bean sacks. Wouldn't I be able to? Zhou Ming turned his head unexpectedly. No, no can do. If the Chinese cobra learns the rascally pot arching ways of the great hog-nosed snake. Hiss. Zhou Ming shuddered. Absolutely not. Good girl. Zhou Ming walked over to the neglected Chinese cobra feeding box and opened the lid. I've come to fulfill you. The Chinese cobra sensed Zhou Ming's proximity and instantly became arrogant again. Humph. Stinking man. Now you know how to coax her? Invisible? Humph. Too late. I'm telling you. I'm now aha. There. 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 Chapter 109. Damn. Badass humans bully snakes so badly. Zhou Ming suddenly reached out and stroked the Chinese cobra's body. Seems to have put on a little weight. Seems like it's still too good to be small. Otherwise it wouldn't always be about hooking up with humans. There 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 oh. 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 The Chinese cobra changed its tune. Irritated by his sudden movement. The tail unconsciously curled up and hooked up. The tip of the tail sliding back and forth on the back of Zhou Ming's hand with an unconsciously pleasing meaning. It subconsciously felt that Zhou Ming should like this touch. Zhou Ming did like it quite a bit. After all. Watching the icy poisonous snake whose bite could kill a person was cozying up in front of him like a big cat. Who doesn't? A slight itch came from the back of his hand, tickling Zhou Ming's hand with a slightly increased force. Ah, I'm so strong. I'm so strong. I'm so strong. The Chinese cobra's heart hummed and chirped, and its delicate, soft, and warmly joyful voice came into Zhou Ming's ears. It's so good. It's making snake's soul fly away. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Chinese cobra wriggled its body and couldn't help but wrap itself around Zhou Ming's arm. Zhou Ming noticed its movements and raised his hand to pat its head. In a low voice, he warned, be honest. If it hadn't wanted to learn to wreak havoc with the big pig-nosed snake, Zhou Ming would not have wanted to take care of it. It's even less likely to let it loose now. Humph. The Chinese cobra was slapped on the head, and its scarlet snake letters gulped rapidly as if it was very dissatisfied with Zhou Ming's actions against it. But once you hear its heart, I I really like it. Hashtag hashtag ho. 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 Hashtag 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 come on. Baby hashtag hashtag. Faster. Harder. Don't pity me. Zhou Ming. Snakes don't just have love brains in them. They also have jitterbugs. It's really a knife pulling on the ass and eye opener. The Chinese cobra was so comfortable that it dropped its head on Zhou Ming's arm. Heartfelt grunts. It's bone chilling to hear. Danger. The small white lipped snake which had been hiding in the aquascape bushes, lay on its back on the glass and sensed the Chinese cobra's scent. The instinct in its body allowed it to detect that the Chinese cobra's aura was definitely not something it could afford to mess with. And now, Zhou Ming, however, was tightly entangled with this dangerous Chinese cobra. The Chinese cobra, however, did not signal any attack. That means, even the Chinese cobra can't beat this badass human. It follows from this. This badass human is really, really dangerous. The little white-lipped bamboo leaf green's little heart shook. It actually tried to bite just now. Ah, it's a miracle it didn't crunch off on the spot. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake was in the midst of intense chagrin. Finished. Finished. Luckily this stupid human didn't know what I was thinking, and I didn't really bite him, so surely you won't bother with me. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. What's wrong with me? I'm just a cute little snake. Still, I'm going to continue my grand plan of nibbling and eating. Eat the stupid humans. Ho ho ho. I'm so smart how could there be such a smart and clever little snake snake like me in this world? Hey, 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 I want some balls. Newborns eat bugs, frogs, tadpoles, and other small animals just like adults. 
but because of their size, they also choose foods that are about the same size. Of course, because it's farmed in captivity. So the main food for young snakes is usually eggs, with appropriate sausages for pet snakes, or dismembered young mice. Zhou Ming, who had heard what was going on in its mind loud and clear. I'm so sorry, I know what you're thinking. Want some eggs? No, I haven't. Hisses, sensing the slackening of his men's force. The Chinese cobra unsatisfiedly increased his voice and looked up to question Zhou Ming. What? How long have you been with someone else? And you don't have the strength to do it? Which little goblin is being drained outside behind my back again? Stinky man. Scummy man. Blah, 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 blah. The rations have been paid outside? Humph. The Chinese cobra was arrogant as hell. With a little master doesn't care at all. Look, if you don't love me, you should have said so earlier. I won't follow you. Zhou Ming raised his eyebrows again and again. Endured and endured. Don't think that just because you're a snake. I won't dare do anything to you. Can't you be a little bit more discreet than that? Ah, the Chinese cobra said with a feeling that it was true in a broken way. I was right. Spending less and less time on people. With less and less force. It's all spent on other little goblins. Hey, I'm already a yellow-faced snake. It's normal for a stinky man to like the new and hate the old. I understand that I understand. The expression on Zhou Ming's face cracked, almost unable to control the force of his men trying to throw this girl out. What kind of asshole are you drop? What leprechaun? What yellow-faced snake? Where's a snake like you are? Hello? You want to put more force into it, don't you? You want to pursue your passion, don't you? Zhou Ming fished it straight out of the feeder and placed it on a flat tabletop, holding one end of the Chinese cobra in one hand. He stretched out its entire body as if he were stretching spaghetti. Snapped on the tabletop. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake next to him quietly shifted to the side glass. Just in time to take in all of Zhou Ming's movements as far as the eye could see. Only Zhou Ming pulled the Chinese cobra straight. Then his fingers started massaging it from its head. Oh, yeah, stinky man, you seem to be playing a very new thing. The Chinese cobra lay unmoving, feeling Zhou Ming's fingers start down from his head. Even the folds that should have swelled out in anger were taken care of by Zhou Ming's fingers. I've touched all the places I've been hiding. This stinky man, he knows my body better than I know myself. Wow, a man can be useful. TSK, enjoying human services and calling a man a stinky man? Aren't you going a little too far with this snake? Zhou Ming exerted a slight force under his hands and, ah, 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 ha this is going to be too much to bear, really too much to bear. The Chinese cobra's neck subconsciously raised upwards, and the snake's letter quickly gulped, emitting a happy shivering sound. Ah, badass humans, abominable, damn it, badass humans have bullied snakes so, so, so much. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake watched as Zhou Ming was going up and down on the Chinese cobra, who was also making a painful shivering sound. It was instantly anxious and balled up. Chapter 110. Do you want to play something else? What to do? What to do? It's such a big snake being bullied so badly and so miserably by bad human beings. If it were me. Woohoo. The small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake suddenly felt a darkness about its future. At the same time, he was firm on the idea that he must be good. Mixing food and drink. And must eat Zhou Ming into poverty. Ah. Ba. 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 Help. Help! Oh, my god! The Chinese cobra let out an even louder cry, and the entire snake couldn't help but curl up and wriggle from the pleasure Zhou Ming was giving on his body. However, Zhou Ming directly pressed down on its tail and body, and no matter how much it wanted to twist, it could only tense up into a long straight line. I can't take it anymore. Ba, 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 ba. That's too much? Wasn't he so stubborn just now, saying men can't do it? Zhou Ming hooked his lips and held its body in his hands. Now you know if I'm good or not. Don't just challenge a man to a line. The Chinese cobra was already confused. Every inch of its body scales were taken care of by Zhou Ming's warm fingers. Whenever it felt like it was going to be unable to stand it, Zhou Ming would suddenly let go, causing it to only grunt and twist its body to pray for Zhou Ming's help. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, man. Come and play. The Chinese cobra hooked its hand with its tail. Come on don't pity me. Okay. The Chinese cobra is truly gifted. Zhou Ming expressed great admiration, and, rejected it, this stuff, give enough at once that's not going to work, he had some leftover food, ah uh, no, strength to serve, to dish out other cuties, yeah, 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 stinky man, why are you dragging people up, feeling his body being gathered in the palm of Zhou Ming's hand, a burst of surprise erupted amongst the Chinese cobra's heart. 
Oh, I know, do you want to play something else with me, asshole, I can't stand you, come on, baby, baby, bell, child, bull asterisk 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 asterisk, you're a snake, how can you be so greasy, can you be a little more reserved? Zhou Ming shook his head inside while pondering if there was something wrong with the way he had raised it that it had become like this. As its owner, Zhou Ming said he had an unshirkable responsibility. What? Do you think I'm not good enough for a snake? I don't mind if two snakes come together if you want. Who made snake love you the most? The Chinese cobra gulped its snake letters and gently licked Zhou Ming's wrist. How's it going? Are you moved? Zhou Ming, dare you move? Don't dare move at all. Hearing these words, Zhou Ming profoundly understood one thing. The Chinese cobra became what it is now, and it has nothing at all to do with the way it was bred. It's all because it's a big, wild pervert in the first place. Nothing to do with myself at all. No. Oh, man. If you don't say anything, I'll take that as a yes. The Chinese cobra tries to wriggle its way into a good position. I love this man's body. It twisted its head and crawled up Zhou Ming's wrist, and if Zhou Ming hadn't grabbed its tail, the Chinese cobra would have already run up his neck. Looking closer, the Chinese cobra twisted itself around. Stinky man, let go of me. I'll give you pleasure. Let me give you a good time. I thank you very much. Zhou Ming sort of realized that he just couldn't hurt this girl. This girl is a stomping bad snake. You'd better go back. It's been divided up a lot of time today. One rains on every crawler's parade and definitely does not favor any of them. Aif, it's time to go back to the palace. Zhou Ming tugged on its tail and walked over to the aquascape box. Noticing Zhou Ming's move to prepare to put himself back, the Chinese cobra was instantly displeased. I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving, I'm going to make you happy, haven't played with snaky snake yet, I'm not going back, ow, 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 it twisted so much that Zhou Ming could only grab upwards along its tail, then yanked down hard, by the time the Chinese cobra thought to get up again and prepare to wrap itself around Zhou Ming's arm, most of its body had already been contained. Stinking man, so angry, so angry. The Chinese cobra opened its mouth, subconsciously wanting to take a bite out of Zhou Ming. Aha! Zhou Ming rushed his arm out of the way, badgering it to nibble its mouth toward the glass. Ow ow ow. My teeth. I can eat. I can poison. I can bite. Ouch. 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 The Chinese cobra's body curled up haphazardly, wailing in aggravation. It was a little heartbreaking to hear Zhou Ming. Just pinch its head and force it slightly to open its mouth and see the two little white teeth in its mouth. Fine. Nothing wrong with it. It is indeed in good condition. No cracks at all. It hadn't used much force to get down to the mouth. The fact that he was screaming so sadly now was only because he wanted to attract Zhou Ming's attention. Ah. That's terrible. The voice of the small, white-lipped bamboo-leafed green snake came faintly from behind. Snake reveals his fangs. And this badass human pulls them out. A snake that has lost its teeth is like losing its life. This man. He's just too scary. I mustn't let it discover my nature. I'm going to be a lady snake. Abominable. What a badass human being. Zhou Ming. That's good. This is a beautiful misunderstanding. But it's still a misunderstanding that can last forever by letting the little white-lipped bamboo leaf green know how great he is. Saves a lot of conditioning time. Not bad. Not bad. Hmph. How are people's teeth? The Chinese cobra opened its large mouth. Its snake's letter instinctively gulping as it looked curiously at Zhou Ming. Very well. Nothing at all. Zhou Ming let go and patted its head. It doesn't affect your scaring at all. Seriously. When the average human sees a cobra, their first reaction is to run. Run as fast as you can. When humans and cobras stare each other down, they're the tough ones. Calling this stinky man is quite gentle now. China Cobra fought darkly. The head could not help but rub against Zhou Ming's fingers. Comfortable. The next second. Aha. 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 When did I come back? What's going on here? The Chinese cobra suddenly realized that it was inexplicably and subtly back inside the aquascape box. It was just enjoying Zhou Ming's touch and comfort. And now it's back? Stinky man. I'm just being touched. Ah. Uh, the Chinese cobra huffs and puffs. Zhou Ming had already covered the lid of the aquascape box. Go home. Don't keep me from playing with my little lizard. Chapter 111 Brother Ming being green. Goddess licking dog? I'm staying at her house. Blue tongue dragon sheets he cannot wait. Back legs stretched. Body lying in front of the glass box, stretching the two front pawpaws, spitting out a small blue tongue, watery glasses staring at Zhou Ming straight. Master, master, I'm a good boy. I'm not even scary. Aya, master, aren't I wonderful? With that, it waved its tail. The tail is a little chunky, like little white, fat carrots. 
See Zhou Ming straight happy. Open the aquascape box reach out and touch. The blue-tongued dragon stones wobbled even more. However, this had led Zhou Ming to discover another problem. It's getting a little fat. Zhou Ming could hear its heart. And when feeding it, he naturally put in as much food as he could according to their heart. Where had the blue-tongued dragon stones ever seen a human who understood himself like that? Desperately asking for food and not wagging their tails until they are full. Over and over again. Even if Zhou Ming deliberately controlled its food intake, the blue-tongued dragon stones gradually gained weight. Plus he doesn't get as much exercise in the aquarium as he does at the BNB. So it's like he's blowing up like a balloon, isn't it? Looks like it's still going to be semi-released. Take it out for a walk during the day. Put it back at the end of the night. Zhou Ming thought so and stroked his hand with one motion. The blue-tongued gargoyle is not as dense as the Chinese cobra-like words. And the one person, one lizard, enjoys the peace and quiet. Zhou Ming, come out to eat. Shen Weiyu shuffled her slippers and walked to the door of the reptile room with a light voice. The door was open. Shen Weiyu still curled her fingers and knocked on the door. The ice-like face seemed to be blown by a blowing wind. And anyone with a clear eye could feel her good mood. Zhou Ming is naturally the same. He withdrew his hand, probably able to think of what had happened that could make Shen Weiyu so happy. Zhou Ming asked with a smile under his eyes. Something good happened today? Yes. Shen Weiyu subconsciously nodded, then raised her eyes. How do you know? She hadn't told anyone about the news that the big conglomerate over in Beijing state was finally going to settle on cooperating with her. It's written all over your face. Zhou Ming pointed to her face and joked. On the left it says, something good. On the right it says, it happened. Yes? Shen Weiyu subconsciously raised her hand and touched her face. No, right? Let me look in the mirror. Shen Weiyu reacted and finally realized what was wrong. How could the president of a group as big as himself write on his face? Besides if she had. Auntie would have told her first thing just now. Why did you wait for Zhou Ming to come and say it? Seeing the promising smile under Zhou Ming's eyes, Shen Weiyu pursed her lips, her icy voice carrying the imperceptible petulance of a young woman's daughter. You did it on purpose. You found out. Zhou Ming blinked. It's been over a month. The first time I've seen you so happy. Must have solved a big problem. Right? Aha. Uh -huh. Shen Weiyu nodded. That blackened individual is very helpful to me. It was just delivered in the afternoon. And the other party's big boss personally called before work, requesting a formal interview. The two were talking when the aunt who was cooking came over and called. The food is ready. If you don't eat it will get cold. Right away. Zhou Ming and Shen Weiyu said at the same time. Zhou Ming walked out of the reptile room and casually closed the door behind him. But he failed to notice that he had not just closed the blue-tongued stone dragon its aquascape box. And the door to the room was only ajar. Although the big boss of the group on the other side of Beijing state called just to meet. But by this time, the two sides have basically unspoken to sign the contract. So the details of the contract Shen Weiwei also have to carefully check. And strive to be foolproof. After dinner, she dove right into the den. Zhou Ming touched his pocket and realized that his cell phone was dead. It was low battery in the afternoon and now it's completely dead. He had to go back to his room to recharge. The plug had just been charged for a few minutes when the phone turned on automatically. The dinging sound was accompanied by a buzzing vibration right from the phone. The group has blown up. Hundreds, soon to be thousands of messages piled up on Zhou Ming's cell phone. What's going on here? Zhou Ming didn't even have time to look at it before the message was swiped up. He had to block the group message for now. Then tap on Fatty's dialogue box and ask what happened in the group during the time he was off. Fatty sent over a picture of a white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. Look at this snake. Doesn't it look a bit familiar? Zhou Ming clicked on the large image. And with just a sweeping glance. He discerned that it wasn't the blackened individual that he had let to Shen Weiwei. What's going on? Isn't that the black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green? Seeing that he recognized him, Fatty didn't hide it anymore and quickly sent over a few more screenshots. That blackened individual was sent to the gold master's big brother's side. Absolute absolute absolute. Had I known that the gold master big brother was the object of Stellar's cooperation, wouldn't we have just said it directly? And taking such a big detour, mostly losing so much money oh 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 oh. The gold master. Big brother, is rich and powerful. Fatty is envious, jealous, hate. So, the person in charge who Shen Weiyu had gone to great lengths to work with the Kyoto group was now in his group, even wailing about shelling out money for videos of super arctic Lucy individuals on a daily basis? He even approached himself directly wanting to buy blackened individuals at a high price. But he refused and was given a free ride. Aha. Uh -huh. That's good. The circle, indeed, is small. Aha. Uh -huh. So angry. Fatty's hateful message popped up in the dialog box. Zhou Ming switched the interface to the group and pulled it to the top for a cursory look. Oh my god. Two blackened individuals have already appeared in our group. Ha! Huh? How come this blackened individual is also a white-lipped bamboo leaf green? Doesn't that mean? Got it. Ordered. 
Ordered, plus one, plus ten thousand and eighty-six. Holy, you animals, save one for me. You're next to blacken. Wait, am I the only one who noticed that these two bamboo leaf green snakes seem to be identical? Technical emperor to compare. No need to compare. Call fatty. Fatty. Fatty arrived late and just posted an emoji. Weak and helpless.jpg. It was as if it was sitting there. The hundreds of entries below were all speculating on why what Zhou Ming had left for her had ended up in the group's big brother's possession. Finally a smart water boy summed it up. Neru pleases the goddess. The goddess pleases the big man. Summary, Neru gets green and the goddess licks the dog. Brother ate Ming. It's so tragic. Neru doesn't cry. Stand up and jerk off. Those who are interested are already recommending themselves. Brother Ming, I went to college and can sleep and eat. I'm just a guy. Do you think I can cure your love injury? You're going a bit too far. How can you steal my job? Ming I'll do it. I can do it too. Nehru. Nehru look at me. Zhou Ming. Roll roll roll. You're the ones who got green. Your whole family is green. Zhou Ming cut out of the group and crackled a burst of output at Fatty. Fatty was so weak that he didn't dare to reply to Zhou Ming's message and could only desperately explain in the group. However, he couldn't reveal Shen Wei Yu's real name. Fatty cried, I should have known better than to come out and bubble. Woohoo! You and Shen Wei Yu of Stellar Group, know each other? The Gold Master Big Brother apparently saw the message from the group as well and came over to ask questions. Zhou Ming thought for a moment, but told the truth. Recognize, I'm currently staying at her house. That head. Chapter 112. The man? So it's a big flood? It's not a family? After seeing Zhou Ming say that the two of them were currently living together, the Gold Master Big Brother subconsciously decided that these two must be a couple now. Otherwise, according to Xin Wei Yu's financial power in Qingzhou, she could have completely rearranged a place for Zhou Ming. But, the Gold Master Bigot is happy again. Look at it, look at it. The old man wanted to pay $10 million for this blackened individual the other day. Today it's a straight up white out. The taste. TSK, TSK, TSK. Happy that the gold master big brother sent Zhou Ming several photos and videos of blackened individuals in a row. Aya, I wonder whose blackened individual it is. Now I've got it without spending a single penny oh? Zhou Ming, where's the promised big brother? What's with the little tone of voice like you're a fat brother? It's too much oh. However, Zhou Ming wasn't one to be messed with. Hey, I don't know who's going to be the one to take the hand and eat it. The gold master big man didn't care and smiled cheekily. Even without this blackened individual, Cooperating with the Stellar Group is only a matter of time. Stellar Group itself is a large group in Qingzhou City, although the volume may not be larger than their Jingzhou Group. But since Shen Weiwei took office since the completion of the project is very beautiful, being able to cooperate with Stellar was not an opportunity for the Jingzhou Group. It's just that there's so much involved in pulling to get to where we are today. Zhou Ming looked at the message sent by the Gold Master Big Brother. He was not sure if this was something that could be said. After all, before the two large groups formally cooperated, any news needed to be kept secret. But thinking of Shen Wei Yu's appearance just now as she struggled to check the contract, Zhou Ming said seriously and sincerely, you won't be disappointed if you work with Shen Wei Yu. Yes, not with the stellar group. Instead, it was Shen Wei Yu. The man also instantly understood Zhou Ming's meaning. I'm looking forward to working with Miss Shen. Zhou Ming's pupils shrunk slightly, and excitement swept through his heart for Shen Wei Yu. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the good news. The bright moon rose slowly and hung high in the branches. Looking at the time, Zhou Ming put his cell phone down, the lights went out in the bedroom, the room fell silent. In the meantime, there was a rustling noise from downstairs. Squeak! The door to the reptile room made a sound and opened slightly to a thin slit. A small figure burrowed out. Master? Master! Where are you? The blue-tongued dragon, Stone Sun, lifted his head, and his large blue tongue came out uncontrollably, which had sucked back in with a bared motion. The little head naively surveyed the large villa in front of him. Quiet! There was the chirping of unknown bugs outside. It was a little smaller than Su Ruotong's BNB, but it was also a few hundred square feet. The blue tongued gargoyle sniffed carefully among the air. The master is still here, smelling the smell he left behind. Yikes! Master! Master! Where are you? The blue tongued gargoyle whimpered and crawled a few steps forward. Only a few clusters of warm yellow wall sconces were lit in the downstairs hall. Ouch! The blue tongued gargoyle's head accidentally hit the corner of the couch. Its eyes slightly sore. Its voice tinged with a sobbing tone and a few moments of drollery. It hurts a little. Where did the master go? I want my master to hoo hoo. The blue-tongued gargoyle rested for a moment, shaking his head, trying hard to shrug his nose and inhale the smell in the air that belonged to Zhou Ming. Upstairs, having already spent most of the month at the BNB, Blue Tongue Stones is not the naive little cutie that she originally was. It's now a beast that can scare people and climb walls and fight. 
The blue tongue stone dragon child chased after Zhou Ming's scent and climbed the stairs with a whimper. It's just that things like steps are a bit difficult for short legged little lizards. The blue tongued gargoyle whimpered and climbed several knots, exhausted and tongue tied. A tilt of the head. Discover that there are countless more steps. There was a whimper. Ah, it's so long. Bridge bean sack. Brave lizard. Not afraid of difficulties. The blue tongued stone dragon child clutched her tiny paw and twisted her head. Climbing stairs is just too tiring. It's going to climb the wall. The blue tongued gargoyle whimpered and shifted his chubby body, clutching the carved railing next to him. He exerted his front paws and hind feet together. Its obese body actually moved hard enough to reach the railing. With his plump body sprawled over the railing, Stones the blue tongued dragon suddenly realized that the place was a bit narrow. It was so narrow that its body could only just lie on it. Can't turn around at all. That means. The blue tongued gargoyle tilted his head back and looked at the wall sconces cast down from the second floor hallway. It can only go up. Calling. Master. I'm coming. The blue tongued gargoyle stepped away from his own clawed paws and puffed his way upward. Close. Closer. When it had crawled to the top of the stairs, it shrank back, picking at the handrail railing beneath it, wiggling his ass, his tail, so fat it looked like a turnip, wagged and dangled downward. The back paws struggled to stump, and it took a while to find a place to lay a paw. Hey, hey, hey. The blue-tongued gargoyle bared off the railing and looked back down the long staircase. I'm awesome. It waved its tail and proudly twisted its head, shrugging its nose and sniffing Zhou Ming's scent. The flavor belonging to Zhou Ming was getting stronger and stronger. A short while later, it stopped at the door of one of the rooms. This is where the master's flavor is strongest. Well, the master is definitely in there. The blue-tongued gargoyle pawed at the door of the room, which was not closed tightly, and it slipped in easily. The darkened room, bright moonlight poured into the room from the window, laying down a layer of moonlight. Big bed. Zhou Ming fell into a deep sleep. He had a dream. The dreamer was lying in bed, drifting off to sleep. A goblin-like woman appeared at the end of the bed her white skin seemingly reflecting under the moonlight. She held out her hand, long and beautiful. The hand gently lifted the covers and the arm dug in, and then the head, and then the dimpled body. The woman went down the end of the bed and pressed her way up his body under the covers. The whole body was soft and boneless, and the thin waist seemed to break at the slightest pinch. The skin under his hands was slightly cool, and every part of it was delicate and very delicate, as if it was made of jade. Ice skin beauty, no less. Zhou Ming's body was pressed by her and he didn't have the strength to resist at all in the dream. She smiled delicately and came up to her ear, stretching out her sandalwood tongue to gently tease. It went from earlobe to neck and finally pasted all over the face. Wet. It's too real. Real as if it were happening in the real world. Zhou Ming suddenly opened his eyes. The pretty beauty of the dream disappeared. Just a big blue tongue. Stupid. Master. You're awake. Blue tongue dragon stone child's excited voice exploded in Zhou Ming's ears. One man and one lizard were wide-eyed. Electricity. Zhou Ming remembered the real touch in the dream. Zhou Ming, you're the little guy who got in and out of my pants. Almost played with his big baby. Really? Zhou Ming closed his eyes and covered his chest in disbelief. That dream just now was actually all caused by this little guy in front of him. Master Master. Master, why are you ignoring me? Chapter 113, Pervert. Playing so big and so exciting with humans. Master Master. Master, why are you ignoring me? The blue-tongued dragon. Shitsi was lying on Zhou Ming's chest, his large head right against Zhou Ming's chin. Master, are you frightened by me? No way. I've changed my ways. I'm a good lizard now. What's my relationship with the master? The master won't be scared. Master, master, look at me. What should I do? Why is the master ignoring me? The blue-tongued stone dragon child was in a hurry on Zhou Ming's chest, and its fat tail happened to slap Zhou Ming in the face. Zhou Ming, it was supposed to be just a lower body thing. Now there's something going on with the upper body too. Don't move. Seeing as how that fat tail was about to whip itself in the face, Zhou Ming hurriedly reached out and pinched its tail. Master, the most important tail was grabbed. The blue tongue stone dragon child did not panic at all, obediently let the other party hold it. His voice became more and more sweet and soft. Master, 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 come and play with me. Master, 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 I'm super good at this. I climbed right up the staircase railing. Hearing that the blue tongued stone dragon child was actually so bold as to climb up from the stair railing, Zhou Ming's body immediately sat up, grabbed its small body, and raised his arm in a bid to teach it a good lesson. Are stair railings something you can just climb? If you don't have a good grip and you fall straight down, the consequences are unimaginable. Knowing this girl's skin before, what could be good enough to scare people in a BNB? But I didn't realize that it could be so skinny. 
The blue-tongued stone dragon child who was still unaware that she was about to be beaten suddenly twisted her body and stared at Zhou Ming in a sweet voice. Wow, I didn't realize that handrail was kinda high. I'm still a little bit scared. But I'm not scared at all when I think I'll see my master when I climb up. Are you surprised to see me? Zhou Ming's raised arm instantly fell. Okay. He really couldn't get off the ground. Who made the little guy so cute? Zhou Ming nodded its nose. You. You. He he he. The blue-tongued stone dragon child shook its head. It could keenly sense Zhou Ming's emotions. Master didn't blame me. I knew the master liked me the most. Just now. Right cluck. Master just now good like good like. It thought it had thought of something and pulled open the garment on Zhou Ming's chest. And its dexterous little body bared into it. Hiss ha dash. The blue-tongued stone dragon child's claws accidentally scratched Zhou Ming's skin. And Zhou Ming was irritated. Master sure likes me to do that. Feeling Zhou Ming's body's reaction. The blue-tongued stone dragon child looked as if it was true. Wait. What do I like about you? Zhou Ming was a bit confused. He completely missed the point of the blue-tongued stone dragon child. Ow. The blue-tongued stone dragon child quickly selected a spot and lay down between Zhou Ming's legs, sticking out his large tongue at his stomach. Zhou Ming. Help. I think he was molested by a lizard? The wet touch traveled up the abdomen to the brain. Zhou Ming was confused for a moment. No. Who taught you that? Can you still be this sick? Just in this moment when he froze the blue-tongued stone dragon child was vaguely interested in going down. Splat. The elastic band around Zhou Ming's waist was pulled away. And then slapped back as the force of the pull loosened. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Zhou Ming panicked and lifted the quilt, covering his pants, and stood at the head of the bed with his legs forked and trembling. The whole person was in a state of confusion. He felt like he was sleeping well in his room. And then suddenly a woman burst in. Wa 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 with a wicked grin and claws out towards him. Looking at the blue-tongued stone dragon child with a face of innocence and bewilderment. Lifting his head and spitting out his tongue. Zhou Ming was full of petulance and his whole body resisted. You 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 stay back. I I I I I I'm really not a pervert. What I like is a big beautiful girl with a nice plate. Aha. Uh -huh. The blue-tongued stone dragon child cocked his head and looked suspiciously at the unusually resistant Zhou Ming. Master. You liked it too. You can't fool a lizard with your body. Zhou Ming. Get out of here. Give me back my pure and innocent only scary blue-tongued gargoyles. This must not be the same one as before. Definitely not. Don't be shy. Master. Former mistresses and former mistresses have done this. Don't worry. I've seen it all many times. The blue-tongued stone dragon child was full of certainty. His voice full of pride. I've learned it all. I'll make you scream. Wail in comfort. Ouch. I'm going to wail on you now. It's day by day. What is that couple doing in front of all the innocent cuties? Zhou Ming jumped from the bed to the floor. He now felt that the floor was the safest place to be. Master, don't run away. Don't worry. I'm really good at it. When I wasn't brought home by you, I looked at so many young ladies and little brothers too, and hanged in the room with a whip. Holy, you're a lizard and you're playing around. Ha! Huh? Zhou Ming was shocked. Ouch. The blue-tongued stone dragon child's tail was suddenly grabbed by Zhou Ming, and it was lifted into the air upside down, its four little paws fluttering madly as it. Master, master. What are you doing? Are you going to hang me? That's not impossible. No. You can. I can't. Zhou Ming shook the chubby blue-tongued stone dragon child in his hand, trying to dump all this yellow garbage out of its mind. Oops. Wow. Yeah. So dizzy. So dizzy. The blue-tongued stone dragon child had its head shaken by Zhou Ming, and its large blue tongue flopped out. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Several pleas for mercy were heard in quick succession. It was only then that Zhou Ming finally let go. He cupped the body of the blue-tongued gargoyle and held it up to his face in warning. No more yellowing of humans. Okay. Oh. Master I suddenly remembered that humans have to take a bath before lying in bed. Master. Do you want to take a bath? Lizard wouldn't mind joining you. It's been a long time since I've seen a human take a bath. The blue-tongued stone dragon child poofed his tongue out with a very suspicious amount of saliva on it. Zhou Ming. How could he forget that in Su Ruotong's BNB, the place where this girl frequented most was the exhaust duct on the bathroom? Sex fiend. Uncle cop is it is it. You guys hurry up and get it. Seeing that Zhou Ming did not make a move, the blue tongue stone dragon child became even more excited. He waved his big tail in a warm invitation. Master. Will you take a bath together? Chapter 114. Master. I'll serve you well today ow. Roll roll roll. Who wants to take a shower with you? Zhou Ming was stared at by it so much that he directly covered his chest. Mom. Yeah. How? One is more rampant than the other. He felt like he was going to be unclean. Obviously he just wanted to have a go at keeping various reptiles. How is it that he raises a picture so different from others? Shut up. Zhou Ming reached out and shoved its spat out tongue into its mouth. Pinched its mouth and came up to it, gritting his teeth. 
didn't I tell you before that you can't just look at humans in the shower? Ha! Huh? Say something like that again and I'll spank your ass. Know what? Oh, do you want to kiss me, master? The blue-tongued stone dragon child wagged its tail in excitement and looked at Zhou Ming with big watery eyes. Kisses from the master. Let's go take a bath after kissing. Pa! Zhou Ming slapped the blue-tongued stone dragon child's body and emphasized. No shower baths with humans. Zhou Ming thought it through. Cats and dogs can understand humans. No reason why these little guys can't. Moreover, analyzing amongst their active hearts, Zhou Ming even felt that they might be smarter than even cats and dogs. Does that mean that he can? Yikes master is touching people's tails so hard. The blue-tongued stone dragon it shouted excitedly and, Master, Master, do it again. Hitting is kissing. Scolding is loving. Master, come and love me. Zhou Ming, off. Who taught you this nonsense? Master? The blue-tongued gargoyle's body twists and turns. Come on, come what may. Zhou Ming took up the clothes on the head of the bed and directly covered it with a whole enchanting blue-tongued stone dragon child. Get thee out of here. He's decent. Master? The blue-tongued stone dragon child arched its head carelessly in Zhou Ming's arms, and it keenly sensed the change in Zhou Ming's tone, but it was not with the damage of an attack. Rather, it was helplessness with a heavy dose of coddling. This emboldened it. Master, are you shy? It's okay. It's normal for us lizards. Well, it's normal within humans too. Right? Right? You dare to ask, don't you? Zhou Ming's clothes slapped, and the entire lizard held it like it was being peddled through garbage. Humans aren't that sick. Zhou Ming carried it and came out of the room. The large villa was just him and Shen Weiyu at night. The extremely secure villa area didn't need to be careful, so Zhou Ming wasn't in the habit of locking his door. That's what gave the blue-tongued stone dragon child an opportunity to take advantage of the situation. Master, master, I don't want to leave you. The blue-tongued stone dragon child managed to poke his head out of his clothes and saw that he was being sent outward by Zhou Ming, and he was not happy about it. It was so good to run into Zhou Ming's mistake and have a chance to be able to come out and have some fun. Everyone else is honestly not locked in their landscaping boxes and can't get out. How long has it been? You're just going to be sent back again? It won't work. The blue-tongued stone dragon it calculated in his mind the height at which he stood. Aha! There is no particular problem with jumping off. And then it's harder for the owner to catch it. Ouch! Before the blue-tongued stone dragon child could peel himself out, his body was suddenly cupped by Zhou Ming's hands. Trying to run? What are you dreaming about? Another slap landed on its body. Stay the down. How did master know I wanted to run? The blue-tongued stone dragon child was uncertain and cried as he looked at Zhou Ming. This time, Zhou Ming lifted it up, flush with his shoulders. The blue-tongued stone dragon child looked down and scrunched his head. It's so high. I'd probably just karma off if I jumped. Wow, master is so, so tall. I'm not ashamed to say I'm the human I've been looking at. It's so safe for lizards. Zhou Ming was helpless and amused as he listened to its heartfelt words. What kind of height is that? Just now it dared to climb up the stairs from the first floor to the second floor. And now it's afraid of this height? I really like my master. The blue-tongued stone dragon child thought prettily, her little paws huffing and puffing in happy blossoms. Zhou Ming's footsteps abruptly lurched. Forget it. There was nothing wrong with letting the little twerp stay with himself tonight. Zhou Ming folded back into the room. What's going on? Why did you go back? Blue Tongue Stone Dragon Child looked at Zhou Ming in disbelief, his eyes growing brighter and brighter. Master is leaving me behind. Wow, Master, you're really too good to me. Oh, Master kisses. The Blue Tongue Stone Dragon Child stretched out its large head, its tongue whistling and licking towards Zhou Ming's body. Zhou Ming was busy controlling its flailing body and about to warn it. Only today. There won't be a next time if you don't behave. The Blue Tongue Stone Dragon Child looked at Zhou Ming seemingly unintelligible his tiny head twittering about. What is the master talking about? Who cares? I'm staying today. Master. Master. I'll serve you well today. Zhou Ming. Chicken and duck. Damn. Suddenly I kind of regret leaving this little thing behind. Forget it. That's one night. Zhou Ming placed it at the end of his bed and used his clothes to temporarily make a nest for it. He himself pulled back the covers and went back to sleep. Ouch. The blue-tongued stone dragon child looked at his grip and then at Zhou Ming, who was sleeping next to him. Then he whimpered and climbed onto the bed, nestled on Zhou Ming's chest, his head rubbing against Zhou Ming's jaw. Da, I want to sleep on my master's body. Master don't be afraid of bad guys, I'll help you fight off all the bad guys. Ha ha ha, the blue-tongued gargoyle opened his mouth wide and yawned humanely. Well, so sleepy, master you're older than me, and I didn't guard you before, and you're okay with that, so I, hoo hoo, Zhou Ming, so you sleep easy? Zhou Ming poked its fat tail. No. The blue-tongued stone dragon child flicked its tail, and its head dug directly into Zhou Ming's arms. Don't disturb its sleep. Hoof.
feeling the weight on his chest and the slight snore of the little one's sleep. Zhou Ming couldn't help but shake his head straight. After tossing and turning all night, it's time to rest. Zhou Ming pulled on the quilt to cover his chest, and after thinking about it, he revealed the blue-tongued stone dragon child out of his chest. The light in the room dimmed slightly. Outside the window, the moon in the sky was hidden by clouds. Inside the window, Zhou Ming slowly fell into a deep sleep. The blue-tongued stone dragons on his chest paralyzed into a snore. Early the next morning, asterisk 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 asterisk, Zhou Ming covered his chest and jumped up from the bed with a jolt. He stared at the blue-tongued gargoyle on the bed. Full of innocent cuteness, there was a vague pain in his chest, and he pulled back his shirt. Looking down, I could vaguely see the marks on it from being sucked out. That. What's all this about? Chapter 115, Don't Get Colorful with Humans. Two snakes quarreled. The blue-tongued stone dragon child looked at Zhou Ming, who suddenly jumped up, with an innocent expression. Master? What's wrong with you? Don't you like it when people lick your chest? No. 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 When I was in the room, those humans were so comfortable when they were licking their chests. Ha! Man. Are you trying to get my attention? Zhou Ming. Aha! Uh -huh. And give him the quirky little blue-tongued stone dragon child. How could it be a tainted demon king? Stop talking. He covered his wet and slightly sore chest and slowly closed his eyes. He did something wrong. He just wanted an innocent cutie, but was surrounded by tainted demon kings. He's a pure man. Zhou Ming let out a deep breath, his raging heart finally calming down. Suddenly, an icy voice came from his ear. It was Xin Wei Yu from the opposite door who came out of her room. She wore a white shirt on top and a pair of pencil pants underneath with a pair of 5 centimeter heels of the same color. The pencil pants lined her legs long and straight, and the new G's belt around her waist pinched her waist. You? Xin Wei Yu blinked her eyes and looked at Zhou Ming standing at the entrance of the room with a small look of a little daughter-in-law being humiliated. As soon as he poked his head in, he saw again the blue-tongued gargoyle who was sprawled out on the bed and looking at him with his head propped up. Next, Xin Wei Yu then understood what had really happened. Surprised. Should it have spent the night in your room last night? Was the door to the reptile room room left open? How did you let it get out? Zhou Ming nodded with difficulty. I was the one who didn't check yesterday. But don't worry, it's only this little guy who got out. It's a good thing this little guy was the only one who ran out. If other venomous snakes, although Zhou Ming believed that they would definitely not actively harm humans, it was not like the other humans knew that they would harm them instead, and they would naturally fight to protect themselves. At that point, Zhou Ming was jolted. A dark color came to his face. Seeing this, Xin Wei Yu's icy voice softened by a few points. It's a good thing the other little ones didn't crawl out. This blue-tongued dragon stoner seems to have gained weight. You're the one who's fat. Your whole family is fat. People this is just right. It's fat. The blue-tongued stone dragon child bizarrely read the emotions in Xin Wei Yu's eyes and immediately yelled out a rebuttal. It's not fat at all. The owner loved himself yesterday. Squeezing and petting. Poof. Surely you humans haven't experienced it? A human being doesn't have two tails of flesh on him. Cut. Zhou Ming. What are you jealous of a lizard for? Also, in the lizard, you are really fat a cub. But Xin Wei Yu. Zhou Ming's eyes flashed. Her clothes today were fitted to her body. And her good dimpled figure was shown to the fullest. Fat where it should be. And thin where it should be. If you touch it. Ahem. Zhou Ming immediately stopped the thoughts in his head. It's all about this little blue-tongued gargoyle. Why else would he suddenly think on something like that? What's wrong? Xin Wei Yu looked at Zhou Ming who suddenly coughed in confusion. I don't think she said anything, did she? Zhou Ming quickly waved his hand. No, nothing. You're right. I should have gotten a little treadmill for it to put in the aquascape box and leave it there. Xin Wei Yu looked sideways, her eyes slightly rounded. Putting in a treadmill? Is this possible? Isn't it as far as hamsters or cats and dogs only? Could be. Zhou Ming affirmed. The reptiles he raises are definitely different than those raised by others in the circle. Incidentally, Letting the blue-tongued stone dragon childs burn off some of his excess exuberant energy. Don't think about that nonsense every day. Screwing yellow on humans. Zhou Ming covered his chest, feeling the place where it had bitten him hurt even more. Numb nuts. What's going on here? Then I'll definitely take a good look at it when the time comes. Xin Wei Yu curiously said. The body of the blue-tongued stone dragon child suddenly trembled and. It's over. Suddenly I have a bad feeling. Ouch. It smothered its head and subconsciously tried to burrow into the middle of Zhou Ming's comforter. Oops, can't move, puffing and giggling, it was whimpering and grubbing on its side, picking at its little paws in exertion, and Zhou Ming easily tugged on its tail to lift it up, yikes, master, the blue-tongued stone dragon child that was lifted up upside down looked at Zhou Ming and snapped, Zhou Ming grunted and tugged it downstairs to the reptile room, go back you little thing, hiss 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 why hasn't this little monster from next door come back yet, the Chinese cobra was pressed against the glass, 
gulping its snakes but not feeling its flavor. The king's brocade snake was motionless, curling itself up, lazily yet nobly and coldly ignoring any of the snakes. The large hog-nosed snake licked the water. Maybe it's a return to nature. It has been in Master Pan's reptile pet store for a long time, and knows all the foreign snakes from all over the country and even imported ones. Not to say that it knows all of them, but but it surely knows more than these few goods in the reptile room. What's so great about nature is that you have to catch your own food. The Chinese cobra lifted its own tail and slapped it against the glass in boredom. Da! It's not as much fun as a man. Yikes! It's so comfortable. I really want to continue with this guy. Snake snake me. I really want to give him babies. Comfortable. The large pig-nosed snake looked at it as snake actually acting like this and immediately grunted. Don't teach the kids a lesson. The little pig-nosed snake is still around. Not to mention a small white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake. The Chinese cobra gave it a sidelong glance and, ha, you little made your own cubs call smelly men dads, this is something I haven't settled with you yet, who are you to lecture me now, I'll bite you to death. The large pig nose snake was also one that had read countless snakes, and it immediately arrogantly said, don't yell, come on if you can, come on, Humph. with such thick glass, you just can't get in even if you come, yes, that's how big hog nosed snakes dare to provoke a viper with impunity, everyone is locked up, you can't get out. Zhou Ming, why don't I let you two out? A fight? Zhou Ming came down to the reptile room just in time to hear the two of them bickering. Of course, the sound of them quarreling turned into a mid-air hissing sound in Xin Yu's ears. Fizzle 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 fizzle. The two snakes were like cockfighters, hissing frantically. She hesitated, but said, they, are kinda energetic. Zhou Ming said helplessly, quarreling, quarrel, quarrel, snake, and it's a different kind of snake. So you'll fight? Shen Wei Yu looked at him stupidly. This little expression of hers pleased Zhou Ming very well. Zhou Ming didn't rush in, but said at the next hiss, Come here you, I'm not going over there. Come over here if you dare. I'm not going over there. You come here. You come here. Shen Wei Yu? She looked at Zhou Ming with a dumbfounded look on her face, then realized with hindsight. The words Zhou Ming said seemed to coincide with the hissing and hissing of the two snakes in the room. This, how is that possible? It's a coincidence, right? Chapter 116, Fire Department Calls for Help, Mozambique Spraying Cobra, Hiss 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 Hiss, Suddenly, the big hog-nosed snake spewed wheat with passion and wailed a whole lot, What's that supposed to mean? Shen Wei Yu twisted her head with confusion in her eyes, Zhou Ming hesitated and hesitated, Don't look at me, this word is going to rot your ears if you hear it, It's too dirty, Shen Wei Yu Wei, No wonder the other hissing sound, All of a sudden, Weakened, You can't yell back, You're pissed off, Aren't we traveling today? Let's go eat and leave for the airport first. Zhou Ming said, just leave things here to me. Good. Yesterday, the phone call from the group over in Beijing state came over, and Shen Weiwei fixed a ticket for today and went directly over to meet with the other party. Hi, beauty. You're leaving. Beautiful. Blue Tongue Stone Dragon Child looked at Shen Wei Yu's departing back and heartily lamented. I haven't posted with the beauty sister yet. Ha, huh? you still want to stick it to your beautiful sister? Dream on. Zhou Ming pinched its small body and walked straight into the reptile room. We haven't settled the score for biting him on the chest this morning. Zhou Ming directly locked it into the head of the small dark room. Reflect on yourself. Blue tongue dragon stones? I think I can salvage it a little more. Master. Master. The blue tongued gargoyle began to pout. Zhou Ming did not care about it and silently checked the status of the next few by himself. The little white lipped bamboo leaf green had already ducked the moment Zhou Ming came out. Bury yourself in deep bedding. Can't see me. Humans are just too scary. I must not be caught by humans. Can't see me, can't see me. The little pig-nosed snake next to him yelled daintily and softly. Daddy, look at me. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Did you see me? Look at the little pig-nosed snake that hates to go through glass. And then look at the little white-lipped bamboo leaf green snake that is hiding. Zhou Ming. As snakes go, you two are way too far apart, aren't you? However, it's nice to see that the little white-lipped bamboo snake is able to adapt to its current life. Buzzing. The cell phone in Zhou Ming's pocket vibrated desperately. Seeing the three big words of the fire department on the screen, Zhou Ming's pupils slightly shrunk. Come to work. Mr. Chow. Help. Firehouse. A six-foot-something man with a slight sob in his voice. Something tricky this time? Having worked together several times, this was the first time Zhou Ming had seen the other party so panicked. It's tricky. The Han Yu immediately affirmed. We judged the other party to be a cobra based on your previous professor's experience. But this cobra will not come close enough to bite. But will spray poison. Luckily, our people have brought protection all over their bodies. So there's nothing whatsoever for the time being. But this snake is just too smart. 
specializing in hiding in corners and spraying poison at us. We can't even catch it. Zhou Ming roughly understood the current situation and pondered. Don't act rashly for the time being. The venom of the snakes that can spray poison are all extremely poisonous. You must not touch them, especially those with wounds on their bodies. Leave it alone for now and deal with it when I get there. Send me the location. I'll be right there. The Han Yu nodded. Yes. Hang up the phone. See the geolocation sent by the other party. Zhou Ming hurriedly went upstairs to change out of his clothes and ran down in a flurry of wind. Shen Wei Yu, who hadn't departed yet. This guy looks like he's even busier than he is. Cobra. It sprays poison. According to scientific experiments, there are 11 species of cobras that can eject their venom outside the body. These 11 species of venom-spewing cobras all share the common trait of being relatively large, usually capable of growing to over 2 meters in length. But venom-spewing cobra species are not common in the country. The odds are that it should have been bred by humans and then abandoned. At the thought of this possibility, Zhou Ming's expression became more and more serious, and the gas pedal under his foot slowly pressed down. The location the fire department sent over isn't far. In just 15 minutes, Zhou Ming had arrived. Zhou Ming. The fire chief saw Zhou Ming and immediately ran over. You're finally here. Where are the snakes? Zhou Ming looked at the white warehouse in front of him and stared at the fire chief. You don't want to say it's in here, do you? This warehouse, much larger than the previous mall's footprint. Moreover, it was densely stacked with goods. Zhou Ming felt that his chest was aching. So big. Even if he could hear the viper's heart, he'd have to search for more than half an hour. Hey, hey, hey. No wonder I said that you're awesome. Zhou Ming. The fire chief scratched his head nervously, his tanned face revealing rows of white teeth. Looking at Zhou Ming, he directly wanted to give him a punch. What are you laughing at? You're the one with the white teeth, right? How long is this going to take to find? Sorry, I suddenly remembered I have something else to do. Bye. Zhou Ming twisted his head and tried to run. The fire chief made a hand signal and the firefighters who were ambushed on either side of him immediately ran over. Two people drove Zhou Ming's arms one on each side pulling him back. Nehru, where do you think you're going? Hey, hey, you can't leave after you've gotten on our thieving ship. Zhou Ming, numb nuts, it's a forceful purchase. Zhou Ming resigned himself to dragging the head into the warehouse, for finding poisonous snakes. The warehouse has been evacuated. Only the firefighters were left rummaging through the viper with their tools. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Where the hell did it go? It's really too fast to find. The enemy is in the dark. We are in the light. There's no way. Take your time to find it. Zhou Ming shook his hand, but it didn't move, so he could only open his mouth helplessly. Can you let me go now? He's all the way in. The two glanced at each other and after determining that Zhou Ming would not run away, they spread their hands. Where did you just see the cobra? This way. The fire chief pointed to a spot on the ground where the spray of venom had dried up, but no one was underestimating it. The fire chief gestured and then said, it was about two or three meters and a jet of water came over. Two or three meters. Zhou Ming had a rough idea in his mind at once. Here's the video that one of the team members just shot down. The fire chief held the recorder out to Zhou Ming, and a long black shadow quickly scurried past on the tiny screen. It's so fast, you can't even tell what it is. Is there a clearer video? Get it over here, the fire chief was saying. Next, Zhou Ming was heard saying with great certainty, no need, it's a Mozambique spitting cobra, a viper that could be on par with the black mamba. The amount of venom ejected by the Mozambique spitting cobra at one time is enough to kill around 7 or 8 African male lions or 20 adult men. Asterisk. By UBUBU. Begging for 5 stars. Chapter 117 Not Just One. All of you go to hell. The Mozambique shooting cobra is one of the most dangerous snake species in Africa. Second only to snakes of the genus Mamba. Herculean king of the jets. Adults are all between 1 and 1.2 meters in size. With the longest recorded being 1.5 meters. Body color is brownish gray to olive brown with black marginal scales, yellowish ventrally, and generally with irregular black markings on the neck. The diet is complex, preferring to prey on amphibians, birds, and other small mammals. Of course, as a member of the cobra genus, its fighting ability should never be underestimated. They have evolutionarily modified fangs and well-developed muscles in the upper jaw that can easily eject venom up to 3 meters away. The main components of the venom of the Mozambique spraying cobra are neurotoxins and cytotoxins. Neurotoxins can cause patients to have difficulty breathing and suffocate to death. And the cytotoxins cause even more intense symptoms. With a noticeable swelling sensation and bleeding, the bitten part of the tissue is necrotic and suppurating. Severe cases end up dying. Amputation. Even when treated, they leave unforgettable scars. The necrosis rate and the degree of necrosis in China's five-step snake is comparable to the local rotten meat king in Africa. Moreover, 
Once the eyes are splashed by the venom bursting out from its jet, the eyesight will be damaged in light cases. In severe cases, the eyeball slowly decays and blindness sets in. Not only that, Mozambique cobras are also more neurotic, like the bamboo leaf. It sometimes chases people ferociously and sometimes holds its head in its hands. It will even play dead. It's different from the hog-nosed snake that plays dead just to allow itself to escape a predator. It's, in turn, is looking for a better chance to get down to business. Its shooting ability is excellent. Don't look at it lying on the ground as if it is careless, but it can suddenly raise its head and shoot accurately to the head of the prey. Let's get defensive. Even the most vicious vipers of the natural world, the black mamba snake and the bulbous sibilant viper, are treated like chili fries and unceremoniously taken into its belly. You can still play with it? It's a joke. Seeing this kind of poisonous snake, Zhou Ming usually gave humans one word. Run. Hurry up and run. Run fast and save a little life. If you run slow, you'll have to stay and die. What's with this tricky contraption in this warehouse? Rao Zhou Ming had to treat it with caution. He looked at the crowd that was going about their business. Have any of you been sprayed by the venom of a viper? No. We all brought goggles and stuff. None of it. Listening to the firefighters say no. Zhou Ming's face eased slightly. No is good. Nowadays, the fire department is fully equipped whenever they go out on a mission. No matter how big or small, they are doing the most dangerous things and must be protected. Zhou Ming immediately told the team about the hazards and consequences of the Mozambique spraying cobra. If you guys are scared, you can just leave the rest to me. Scared? Holy. We're only really scared if you're going to take away our jobs. Zhou Ming, don't think that just because our captain asked you to help us look for snakes, we won't be able to line up. We haven't gotten to you yet for letting you make a fool of yourself at the mall last time. Exactly. We're all battle-hardened. And we're wearing chemical protection suits. Just a poisonous snake? You're kidding. That's not true. If you say something like that again, do you believe we'll throw you out? Hurry hurry hurry, have you looked under that shelf yet? Looky looky, grandma, this snake is spooky spooky, slippery. The Hanyu in chemical proof suits muttered and grumbled, only that their men did not move slowly, methodically inspecting every corner of the warehouse. Zhou Ming, who had been criticized, was not annoyed and instead had a slight smile on his face. The city, it's because of people like them who give up their lives that it gets better and better. The fire chief tapped him on the shoulder, ripped off the chemical suit he was wearing and, since this snake is so dangerous, this chemical resistant suit I'm wearing, for you, I don't have to. Zhou Ming pushed the chemical defense suit back. When had he ever used protection when playing with snakes? Can't. I have to think about your safety. The fire chief forcefully shoved the chemical suit into Zhou Ming's hands. He was about the same size as Zhou Ming, and with his own set of chemical resistant clothing, he should be wearing just the right amount. Seeing Zhou Ming's resistant expression, he insisted, if you don't wear it, I'll have you escorted out. This arrest will be made without your participation. It was all the more important for him as the fire chief to protect Zhou Ming's life. Then, well, Zhou Ming could only take it helplessly and quickly put the chemical defense suit over his body. Just fine. The fire chief immediately handed him his goggles, etc. Zhou Ming looked at him as he was empty and pushed his mask to him. The, I'm fine with goggles. Having said that, Zhou Ming took a step toward the warehouse. Next to this warehouse is the largest coastal harbor in Qingzhou City, a rallying point and hub for land and water transportation, the distribution center for industrial and agricultural products and foreign trade import and export materials, ships berthing, loading and unloading goods, loading and unloading passengers, replenishment of supplies. This port, every day there are tens of thousands of people walking back and forth. There are even thousands and trillions of dollars of goods circulating here. It is the heart of Qingzhou City is the most important source. So, there must not be any problems. Hundreds of acres of transit warehouses, tens of thousands of shelves were full and stacked with large, heavy boxes. The whole warehouse is like a forest of goods, and you can't see the end of it at a glance. Just relying on a fire squad to line the place up, definitely a big job. Shiver, abominable human beings. A low murmur appeared in Zhou Ming's ears. It was the female snake gnashing her teeth in hatred. Transient. It was so fast that Zhou Ming couldn't even catch the other party's bearings in time. He closed his eyes and tried to sense the location of the Mozambique shooting cobra. Just a rustle in my ears. The sound of firefighters walking around. No, no way. It was fast, but definitely not fast enough to disappear with just a bang. There are too many humans. Let's hide first. Zhou Ming sidetracked his ears. The voice of the weak male snake. I can't believe. There's more than one. Zhou Ming immediately shouted aloud. Everyone be more careful. There are two Mozambique shooting poisonous cobras in this warehouse. Two strips? There was another gasp from the firefighters. One is tricky enough. Now there's actually an extra one. Attention everyone. 
Zhou Ming swept his eyes and roughly looked at a few shelves in front of him that were a few people tall. These two snakes are on these nearby shelves. Xiao Su Xiao Zhang. You guys start checking from the two shelves over there. You two go to the left. And remember to make sure you check so they don't climb on top of the shelves and not realize it. We'll outflank them directly. So make sure you guys stay safe. This spot is right where the dead center is. But it was also because it was a dead end that a lot of random clutter had been piled up. Messy bags, paper boxes, and even poor quality outgrown clothing artifacts, tightly packed against the front shelves. Like a small dump, an environment like this, where staff don't do much with it, is most likely to harbor dirt. At the same time, it also made their search for the two Mozambique shooting cobras extremely difficult. The hearts of the crowd instantly lifted. The half-breeds, who had been able to gag a little, were now all silent their eyes carefully following the trail of the Mozambican poisonous cobra. They had no doubt about Zhou Ming's words, or rather, their duty is to obey. It's all about protection, not to mention two, but a whole cave of snakes. As long as the higher-ups tell them to break in, they'll do it too. As a little bit of time passes, shelves are increasingly being checked into place. Surprisingly, Zhou Ming didn't hear more of his heart. These two Mozambique shooting cobras, really don't have any ideas of your own? Next moment. Abominable human beings are getting closer and closer. Are they really going to drive us to extinction? The clear female voice was slightly more urgent and desperate. Only for a moment. Then it took on a bit of a tearful viciousness. Good. Good. Then don't blame me. Death to all of you. Go to hell. One of the two snugly Mozambique shooting cobras began to wriggle its long body with a vicious, menacing glare. Don't. A male Mozambique venom spewing cobra's voice cried out in panic. Don't go. You go. You still have a chance. Run. Don't let the humans catch you. Chapter 118 Of course you don't hurt. It's not you who bites. I'm not leaving. The female snake insisted. We came to this place together. I can't leave you behind. The male snake sighed and. I can't walk away. The female snake made no sound. It was only Zhou Ming who vaguely heard her sobbing heart. This way. Zhou Ming had already locked the location based on their heartbeats. And immediately waved his hand at the crowd. Pointing at one of the shelves amongst the piece. This shelf held a large cardboard box which was piled high with miscellaneous items, and there was a lot of disorganization next to it as well, and these two Mozambique spraying cobras were underneath the cardboard box, the firefighters, who had worked with Zhou Ming many times, did not hesitate to follow his orders, seven or eight people directly shelves surrounded the group, human footsteps, the female snake was keenly aware of the sound of compact and rapid footsteps coming closer to them, apparently, humans have found us, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do, the female snake's panicked voice came from underneath the cardboard box. Don't be afraid. The male serpent soothed it in a hushed, soft voice. Wait. I'll stall them. You hurry. Okay? No. How could I leave you to be captured by a human? The female snake disagrees. They've been together for a long, long time. Captured from a dry desert to the humid climate of the human world. They've been together for so long. It's absolutely impossible to make a female snake go one snake at a time. The male serpent, however, toughened up. You have to go. Our children are not out yet. You must protect them. The female snake was silent again. But Zhou Ming heard her crying, with a heavy dose of sadness and despair. One moment. Zhou Ming watched the firefighters move. A little stunned. The Mozambique spitting cobra is not a domestically owned species. They are mainly found in Mozambique, South Africa, Tanzania, southern Angola and northern Namibia. These two snakes were obviously smuggled back from abroad by humans. I just don't know what it was that let them get away with it. It's also possible that they were released on the spot because they realized that the controls in the country were just too strict and they were afraid of things getting out of hand. This is not uncommon. Even in places like harbors where people come and go, how much of a hazard can they be to humans? You simply don't have to expect any morals from someone who would trap wild animals. Zhou Ming let out a long sigh, watching the shelves get emptied as the firefighters move less and less, until there were two Mozambique spraying cobras left in the cardboard box above them. Ready? This cupboard disappears. I'll stall the humans. And you'll hurry up. Remember the ventilation ducts up there? Just go up that way. As soon as you get out. You run. The male snake commanded. I know. The female snake responded. Knowing in her heart of hearts that what they were doing now was the right thing to do. Two snakes caught together. Might as well sacrifice one so the other still has a chance to live. Listen to the sound of the two of them negotiating. A thick surprise floated in Zhou Ming's heart. They actually play match. The IQ is too high too. These things would be considered false if animal researchers knew about them. Watch out. They're coming out. Zhou Ming warned in a low voice. The movement of his hand wordlessly commanded the fireman next to him to place the snake net in the path of the female snake. Ventilation ducting underneath the shelves. 
It wanted to get to the ventilation ducts quickly, and this was the only way to do it. Sure, just to be on the safe side. Zhou Ming gestured at another firefighter, signaling him to take the sack in the snake catcher's sight a little farther away to prevent the female snake from dogging it and jumping straight down from the shelf. That fireman wondered the why he was allowed to stand so far away. However, he still obediently followed Zhou Ming's instructions. The fire chief saw this and tapped him on the shoulder. I'll do it, you go help. He wasn't wearing a chemical suit, and the brats had ostracized him from going near areas that hadn't been cleared. Just have him stand aside as a conductor. The fire chief's whole person is speechless. This protective clothing let. It'd be better not to let it. The fireman is a bit hesitant. This is after all Zhou Ming shot to his task. The captain robbed what? But he hadn't been here long. And when the captain glared, he wimped out. Rushing his ass off, he gave up his spot and ran ahead to help himself. Over there, the clutter was pretty much cleared away. Leaving just a few cardboard boxes. It's coming. The male serpent felt one thing after another on his side being cleared away. He moved his tail to distance himself from the female snake. Sure enough, here it is. Here the heart. Zhou Ming gave an order. Move. Cardboard boxes were removed by firefighters. The incandescent light overhead illuminated the corner. Next, the male Mozambique poison spraying cobra stood up and moved towards where Zhou Ming and the others were. Its neck puffed up and the venom in its mouth ready to shoot out. Two jets of water like venom sprayed up from the ground. Run. Catch. Male snake and Zhou Ming shouted at the same time. The Mozambique Cobra is highly accurate and its main area of attack is the eye of its prey. The Mozambique Shooting Cobra is even more fearsome than the average Cobra, capable of not only long-range attacks but also close-quarters combat. So, use a tool. Don't ever let it bite you. This male snake will surely do anything to be able to send the female away. One must be careful and careful again. Damn humans. I didn't want to make an enemy of you, but you're pressing me every step of the way. The male snake tilted his head and his mouth erupted spraying venom in a figure eight shape. The holes in their fangs are in a spiral shape. And with this principle like a gun barrel, their venom is able to spin out at high speeds, which can increase the accuracy of the spray and the distance of the spray. The venom of the Mozambique spitting cobra is stored on the sides of the head and can be sprayed in large quantities whenever the muscles contract. It wants to send the female snake away. So naturally it has to attack without discrimination. Venom shot out. A layer of water immediately filled the gas masks on the firefighters' faces. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Holy, that's scary. I'll go captain you mustn't get any closer. The team members looked at the shields on their faces, and then thought about Zhou Ming's earlier statement about how terrifying these venoms really were, and their bodies suddenly gave a jolt. This would be sprayed in their eyes and mouths. It's still a question of whether you can stand. Deceitful humans. Such a massive venom attack. And you guys didn't do anything? Daughter-in-law. You run. Run away from the place where humans exist. Venom sprayed out but the threat before him remained. The male snake instantly erected his body, his neck expanding with two sharp fangs, above the fangs, hanging with a light layer of venom. It flew up and charged towards the nearest firefighter. Spell it out. Abominable humans. We'll die together. As mentioned before, snakes have between 10, 000 and 15, 000 muscles in their bodies. And man, only 7 or 800 bucks, purely on the basis of this situation. The speed with which snakes suddenly launch their attacks far exceeds the speed with which humans can react, especially when you are also wearing a chemical protection suit, which is made of thick fabric with a coating process. It will inevitably have an impact on your movement, so don't look at the number of them. Still can't curry favor on a pissed off viper. Their chances of winning are almost nil. Die. The male serpent shouted viciously. Just a wink. The male snake was as fast as a sun-breaking arrow. It opened its mouth wide and headed straight for the firefighter's thigh. Go to hell. Ah, the firefighter instinctively tried to back away to avoid it. But when I thought of the poisonous snake that could kill, my legs inexplicably weakened for a moment. Directly unconscious. Finished. It's going to be accounted for today. He hasn't been a firefighter for long. And this is going to be karma. How can I explain to my family later? Everyone else is a hero for saving lives. But he's a snake bite. Woo hoo hoo. It really hurts. Wait. Ha. Huh? The fireman froze. Blinking his own eyes as an afterthought. How come it doesn't seem to hurt as much as I thought it would? Of course you don't hurt. It wasn't you who bit it. Zhou Ming gritted his teeth and reminded. Chapter 119. I'll take one even if it costs me my life. Ha! Huh? The fireman carefully opened his eyes. Asterisk 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 asterisk. His eyes widened momentarily. The Mozambique venom spewing cobra opens its mouth wide. Its snake's letters gulping frantically. The venom on its fangs dripping slowly to the ground. Drop after drop. It soon moistened a large chunk of the floor. The whole snake exuded a fierce and sinister dove's aura. It's mind-blowing. 
and Zhou Ming actually directly broke the head of the Mozambique poison spraying cobra. The fireman swallowed and subconsciously took two steps back, followed by another step. He quickly walked to Zhou Ming's side and tightly embraced the frantically writhing body of Mozambique's venom-spewing cobra. A one-meter-long Mozambique venom-spewing cobra. The ability to fight while carried in the air is greatly diminished, but at the point of imminent danger. Instantly, it erupted into a powerful force like a broken boat. It did a tail flick and made a move to wrap itself around the firefighter's waist. Go to hell. Even if it costs me my life, I'll take one. The male serpent's heart sounded grim and powerful. Watch out for its tail. As this thought of the male snake rose, Zhou Ming immediately shouted. That's what's so great about the heartbeat. Directly anticipating the preparation of the male snake, Zhou Ming's words fell. The firefighter's body made commands faster than his brain and dodged the Mozambique spraying cobra's flailing tail straight out of the way. Next, the few remaining firefighters pounced in unison, hands clasped around the body of the Mozambique spraying cobra. It's the same as holding a long, thick thread. It hurts. Ha! The male snake erupted into a wail. Hearing Zhou Ming's heart skip a beat, he turned back obediently. The one meter long body of the Mozambique venom spewing cobra is unfurled, curled up and rotting. The scales fell askew, and the rotting flesh emitted a foul odor so thick it was impossible to tell what it tasted like. Amidst the rotting flesh, one could even make out the ghastly white bones within. No wonder this male snake said he couldn't run away. How can you run away in such a state? It suffered great pain with every movement. This snake. What the hell did you go through to get like this? Someone murmured. The crowd fell silent. But it's a viper. A serpent of unparalleled venom. But because of the greed of mankind, they crossed the ocean and lost their home. But they have to fulfill their duties even if they are heartbroken. The firefighters put the snake trap bag cover over it quickly and carefully. Then tie the pockets. The snake. Officially arrested. I. Busted. Wife. As long as you're safe. Everything's fine. As if he had no strength. The male snake lay obediently in the hands of the firefighters and allowed them to put himself into the bag. It had done what it wanted to do, and these hateful humans could deal with it however they wanted to. Its body. It really hurts. It really hurts. It's also time to. And so on. Wife. The snake's letters gulping from the male snake's mouth resumed their urgency. It's the wife. It sensed the smell of the female snake. It's. You didn't walk away? Husband. Looking at the ventilation ducts where she could escape. The female snake hesitated at the last minute. Is it, indeed, going to leave the male snake behind? A snake leaving? Hesitate for the next second. A huge snake catching net fell from the sky, bringing up a stern cold wind. Sure enough, humans don't take them lightly. It's so insidious and cunning. That didn't even get rid of these humans. The female snake gulped her snake letters, and her snake eyes stared sinisterly and venomously at the fire chief who was holding the snake catching net. Kill, kill him. The fire chief had a moment's pause. Surprisingly, he felt a strong killing intent on one. It's a wonder of the world. A lunge missed. Already this snake had found itself in an ambush. Then we'll just have to meet it head on. The fire chief raises the snake net. His burning eyes fixed on the Mozambique spraying cobra entangled in the shelves. Hisses dash. A column of water like a small fountain shot out from among its fangs. The Mozambique spitting cobra is much more skillful at spraying than other spitting cobras. They don't need to adjust their posture and are always ready to spray poison directly into the eye area of their prey. The female snake aimed her venom precisely at the fire chief's eyes. The venom spilled out like water spray and landed on the fire chief's circumference. No prey can escape my venom. Damn human. You, noticing that the snake catching net was like an astral wind coming towards it. The female snake was horrified. The body squirms and dodges quickly. The long body squirming quickly over the heavy shelves. How could this happen? There's nothing wrong with this human. Impossible, impossible. Abominable humans. They must be using some kind of tool. It was as if the cunning humans who had captured them had stuffed them into tight cages so that they were powerless to break free. There's only one way out. Bite them to death. Just bite them, and everything will be back. The scarlet letters of the snake were rapidly gulped by the female as she analyzed the air for the scent belonging to the human. There are nine of them in all. One of them had the most complex flavor. It doesn't just smell like people. It smells like snakes. Not with the smell of bloody snakes. The female snake instinctively stopped her fleeing movements. The snake's head lowered to Zhou Ming. 5 meter high heavy duty shelving, a man and a snake, one up, one down, a distant look at each other, Zhou Ming's teeth clenched, secretly, he gave the fireman a silent gesture, he knew very well that once the people below him acted rashly, with such a commanding distance, it would only take a blink of an eye for it to pounce and bite right in, hit the neck of any firefighter down there, he wasn't guaranteed that the lightweight chemical suits they were wearing would do the job of protecting them, the firefighters immediately spread out and pulled away from each other, the atmosphere doesn't dare to take a breath. Zhou Ming. 
Zhou Ming's voice was unusually calm as he slowly said, Don't move, never move. This female snake sensed the smell of him, which humans couldn't feel, like the reptilian smell that stained him. This human, the female snake moved, erected her body, and poked down her head. Scarlet snake letters gulped. More abominations, believed in by so many snakes, yet in the company of men, mutilating snakes, you deserve to die. Zhou Ming? What the? I'm a friendly force. Friendlies. Friendlies. You're taking it out on me. Don't you know that? Hiss hiss shiver shiver. The female snake's neck bone was braced open and she frantically gulped her snake letters at Zhou Ming. There. The muscles of the Mozambique venom spewing cobra contract. And the venom stored on the sides of the head erupts in large quantities. Oceanic mists of water fell from the heights. As the transparent poisonous mist filled the air. One was like a long arrow that was as powerful as a bamboo. It's now. Bite him to death. The Mozambique poison spraying cobra opened its mouth wide, its sharp teeth heading towards Zhou Ming's neck, so fast that the eye can barely catch it. Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming. Electricity. The firefighters erupted into a roar of horror and fury. This bite goes down. Chao Ming's gonna have to go straight to the emergency room. The fire chief's eyes contracted violently and his mind went blank. It's over. Failed to protect the lives of the wide receivers. He's definitely going to get jacked as a captain. Poor Zhou Ming. A trip to the ICU for $200. Humans. Damn humans. Chapter 120, come on. You don't want anything to go wrong with it, do you? Right at the moment when the female snake was about to bite Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming picked up the bag containing the male snake in his hand. It stopped instantly at the sight of the male snake that stood in its way. Hissing, shivering dash. Abominable human beings. It stared viciously at Zhou Ming, gritting its teeth. Damn human actually knew what its weakness was. What's all the shouting for? Zhou Ming pulled out his ears and frowned at the fire chief who was glaring like a bull's eye. Ears are about to go deaf from yelling at you guys. You, you, it had dash. The fire chief pointed at Zhou Ming and then at the Mozambique spraying cobra on the ground. He had just clearly seen the snake rushing down towards Zhou Ming's neck. It's just a blink of an eye. The snake had then landed in front of Zhou Ming. There was actually no intention of harming Zhou Ming in the slightest. I'm fine. The male snake is writhing desperately in the snake trap bag. Hisses dash. Let me out. Abominable human. Let me out. Wife. Wife. You run. Run. Ah, wretched human beings. Hiss. Going fast. The male snake in the bag reminded loudly. It's been caught. There was no sense in risking the female snake any further. TSK. I have to say. The vocabulary of these two snakes is so lacking. Over and over again. It's just two phrases. Abominable human beings. Devious human beings. Or else abominable and devious human beings. Hey. Can you study and learn? There's not enough cussing to go around. Zhou Ming tapped the fire chief on the shoulder. Look at me. Let this female snake get herself caught by us. Ha! Huh? The fire chief was flabbergasted. And that's enough to make it actively get caught by them? How is this possible? It's the snake. And can't understand human language. However, when he thought of the female snake that rushed down aggressively just now. After sensing Zhou Ming picking up the male snake. She folded back and dropped her body. The fire chief glanced at the female snake that had erected her body and was half running. Suddenly thought again. What Zhou Ming said is not impossible ah. Zhou Ming patted the male snake in the bag that was wailing and neutralized. Be good. How can you protect a female snake with such a serious wound on your body? But letting it continue like this will only make the wounds on its body worse. Zhou Ming said in a loud voice. Don't do anything rash for a while. I'll have a talk with this female snake. Talk. Talk. With this. Snake. The firefighters looked at each other in disbelief, knowing that Zhou Ming's skill at catching snakes was divine. But talk to the snake? How is this possible? It's not like snakes can understand people. The firefighters looked at the fire chief in unison. This female snake is the best chance to catch her now that she has appeared. You can just go around the back and lasso it. Promise you won't get away with it. The fire chief obviously knew what was on the minds of his crew. And that's really a good way to go. He was thinking. It was then that Zhou Ming crouched down his body and met the female snake that had erected its body in front of him in a four-eyed stare. Humans, let go of the snake. What the hell are you doing? Zhou Ming took a deep breath and tried to exude a calm aura around himself to make it feel harmless. And after, slowly, he lowered the snake catching bag in his hand. The smell of blood. The female snake gulped her snake letters, keenly sensing the smell emanating from the snake trap bag. It fretted. Are you okay? The desperately struggling male snake's voice was weak at the moment. Why haven't you left? Your wounds haven't healed yet. I shouldn't have let you face so many hateful humans just now. Stupid snake. I'll be relieved when you're gone. Now we'll both be accounted for here. Zhou Ming. The two snakes had been talking to each other for half a day and froze without answering a single question to each other. Asterisk 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 asterisk. 
What a wonder. This scene just doesn't happen even in a movie. They're not communicating, are they? You hear that hissing? These two snakes are so lovey-dovey they can't be talking about going to sleep under your covers tonight. Asterisk 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 you. Roll on roll on roll on. The firefighters were all half-grown teenagers, the oldest being no more than 25 or 26 years old. And it was the time for teenage spirit. At the sight of this scene, heads were sticking out, tools in hand, looking on curiously. If these two snakes do anything differently, they'll just lose it with a stick. Can't run away. The female snake twisted her head and her snake's letters kept gulping. It smells like humans on all sides, even if you can force your way out. But the male snake is still in human hands. It slowly came forward, meeting a cautious, defensive gaze. Husband, I don't want to go. Even if I walk away, this is not our home. Rather, with you. The male snake in the snake trap bag had completely stopped struggling. Zhou Ming heard its grief-stricken, heart-rending cries, encompassing thoughts of home, despair at being captured by humans. Mother asterisk 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 error. It's not like he's here to stick it to the man. Zhou Ming was speechless. But, they are since they are no longer ready to run. Zhou Ming stuffed the snake catching bag with the male snake into another bag of a bigger one model. And then, open the mouth of the bag towards the female snake. Come in. Don't come in. You're gonna die. Don't trust humans. The male snake, who no longer had any strength, struggled and rolled desperately in the bag again. The rotting body was rubbed open by the rough bag. And the smell of blood was so strong that Zhou Ming could smell it. If you don't want it to die, come in. Zhou Ming sent the snake catching bag forward. Don't trust humans. The male snake cried out fiercely and weakly. The female snake still hesitates. Zhou Ming picked it up and pinched its mouth through the bag. Do you know you're noisy? Woohoo! Damn humans! As a vicious Mozambique spitting cobra it had never been treated like this in its life. Cover your mouth. You cover the mouth of a viper? Crazy! Instantly, the firefighters' hearts were in their throats. Coming in or not? Zhou Ming didn't dawdle with it anymore and directly stood up. Looking down at this female Mozambique spitting cobra, there was no hesitation. Tugging back on the male snake's bag. Hiss. The female Mozambique spitting cobra eagerly pursued, opening her mouth in an attempt to try and eject the venom in her teeth. But with a gesture from Zhou Ming, the male snake bag was placed in front of it. Startled. It immediately retracted its fangs. What do you want? This is the male with whom he came over the ocean and survived together. In this humid city, they nestle and entwine with each other, even though she is severely injured. The female snake is not willing to give up on her. Snakes are cold-blooded, but that doesn't mean they don't have emotions. They hurt when they are hurt. It can also be irritating, especially this one. Zhou Ming saw that these two snakes did not only have the wisdom of sounding out the enemy, but also the emotion of being in love with each other. Zhou Ming put the male snake down, and the male snake's wound rubbed against the floor, immediately emitting a hissing sound. Just listening to it, it hurts. Humans? The female snake stared at him angrily. But as soon as there was any possibility of it attempting to attack, Zhou Ming began to torture the male snake. Please, you don't want anything to happen to your male snake, do you? Chapter 121 Husband Protector Why are you pinching me? Pinch yourself. A couple of rounds. The female snake also realized that as long as she had no intention of harming the human, the other would not do anything to the male. It lay on its back and gulped down the snake's letters. Don't hurt it. It's showing weakness. Despicable. The male snake sensed what Zhou Ming was trying to do and gritted his teeth for a moment. It wanted to open its mouth and die with Zhou Ming. But one drum is not enough. Covering the female snake's escape just now had taken nearly all of its strength. All it could do now was hiss at the female snake. Going fast. Don't mind me. The female snake didn't say anything. Just quietly lay down in front of Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming placed another empty snake trap bag in front of it and softly said. Come in. I won't hurt you. Instead, he can treat male snakes. The male snake's wounds were so severe that if left outside it would have surely died in less than a week. Don't trust humans. Have you forgotten how we got here? The male snake opens his mouth in warning. And then, again, Zhou Ming pinched his mouth. Male snake, and, asterisk, you win. You can't hide the eyes of a human who wants to knife them. Hear it swearing inside. Zhou Ming huffed over with a slap. Cursing is not a good snake. The male serpent took a big bout, and his already weak and foggy head got even more dizzy. It muttered curses through gritted teeth. Abominable humans. Abominable abominable. The female snake wriggled her body and gulped her snake letters as she approached Zhou Ming. With a harmless gesture, it prayed to the humans before it. Please, don't hurt it. That's good. Since you're a husband protector, then I don't have to break anything to you anymore. Zhou Ming threw the snake catching bag in front of it. Get in. This time, without the slightest hesitation, the female snake burrowed right in. It was willing for the sake of the male snake. Don't. 
The male snake rolled weakly in the bag, which bulged slightly, and then went silent. For you, I will, the female snake said firmly. It squirmed with righteousness, willingly walked into a cage set up by man. No, the male snake tore his heart out. Zhou Ming, numb nuts, can you guys please take care of the singles? It's not like we're going to make snake soup out of you. What do I want to do with this? Zhou Ming grabbed the snake catcher's bag and tied on the seal. Two one meter long snakes sank in. Zhou Ming clapped his hands. Done. Just, just this? No. The firefighters holding up snake traps and nets blinked and froze, staring at the two piles on the ground. Grab one, and the other one does what it's told. Lying. Holy. Ah. What are you pinching me for? One of the firefighters wailed out. Hiss, it's a real pain, isn't it? Looks like I'm not dreaming. The fireman next to him rubbed his chin. Seriously? Pinched firefighter? What the? Why are you pinching me? Pinch yourself if you can. Okay. The fire chief stood out and said with a stern face. Although these two snakes have been caught, the subsequent finishing work has not yet been done. Hurry up and get all busy. Don't stand around. Yes. Understood. Got it. The half-grown lads obeyed orders and began to organize the messy warehouse, incidentally making another sweep for any undiscovered remnants of snakes. These two snakes. I'll take them back first. Zhou Ming was somewhat preoccupied with the situation of this one male snake. It originally had just a small wound on it, but it just dragged on and on and the wound started to get worse, until now the rot was deep enough to see through to the bone. If you don't take care of it, your life will really be in danger. Good. Fire Brigade Zhang nodded, then suddenly grabbed Zhou Ming's arm again. These two snakes will spray venom. You have to be more careful. Don't worry. Zhou Ming patted his shoulder and laughed. Two hundred dollars. Remember to hit my account. This seeing money in the eye of the beholder. Firehouse Chang hammered his fist into his chest. Got it. MMM. Zhou Ming stifled a cry. Numb nuts. Just now. He was so focused on catching the snake that he almost forgot that he himself was still seriously injured. Is everything okay? Fire Brigade Zhang hastily retracted his hand and looked at Zhou Ming worriedly. It couldn't be that he had just been bitten by a snake, right? That's a big deal. It's fine, it's fine. Seeing that he was about to get his hands on him, Zhou Ming hurriedly waved his hand. It's really okay? The force he had just used wasn't heavy at all. It didn't make sense that Zhou Ming would be the way he was just now. It's okay. Zhou Ming's voice sounded as if it had been squeezed out from between his teeth. If you don't say it's okay, do you want to say that he's a big man who's been attacked on the chest by a lizard? And then a bite? Captain, we're done checking and this is the only area with signs of snake life. One of the firefighters stomped up to the two men, his voice loud and center. It's probably because it's close to the vents, making it easy for them to get out and feed. All the other shelves are quickly changed for handling as the ship arrives. People come and go. So naturally it's not a good place for these two Mozambique venom-spewing cobras to hide. That's smart. Zhou Ming couldn't help but lament. Since it's gone, Let's restore it to its original state and not disturb the normal operation of the warehouse. Because of the appearance of these two snakes, the employees of the warehouse evacuated and left. And now there was no way to move and pick up goods normally. Seeing Zhou Ming and Fire Department Zhang come out, the merchants waiting anxiously across the warehouse immediately rushed up and surrounded the two in a group. When will the warehouse be open? Did you catch the snake? Can you let me go in first and get my own stuff? Yeah, 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 I'm waiting for an emergency use on my end. Firefighter boy you accommodate. Nice guy. Zhou Ming felt like he was being squeezed to death. Humans. So many humans. Bite you all. Bite you all to death. The male snake wailed and chanted. And would have leaned against the snake trap bag and taken a bite if he hadn't been so weak. Husband. Calm down. Let's see what happens first. The female snakes could sense that Zhou Ming, who had bagged them up, did not really want to harm them. Hearing the two snakes broken thoughts, Zhou Ming struggled to break out of the encirclement. After catching his breath. He waved his hand at the crowd of firefighter Zhang and, bye bye you, firehouse Chang, numb nuts, put two Mozambique spraying cobras in the car. Zhou Ming stepped on the gas and went straight to the door of Master Pan's store. Master Pan. Zhou Ming saw Master Pan sitting under the tree in front of the store drinking tea and shouted aloud. You kid, how did you find the time to come here? I haven't seen Zhou Ming for a few days, and Pan thought he had a daughter-in-law and forgot about Pan. After all. He had racked his brain before to give the black and white lift bamboo leaf green to Shen Weiwei, and according to Master Pan's idea, the relationship between the two had to skyrocket anyways, right? It's time for you and me to spend time together. Master Pan, I would like to borrow your medical tools. Zhou Ming opened the door, without the slightest intention of beating around the bush. Say what you want about borrowing or not borrowing, it's on the second floor you can just use it yourself. Master Pan stood up with his little alabaster teapot on his plate and his eyes glanced straight toward his car. The, 
What goodies did you get again? You kid? Chapter 122 must bite you to death first. Let go of my wife. Can't speak for the good stuff. Just caught two Mozambique spitting cobras. A female and a male. A Mozambique spitting cobra? That's a tough thing to get. The Mozambique venom spewing cobra. The danger in the wild is second only to snakes of the genus Mamba. Very difficult to catch. Not a few human beings die each year abroad because of Mozambique's venom spewing cobras. The most important thing is that this kind of dangerous snakes, the domestic official three orders, belong to as absolutely cannot be imported species. Where did Chow Ming come from? Master Pan asked with an open mouth. You've been catching snakes for the fire department again? Yes. Zhou Ming nodded and looked at Master Pan with a smile as he bragged. Give 200 at a time. Let me handle the snakes I catch as well. It's simply a white whore. Snakes are very territorial domain conscious animals. Does not readily enter places frequented by humans. Especially in the city. Snakes that can be found in cities are basically there because they were abandoned by humans. Most of the snakes that can be purchased into the hands of humans are again breed snakes. Chao Ming can be put directly on display in a reptile house. The same goes for these two Mozambique spraying cobras. Master Pan. I won't talk to you. This male snake is a bit badly injured. I'll treat it first. Zhou Ming carried a snake catching bag in one hand. Whimpering, he walked into the store. He breezed up to the second floor and opened the door to the room in the corner. Click. The incandescent light overhead came on. Zhou Ming dumped two snakes from the snake catching bag inside two cages respectively. The two snakes were dropped and their brains buzzed. Cage again. The male serpent let out an airy hee-haw sound. His head banging frantically against the bars that held him captive. Damn humans. Damn it. Whoa. The noise made Zhou Ming's ears hurt. Instead, the female snake next to it kept persuading it. You calm down. Let's see what happens. I have a feeling this human is good. The male snake gritted his teeth. Humans are no good. They're all bad things that only destroy our homes and hurt us. We can't trust them. Oi oi oi. What do you mean there's not a single good human being? Zhou Ming knocked on the male snake's cage in dissatisfaction. You can't a snake overthrow a boat full of people ah? How did you marry such a good daughter-in-law with such a gentle and small mind when you are so grumpy? Female snakes are real gentle. Speaking slowly and methodically, like a spring breeze, blowing across the lake willow tree. Willow tree branches caressing, crossing the calm lake surface, ripples after ripples. Mindfulness. Even when it was the angriest when it was captured, it was soft and tender. And if the timing was not right just now, Zhou Ming would have wanted to hold it and coax it. The daughter-in-law is still partial to death. I'd rather get caught together than definitely not run away by myself. Hey, people are more angry than snakes. Zhou Ming prepared all the tools he would need later. And then his eyes fell on two Mozambique venom spewing cobras. Ah, uh, who would be a good place to start first? Zhou Ming dropped his gaze on the weak male snake. The rotting wounds on its body, which had become even more festering from the grinding in the bag earlier, vaguely revealed the fresh flesh and blood inside. It looks, well, dismal, abominable human beings. When I get a chance to go out, I'll bite you to death first. Zhou Ming. I have a feeling you'll be in pain for a while longer. Zhou Ming dropped his gaze on the female snake next to him. It was nowhere near as calm as it had been when talking to the male snake. The body hovered in a ball, tightly cowering in the corner closest to the male snake. It's a sign of nervousness in snakes. That's you. Zhou Ming opened the female snake's cage. Reaching out, he was about to grab it. The female snake instinctively braced her neck bone and opened her mouth wide at Zhou Ming, revealing her sharp fangs. Venom synthesis. All it takes is a gentle contraction of the muscles in the head for a quick jet. Zhou Ming knocked on the cage next to him, his voice thick with menace. Are you sure you want to spray venom at me? Female snakes. Good. JPG. That's good. Can't I cure you? You little? Satisfied. Zhou Ming reached out and fished the female snake out of the cage and placed it on the table. First, they are weighed. Then they are measured for length. This female Mozambique spitting cobra has an olive colored body, with some of the scales faintly oozing a little black around the edges. The neck and belly are spotted with yellow and black spots interspersed with small brown spots. Other venom spewing cobras stand up with an arc. But the Mozambique venom spewing cobra comes with a dominant, angular, self-contained look, easily distinguishable from other spray plug cobras. For the first time, he was treated like dough by humans. The female snake could not help but be mortified in her mind and, get your hands off me. Zhou Ming knocked on the male snake's cage as if in warning. Be good. You don't want your husband to have any problems, do you? The female snake immediately behaved herself and held back. For the sake of my husband, I'll endure. Zhou Ming hooked a light smile on his face and put on his gloves to start giving it a full body check. Ah, the female Mozambique venom spewing cobra gave a startled cry and, what are you doing? Your hand, how can? Zhou Ming pinched its soft and tender abdomen, and could vaguely feel the presence of a few rounded pieces. It's snake eggs. 
This female Mozambique spitting cobra is pregnant. No wonder the male snake kept letting it go. Don't. The female snake shrank herself, her voice a little panicked, the slightest tremor in her refusal. Yet Zhou Ming's hand still did not stop and continued to move down. It was definitely a first for a female snake to let a human get close like this. But as soon as it opens its mouth, Zhou Ming raises his hand and knocks on the male snake's cage. It could only be forced to stretch itself out, allowing Zhou Ming's warm fingers to caress over inch after inch of its cold snake scales. The female snake was aggravated and puzzled. Human, what are you? What are you doing to me? I'm a snake with a date. Definitely won't submit to human sugar-coated bombs. You, you can't do anything to me. Can't do anything to you? Then I'll be partial to doing something about you. Zhou Ming pressed down on a small bulge protruding from his hand. At once, the female snake's scales exploded. Ah, it hurts. The female snake wriggled and contracted violently on the table. The whole snake was about to curl into a twist. Zhou Ming's hand rose and fell with tweezers. Remove the tick that is parasitized on the outside of its body like a small bean. The ticks were gently pinched, like little meatballs bursting with juiciness and dripping with clear goo. The middle part of its body is where it parasitizes the most. It's not like this place is active on a regular basis. And once a tick is parasitized, it's very difficult for snakes to find and remove it. Zhou Ming took the tweezers and was clear and clean in three or two strokes. No, no hard feelings? Just for a moment. The female snake felt keenly that her body seemed to be much more relaxed. It hung its head, mentally wondering, how did this happen? This human doesn't want to hurt me, but wants to take care of me? Zhou Ming's hand slid down the slender snake's body, examining every inch of its scales. Aside from the ticks, only tiny scars remain on the snake. Ah, Zhou Ming's hand slid down to a certain location, and the female snake suddenly let out a soft cry. Ah, the cage under the table roared violently and, stinking human, let go of my wife. Chapter 123, The hatred of taking a wife is not to be shared. Humans are not allowed. Let go of my wife. Wife, are you okay wife? The male snake let out a roar, erecting its body to stare straight at Zhou Ming. Its scarlet serpentine robe gulping so fast that it was about to bear sparks. Hisses dash. The male snake flashed its fangs at Zhou Ming, the muscles on its mouth shrugging. The next second it's going to spew venom. What the? Where's my poison? Where's the poison that I can ing kill a cheetah with? The male snake looked confused. Sip your teeth. Nothing. The venom secretion system of the viper consists mainly of contractile muscles. Venom glands, venom ducts and fangs. The two fangs are hollow tubular structures connected to the venom glands by venom conduits. Among other things, the venom glands secrete venom. Venom is actually a type of saliva, usually golden or egg white in color, and its main component is protein. However, venom generation also needed time. A tube shot out was like a hero in a game that drained his blue bar and used a big one. Not only was his blue bar damaged, even his skills had to be cooled down for a period of time. Because of this, most snakes are creeping around corners, biding their time. That's why even for cobras who are equipped with the spray blocking skill, they don't show their killer skills easily, except in cases of extreme danger. For example, when they were captured by Zhou Ming and the others, the male snake got up the idea that he'd rather be dead than alive, and the venom wailed out. The whole warehouse was like rain, and it had long since dried up in the venom glands. It's like humans playing with themselves too much. They simply can't firm up ah, shriveled? Zhou Ming dropped the mask in his hand and his gaze fell on the impotent and furious male snake, slurping twice, then found a large rain tarp to cover the outside of his cage, to prevent it from secreting venom from its poison glands later and sneaking up from behind. So, just stay inside. The airtight raincloth cut off the vast majority of the odors from the outside. The male squirms anxiously, trying to get his brain stuck between the bars. Wife, wife, don't be afraid. I'm coming to save you. It whimpered and purred. Shiver. The female snake subconsciously shrunk back because of the inexplicable feeling in her body. Man. Human? What have you done to me? It stumbled, curling itself into a ball and squirming over toward the other side of the table. Zhou Ming's actions made it embarrassed. Humans? You can't be like that. Don't think I won't bite you if you help me. Zhou Ming didn't say anything. Just reach out and try to catch it. Hiss. The female snake opened her mouth wide at him in warning. Don't touch me. Even though you helped me just now. That doesn't mean you can do whatever you want to me. It won't work. Absolutely not. Is that right? Zhou Ming's hand that reached over, however, did not retract and landed firmly on top of its body. One man and one snake, momentarily frozen. This human, hasn't let go of his attempts on me. I'm, I'm so fierce. I'm not a human to be messed with. The soft, branchless voice is gentle and slow, but the surface is fierce and tough. If ordinary people would have been scared out of their wits by it. However, Zhou Ming was not an ordinary person. 
Instead, the fierce-faced female snake was slowly backing away. The heart sounds timid. Shiver? Human, what the hell are you doing? No, no can't. It's now. Zhou Ming violently stretched out his hand. Come here, I'll give you a bath. After the shower drop by and put on another layer of castor oil. This will effectively kill the mites attached to its body. Only, what did the snake think it was going to do to it? Zhou Ming's hand fell quickly, but the female snake reacted faster. Even if it's as soft as a doddering flower, it doesn't change the fact that it's a venom spewing cobra, or the Mozambique spitting cobra that can use a black mamba as a downer. Fierce, agile, it's an instinct that's imprinted in its bones. Just, snakes are snakes after all. It doesn't even know it's on the table. The moment Zhou Ming extended his hand, it subconsciously retreated. Snap, the whole snake stepped right through the air. Ah, it shrieked. Next, it fell directly into Zhou Ming's hands. Zhou Ming pinched its mouth, and in three strokes, thought of it as if it was raining noodles, and stuffed it directly into the case of the concocted potion. Woo woo woo, insidious and cunning human being. My mouth. The female snake was forced to drown inside the potion. Soaking wet, Zhou Ming's hand first under the noodle-like, pinching it in the water to mix well. It struggled desperately, trying to open its mouth to bite Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming faintly said, Honey doesn't want it? It doesn't understand, but it knows how to avoid harm. Especially since Zhou Ming had started to cultivate it from the very beginning. As soon as the urge to grumpily bite rose in its heart, Zhou Ming would take out the male snake to threaten and warn it. A few times down the line, it keenly memorized the word husband. The female snake's voice was indignant and tolerant. Ah ha! This abominable human! He threatened me with my husband. I really want to bite him to death, but for the sake of my husband I'll endure. The female snake that was desperately struggling in Zhou Ming's hands did not move. That's good. Zhou Ming nodded in satisfaction. I'm so relieved that you figured it out on your own and are cooperating. Soaked in potion. Zhou Ming scooped up the entire female snake and placed it on a disposable towel, wiping off the excess medicinal water on it. Then he took out a jar of castor oil, poured some on his hands, and rubbed them together slowly. Come here. Zhou Ming tugged on its tail. The female snake was filled with grief and, what are you trying to do to me again? I'm a snake with a husband. We really can't. Abominable human. You have no self-respect at all. Under a cage covered by a large rain tarp, the male snake is impotent and furious. The revenge of taking my wife. We'll never share the same fate. Damn humans. Ah, Zhou Ming. What's with you snakes? You don't know what's good for you. But, since you all think so, there's no need to get anything else fancy. One yanked over the female snake's tail, dragging its ever-writhing body towards himself. Ah, ah, perverted human you don't touch me. I'm not just any snake. Let go of my hand. Quickly stop. We really can't. Bleats. I'm going to fight back if you keep this up. I'll show you that I'm not a snake to be messed with. The female snake kept shouting, struggling like a yellow girl being pulled through the grove by a dilettante. Chapter 124 Spring is here everything is here again. Zhou Ming scared. Honey. The female snake fell silent, allowing Zhou Ming to pull its curled body apart. Wu. Husband. This is not what I had in mind. You must forgive me. Zhou Ming. Numb nuts. Why does it suddenly feel like you're robbing a married woman and sending her straight to the bridal chamber? Little lady, come and give us a smile? Zhou Ming shivered. Mom, yeah, that's exciting. Zhou Ming's large hand dipped in castor oil began to start slowly working its way down from the female snake's head. Warm fingers slid over the cool snake scales, slowly down the line. In conjunction with Zhou Ming's wonderful technique, castor oil was applied on top of the female snake's body, covering it amongst the gaps in the scales. Ha ha ha. The female snake couldn't help but make another odd sound as she felt the palms roaming around her body. Oh why is this happening? What has this human done to me? This feeling, this feeling again. It wiggled its body as if to say no again. It's heart breaking more and more. As the arc of its swing became larger, Zhou Ming could only free one hand to control it. Knocking on the cage under the table again. Pay attention. I still have your husband. Woo. Threatened by humans again. The female snake trembled. Like he was really afraid that Zhou Ming would go and hurt the male snake below. Its head moved towards Zhou Ming's palm. And as if it was testing, it gently rubbed against it again and again. Seeing that Zhou Ming did not refuse, it rubbed against Zhou Ming more assuredly. Like a puppy dog pleasing. TSK. Kinda dead to the grumpy male snake. Zhou Ming poured castor oil on its body. And the unnetted castor oil covered its body in a sticky mess. The female snake was too sensitive. And it instinctively moved. But then remembered Zhou Ming's warning. But the already shrunken body was like a shrimp, afraid of Zhou Ming's anger. It did not dare to move easily. One could only look back and watch Zhou Ming rubbing and oiling his body. Feel the stiffness in the bodies of his men. 
Zhou Ming frowned and continued his movements. It just didn't take long. The female snake's body went soft. In his hands, it was almost turning into a puddle. Oh, my god. A low whine spilled out, and a ball of fire seemed to blaze up from among Zhou Ming's palms, as if bringing it back to the time of spring. Spring is here and everything is coming back to life. Everything in the earth began to stir. Ah. Zhou Ming's hand continued to move down with the castor oil. Castor oil slid down the snake's scales and rolled gently. The abdomen was turned over. Castor oil was applied by Zhou Ming's fingers. Ah, ah, ah. The hidden abdomen was touched. The female snake could no longer bear it. Her heart voice almost brought out a cry. Her body wrapped around last week's Nehru's hands regardless. Its cries were broken and tattered. Like pleading for something. The sound of shivering caught the attention of the male snake in the cage. Ah, wife. What did you do to my wife? Damn human. Let go of my wife. The cage clunked again under his feet and the male snake let out a grumpy hiss. Wife. Zhou Ming. Mom. Yeah. How it felt like cheating on a snake behind his back. But. He's a human being. Wrestle. Just rubbing a castor oil. What are you doing? What are you doing? Zhou Ming was speechless. Quickly. He applied the rest of the castor oil to the female snake and put it back inside the cage. The female snake heartily grunted. No longer looking as ferocious as she did a moment ago. Woo. Not much longer. It finally calmed down. It was like it remembered something. All chagrin in the heartbeat. Ah. Ah. What did I just do? This is not okay. It's not okay. How could I voluntarily wrap myself around a human's body? I must be crazy. Hoo hoo hoo. HSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSS
The wounds on his body had been rubbed and bloodied long ago in the snake trap bag. Even if it hurts, bear it in your heart. Use saline to wash away impurities and blood clots from the wound. Then use a new cotton swab, dipped in hydrogen peroxide to clean the ulcerated tissue and wound. The strong smell caused the female snake to poke her head in even further. Human, what are you doing? Zhou Ming suddenly realized. This female snake's name for herself had gradually and gradually changed from abominable human to human. Should I say no? This definitely counts as a good sign. Zhou Ming carefully cleaned off the already broken tissues on the male snake's back, again trying to avoid touching the good tissues, so as to facilitate the wound healing. Zip zip zip. Hydrogen peroxide contacted the wound and immediately erupted in a loud bang. A large amount of white foam appeared on the male snake. The snake twitched instinctively. But again, because they were tied up in five different ways, there wasn't any drastic action. The wound is too deep. After cleaning it up, Zhou Ming grabbed a medical needle and thread and sewed up the wound on its back, then tied a pretty bow. Master Pan, who had just come in, saw his flying needle and thread movements, and his eyes jumped. That deep? Can't live. Zhou Ming didn't return his head and wrapped the wound with gauze. A wound of this size is not suitable for exposure to the air. It's okay. This male snake, he must want to live. After all, he also has a daughter-in-law who loves him so much. And unborn babies. Tisk. Master Pan looked at the bow on the male snake's body. Your skill at tying bows. Not bad. Zhou Ming gave it an anti-inflammatory shot. Smiling, he said, Right? I'll get you one if you like. Master Pan? Go go go. You brat. Cursing me for no reason. Master Pan waved his hand laughing and cursing. The afterglow abruptly fell on the cage on the corner of the table. The body suddenly shivered, leaning on the crutches in his hand to back up as fast as possible. Zhou Ming, are you crazy? You just casually put a Mozambique poison spraying cobra in a cage? You didn't even do anything to protect it. You weren't afraid it was going to spray poison? The venom spray range of the Mozambique spitting cobra was high and far. If it wanted to attack unprotected humans, Ten Zhou Ming would not be enough for it to spray once. Scared? Master Pan. We are very well behaved and never hurt humans easily. Zhou Ming stretched out his fingertips and rubbed the female snake's jaws through the gap between the cages. Don't you think so? Fizzle. Humans. Only my husband can touch here. The female snake twisted her head in grief. Living as a molested daughter-in-law. Not a little daughter-in-law. Her husband is lying in front of her. Pouty. Pouty? Master Pan's jaw dropped. And he couldn't help but rub his eyes. What's going on? It actually saw pettiness in a snake? Is he crazy? No. No, no, it must be a world gone mad. Master Pan, lend me these two cages of yours for now, and I'll bring them back to you later. Zhou Ming did not notice the cage or anything else. Just can let the two snakes separate loose loose. Saw it and used it. Ha, ah. Master Pan watched as Zhou Ming opened the female snake's cage and then held the male snake that had undergone surgery and handed it to him. The female snake raised her neck, poked her head, and the head of her gulping serpent rubbed against the head of the male snake. The stance. It's like a human seeing a loved one coming out of surgery. Finished. It can't be that he's really crazy. Can it? Master Pan thought with some skepticism. When Zhou Ming left the store with the two cages. Master Pan, on his crutches, grabbed one of the clerks. Seriously and earnestly, he asked. Do you think that snakes can become sperm? Well, the clerk was a little hesitant. White Susie. Chao Chang. Finished. Master Pan was struck by lightning and muttered. This turned out to be true. There are demons in this world. Clerk? Finished. He's not going to lose his job. Is he? Chu Ming. Naru. What in the world have you done to Master Pan? Wrestle. The other side. Zhou Ming didn't know that Master Pan had actually started to doubt the world because of two snakes. He hesitated. Or did they choose to bring two Mozambique spraying cobras back to the villa? Shiver. Fizzle. The reptile room was as lively as ever. The master is back. The burrowing tarantula crept out of the corner. It was always the first to detect Zhou Ming's flavor. Yet coyly and shyly, he hides himself behind the reptiles. Lying obediently in the aquascape box, he silently traced Zhou Ming's back. A small and snugly cry went up. Master. Zhou Ming carried the cage with a slight lurch in his footsteps. This little spider. The Chinese cobra said arrogantly. Oh, my god. You've come back. Wang Jin snake twisted his head. As noble and cold as ever. Humming. Hungry. Let's eat. The king cobra poked its head out. And with one mouth it still smelled like big ballast. Oh my god, where did you get two more? Can you handle it? Humans? What if I get drained? Hey, I'm really worried. The blue-tongued dragon, stone child owl, plopped down on the glass, his paws blossoming into tiny flowers. Master, master, you're back. Master, master, it's been so long, I miss you again. 
The white-lipped bamboo leaf green yelled. Alarm alarm, humans are back, watch out for snakes. The little pig-nosed snake was spinning in circles with excitement, like a little repeater. Papa, 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 papa. He's not your father. The big hog-nosed snake fixed a retort, continuing to puff and puff. He plowed through the bedding, tossing the large aquascape box as if it were snowing, with wood shavings spilling out. Whoa kaka kaka, it's so much fun, trouble for the humans again, Zhou Ming, numb nuts, so tempted to pick up the big hog-nosed snake and beat it up before saying anything. Chapter 126, we are absolutely impossible, give up on that, hey 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 hey, hey 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 hey, being taught a lesson twice by Zhou Ming, the big pig-nosed snake didn't dare to arch over the water basin again, after all. If it was thirsty, it would still be itself that was tossed. So, its little brain came up with a great idea. I don't move the water bowl. Nothing else matters. All of the neatly arranged, ornamental flowers and plants in the layout box are hard to escape its little nose. I'm arching. I arch. I arch arch arch. See what you can do with me? The large hog-nosed snake scurried around in a lively manner, eating the fact that Zhou Ming must not have much of a way to punish himself. There really wasn't much Zhou Ming could do to punish it. This little thing, Remembers the food and doesn't remember the beatings. The tendency to avoid harm is something that's engraved in your bones. As soon as Cho Ming walked over to it, before he could reach out and tap the scenery box it was staying in as a warning. The big hog-nosed snake had then gone down first, turning his belly over. The scarlet snake's letter spat out of his mouth. I'm dead. According to the rules, you can't get your hands on a dead little snake snake. Hey, 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 let's see what you can do with me. I'm dead, 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 Zhou Ming hands itch even more. So angry. It's like seeing a noisy bear child and you're about to teach him a lesson. But the bear child is immediately well behaved. But as soon as you walk away, the bears immediately continue to pounce. Even more so than the last time they made a scene. Noticing Zhou Ming leaving his presence, the large pig-nosed snake rolled over in a death-defying roll, stretching out its long body and bragging to the king cobra next to it. Did you see that? Did you see that? This human has been conditioned by me to be completely afraid to speak. If you call me big brother from now on, I'll reluctantly teach you a little bit. The king cobra glanced at it and silently wriggled itself a little farther away. It's afraid that if it gets too close, what if its brain gets infected? It chanted in its mind. Oh, my god, where did this snake come from? There's nothing like our northeastern snake's temperament. It's so petty. It's even pretending to be dead. Take it or leave it. Understand? What a disgrace to the snake. The large hog-nosed snake didn't know that the king cobra was spitting on itself in its mind. It was so excited right now. <coughs> Humans, tremble, submit. Zhou Ming, do you believe I'll go over there right now and show you what humans are made of? This snake is so bad, bullying the master. A soft, so light it was almost unnoticeable voice drifted over from the distance. Zhou Ming was a bit surprised that it was actually a small spider. There hadn't been a second of its kind in the entire reptile chamber that could communicate with it. Coupled with the fact that the little spider was shy and bashful, he was often forgotten in the corner by Zhou Ming. There's no way around it. Competing for favor is too much. Who can handle a snake calling his dad? A lizard with a big tongue and a blooming foot? There's also a Chinese cobra that speaks Wu Nong every day and wants someone to be King Zhou's. At this time, a rare trace of guilt surfaced in Zhou Ming's heart. Hey, he's such a scumbag. But, so cool. Humans, where is this place? Cage in front of you. The female Mozambique venom spewing cobra looked up quizzically. It gulped its serpentine letters and took in the smell of the reptile chamber's clutter. If this is in the wild, they should already be fighting each other. One mountain cannot accommodate two tigers, and one territory cannot accommodate two snakes. Unless it's a male and a female, there is something to be said for that. Just here, it's amazing what flavors are available. They are noisy, but there is no hint of harming each other. Harmony. Yes, they live in harmony. Because of the human in front of him. This human, it's good humans, save them. This realization caused the female Mozambique poison spraying cobra to slowly raise her head, her snake's letters gulping through the bars in front of her, slowly coming to Zhou Ming's hand that was holding the cage. Shiver. The forked snake's letter slid nimbly over the back of Zhou Ming's hand, bringing up a wet touch. Zhou Ming lowered his head in surprise, looking at the female Mozambique spray poison cobra who was obviously taking note of her scent and pleasing herself. Zhou Ming heard a voice that seemed to have passed through over lofty mountains exhausted, and finally saw salvation. Humans, thank you. It's, accepted him? Zhou Ming was about to reach out. The female Mozambique venom spewing cobra has retracted her snakeskin and her heartbeat has changed, stumbling with petulant grief. What do you want? 
I'm a married snake. We have to avoid suspicion between the two of us. Zhou Ming? Avoiding suspicion? One man. One snake. What's the point of avoiding suspicion? Besides, you were the one who initiated it, right? How can you accuse people so wrongly? However, what the female Mozambique spitting cobra had decided would not be easily changed. She cooed mentally. We are absolutely impossible. Humans, just give up on that. Zhou Ming, I can't thank you enough. I'm dead in the water. Ah no, never never had a thing for you. This female Mozambique spitting cobra is quite the narcissist, isn't she? Zhou Ming shook his head and took out two new aquascape boxes. There was no time to set up the ecosystem inside. Only a basic layer of bedding and a water bowl. I'll clean it up when I have enough time afterward. But even so, it's also enough to surprise a female Mozambique spitting cobra. Is this? Is this for me? It felt the soft, cloud-like wood shavings under its body. And next to it was an area where fine pebbles had been partially used as bedding. Zhou Ming buried the water dish in the middle of the fine pebbles and held them in a larger dish, making it easy for the Mozambique spitting cobra to swim in and out. It slowly squirmed its body onto the fine pebbles, surprised and delighted by the familiar touch beneath it. This human, so knows me, so attentive. Zhou Ming certainly understood it. The Mozambique spraying cobra prefers to be near water because of the abundance of food and ease of hunting in such places. The fine pebbles were deliberately laid by Zhou Ming. I love it. The female Mozambique spraying cobra was clearly delighted, wriggling slowly around the perimeter of the water bowl on the fine pebbles. Gradually its taut nerves slackened. It slowly coiled around its body, drooping its head over its body, and gulped its snake letters at Zhou Ming's position. Human. This human is pretty good. The voice was slender and delicate. By the time Zhou Ming finished handling the male snake's creation box, the female snake's heartbeat had already disappeared. Fell asleep. Zhou Ming swept a glance at the sleeping female Mozambique spray poison cobra, like a sleeping beauty snake, sprawled silently like a statue. The scales of the snake, freshly anointed with castor oil, refracted tiny glimmers in the warm light. Hoo hoo hoo. The surroundings made it drop its guard completely. After traveling across the ocean and struggling to survive for so long, it's just that people are exhausted. Not to mention the still pregnant female snake. Zhou Ming's movements slowed down a bit, and he was about to put the still sleeping male snake into the aquascape box. Where am I? The smell of humans. Ah, I'll bite the uh. Chapter 127 Master. The little wolf spider will avenge you. Beat it. Zhou Ming was quick on his feet and pinched its mouth as soon as it made the heartfelt sound, then tucked right into the aquascape box. Snap the lid. Spray it spray it. Poison yourself. Poison yourself. When he was poisoned, he collected the body and made snake soup for it. Pinch his mouth again. Pinched mouth again. Abominable human. If you can do it another way ah. What a pissed off snake, Zhou Ming said. The tricks are no longer new. It works. If you try to wail again, I'll sew your mouth shut, okay? The male snake's body instinctively tried to thrash around. Just a slight tug brought a sharp pain from the wound on his body. Ah, damn human. I knew you didn't have good intentions for me. Oh, even if I were a dead snake, I wouldn't let you go. Uh, just pity my wife. Wife, in our next life wheel. Hey, wife, it senses the smell of a wife. And the wife seems to be in good shape? Still asleep? The male snake wriggled his body and slowly came closest to the female. It struggled to gulp the snake's letters, feeling the smell of his wife among the air. Wife. It pressed its head against the glass. Zhou Ming inexplicably saw three parts despondency and seven parts joy in its small back. This male snake. You still love your wife. Whoa ka 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 ka. The arrogant laughter of the large hog-nosed snake came from the nearby aquascape box. And it announced in a high, rather dignified manner. I declare, I've completely conquered the human race. Zhou Ming? What kind of confidence do you have that you've conquered mankind? Having just finished solving the male snake, Zhou Ming dropped his gaze on this tossing little guy. The bedding, which had just been replaced yesterday, was arched into a small hill with its nose. Its chubby little body circled and wrapped around the small hill, as if ascending to a high altitude and looking into the distance, its head drooping on the top of the hill, its mouth gulping uncontrollably with snake letters. The arrogant laughter was unusually loud. Whoa click 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 click. I'm so awesome. Click click click. Zhou Ming's brain twitched. What's with the bear of a snake? Especially with a couple of docile and coquettish snakes lining the side. This big hog-nosed snake is even more bearish. Master. Master. Me. 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 The burrowing tarantula picks at the maker's box in front of him. It's small. The live aquascape box is also much smaller half the size of a large hog-nosed snake, and that's all it is, and it's enough to keep it in there for a long time. The little spiders were unusually lively today. Zhou Ming dropped his gaze on it. 
the burrowing tarantula's watery eyes turned towards her position, her soft heartbeat extraordinarily determined. Master, master, this snake bullied you, I'll avenge you. Revenge? Zhou Ming was shocked. I don't blame him for being like this, after all, from the moment he first met the little spider, all it did was cry and whine and run away without even knowing where to go in its social terror little cute. Mode, now you're actually going to yell about avenging him? Zhou Ming was a soft mess inside. That's what it feels like to be protected. Zhou Ming opened the theater and watched as the little spider couldn't wait to take a step and run out. Huffing and puffing, he headed for the big hognosed snake's aquascape box, all the while running. Don't worry, master, I will definitely avenge you. Beat it. It had long looked at the pig-nosed snake with disdain. I didn't understand what it was hissing, but it wasn't always a good word. It's master. It can't even shed its big little voice. How can you let a snake bully you away? Zhou Ming seemed to see in front of his eyes an angry little girl, obviously shy and introverted. But when she knew that he was being bullied, she righteously clenched her fists and went to find the other party to settle the score. The little guy. A wink. The extremely fast burrowing tarantula had gone over the hill and ran on top of the large hognosed snake's creation box. The burrowing tarantula stood on top of the aquascape box, looking down at the large hognosed snake below. The heart burst out in alarm. It's so big. Oh, can't I beat it? No, 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 I'm fierce. The district is just a snake. I, 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 I can. It, it can be done. For the sake of the master, it's definitely possible. Despite the mental buildup, one mouth still shivered. Soft voice with a trill that favors the brave and fearless. Are you the one who bullied my master? Hissing? The large hog-nosed snake tilted its head, its scarlet letters catching the scent of the burrowing tarantula. Who are you? What are you doing here? What? Do you want me to pass on a lesson in ruling the human race? I didn't realize my fame had spread to the little spiders. It was just too proud of itself. The tip of his tail was wagging all the way to the left and right, and the snake's letters were gulping rapidly in excitement. It raises its neck and explores the vent above the aquascape box. In this position, even with a small mountainous pile of padding underneath it, it would be difficult for it. But, who made the big hog-nosed snake happy today? The forked tongue probed up as hard as it could. It wanted to get a good taste of its first apprentice. Hey, there's also a legend of its pig-nosed snake in the jungle too. The burrowing tarantula didn't understand what it was saying, but it could feel its smugness. Abominable. Bullying the master and you're still so happy. The little spider held a red face and stared at it with hatred. He is shy and social, but his owner is so good to him. It should just know what it's doing. The little spider clutched its calissary with determination. My master, I'll guard. Shiver shiver shiver. The big hog-nosed snake's side had just poked its snake's letter out. The burrowing tarantula immediately swung its tentacle limbs to grab its snake's letter. Ow ow ow. It hurts. It hurts. You little spider. You're so mean. The large hog-nosed snake's erect body couldn't support itself and fell straight down onto the bedding. The padding flew up like snowflakes. The ocean falls on it. Blah blah blah. The snake's letters hurt. It's also stained with a good bit of bedding. Woohoo. No matter how stupid the big pig-nosed snake was, it knew that the other party had come to get a fight, but it didn't even mess with the other guy wow. The big hog-nosed snake commiserated. You hit me. You actually hit me. Why are you hitting me? The big pig-nosed snake was in shock. The little spider was simply too tricky, and it thought that the little spider had really come over to ask for advice in vain. I didn't realize. Woohoo. Snake commiserates. Snake must cry. Watching the big pig-nosed snake rolling around and splashing in pain, the cave tarantula's originally anxious heart stabilized, and it looks like it's still very powerful. The burrowing tarantula's fighting ability was certainly not weak. As ferocious burrowing tarantulas, snakes are among their diet in the wild. Chapter 128 Set up by a little spider? The pig-nosed snake suspected that the snake was born. If we mention a battle between a spider and a snake, we instinctively feel that the snake should have the upper hand. Even if the snake loses carelessly, it shouldn't lose too badly with its overwhelming size. But in the face of reality, the face was smacked in the face. According to scientific studies, the probability of a spider successfully killing a snake is 87 and in 1.5 of the incidents, the snake escapes on its own. The remaining impact is to artificially help the snakes escape. In most cases, these tiny spiders make extremely tough webs that often extend to the ground and trap unsuspecting snakes. Once it catches its prey, the spider bites them with its venom then wraps the snake in its silk and drags it to higher ground. This time of year, the snakes become a meal for the spiders. Eating them is as easy as eating a mosquito. This shows how powerless snakes are in the presence of spiders. Of course, in absolute size. For example, a one meter long king kinkajou or a Mozambique venom spewing cobra. This little trick of the cave-dwelling tarantula was simply not enough. 
but it's still more than enough to deal with this big, bearish, hog-nosed snake. The burrowing tarantula stood on top of the maker box shivering and letting loose. Don't bully the master from now on. If you bully the master again, I, I, I'll eat you. Humming. At the end of the sentence, it embarrassed itself first. Is it too aggressive? But, but it bullies the master. Heck, it should be a little meaner to make it learn a lesson. The burrowing tarantula fought darkly, then stride off ready to run back to his little nest. MMM. Heart thumping. It's still cozy in the nest. Only before it could run back. It was cut off in the middle by Zhou Ming. Master. The cave-dwelling tarantula was so excited that she shouted, and the little girl who had just finished seeking revenge, saw Zhou Ming's face redden and mumbled in embarrassment as she looked at the person in front of her. It whispered in its mind, I was so mean just now. I don't think the master knows. Does he? Zhou Ming looked at the embarrassed burrowing tarantula. He couldn't help but show a hint of a smile on his face. So shy, little guy? Obviously. His voice trembled with fear when he faced the big hog-nosed snake. But he still gave his harsh words. Master. Master. The burrowing tarantula lay down in the middle of Zhou Ming's palm. Its claws and paws raised to hug Zhou Ming's thumbnail, attempting to wrap itself up in Zhou Ming. It certainly couldn't pull Zhou Ming's fingertips, only that Zhou Ming was happy to cooperate, allowing his fingers and palm to form a small cave style. The burrowing tarantula excitedly burrowed in with a soft and well-behaved heartbeat that was too good to be true. Finally, I'm with my master. It's the warm and safe way I remember it. Even if I get out, I won't be scared if I can stay with my master. Had ha. The burrowing tarantula giggled as she held her face. Hearing Zhou Ming, he couldn't help but laugh. Badly, he tugged at its little tentacled limb. Yikes. The burrowing tarantula was forced to yank out. The calissary with poison waved subconsciously, touching Zhou Ming's skin but not cutting through it. It's vainly placed on the aspect that. Master. Don't. It doesn't want to go out at all. That's how it wants to stay on its owner. Zhou Ming watched it shrink back timidly and continued to pull it out. By the way, spread your fingers directly. The small cave made by the palm of his hand disappeared instantly. Ouch. Found the cave disappeared. The burrowing tarantula eagerly circled around in the center of Zhou Ming's palm. Then as he did, he reached out his paw to nuzzle Zhou Ming's finger in preparation for resitting in the nest. Just this one time, without Zhou Ming's cooperation, its strength was akin to a mayfly shaking a tree. And its fingers didn't change a bit at all. I can't hold it. The burrowing tarantula realized this fact and with a weak sob in her voice, Va, it's over. Does Master not like me anymore? Master won't even be on him anymore. The little spider was sobbing. Hearing Zhou Ming instantly softened his heart. Okay, okay. He helplessly brought his palms together, leaving a small hole in the center of his palm. Cave. The burrowing tarantula's voice with a sobbing tone beamed with joy. It muttered softly. I knew my master couldn't bear to see me cry. Zhou Ming? Finished. How does it feel to be set up by a little spider? Zhou Ming looked at the comfortably lying in the palm of his hand, shrinking into a furry ball. What a setup. What could possibly go wrong with a cute little spider wanting to get close to you? No problem. Absolutely no problem. The burrowing tarantula nestled comfortably in the middle of Zhou Ming's palm. Hey, 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 master. So fond of the master. Ouch. Why do I like the master so much? Zhou Ming felt the little spider in the palm of his hand rolling around. Not only that, but also stomping its legs in shyness. I didn't realize that the normally quiet, tucked away inside of an aquascape box, was really getting laid, and the heartbeats were like bubbles, one after the other. It's just too cute. Zhou Ming was about to reach out and interact more with the burrowing tarantula. The big hog-nosed snake in the aquascape box in front of us was heartily indignant. Ah, abominable, abominable. Damn it. He dove headfirst into the middle of the bedding, revealing only a fat sliver of his tail. The whole snake is bad. A little spider dares to bully me. Aha! Uh -huh. Bully the snake and run. Come out and fight if you can. What kind of a hero is it to run away after hitting a snake? Ah! Uh, it's hard to be a big pig-nosed snake. It had just declared its conquest of mankind. And here it was being hit by a spider through a maker's box. Where does that put its face? It's a pig-nosed snake that wants to save face. It's okay. The little pig-nosed snake next to him gulped his snake letters and comforted. Mama you are so arrogant. It's normal to be beaten by anyone. I'm the only one who tolerates your little temperament. So you have to be nicer to your dad from now on. Big hog-nosed snake? Is this pro-life? Woo hoo 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 ah. It's hard to bear. It's too much. The large hog-nosed snake cried and coiled itself up. The previous arrogance vanished into thin air. It wants to be quiet. Zhou Ming was overjoyed. You're quite good at telling the truth. A big thrill. The little pig-nosed snake doesn't feel like it's sticking a knife in it at all. It's just being honest and being a truthful snake ah. Right. Zhou Ming suddenly thought of something. 
King Jean Snake yelled at first that he was hungry, counting the days, it is indeed time to feed today, to feed it, then it's just a matter of letting go of the little spider in your hand. The little spider was sensitive to Zhou Ming's gaze, and it shrunk its body, sending itself further down into the middle of the cave. The ass is showing. Zhou Ming looked helplessly at the retreating little spider. It's slipping down to its pinky. It's still whimpering down. No, not wanting to leave the master. I'm hiding. Hide it. The small cave-dwelling tarantula shrunk its body. It really cherished the time it spent with Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming helplessly propped up its buttocks and simply pinched its furry little body directly on his shoulder. Don't don't. The burrowing tarantula was pinched and struggled desperately. Then realizing that I had not been put in the scenic box, I was immediately happy again. It moved its steps and feet, nestling itself around Zhou Ming's neck. Zhou Ming moved his neck, and the little guy was a little itchy with his fur. But the soft, sticky voice in his ear was very flattering. The King Kitsun has been neglected for a long time. It strained a snake face, gulping scarlet snake letters. He looked indifferently at Zhou Ming. Ha! Chapter 129 I'm the Queen Lord Yak. Yeah. The tarantula that won't let go of its master. Where had the burrowing tarantula on its neck seen such a behemoth? It was directly frightened by its appalling aura and shrank into the back of Zhou Ming's neck, timidly revealing a pair of eyes. It's scary. The King Kinkajus live in the largest aquascape box without a doubt. Spacious and beautiful. It raised its neck and propped its head up to stare at Zhou Ming. Extremely oppressive. Humans, are you trying to starve this Queen Sama to death? How dare you neglect the Queen Sama? Do you know what kind of consequences you'll suffer? Wang Jin Snake's icy voice was like nine heavenly ice. What exactly do they figure in being snakes and being put in the head of an aquascape box by humans where the wind doesn't blow and the rain doesn't fall? It's not even a picture of a bite to eat. Now there's not even a bite to eat. And there's a bean snake rolling around every day, making so much noise that the snake's brain is going to explode. Then what's the point of it staying here? HM. Zhou Ming? You snake. Have a good point. There's no way to refute it. Zhou Ming pinched the mouse and put it in the feeder. The already treated rat meat, with its low blood odor, did not attract the attention of the other reptiles. The king's brocade snake opened its mouth wide and swallowed it in one gulp. Not even a pause. The eyes once again fell on Zhou Ming's body. What are you doing? That's it? That's it? Who are you feeding? It spat out its serpentine letters in dissatisfaction. The. More. Alive. It's best if the mice are just 60 days old and more palatable to eat. Flesh is growing. And it's not getting old. Zhou Ming. You're a pretty good snake. Aren't you? 60 day old mice. Why don't you say you want foreign imports? Zhou Ming snorted coldly and handed the rest of the rat to the edge of its mouth. Wang Jin snake disgustedly swallowed the food Zhou Ming handed to his mouth. Filling its stomach made it feel much better. Even when Zhou Ming reached out to rub its snake head, it was not as direct as in the past to shake it off and leave. Hoomph. You're still 20. 000 years too early to challenge this queen. But for the sake of you letting this queen have her fill, I'll let you touch this queen today. Next time, you won't have a chance. The king brocade snake gulped its snake letters. After all, eating and drinking from humans, how could it work without giving some benefits? However, sensing that Zhou Ming had been touching without meaning to let go of his hand, it's a noble queen. Just touch it twice. How can you keep touching it? That's not good. It's detrimental to the majesty. King Jin snake moved his head, ready to retreat. But, aha, aha, what's going on? How can a human hand have such power? Zhou Ming's hand was like an iron vice, firmly fixing its head, unbridled. This queen orders you to hurry up and let go of this queen's head. The king's brocade snake let out a hissing sound in annoyance, and anyone who saw it would know that it was angry. The snake's letters were gulping fast and its mouth was wide open. Mice. The king kitsun snake sensed the appearance of a small, lively titmouse in front of him. The fresh flavor of the suckling mouse made king jean snake's heart flutter instantly. Give it to the queen. Human. I order you to give the rat to the queen. Are we allowed to pinch now? Small sample. Think I can't hold you? Zhou Ming let out a light laugh and lifted the milk mouse in his hand upwards. The king Kitsun's head moved up and down with it. Human, give me the mouse. The king's brood snake's letters were gulping fast. So greedy and craving for it. Zhou Ming was pleased by its impatient look and patted its head, throwing the little milk mouse into the feeding box. Damn it. You can't just touch the head of the queen. He gave me a live rat to eat. The king Kitsun wagged its tail. Internally torn. As soon as the little titmouse entered the aquascape box, it was crushed by the enormous pressure of the king Kitsune. A squeak erupted. Noticing that the king's brocade snake had flicked its tail, the milk rats in front of him were directly frightened and scurried about. It snapped against the clear glass. Dizziness. Idiot. Seeing the stupid little mouse that had hit the wall, King Jean Snake no longer dwelled on the fact that his head had been touched. The huge body moved quickly. 
Even if it's just in the aquarium, it still doesn't lose any speed. Just a blink of an eye. Zhou Ming didn't even get a good look at it. And the living, breathing milk mouse was already eaten into his mouth without any fight. Burp it's delicious. King Jean Snake climbed down contentedly. Eat and sleep. Wake up and keep eating. Metso. Calling. It's scary. The burrowing tarantula shrunk its own step foot and hid behind Zhou Ming's shoulder. Snakes eat in a way that is worlds apart from spiders. Snakes try to fill their stomachs and don't care about all the twists and turns out there. And their feeding gestures are rough and unpretentious. The spider, on the other hand, is more like a western aristocrat dining gracefully, taking his time to enjoy his captured prey. King Jean Snake lazily raised his snake head, spitting snake letters at the small spider on Zhou Ming's shoulder. A little something you can't fit between your teeth. Zhou Ming. What an animal. Even the little spiders. So small. So cute. I can't believe you had to put your mouth on it. Condemn you. The king's brood serpent was back in the middle of its well-fed and lazy state. These days, it's so comfortable. I hope this human can live for a few more years. And when it dies, how can it find such an agreeable pooper scooper ah? I'm worried. Zhou Ming stumbled on his feet. Numb nuts. That's not the way to repay a favor, is it? I give you food and drink. And you curse me to death? Master? Are you okay? The burrowing tarantula noticed the sudden change in Zhou Ming's aura around him and softly inquired. Zhou Ming listened to the soft and concerned voice. It has to be a little spider. He's a good boy and he knows how to love. Zhou Ming held it and played with it for a while longer. Until the cave-dwelling tarantula stubbed out its gaiters and shoved his fingers off. Don't. Master really don't. Boing boing. I'm going to pass out. The burrowing tarantula trembled with a delicate voice. And several of its footsteps were soft and collapsing. And it was powerless against Zhou Ming. Master. You're so good. I can't take it anymore. Don't get it. Don't. Woo woo. Hearing its pleas for mercy. Zhou Ming's movements under his hands became more and more urgent. It was as if to make up for all the neglect of it over the past few days. The little spider landed softly in its palm, its voice trembling like a delicate flower that had been knocked off its feet under a rainstorm in early spring. It's really not working. No. Buzz off. The cell phone sitting on the coffee table in the living room vibrated out, interrupting the indulging Zhou Ming. Looking at the small spider in his palm that had been tossed around and was resting, Zhou Ming could only withdraw his hand with regret. Just as he was about to put the burrowing tarantula back in the scene-making box, the little spider braced itself to pick at Zhou Ming's fingers. Owner. Unwillingly leaving his master. Good boy. Zhou Ming let out a soft soothing sound and put it back. No. The little spider was disappointed to feel Zhou Ming's aura gradually moving away. It mumbled. Owner. Little thing. I'll be back with you later. Zhou Ming, who had already left, re-entered the room and touched a handful of furry little spiders. It feels so good in your hands. Master. The burrowing tarantula perked up all of a sudden. It knew its master couldn't let go of him either. It said obediently and coquettishly. Master. You go and get busy I'll be good and wait for you hero. I've been waiting for you to come back. Zhou Ming withdrew his hand. This time it's really going out. He wanted to see who had called him and interrupted his good life with the little tarantula. Chapter 130 Humans are more odious and insidious and cunning than one might think. Zhou Ming walked quickly to the living room. Fish out the cell phone whose screen is blinking. It was a call from the construction foreman at the reptile petting zoo. Is it? Zhou Ming was thinking about it when his mind moved and he picked up the phone. Mr. Zhou. You can come over to take a look and inspect it if you have time in the next two days. Sure enough. On the other end came Zhou Ming's long-awaited message. Reptile house. Completed. Zhou Ming's heart was beating so wildly with excitement that he even ignored his chest that was aching vaguely. Okay. I'll get someone to inspect it tomorrow. He is privately funded. But it is under the name of the zoo. Go through the official channels and avenues for everything you do. A specific time for acceptance is in order. Zhou Ming couldn't help but lower his head and silently look at his chest. Where I was bitten by a blue-tongued gargoyle this morning. It looks like. It hurts more. He frowned. But didn't take it seriously and turned straight up the stairs. Thinking that in a few days he would be able to move into the reptile house. And that these little things would no longer have to live in a snail's pace in an aquascape box. Zhou Ming was bursting with excitement. No person or animal wants to be in captivity. Reptiles are even more so. The next day. The morning light is dimly lit. Chao Ming had gotten up early and changed all the water in the reptile room aquascape tank. Incidentally, the two Mozambique spitting cobras were checked again. Female snakes can already begin to feed on their own. It was faster than Zhou Ming thought. After all, although snakes are ferocious and domineering, they can also not adapt to the soil. And after changing to a new environment, they need time to adapt to adapt. But think of the female snake's trust in herself. It's not like it feels like anything anymore. On the contrary, this male snake was born with a proud bone, even though it was obviously injured so badly. 
What is tied to me by the abominable human? It's supposed to be the same thing as this cage that's holding me. Ah, human beings are even more vicious and cunning than I thought. The male snake had a I've seen through humans look. Faithful. Even the little milk mouse that Zhou Ming had thrown in to replenish its energy was able to turn a blind eye to it. Aha, who knows if it's poisoned. The wretched humans still want to buy me with this small favor? No way. Humans are known to trick snakes. I'm not going to fall for that. Zhou Ming, if you don't eat, don't eat, starve to death. Thinking, Zhou Ming directly used the tweezers to pick up the live little titmouse and prepared to put it into the female snake's aquascape box. You're pregnant. You need to take a good tonic. No, no human being. I won't agree to do anything even if you bribe me with a little mouse. My heart will always be my husband's. Zhou Ming. He suddenly had the feeling that he was spending his own money to raise someone else's wife to take over? Numb nuts. Then you and your wife will both starve. Humph. With a flick of his hand, Zhou Ming sent the little titmouse into the King Cobra's aquascape box. Oh. My god. How did you know I crave this? The King Cobra erected its body, gulped its snake's letters, and slowly moved its body. Bear with me, little baby. Your grandpa's coming. Eat, drink and be merry. Human. And serve me. Make me a snake. Oh. Come on. Baby. Ravage me. Have mercy on me. With your big, thick fingers and your wonderful touch. Oh. 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 Numb. Completely numb. The cartwheel rolled over the face. Early in the morning. You're really bad like that. Zhou Ming snapped the scenery box shut. Off. You snakes that only crave my body. One by one. The feedings are done. Zhou Ming rubbed his chest. It was clear that he had already rested for the night. But the chest that had been bitten by the blue tongue stone heavies yesterday morning was still in vague pain. Blue tongue stone crop is clearly non-toxic ah. Zhou Ming frowned, thinking about what he had to do today, and rushed to the zoo in a busy manner. Haven't gotten out of the car yet. Zhou Ming saw Fatty squatting in front of the zoo from a distance, similar to the guardian lions on both sides of the zoo entrance. The chubby body is extraordinarily like a dumpling child ball. Seeing Zhou Ming's car, Tang Yuaner Maru's eyes, which had been squeezed to only a slit, instantly brightened up. Naruchan, he raised his paw, like a beckoning cat, seeing the little expression of cheap anticipation on his face. Zhou Ming straight covered his face. How to do? A little want to directly turn his head and walk away? But, his body was still honestly walking towards him. What are you doing here? How come I haven't seen you lately? It wasn't just Shen Wei Yu who was busy and out of sight during this period of time. Even Fatty was. All communication between the two became online. Zhou Ming wasn't really into anything other than reptiles. Hearing that Zhou Ming was actually worried about himself, Fatty was instantly moved to tears. Naruchan Fatty has finally waited for this day. Zhou Ming, it's not necessary. You might as well pretend I didn't ask anything just now. Zhou Ming shrugged it off. After taking two steps, he realized with hindsight that the always clingy Fatty actually didn't follow him. That's not right. Zhou Ming turned his head suspiciously. Fatty smiled back the flesh on his face shaking, that, foot is numb, Zhou Ming, help, help me, Fatty cried out, he didn't want to, this hasn't been squatting long enough to stand up, Zhou Ming had no choice but to reach out and pull him anyway, except he underestimated the weight of Fatty, Fatty borrowed his strength, a pull, numb legs do not obey at all, trembling like a disabled person who has just begun to rebuild his legs, the feeling of falling was too obvious, and Fatty could only use his hands to haphazardly pick at Zhou Ming, well, Zhou Ming stifled a cry, looking down at the fat man lying shyly on his chest. Thick arms against his chest. A sharp pain struck him from his chest. Numb nuts. Why does it hurt so much? And that pain. Zhou Ming's spirit was shaken. No, it's not what he thinks, is it? Fatty's eyes widened when he heard Zhou Ming's suppressed muffled voice. No, it can't be. Fatty, I crushed you. There were not many people at the entrance of the zoo, but I don't know when tourists appeared. At this very moment was looking at Zhou Ming and Fatty, who were tightly embracing each other, with a shocked expression, even, one of them even silently covered the eyes of a small child, Zhou Ming took a deep breath and pushed away his rock-like dependent body, get the hell out of here, numb nuts, he knew that nothing good would come out of running into Fatty, oi vey, ow, Fatty's numb legs haven't fully recovered yet, when pushed by Zhou Ming, his legs were like uncontrollable crutches, and he directly ran around, then flopped to his knees, the tourists gasped backward. Mom, yeah, it's simply lickety split. Fatty, whoa whoa, goat, 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 no, help, he'd like to see a thoroughly well done reptile house. Two, it must have been spectacular. Fatty slapped his legs eagerly and busied himself with chasing after him. Reptile house entrance, the two men sent by the construction bureau's supervisory company were already standing at the door. 
waiting. One of them had a briefcase under his armpit and a safety cap on his head. Very strict look. The other had a tool kit in his hand and stood dutifully at the man's side. Zhou Ming walked quickly to the briefcase. Hello, you are Supervisor Lu, right? Chapter 131, Acceptance of the Reptile House. Back to the pre-liberation era? Mr. Chow? Supervisor Lu asked rhetorically before extending his hand. Hello, hello, we both spoke on the phone yesterday. I know. Zhou Ming nodded. The foreman doesn't seem to be here yet? The acceptance is not only for the inspector's company to come and ask for it, but also for the builder to come over and have a representative. If there are any problems, corrections will be made in a timely manner after they have been raised. As soon as he said this, the contractor came running over with his pants in his throat. The helmet on his head is running away. Coming, coming. Been waiting here since early morning. Everyone's here. So let's go in. Zhou Ming nodded. His afterglow caught a glimpse of Fatty's trembling figure and waved straight at him, waiting for him to come over before he said to the two, now that we're all together, let's go in. Fatty gasped, a hefty smirk on his red face. He knew it. Zhou Ming will definitely be waiting for himself. The contractor and supervisor Lu glanced at Fatty and didn't say anything. It's not like it's something that needs to be kept secret. There's nothing wrong with letting Fatty in. The contractor opened the gate. Please, the gate opens. The crowd walks into the reptile house. The converted reptile house is like bringing the wild indoors. Borrowed glass blocks off the various different ecosystems. Deserts, rainforests, grasslands, there should be everything. Huge venue, full of green, steel and nature blend. It doesn't look constricted, but rather nicely and skillfully designed to bring these things together. Between the walks, tourists also followed a different flavor. This design is just ingenious. Supervisor Lu couldn't help but sigh. The cobblestone bridge walkway underfoot is a special treat. The bridge is hollowed out underneath, covering the canals below with glass, one turning into a gutter and the other into a passageway for the animals to go from the south to the north. Standing on the small bridge, you can visualize them. The trails go in all directions. Each place has its own view. The large clear glass is again well protected with a safe distance between the visitors and the reptiles. Supervisor Lu suddenly had a feeling that this walkway would be even more wonderful if it didn't exist. It's as if the reptiles were naturally given an undisturbed existence. Can we start acceptance? The contractor couldn't help but puff out his chest when he saw Supervisor Lu's shocked expression. Look at that. It was a grand and spectacular design that he led the construction to completion. Yes, of course. Supervisor Lu quickly returned from the stunned, began to lead the people with visual inspection. Hand touch, with the help of measuring instruments and other tools, began to test up. This amount of work is undoubtedly huge. The good thing, though, was that the two worked together through and through, and they didn't get tired first. First floor inspection complete. Go up to the second floor again. Compared to the natural flavor of the first floor, the second floor is a bit more normal. There's nothing particularly different from any other city's reptile house. Cement stone platform stand. This is for a single exhibition aquascape box. At a glance, contrasting downstairs is quite a bit of modern technology. The two men continued their work, with the bagman and fatty following in lockstep. Zhou Ming, on the other hand, stole a moment and ran to the restroom designed for himself. Every design of the lounge was filled with his own personal touch. After all, out of the money, it just has to be different. Zhou Ming circled around, and although the entire room was empty, it was as if Zhou Ming could already see the setup. Met so. Messy footsteps were heard coming up the stairs. Zhou Ming was busy going out from the lounge. Watch the four come down. Supervisor Lu and his colleagues are still writing and drawing on the paper. At the sight of Zhou Ming, a smile spread across his face. Mr. Zhou, I've never seen a reptile house designed like this before, and I'm looking forward to when it goes into operation. I'll definitely come over to support it then. Saying that, he signed his name on the notice of passing the inspection in his hand. There is nothing wrong. You can use it without worry. Zhou Ming took the list and a smile appeared at the corner of his lips. It's finally done. Little ones, no more snail's pace. Waiting for Lu's supervisor to leave. Zhou Ming immediately gave the contractor to settle the final payment. Fatty still hadn't recovered from the view from the first floor. Heat sked. You're the only one that would dare to do that. An ecosystem was created directly in the indoor environment. Bringing nature into the home. Definitely a creation like no other before or since. There are not many people on the market who can make ecological tanks. And Zhou Ming definitely counts as one of the best. It is especially rare to find such a large ecosystem. Compared to an aquascape box. It's the equivalent of one being alive and the other being dead. Fatty's eyes blinked. Daddy Gold would surely be happy to shell out the money to get one for that black and white-lipped bamboo leaf green. Zhou Ming let out a hem and stared at the debit notice he had just finished paying the final amount. What do you mean? Back to the old days? 
This is a return to the past. When he heard Fatty talk about the categories, he was instantly interested. How much is an ecological tank on the market now? He was so focused on the study of snakes that he didn't look deeply into the side matters. After all, he could pick up a random rock or tuft of moss from the wild and give the reptiles a home straight away. He has his own craft. He doesn't even have to go to the circle and beg others. It's hard to say, but if you're doing it yourself, a five-figure sum from the Golden Father is considered a small amount. Fatty rubbed his chin in thought. Five figures. Zhou Ming thought for a moment. Then you contact and ask if there is anyone who wants an ecological tank. I'll do five a month. Forget it. Make it three. It's not good if you can't sell it and it gets smashed in your hands. Besides, he still has to make the ecological tank for the second floor display and can't devote himself to it. Taking out three a month to go out and sell is hard enough. In your hands? Fatty's jaw dropped and his eyes squeezed into a slit, blazed over. You are unaware of how many people want to hire you right now. Please, you need to have a clear idea of what you're worth. You're still smashing your hands? If you made a hundred or eighty of them, someone would buy them at a high price. Zhou Ming waved his hand and said in disgust, and a hundred or eighty? Who do you want to tire out? Fatty? Numb nuts. Is that what he's talking about? By the way, the proceeds from last month's ShakeFast software have been filed, and the bank should be here soon. Yes? Zhou Ming is not hopeful about this revenue. Although there is fatty in the selling of films to maintain life, but, after all, there is still a lot of white whoring and little reward. Ding dong. The phone poked out a text message and the dark screen lit up in response. Dear user, your bank card with tail number 9988 is credited to 10 000 000 000 000. 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. Zhou Ming absently counted the zeros on it. Slowly his eyes opened wide. He's suddenly rich again? Fatty looked at his little expression and hemmed and hawed in triumph. Well, I run a good operation, don't I? Your fat brother? Very nice, Zhou Ming said sincerely. Fatty's tail perked up. That's not true. People single-mindedly for you all. I've been working so hard on this that I've lost weight. Look, have I lost weight? Aha. Uh -huh. Wasting away? Zhou Ming looked at his rounded figure. It doesn't seem to be relevant, but, it's true that you've lost weight, so make up for it in the next few days, Zhou Ming said against his will. Fatty's small eyes flashed with brilliance, and he nodded with a shy face. That's right, you have to make up for it. Not only do we need to make up for the food, but we also need to change the place where we live. So wow, when are you going to let me move into the lounge for a couple days, Zhou Ming? That's good, I knew you had this in mind. Chapter 132 Hospital, Cool or Not? Just ask you if it's cool. Ha ha ha. Fatty smiled sarcastically, looking at him this a sardonic fat face. Zhou Ming felt a straight pain in his heart. This pain is getting stronger and stronger, more and more intense, as if it turned into a substance, and so on. Zhou Ming jerked his head down, looking at his flat chest, a large bag protruded. He finally realized where the pain was coming from. Zhou Ming tremblingly raised his hand to droop on Fatty's shoulder, his face gradually turning white. He gritted his teeth and said, to the hospital. Ha, huh? what's the point of going to the hospital? Fatty looked at him uncertainly. Zhou Ming took a deep breath and suppressed the dense pain. See the doctor. City hospital. Breast surgery. Zhou Ming wrinkled his brow as he watched the doctor go up and down on himself. For a long time, the doctor took off his gloves and washed his hands, rigorously pushing the frame of the glasses on the bridge of his nose. He earnestly advised, young people, pay attention to your health at a young age. You're a, you're a secondary development. It's not a big problem though, just go back and rest and relax. Secondary development? Fatty blinked, unsure. Well, it's possible that it's because of the drugs. The doctor glanced at Zhou Ming's chest, thinking of the bruise marks on it. It's also possible that it was subjected to compression. Squeeze, Zhou Ming silently explained. I have this one from a lizard bite. The doctor was even more shocked. With that's okay? Written all over his face. Zhou Ming, people are numb. Destroy it. Numb nuts. So much so that I want to take Blue Tongue Stonehearth out and beat him up. Next to him, Fatty laughed so hard that his body trembled like an earthquake. Laughing cheekily. Neru. You can do it. Playing really fancy. Zhou Ming gritted his teeth. Off. Since there was nothing going on, Zhou Ming directly stood up and left this embarrassing place. Fatty laughed maniacally and chased after him. Oopsie daisy. Fatty now declared that the little lizard was definitely his god. The two went out the door just in time to bump into the next female patient. Zhou Ming sidesteps and lets his opponent pass first. The female patient, however, didn't move, staring at Zhou Ming's face, excitedly saying, Brother Ming, you are. Zhou Ming looked down, pretty sure he hadn't seen the other person before. I'm a fan of yours, 
What a coincidence to meet you here. The female fan's eyes lit up with excitement. Wait, meet here? The female fan hesitated and looked down at the registration slip she was holding. Breast surgery. Hmm. Are you accompanying a friend? Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming. You forgot to take your medical record sheet. The doctor behind him kindly reminded. The female fan's pupils quake. Zhou Ming is silent. Just. Destroy it. Inside the villa. Inside the darkened room. A poor little lizard was tied up vertically on a table. Its limbs were forced out and its big blue tongue lolled out. The sweet, clear voice quivered softly. Lord. Master. What are you doing? It looked at Zhou Ming's fingertips that reached out, gradually sliding downwards from its jaw, bringing out a silky, fluffy touch. What? Rope? Bondage? Blue tongue stony river clueless. Did. Zhou Ming sneered, and his fingers continued to descend to make circles on its fat, chubby, bulging little belly. I've been generous enough not to settle the score with you about climbing into bed the night before last, and let you stay in your room and sleep, but you return the favor. Bite my chest. The last few words were said by Zhou Ming with gritted teeth, itching to just pick up this little guy and beat him up. The blue-tongued stone dragon child suddenly became excited. Whoa. This is. This is. Two humans in a room having fun together. Wow. All I can think about now is my master. Zhou Ming? Isn't there something wrong somewhere? And the blue-tongued gargoyle says he understands it all and will play nice with it. It opened its mouth and screamed. Bah. 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 No. No touching your belly. You pervert with no sense of boundaries. Zhou Ming's hand pinching its belly paused. Playing so big? Nope. Obviously teaching you a lesson. Zhou Ming yanked on the rope tying it, and the blue-tongued stone dragon child was forced to raise its own little feet and legs, with only a stubby tail underneath its buttocks for support. It grunted softly as its feet and legs exploded into flowers. Go away. Go away. Perverted human. I'm gonna bite your hand. I won't give in even if you tie me up. The blue-tongued stone dragon child posed in a righteous manner and heartily hemmed and hawed. Master. Master, did I do a good job? Zhou Ming. Suddenly, I feel like I'm missing a little whip in my hand. What's going on? Zhou Ming slapped its butt, pinched its head and brought it over, and said sorrowfully, I'm not playing with you. One more random bite and I'll make a taxidermy out of you. Baird, the sprawled Chao Ming's cheek was suddenly licked. Zhou Ming wrinkled his eyebrows and was about to have a fit. The blue-tongued dragon, Stone Sun, spoke sweetly. Master sent, hey, hey, that smells good. Master. Kiss, Zhou Ming. Okay. The little thing doesn't understand human language yet. Just teach it slowly later. Zhou Ming reached out and untied the rope that bound its paws. What's going on? That's it? Master. I haven't called you yet. Don't worry. I've studied all your human stuff. I'll make you feel good. It bared its teeth and scurried out of the center of Zhou Ming's palm. Blue tongued stone crop. Reptilia. Suborder lizards. The hind limbs are strong and powerful, allowing them to run quickly and to change their direction of advance at will. They are very fast and agile, and are known as sprinters in the animal kingdom. Zhou Ming didn't have time to analyze what it wanted to do. The blue-tongued gargoyle had then bared its way down his elbow, down his sleeve, and into his arms. Zhou Ming's heart skipped a beat. There was a bad feeling. This is it. The blue-tongued stone dragon child lay down in the middle of Zhou Ming's clothes, its hind limbs gripping its shoulders and its head poking down. Ow. Oh. Zhou Ming pressed his hands on the blue tongue of the stone dragon child in his chest, and was so embarrassed that he stood up. You. Addicted. Ha. Huh? Did I do a good job? Master? Cool or not? I'm asking you if you feel good. Why don't you wail and whine? It remembers those who were bitten by the beautiful sister. All will scream ah. It seems like it's painful. But then again. It's awesome. I'm ing. Zhou Ming drew in a breath of cold air. Confinement. Must be confined. Zhou Ming reached out and yanked up the struggling blue tongued stone dragons, grabbing a plastic bag and tossing it in. No. The blue-tongued stone dragon child still didn't understand what he had done wrong. Struggling with dizziness in a plastic bag. Master master do you want to play something else? I'll keep you company. Come on. Don't be shy. Chapter 133. Locking up the small dark room. Secondary development is on the hot search list. The bag clattered in his hand. Progressively challenging Zhou Ming's patience. Come on. Don't be shy. The blue-tongued stone dragon child fluttered in the bag. Only the bag was too slippery. And after some struggles. It was instead itself that tired down first. Master. I don't have the strength anymore yeah. Hands coming up. Move on your own. Hmm. Sit up. Move yourself. Instantly the little face turned yellow. Ugh. Spit on you. Zhou Ming carried it and raised it to his face in disgust. I really misjudged you. I originally thought it was a pure little lizard. But I didn't realize you were so yellow. Now I'm going to put you in solitary confinement while you reflect on yourself. The blue-tongued gargoyle cocked his head. 
his tongue lolling out. The little head is cute and dorky. What are you talking about? Master? Lizard doesn't understand. You don't understand? Confinement. You get the picture. Zhou Ming carried it to the small dark room like it was trash. It says it's a small dark room, but it's really just an unused feeder. Take another cloth and cover it. A little dark room this would be. The blue-tongued stone dragon child looked at Zhou Ming with uncertainty and cried out in pure innocence. Master? Waiting to notice that Zhou Ming was about to stuff himself into the feeder. It struggled desperately to get up. The front paws firmly gripped the entrance to the feeder. The tongue lolled out and, no, 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 master, people don't want a lizard to go in there, boing, boing, ba, 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 do you want to see the lizard lonely and cold, Zhou Ming had a stern face and coldly broke its small paw, get in there, reflect and reflect inside, don't just go yellow on humans in the future, you know what, Zhou Ming raised his hand and closed it in with a snap. The blue-tongued stone dragon child's naive appearance rarely showed a dumbfounded little expression. Seems unbelievable. Zhou Ming was actually so cruel to lock it up such a little cutie. It broke free of the plastic bag wrapped around its body and grasped at the feeder with both paws. Woo hoo hoo. Master master. Don't you love me anymore? Boing boing. Crisp as an Oreo-like voice with a sobbing tone. So low it hurts. Zhou Ming was so softened by its crying that he just covered his chest. Hiss. It ing hurts. Roll roll roll. Get your ass in there and do some soul searching. For over half a month out there, the innocent little lizard had turned into the king of tainted demons. And his dorky, cute little lizard. Zhou Ming turned his face away from looking at its pitiful appearance. It's all loaded. I didn't expect Zhou Ming to be unmoved. The blue-tongued gargoyle plopped down aggressively in the feeder and said firmly in a slightly sobbing voice. It's okay. Even if master puts me a lizard here, I won't blame master. The master must have had a reason for putting me in here. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Zhou Ming stood beside it without moving, straining his ears to hear its reflective heart, trying to hear what it can reflect on. The blue-tongued stone dragon child flicked its tail and was silent for a long time. Just when Zhou Ming thought that it was going to be unable to hold back its tears, it suddenly yelled with joy. It must be because I'm so cute. Fearing the thoughts of heart snakes and spiders, he purposely protected me. I didn't realize my master loved me so much. Lizard is embarrassed. Zhou Ming. That's it? Hoping you've been reflecting for so long. That's it? Zhou Ming covered the dust cloth of the feeder and left with a shake of his head. Leave the little one alone. Just get out. Zhou Ming then saw Shen Weiwei, who was pushing a suitcase and returning from outside in a dusty manner. She was wearing a black suit with a skirt that wrapped around her hips, her pretty figure on full display, her hair slightly disheveled, with a few droplets of water on it upon closer inspection. Rumble. A thunderclap sounded outside. Lightning struck down with it. The illumination caused an instant fiasco within the entire villa. The fine rain that fell gradually increased in intensity with the sound of thunder. It's raining. Surprisingly, Zhou Ming didn't notice when it started to rain. Looking at Xin Wei Yu's wretched appearance, Zhou Ming turned to the bathroom on the first floor and took a dry bath towel and handed it over. The driver didn't give you a ride? If the car was parked in the garage, Xin Wei Yu's shoes and hair wouldn't get wet. Not to mention the suitcase she was carrying. Xin Wei Yu nodded and shook her head. Taking the towel he handed him and draping it over himself, he explained, the car broke down in front of the gate, so I walked back on my own, so it is, Zhou Ming nodded and offered, take a shower, don't catch a cold, the corner of Xin Wei Yu's lips revealed a smile as she tentatively asked, can I trouble you to help me bring my suitcase to my room, it's just a suitcase, of course Zhou Ming would not refuse and was about to nod his head, however, Xin Wei Yu, after seeing Zhou Ming's action of lifting up the suitcase, she suddenly thought of something, pursed her lips, and the slightest hint of embarrassment surfaced on her iceberg indifference-like face. She asked hesitantly, that, carrying suitcases, is that okay with you? Hmm, Zhou Ming didn't know why, it was just carrying a suitcase, what was wrong with that? Xin Wei Yu pointed to his chest with some embarrassment, you that, me, which one of me? Zhou Ming lowered his head in bewilderment, seeing where Xin Wei Yu was pointing, the veins on Zhou Ming's forehead bulged and jumped. He knew his face must have looked like a palette of colors that had been knocked down, and it must have looked great. But, how do you know? He hadn't told Shen Wei Yu about this matter at all. Shen Wei Yu blinked, seemingly a little surprised. She asked hesitantly, Don't you know? Know what? A bad feeling surfaced in Zhou Ming's heart. You're already popular on the Shakefast software. Shen Wei Yu's icy voice, percolating with a slight chill, announced Zhou Ming's death sentence. Zhou Ming. He then said he seemed to have forgotten something. So, here it is. I'll take your suitcase to your room first, said, 
Zhou Ming ran upstairs as if he were running away, placing the suitcase at Qin Wei Yu's bedroom door. He quickly returned to his own room. This time, he closed the door carefully, locking it again in the process. Do it all. Zhou Ming took out his cell phone and clicked on the ShakeFast software. No need for him to search. After the software's three-second ad opens the screen, it is a recording screen. In the recorded video, a comment appeared underneath the account that could clearly be seen as Creepy Pets Mingo. A comment that, I saw Nero and Fatty in the same treatment room at the hospital today. Nero is sick, but still even more handsome than in the video. And followed by a reply from Fatty with an account. Love love peace and quiet. Sort of certifies that Joe Ming and this fan have actually met in the hospital. And in the doctor's office. It would have been nothing. Who can't take a trip to the hospital when they're sick? The comments at the bottom of the thread were all envious of her. Going to the hospital and being able to run into Zhou Ming. That luck. It's just so enviable. Everything is normal up to this point. However, the bad thing is that this fan is a person who likes to document everyday life. Taking a little video everywhere he goes and posting it before he goes. Gradually, after the netizens envy fans luck began to appear different voices. Help. Am I the only one who noticed that inside this fan's account she looks at breast surgery? Breast surgery. Zhou Ming? Comrades. I have a bold idea. I'm not going to lie. I have one too. 